Li Yunxiao. Who's calling me? Aren't I, Gu Feiyang, already dead? Wait, what are these, whose memory is this? Li Yunxiao. According to those memories, it is the year 1033 of the Tianwu calendar. It's been 15 years since I died in the Tiandang Mountains, 15 years. Is it a mistake? That looks like a statue of me. Li Yunxiao, you've got some nerve. But here, you dare to sleep in my class. My body. Am I God reborn? Answer the question. How many ways are there to craft an ordinary mysterious weapon? Luo Yunqing, lecturer of Tianchue Guo Jialan College. This girl's body is awesome. Long hair and pretty face. If worn with a battle dress, she would look alike. That's another Red Lotus Martial Sovereign in a nutshell. Still a long way to go. Ah, what's going on? I'm a great martial artist of the Four Quadrants realm. How could I be distracted by one look at an ordinary boy? Answer the question. How many ways are there to craft an ordinary mysterious weapon? It must be because I've been stuck on that thing lately and I've been a bit distracted. How this kind of childish question, trying to test the Tianwu continent's top ninth tier emperor grade alchemist? Crafting weapon? A total of 48 kinds. Ha ha ha, it is still like this. This boy Li Yunxiao is probably sleep talking. The body's chakras are not open and it looks like his brain circuits is also broken. You can get it wrong even if it's written in a textbook worthy of being the Li family's scrappy young master. Trash, did you even read the book? Lord Yang Di textbook clearly has only 36 types. Yang Di? That brat. Did he dare to forget the 12 methods that Gu Fei Yang had originally created? What did you say? Haha, ha, this kid is afraid of being punished, so he started talking nonsense. That is, as Lord Yang Di is a student of Lord Marshal Emperor Gu Fei Yang, could he still have written it wrong? How dare this guy call Lord Yang Di that way? Silent. Lord Marshal Emperor Gu Fei Yang is not only the third ranked martial artist in the Tianwu continent. He is even a top tier ninth ranked emperor grade alchemist. Those methods. How did he know? He indeed created the 12 technical crafting method. But in the textbook, what? Those 12 methods are simply beyond the grasp of ordinary people, and Lord Yang Di did not introduce them in. It is said that Li Yunxiao is a waste of martial arts, and the chakras are not opened, so it is difficult for his talent to be in martial arts. But if you train to become an alchemist, it is far more valuable than martial arts training. Humph, flatter yourself by looking at some extracurricular materials. Tell me, why do we need to add sky crystal sand during crafting weapons? If you can answer this question, you won't need to take my class in the future. Wow, the teacher is angry. Everybody knows that sky crystal sand needs to be added when crafting weapons, and there's no reason why. Doesn't come, doesn't this mean asking, why is 1 plus 1 equal to 2? Crystal sand is not a must in this day, but this moderation is needed by the ordinary alchemists who can't accurately fuse the materials. Well said. But why does some crafting process fail when adding sky crystal sand? Huh. Sky crystal sand is water. Of course it can't be used in the crafting of fire attributes. Ah. I see. Well, then let me ask you one more thing. How to get rid of the influence of the sky crystal sand when the red copper is fused with the gold? Treat the sky crystal sand as an impurity and remove it by quenching. Ah. That's it. No wonder I keep failing. Such a simple thing was solved by him. He, his eyes, is he disdained to answer this kind of question? Li Yunxiao, you must come to next class. Self-study now. Could it be Teacher Luo was asking question just now? From now on, I won't take her class anymore. What's going on with Brother Yun today? What's that all of a sudden? Hey, what are you talking about? Could it be Li Yunxiao is actually a genius in the art of alchemy? 
The talent requirements to become an alchemist requires a lot more talent than those of martial arts. How can you walk the path of weapon refining when he can't even open a single chakra? Boss is right. Fucking alchemy genius. Ha ha ha. Humph. So, this is the capital of the country of Tianchui, Yang Di, Yang Di. This stupid apprentice happens to be the master of the alchemist here. This statue must be sculpted for me by Yang Di, considering his philo piety. Fifteen years later, I Gu Fei Yang was reborn as Li Yunchao. It's a little bit emotional to see my own statue. Here it is. Capital of the country of Tianchui. The Alchemist's Tower. It's a pity that this body is too weak now. Such an kid hasn't even opened the chakras. It's a natural waste constitution. Anyway, in my previous life, I was also the third-ranked Wudi Grandmaster in the Tianwu continent. Now it's just a matter of finding a way. Let's find Yundi first, and harden my waste body first. Association of Alchemists, Tianchui Branch. The year 1001 of Tianwu Calendar, Yang Di. If things go well, it will only take a few years I will be able to regain my power. Then, with my knowledge from two lives, I will be able to reach higher levels. In this life, I will stand at the top of the world. My current body meridians are all dried up. As long as I find Yang Di to get through the meridians first, then I'll be able to regain my strength quickly by myself. Welcome to the Association of Alchemists. How may I help you, my dear little sir? Receptionist of Tianchui Association of Alchemists Lu Yao. Little sir, I'm looking for Yang Di. Is he here? Yang, Lord Yang Di? Are you talking about the former chairman, Lord Yang Di? Former chairman? So, he's not here anymore? Lord Yang Di was the chairman here 20 years ago. Huh? It's a bit troublesome. I wanted him to make some breakthrough pills. Um, now I have to get through the dry invisible meridians on my own. I, Gu Feiyang, is respected by the Tianwu continent as two geniuses, martial arts and alchemy. Not only was I a ninth tier sovereign grade alchemist, but I W.S. also one of the seven elders of the Alchemists Association. My achievements in martial arts was also at the pinnacle of the Nine Heavens realm. Because of that, I was conferred the title of Vanquisher Martial Sovereign and ranked among the top 10 experts in the heavenly martial realm. Even my apprentices were well-known figures in the Tianwu continent. Now it's reduced to a scum that even the meridians are blocked. This body is already 15 years old, and it'll be even more difficult to restore my peak strength if the meridians are not cleaned as soon as possible. Well, I'll write a prescription. See if can you find it for me. In any case, getting through the meridians first is the most important thing. Please wait. Lu Yao, who are you talking to? Hurry up, Lord Liang is looking for you. Tianchue Association of Alchemists Alchemist Jiarong Lord Jiarong, this little sir is asking me to find some materials, and I'll go to see Lord Liang immediately. Let me see what the prescription is a first-tier alchemist. But... What nonsense is this? Huh? In my previous life, the prescriptions I wrote were priceless, and any one of them could be sold for a high price, yet it was thrown away like a scrap of paper by this foolish first-tier alchemist. You go find Lord Liang. Ah. Yes. This is not the place for kids. Get out. Your name is Jiarong? It hasn't been seven days since you were promoted to a first-tier alchemist, right? As everyone knows, I just got promoted to a first-tier alchemist five days ago. You know who I am. Remember to call me Lord. Are you sure you really got promoted to a first-tier alchemist? What do you mean? Your five fingers are dark gray and have started to peel, probably because you have touched the hell windstone recently. The purpose is to improve the fusion ability to integrate one's own technique before the assessment. Moreover, you emit a faint smell of blood flame orchid, which I reckon you've used to offset the side effect of the stone. There is also the smell of tiger sulfur stone, explained that the content of your alchemist assessment was to forge a mysterious weapon with tiger sulfur stone as the main raw material. Him, how could he? What nonsense. But you don't know that you just know a little about it. Infarct, 
the side effects of blood flame orchid are no less severe than those of the hell windstone. I'm sure you feel extremely uncomfortable at the acupoints near your forehead, the back of your neck, and you're back at noon every day, right? What a pity for a talented alchemist. If you want to save your life, you'll have to chop off your right hand and destroy your dantion. You, stop scaremongering. Oh, forget it, I wanted to teach you a way to resolve it, that's all. Don't leave. Tell me how to resolve it. Uh. Ah, uh, this sharp momentum, this look, how could a teenager, um? I beg you. Please tell me. Whoa. What's going on? I've never seen such a scene before. The alchemy master salutes the hairy boy. Hey, where's my list of materials? Have you seen it? There it is. Here you go. Ten batches of every item on the list, and when you get them all, come to see me at Jialan Academy. Remember, you, you, my name is Li Yunchao. Respect is not given by others, you have to earn it yourself, and you had lost my respect right from the beginning. Towards the domineering madness. Respect is not given by others. You have to beg for it, and earn it yourself. Oh right. Your right hand can only last three days at most. If you can't get me what I want, you can forget about practicing alchemy for the rest of your life. Three days. I've never even heard of half of these ingredients in my life. And how do I know you're not lying? You're smart. I trust you have your ways. A temporary medicine can be made from the leaves of white crescent bamboos and gray wolf ginseng. It will reduce the pain from the three meridian points and save your hand for two more days. Come to me alive, okay. H.M.? This kid is neither a martial artist nor an alchemist, so why, why did I feel such paralyzing fear before him? Li Yunxiao. I'll let you run wild for a while, but after I obtain the solution, I'll rip you to shreds. What? A youngster? You said a youngster requested for spirit crane roots and white phoenix dragon lotuses? Yes, he was roughly 15 or 16 years old. Rank 2 Alchemist Liang Wingyu. The spirit crane roots and white phoenix dragon lotuses are used for the strength improvement of martial warriors. What else was on the prescription? Uh, there was ink feather ghost flower, nether fruit, vacuum nectar, shiva flower, Fairy Bud. Did that youngster leave any contact details or his name? None. Lord Leong, I've been a part of the Alchemists Association for over three years now. How have I not heard of these things? The boy left such a deep impression in Lord Leong. Who on earth is he? There are a few herbs here that are unknown to me, but it seems that they would greatly benefit the growth of martial artists when combined into a medicine. It's extremely valuable. Even Lord Leong doesn't know? This combination of herbs is certainly mysterious. It seems that I won't be able to figure out their relationships in a short time. The next time the youngster comes, you have to keep him here by all means and inform me immediately. Roger. Those herbs might be too difficult for Jiarong to find, Tianchiwei Street. I can't completely rely on him. I'll have to find other ways. Let's look at what this Li Yunxiao has in his storage ring. What's all this junk? Whoa, is this an aphrodisiac? H.M.? I guess the only thing that's useful here is this black iron sword. 16.05 kg that's heavy. I really miss my sword, the Starpiercer. I wonder where it's at now. I guess I'll have to stick with this before I unclog my seven chakras. Jialan Academy School Gate. I'll craft a weapon for myself after I've condensed my Yuenchi. Li Yunxiao. You're drawing quite the attention today. Du Fong. Luo Jie. You guys. Du Fong, Luo Jie. What are you two doing? Two of Lan Fei's dogs. What are you trying to do to Yun Jie? Han Bai, Chen Jin, Han Bai and Chen Jin, 
These two are Li Yunxiao's best friends. Humph, nothing much, since Li Yunxiao gave a great performance in the class before. Boss Lan told me to check things out. You're going overboard. Arg. God. Han Bai, you've already opened four chakras. Humph, they have four open as well. Ha ha ha, just four chakras? Aren't you being too cocky? Ah. My arm. Ha, I'll let you experience. Zero, it's our academy's strongest cake eaters. Wah, there's a fight. The huge difference between having four and five chakras opened. Why don't you two get lost? I really want to see how you're going to make me get lost. Let's see who dares to bully Li Yunxiao. Princess of Tianxue, Qin Rushue. The princess of Tianxue, Qin Rushue, humph. Seems like I, this trash of a young master, am not that unpopular. We gotta give face to the princess. I guess you got lucky this time. Ah? Uh, you're gonna pack up and leave after beating up my friends? Oh ho? It looks like the trash has some objections. Not really. I just want to see the huge difference between someone with five chakras open and someone with zero. Li Yunxiao, you. He he. All right, how about? We test out four chakras first. Ha ha ha. Li Yunxiao. Ah. You, you, as you can see I only lifted my right knee, who knew that he would run right into it? That's bullshit, actually, it looked like he really ran himself into it. What a rare sight, definitely unheard of tried to beat someone up, but messed up his own. It's strange, there's no way Du Fong would get knocked down by just chance. No matter how you try to explain yourself, you're in for a bad time. So strong, he's actually an advanced martial apprentice. This brother here really doesn't have a single open chakra. Isn't he overestimating himself? I will end your manhood today and avenge Du Fong. Li Yunxiao, run away. Quick. My fist ah. Awo. Awo. What happened? Did Luo Jia think that he could fight a sword with his flesh just because he's a martial artist with Yuanchi? How can such a stupid person exist? It seems like that kid with the sword is the issue here. I think so too, but I clearly saw Luo Jia aiming for the sword's sharp edge with his fist. Humph, if I can't even take care of apprentice punks like you, I might as well smash my head into a wall and die. Attacking my friends, there are grave consequences for you to bear. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, please, no. What? My crotch just tensed up. Yunxiao, could it be that your meridians have been unclogged and you opened your chakras? Come on, get lost. If only it was that easy, but those two guys... Didn't you see that they ran into me themselves? Haha, <laughs> you could say that, but still. L. Li Yunxiao. Are you really Li Yunxiao? Both the Du and Luo families have always been at odds with your Li family. I'm afraid they'll use this incident to their advantage. If they don't keep their mouth shut about this. I'll destroy their family jewels, one at a time. I'm going back to the dorm see y'all around how vulgar. Acting like nothing happened after causing such a ruckus, he's pissing me off. Don't worry too much. If they dare send people to kill a student in the academy, they'll die faster than if they've offended the Lee family. Outsiders wouldn't dare touch someone in our Jalan Academy. But if other students did it, the academy would turn a blind eye. You mean Lan Fei? That's right. Everyone knows Du Fong is Lan Fei's lackey, and Lan Fei has already opened seven chakras. He's close to condensing his Yuan Qi and breaking into the warrior realm. The difference between a martial warrior and a martial apprentice is worlds apart, not to mention. 
Li Yunchao hasn't unclogged his meridians yet. He's not even a martial apprentice. This body is way too weak. I must somehow strengthen myself even if I haven't unclogged my meridians. Let's do this. Tyrant Body Tempering Technique The Heavenly Martial World once held a martial arts conference where the 10 strongest martial artists were given titles. They are called the Top 10 Martial Sovereigns, representing the pinnacle of martial power in the Heavenly Martial World. The one recognized as the strongest among these 10 Martial Sovereigns, it's the Tyrant Martial Sovereign, Ao Chang Kong. And this Tyrant Body Tempering Technique is the masterpiece of the Tyrant Martial Sovereign. But I obtained this body tempering technique from Tyrant Martial Sovereign by chance. The world's most powerful body tempering technique. I got this technique in my previous life and died before I could cultivate it. Now is the perfect time to start cultivating it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Why is this cultivation technique so abnormal? I feel like my whole body is about to be torn apart. No wonder that Ao Chankong's strength is so frightening, it's so painful just to get started. With this technique, even if I can't open up any chakras, it will be enough for me to cultivate to the martial sovereign level. At any rate, I was the third strongest among the top 10 martial sovereigns. Talent. Courage. Determination. I have no shortage of them. Tyrant body tempering technique first form moon and sun. If I can cultivate this tyrant body tempering technique, I'm going to be even stronger than him. Again. The moon and sun style. Jialan Academy Gravity Training Hall with the foundation laid by the Tyrant Body Tempering Technique, this body can now rely on the gravity chamber to enhance the strength of cultivation. I miss it so much. Thinking about decades ago, I also was just an ordinary martial artist like them. Listening to the legends of the great heroes, working hard day and night. Advance forward on the road of the strongest. Well, most of the people who come here voluntarily to train are still the children of poor families. This body, let's start by going to the basic tenfold gravity chamber. Tenfold gravity training hall teleportation array. Uh. Uh. Only ten times the weight of gravity is so great on this body. Fortunately, I was mentally prepared. Tenfold gravity training hall. There are about 200 cultivation chambers. A lot of people are waiting for chambers. Let's take a glance with the divine sense. That room is going to be empty. I have to master the moon and sun style as soon as possible. So that when the time comes to use drugs to shock the meridians, this body can withstand. Huh? It is not easy to have a vacant chamber. How could it be taken up by this guy? We've been waiting for most of the day for one to come out. Why is this new guy so lucky? Yeah, he seemed to know that the student in 013 was coming out. Who is this guy? Why can't I feel any primordial chi fluctuation emanating from him? Are you kidding me? The absence of primordial chi fluctuation means that one has not opened even a single chakra yet. How can an ordinary person withstand tenfold gravity? Humph, how can you new people understand the power of my divine sense? Little brother, my name is Yu Huzhen, and I am an intermediate student who has opened seven chakras, a peak level apprentice martial artist. You're new here, aren't you, little brother? Give me this chamber. Give my ass. Get out of my sight. What did you say? Whoa. The top student was dissed by a rookie. Whoa, that's embarrassing. You must be new here. Give me face today. If you need any help in the academy, just mention my name. Mention my ass. Get lost. Ha ha. You have guts. How dare you, a loser who doesn't even have primordial chi fluctuation, talk to me like that. Today, I will teach you some of the rules that a new student should follow. Today, I'll teach you some rules new students have to abide by. Ha ha ha. 
Yuan Energy. Yu Huzhing has already condensed Yuan Energy. What terrifying talent. I heard he opened his seventh chakra just last week. Condensing Yuan energy should take at least a few months, but he managed to break through to the first origin realm already? I doubt it. He should still be at the martial apprentice stage. If he really broke through to martial warrior, Yuan energy light should be showing from his body now. Right now, all I feel is Yuan energy pressure. Even then, that's still too strong. If he continues like this, he'll actually be able to enter the first origin realm in 10 days' time, tops. Brett, I'm in a good mood today. Instead of killing you, I'll just break your ribs. Roar. Concealing Tiger Fist? Your form's pretty good, but when using the Concealing Tiger Fist techniques, not only do you have to have the imposing manner of a tiger, the king of the forest, but you also need a good chance to strike. Your form is strong but you lack spirit. W was he judging him? Is this brat crazy? What makes him think he can mock a peak level martial apprentice with seven checkers? I don't think he was mocking him. Although it sounded arrogant, it still might have been true. What good will theory do when you're up against a peak level martial apprentice? Stop pretending. I'll show no mercy. Die. What's going on? Didn't the pressure of my fists lock and completely suppress him already? Why do I feel that I'm in danger? This overwhelming feeling, was he waiting for me to act? No matter how unusual his techniques are, I'm still a peak level martial apprentice. I can crush you with just my strength. Ugh. Sigh, if it were not for this body, I would have killed him already, even if it's no good, I can still make him lose an arm. What happened? Did anyone see it? That fist was strong enough to move mountains. How did it break so easily? This is too weird. This guy doesn't even have any Yuan energy fluctuations. Is he a hidden master? This brat definitely doesn't have any Yuan energy. His movements were bizarre but he didn't have enough power. Or I would have been, senior you, forget it. Lon Duo, give me five more minutes. I'll cripple this Brett. I will get this training room for you. Just leave it. He got the room first anyway. Jialan Academy Luo Lon Duo. It's you? I didn't think that you would start training your techniques when you can't strengthen yourself. That move was pretty good. But, a technique without power is, in the end, but a flower. Unfit for any use. You're not wrong. You will never beat me. The gap between our powers will only increase. Do you know who Lon Duo is? You're the young master of the Lee family. Even if you're not able to train, you still have a bright future. Why must you put yourself through this? The Lee family's young master? So he's the infamous trash of a young master? So this brat is the infamous trash of a human being. No wonder I couldn't sense any Yuan energy from him. I heard that the Lee family's young master's body is so unfit for training that even top alchemists from the Alchemist Guild can't help him. He, he I heard that this trash relentlessly went after Luo Lan Duo and only gave up after getting beaten. Humph, so what if he's of a higher status? No power means he's trash. Luo Lan Duo is famous for her beauty, of course she wouldn't like him. It seems that before my soul awoke, this body chased after that woman. My husband has to be a fearless hero, one who will become an arcane soldier of the country. Even if you are of a renowned status, you're still a martial trash. If you can defeat me one of these days, then I'll think about it. She must be mistaken, but no one knows that I've reincarnated into this body. Ha ha ha. A trash like you wanted to pursue Luo Lan Duo. How useless. I think you're mistaken. I won't fight you even if I'm not trash. If there's nothing else, I'm going to train. What's going on? He's just trash who can't even open his chakras. 
Why does one look from him make me feel so cold, like I'm falling into an abyss? What a glare. I, have I really lost my will to fight so quickly? Senior Yu, Li Yunxiao was right. Your concealing tiger fist has presence, but it lacks form. If you had learned the latter, you wouldn't have lost to Li Yunxiao. Li Yunxiao. These two black iron statues are probably centuries old. No matter the time or place, there'll always be groups of trainees who practice all day and night, following the path of the tenacious. This isn't the time to be in awe, I should really get to training. Once I've opened my chakras and fused my Yuan energies, it'll take approximately 10 years for me to return to the Nine Heavens realm. So, let's do this. Wah! Haha, ha. under the tenfold gravity, the lunar sun style's effect really has multiplied. Within three days, I'll be able to reach the level of a martial apprentice physically. When that happens, I'll have at least a 60% chance to successfully unclog my meridians. Again, when Li Yunxiao was in secluded cultivation, the story of him defeating Yu Huzhen with a single strike had spread throughout the tenfold gravity chamber. With the body of an ordinary person, he defeated a martial apprentice at the peak of the seven chakras, which deeply shocked everybody. Three days later. Whoa. Ah. Who is that? He went so far as to torture himself until he had the pallor of a ghost. Why is he so desperate to get stronger? If I remember correctly, that guy just now was Li Yunxiao, the one that beat Yu Huzhen with a single strike. It's no wonder he could defeat top martial apprentices whilst having clogged meridians. He cultivates with his life on the line. He, I heard that Luo Lan Duo promised Li Yunxiao that if he's able to defeat her, she'll give him a chance to court her. There's now way he could do that. Luo Lan Duo is one of the five strongest among ST the new students. I heard she's already reached the first origin realm and become a real martial warrior. Stop lamenting and work hard, you frivolous kids. Even some trash and a woman are ahead of us. Ah, what's wrong? What's happening? That brat smashed the black iron stone we've been practicing on for years to pieces? Is he still human? The scars have completely healed already. The tyrant body tempering technique is indeed the number one body tempering method in the world. It's even more effective than a level 9 body refining elixir wash. Now that I have the physical strength of a martial apprentice, I can also attempt some simple refining. As long as I'm able to obtain a few low-level pills, my cultivation speed will be accelerated. Humph. Ah. Young Master Yun, it's me. Fatty Han? Wah, it's not broken, is it? Your arm fell off not my fault that you snuck up on me. Shit. Is it actually broken? Why are you here? Ow. I thought you were acting a little odd last time, so I wanted to test you a bit. Young Master Yun, you are so strong now. Could it be that? Nope, I haven't opened my chakras. What are you here for? You haven't opened any chakras even though you've become so strong? Anyway, where have you been hiding the past few days? Teacher Luo Yunchang has been looking everywhere for you. Luo Yunchang? Why is that little girl looking for me? Ow. Oh. I reconnected your arm for you, little girl. Young Master Yun, have you lost your mind? And there's something more important. You might be in big trouble. Lan Fei has disappeared these past few days as well, and I heard he's cultivating in seclusion to break into the first origin realm. Lan Fei? Both Du Feng and Luo Jie are his lackeys, so when he gets out, he'll definitely come looking for you first. Calm down, it's just the first origin realm. It's just the first origin realm? Do you understand what it means to be in the first origin realm? It means that he has condensed his Yuan Qi and has broken through to the ranks of a real martial warrior. There's an immense difference between warriors and us apprentices. Chen Jin, Princess Rushiwe, and I have been worrying about you for days. 
yet here you are, saying that it's just the first origin realm. Oh, it's that Lan Fei, the leader of that group of people who continuously bothered Li Yunchao. I have something more important that I'll need you to do. What could be more important than this? Han Bai, lend me all your money. I want to buy pills. Young Master Yun, are you really not worried at all? There are over 3,000 new students, and only 30 have become martial warriors. It's very dangerous. Haha, ha, I'm so worried, but there's no use in worrying I'll definitely return the money if I'm still alive. Even when things are this bad, he can still laugh. Young Master Yun, I can tell you've changed a lot. I give up. Lan Fei. You damn trash bastard. Li Yunxiao, how dare you touch my man. Today, I shall cripple you completely. It's the glow of Yu Enqi, the sign of a martial warrior. Boss has already become a martial warrior. Boss, please avenge us. It's just the first origin realm, yet he's glowing all over to show it off. Good, there aren't any life-threatening injuries. Do you really think you're so special just because you can glow a little? Humph. Will you bow and admit to your mistakes on your own, or do I have to cripple your arms and legs first? Cripple me? How interesting. It's been a long, long time. Since I've heard such an arrogant statement. What's going on? Why do I feel so uneasy? What is this inexplicable sense of fear? It feels like, if I don't strike now, I would never have the courage to do so. How? How could I have such a feeling? This is absurd. Decisive and unambiguous. Not bad, not bad. How dare you mock me? Ah. T this trash withstood my attack? How is that possible? As a martial warrior, no, even if I were still a martial apprentice, there is no way he could withstand an attack unleashed with 120% of my strength. He he he, could this trash have opened his chakras? But if he has, why can't I feel any u inchy fluctuation from him? Ha ha, this is exhilarating. It's been a long time since I've fought with my full strength. Although my current condition is a little strange, your sword slash really felt satisfying. So come. Let me give you a few more pointers. You. I'm now a real first origin realm martial warrior. So let's see how you'll block this attack. The sword flowing gracefully like cloud, it's the flowing cloud sword technique. That technique has been passed down through the Lan family from generation to generation. This brat's dead for sure. The flowing cloud sword technique emphasizes moving the sword as swiftly as a flowing cloud, unimpeded, following one's heartbeat and guiding the sword to its target like flowing water. So what are you doing holding that glowing sword as if it were a candle? I wouldn't even have guessed that was the flowing sword technique if you hadn't shouted it out. Shut up and go to hell. Humph. You know, you're extremely lucky to have gotten some advice from me. Th, this trash hasn't even opened his chakras. How is this possible? I'm a martial warrior. Boss. Boss Lan Fei. Boss Lan Fei, be careful. W, what are you doing? Why you dare touch me? Oh, I wouldn't dare. I'm so scared. Your blow just now was so strong that it numbed my hands, so I'm afraid I'm unable to hold the sword still. As you can see, my hand is shaking quite badly. Your blow earlier has numbed my hands, so I'm afraid that I'm unable to hold the sword properly. As you can see, my hand is shaking quite a bit. And no. Remove that sword. Remove it? I was too lazy to settle my previous scores with you, but this time, you've injured Chen Jin, Han Bai, 
and even tried to kill me. Now, tell me, am I supposed to just let this slide? And no, please, I beg you. I'm still just a child. I can't lose my bird. I'll do anything you say, so please. Be merciful. Ah, the sword's near my brother, but the pain is at my crotch. If you want to keep your little bird, then give me some money. Money? Yes. Yes. I have money. What are you people staring at? If you want to live, then pay up. Can we leave now? Whoa. Huh? This jade pendant's nice, I'll take it. I can give you anything else, just not this jade pendant. The Lawn Family Protection Jade Pendant has been passed down from generation to generation. There are only five of them, and they are worn by core members of the Lawn Family. It's just a symbol of status, nothing more. If I lose this, my family would surely skin me alive. It's of no use to you, but it's extremely important to me. Your underlings had barely anything to give me. I could give you back your jade pendant, but I will make them all end up like those two instead. Or, you give me the jade pendant, and they can all leave. Damn it, my jade pendant is obviously more important. But if I choose this jade pendant over them, how can I ever look them in the eyes again? Boss Lon. Ahem. This jade pendant is extremely important to me, but when compared to my fellow brothers, it's nothing. Boss Lon. Boss Lon Fay. Let's go. I've let you off the hook very easily, yet you still want to act cool before leaving? Hey. I, I can't avoid it. Ah. I was just joking, Lon Fay. You may all leave now. You. Damn it. We're going. Wow. This is wonderful. It is indeed a five colored divine stone. You have watched long enough. It's about time you show yourself. I saw everything that happened just now. But I don't have the slightest clue as to how Li Yunchao defeated Lan Fei. Originally, I was planning on sneaking inside to restrain him first and then force him to tell me the detoxification method. Did you enjoy watching? Have you gathered everything I wanted? In any case, my cultivation is equal to that of a mid-tier warrior, more than enough to deal with Lan Fei, but now, I don't have the slightest confidence in beating this guy. What's happening? I've only gathered six batches. Some of these herbs are just too hard to find. I pretty much searched through the entire Alchemist Association, but only found enough for six batches. Six batches? All right, give them to me. Before anything else, heal them both first. What? Who do you think I am? Do you really think you can order me around like that? If you're not happy with it, then scram. I'm a rank one alchemist with prestigious status. How could I let a mere kid order me around and tell me what to do? I, I, have no other choice. I'm done. It's about time you tell me the detoxification method. I've done everything you asked for, and I'll never let you order me around again. Don't be so sure about that. You have no idea how many people have wailed and begged to be commanded by me and were rejected. I'm willing to bet that soon you'll definitely be more than happy to listen to me. What? Why, why you? Are you trying to trick me? You're lying to me. Who do you think I am? Why would I lie to a mere rank one alchemist like you? A mere rank one alchemist? Every single alchemist is honorable and extremely influential. This brat. Why is he so strong? He's so young, how dare he? T this prescription is absolutely incredible. Li Yunchao really didn't lie to me. This prescription is reliable. This youngster is too eccentric, I can't read him at all. Since I've gotten what I was promised, we're now even. I'll forget about the humiliation I suffered last time. My life is more important. 
This prescription can remove the toxins of both the hell wind stone and the blood flame orchid from your body without causing any side effects. However, when your body was being corroded by the toxins, didn't you feel your soul power weakening every time you practiced alchemy? As if there were signs of your soul power deteriorating? Haha, <laughs> the deterioration of soul power, making up for that will be hundreds of times harder than normal cultivation. Although you have been corroded by the toxins for only a short time, but with your talent, there is little hope of you breaking through to the ranks of a rank 1 alchemist again. However, I'm not trying to deal such a heavy blow to you. If you're lucky, there's a possibility that it will only take 50 years. FF 50 years, if I'm unlucky, then I'll have to stay an advanced alchemy apprentice for the rest of my life. What do you mean by saying all of this? Oh, I didn't mean much. I just so happen to know of a way to make you a real rank 1 alchemist, and within 50 days. 50 days? How is that possible? You must be lying. Even if my soul power didn't deteriorate, there is no way I would be able to break through to the ranks of a rank 1 alchemist within 50 days. Otherwise, I wouldn't have taken the risk and used the Hellwind Stone. You can't fool me. Who do you think you are? Do you think it's worth my time to fool you? Li Yunxiao's words are too suspicious. But becoming an alchemist is too great of a temptation for me. How could I give it up? My apologies. I was too shocked just now. Do you really have a way for me to recover my soul power within 50 days? Not only recovering your soul power, but also making you a real rank 1 alchemist. What would I have to do for you to help me? Be my servant. Preposterous. You're just an ignorant kid, and yet you want to make a rank 1 alchemist your servant? Not happening. Did you really think you're qualified to be my servant? You're only qualified to be my servant for 50 days. Once 50 days have passed, you'll have to scram. T this brat isn't pretending it's as if it's an unquestionable truth that I'm not qualified to be his servant. What the fuck is this situation? Who the hell is this brat? A lunatic? But how could a lunatic identify my problems with just one glance and have the cure to those problems? I had even scoured the entire alchemist's association for a cure, but didn't find anything inside Jiarom's consciousness. Do you feel aggrieved to be my servant? No shit. Of course I feel aggrieved. What's going on? What the hell is he doing? How can a child exert such powerful and crushing pressure? Just who is this brat? I am scared. This is terrifying. With such a crushing pressure targeted at my soul, if he wanted to, he could disintegrate it at any time. I will give you three breaths time. Do you accept my offer or not? Do I accept or not? If I do, there's a chance I could rise to the top. If I don't, I might regret it for the rest of my life. I. I do. Not bad. You were quite decisive. You will realize later on just how lucky you would have made the correct choice here. Cultivate following the instructions on that paper. If you can't advance to a rank 1 alchemist within 5 days, that means you lack aptitude, and that means you aren't qualified to be my servant. If that's the case, you needn't come to see me again. This prescription. Soul cultivation art. This is really the soul cultivation art. It's only the trashiest of all the soul cultivation techniques, but it's still enough for you to completely recover within five days and break through to rank one. M Master S. Soul cultivation. Is this real life? Master, Master. Just call me Young Master Yun. As long as you behave well, I won't be stingy when rewarding you. You may go now. I'll look for you at the Alchemists Association if I need anything. Yes, young Master Yun. The most important part of an alchemist's cultivation is to nourish their soul power. However, ordinary alchemists can only increase it at an extremely slow rate through constant crafting. Legend says that there exist ways to directly refine soul power, but these methods have only rarely been described in some classics, and it was a mystery as to whether they really existed. 
I never would have expected that I, Jiarong, would get my hands on something like this. I finally understand why I was trembling. He must have used the legendary soul dementing technique on me. Why else would an ordinary child possess such a strong soul pressure? He gave me the precious soul cultivating technique as if it were something he found on the streets. Nobody in the entire state of Tianchue, no, not even in the imperial palace is as generous as him. In any case, with this soul cultivating technique, even being a slave for him for several years wouldn't be a loss. I really can't understand just who exactly is young Master Yun. The cultivators on the Tianwu continent are basically divided into two types. The martial cultivators and the alchemy cultivators. The former mainly specialized in the cultivation of qi, while a very small number specialized in the cultivation of their bodies, the so-called ordinary martial warriors. The latter specialized in the cultivation of the soul, namely, the alchemists. These three correspond to the spirit, energy, and soul, and they all have the potential of becoming an existence capable of shaking the entire content if trained to a certain extent. But Li Yunxiao, who had cultivated both his energy and soul to that of a rank 9 sovereign, knew the importance of the complementary between the three. The few martial sovereigns that are at the top of the Feng Yun rankings had all cultivated two of the three to the peak, which was what made them far stronger than anyone else. It was only after Gu Feying was trapped at the pinnacle of the Nine Heavens realm that he realized his physical body prevented him from breaking through which drove him to do everything in his power to obtain the tyrant body tempering technique. Only when one's body, chi, and spirit are all at their peak can one attempt to break through to the legendary, Ten Worlds Realm. My soul power really did recover quickly. With the divine soul expansion technique, I'll definitely be able to cultivate my soul power to the peak of the sovereign realm. Coupled with the tyrant's body tempering technique, when all three become one, I'll be able to break through to the Ten Worlds Divine Realm and become invincible. I'll use this five-colored divine stone to craft the thirteen divine needles, which will be enough to arouse the potential of this body and allow me to unclog my meridians. Jiarong's quite good at handling affairs. These materials aren't bad. Use my soul power to control the materials. I can rely on my experience as a top-ranking alchemist from my previous life, refine the five-colored divine stone, configure the marrow-cleansing medicines, and use my soul power to combine the refined stone and medicines with the engraved array all in one go. Turning something only a rank one alchemist is able to do into something that can easily be done with the strength of an advanced apprentice alchemist. Combine the medicines. Congeal the needles. The medicines have been refined. Go. Needles, enter the medicines. Divine needles insert into the body. And unclog the meridian points. Chakras open. Only five chakras were opened. The five-colored divine stone is extremely effective at arousing the body's potential. I'll have to find a way to obtain the other four jade pendants from the Lan family. Young Master Yun, Lan Fei and his lackeys have gone too far. Just look at young Master Yun's pallor. You must have been poisoned by him. Does he really dare to kill us? I'm going to gather 10,000 men and kill them all. Young Master Yun, are you all right? This poison looks so frightening. Oh, the medicine's residue hasn't faded yet. This is just a misunderstanding. I'll tell you what actually happened. Young Master Yan, you mean you kicked them all in the asses and even robbed them? Young Master Yan, you're saying you unclogged your meridians and even opened five chakras? That's right. Haha, <laughs> I knew it. How could General Fei Long's son be a loser? Without so much as a word, you've suddenly become stronger than all of us. Once the three of us graduate, we'll inherit our family's titles of nobility and assemble an army to destroy the Lan family's brats. Young Master Yun may have opened his chakras, but that means the danger has also grown. Lan Fei and his lackeys will definitely be back for revenge. 
I'm afraid young Master Yun will be in danger. They're just a bunch of rascals. They're already no match for young Master Yun now, so they definitely won't be in the future. What, do you think they'll send outsiders to cause trouble in the academy? Don't forget, in the country of Tenshue, there are only two people who have reached Ed the Five Elements realm and became martial kings. One of them is Jialan Academy's headmaster, Zhong Lishan. He's also considered to be the strongest man in the entire country. Even if the emperor came to visit the academy, he'd have to obey the academy's rules. So within the academy, you can only rely on your own strength. After all, our academy doesn't prohibit students from fighting with each other. Lan Fei is definitely not a problem. But did you forget about the man who's ranked third in the academy's mini phone Yun ranking? Are you talking about? The Lan family's other descendant, Lan Fei's half-brother, Lan Xian? Oh no, we're in trouble. This academy's mini phone Yun ranking isn't even worth mentioning. Back in the day, I was ranked third in the entire continent's Feng Yun ranking. Lan Xian is graduating this year. And it's said that he's a martial master that's already starting to break through to the two forces realm. A martial master? He'll be able to join the country's guardian forces as soon as he graduates. Yeah, an 18-year-old martial master is considered a rare genius even in the whole country. At the rate he's progressing, there's a good chance he'll become a deputy commander of the guardians. It's almost the end of the year. I hope we'll be able to stay alive until he graduates. He's a martial master, so he won't trouble himself with such a small trifle, right? Don't worry, he'll definitely come find me. And if he doesn't, I'll go find him. Ah, young Master Yun, I beg you, please don't make this even worse. I can't wait to get my hands on Lan Xian's five-colored divine stone. Uncle, there's no way I'm going to let this go. Shut up, you idiot. You almost made a big mistake. Fortunately, Lan Xian is in secluded cultivation, or your mother's years of nurturing would have been completely ruined. What? Wang Feng Jialan Academy teacher. It's not that serious. I just wanted Brother Xian to teach that trash a lesson and vent my anger. Vent your anger? Humph. Why are you calling him Xian Ge as if you're close with him? You're such a muddle-headed fool. That piece of trash from the Lan family is nothing. You must understand that your worst enemy is Lan Xian. If Lan Xian finds out that you, the Lan family's direct descendant, have lost your inheritance, you would be reprimanded by the family and fall out of favor. You may even lose your status as a direct descendant and be demoted to a collateral descendant. What should I do? Uncle, you must help me. Don't worry, you're my dear sister's son. If I don't help you, who else would I help? I'll apply to be the chief examiner of our academy's annual assessment that will be held in seven days. Didn't you say that Li Yunxiao hasn't opened any chakras? As long as he can't show his chakra glow, I can use the academy's rules to expel him. Once he leaves the academy, we'll retrieve the jade. As for the brat, you can do whatever you want to him. Seven more days? Whenever I think of the humiliation I received that day, I want to skin him alive. Humph. If you can't tolerate something as trivial as this, how will you accomplish great things in the future? I'm feeling quite anxious for my sister. The gap between you and Lan Xian is still too large. Fine. I will listen to uncle and let that brat live for seven more days. However, I won't let him have an easy time in these seven days. I have a few things I can do to ruin his reputation and I'll need some help from you, uncle. What ideas do you have? All right. Go ahead. If this works, then we won't need to wait for seven days. As expected of the son of my dear sister. I've underestimated you, my nephew. Bahaha. H.M.? Who is it? Disrupting me cultivating my divine soul expansion technique. Those two are the thieves? To Li Yunxiao. When the moon rises above the willow tree, two lovers tryst at the maple grove. 
When the moon is full on this lonely night, she is willing to be together with him. Yours truly, Luo Landuo. A love letter? Luo Landuo. The Maple Grove, huh? He he. Quick. Go plant the stuff. That piece of trash will be dead meat for sure this time. Revenge sure is bliss. Yep. Young Master Lan Fei is so wise. That brat probably has his head in the clouds right now just thinking about his date. Humph. He should at least take a good look at himself in the mirror before dreaming. Luo Lan Duo is famous for being an extremely proud woman. How could someone like her ever take interest in a piece of trash? Ha ha ha. All right, that's enough. Let's get out of here before he realizes. There'll be a good show tonight. Done. Ha ha ha. Let's dip now. Ha. I wonder what they're up to. Well, well, cute little lawn fade, since you want to play dirty, then I shall play this game with you. The Maple Grove is a cultivation area inside the Jialan Academy. When it's nighttime, the grove turns into a dating sanctuary. It's the favorite trysting spot for the, uh, horny masses. Kia. Help. Someone. Help. Stop running. Senior. Senior, help me. You little slut. You should feel honored that I've taken a liking to you. Senior. S. Senior? Stop right there if you don't want to die. Someone is TR trying to A. A. Assault me. Please H. Help me. Senior, I'll do anything, please. Brat. If you don't want to die, then fuck off. Ah. This chick is mine. No. Please. Kia. Piss off already, kid. I'm about to do my thing. Kia. Save me. Please. Save me. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll come save you right away. Will he save her? Or will he take advantage of the situation? Ow. Brett, how dare you steal my girl? Do you know who I am? I'm the Imperial Guard Commander Lu Siki's son, Lui Tian. Oh, so you're Lui Tian. I'm not the one saving you, huh? They are. What? Lui Tian, how could you do something this shameful? Teacher Fong, you've seen it for yourself. This brat's a good for nothing animal. Jialan Academy's Dean of Students, Fong Booping. T. Teacher Fong. The Dean of Students, Fong Booping, is nicknamed the God of Slaughter. T. Teacher, I was wrong. Lui Tian, you. Huh? Why is Teacher Fong here? You animal. Ah. We can't spare this animal. Let's beat him to death. Kill Louis Tian. This pervert tried to rape his junior sister. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Go to hell. Die. Are you all right? What's your name? Why were you with that animal? And my name is Ming Wu. I. Junior sister, don't be scared. Look, you're sweating all over from fright. As long as I'm here, nobody's gonna bully you. Ah, why you? H.E. He He saw through us? Don't be scared. It's fortunate that Li Yunxiao sent someone to inform me. If he didn't, the consequences could have been unthinkable. Yunxiao, take care of Ming Wu. I'll go check on that animal and make sure he hasn't been killed. Go ahead, teacher phone. There's no need to worry, Ming Wu's in good hands. So Li Yunxiao was the one behind this. It seems like he's already seen through Ming Wu. Boss, what now? If we don't save Lui Tian, he'll be killed. Save Lui Tian, my ass. You brainless pig. If we go out now, wouldn't we be walking right into the trap? We'll have to sacrifice Lui Tian. With phone booping here, he's not gonna die. Has everything been put in place? Yes, everything's been put in place. Boss, you can count on us to handle the affairs. 
Unlike some people, not only did they fail in handling the affairs, but they also almost let the prey escape. Li Yunchao, you might have escaped this one, but let's see how you're going to deal with the next. Protagonist, come out. Don't be scared, everything's fine now. That pervert has been completely crippled. This animal's already crippled. How ruthless. I learned from the best. You may all leave. I'll report everything that happened here today to the headmaster. Louis Tien brought this upon himself. He can't blame anybody. It's not appropriate for you to keep hugging her. If one of you knows her, can you send her back? I'm from the same dormitory as her. All right, if anything happens, feel free to report to me. Okay. Junior sister, don't be scared, you're safe now. There's no need to thank me, I'm just doing the right thing. If you need help, come find me. Don't leave. What's wrong? Oh, teacher phone? I'm so glad you're here. There's a thief in the academy, an extremely perverted one at that. Many female students' underwear was stolen. What? Stealing girls' underwear? No way, that's so perverted. Princess, you're here too? I also lost something. Teacher phone, you must find and catch that perverted thief. Somebody saw the thief running in the direction of Maple Grove. Ha ha, Li Yunchao, you piece of trash, you are finished. Many female students may have lost their underwear, but Lan Fei, what does that have to do with you? Why did a normally indifferent son of a distinguished family suddenly get so fired up? Yeah, what does this have to do with him? T this, I. I saw the thief running here with my own eyes. Boss Lan Fei couldn't bear it any longer, so he personally brought everyone to help catch the thief. Yeah, I've brought everyone here to catch the thief. As a student at the academy, I have this obligation and responsibility. Why did you change the topic? Is it because you're guilty? I think there's a pretty good chance that the thief is you, Li Yunchao. Yeah. Now that boss mentioned it, I remembered that the thief's figure was extremely similar to that guy's. Young Master Fei, why are you slandering me? What are you trying to do? Here it comes. To prove your innocence, you should let us search your dorm. If you refuse, it'll be hard for us not to suspect you. Why should I do as you say? Who do you think you are? I don't think Li Yunchao would do something like that. Ming Kuen, are you sure you saw that thief clearly? Huh? Lying to the princess is a serious crime. Um, I could be beheaded or even cause my entire family to be executed. Yes, I saw the thief clearly. There's no doubt that it was Li Yunchao. Ha ha, Li Yunchao, do you have anything else to say? Teacher Fong, you can search my dorm. But if it proves my innocence, I'd like an explanation from Lan Fei. Problem. On. If you're really innocent, I'll give you an explanation. In that case, I believe that Teacher Fong will be fair. Sai, Princess, there's no need to worry. I, Li Yunchao, have always done things in an honest and just manner. I do not believe that evil will win against good. And I thought something was off. I don't think it's him. Wrong people who've done something wrong usually wouldn't act like this. This Li Yun Xiao fellow seems to be quite the upstanding person. Like hell I believe you. Now then, may everyone follow me to my dorm in order to prove my, Li Yun Xiao's, innocence. That idiot, there's clearly something off with this idea. Someone is obviously trying to frame you, you dumb ass. Eh? Teacher Wang, why are you here? Jialan Academy teacher Wang Fong, Lan Fei's uncle. I heard that a perverted thief was stirring up trouble, so I decided to check it out. HM? Teacher Fong, you're here as well? If you came to check it out, why are you in front of my dorm? Didn't Meng Kuen say the thief ran towards the autumn forest? You're really efficient. You didn't even bother wasting energy to walk to the forest. Wang Fong, what's going on here? 
Hoof just like you. I'm here to catch the thief. Since the thief is so perverse, I propose that we expel him immediately after his capture to prevent hurting the students. Catching the thief is good, but anyone who dares to play tricks to wrong innocent people will not be forgiven. Of course we have to be fair and just. Only then will everyone be satisfied. When the thief is caught, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Since Teacher Wang is being fair, I'm relieved. Please prove my innocence, everyone. Search however you like. Let's see if I'm the pervert Lan Fei calls me. Go in and search. Meng Kuen, go help search as well. Sure. If anyone dares to blame an innocent, I'll be the first to expel him. I'll go in as well. If Meng Kuen really pulled something, I'll be able to stop it in time. Since everyone feels worried, why not have all of us go in together? Since you're all interested in my bedroom, let's look inside. Main Kuen, look carefully. Don't miss out on any spots. Mm -hmm, okay. What? Ah. Repeat that. Main Kuen, your boss asked you to search properly. 50, why are you still standing here? This bedroom is not that big. I don't see much point in continuing to search. It seems that Li Yunxiao is cleared of any suspicion. The thief must be someone else. Li Yunxiao must have known what would have happened. He made me worry for nothing. Since Li Yunxiao is innocent, please leave. Leave? You just said the thief must be someone else. Are you not going to catch him anymore? The academy is massive. As of now, we don't have a witness or any evidence, so it would be hard to search for them like this. The Academy will deal with this incident. Perhaps what Meng Kuen said earlier was a lie. Then I would suspect Lan Fei. Li Yunxiao, don't you dare bring me into this. My innocence has been proven, so it's your turn to give me an explanation. What do you want? Simple. We'll just check your dorm as well, to prove your innocence. Of course, I'm not suspecting our prideful young Fei. I'm just being petty. Pe Humph. Since I said I'd give you an explanation, I'll keep my word. If you want to search, then I'll let you search. Lan Fei looks like he's not winning this fight against Li Yunxiao. I better run. I'm never doing this again. Lan Fei's dormitory. Search however you like, but if you break anything, I fear that you poor souls can't pay up. Search. Sure he he he. Young Yun, we can't open this chest. This chest is where I keep my private possessions. Only this key of mine can open it. Wait a minute. What the? Silence. That's impossible. Li Yunxiao. You're framing me. Framing you? You just said that this is your private chest, and it can't be opened without your key. You. So it's you, you beast. Expel him. You pervert. The principal must expel you. Eh? Other than the normal female undergarments, why is half of it soap? He, don't you know? I heard that Lan Fei other than being a pervert, would also go to the men's bathroom, throw soap around, and force people to pick them up. Ah, that's so perverted. Li Yunxiao, why you? Everyone, I believe that the truth is apparent. Not only did Lan Fei steal women's underwear, he also preyed on students in the men's bathroom. It's despicable. But rules are rules. Although we feel angry, hatred cannot bring true justice, but since the teachers are here, we'll let Teacher Fong and Teacher Wang judge this fairly. Judge him 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 fairly. This trash who usually lazes around plotted something like this. Judge him fairly. Everyone, be at peace. I will inform the principal immediately. 
I will give everyone a good explanation once we decide how to deal with this. Don't worry, sisters. If the academy decides to let this pervert stay, we will riot at the principal's place. If that doesn't work, then we'll riot at my father's. I cannot coexist with this pervert. That's all. Yes. We cannot coexist. We can't coexist. We cannot coexist. Judge him fairly. We cannot coexist. Judge him fairly. Uncle. Please save me. We cannot coexist. Judge him fairly. Humph. We don't know a useless person. We cannot coexist. Judge him fairly. Uncle. We cannot coexist. Judge him fairly. Ah. Justice served. Soon, the Academy decision was released to the public. All the evidence pointed to Lon Fay being the underwear thief, and all Academy representatives unanimously approved his expulsion. Young Yun, we got some news. Do you want to hear the good or bad one first? The good news must be Lon Fay's expulsion. What is the bad news? Great prediction. The bad news is that this year's exam is supervised by Lon Fell's uncle, Wang Fong. We're doomed. We're not passing this time. What doom? If he doesn't do his work properly, I'll just make him suffer the same fate as Lan Fei. Young Yun, you're really brave. But you better not mess around. Lan Fei was just a student. Wang Fang's an actual teacher. Humph, I don't give a fuck about him. Any news about Lan Xian? Lan Xian? I had totally forgotten about him until now. Lan Xian has announced that he will avenge his brother. We're in trouble now. Oh? The Rainbow Heavenly Stone is waiting for you perfect. Alchemist Guild 4th Floor Meeting Chamber. Condense. Fall. Master Su, please take a look. This Sun Smashing Axe has become a first tier superior Xian weapon. Yun Chang, you have passed the exam. Tianchue Alchemist Guild Master Su Han. Thank you, Master Su, and to all of you masters. This was a result of your hard work. It has nothing to do with us. I'm just curious, how did you melt the karmet into red copper? You failed on this task in previous exams. By itself, red copper has great melting ability when combined with gold, but the reaction is too violent. So, I added the sky crystal sand as a cooling agent to slow the reaction. My previous failures were due to sky crystal sand's attribution being water, which neutralists the red copper's fire attribute. But this worsens the red copper's ability to melt properly. So this time, I simply treated the sand as an impurity and used refinement to remove it. I see. Yun Shang, your ability to discover this secret is proof of your intelligence. Our Tianchue now has another talented alchemist. Tomorrow, I will send someone to inform His Majesty. He will throw a feast for his subjects to celebrate for you. Great job, Yun Shang. It's really this simple. Li Yunchao really is good. It's like everyone here isn't adept with this kind of refinement either. Master Su, please ask His Majesty not to have a feast. I don't like too much publicity. In Tianchui, whenever someone gets promoted to a first-tier alchemist or steps into the Three Powers realm and becomes a great martial master, the king would throw a feast and invite all dignitaries to celebrate. Yun Shang, you are the most gifted person among the younger generation of Tianchui, reaching the Four Quadrants realm, and now you've become a first-tier alchemist. You've made His Majesty throw a feast for you twice in just three years. Alchemist Guild Yen Lei For hundreds of years, Lord Yang Di was the only person I can remember who had such honor. Master Yen, how can I ever compare to Lord Yang Di? You're flattering me. Don't be so humble. Although Lord Yang Di was talented, he also benefited from being the disciple of the ninth tier alchemist, Gu Fei Yang. That's his luck. If you are lucky in the future, you might surpass Lord Yang Di. You just need a good teacher. Today, 
the Alchemist Guild must celebrate. But we've gotten two first-tier alchemists in just one year. Jia Rong and you are both the rising stars of Qianchui. President Su, I agree with you saying Yun Shang is a rising star. As for Jia Rong, Alchemist Guild Su Yuanqiao. If I'm not wrong, he must be deeply poisoned by now. What do you mean by that, Su Yuanqiao? It's simple. Master Su, I'll excuse myself. You've passed the exam, you're already an official first-tier alchemist, that means you're a core member of the Alchemist Guild. There's no need to keep classified information from you. Continue, Su Yuanqiao. I found out that Jia Rong cheated in his last exam, he used the band item, Hellwind Stone. What? Using a Hellwind Stone is a major offense. Also, the side effect of the Hellwind Stone will destroy him. That's preposterous. We need to get rid of him. Su Yuan Xiao, careful with your words. I know that you never liked Jia Rong. You've always made it hard for him ever since he was a martial apprentice, but you can't just accuse him without evidence. Randomly accuse him? I'm afraid he's poisoned deep into his marrow. I've sent someone to check on what he bought after ascending to a first-tier alchemist, and they're all antidotes. Five days ago, he was crazily purchasing various highly poisonous materials and has been in deep seclusion until now. He must have been very desperate and tried to fight fire with fire. But the Hell Windstone's poison can't be relieved easily, even detoxing pills won't work. I believe he must be completely crippled now. Bring Jia Rong here. No matter what he's doing, he must come at once. Master Su Han is one of the only two third-tier Grand Masters in Tianchue. His position of great reverence isn't inferior to His Majesty. Su Han would never allow such a fraud to stain the pride of all alchemists. President, I just heard that you've also got promoted to a first-tier alchemist. You're indeed talented. Among the five commanders of the State Guardians, your overall strength is the strongest. You're flattering me, Lord Jia. The other commanders have strength beyond my own. My luck was just better. Humph. President Su, I'm currently refining in seclusion. May I know why I was summoned in a hurry? Could it be that we're celebrating Yun Shang's promotion? Humph. I didn't think you could pretend as if you're fine at a time like this. That's weird. Jia Rong shouldn't be looking this well at all. Su Yuan Xiao suspects that you used a hell windstone in your last exam. This is the result of his investigations into you over the past few days. I need you to give us an explanation right now. This bastard. He sent someone to follow and investigate me. I'm lucky enough that Yang Yun relieved my body of the poison and gave me the soul training technique where I would have been crippled and destroyed without any hope for recovery. Master Yun, my respect for you is like a never-ending river flowing into the biggest lake. Like the yellow river pouring out, one that can't be cleaned up. Su Yuan Xiao, you bastard. I think you owe me an explanation. His hands look as fair as jade. There is not a hint of corrosion from a hell windstone. H. How? How did you treat the poison of a hell windstone? I want to use divine sense to examine your body thoroughly. Even if you can cure the poison, there is no way the power of your soul can reach the level of an alchemist. I will expose you, Faker. Examining me, with the likes of you? Why you? How is your soul power so strong? I'm a true alchemist. My soul power is naturally stronger than those of Faker's. You. Fine, fine. Su Yuan Xiao, why do you even bother with this? P. President, I. I. I'm already old and fragile. I want to retire and return home to spend my remaining years in the countryside. Please approve my request. Su Yuan Xiao was knocked down by Jia Rong with just one move? His soul power dropped even lower than a martial apprentice. His body has also weakened from age. I've only practiced the soul training technique Yun Yun gave me for five days, and I already managed to beat Su Yuan Xiao. 
Yun Yun, who exactly are you? With this technique, I would be his slave for not only 50 days, but 50 years. Jia Rong, your progress is very surprising. I did not expect such a stable soul power since you were only just promoted. Help me give this alchemist badge to Yun Chun. Yes, President. Master Jia, have you ever considered taking in a disciple? A disciple? I have a student who cannot practice martial arts due to his physique. But he is very interested in alchemy and has a lot of knowledge in that field through self-learning. Lord Yunchang is one of the five state guardians. Your strength and leadership are beyond me. You are an alchemist yourself and we are on the same level. So, why ask me? He is quite special and as the commander of the state guardians, I am not the right person to teach him. To tell you the truth, he is the eldest grandson of Duke Jingwa, the son of General Phylong. I see, I've also heard that, I don't think I've met him before if he's a martial idiot. But Lord Yunchan should know, an idiot like him has a weak body, and that makes it difficult to achieve success in alchemy as well. I know, but there is something special about him. I hope that you can at least guide him to become an apprentice alchemist. Just as a way to keep our promise to Duke Jingwa. In that case, I'll meet this student. I'll take him in, but only if he meets the minimum standards of an apprentice alchemist. Thank you, Lord Jia, for doing this favor. Jia Rong is a young alchemist with a great future. Letting Yun Chao follow him is my way of repaying the favor. Three days later, the annual exam in Jialan Academy. The Jialan Academy exam venue was sponsored by the previous alchemist guild president, Yang Di himself. The students who passed would be promoted to intermediate class in the next semester, while those who failed would have to pack their things and leave the campus. Every year, a large number of students from powerful families were eliminated. I heard that this statue was crafted by Yang Di after I died 15 years ago. I suppose he's kind of thoughtful. I've only opened two chakras, will I be eliminated? Don't worry, as long as you have opened one chakra, you can be promoted to the next class. Just make sure you're not like the infamous young master of the Lee family, the typical loser, he's the one who'll get eliminated. Ha ha ha. Just ignore them, they're only here to watch us trash-stricken class students fail. Although there's quite a number of us in the class, there were many poor students as well. I think more than a dozen have already given up and packed their belongings to go home. Teacher Luo Yunchang is currently in secluded cultivation, so I'll be the one to preside over your assessments this year. Most of the examiners are present, so let's not wait for those who aren't. They're immediately disqualified. I'll slightly change the rules this time. In the past, those who had opened the chakras or could throw out a punch with a force of over a thousand pounds would pass. But many students cheated by consuming pills to increase their power, so this year, you must do both in order to pass. Otherwise, you are disqualified. Who will be the first? If Li Yunchao can beat Lan Fei, then he must be able to exert a strength of over a thousand pounds. I'll just make the exam harder so he fails. He he. What are you looking at? Do you want me blind you with my fingers? Open your eyes and watch me. Root Chakra Sacral Chakra Solar Plexus Chakra Heart Chakra Throat Chakra Third Eye Chakra Crown Chakra Seven Chakras Opened Seven He's opened all seven chakras. How is that possible? Wasn't he trash? This can't be. That famous loser is only a step away from the origin realm. How did he open his chakras? I remember that the Lee family once invited a fourth-tier alchemist to help him, but even he couldn't do anything. The fact that Li Yun Zhao's chakras were damaged and rendered him unable to cultivate made him a laughingstock among everyone. I thought he was only able to defeat Lan Fei with the help of pills or by vigorously training his body. Look carefully. Having strength isn't some great feat. That's impossible. Leaving cracks and marks on rocks? 
Isn't that something only a martial warrior can do? Look at that crack. Even a martial warrior might have not been able to make one that big. He must have used some kind of technique. Whoa, Li Yun Xiao. How did you hide such power so well? Lan Fei, you trash. How could you not sense that your opponent had such strong energy? Now, is everyone satisfied? Teacher Wang, I'm quite busy, so I'll be taking my leave. Teacher Wang phone got slapped in the face. He had to eat his words. Don't think you're so powerful just because you opened your checkers. Let me tell you, this is just the beginning. Ha 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 ha. Let me introduce myself. I'm Lan Xian, a graduating student and the leader of the Xian gang. It's Lan Xian. Whoa, it really is Lan Xian. Wasn't he in seclusion? Has he already reached the first origin realm? Hey, good dogs don't block the way. Good dogs don't block the way you. Hey, I won't make a fuss about that. I came here today for my good-for-nothing brother. Oh? Looks like the big dog came after I beat the little one. Are all the members of the Lee family as uncultured as you? Uncultured my ass. What? After all these years of fighting between our families and me crippling your little brother, you have come to reason with me? Are you an idiot? Bastard. I've had enough of your nonsense. I'll make you regret the day you were born. Hee hee, that's more like it. A ruffian will be a ruffian, why even bother pretending? You, I'm not here to argue, but to give you a letter of challenge. It's true that my good-for-nothing brother behaved improperly and deserved to be expelled. But as his eldest brother, I can't just turn a blind eye. I'll have to teach you a lesson. So it really was Lan Fei who did it. I thought he was just framed. Did Lan Xian just admit that his brother did it? That's brutal. I'll give you two choices. Either get down on your knees right now and swear to never mess with the Lan family. Or challenge me. I'll make you regret your actions after completely destroying you. Considering how difficult it is for you to cultivate, I advise you to choose the first option. Lan Xian, you're crossing the line. How cruel. If he chooses the first option, how will he be able to hold his head high in the future? That's right. But if he doesn't, he'll die fighting Lan Xian. You've gone too far this time. You're a graduating student, and I even heard you have become a nine-star warrior. You're just a step away from becoming a martial master and joining the state guardians. And yet you are challenging an apprentice warrior? Have you no shame? When the younger brother is gay and has a quirk of stealing girls' underwear, the elder brother is not far from that. Since when did the Lan family have any shame? If you lack the courage to make a choice, just say it. Why are you hiding behind a woman? So this is the eldest grandson of Duke Jinghua and the son of General Phylong? Ha ha. Although you have no shame, I accept your challenge. In three days, I'll beat you to your knees in this martial arts arena and make you lick my shoes. No, Yun Xiao, you can't just accept it. Yeah. Don't be so impulsive. Although this body has been in a muddle for 15 years and has achieved nothing, it still has a few true friends. Compared to my old life, standing at the top of the world alone. Don't worry. Eh? Make sure to keep your word. If you don't show up in three days, there will be no place for you in Jialan Academy. Don't worry, I won't wash my feet for three days. All bark and no bite. If I don't completely cripple you, my name isn't Lan Xian. The Li family and the Lan family have had bad relations for decades. I will start with you little bastards, then I'll uproot the entire Lan family when the time is right. Alchemist Guild Alchemist Tower Just a bit more cross-refining grass, balance my soul power. That's way too much cross-refining grass. Put it in dust flour to neutralize the medicinal properties, or it'll explode in five breaths. What? Four breaths. One breath, eh? This martial apprentice Lu Yu. 
H, how did you know I put too much cross-refining grass? Well, I just smelled it. Anyways, I'm looking for Jiarong. Can you notify him? Smelled it? Master Jia seems to always be in seclusion, and I don't have the qualifications to meet him either. Brother, did you fail again? Did you get hurt anywhere? I'm fine. It's just that I've wasted materials. Sigh. I'm so useless. Miss Lu Yao. Ah. It's you. Madam hasn't forgotten me. I'm truly honored. Master Liang spoke highly of you after he read your prescription. Tianxue Alchemist Guild Receptionist Lu Yao. Master Liang praised you? Are you an alchemist too? I was, but I'm currently not. I'm looking for Jia Rong. Please notify him for me, madam. Master Jia? He just came out of seclusion. Follow me. Don't give up. You'll eventually succeed. Just a few more attempts. Sister, you've always been the one earning money for my studies. I don't wish to burden you anymore. Maybe I just don't have the talent to become an alchemist. Brother, please don't say that. You have to believe in yourself. You're always the best in my eyes. Next time, just put three less blades of grass. If the potion is too pale in color, add a crossing cloud mushroom. Trust me. A, are you really an alchemist? Brother, just try out this method. Master Liang praised him for his prescription last time. Okay. Okay. I'll try it. We've arrived. Master Jia. Arg. Jia Rong. It's me. Yun Yun. Open the door. Ah. You can't. Yun Yun. Eh? Miss Lu Yao, you can go back now, thank you. What has happened to the prideful Master Jia? Okay. It's like he's a novice who just found a secret technique to boost his soul power. Young Yun, I recovered my soul power and also made a breakthrough. A real breakthrough. Ugh, I don't have the time to listen to such trifles. I came here to ask you to help me refine some pills. Yes, yes. An origin impacting pill and an origin blasting pill. An origin eye impacting pill and an origin B blasting pill. These two pills are close to the second tier. I've only just been promoted to the first tier. I'm afraid I cannot refine them. I'm here. What are you afraid of? Prepare the ingredients. I don't have much time. Is Young Yun going to guide me on refining pills? Could he be an alchemist? How is that possible? I only need one for each pill. Why did you prepare three sets of ingredients? Um, it's... Young Yun is definitely not an alchemist. He doesn't even know about the success rate of pill refinement. A first-tier alchemist can refine a first-tier pill with a success rate of only 60%. The success rate of refining a pill that is close to the second tier is even lower. In fact, three sets of ingredients may not be enough. You can start refining. Just follow my instructions. Fool. Careful on balancing the medicinal strength. Yes. Purify the herbs first, idiot. Okay. So stupid. S sorry. It's fusing. Quick. Oh, okay. Retrieve. An origin impacting pill and origin blasting pill. I really did it. And I refined both at the same time. Oh, heavens. What did I do just now? How is this even possible? Young Yun, you can call me an idiot or a fool as long as you guide me in refining. I will really become an outstanding alchemist. Why is the purity so low? You refine such trash, and yet you still have the nerve to shout? By the looks of it, you are totally exhausted. Looks like I'll have to purify them myself. How troublesome. My soul power of an advanced apprentice level is more than enough. P purification? Objects can be further purified? I thought that purification was only possible for ingredients. I've never seen Young Yun's refining hand seals. 
they must contain something deep within. Done, phew. This is the best I can do now, my soul power is too weak. With this origin impacting pill, I will be able to break through the origin realm in three days. I'll save the origin blasting pill just in case. Just now, you used a total of 72 hand seals. Flawless pills. Not only was Young Yun able to purify finished pills, but he also made them look flawless. I want to follow him forever. It worked. I finally did it. I must immediately cultivate in seclusion. If I want to defeat Lan Xian, I need to condense Yuan energy and step into the origin realm too. Li Yunxiao's thousand pound strength opened all seven chakras. He he. Lan Fei's expulsion, Li Yunxiao accepted Lan Xian's battle challenge. Yun Shang, many interesting things have happened while you were in seclusion. These kids from powerful families are getting bored day by day. It might be good to let them fight. What's more important now is you, Yun Shang. Jialan Academy Dean Zhong Lishan. You're only 21 years old, and yet, you've achieved three stars of the Four Quadrants realm, as well as become a first-tier alchemist. You have a bright future. I plan to inform everyone during the feast that I'm promoting you to the Vice Dean of Jialan Academy. This Li Yun Chao, wasn't he a trash who couldn't open even one chakra? Don't refuse it, you're cultivating soul power, and you're also one of the five commanders of the State Guardians, no. Principal, we have to stop them. Let's talk about the other stuff later. Eh? Yun Chang? How can Li Yun Chao beat Lan Xian? He's dead meat. I heard that he's a piece of trash who has no chakras opened. Impossible, Yun Chang. This kid's scheming is very deep. I'm afraid that he's already in the first origin realm. What? A breakthrough. No, even if he has broken into the first origin realm, he's still no match for Lan Xian. Lan Xian ranks third on the minor power chart, but I fear he's only one step away from becoming a martial master. I just got some advice from him and I could finally become a first tier alchemist. I cannot stand seeing him get beat up by someone else. He he then I'll come with you. I want to see the level of the students nowadays. Rank third on the minor power chart? He he, how interesting. Jialan Academy, tenfold gravity chamber. Lan Duo, that trash will be fighting Lan Xian today. Are we really not going to watch it? I'm busy. Lan Xian's position on the chart is a notch below Big Brother Lin Yu. And that clown, Li Yunchao, is making a fool of himself. But Lan Xian isn't any better, he only picks on the weak. Only Big Brother Lin and Bai Cheng Feng are true warriors in my eyes. Then I'll just go by myself. I've always wanted to see how that piece of trash dies. He can't defeat Li Yunchao himself, yet he enjoys it when someone else is beating him. I can't believe he is such a wimp. H.M. Li Yunxiao? Jialan Academy Arena. Is that Brett coming or not? I'm not surprised if he isn't. Losing his dignity is better than losing his life. Fuck, I hope he didn't go back on his word. Fatty, do you think Li Yunxiao will come? I don't know, I haven't seen him for days. Could it be that he ran away? No way. If so, then he isn't worthy of being the heir of the Lee family, much less worthy of us to follow. A man can die on his knees, but never live with this shame. What nonsense. Don't you have anything nice to say? Look, that piece of trash is here. He's here. Li Yunxiao is here. You're dead. Wow, he really showed up. What a hero. He's an idiot. The fact that he came here shows how stupid he is. Lan Xian is at the top martial warriors of nine stars. How many moves do you think he can last? Several? Haha, ha, he'll be considered skilled if he survives the first move. You idiot, why did you come? Lan Xian will kill you. Young Yun, what were you thinking? Go away. Don't mess around. Teacher Luo. 
I declare the match cancelled. What? Cancelled? No wonder he acted so fearless. He had something up his sleeve. This is an embarrassment to the Lee family. He's already trash. One more incident wouldn't matter anyway. Li Yun Xiao is my student. It's my duty to keep my students safe. Teacher Luo, I'm the one who is your student, so why are you protecting Lan Xian instead? Everyone, you can leave. It will only take a few minutes to destroy Lan Xian. What? Brat, are you not right in the head? Did you get so frightened your brain short-circuited? Looks like the only thing I can do is prepare to save him. I must prevent Li Yunchao from getting crippled at all costs. I thought you were too scared to come. Do you think that you can extend your lifespan by saying these few words? Warrior. This kid has really become a warrior. Just a few days ago, he was merely a loser without chakras. How's it possible? This trash is a warrior of the origin realm. No way. No wonder my good-for-nothing brother was no match for you. You really can hide your power. But your luck ends today. So much power. He is indeed a peak nine-star warrior. This Lan Xian is good. I think he'll be able to break through the two-force realm in less than two months and become a martial master. How many moves do you think Li Yunchao can last? I really want Lan Xian to be defeated, but that's just a foolish dream. One move? I don't think so. Principal. Principal. You all have underestimated Li Yunchao. Perhaps this duel may be worth watching. As something feels off. The air around Li Yunchao is strange. With every step he takes, the area around him trembles. It looks like the surrounding rules of the world appear to be beating with his peace, as if it were alive. This kid's pace must be a mystic art. It set the surrounding auras into motion, making their frequencies the same as his pace. What an advanced martial technique. Trash. You can barely take a few steps. How will you fight me? Don't worry, I won't kill you. I'll just beat you down on your knees and make you apologize. I'll make sure you and your family never get your heads up again for the rest of your lives. Passing Cloud Sword Technique Spinning Star Palm Passing Cloud Sword Technique Spinning Star Palm What's going on? Li Yun Zhao's speed broke through the cover of my palm strike? Moonwalk Nether Swap How's that possible? What's that movement technique? He was walking in midair. What? I can't believe what I'm seeing. Li Yun Zhao's step was the continuation of the previous both paces. The frequency and timing were exactly the same. In other words, he wasn't even trying to avoid Lan Xian's attacks, it was to complete a strange set of steps. H. He's borrowing the force of heaven and earth. The force of heaven and earth condensed around him. He he he. He's borrowing the might of heaven and earth. He. He's. He is borrowing the might of heaven and earth. Life passes like a dream, a swan step in the snow. The floating life seal. It's the floating life seal. There's no way he can use that seal at his current strength. He must have placed it with the force of heaven and earth. But to borrow that force wouldn't just require skill. One's understanding of it would have to be, this is something that even I couldn't find a way to do. How did he do it? Could he be Yangdi's disciple? Is this Lord Yangdi's floating life seal? How is this possible? He is only a one-star martial warrior. How does he have the ability to use the floating life seal? What's his relationship with Lord Yang Di? The young master of the Li family, Li Yunchao, 
who was called a loser, used only one move to defeat the leader of the Xian Gang, a peak nine stars warrior who was ranked third on the minor power chart. A complete defeat. This tactic to borrow the might of heaven and earth can only be used on low-level warriors. It takes way too long to prepare it. How can this be? I can't believe Lan Xian was defeated and in such a miserable manner. He's badly mauled all over. Lan Xian is a 9-star martial warrior and Li Yunxiao is only a 1-star martial warrior. How is the difference between their strengths so big? As I said. Stop it. No one can save you. Lunatic. This kid's a lunatic. My words aren't reaching him. I said, stop it. Ah. I can't believe he broke Lan Xian's Dantian, thoroughly crippling him. If a warrior's Dantian breaks, unless he has the legendary holy medicine that is level 7 or above, he's crippled for life. This. Li Yunxiao. Humph, I said, I'd beat you to a pulp and make you lick my shoes. I always keep my word. Obviously, I'll be taking this too, Brett. You're being too cruel. He's already been crippled. Why are you still acting so cruelly? This is a battle with our lives on the line. His life is in my hands. Mind your own business. Mind your own business, mind your own business, mind your own business. Not even His Majesty the King of Tianchui or the head of the Alchemist Association would dare to speak to the headmaster of Jialan Academy that way. Ha ha ha. Brett, do you know who I am? The headmaster of Jialan Academy, Marshal King Zhong Lishan. You're over a hundred years old, but just a Marshal King, and you still have the audacity to show off? If I were you, I'd be so embarrassed I'd have hit my head and croaked long ago. This brat's gone crazy. He's seriously crazy. Die. Old man. You're over a hundred years old and a Marshal King. Yet you're bullying a 15-year-old martial warrior like me. If I, Li Yunxiao, don't die today, I will make you pay a hundred times over. Under the pressure of a martial king, this puny one-star martial warrior can still stand with his head high. What's more terrifying is that there is a difference of four major realms between us, but he can still emanate such a powerful fighting will. What kind of stubbornness and fighting will is this? What kind of unyielding soul is inside this boy's frail body? What's this feeling? Why does his stubborn look give me such a familiar feeling? Gu Feiyang His expression and demeanor are identical to that of Lord Gu Feiyang. Old Codger, just because you're a martial king doesn't mean I can't do anything to you. I will make sure you suffer, even at the cost of my life. Origin Blasting Pill even a martial master or even a great martial master would have yielded by now, let alone a one-star martial warrior. Did I really have to bully the weak, using the strength of a martial king to bully a martial warrior? Even if I had made him yield, my reputation would be completely destroyed. This is... The winds and clouds are rising. How is that possible? What? The winds and clouds. They're really rising. I've been the strongest warrior in Tianchue for decades, but now I'm here, sweating in front of a one-star warrior? Who exactly is this brat? This move has made the winds rise and soar high. Could it really be Lord Gu Feiyang's The Winds Rise? The world stirs. Great wind and cloud palm? The winds and clouds rise high. All because of me. Long ago on Snowfall Peak at Shinshao Temple, Martial Sovereign Gu Feiyang, the Vanquisher, suppressed ten nine-star martial sovereigns using the great wind and cloud palm. 
He taunted the mistress of the temple three times, roamed freely in the temple's forbidden places, and showed scorn towards everything. This legendary feat was passed down in stories for thousands of years. Stop it. Gu Feiyang's great wind and cloud palm don't scare me. He's just a one-star martial warrior, but this kid not only knows the floating life seal, but also the great wind and cloud palm. It's likely that he's somehow connected to Yang Di. If Yang Di really taught him those two moves, it would be impossible to give an explanation if I hurt this kid. You fought each other of your own accord. I have no comments about you injuring Lan Qian. But you shouldn't be so ruthless. I'll let you off as this is your first offense, but there won't be a next time. What? Since when was the dean so easygoing? Even if they were nobles, anyone who offended him like that would have been sent flying with a slap. Hurry up and disperse that power. Old Codger, you're lucky you ran fast. He's absorbing the energy from the origin blasting pill. Li Yunxiao's pose seems to contain some sort of rule. I don't have a grasp of it, but something tells me that this is a powerful rule. I can borrow this rule's power to meditate. What's the situation? Why is Teacher Lu sitting down next to Li Yunxiao? Battle is over. All spectators leave the field at once. The bottleneck in my cultivation seems to be completely opened. I can feel gushes of Yuan energy from my surroundings flowing madly into me. I've ascended. I was just trying to grasp the strange cultivation technique that Li Yunxiao had used. What is up with Li Yunxiao? What sort of heaven-defying cultivation technique was he practicing? Ah. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm just here to congratulate Teacher Luo's on her advancement. Why you became a two-star martial warrior? Teacher, you're a four-quadrants realm martial king. It's a hundred times harder for you to advance. What's so surprising about a martial warrior breaking through? Stop acting dumb. How many days has it been since you advanced to become a martial warrior? One day this guy is going to give me a heart attack. The world has completely changed in the five days I was in seclusion. Give me an explanation for these things. Ow, oh, my injuries haven't healed yet. Don't grill me like that. I'll give you an explanation after I have a good, long rest. Ugh. Fine, but I'll give you just three days. Meet me at the office in three days. This girl, how can she be so bossy and unreasonable? However, her talent is extraordinary. She's worth training. I need to cultivate and get rid of the remaining energy of the origin blasting pill as soon as possible. What is going on? Did Lan Xian not cripple Li Yunxiao? That's certainly out of Lan Xian's character. Phew. This kid's aura is so strong. I don't even dare to go near him. For real. He defeated Lan Xian in one move. Anyone within three meters of him will just get destroyed. I don't think even Bai Cheng Feng and Lin Yu, both of whom are ranked on the minor power chart, are any match for him. I just heard news from the infirmary. Lan Xian is completely crippled from the neck down, and all his energy centers are broken. Unless they have a great 5 9 nether chi condensing pill, he'll be useless for his entire life. Really? This kid is that cruel? It's not as if you didn't know that Teacher Key in the infirmary is a first-tier alchemist. How could he be mistaken? And he's my cousin's uncle's second brother-in-law's uncle's neighbor's son's seventh wife's sister-in-law's elder brother. How could he possibly deceive me when he's so closely related to me? He won't even give face to the dean. What a ruthless brat. Everyone will need to tread carefully around him. Don't provoke him, or no one will be able to save you. Li Yunxiao Peak two-star martial warrior, first tier spirit power recovered. The godly evolution technique is really miraculous. I didn't think my spirit could recover to the level of a first tier alchemist so quickly. 
I can refine Qian weapons and medicines myself now. With a frown, he realities that this is complicated. Don't. Even think of leaving. Come back. Li Yunxiao, did you really ignore my words? It's been five days. Where were you? He, he I was training and forgot. Peak 2 Star Martial Warrior? I, it's been five days since you advanced to two star martial warrior. Li Yunxiao, you know the consequences of misusing pills and medicine. So, some kind of miracle must have happened to you. You should give me an explanation. Explanation? What explanation? Looks like I can't escape this time. How did you learn about Yang Di's floating life seal and Gu Feiyang's great wind and cloud palm in just five days of seclusion? Did you become a one-star warrior? Before I went into seclusion, you were just an ordinary person without any activated chakras. Also, on that day in the classroom, how did you learn about the advancement technique of the Qi Lian bronze mystic weapon? What is the technique you used to suppress the explosion of the Yuan Dan in your body that day? What does Dean Zhong? Listen, think of this. The Dean? His analysis is that you were once taught by Lord Yang Di, who taught you all those heaven-defying techniques. Our Dean possesses unrivaled intelligence. He saw through it at once. That is correct. It makes complete sense when I push everything onto Yang Di. Besides, I'd be more than happy to confront him personally bullshots. Others might not know better, but I do. Firstly, although your Li family has a strong influence in our country's military, you have never had contact with Lord Yang Di. Secondly, as far as I know, Lord Yang Di doesn't know the wind and cloud palm at all. How do you know he doesn't? Whatever. Since you're unwilling to explain, I won't force you to. I was originally worried for you and wanted to give you a backup plan, but it seems like that was unnecessary. Follow me. A street in Tianchue. I found you a teacher from the Alchemist Association. He said that he would decide whether to take you as a disciple based on the results of your spirit power test. What? A teacher? I can't make it. I know my own spirit power best. It's complete trash. That isn't for you to decide. He has already agreed. Besides, it wasn't easy to get him to agree. You have to go even if you don't. Which master is it? You want him to take me in as a disciple? Can he take it? He's the most promising alchemist in the Alchemist Association. I worked so hard to get him to agree. You'll know when we get there. Alchemist Association Master Jia, I was looking for you. I've brought the young master of the Li family I was talking about last time. She got Jia Rong to teach me. Oh, it's Lord Yunchang. Get an apprentice alchemist in the outer hall to give him a spirit power test first. All right. Follow me out. It's you. I finally found you. After you gave my brother some tips, his success rate for refining strength medicine reached nearly a hundred percent. Thank you so much. Tell your brother he's pretty talented. If he perseveres, he can do great things. After that, my brother refined many medicines and made quite some money. He has now entered seclusion and is trying to break through to the next level. I really don't know how to thank you. He he, isn't it easy to thank me? Just use your body. How indecent. Where do you think this is? What are you scheming? Picking up girls? Since when? Can't you see that she approached me first? Go and take the test right now. If you fail, you're done for. If you want to argue, please get out. I'm sorry, we'll get out right now. Get lost. What's going on? Huh? Here lies Jia Rong. Master Jia, these two dumb asses are fooling around. I'll kick them out right now. Kick your ass. You people know nothing. Do you know how hard it is for him to come all the way here to study? 
Do you think you can match his eagerness to learn? Do you think you can match his perseverance? Yun, young master Yun. Master Jia? Luo, Lord Luo, you can just call him Li Yunchao. You don't have to be so polite to him. Why are you still standing there? Master Jia has come up here and offered you a greeting. Return the greeting. I'm going to bring this kid for the soul power test. No, no need. There's no need for the test. Eh? No need? This kid is ignorant of the world, which is why he lacks the manners. I hope Master Jia can forgive him. Lord Luo, please don't whack him anymore. I was mistaken, young Master Yun has a great gift, and he doesn't need any soul power test. He has a great gift? Then would you take him? Yes, yes. I'll take him as my disciple. Uh, disciple? Me? To be yours? No, no. I was mistaken again. I won't, I won't take him as my disciple. Master Jia, you are behaving very strangely today. Are you taking him as your disciple or not? I, I, Lord Luo, all I ask is that you stop whacking him on the head, and I'll do whatever you ask. Move. Move. All of you, step aside. Master Zhang is here. Chief Alchemist of the Tianchue Kingdom, Third Tier Great Alchemist Zhang Qingfan. The soul power wave emanated from that old man was very strong. He is at least a third tier master level alchemist. Why did Master Zhang Qingfan come to the association himself? Could it be that Rushiue's illness is out of control? Rushiue? What's the matter with her? Well, it's not a secret. Rushiue was born with the five ancient terminated meridians and could not have lived past the age of five. That year, His Majesty managed to pursue a fifth-tier alchemist with all the resources of the state, who later provided a prescription for Rushiue and said that it would keep her alive for ten years. It has been nine years since then. Five Ains terminated meridians? It can't be cured by medicine alone, except with an eighth-grade medicine called the Five Dragons Pure Yang Pill. Five Dragons Pure Yang Pill? Can this medicinal pill really cure Rushiue? However, only the legendary 8th tier Supreme Alchemist can refine an 8th grade pill, that's right. An 8th tier Supreme Alchemist is like a god to us. Teacher Luo, you may go back first. I'd like to discuss the matter of taking Master Jia as my master with him. Rest assured, Lord Luo, whether young Master Yun wants to take a master or anything else, I will do as he bids. I will never let you down. All right. Find me a quiet place. I need to think over this. Yes, yes. What exactly is going on? Why did Jia Rong, who was always so proud of himself, behave like a servant in front of Li Yunchao? I got it. Jia Rong, go and tell Zhang Qingfan that you can cure the princess's five ancient terminated meridians. Yun, young master Yun, you are not joking, are you? Do I look like I'm joking with you? In addition to the five dragons pure yang pill, the princess's terminated meridians can be cured by stimulating her acupoints with golden needles. With my current soul power, I can't cure it with one treatment, but I think she'll be completely healed after a few more tries. Stimu, stimulating acupoints with golden needles? Young Master Yun, you know this kind of a legendary method? Do you have the confidence? Didn't I say I might not be able to cure it with one treatment and have to try a few times? So, to treat the princess, you have to come forward, and I'll be your assistant. But, when it comes to the actual treatment, I'll be the one who does it, with your pitiful attainment. Do you think I'll let you treat her? But first you need to, then, then, young Master Yun, can I observe and learn from the side when you treat the princess with the golden needles? Do as you like. Remember to tell Zhang Qingfan about this. You must take over this task, or the princess's life will be in danger once the potion loses its effect. These are the ingredients needed to cure the princess. Ask Zhang Qingfan to prepare them. 
Great, I can't believe I've got a chance to witness the legendary technique of stimulating acupoints with golden needles. Why are there so many? And, young Master Yun, these things seem to be materials for crafting a weapon? Yes, I happen to be in need of a weapon. Just take the opportunity to buy them together. Tianchui State Street, although only a box of golden needles is needed to perform stimulating acupoints with golden needles, but I am very particular about the size, thickness, length, weight, purity, and materials, so it's best to find some materials and refine them myself, in this way, it can be handy and foolproof when performing. Boss, I really have only 170 gold coins. Just do me a favor and help me once. Go somewhere else then. 300 gold coins is the lowest possible price. Beauty, it's not that I don't want to help you, but you can't make me lose money, can you? An intermediate apprentice alchemist Jun Liang. But, if you are willing to be my girlfriend, we can discuss everything Tianchui State Jialan Academy student Ming Wu. In your dream. Oh, don't go. You just have to be my girlfriend for three months. Why, don't you want to treat your younger brother? That's right, I'm a man who's going to be an alchemist one day, and I'll only marry the daughters of nobles. You're worthy of being played by me for only three months. How about that? If you agree, I'll give you the resuscitation magic water for free. Help me concoct the resuscitation magic water, and I will raise enough money to pay you back in three months. Pay me back later? Ha! If your brother is not treated with this magic water, I don't think he'll be able to live that long. Sure you can pay me back later, but your brother's life is priceless, isn't it? What do you think, my little beauty? I see you are still a maiden, or else I wouldn't give you such a generous offer. Who are you, boy? How dare you hit me? Who are you, boy? How dare you touch my woman? Hero to the rescue again, will the be able to save his heroine? It's that boy, Li Yunxiao. Your woman? That depends on whether she admits it or not. Do you know who I am? Boy, you're in big trouble. Who are you? I really don't know. I'm going to wipe that smile off your face. I'm an intermediate apprentice alchemist at the Alchemist Association. My master is Master Jiarong, a first-tier alchemist. And my sworn brother is Long Hao, the eldest son of Lord Long Qing, the commander of the Imperial City Guards. If you know what all that means, get down on your knees and apologize, and give me a few hundred gold coins for my injury, only then will I let you go. I know Jia Rong, and I also know Long Qing, but I have never heard of his son, oh, I also have a few hundred gold coins. But, he he he. I dare you to take it. Oh heavens, what kind of a look is that? Even soldiers who have been through many battles do not have such a deadly gaze. I have this cold feeling if I touch this storage bag. This guy will definitely kill me. In order to raise money, I had agreed to help Lan Fei in his plan of framing Yun Chao. But who knew that Lan Fei was expelled directly by this person in the martial arts arena that day, that peerless figure that descended from the sky, I have no idea what a real strong man is, but it's probably not far from that figure. Brother Hao Looks like someone's in trouble. Don't worry, just enjoy the show. I don't know who you are, and I don't want to know. Now, I'll give you two choices. First, you can either kneel and apologize to my brother, leave this girl, as well as the money before getting out of here. Or second, become a cripple and spend the rest of your life in jail. Captain of Tianchui State Imperial Guards. Long Hao. You have only three breaths to make up your mind. Humph. How dare you touch me? I already told you, my sworn brother is Long Hao. Keep your eyes open when you walk in the capital, boy. Bro brother, my Dantian is broken. Crip crippled, I'm completely crippled, how dare you hurt my little brother, boy. 
I choose the second option. I did not expect Yun Chao to be so resolute in his actions, crippling Jim Leong without even saying a word. Please send me to jail to have some fun, brother soldiers. Jiwen Liang's Dantian was destroyed in front of my eyes. Not only did I lose a friend with a promising future, I am afraid that I'll be badly beaten by my father when Master Jia Rong will find out about this. Go to hell. Wa, how's that possible? He caught that sword with just two fingers. Humph, is that all the Imperial Guard Captain can do? I am truly disappointed. He's strong. No wonder he's so firm in attitude. Watch this. Blue Moon Sword. This is a mystic weapon. Mystic weapons are the exclusive fighting tools for warriors, containing infinite power, only alchemists could refine them, and each one of them is priceless and hard to come by. My Blue Moon Sword is made of deep-sea cold iron by Master Liang Wingyu, a second-tier master alchemist. You are the third person to see it unsealed. It is your great privilege to be killed by my Blue Moon Sword today. It's nothing but a crappy first-tier mystic weapon, a piece of trash for good-for-nothing. My sword, it's like crying out loud? What, what's going on? How did my blue moon sword return to its original form the way it was before it was unsealed? What happens to my broadsword? Is it destroyed? Heavens! I had spent all my money and begged Master Leon when you to craft it for me. What other tricks do you have? Show them all to me. Kill him. Kill him for me. Go to hell. You bunch of maggots. Is he even fighting? He looks like he's just dancing. This martial technique is called the flowery confusion fist. It was invented by the martial sovereign Yuan Shishao. His life had a major downturn which caused his temperament to worsen until he went crazy. But in terms of power, he was quite gifted. He created this technique to inflict chaos. His enemies were always caught by surprise. This broadsword may be trash, but it could still be worth a bit. I'll take it for myself. Ah, is there anything else that you want to give me? Ah. My father is the commander of the Imperial Guards. How dare you rob me? I will kill your whole family. Kill my family? Go ahead. Bring your men. I'd like to see you try. What's with all the commotion? That's in my lord. I'm Long Hai, captain of the 3rd Brigade of the Imperial City Guards. Someone's attacking the Imperial Guards here. Please save us, my lord. State Guardians. Who would dare? State Guardian Hui Guang. Put down the weapon and surrender now. State Guardian Hui Ming. How do you know it's my fault? You didn't even ask. The Imperial Guards are His Majesty's right hand men. Why would they wrong you? This brat is only a two forces realm martial master. Long Hai is in the three powers realm. How was he beaten when he had so many men? It doesn't look like you want to follow orders. I'll just arrest you myself. Unseal. Isn't he just a two forces realm martial master? How can he produce such a bright sword light? It's a mystic weapon. No wonder you dare to break the law. You have a mystic weapon. I must take it from him. He he he. But now that you've run into us, your mischief will end today. End my ass. These two men are warriors of a realm above mine. I have to take the initiative or they'll crush me with the difference in our realms. Good you're looking for your death. Nether swap devilish windy feet.
I need to take him down in one move, so he can't use his full strength. Ugh, you've brought this upon yourself. Unseal. Copper long sword. Unseal. What the? What's going on with my long sword? Danger. Shadow residuals? Since when? Fool. I was only luring you. Die with him. Moon slash. Moon slash. What? He was luring me down just to attack both of us at once? H. He's really trying to kill us both at the same time. He's just a two forces realm warrior. He should be running, but he's trying to kill us? And I can actually feel the killing intent. Isn't he taking this too far? Connected hearts. State guardian great bow. Two into one. Release arrow. They have a combination technique. I'm going to lose. Li Yunxiao actually forced the state guardians to team up. Also, when he was sent flying, he could still turn around and tell me. Run. What is happening? The girl is running away. Catch her. I need to escape and get some help. Humph. A martial warrior of the two forces realm actually forced us to use a combination technique. I wouldn't have ever believed something like this. Not until now. I'm still a bit stunned. Ah, my lord. This Jade Moon Sword. Captain Long, we've taken down the criminal for you. We won't bother you anymore. My lord. That sword, we really should be going. You don't have to see us off. I had to spend my entire fortune on that broadsword. And I was only able to get Master Liang when used crafting by using my father's connections. No. My mystic weapon. Get up. You pigs. Quickly. Take this brat away. He made me lose my weapon. I'm going to make him regret coming into this world. Help. I need to find help. I have to find someone to save him. I ended up in front of the Lee Mansion without even thinking of it. Li Yunxiao is the eldest grandson of the Li family. He'll be saved. This is indeed a second-tier mystic weapon. It's already emitting such a strong power even when it's in a sealed state. I can't even imagine the power it must have when unsealed. 9527, where are you going? Young Master Wai, there's a girl outside the gate who says Young Master Yunxiao has been caught by the Imperial Guards. She told this one to inform the Master for help. That piece of trash? Isn't that piece of trash wasting his time at the academy? How did he get into a fight with the Imperial Guards? This one doesn't know. It's no big deal if a piece of trash is caught. Tell the girl that the master is informed of this matter and ask her not to worry. Lee Mansion Butler Lee Yi. When are you going to save him? It's up to the higher-ups to decide. How are we, the servants, going to know? The master asks you not to worry. Li family master, the number one veteran of Qian Shui's military, referred to as the Duke of Jingwa, Li Chengyang. In today's court, he's one of the six most powerful and prestigious men under the king. The first four had little care for state affairs, so almost all of the nobles were part of the two major opposing factions of Li Chengyang and Lan Hong. Since Li Yunxiao's grandfather has said not to worry, I should be relieved, but somehow, I still feel a growing depression inside of me. The meridians in my limbs are all severed, I can't even move them. Long family private prison. Hey, are you awake? Where is this place? Hee hee, this is the long family's private prison. Kids your age must be really brave. I overheard the guards gossiping about you breaking the young Master Long's arms. This is a private prison? Not the Capitol's jail? The Capitol's jail? 
That's for the hardened criminals. Who do you think you are? This is just a small prison kept by the Long family. The Long family built their own dungeon? Humph. How dare they? I'm reporting this to the royal court as soon as I get out. Get out? Report? Cough, cough. You're funny. You've just broken the arms of their young master, and you think you're getting out? When I was about your age, I spat on the ground while walking past the Long family's front gate. They captured me, and I've been locked up here ever since. When he was eight years old, he came to the city with his father to sell vegetables. All he did was glance at one of the Long family maid servants, and they arrested him immediately. He is now 48 years old. 40 years. That maidservant must be an old lady by now. And that guy. Don't worry, old man. I can escape. I'll be sure to free you guys as well. Kid, stop dreaming. Just accept your fate. However bad this place may be, there's still a meal every day. Even if the food is rotten. Heavenly tyrant body training technique elegant lady style. Great, another one he'll give up sooner or later. Sigh. I can feel power seeping from my dantion and circulating through my body. It's slowly repairing my broken meridians. This technique really is the best of all training techniques. Alchemist Association, 4th Floor Inner Chamber. L. Lord Luo, please don't joke about this. Did Li Yunchao really go missing? Yeah. I've looked for him in the academy and asked a few of his peers. Oh no, there is not even a hint of his existence. Master Jia, maybe you could enlist the help of others for your golden needle technique? We can't leave the princess's illness untreated for much longer. We're already tripling the medicinal potency every day, and we're still unable to suppress her condition. Any longer, and I'm afraid, yes, we can't delay any further. If all you need is an assistant to save the princess, then I will happily volunteer. Oh no 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 no. What could a child like him know? If you want to teach him, you can always teach him later. We don't have the time to wait for him. All I can do is tell the truth. Jiarong. How dare you? How dare you toy with the princess life? Jiarong. How could you allow yourself to be played with by a notorious failure? How could you trust a child to use the golden needle acupuncture? Why you really piss me off? Lock up Jiarong. He's to be executed once this is over ah. Master Zhang. Please. Please believe in young Master Yun. He will save the princess. Get lost. Do you understand the gravity of your crime? If you hadn't claimed to know Golden Needle Acupuncture, I would have long since asked a high-tier member of the Alchemist Association for help. But now, the medicine can't control the princess's condition. It's too late to ask for help. It would take a thousand deaths to punish this crime. What should I tell His Majesty now? Lord Zhang, please wait. What do you want? You caused all of this. Li Yunxiao was your student, right? When I inform His Majesty, you won't be able to escape blame either. Association head, I was only able to become an alchemist because of Li Yunxiao's advice. At the time, I wasn't even sure if he was being serious. It's common to be struck by inspiration out of the blue. Don't tell me that you actually think the brat can perform golden needle acupuncture too? I don't know if he knows golden needle acupuncture. But I do know that it only took him a single move to defeat the minister's eldest grandson Lan Xian in a recent battle. And your point is? Huh? How's that possible? I thought everyone was saying that he can't cultivate because all of his meridians are clogged. Also, isn't Lan Xian one of the strongest in Jialan Academy? Yes. Not only did he unclog all of his meridians, but the martial technique he used to defeat Lan Xian was the floating life seal. Floating life seal. Floating life seal. Could it be, could it be that he's Lord Yangdi's disciple? I don't know. If he really is Lord Yangdi's disciple, then he may really know how to use the golden needle acupuncture technique. 
Leon when you told me about this boy's condition before. He said that many of his invisible meridians are broken and could never be reconnected. Now, not only has he defeated Lan Xian, but he was using the floating life seal. This. Use all the power you can muster. Even if it means searching at random. Find Li Yunxiao in the shortest time possible. A bar close to Jialan Academy. Lan Duo, it's true. The whole academy is talking about the battle from that day. It's a shame that you weren't there to see it. He might be able to defeat even Bai Cheng Feng in one strike, much less Lin Yu. Yu Hujin Luo Lan Duo. I'll pay. Senior Yu, I've told you many times that I don't want to listen to such things. Also, don't come and bother me ever again. I'm stuck at a bottleneck right now, so I'll be entering seclusion for a few days. Goodbye. Don't be a prude. You're just some prostitute that Lin Yu ditched. How dare you spend every day acting so pure. I've chased you for so long, but I haven't even been able to touch you once. Good morning, sir. Would you like some of this purple love story? It might suit your taste. Huh? Part-time wine saleswoman Ming Wu. Haven't I seen you before? Are you a student in the junior class? I remember all of the pretty visit reset girls at the academy. Right, you're called Meng Wu. My name is Yu Hujin, and I'm about to become a martial warrior. Right, why are you selling wine here? Selling wine. Isn't that a waste? Senior Yu, do you want a cup? Love story, just six silver coins a cup. Love story? Six silver coins? Ha ha. What a cheap love story. Ah. Ming Wu, you're so pretty. You don't have to work here. Why don't you become my girlfriend? I'll give you a hundred gold coins per month. How does that sound? Senior you, please have some self-respect. How dare a wine girl reject me too? You will agree to be my girlfriend immediately. Do you dare say no? You. Sigh, let's drink a little. We've been searching for so long, but there's been no news at all. I wonder which hole Yunxiao died in. What's going on? Why is it so quiet? Is this a bar? Did we enter the wrong place? Huh? That's the girl who tried to frame young Master Yun that day. Hey! Isn't he Luo Landwa stalker? These two are weaker than me. Who are you two? You have three breaths to get lost. What arrogance. You might not recognize who we are, but you would know young Master Yun, right? Luo Lan Duo is a girl that young Master Yun likes. How dare a brat like you take a shot at her? Do you really not want to live? They are Li Yunxiao's people. We've never cared before, but that doesn't mean we won't start caring. Humph. This isn't the academy. All I need to do is call out and a gang would come to finish you off. Li Yunxiao's followers are all children of important court officials from the National Army. We're not in the academy now. In the country, they can do literally anything. I don't have time to play around with guys like you. I need to cultivate. I don't know this girl either. Don't try to blame me. I've finished the wine. Time to go back and rest. Ugh. If we hadn't sent all of our people out to search, I would have made this poser crawl out on his knees. Don't bother with such trash. Say, nothing could have happened to young Master Yun, right? They've already mobilized the Alchemist Association and the National Army. Even an ant should have been found by now. How would I know? Young Master Yun has changed too much recently. I can't get used to it, huh? That. The young Master Yun that you're talking about, do you mean Li Yunxiao? Yes, it's the same young Master Yun that you framed. Bah. Did you frame him again? H huh? Why? It's been three days. Hasn't the Li family saved him yet? What? What did you just say? What do you know? Ah.
Why didn't you say something so important earlier? I'd already notified the Lee family. The master of the Lee family told me not to worry. You met the Grand Duke? No, his subordinate sent word. No wonder. This is troublesome. We need to save him as soon as possible. Hold on. Inform Lord Zhang and Teacher Luo now. Even the city guards have to back down in front of him. Right. I was so anxious, I nearly forgot. You can't avoid getting involved in this. Why don't you follow me for now? Long family courtyard hap. Hap. Ha. Second young master of the Long family Long Ran. Ho ho, Ran, your concealed tiger fist has improved again. You're way more diligent than your good for nothing brother, Long Hao. You will certainly do great things in the future. Father. Brother became a two star martial warrior long ago. I'm still far from that. Father, why do you look so unhappy? Is something bothering you? Sigh. Recently, the whole country has been searching for a young man, but they can't find him anywhere. As the leader of the city guards, it's natural for me to feel the stress. Who is it? Why are you looking for him? The Grand Duke's eldest grandson, an academy student. I don't know why they're looking for him either. Anyway, where did your brother run off to this time? He went to the prison. A few days ago, a brat injured his arms. The moment his arms healed, he went to the prison to find the guy. He said that he was going to make the guy regret coming into this world. Humph. Loafing around all the time. How could he have gotten his arms injured? He's a major team leader of the city guards. What trash. Ah, uh, right. Brother locked that guy up three days ago. He seemed pretty young. Could he be the person you are looking for? I heard brother how mention him. That guy was called, he was called, he was called Yun something. Phew, you gave me the fright of my life. If his surname is Yun, everything is fine. I was frightened for nothing, oh. I didn't remember it right. He's called Li Yun Chao. I dispatched all the city guards to search strenuously for three whole days just to find out that he's locked up in our prison. Furthermore, this guy is the eldest grandson of Duke Jing Guo and the son of General Fei Long. It's already been three days. Could brother have killed him? Ah. Help. Someone has forced their way into the mansion. We need guards, quickly. Who dares to break into my mansion? Are you insane? He's our master, all right. Such power. Just his voice can make people tremble with fear. By the order of Commander Luo Yunchang and Master Zhang Qingfan, we, the guardians of the state, are temporarily taking over the Long Mansion. Anyone who dares to resist will be executed for treason. How have they arrived so soon? They're all at least at a martial master's level. They're the fourth unit under Luo Yunchang. Master Zhang, Master Su, Lord Yun, what's the matter? Excuse us, Lord Long. Lord Long, young Master Young has been locked up in your mansion. No wonder the whole capital couldn't find him for three days straight. He'd been taken captive by you. Long Hao must have captured Li Yunchao. What do you mean by that? I really want to beat up Long Hao right now. Ming Wu, please tell us what happened on that day. Yes. Ming Wu carefully explained everything that had happened on that day. Including how Jun Liang molested her, how Li Yunchao saved her, how the state guardians wounded him, and how Li Yunchao was taken away by Long Hao. Not a single detail was left out. Lord Long, did you hear what she said? We are temporarily taking command of the mansion. I will take sole responsibility if it turns out that we have wronged you. Lord Long, we wouldn't have dared to seal your residence unless we had concrete evidence. Since matters have reached this stage, I suggest that you just cooperate with us. I can't believe this all happened just because of my student. Jun Liang only attended a few of my lessons and I took him in as a disciple. I'm too careless. I'll only ask you one question. 
Is he dead or alive? I don't know either, but please follow me. It was all my disobedient son's doing. I had just found out about it when you arrived. Elegant lady style has repaired the broken meridians in my body. I can feel my Yuan Qi flowing again. The Yuan Q. Needs more time to recover fully though. Pity, they've arrived earlier than I'd expected. This is bad. Bring that brat out. Today, I'll make him regret ever being born. A total of 35 people, 12 of them warriors. Although, there's also a martial master. My Yuan Chi hasn't recovered yet, so it'll be hard to fight my way out. Wake him up. Don't kill him. Furthermore, the situation outside the long residence is unclear. I'll just pretend that I'm dead for now. This salt water was prepared with a special formula. It will rapidly corrode flesh and blood upon coming into contact with wounds, causing you pain so excruciating that you'll wish you were dead. Try not to die. Where did all your wounds go? Who are you? Did you really think you were important? You. This is for talking back. Ha ha, I recognize you now. You're that errant dog. Oh right. Where's your beloved sword? You son of a bitch. Kill him. Brother How, you can't. This brat must know that he's near his end. He's trying to anger you in hopes of a swift death. We haven't even served him our main course. How can we let this brat die so soon? Good catch. I almost fell for it. Hee hee. I'll let you enjoy the full buffet of punishments that we serve down here. Give him a hundred lashes, but remember not to kill him. That's weird when Long Howl slugged me earlier, I felt the power behind his punch flowing into my dantion. Though I did spit some blood on him. My body's absorbing the impacts and converting them into Yuan Chi. Could it be? This is also a usage of the Heavenly Tyrant body training technique? Back then, as a ranking battle of the Cloud Wind leaderboards, the Tyrant Martial Emperor and I fought for many days, destroying the whole sanctuary and everything around it in the process. In the end, the Tyrant Martial Emperor was able to overcome my true Chi with brute force due to his physical strength. The longer the battle went on, the more obvious his advantage became. Until the battle ended in my defeat. Now, I finally understand. Not only can the tyrant's body power through a chi attack with brute force, it can even absorb the opponent's chi. How can such a crazy technique exist? The tyrant body training technique is as strong as the godly evolution technique. However, although the technique can absorb the opponent's energy, the body must be hit by an opponent for the energy to enter and be absorbed. At the Nine Heavens Realm of Emperors, who would dare stand in place to get hit by a fellow emperor's attack? Not even the tyrant would allow a direct attack to his body unless he had no choice. Ha, huh, that scared me. For a moment, I thought this technique was invincible. Looks like it has its limitations too. But, well, aren't you determined? Watch how I take care of you. A whip should be very effective on bastards at his level. Trash. Put some muscle into it. Energy restored. Dantion. He's really stubborn. He's taken so many hits, but he hasn't made a single sound. It's only fun if he's stubborn. What's the point if he starts begging for mercy or dies after just a few hits? Wouldn't we have wasted our efforts? I just need ten more hits to be able to break through to three star martial warrior. Stop. I underestimated you. I didn't think you would be able to last this long. Humph. The main course will be coming right up. Enjoy. Ha ha. My strength has already recovered to peak two-star martial warrior. I can break free at any time. But my physical body has received too much damage. Furthermore, there's a second-tier martial master here. Why don't I see what they're up to instead? Come here. This powder is known as insanity to the clear mind. I've carefully prepared it. 
Huh? Ugh, ah. Uh. Ehe. He he he, it can add fun to even the most solemn of occasions. I'm so proud of it. Surprise mental assault. Stop testing it. Hurry and use it on him. The two of them only took a small amount. Everything in this huge bag is yours. This is disgusting. Three star breakthrough. What the heck? I broke through to three stars. This is how I break through? Hup. Die, you idiot. Ah. The antidote. Get the antidote out. Ugh. A antidote? There is no antidote. Come on, brother How? There's no harm in letting loose a little. Let loose, my ass. Uncle Ma, kill him now. Brett, you're asking to be killed. How dare a mere martial warrior appear before me? Rumble. Universal Soul Suppressor Demon Moon. Universal Soul Suppressor Demon Moon. It's soul, ek. How does this brat know soul techniques? Huh. What the? Ah. Ayo, ayo, ayo. ID better return to the Alchemist Association. Chin Rush U.S. condition can't be delayed any longer. H.M.? Huh? Teacher Luo, Skinny Chin, and Fatty Han? Why are you all here? A, are you all right? Of course, who do you think I am? Avidal. How are you uninjured? What's with the racket? Hey. Thank God that Li Yunxiao is uninjured. But how in the world is he unscathed? I keep getting the feeling that this boy possesses some weird aura. Are you Li Yunxiao? What's with the noises inside the prison? Chen Jin, what's going on? Sai, it's nothing. I'll take a look. Lord Long invited his henchmen for a round. Let's not bother them. Oh? A round of what? Let's go see. Extreme scene panel redacted. Sai, I did tell you not to go in. Lord Longhouse tastes aren't something the average person can appreciate. Although, I guess it's healthy to throw up once in a while. Li Yunchao, what is the meaning of this? Lord Long, your son invited me to his party with no warnings whatsoever. I was about to ask you the same thing. This Li Yunchao, his power seems to be that of a third tier warrior, but he keeps giving me an uneasy feeling. It's as if not even I could be his opponent. How can this be? My senses must be off because of my disgust from earlier. I haven't cleared up the matters between you and my son, but now you're somehow standing there and scathed. And my son. My son, humph, like father, like son. Humph, like father, like son. Nonsense. I'm a warrior of the Three Powers realm and the commander-in-chief of the Imperial Guards. Why would I be homosexual? Enough. Who here isn't a fully-fledged warrior anyways? So you're Li Yunxiao? So you're Zhang Qing Fan? You know me? That's the Alchemist Association Guild Master Su Han on the left, while Teacher Luo, the State Guardian's commander, is on the right. So that just leaves Zhang Qing Fan and Xiao Qing Wang to be in the middle. It's pretty simple. You're pretty different from what the rumors say. So, do you know how to perform golden needle acupuncture? I can try it. Try? We cannot afford for the princess to be harmed. How can I let you treat her if you don't have full confidence in your abilities? Do you have any other ways to save her if you stop me? Fine, fine. Then I'll give you a chance. If you manage to save the princess, then I can guarantee that your life will be protect Ed no matter what else happens in the future of Tian Shui. Although, if you fail, not even your grandfather Li Chun Yang will be able to save you. My life will always be my own to control. Let's not waste any more time. Her Majesty the Princess has been awaiting her treatment. 
You hurt me before and tried to save me today. I'd say we're even. I will need some help during the treatment, though. You will assist me. Huh, me? And no, I don't know anything. No refusal allowed. I have spoken. Master Zhang, I need Ming Wu and Teacher Luo to be my assistants. Please aid me by reimbursing them for their services. Whatever you want. I'll delegate the assignment of personnel to you. The Golden Needle Acupuncture is a legendary technique that only the highest ranking alchemists could use. Young Master Yun, didn't you say that I would be your assistant? No alchemist would want to miss out on legendary exhibition like that. Isn't Jun Liang your disciple? I'm done for. He was, but I've just now permanently removed him from my tutelage. Actually, I owe never cared much for him in the first place. Ah, uh, I'm telling the truth. Please don't go young Master Yun. Please. Listen to me, I don't even know him. P please don't go. Alchemist Association, 4th Floor, Cryo Chamber. This violet jade bed can slightly slow the princess's illness. But evidently, it has already reached its limit. The grade of my current spirit power is low. I wish that I'd discovered that the princess had 5-inch terminal meridians some time ago. Then we wouldn't have had to wait so long. You just need a roll of silk and 30 golden needles? You really don't need anything else? Li Yunchao, are you sure about this? Li Yunchao, tell me the truth. What's your rate of success? 20%? 30%? If the chances are too low, I will notify the king immediately. If Li Yunchao doesn't succeed, we might lose the princess. If the princess were a man and I had performed the acupuncture on him, I would be 100% confident in my success. However, she is a lady, so I can only perform it while throwing the needles from 15 meters away through curtains. Furthermore, I just got electrocuted by young Master Hao in the Long family residence, so I'm a little out of it right now. If I add all the variables up, I have around a 90% chance of success. Flying needle acupuncture? You want to perform acupuncture from 15 meters away, through curtains? You prepared the curtains to avoid behaving inappropriately to someone of the opposite gender? 100%, 90%? I once heard my master say that in order to successfully perform golden needle acupuncture, you would need the spirit power of a fifth tier alchemist. Do you think you are Lord Yang D? 100% success rate? ACU puncture by throwing needles? The princess's life is at stake. Be serious. I am already being serious. Since you know that Rushua's life is at stake, don't cause any more trouble. Let's start. Teacher Luo, help me put up the curtains. Meng Wu, you just need to hold the princess up. The hell are you putting up curtains for? Just do it face to face. The princess is priceless. How can you fool around with her? I need the curtains precisely because she's priceless. The target of golden needle acupuncture needs to be completely undressed. If I perform the acupuncture face to face, I would see all of the princess's assets. If the king orders it, I will be forced to marry her. Humph. Are you trying to entrap me? I won't fall for it. Li Yunchao has turned something this serious into kids playing house. Is he toying with me? Toying with me? With me? Me? The five inch terminal meridians are trying to merge within her soul sea. If you keep wasting time, the thread of her life will snap when the five inch converge as one. Even a ninth tier emperor grade alchemist would not be able to reverse it. Everyone except Meng Wu and Luo Yunchang should leave right now. Meng Wu, take her clothes off. Teacher Luo, put the curtains up. Li Yunchao, that's enough. The consequences of this aren't something that you could bear. Be serious. Teacher Luo, I am going to pierce your shoulder meridian, 7 millimeters deep. It is 7 millimeters into my flesh, without a single mistake. I am wearing armor made with golden silk. 
it is impossible to control the power needed to pierce it with a needle. But it was exactly seven millimeters deep. Besides, how did he know that I was wearing clothing made of gold and silk? When we were outside, I saw that her collar area was emitting a dim golden light. So she must be wearing clothing made of gold and silk. It's trendy for ladies to wear it right now. Add that to three layers of clothing. We're six meters apart, so I use three points of power. How accurate was I? Enough already. Let's begin. I'm actually more confident with floating needles. If that girl Rushiue were laid bare before me, how could I calm down? Rushiue might be young, but her curves developed long ago ignore him. Let's start. All right. Hold her tightly, Ming Wu. Oh, okay. Elder Zhang, do you think Li Yunchao is full of crap? At this stage, we'll have to swallow it even if it is crap. Please work, please work, please work. Ugh. What? You still haven't started? Her Highness the Princess can't last much longer. I'm already done. Huh? You're done? All done. He finished that fast? In a few minutes? Is he joking? Oh no, I'm doomed. At this rate, my life will be taken along with young Master Yun's. Li Yunchao, how dare you? Why did you mess with us? With the princess's life no less. Even if Li Chunyang arrives, I'll chop your head right off. Master Zhang, he's telling the truth. Her Highness the Princess is fully healed. What? Are oh, really? She's recovered? Yunchang, since when did you have a sense of humor? I incredible. She's fully healed. What? Humph. That was a decade-long headache of a disease. How in the world did this teenager cure her? My life is safe for now, probably. Here's hoping. Why you have to be kidding, right? There's no way. He, he, he. Why are you giggling? It only took me 18 needles. It won't even take me a heartbeat to slice you that many times. How long did you think it would take? I thought you were the royal alchemist. Is everyone in the royal court stupid? Did he just scold the king's alchemist? Is he mad? I don't know him. Don't involve me in this blasphemy. Stupid? When? How long ago was it? This feels oddly nostalgic. Why aren't I angry at all? Instead, I feel dejected. You called me stupid? Aren't you? Li Yunchao stopped blabbering. Apologies to Master Zhang. Apologies? I'll be waiting once he masters flying needle acupuncture. Only then will I consider apologizing. Hey! Isn't he afraid at all? Sorry for that, Master Zhang. The informed are the superior. He was correct. Since the princess is safe, you may all leave. I plan to stay here for a few days and monitor the princess's condition. Teacher Luo? The two of you, come with me. A street in Tianchue. You two are closest to Li Yunchao. Why has he changed so drastically lately? His cultivation growth has exploded and suddenly he's proficient in medical skills. Those are not things that someone can achieve in a short period of time. Don't tell me that you two don't know either. Even if he had hid it intentionally and trained in secret, he couldn't possibly have hidden it from you as well. You should at least have a clue. He used to be a burden, someone that needed to be taken care of. But out of nowhere he just left us in the dust. He became someone for us to look up to. Say, could Li Yunchao have stayed silent for so long? Because of the Li family's current situation? Just as everyone had concluded that he was trash who wasn't worth taking into account, he suddenly stood out shining like a star. Someone so devious, someone who endured hardships for so long, dared to stand on stage now. Maybe he had already completed all preparations. 
In the Li family of Tianchui, something big might happen soon. Li Yunxiao's grandfather, the Duke, is currently in isolated training to overcome a crucial step. Therefore, he handed the control of everything in the Li family to Li Yi. Li Yunxiao's father, General Fai Long, is far away at a northeastern town defending the frontier region. So he couldn't do anything about Li Yi either. It is rumored that the entire Li family, from top to bottom, is already in that brat's control. Is that true? It is also rumored that the Duke is not in isolation, but has instead been imprisoned by Li Y1. Li Yi is just someone who was granted the Li family surname. Would he have been given such power otherwise? Young Master Yun's performance may seem astounding, but the Li family still has a few elders in place. It won't be his turn for a while. Maybe something occurred outside of our knowledge that led to Li Yunxiao's eventual support, allowing him to rise to power. The golden needle acupuncture technique and the floating life seal are clear evidence of that. If trouble stirs up within the Li family, it will involve the entire nation. You guys will need to be prepared for that. I never liked that Li Yi anyways, as long as young Master Yun stands, we'll always stay with him. That's right. Duke Jingwa and General Phylong have many subordinates who hate Li Yi. If young Master Yun makes a stand, they will support him. Teacher Luo, if the both of them started a fight, whose side would you be on? I'm the commander of the State Guardians. I obey His Majesty the King. But, Li Yunxiao is my student after all. Achoo. 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 My body is in tip-top shape, and I don't have a cold. Why am I sneezing? Young Master Yun. Why, Young Master? See, can you have a look at my brother? Speak of the devil, I'm about to get lucky tonight. Use the 1,000 gold coins to buy your brother some medicine. This is too much money, I can't accept it. This is compensation for your contribution towards saving the princess. But I didn't do anything. All I did was help her change her clothes. If you hadn't arrived in time, I would have been forced into the position of having to remove her clothes. Being the stunning beauty that she is, and being naked right in front of me, would I have been able to perform acupuncture without difficulty? This was a matter of life and death. Which means that you were of the utmost importance. What kind of reasoning is that? Four hours later, Ming Wu's house. This this is my home. No wonder you were able to open the seven chakras at such a young age. So every time you return from school, you have to walk four hours home. The houses in the capital are too expensive. We can't afford to live there. My father used to be a kind-hearted captain of the guard. We originally lived together in the city. But three years ago, my father was killed in action, ANS since then, my brother and I have had to live on compensation money. We had to move from the city to the countryside. Let's go see him. That's my brother Ming Bai. Ming Bai has been like this for four to five months, his condition hasn't changed at all. To get a doctor for his illness, I've been working for money everywhere. This is also why I promised Lan Fei that I'd help to frame you. Let's not talk about the past. I'll check on his condition first. This, this is, I've commissioned the help of many martial apprentices and no one could do a single thing. We could only rely on the samsara demon water to prolong his life, but the effects are getting weaker. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Why? It'll be okay. Now that I'm here, even if your brother wanted to die, I wouldn't let him. Really? What's wrong with Mangbar? Heaven and Earth Poison Body. Heaven and Earth Poison Body? What a scary name. Young Master Yun, can it still be cured? It can't. Didn't you just say that even if he wanted to die, he couldn't? I'm begging you, you have to save my little brother. As long as you can save him, I'm willing to do anything. No matter what. Don't tempt me to commit a crime. Please save us, young Master Yun. Stop crying. The heaven and earth poison body isn't an illness. How would I cure it? For instance, you're a woman. 
Would you let me cure you so that you turn into a man? If it's not an illness, then why is he like that? Let me explain. In this world, there are people who have been different since they were born. These people have a special body type and possess special qualities compared to normal people. The heaven and earth poison body is one of those special body. Then what should we do? Since you were able to figure out what his illness was, you have a solution to it, don't you? I've said it all for naught. I said that it's not an illness, it doesn't require a cure. He had the heaven and earth poison body in the first place. It'd be even weirder if there wasn't any poison. Your brother is too weak and the poison in his body has overwhelmed him. He was unable to control it, which led to his current state. I've read up on the heaven and earth poison body before. As long as we contain the poison and work on building his strength, it won't be a problem in the future. The poison is stronger than I thought. The golden needle acupuncture was useless? What do we do now? It's no problem. I can just transfer the poison in his body. Energy fusion. How could you do this? What will happen to you when the poison enters your body? I'd be scared if your brother had a perfect heaven and earth poison body. But he's only opened five chakras. How strong can the poison be? When it's transferred to my body, it'll be absorbed like vitamins. Poison gas of this level trying to erode me? Humph heavenly commandment, form the energy. Ever since dad died, I've never seen anyone sacrifice so much to help me. Even if someone did help me, it was for my beauty. In the end, they'd show their true color. Li Yun Zhao's tendency to put others before himself is so caring. As I thought, it was heavenly energy. He, I'm in luck today. Ugh, where am I? Oh my god. Ming Bai, are you alright? Sniff, you look so much better. Sis? Who's he? He's my classmate, Li Yun Chao. Just call him Young Master Yun. He's the one that saved your life. Say thank you. T thanks for saving me. HM. 1. Why is your body's toxicity so low? It's barely enough. You even have a heaven and earth poison body. Produce more poison next time. Huh? Ah ha ha ha. Sis, young Master Yun is really good at joking around. Uh. I never. Joke. Brat, consider meeting me as your fortune. How about this? Count out three times, and I'll take you as a disciple. You want to be my master? Ha ha ha. Me? Your disciple? How old are you, young Master Yun? You look about the same age as my big sis, just one year older than me. I can't believe you try to take me. If I want to be a disciple, I'd at least try for a martial master at the level of a state guardian. Damn it. In my previous life, I could have destroyed thousands of martial warriors with just a single move. Look at me now. I am thankful for your kindness, but being your disciple seems. Pay your respects now. Young Master Yun may be young, but he's adept in both the martial and alchemic arts. It's your extreme fortune to be able to have him as your master. Sis, I'm your brother. You can't ruin my future like that. I'm not. How could you say that? I went through so much for you. You, you. You're pissing me off. I'm sorry, sis. Don't cry. I'll pay my respects now. Honorable master. Please accept my hasty greetings. I know that you aren't satisfied, but it's fine. I'll present to you the heavenly tyrant body training technique. It's second to none. It seems to match well with your body's condition. Your future has endless potential. Thank you, Master, but don't all martial warriors train with martial techniques? Please just teach me some stronger martial techniques. I wish to learn the concealed tiger fist. Do you know anything about it? 
The heavenly tyrant body training technique of Ao Chankong, the tyrant martial sovereign who ranked number one on the heaven and earth power chart, isn't as good as the concealed tiger fist style in this boy's eyes. You will learn whatever your master tells you to learn. Don't be so picky. You're a newbie. Of course you need to start with the basics. Once you've mastered the technique and make young master Yun happy, he might even teach you the floating life seal. These two morons. I don't know anything about the concealed tiger fist. You must practice this training technique, whether you want to or not. After you've mastered it, suppressing the toxicity inside your body will be child's play. I can suppress the toxicity? This body training technique consists of 18 styles. I'll show you the first there for now. Ah. 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 Have you memorized them? It's only three styles, but you must train hard, day and night. As for martial techniques, let's wait until you reach the first origin realm. Until then, I'll look for a suitable style for you. Really? Master, what kind of martial techniques do you know? You can't give me anything that's worse than the concealed tiger fist. Don't ever mention that move again. That trashy, entry-level martial technique can be mastered by anyone. I'd be ashamed to teach you that basic technique. Don't worry, I know what to teach you. Right now, you should just strengthen your body and improve the natural toxicity inside you as much as possible. That's the way to go. HM? Are these all raw ores of primordial stones? Yeah. I used to follow Uncle Sher into the mines until the poison inside my body started taking effect. These raw ores were piled up here for a long time after not being sold due to their poor quality. No, I can sense something. This one doesn't seem to be a piece of raw ore. I only picked it up because I felt some energy inside it. Where did you get this rock from? Are there more in the mines? I found it in the Five Peaks vein outside the city. The main vein is under official control, so we were digging in smaller veins nearby. There should still be more stones like that one. This kind of stone is very useful. It is called the Purple Sunstone, which is a fifth grade material. Its main usage is to construct gravity arrays. If I'm not wrong, the Gravity Hall in Jialan Academy is constructed with a large number of Purple Sunstones like this. It can be used to make gravity arrays. Wouldn't that make it very valuable then? Correct. It's very rare for a state academy to have a gravity chamber. Although purple sunstone is only a fifth grade material, it's rarely sold on the market due to its unique nature. In general, only the top powers on the continent are capable of constructing gravity chambers. This one has too many impurities, but its size compensates for it. The purple sunstone extracted from this can produce a gravity field of almost 3 meters in diameter. That's amazing. Eh? Master, how could you take something that belongs to your disciple? It's a waste to leave this thing with you. I'll keep it for you now and give it back to you when you need it later. Remember to continuously use those three styles and try to stimulate the poison inside your body. When the time comes, I'll come and help you siphon the poison. I can't believe I've taken in a disciple with the heaven and earth poison body. With his amazing body constitution, this boy's future achievements will certainly be one of the best among my disciples. It's time to refine a Xian weapon for myself. Since I've accidentally acquired a purple sunstone, the refining method I originally planned to use will need a slight modification. Let's take a trip to the Alchemist Association. Alchemist Association Main Building Today, we must find Li Yunchao Alchemist Association I'm here to borrow the Alchemist Association's Strengthening Array Lord Zhang and Association President Su Why are they looking for me? Did something happen to the princess? That's unlikely Why don't you meet them first? Please follow me Geez, I still need something from them, so I'll have to meet them even if I don't want to. This way, please. Brother, something is off about you. If anyone else were to hear that they'd been summoned by these two masters, they would have been so excited that they'd jump for joy. 
Lord Zhang, Association President Su. I brought Li Yunchao here. I will be leaving now. Ah. Uh. What business do you have? This is an invitation from His Majesty the King to a banquet for His Majesty's ministers. It is to celebrate both Luo Yunchang's advancement to an alchemist and the princess's recovery. Excluding yourself, you can bring five others along with you. That's all you summoned me for? Ho ho ho. We want to know, are you a disciple of Lord Yang Di? No. You are not? Then the floating life seal and golden needle acupuncture you used. If there's nothing else, I'll get going. No one has ever dared to embarrass me like this. Please wait a moment. Young Master Yun, please look at this. Why are you so impatient, Young Master Yun? We invited you here to thank you for saving the princess. The two of us prepared a small token of appreciation for you. The badge of a second-tier alchemist? The golden needle acupuncture you displayed is far above the level of a second-tier alchemist, but I only have the authority to issue second-tier badges. I apologize, but if you wish to obtain a higher certification, then you will have to take a test at one of our association's other branches. Mm, this thing is pretty good. Everything else aside, the monthly payment alone is respectable. Thanks. Young Master Yun, take a look at this too. I don't have to look at it to know that it's a Xian weapon. What do you think? In order to learn Golden Needle Acupuncture from him, I'll have to part ways with my beloved. Not bad. It still has many flaws, but considering your abilities as a third-tier alchemist, it is indeed difficult to refine a Xian weapon of such quality. The way he talks is seriously maddening. How dare he say that such a precious sword contains many flaws? You don't believe me? The main component in the Sword of Spring Water should be the fourth-tier mystic aquatic iron. Logically, you'd think that higher-grade ingredients would result in higher-grade Xian weapon refinement. However, your third-tier abilities are completely unable to understand the structure of fourth-tier ingredients. So you can only change its shape using brute force. Although a Xian weapon refined like this is considered third-tier, it is not as stable as a Xian weapon crafted with thirstier ingredients. It can exert more power, but it would also be more prone to damage and more demanding for the warrior to use. I've never thought about that. I was only trying to raise the Xian weapon's quality and grade. The refinement technique and choice of fire matters too. A stronger fire is not always better. Lord Zhang, you used a demonic beast's internal fire, right? It had a fire attribute too. That would directly clash with the mystic aquatic iron's water attribute. The refinement technique is simple and crude. You did not fuse the different steps well. Other than having an okay grade, what are you expecting of something refined like that? I used to be very satisfied with this Xian weapon. The more I looked at it, the happier I was with it. But now, the longer I look at it, the more problems I see. In fact, it looks more and more like trash. How is this a sword? It's just scrap metal. Scrap metal. How many years has it been? It has been so long since someone in Tenshui could give me tips on refining. I never would have thought that at this age, a brilliant path would once again be paved on the road of alchemy. I can even faintly see a higher tier of the alchemic way, waving at me. El Lord Yunchao, if that's the case, how do I refine Xian weapons of higher quality? I want to refine a Xian weapon of my own. Why don't I use your refinement chambers? How much you learn from it will depend on your own abilities. How much you learn from it will depend on your own abilities. Young Master Yun. Thank you. You remembered to bring me here before you started refining. I've learned my lesson. I brought together all of my students and gave them a harsh lecture. I told them to train in seclusion and not get themselves involved in outside matters. Otherwise, I would kick them out, no exceptions. I didn't think that Tianxue would have an auxiliary refinement array of this caliber. This is beyond my expectations. 
the refinement process should be much easier with this. These were all constructed when Lord Yang Di was here. H.M., Jiarong, are the raw materials I asked for all ready for use? Yes, yes they are. But aren't those raw materials used for pills? Correct. I just took in a disciple and I plan to refine some pills for him, such as detoxification pills and origin impacting pills. The level of this auxiliary refinement array is higher than I thought. With it, I can refine the pills alongside the Xian weapon. Why are you just standing there? Bring out the materials. Why, young Master Yun, just leave the refining of such simple pills to me. You should concentrate on refining your weapon. Jiarong, I guess you're not interested in watching me refine. Eek! I haven't even talked to you about the last time, young Master Yun. It's all here. Master Yun Chao, I've never heard of anyone using two separate arrays to refine at the same time let alone using the same array for two different kinds of refinement at the same time. Not only have you heard about it just now, but you're also about to witness it for the first time ever with your own eyes. Young men like him are quick-tempered, impulsive, and messy. When he fails his refinement and suffers a setback, he'll see his mistake and correct it. Okay, we can start now. Young Master Yun, didn't you say you were going to refine two types of pills? H.M. I put the materials into the cauldron together to refine them all at once, just to save myself the trouble. What? Refining two types of pills in the same cauldron? Putting all the materials together? And you're refining a Xian weapon at the same time? Heavens! Does this kid really know alchemy? What's wrong with me? Why am I letting him do this, and why am I addressing him as Master Yun Chao? Am I so old that my brain is fried? How did I believe this boy? Both of us are almost a hundred years old. Why are we horsing around with a child? It must have been because we were fooled by his words earlier. Now that it's time for action, he's shown his true colors. I should have just asked him for the golden needle acupuncture technique. Why did I stupidly agree to let him refine a Xian weapon? Heavens! I even gave him the badge of a second-tier alchemist. What's wrong with me? This boy must be an arrogant pup, all bark and no bite. He must have learned golden needle acupuncture by accident somehow. We're among ST the most prominent figures in the nation of Qianshui, yet we were blinded by this boy. If the public were to hear of this, our dignity would vanish. Cauldron Crest Pill Refinement Cauldron Eye Weapon Refinement WH Watts going on? The whole array is only partially activated. Isn't the array a connected single working? Perhaps the boy's strength isn't enough, and he can only activate a part of the array? The activation of the array can only succeed or fail. How can it be only partially activated? It should be because the boy's strength is too weak. But why does this erratic fire feel so much stronger than when we usually use it? You two fools, shut up and watch. This formless spirit auxiliary array formation is composed of 48 basic arrays, which correspond to 48 basic refining methods. Under their interactions, it can derive into countless kinds of auxiliary effects, which is the reason why it can become such a powerful auxiliary formation. If it were fully activated on each usage, it'd take a lot of mind and soul power just to keep the whole formation running. How can one refine under such a heavy load? I only want to refine first-tier pills and a first-tier Xian weapon, so I have only activated 12 basic arrays, which will derive 108 auxiliary effects. That's more than enough. Heavens! So that's how it is. Oh my god! I can't believe this. My goodness, how can this still be a simple refinement? You might as well kill me. This, this. I see it. I can see it. This winding path of obstacles, the tenacious path of alchemy, a rift of sunlight strikes through the gate of knowledge. 
when refining every part of the alchemist's mind and strength must be used at the most crucial point. Therefore, the selection and activation of arrays are very important steps. A good alchemist must also be a master of the array. The fact that Yang Di was able to construct this array formation here proves that his achievements in arrays far exceed yours. Why Yun Master Yun, why you are God? Didn't you say every part of the alchemist's mind is very important? How can you still talk to us while refining? This. Do you think I want to? I'm just worried that you idiots won't understand anything. I'll say no more. Watch for yourselves. Eek. Ah. I'm sorry. Li Yunxiao's precise control of the rhythm and movements have completely won over the eyes of the three of them. Each movement was like art, deeply moving the heart. I never imagined that refining could be so beautiful. The furnace's fire just has to be maintained within a certain range. Right now, the pill is already forming. Now, you can watch me refine a Xian weapon. This is it. The original state of fine iron. A first-tier alchemist should use the typical first-tier ingredients. Only then can they deepen their understanding of the structure of various materials. Even the common fine iron can be used to forge a Xian weapon when brought to its original state. Ah, there's so much fog. I can't see anything. Use your soul power. Your soul power. Condense. Hap. Whoa. Ah. T this sword. Calming spirit nourishing pills with such low purity are only fit for feeding pets. Is this meant for humans to eat? My second tier calming spirit nourishing pills. I bought them all at outrageous prices, Lord Yunchao. I have pills of high purity. I have some too. Horizon spirit pills that can recover your Yuan Chi, there are flowers to nourish your spirit, and the fantastical white crane pill that can take you over the moon. Fantastical white crane pill? Isn't that an aphrodisiac? Ah. Uh, Erp. Ahem. This is for Elder Zhang. Su Han, speak clearly. Which Elder Zhang are you talking about? This one. Everything else is trash. It would be better for me just to meditate for a few minutes. Qi Manifestation Young Master Yun, you just took a second tier aphrodisiac. Are you alright? Shut up. Li Yunxiao's refinement had an undoubtedly groundbreaking impact on them. The three of them still felt like they were in a dream. Some of them didn't dare to believe what they had seen. Ha, huh, I finally recovered by a third. Such refinement takes so much energy. Young Master Yun, your spirit power recovered by a third just like that? Yeah, what's so strange about that? I only have the soul power of a first-tier warrior. It's only natural that my soul power would recover faster than yours. But, isn't that too fast? I have first-tier soul power too, but it takes at least seven days to completely recover after refining. Trash like you, dares to compare itself to me? Not bad. It turned out as I thought. You've worked hard. Lord Zhang and Lord Su, what do you think? Whoa. Just call me by name, Lord Yunchao. I dare not be a lord. H.M. Universal Detect. How is it? It's a first-grade weapon with a perfect base. It's as if it came from the world itself, with immense power flowing through it. I've never seen a Xian weapon in such harmony before. However, the fine iron in this sword is already in its original state, so it should be in its unsealed form, right? Dare I ask, can this sword be unsealed again? What would happen if the sword unseals? During the refinement process, I had condensed that explosive power down into its base. Therefore, it wouldn't be able to unseal that power again in a battle. But, did you see the purple sunstone that I put in at a later stage? 
a purple sunstone? Isn't that a key material for constructing gravity fields? It was meant for gravity fields. In its unsealed state, I integrated two gravitational fields in the Xian weapon. Watch closely. Unseal. Tenfold gravity. Yep, this is tenfold, but I've only gravity. Placed one of the gravity fields. The other one also has the same effect. Stacking their effects will make it a hundredfold gravity. Unfortunately, the purple sunstone I used wasn't big enough. I could have added a third gravity field to the sword, creating a thousandfold gravity if all three stacked. It seems that it was better off without the third effect. This Shin weapon wouldn't have been able to withstand such powerful forces acting on it. Simultaneously unsealing three gravity fields could have caused permanent damage to the body. Three formations, three unseals. A Shin weapon in its unsealed state can be unsealed three more times? M. Master Yunxiao, they allow us to conduct research on this Xian weapon for a few days. What would I use then, if I gave my sword to three trash for research? Not your trashy spring water sword, I hope. I, I guess you're right. I was so excited to show off my spring water sword earlier, now, I just want to ask Yunxiao for the sword back and destroy it. I must have let anyone know that I refined it. Hee <laughs> hee. He he he, sooner or later, you'll understand that being scolded by Yun Xiao is an honor, an identity, and a type of happiness. The main purpose of this sword is training. With this, I can train under tenfold or hundredfold gravity every day, so as to make tremendous progress. As one said, if the sword is blunt, no work shall be done. I'll call this sword Black Lass. For young Master Yun, those words you said, how does it relate to black, H.M.? Why, young Master Yun, those words you said, how does it relate to black lass? There's no correlation. I'll call it whatever I want. How dare you ask me that? In nothing, thank God I learned how to predict. Now, let's check on the pills. It's been a few hours, yet the fragrance of the pills fills the room. How invigorating. Amazing. Pure pills. Ha ha. These are my master's pills. I've seen it before this purity is way too high. It makes a slave like me feel so happy. Ha ha ha. Achievement unlocked. Tag master. Well, thanks for letting me use the refinement room. As a reward, I'll spend an hour answering any questions you have. Outside of alchemic and martial arts, I can also answer anything about music, array mastery, art, chess, and getting girls, as I also have many achievements in those subjects. Really? Zhang Qingfan and Su Han are well known, but only in the country of Qinchui. Whereas in his previous life, Li Yunxiao was a nine heavens realm martial sovereign, known across the world. Countless people had begged him for his teachings. Teaching those two was as easy as ABC. Master Yunxiao, thank you for your teachings. I'll be going now. I'll teach you again next time. Old Man Su, what do you think of Master Yunxiao? Unfathomable. He really is. In the past, I was lucky enough to receive some teachings from Lord Yang Di himself. Yunxiao gives me the same aura as Lord Yang Di. They're really similar. Us alchemists always value one thing, which is rightful respect. If Master Yunxiao really is Lord Yangdi's disciple, I'd never deny him. I believe that he isn't Lord Yangdi's disciple. Because of the feeling he gives me, it's more. It's more mysterious than Lord Yangdi. Ming Wu's house. Few finally home. Ah, uh, young Master Yun. Why are you here? Why, young Master Yun, what's wrong? Where's Meng Bai? After he recovered, he immediately went to the mines with our neighbor. I'm back, sis. Huh? Master's here. Master. Sis. Look at this. I mined so many ores today. Neil. Yua. Meng Bai. Cough, splutter, cough. W.Y. did you hit me? Why? Just because you are my disciple. 
I told you to buckle down in your training of the first three styles of the tyrant body tampering technique. Did you follow my orders? I, I need to earn money to support the family. I am a man. I can't leave my sister to work and earn money. I want to support my sister. Brother, stop. Quick, apologize to young Master Yun for your mistake. Apologize? Why should I apologize? He starts hitting me at random, even though he's my master. He doesn't teach me anything good, but teaches useless stuff instead. What kind of master is he? You dare to talk back? Kneel. Ming Bai. Ah. Uh, I refuse. You're just a year older than me. In a year, you will no longer be able to defeat me. Stop bullying the weak. If you're so tyrannical, just kill me. Do you think that I wouldn't dare to? It's such an embarrassment to have a disciple as useless as you. So what if I kill you? Young Master Yun. Please don't. With that temper, Li Yunxiao might really try to kill him. You're infuriating. Why did I raise you all these years? Apologize to him right now, or I will disown you as my brother. Sis. What's going on? Why is it so noisy? Uncle Lee. It's Uncle Lee. Uncle Lee, save me. Ming Bai? Ming Wu, what is going on? The uncle next door martial warrior Lee Da Yuan. Uncle Lee, that's him. He forced me to become his disciple, and now he's trying to kill me. Oh? Three-star martial warrior? Brett, you've got some talent. But you're in the wrong. You shouldn't be so heavy-handed. Which faceless nobody were you again? Is it any of your business if I punish my disciple? How arrogant. You're trying to imitate others taking disciples at such a young age? Uncle Lee, that's not true. Don't listen to Ming Bai's nonsense. Looks like I'll have to teach you a lesson today. It isn't nonsense. That's just how it is. Even if someone were to take me as a disciple, I want to be a disciple of a master like Uncle Lee. All right. Ming Bai, I'll take you as my disciple right now. When you break through to become a martial warrior, I will form a mercenary group. Our income would be a hundred times more than what we get from the mines right now. Mercenary group? All right. Uncle Lee, you'll be the group leader and I'll be the vice group leader. I want to learn the Concealed Tiger Fist too. Ha ha, all right. On top of the Concealed Tiger Fist, I know the Diamond Fist and the Iron Sand Fist too. I will teach you all of them at once. Let me take care of your freaky little master first. Uncle Lee, don't do it. Although Uncle Lee is a five-star martial warrior, he definitely can't take even a single blow from Li Yunxiao. Don't worry, Ming Wu. I'll just teach him a quick lesson. I won't actually hurt him. I'll just stand here. I won't move, won't dodge, won't retaliate, and I won't even use my Yuan Qi. If you can so much as hurt a single hair on me, I'll kneel down and lick your shoes. Won't move, won't dodge, won't retaliate, won't use my Yuan Qi. Brett, you're fearless. You won't move, won't dodge, and won't use your Yuan Qi either? Even if it were a Nine Heavens Martial Sovereign, they would get flattened by my Diamond Fist and Iron Sand Fist. Eat this. Universal Guard, Exile. Uncle Lee. Uncle Lee. Kneel. Come and lick my shoes. Uncle Lee, stand up. Stand up right now. Use your Diamond Fist to send him flying. Your Iron Sand Fist too. Make him cough up blood from a single hit. You aren't fit to lick my shoes. Our brave and tough Uncle Lee was kicked away like a little mutt. Didn't you want to die? It's your turn. S stay away. Young Master Yun. Please just forgive him. He's too young to understand. Blame me for not teaching him properly. His body was good. Whatever. I don't want him anymore. Wait. Don't go. 
Ming Bai. I don't want you to go. I want to learn from you. Master, please. I was wrong. I don't own such pathetic disciples. I admit I'm wrong. Master, please forgive me just this once. Young Master Yun. Please forgive him. I'll make sure that he never goes mining again and let him train properly at home, sis. I can't let you support us alone. I'll still go mining, but I will complete the techniques Master conveyed. One more chance. That's it. If you can open all seven chakras in five days and break through to the first origin realm, I'll allow you to continue being my disciple. Or else scram. Five days? Young Master Yun, he's only opened five chakras. How can he do it in five days? Okay. Five days is fine. If Master gave me five days, he must think that I can. After five days, I'll come and check on you. We'll talk then. Hotel room. Black lass unsealed, ten times gravity. Li Yunchao promptly stayed at the nearest hotel and started training. The Alchemist Association Master, Su Han, and the Chief Palace Refiner, Lord Zhang Qing Fan, have announced the first joint training seclusion in decades, causing the public to guess the intentions behind it to no avail. Compared to that, the first tier refiner known to have the highest potential, Jia Rong Seclusion, lost any meaning. Five days later, four star warrior breakthrough. Arg. Brother. Stop it. Enough training. I can't. I feel like I'm close to it. The poison on your body looks so scary. You're gonna die if you continue. I'll die if I have to. Arg. Please stop it. I, I did it. Ha ha. One star warrior breakthrough. Sis, I did it. Look at your body, so much poison. I'll go look for young Master Yun. Only he can remove the poison. So much more poison created. Ah, Yun. Not bad, not bad. I can benefit from this. Master, I broke through. I really did it in just five days. Not bad. I've seen it all. Sit tight. Let me absorb all of the poison. Master, why was it that after you absorbed the poison out of my body, I felt that the pain was fading, but also felt some strength subsiding as well? Your body type is a heaven and earth poison body. The poison inside is a natural source, and it contains primordial chi. The more potent the poison, the more power you have. But, your current level has no way of dealing with the poison. Following your training progress, the pressure will increase along with the toxin levels. Once it reaches an equilibrium, not only will you not be harmed by the poison, but you can also use your body's natural poisons to your advantage. Once you have learned to harness the poisons within your own body, and unless you meet others with a naturally powerful body type, or someone who is of a higher martial level than you, you will be unbeatable. HM? Other naturally powerful body types? Other than the heaven and earth poison body, this world has countless unique body types, which all have incredible power. If you press on in the martial realm, you'll eventually meet another one. Doesn't that mean the poison inside me is good? Of course it's good. Why else would I absorb it? So Master was just using me all this time. Um. Every single one of these antidotes can suppress the poison inside you for three days. You can use them for suppression when I'm not around, but the answer will still require your own power and strength to find the method for controlling it from your training. Quick, thank your master. Ah, thank you for your help, master. Your talents aren't bad either, it's just that you're too busy working and not training. That's why you're stuck at a martial apprentice level. Just consume this origin impacting pill and you'll be able to ascend to a warrior. Origin impacting pill? These things are really expensive. The worst ones on the market already cost over a thousand gold coins apiece. Any pills that I refined in my previous life would have been priceless. Not even 10 million high-grade materials could have bought one. Ming Bai, 
Are you going mining today? Huh? Uncle Lee, look. I'm a warrior now. You're such a gremlin. Your master's even weirder. You, come here. Master, please don't make things hard for Uncle Lee. What's your name? Everyone calls me Uncle Lee, so please just call me that. No one has dared to call themselves Uncle in front of me. Do you have a death wish? El Lee Di Yuan. I'm Lee Di Yuan. Li Yunchao got information about the purple sunstones from Li Da Yuan. He learned that the duke and his family had sealed off the ore veins containing the stones. Thus, he sent Li Da Yuan to infiltrate his own family's mining team. Sneak into the Li family's mining team and find me these purple sunstones. You'll get 500 gold coins a month. 500 gold coins. I used to work with many of the people in their mining team. Don't worry. So long as he or Vane contains these stones, I will get them for you. The two of you, change into some clean clothes and attend a banquet with me. A banquet? Where would this banquet be? The Imperial Palace. Thus, suddenly remembered that I have to do something very important. This evening, I'll be waiting for you right outside the palace doors. It's always nicer to be alone. Li Yunchao. Humph, don't try to fool me. Huh? What? This is. You, uh. How is this possible? Huh? Why does it smell like beef? I can't mobilize any of my Yuan Chi. How is this possible? Who are you? What business do you have? Tell me. Ugh, I was going to lead you to a deserted area so I could pass on my message. But it looks like you've caught me and brought me to one on your own. Young Master Yun Chao, it's me. Duke Family Staff Li Xian. Oh, so you're Li Xian. Why aren't you with our fourth uncle? Why have you come to find me? So the rumors about you are true. You beat the peak 9-star martial warrior Lan Qian in one move and saved the princess with golden needle acupuncture. You've hidden your abilities so well, it's caused everyone a lot of trouble. Get to the point. Our fourth uncle got the news. Are you attending the Imperial Palace's banquet tonight? If you keep wasting time, I'll get going. The thing is, young Master Yun Chao, the rumors about you have reached Li Yi. Our fourth uncle said that if you were to attend the banquet tonight, Li Yi would make things difficult for you. Thus, he hopes that you can stand down tonight to avoid conflict with Li Yi. He's just an adopted child of the Li family who was only given the Li surname for being a good slave. I've never taken him seriously. But if he doesn't watch himself and chooses to get in my way, I don't mind shattering him. Young Master Yun Chao, you shouldn't underestimate him. Not only is Li Yi strong, he's also certain to have strong forces backing him. Right now, the entire Li family is practically under his control. Out of consideration for the Lord and yourself, our father hasn't done anything yet. Young Master Yun Chao, if you just stay away from his blade and wait for our fourth uncle and the Lord to complete preparations, we can eradicate these small fries in one fell swoop. Humph, I've no interest in playing house with my father and you guys. As for the forces backing Li Yi, I'm not sure about the others, but the current king must have a hand in it. If not, how could a clown control the generation's old family of a famed general with many accomplishments? I usually follow our fourth uncle, so I sometimes hear some reports. Just recently, I heard him mention that his majesty's forces might have a part to play in this. At the time, everyone was shaken and found it hard to believe, but Li Yunchao guessed it so easily. Young Master Yunchao, H, how did you guess that? It's really obvious. The Lord has the most military accomplishments. Hundreds of people are at his beck and call. My father controls millions of troops and is defending the western border. Which means that the country's entire army is basically the Li family's private army. If you were the king, would you be able to sleep knowing that? 
Don't you think the Lawn family's rapid rise in recent years was just a measure to keep us in check? But even so, Qin Jing still wouldn't be able to rest at ease. So he got a puppet, Li Yi. He would be able to divide the Li family from within and keep my father, who was far away at the western border, in check. That would be something His Majesty would like to see. How could young Master Yun Chao thoroughly understand such a complex situation? So, are we really going to let ourselves be maneuvered without resistance? You don't have to worry about that. Go back and tell our fourth uncle to relax and do what he has to. But, enough. I'm not interested in being a part of what you are doing, but if Li Yi doesn't watch himself or Qin Zhang gets tired of being the king, I don't mind helping him enter a different position. Ah, palace entrance. Every royal banquet is the best opportunity for the country's most important officials and ministers to communicate freely and improve their relationships. Young Master Yun? Dang, Young Master Yun. Where have you been these days? Young Master Yun, what's up with your body? Why is it as hard as steel? My hand's swollen. Whoa! Your fist's so big. I have two origin impacting pills here. You should be able to ascend to a martial warrior once you consume them. How's that possible? I've only just opened my fourth chakra. This is an origin impacting pill? Don't lie to us, Young Master Yun. Most of the origin impacting pills I've seen have a grayish hue, and the better ones have a milky white color. None of them look like these ones. They look like marbles. If you don't want it, then give it back. Lord Zhang Qingfan made these himself. What? Young Master Yun. Master. I'm here. Doesn't this beauty look somewhat familiar? Ah, uh, it's you. The bar lady, Meng Wu. Oh, no wonder you were gone for a few days. Young Master Yun, are you tuckered out still? A regular girl like her became so pretty with just some dressing up? Damn. Young Master Yun, you've got good taste. You're so mysterious. Let me reintroduce you. This is my friend, Meng Wu. This is her younger brother, Meng Bai who's also my newest disciple. Hello, I'm Meng Bai. D-disciple? Young Master Yun went to such great lengths just to pick up a girl. So, the reason you took me in was just to date my sister? Meng Bai. Whoa, banquet hall. Main hall those who have the privilege to enter the main hall have some of the greatest presences in the country. Li Yi. Li Yunxiao was notorious countrywide for being trash, but now he's suddenly popular. Li Yunxiao's uncle Li Baifeng. Not only did he make quite a name for himself by defeating Lan Qian, who was hailed as a genius, in one move, head scribe Lan Hong. He even demonstrated golden needle acupuncture and cured the princess's chronic illness. Commander of the city guards Xiao Qing Wang. Tonight, Li Yunxiao. Second tier alchemist Liang Wingyu. First Prince Qin Yang. Second Prince Qin Yu. Will certainly be one of the main characters of this banquet. Since you're here, come up and sit here. We're all from the Li family. How could you sit at the spot designated for another family? Do you know why we are born with our nostrils facing downwards? Ah? Uh, W-Y is that? Ho ho, if our nostrils were facing upwards. Wouldn't your nose get filled with water when it rains? Ha ha ha. E he. Ha. Humph. Ha ha. What an interesting guy. Li Yunxiao. What nonsense. As a member of the Li family, you should get on your knees and apologize to the Li family substitute head right now. You're in front of me, so why aren't you kneeling? You, uh. H, how did you? How, my foot? I realized that you were a good little slave for the Lee family, and so you were granted the Lee surname. 
but you need to keep your dogs in line. Slave number 8527. Number 8. A servant should behave themselves. Otherwise, their bones will be shattered and fed to the dogs. You. Today is a banquet hosted by His Majesty. I'm not willing to shatter your bones in front of the officials. You. Go to hell. Ugh. Today is a big day, a banquet hosted by His Majesty and his officials. Stop making a fuss. You're disturbing the banquet. Commander Shao is right. Somebody, clean up this mess and set up another table for young Master Li. Li Yunchao, prepare yourself. Your actions have consequences. Huh, all bark no bite. His moves just now were seamless, flowing like water, floating like clouds. There wasn't even the slightest hesitation. His fists and movements followed his will seamlessly. How could a martial warrior display such abilities? Only experts who've gone through centuries of tempering can do that. Even I wouldn't claim to have such a deep understanding of martial arts. His Majesty has arrived. Long live the Emperor. Long live the Emperor. Tian Shui's Emperor Qin Zheng. Lame. Today, this banquet was held in celebration of two joyous occasions. The first, Commander Yunchang has become a rank two alchemist. She's truly a once in a generation genius. The second, my daughter's decades long illness has finally been completely cured. These two events bring me endless joy and relief. Your Majesty, such great fortune. The heavens must have blessed Tenshui with talents. Let this old official congratulate Commander Luo and Princess Rushue. This old official has prepared two special gifts. These are moon pearls from the East Sea. It took this old official quite a lot of time to find them. I shall give them to Commander Luo and Princess Rushue. Haha, ha, the Prime Minister is quite rich. Those two pearls cost a couple hundred thousand gold coins, right? I'm not as rich as that old minister, but I've prepared two martial techniques as a gift. One is a yang technique, the smashing axe sun, and the other is a water spiritual technique, the tranquil sutra. These are my two gifts. It's the smashing axe sun technique that was left behind in Tianxue by a martial expert at the Six Zodiacs realm centuries ago. Many thanks, Commander. Many thanks, Grandpa Xiao. These are grade 2 youth pills refined by me. They can preserve your youth for over 20 years. Commander Luo, your movements are graceful like a jade fairy. This one got someone to make a hairpin out of tranquil jade just for you. I commissioned Sir Shiwen Jiang, the number one sculptor in Tianxue, to make it. May Commander Luo's elegance and beauty be eternal. Tranquil jade? Tranquil Jade calms the person's mind, allowing them to resist mental demons during cultivation. It's a rare treasure. Exactly, this treasure is only fit to be worn by Commander Luo. Many thanks, young Master Li. Princess Rushiue's beauty and temperament has always been admired by this one. I can't think of anyone or anything in this world that is worthy for you. Isn't Li just flirting with the princess? I purchased a demon beast egg from the Huwu Empire just for you, spending a fortune in the process. I present this to Princess Rushue. I hope it will be to your liking. A demon beast egg. Demon beasts are the fiercest things on the continent of Tianwu. Even cultivators need to avoid them. Many people will try to tame a demon beast due to increase their strength. Although some succeeded, most failed. Demon beasts have an extremely cruel and violent nature that makes them extremely difficult to tame. However, in the end, someone came up with a different, more effective method. Get a demon beast egg and stay with it. When the demon beast egg hatches, care for it and feed it. Because the demon beast grew up with you, it will be extremely loyal to you. Once this method became known, the value of demon eggs skyrocketed. Young people nowadays really go all out when flirting. Lee, thank you. 
Poof, the demon beast egg isn't fake. But, what's the use of an already dead demon beast egg? Is it to eat? For fuck's sake man, the inside of the egg is already rotten. It's inedible. Li Yunchao, you don't know anything, so stop uttering nonsense here. Do you know how much this cost? It can buy 100 or even 1,000 of you. No matter how much it's worth, it's a dead egg. Li Yunchao, how do you know this is a dead egg? No matter what I say, he will deny it. Just cut the egg open and everyone will know. Humph. Cut open? Can you afford such a valuable thing if it's cut open? Rushiwe, when you have worked so hard to incubate this egg for several months and find it hasn't even moved, you will know that I am right. You are still uttering nonsense. Li Yunchao, be careful in your speech. Don't speak randomly without evidence. For your credit of saving the princess, I'll let this matter pass, but you mustn't utter any nonsense again. This demon beast egg is undoubtedly a dead egg, no matter one go by its color or with the perception of divine sense. But this thing is too precious, and not many people have seen it, so no one know about this. These ten longan pearls are for my dear sister Rushiwe. I wish you become more and more beautiful, and marry a suitable husband as soon as possible. And these ten pieces of supreme grade primordial stones are my gift for Commander Luo. I wish you an early breakthrough to become the third martial king of Kenshue. Longan Pearls it's not as expensive as moon pearls, but it cost at least tens of thousands of gold coins apiece. And there are actually ten of them. But, the most amazing of all are the ten pieces of supreme grade primordial stones. The higher the level of a warrior's cultivation, the more dependent they become on primordial stones. The deposit of supreme grade primordial stones is extremely scarce, and the value of these ten supreme grade primordial stones is far higher than that of the demon beast egg. Although the ten longan pearls are precious, but they are nothing when compared with the ten pieces of supreme grade primordial stones. Although Rushiwe has a prestigious status, she's only worth a few pearls. But Yunshang is completely different. She is not only one of the five commanders of the State Guardians, but she has also become a martial lord of the Four Quadrants realm at such a young age. Her future achievements are bound to be limitless. Moreover, she has now made a breakthrough and become an alchemist. In short, she is the most gifted person in the state of Tianxue in the past 1,000 years, in addition to Yang Di. Wooing her is not only of great help to my accession to the throne, Besides, Luo Yunchang is also a rare beauty, and I have long been in love with her. I sent people to express my thoughts to her many times, but all I got was cold replies. Let's see if you're still not impresses this time. My lord, your gift is too expensive, I dare not accept it. Yunchang, don't you understand my feelings for you? Today, in front of all the civil and military officials, I, Qin Yang, would like to propose to you. Marry me, Yunchang. My lord, if you are so presumptuous again, don't blame me for turning against you. I have already gone so far, and yet I was still rejected. Yunchang, I know I don't deserve you. But in Tianxue, no one is worthy of you except me. My lord, you've forgotten yourself. Do you have someone in mind? Who is he? Tell me. I'll fight him. I knew it. Who is he? I will be convinced if he can defeat me. I am really eager to know. Who is that expert that has captured the heart of the state's number one proud beauty? Hmm? You ask me who he is. Fifteen years ago at that time, I was only a five-year-old girl who did not know what love was all about and was cultivating day after day in the Shinshao Temple on the Snowfall Peak. I always thought that this is how my whole life would pass. But on one occasion, after my master came back from a trip, she seemed to become another person, losing her temper all day. The once amiable and beautiful master had become sentimental, harsh, and increasingly dissatisfied with the progress of her disciples' cultivation. She always lost her temper with them. Even I, her most beloved disciple, was not less punished. 
Since then, I often heard my master gnashing her teeth and muttering a person's name. I was very naive at that time, and I always thought that whoever made my master cry, I would definitely give that person a good beating when I had the strength in the future. Later, I learned that person's name. His name was Gu Feiyang. The 9-5 Supreme Pill is one of the best 9th grade medicinal pills in the world. It contains the natural law of the supreme combination between 9 and 5, and its refining method has long been lost. Who dares to not obey the Xinxiao Decree? Master Chu, if you want to summon us, you just need to give us the order. Why give us such a generous gift? Martial Sovereign of the Nine Heavens Realm Fu Qishui Although there are only a dozen or so left in Xinxiao Temple, I have nothing else but these medicinal pills which are worthy of your help. They are of great help even to a martial sovereign of the Nine Heavens Realm. The number one beauty in Tianwu Continent Martial Sovereign of the Nine Heavens Realm Master of the Xinxiao Temple Chu Hongyin. Master Chu, the gift is too valuable. However, as my current cultivation happens to be stuck in a bottleneck, I can certainly succeed in breaking through with this amazing pill. Hence, I will not stand on ceremony with you. After we are done dealing with Gu Feiyang, I will not hesitate to assist if Master Chu needs any help in the future. Martial Sovereign of the Nine Heavens Realm Mu Yangshu To deal with Gu Feiyang, you are willing to pay the price of 1095 Supreme Pills, Master Chu, you have overestimated why Martial Sovereign of the Nine Heavens Realm Wan Jiwenhao. Don't be careless, Jiwenhao. Gu Feiyang is ranked third on the latest Heaven and Earth Power Chart. None of us is a match for his strength. Martial Sovereign of the Nine Heavens Realm Kong Yuan Kuei. When the latest Heaven and Earth Power Chart was reshuffling, I happened to be cultivating a very powerful divine ability in seclusion, so I missed it. Now that I've mastered the divine ability, I need someone to test its power on. So, when Gu Feiyang comes, you will be able to cope with him alone. Ha ha. I will try my best, but it is safer for all of us to fight him together. Ji Hao, what divine ability have you mastered that makes you so confident to fight Gu Feiyang alone? Martial Sovereign of the Nine Heavens Realm Chen Feizhou. I wonder if you have ever heard of the Great Ganji Seal. The Great Ganji Seal? Is it the Great Ganji Seal of Ganji's Martial Sovereign, the strongest man in the continent 10,000 years ago? Yes, it is none other than the Ganji's Martial Sovereign's Supreme Martial Technique. Not to mention Gu Feiyang, even if Tyrant Martial Sovereign comes, his imperishable golden body will be crushed to pieces under my Great Ganji Seal. Ha <laughs> ha. I was a little worried at first, but now that Brother Juno has mastered the Great Ganji Seal, I am relieved. Although I am not as talented as you, I was lucky enough to have found a super ninth grade mystic weapon not long ago, the Transmigration Spear. Together with my seasoned spear techniques, I'm almost invincible. Martial Sovereign of the Nine Heavens Realm Sure to High The ten of us are all Martial Sovereigns of the Nine Heavens Realm, added with Master Chu, let alone Gu Feiyang. Even if the top three in the Heaven and Earth Power Chart are here, they will not be able to go back alive. Martial Sovereign of the Nine Heavens Realm on Guaho What worries me now is that Gu Feiyang knows we're all here, and he's afraid to come to this fight. Even if Gu Feiyang does not dare to come, nevertheless, to be able to visit this wonderland of the Xinxiao Temple, the time we spent to come here is not wasted. Without an invitation, no man has ever dared to set foot here. To have so many men gathered on the Snowfall Peak at one time is something that has never happened in Xinxiao Temple for thousands of years. Indeed. Ha ha ha. Come. Let's drink some wine. Xinxiao Temple is a famous wonderland on Earth, and the Snowfall Peak is located at the end of the sky, on top of the Sea of Clouds, looking outside from the temple, the scenery is beyond words. Ha ha, I don't think that Gu Feiyang will come. What vanquish your martial sovereign, what number three on the Heaven and Earth power chart, he is nothing but a coward. We can't blame him either, knowing that there are eleven martial sovereigns waiting here, no one would have the courage to come, ha ha. Do you think Gu Feiyang will invite helpers to come with him? If he brings ten martial sovereigns to help him, the battle would be intense. Martial Sovereign of the Nine Heavens Realm Yi Yuan Even if it's ten against ten, we might not lose. 
When that happens, leave Gu Feiyang to me. Gu Feiyang, he won't ask for help. How is Master Chu so sure? Because he's already here. What? He is already here? Where is he? Could Palace Master Chu be mistaken? I'm not mistaken. Do none of you notice? The ascending wind? Ascending wind? We're on top of a mountain peak. Of course, there'll be wind. The ascent of the wind and clouds. Great wind and cloud palm. The heavens stirred because of me. Such a strong force. Everyone, attack together. Don't falter. Why is it so strong? Great Ganch Seal. Blast it apart. Ninth Grade Xian Weapon, Heaven Spear. Frost Finger. Dragon Art Primordial Seal. Heavenly Art Buddha's Hand. Mystic Art Frozen Fist. War Art Sword of Flame. Remnant Palm. Spirit Dragon. We're all martial sovereigns. Why is there such a difference in our strength? He's still so handsome. Nine Heavens Realm Martial Sovereign Gu Feiyang. Hong Yin, was this really necessary? Who have I danced for? Who overturned the world for me? Shall I dance for you one last time? Accept it. You've lost. You know I actually lost a long time ago. He he. Gu Feiyang, one of us will die today. You aren't my match. Those ten ants couldn't even withstand a single move. How can you kill me? I invited those ten people with the intention of depleting your primordial chi. To think that those pieces of trash couldn't even withstand a single move. Let it begin. The Array of Purple Stars Ah, uh, you really have your heart set on killing me. The Shinshao Temple's Protection Array has existed for tens of thousands of years. It's already been a thousand years since it's last used. Today, this unfilial disciple, Chu Hongyin, Relying on this array and the Sword of Purple Knight shall kill Gu Feiyang. The Kochab Battle Formation can borrow power from the stars, which allows the treasured legendary sword I'm holding to absorb the strength that the palace would normally project onto these mountains and lands. Here on this snowy peak, underneath the Kochab star, I am a god. Gu Feiyang, I will defeat you here today, no matter your power. It's all you, old friend. Even if you have a billion stars, I'll finish this in one strike. Star Strike Sword Omniscient View. Fell snow on violet night, neither God nor man shall sight. Violet night sword, to all will it ward. Jay just hang in there. This man is the definition of ultimate coolness. Just. A few more, seconds to look. My memory of it ends there. When I woke up, word reached me that the palace lady had gone into seclusion. The rest of my fellow disciples left in search of new masters on the other mountains. No one was left on Snowfall Peak. As for me, since I chose to leave the palace, I started aimlessly traversing the continent. All just to see the eyes of that man once more. I realize now that on that day my master lost. The military breaker Gu Feiyang defeated ten Nine Heavens Realm Martial Sovereigns with a single move and repressed the Heavenly Knight Palace's Lady Chu Hongyin. The news quickly spread through the continent of Tianwu. Gu Feiyang's reputation soared like the sun itself. But just then, the tragic news of Gu Feiyang's untimely death came from the Tiandang Mountains. I couldn't believe it, no matter what. The iridescent eyes of that man had died. Who in the world could have killed him? Eventually, I reached the country of Tianchui and decided to stay at Jialan Academy. 
because on these grounds stood the most mythical statue of Gu Feiyang, unmatched across the whole of Qianwu. On that day, at the martial arena, the demeanor of this young man was the exact same as the statue of Gu Feiyang. It's a shame that you're not him. Who in the world is he? Do I not even qualify to know of him? He has passed away. Huh? Dead? No matter who he is, since he's already dead, I now have a chance. What did he ever do to make your heart so loyal? I'll definitely be able to do anything that he did. You can do it? Then listen closely. At the Divine Shape Sea, he refined Super Xian weapons that could strike the stars. He ascended as the youngest ninth tier refiner and was named as the most famous elder in the Alchemist Association. In the Crimson Crescent City, he brought down the city defenses with a single strike, eradicating one of the three superpowers from the continent. In the Eastern Seas, he aided his friend in a massacre that stretched across 8,000 miles of water and caused the Emperor of the Sea. Folk to issue a decree for his execution. In the Holy Lands, he suppressed a vast army of warriors, obtained third place on the Heaven and Earth Cloud Wind leaderboard, and was dubbed the Military Breaker. On the Snowfall Peak, he strode through the clouds and defeated ten martial sovereigns with one move. The most beautiful woman in the world, the Heavenly Night Palace Lady Chu Hong Yin, with the appearance of a goddess, even she wasn't able to woo him. There's still much more. Now you should know who the person who has my heart is, right? If you can do even a hundredth of what he could, I, Luo Yunchang, will marry you. I know, of course I do. Everyone knows him. The name that disappeared 15 years ago. I'm a bit tired, I'll take my leave. I'm sorry. Young Master Yun, Young Master Yun, what's wrong? Commander Luo isn't feeling well. Everyone, continue. If Commander Luo had agreed to the marriage proposal, then not only would Qi Yang obtain the help of an alchemist and a martial lord, but also the support of the state guardians. He would have gained tremendous power. It's my time to present a gift. Master, there's something that's been bugging me. I didn't quite get who the pretty lady was talking about. Do you know? Was she talking about Lord Yang Di? He was Lord Yang Di's master. Lord Gu Feiyang was a peerless expert. That statue in Jialan Academy is of him. Whoa! So it was him. I've seen that statue before. Although he looks imposing, he certainly doesn't look that handsome. He rejected the number one beauty in the world. Could he be an idiot? You don't know shit. It's called keeping your options open. Bullshit. I think he's either an idiot or gay. Ha ha, yeah. I also think he must have been gay. Although I've never seen Chen Xiao's palace master, she was known as the number one beauty in the world. She must have been a stunning beauty. Whose heart wouldn't be moved? Aren't you guys being a little disrespectful towards a legendary martial artist? Respect my ass. Isn't he just a little bit stronger than us? Isn't he just a little more fierce? Han Bai, what do you think? Truer words have never been spoken. The number one beauty in the world had fallen for him. How sinful. He totally deserved to die. Yes, yes. Li Yunxiao, did you prepare a gift for me? Didn't we just come to eat? What gift? Humph, it looks like someone forgot his gift. What are you? A moocher? A moocher? Ha, huh, you think I'm a moocher? You must be dreaming. Li Yunxiao, did you prepare me a gift? Show it to me, quickly. Master, take out the gift you prepared. Everyone is watching. Ru Xue, if Yunxiao hadn't saved you, you wouldn't be alive. Yeah, yeah, so what? That's unrelated. If he doesn't give me a good gift, then... You already know that I possess nothing good to give you. So, I plan to play the zither for you today to celebrate the princess' health. Ha ha. 
Who would want to listen to a poor man like you play the zither? The number of musicians in the palace reaches the thousands. You better not disgrace the Lee family. Number eight, who said you could talk? Know your place. You. Wow. You actually know how to play the zither. I want to listen. This is killing me. We spent huge amounts of gold on gifts, but we never once made the princess smile. This brat's worthless performance actually made the princess happy. Duke Jingwo was a military man. General Philong was skilled in martial arts. I didn't expect that one of their descendants could play music. I can't believe it. Li Yunxiao is exuding the aura of a grand master, a refined temperament. It's shocking. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Flowers are blooming in the courtyard. What? How are flowers blooming in the middle of the night? A spring breeze lowers bloom. Guanling melody bloom. So pretty, the flowers under the moonlight. It's a pity that Teacher Luo already left. I wonder how she would have felt after listening to this Guanling melody. Legend has it that when Gu Feiyang and Chu Hongyan first met this Guangling melody was played in the purple bamboo forest of Qinghua Island. Back then, the forest was covered in frost, but upon hearing the melody, the flower spirit awoke and made the flowers bloom. I didn't expect to have the great fortune of listening to such a piece. Seriously, this heavenly melody should only be found in the heavens. Few mortals have heard it. Who have I danced for? Who overturned the world for me? Ha, great. Just great. I have lived for so many years, but it was not until now that I have heard such a beautiful piece. The palace musicians that I've been feeding can all go home. As of tomorrow, they can all pack their bags and get lost. So what if he played well? He didn't spend a single cent the princess didn't actually benefit at all, so it can't compare to my demon egg. How uncultured. The gift he presented today was very precious. If I could listen to it again, I would be willing to pay anything. Commander Xiao, how could you say that? If you wanted to listen to it, you could just make him play it a few more times. To play a heavenly piece, the time of the day, geographical location, and people present must be right. Back then, the number one beauty of Earth was in the violet bamboo forest. As for today, the god of flowers could appear because Princess Rushua was in the palace. Ho ho, of course you wouldn't know such things. 808. Oh, you didn't have time to learn in the past, so you should pick up your slack in the future. He compared me to the number one beauty of earth, Chu Hong Yin. Ahem. Not only did I prepare a gift for Commander Luo and Princess Rushua, I've also prepared a simple gift for Commander Xiao. I have not done anything deserving, so I will decline. Young Master Li, you don't have to. I heard that years ago, while fighting the martial king of the country of a thousand battles, Yi Shaoshan, you received an internal injury. Even to this day, you haven't been able to resolve it. I was lucky enough to obtain a clear dragon's eye pill. I wish to present it to Commander Xiao. What? The sixth tier medicine, the clear dragon's eye pill. Of course. Fang Jin, bring out the pill and present it to Commander Xiao. Commander Xiao, if you take this pill, first-tier alchemist Fang Jin not only would it heal any injuries remaining in your body, but your cultivation would also be increased. I was able to just barely win the fight back then, but I was heavily injured. My cultivation hasn't increased at all. In fact, it's been slowly regressing. If Xiao Qing Wang were to lose his abilities due to his injuries, Zhong Lishan would become the only martial king left in Tianxue. Our national power would certainly take a hit. Low-grade medicine is no longer able to suppress my injuries. My core is already being corroded. If I don't do anything, I have at most a few years left. I've sent many people to search for medicine, but they've all returned empty-handed. And yet Li Wai managed to find the clear dragon's eye pill which could completely cure him. 
Li Yi, you have made a great contribution. No matter what reward you ask for, I will grant it. Thank you, Your Majesty. I hope. To marry Princess Rushiwe. Li Yi, know your place. Father, don't agree to it no matter what. I was of low status at birth. Although I appear to control the Li family, my position is precarious. Few still acknowledge me. If I want to turn the situation around, I need to have a position of high status. And without a doubt, being the princess's fiancé is the best choice. Princess Rushiwe is the textbook definition of a beauty too. Father, Father, you wouldn't actually, Your Majesty, my feelings for Princess Rushiwe are genuine. Please grant my wish. Rushiwe, don't be stubborn. Li Yi has made a great contribution. I would be at ease if you were to marry him. I believe that his feelings for you are genuine. Why else would he go out of his way to obtain a precious demon egg for you? I also need to use Li Yi to keep the Li family in check. Although my daughter is precious, she can't be compared to the well-being of the country. What? How could my father, who has always loved and cherished me? I don't want this anymore. It really was a rotten egg. Father, it really was rotten. Look, how could he treat me like this? How could you say his feelings are genuine? Father, please. Demon eggs are extremely precious. How can one tell so easily? The egg being rotten would only mean that Lee E was scammed too. Right, right. Well said, Your Majesty. I was also scammed. That damned seller needs to die a slow, painful death. That does not negate his contributions. Li Yi has made a huge contribution. I hereby announce that Rushiwe. Hold on. That clear dragon's eye pill is fake. What? Presenting a fake pill in front of his majesty and all the court officials is a grave crime that would warrant the death penalty. It was presented to Xiao Qing Wang too. Who would dare to fake it? Fake pill, fake. It must be fake. Father, execute him. Li Yunxiao, this is a sixth-tier medicine which I spent a fortune on. How dare you confuse the crowd with your lies? Your Majesty, he's spouting nonsense once again. His intentions are obviously impure. Again? Ah. Lord Liang, what do you think of this pill? Your Majesty, the pill doesn't seem fake, but the grade of a sixth-tier medicine is too high for me to determine if it is genuine. Li Yunxiao, you said that the pill is fake. Do you have proof? It would be very easy to determine. Although the pill itself isn't poisonous, it can produce a strong poison upon coming into contact with blood and water. Whoever ingests it would pass away on the spot. What? Your Majesty, don't listen to his nonsense. When Commander Xiao takes the pill and makes a full recovery, you will know that the pill was real. If you don't believe me, we can test it. If he passes away after taking the pill, would your head really be worth Commander Zhao's life? Test? How? Six-tier medicine is so precious. If we were to lose the pill by testing it, then even if we killed you, it would be nowhere near enough. It's simple. Put a bit of blood on the pill and feed it to a dog. If the dog dies, you will know that he pill was fake and contained strong poison. If the dog doesn't die within ten breaths, I will have been proven wrong, and you still have time to kill the dog and retrieve the pill. All right. That's a solid plan. Servants, bring a dog here. One of them must be lying. I want to see who has the guts to lie to me. Number eight. Give me your filthy blood. Why don't you use your own blood? You are the one who brought this whole thing up. Number 8527. What the hell did you just call me, bastard? I was talking to him. He's a newly recruited servant. Young master, I came. My new number 8527. Number 8527, that's your predecessor. Greetings, predecessor. 
Why you? Be careful. Ha ha ha. The Lee family situation is starting to get messy. Number eight, drop some blood on this pill. Huh? Why do you want my blood? Can't you use your own? Isn't it enough? That's already a lot of blood. That's just a drop. More. This pill upon touching blood will create a deadly poison. Even a single drop can kill an expert martial king. Lee Yi can't escape the sin of presenting a poisonous pill. After all, Meng Bai's blood is on the pill. The heaven and earth body's origin poison is literally the origin of all poisons. Even my previous self, a rank 9 alchemist, couldn't defuse the poison. I could only expel the poison out of my body. Wait. You, out. Let the guard come and feed it. You, come. Your Majesty, there seem to be no problems. Humph, I told you so. It's over. Whatever happens next, even if I have to accept the marriage, I'll protect Li Yunxiao's life. Bastard, you deceived the Emperor. Today shall be your death. Ha ha ha. Huh. W where did that poisoned and totally dead dog come from? You tell me. How? How is this possible? It's you. You definitely did this. You definitely hid the real dog. Definitely. Hurry up and bring out the real dog. Take back this dead dog. Lee Yi presented a poison pill. He's undoubtedly a goner. To think that the strife in our Lee family would get fixed so easily. Guards, drag Li Yi and Fang Jin away. It hasn't been easy raising a pawn to restrict the Li family. How could this happen? Lock them in the imperial prison. Your Majesty, Your Majesty. Li Yunxiao hid the real dog. You should definitely kill his entire family. If I don't kill him, how do I explain it to Xiao Qing Wang? If I kill him, how can I restrict the Li family? This is an injustice, your majesty. Your majesty, kill his entire family. What a joke. Even a prince would die if he plotted to kill the commander-in-chief of the state guardians, let alone a servant who gained a bit of power. It's already a surprise that he hasn't been killed on the spot. His majesty seems to have other plans. Your majesty, this old servant's injuries are flaring up. I shall take my leave. General Xiao, you must take good care of your body. I shall have my men bring a hundred nourishing pills to the Xiao mansion. H.M. General Xiao, slow down. Can I look at General Zhao's injuries? Ah, uh, yes. Li Yunxiao knows the golden needle acupuncture method. Since he could cure Rushu's five pulses of in exhaustion, he might be able to fix your problem. Very well. I'm freaking desperate. Since it's come to this, have a look. Divine Sense Kid, how is it? Kid? Something wrong? Li Chunyang is a kid in my eyes too. Are you not a kid? Do your humor ulnar joints and radius bones feel like they're being chewed by ants three times a day? Is it like an itch you can't scratch? Yes. Do your Feng Min and Shindao acupuncture points feel as if they're frozen every midnight? Yes. Did your chi show signs of dissipating during the early morning last year? Does this symptom now persist two hours longer? Yes. When you circulate chi through your hands Yang Meridian to your hands Yin Meridian, does a paralyzing feeling, almost like an electric current, travel through your body? Yes. Yes, I got it. Kid, you're awesome. Your words were spot on. So, the solution is, huh? Kid, continue. Why are you eating? I kid, right? What can a kid do? I was just asking some casual questions. To think that they were actually true. Don't take it to heart. Pretend I didn't ask.
Never has anyone swaggered to me like this before. Ki, I, I called your grandpa Li Chunyang old kid and your father Li Changfeng medium kid. What do I call you besides kid? Little kid? Call me young master Yun. Young master Yun? Who in their right minds would ask Xiao Qing Wang to call them young master? Does that kid not want to live? Kid, do you know who you're talking to? No one has ever dared to call themselves young master in front of me. If you don't want to call me that, then don't. No one's forcing you. There's a lot of lamb on the table. If you don't want to talk, then stuff your mouth and shut the fuck up. What an imposing manner, Marshal King Xiao. This boy is really looking to die. He is really out of his mind. Commander Xiao, Yun Xiao is too young and ignorant. I hope you can forgive him for the sake of the old master. Ha ha ha. As Li Chunyang's heir, you do have his demeanor. Ha ha. Why can't I have such an interesting child? Well, I'll call you young master Yan from now on. Since when did Xiao Qing Wang become so accommodating? Young Master Yun, can my injuries be cured? Boy, don't go too far. I've already given you enough face. Give me enough face? Fuck it. Your slap just now has broken the bone in my shoulder. Do you dare to say that wasn't intentional? Then what do I have to do for you to remember? He he he. Drink, you drink with me first and we will talk about the treatment of your internal injuries later. Fine, let's drink. I'll get drunk with you today. Ha ha ha. This person was the laughing stock of the Lee family? I'm afraid that no one will dare to look down on him anymore. The Lee family finally has a worthy heir. I lost to this person in the first place, but I didn't lose unfairly. Yun Chao. Thank you. Don't mention it, anything for you. Commander Xiao, I'll take my leave first. When I remember the solution, I'll tell you. Fine, I'm always waiting for you, young Master Yun, don't forget. It has not been a day or two since I had the internal injuries, so let's not hurry, but this kid is interesting, young Master Yun, even Xiao Qing Wang is convinced by you. How proud I am to be your brother. How did you know the blue water dragon I pill was poisonous? Yeah, master, you are really amazing. How can you tell it was poisonous from such a distance? It was a real blue water dragon I pill. It wasn't poisonous. What? It's not convenient to talk here. Let's talk as we walk. As soon as they left the palace, Li Yunchao told everyone about Ming Bai's heaven earth venomous body. Young master Yun, you are really bold. I can't believe you dare to play such a trick in front of so many people. One careless mistake would have doomed you. Dot com master, you took advantage of me again. Since young master Yun is willing to tell us such secret matters, he naturally regard us all as his confidence. Is that young master Yun Xiao of the Li family? My master would like to invite young master Yun to have a chat. It's getting late and I'm sleepy some other day. Ha ha. Although it's getting late, the night is still young for a good friend. I consider myself worthy to be young Master Yun's good friend, but I wonder if young Master Yun will give me the honor? Second Prince of the State of Tianchui Qin Yu Even if we are good friends, I am not interested in being alone with a man in the middle of the night. Then excuse me. It's simple, each of my maid is as pretty as a flower. I'll ask them to pour wine and sing for us while you and I drink together. In that case, it's worth meeting you. The rumors were indeed false. Young Master Yun has an exceptional demeanor and an elegant bearing. You've hidden your true self deeply. Your Highness, I'm flattered. I can see the hidden chi of the dragon between your Highness' eyebrows. You're a true dragon indeed. To think Li Yunxiao would be so direct with me. Commander Bai told me that I'd encounter my fated benefactor tonight. My journey would be smooth from then on. I didn't believe it at first. But now, are you my fated benefactor? The state guardian's third commander by Mao? The most mysterious commander? 
It is said that he can read faces, predict the future, and is proficient in the art of astrology. Is this true? I don't know much about the art of astrology. In my previous life, I met many great people that could see the future. It's naturally true. Young Master Yun, a pleasure to meet you. Commander of the State Guardian's 3rd Division by Mao. Commander Bai is actually a woman? Your Highness having such a capable figure as a benefactor should suffice. I have no intention of joining any plot pertaining to the fight for the throne. I heard such treasonous words. I fear that I won't live for long. Young Master Yun, you're quite bold. You've exceeded my expectations. Prince Yu will definitely become the ruler of Tianchue. If you help him, your Li family shall prosper. This is a great opportunity. Currently, the Li family is facing difficulties. Is young Master Yun going to turn a blind eye? I originally didn't care about the Li family. But, the Li family did raise this body. The Li family's blood is flowing through my veins. Once I regain my previous strength, not to mention getting the Li family out of this. Even letting the Li family establish its own country would be extremely easy. But, if I can't even protect my own life, how can I protect the Li family? Finding a backer for the Li family shall be my repayment for my body being born. I want Prince Yu to promise that as long as he lives, he'll protect the Li family's prosperity, prestige, and peace. Good. I promise to you that I, Qing Yu, for as long as the Li family doesn't rebel, will protect the Li family's prosperity, prestige, and peace for as long as I live. The Li family has done many great things for this country. It's a pity that father. Cook the hunting dog that catches the hare. That's just how dynasties work. Since I've already promised to help Prince Yu, is there anything for me to do? Please tell me. Young Master Yun, healing Commander Zhao's injuries, what's the chance of success? No medicine could cure Xiao Qing Wang's injuries. Everyone took this into account when they were scheming. If Li Yunxiao can actually completely cure Xiao Qing Wang injuries, then everything changes. 100%. What? Young Master Yun, is it actually 100%? It's without a doubt 100%. Is Prince Yu implying that I shouldn't treat him? No. Treat him. You must treat him. Heaven is smiling down on me. As long as I win Xiao Qing Wang over, my eldest brother won't dare meddle with us. The longer we drag it out, the better it'll be for us. Prince Yu is only 16 years old. Your Highness is more than 30 years younger than Prince Yang. Surely His Majesty is also supporting you. However, His Majesty's days seems to be numbered. I've seen his body. Young Master Yun, what do you mean? Could you have seen something? Young Master Yun's medicinal arts are peerless. Is His Majesty ill? His Majesty is already 70 years old. His body is old and frail. However, the most important thing isn't his age. I realized that his pupils were slightly weakened. It could be a slow-acting poison. Who would dare poison his majesty? It must be my eldest brother's doing. He couldn't wait any longer. If his majesty suddenly dies, Tianchue will be in chaos. I think your highness should enter the palace as soon as possible and convince his majesty to issue an imperial edict making you the next king. Young Master Yun, how are you so certain that his majesty will make me king? Which official doesn't know of the situation? Qin Yang followed his majesty into war long ago. His military achievements were splendid. He was automatically recognized to be the king's successor. But, over the years, His Majesty suddenly changed his attitude and began treating Qin Yang coldly. Slowly his power and influence began to be transferred to you, Your Highness. Even Commander Bai Mao and the 3rd Division were sent by His Majesty to protect Your Highness, right? Otherwise, who in the State Guardians would dare to secretly collude with you? Even a fool can see His Majesty's attitude. He intends to make you king. It's only that Qin Yang's influence over the military and court is still too big. 
His Majesty is afraid that you won't be able to suppress him. That's why he has delayed making a decree. Even my Li family was on Qin Yang's side back then. However, when Number 8 took over, they suddenly began supporting Your Highness. What? Is my analysis wrong? Since young Master Yun, an exceptional person, believes so, then it's no wonder that the others think so too. Actually, I'm just a pawn placed onto the chessboard by my father. A pawn used to fight Qin Yang. Do you think I want to compete for the throne? I've been dragged here by my father. If I don't compete, I'll die. Do you think he actually wants to protect me? He only wants to protect himself. What you mean is, His Highness Qin Yang has a strong desire for the throne, but His Majesty the Emperor is too fond of power. He has no intentions of stepping down. So he gave you a promotion in order to delay His Highness Qin Yang. To make His Highness divert his attention towards you instead of His Majesty? Young Master Yun really is a genius. I've only suggested a few things, and yet you've analyzed the occurrences down to its smallest detail. If young Master Yun had helped me sooner, I would have taken the initiative already. Looks like my calculations were correct. Young Master Yun really is the esteemed prodigy that your highness thought him to be. Hmm, this is quite troublesome. His majesty has been slowly poisoned for a long while. He could succumb at any time. Without support from the throne, it would be very difficult to stand against the eldest prince. So it'll be a divine blessing if you can heal the commander of state guardians, Xiao Qing Wang. I understand now. Even though the state guardians were always under the emperor's direct command, curing Xiao Qing Wang of his injuries is a massive favor. We just need to bring him closer to our side. To be frank, the battle my brother and I are having for the throne will be decided by six people. As long as I have the majority of votes between the six, I'll have nothing to fear even if the minority fully opposes it. Prime Minister Lan Hong is a cautious old fox. He never picks a side until the end. Young Master Yun's grandfather Duke Jingwu was supporting the eldest prince. But now his position is unknown, and the Li family is undergoing many changes. Commander Xiao Qing Wang directly serves his majesty and doesn't belong to either faction. The palace's head refiner Zhang Qingfan is loyal to His Highness Qin Yang. The president of the Alchemists' Association, Master Su Han, does not involve himself in any political events. He is focused solely on the path of a refiner. As for the headmaster of Jialan Academy, Lord Zhang Lishan has closer ties to Your Highness Prince Yu. Because Prince Yu was a former student of his. I can help reclaim the Li family's control, then I would have the Li family's and my teacher's support. If you include Xiao Qing Wang Se, I basically have two and a half people. Even if Zhang Qing Fan and Lan Hong stand on Qin Yang's side, I'd still win by half. The future would be full of promise. Your Highness, don't forget that the Emperor is still alive. As long as His Majesty lives, all efforts will be in vain even if all six people support you. So you're saying that as long as father lives, it'll be a detriment? Whether it's an advantage or not depends on how you act. If done well, it'll be an advantage and vice versa. But if his majesty suddenly perishes and everyone knows that Qin Yang poisoned him, then even if all six people help him, you would have nothing to fear. If you can help me succeed, I'll not only promise peace for the Li family, the first thing I do after my ascension will be the announcement of the marriage between you and Sister Rushiwe. What the heck? What do you mean? Now I know, young Master Yun is the kind of person to be very reserved, like a man surrounded by female desire, but only has eyes for one. Sister Rushiwe may be beautiful, but she's very delicate and needy. Even a temporary marriage between you two would suffice. We're all men, we understand. If I can succeed my father, I'll personally see this operation through. He's even willing to give his sister away just to take the throne. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. H.M.? Eh? H.M. Looks like the relationship between these two isn't simple. Let's talk about that later. Important matters first. Who's there? Beware of assassins. 
All men gather protect his highness. Even in the face of enemies, your demeanor remains calm and composed. It's stunning. With her protecting me, naturally I wouldn't be afraid. But you are alone, and yet you seem poised, color me impressed. Could it be that Commander Bai is only protecting the prince, and not me? Then I might have to cry for help. Young Master Yun can relax and stay seated. I've experienced many attempted assassinations like this. With Commander Bai here, no one would be able to hurt me other than the Emperor's two martial kings. It'd be good if all were as usual, but I'm afraid it's more tricky this time. H.M.? Ah, not good. There's a master. Commander Bai's techniques look interesting. The opponent may be ruthless, but with her around, you can relax. How does he know about the enemy's condition? Tonight, no assassin shall not be forgiven. Move, your highness. By Mao. Barrier formation. Your Highness. I'm fine. You know. You kicked the prince away just to save the two maids? I only have two arms, and my instincts led me to save the beautiful women. His Highness Chin Yu looks to be uninjured. That's good. You. Young Master Yun is very charming. Saving pretty girls in danger is normal to him. We should think of a way to escape now. Don't think I don't know who you are. Intentionally hiding your body shape, application of bone contractions, and utilizing swift and agile martial art methods. You may not be able to defeat me by doing that, but you can hide your movements. Your mission was just to delay me. The most crucial part for the one who hired you was to assassinate the prince. Am I right, Galfon? State Guardian Unit 1 Commander Galfon State Guardian Unit 1 Deputy Commander Ji Ming. Between these two, one is Martial Lord of the Four Quadrants Realm, and the other is a Great Martial Master of the Three Powers Realm. The odds restacked against us. Galfon, you are the commander of the first unit of the City Guards. How could you join forces with the First Prince? Are you not afraid of His Majesty's and Commander Zhao's wrath? Look at yourself, Commander Bai. It seems like you have been more deeply involved in this power struggle than I have. I was ordered by His Majesty to protect Prince Yu. What about you? Does His Majesty know that you are here? Does Commander Xiao know? Let's stop these useless speeches. Now that I've decided to act, I must succeed. Anyone who escapes today will be lucky to be alive. Go kill Prince Yu. And get rid of that Lee family boy and those two serving ladies while you're at it. Finish it quickly, then come and help me kill Commander by Mao. Yes. Where are you looking, Commander Bai? Oh, the Brahmin embroidered flag of oceans and clouds. Galfon, you remember this battle flag, right? You can't break through unless you have the strength of a martial king. Now why don't you get lost? It is true that you can't break through the flag without the strength of a martial king, but it is a defective item that Yang Di refined in his early years. It can last for at most an hour. Kill off the Li family boy first. We'll kill Qin Yu in an hour. Li Yunxiao, run and call for reinforcements. A mere martial warrior wants to escape from my clutches? Is it possible? Li Yunxiao is done for. Peach Blossom Sword Intent. How beautiful. The wild catkins are carried by the wind. The light peach blossoms are swept away by rivers. Ah. Your sword intent only expresses the part about peach blossoms. But it doesn't encompass the flowing water. Eat this. Your whole insignificant life will turn into flowing water. Brett, look closely. This is the true peach blossom sword intent. Your cultivation will determine how much of it you can understand. A peach blossom hut in a peach blossom garden. A peach blossom sink in the peach blossom hut. 
The peach blossom sink plants peach blossom trees and plucks the peach blossoms to sell for wine. Peach blossom sword intent. This is the true peach blossom sword intent. I, I suddenly feel like crying. I have trained in the peach blossom sword intent for more than 30 years, spending many hours training each day. But compared to that, my sword strike is just dirt. I. G. Ming, don't forget your identity and our mission. You are the vice commander of the first unit of the city guards and one of my underlings. You are a commander of the city guards, but you are a martial artist first. If you lose your passion for the pursuit of martial arts, even if you were the main commander or his majesty the king, what meaning would it have? My life will come to an end, but martial arts are eternal. If I follow you, will you really teach me the peach blossom sword intent? Although the peach blossom sword intent is beautiful, the path of martial artist is never ending. If you follow me, you will be able to walk even further. Commander Gao, I'm sorry for this. Everything had gone flawlessly so far today. I didn't think that, since it's come to this, there's no point staying here any longer. Hark. Commander Bai, I'll see you next time. Ha ha. The gods truly are with me. Meeting young Master Yun really is my fortune. With Commander G aiding me, things will progress smoothly. Your Highness, the person I want to follow is young Master Yun, not you. Right now, young Master Yun is my ally. I may have turned to your side today, but I won't follow you forever. Once I finish learning the Peach Blossom Sword intent, I'll take my leave. You're going to take what you want and get away fast. That works. Just make sure not to come back later, crying and begging to follow me. Young Master Yun's combat abilities are top-notch. It's hard to imagine such control. As a martial master, I'm ashamed that my knowledge of martial arts are not even a thousandth of young Master Yun's. I'm most impressed. Martial arts are eternal. We're all just seekers of knowledge traveling the same path. That's right. Martial arts exist far and wide. Who would dare say that they have reached the pinnacle? Each individual is only an insignificant part of the whole. Li Yunchao seems to have hidden martial intentions in every word and step he takes. We shouldn't linger here any longer. Let's head to my royal quarters. And he's far more difficult to read than I had thought. The next day inside the Li mansion. Li Yi was stripped of his official title, but the emperor allowed him to maintain control of the Li family. Li Yunchao and his friends visited the mansion once the news had spread. Hey! 8527, I heard about your release. I'm here to pay you a visit. Li Yunxiao. I was just about to go looking for you. I didn't expect you to show up on your own. You're still a part of the lower class within the Li family, regardless of what happened. And now, you've managed to evade some life and death consequences. Good for you. I'm here to celebrate that. Kill him. Now. Arg. For the crimes of attacking a royal official and of attacking a state guardian, execute them all. I was appointed to lead the Li family by his majesty himself. And you dare try to kill me? Without a title, killing you would be like slaying swine. If the emperor ever asks, I will explain myself. You won't need to worry about it. Take them. Thugs. How dare any of you try to kill me? A five-star great martial warrior? I didn't think this brat would have such power. His skills are not as simple as they appear. Young Master Yun, do you want me to intercept? The strongest out of those four is just a three-star great martial warrior. Even if those four teamed up, it'd be difficult for them to catch him. Just be careful. Unseal. A third-tier Xian weapon. Hmph, so what if it's third tier? My cultivation base is three stars higher than yours. Let's see how you escape this. How shameless of you all to gang up on me. Hee hee hee. Not bad. 
you're quite good at running away. I'm guessing you've practiced a lot. You little rat. You're trying to stop me with that kind of trashy cultivation base? A gravity field? Tenfold gravity? A four quadrant realm martial lord. Let's go. Hold on. Let me get rid of this pest first. This isn't good. City incineration? Ugh. Let's go. What's going on? Why does an expert in the martial lord realm want your life? How should I know why a martial lord would suddenly appear? Why are they here? That's a long story. Anyways, why are you here, Teacher Luo? I heard that last night, you performed the Guangling Odyssey, causing the flowers to bloom. I want to hear it too. To play a piece, you need the right time of the day, geographical location, and people present. I don't have the same environment available as last night, so how could I play it? It's a shame. If everything's right, could you perform it for me later on? Teacher Luo, a martial lord realm assassin, has appeared in the country. He's working with Li Yi too. Furthermore, he tried to poison Commander Xiao yesterday. He's definitely up to something. Please inform His Majesty, Teacher Luo. Search the city and kill them all. I will inform His Majesty. Can you treat Commander Zhao's injury? As long as I'm alive, I should be able to heal him. All right then, I'll get going first. While you're treating Commander Xiao, I'll send people to guard you. Thank you. Thank you Li Yi has a martial lord realm bodyguard. He can't be your everyday person. If this bodyguard wasn't sent by Qin Zhang, he wouldn't just turn a blind eye either. Wait for me outside. Yes. Old man, come out already. Or should I remove your floorboards? How did you find me? Blood is thicker than water. Our souls reacted. You're still just as vicious when attacking. Ho ho ho, how interesting. You've actually opened all of your meridians? Li Yunxiao's old fart state lord Li Chengyang. Ooh. A four-star martial warrior. Very nice. This is good. There is no doubt that you are my grandson. You are certainly stronger than those lousy dogs by a fair margin. Why are you hiding here? Playing hide and seek? Had I not noticed your breaths earlier, I'd have really thought that you'd been taken out by 8527. You must be joking. He's just a servant. How could he go up against me? Huh? What did you just say? You noticed my breaths? Did you think that you'd hidden yourself well? Had I not had the foundational skills to notice you when Li Yi challenged me, would you have expected a four-star martial warrior like me to win against him without some sort of trump card? T, there's no way. My personal Chingyang stealth arts. Enough about that. Let's talk. What thoughts and decisions do you have in mind now that you've seen the Li family situation? Let's test this brat's motives. What do you think my thoughts and decisions are? You keep hiding yourself away, so you obviously want to distance yourself. 1. To observe Qin Jing's attitude and decisions. 2. To better observe as events unfold and plans develop. After all, Qin Jing has been around for a while. If he were removed, it wouldn't be long before drastic changes came to Tianxue. Your motives for remaining concealed are simply to observe events in peace and to plan for the future of the Li family. How else would a lowly servant like 8527 be so arrogant in front of you? Next, you will predictably want to know how did you know? What causes you to think that, at first, I wasn't sure? I thought that you'd genuinely been tricked by a servant. But once I noticed your breath, I was able to confirm my guesses straight away. 
because you have broken through to the five elements realm and become a martial king. Ha ha. Our Lee family has a definite successor. Kid, you're pretty good at playing the fool. Even I could have misjudged you as a random nobody if I hadn't noticed, let alone the whole country. Other than the two points you've already made, there was another purpose. I wanted to see who could accumulate the largest amount of influence without me around. Sigh. Alas, events only disappointed me. Your father also came back once in secret. He left in relief after seeing me. As for the rest, only your fourth uncle was borderline useful. But his attitude while beside Lee Yi, Sai. But it's different now. Your performance has exceeded all of my expectations. If it weren't for these circumstances, you would have continued to play the fool, right? Quick, tell me, what do you think of current circumstances, and have you got any intentions? Regarding matters of the family, I do not have many thoughts. If you want a successor, please look to others. My path is fully set on martial arts. I don't think much on mundane matters like politics. But as for the matters of the country, the one to succeed will no doubt be the second prince, Qin Yu. How do you know that it'll be Qin Yu? You do know that the Li family has always supported the eldest prince. Because now, I'm backing Qin Yu. So his succession will be indisputable. But who? Times have changed since I went into seclusion for a while. And the people I knew have changed to follow suit. Qin Yu, right? Since it has come to this, I'll bring the entire Li family into your mad quest. Uh oh. It's almost time. A. O. A. A third tier alchemist. A three star martial lord. Their capabilities aren't bad. Looking at this, I doubt their relationship is normal either. Master Sun, the benumbing chi invading my brother's body has gradually condensed over time, and the energy cost of suppressing that chi has increased accordingly. If it keeps going like this, Brother Chun Yang, I've already done my best. Dashing has had pure benumbing chi injected into his body. The fact that he's been able to maintain his current physical condition while enduring this for so many years is a fair-sized miracle. It's also thanks to your recent advancements in power, or he would have succumbed to the poisonous effects of the benumbing chi long ago. This bottle of soothing pills is the last one within my possession. There's 30 in here, enough for a month. After 30 more days, even your power as a one-star martial king won't be enough to suppress the poisonous chi even if you were to continue taking soothing pills. Master Sun, what do you mean by that? You can't just give up on him. Five years ago, I accepted your commission and treated him for all of this time. I think that amount of work is enough to merit the payment. Now that the chi has seeped into the bone marrow, this situation is out of my hands. Even if you gave me more money, I have no way to save him. This. Big brother, I've been a burden on you for many years. If you didn't have to transfer true chi into me every day, you would have become more than just a martial king by now. You could have stepped into the legendary Six Dimensions realm. Now that I won't be holding you back, I'm happy. Ha ha. Brother Chun Yang, Brother Dashing, I'll take my leave. Hold up. Are you really a third tier alchemist? If you weren't the descendant of Chun Yang himself, I would have stripped you of your cultivation base long ago with an attitude like that. You're just a lowly third tier, and yet you're this arrogant? There are 8th and ninth tier alchemists. Would merely looking at them require you to gouge your own eyes out? Lowly 3rd tier? 8th and ninth tier? You really don't know anything, do you? Even your emperor would have to greet me if we were to meet. Yun Chao, mind your manners. Master Sun is a 3rd tier alchemist from the Dusk Flame Empire that I personally invited. When I reached the martial realm while I traveling within the Dust Flame Empire, you were still wearing diapers. Diapers my foot. Traveling my ass. Fool. Since the Alchemist Association is third tier, they must have at least a fifth tier alchemist. 
How dare a trashy third tier like you talk about traveling across the Dust Flame Empire? Do you want me start rumors about what you just said and let the entirety of the Dust Flame Empire's Alchemist Network know? Let's see how you dominate after that. Brother Chunyang, teach your descendant properly. Boy, won't you give Master Sun any face? You've really got some courage. Just get out already. Brother Chunyang, are you letting him off the hook this easily? Then what do you intend to do? He paired to disrespect me, at least four limbs torn off, as compensation for this. I push you a little and now you want to take it this far? H how dare you hit a third tier alchemist? What's so great about being an alchemist? I'm an alchemist too. Open your damn eyes and take a look at this. That, how is that possible? A second tier alchemist? At this age? Why you brat, trash like you must understand that there's always a bigger fish. If you get cocky with just that, you'll get beaten to death. Getting slapped by me is better than you getting beaten to death. I'm educating you. That's impossible. You dare forge the badge of an alchemist? That is a crime warranting capital punishment. Forging an alchemist badge will get all the alchemists in the continent executed. Execute my foot. Do you want to get slapped again? I'm a nine-star martial warrior in terms of cultivation. How could I get slapped by him? I even felt that dodging the slap would be impossible. Get lost while I'm still feeling nice. Don't tell me, is this real? Of course it's real. Who in the whole Tianwu continent would dare to forge this thing? Then why you really are, I'm just an alchemist. You brat. How much more are you keeping from me? You can really act. Brother, you've got a descendant suitable for being your heir. Not only is he a four-star martial warrior at such a young age, he's even a second-tier alchemist. C.C. you brat, you brat, he's probably unrivaled in the entire country of Tianchue. If my descendants were a tenth as capable as Yun Xiao, I would be content. The old guy calls you brother and you're called dashing. Does that make you Chen Jin grandfather? Didn't you die in battle a few years ago? Brother dashing only looks like that because of me. I was supposed to fight that battle instead, but I was in seclusion. Xiao Qing Wang chose Dashing to replace me as they were in a rush. Xiao Qing Wang? Did he also sustain his internal injuries in that battle? Right. Back then, Tianchue and the Hundred Battles country fought for one of the three superior auxiliary country positions under the lead of the Dust Flame Empire. We fought to the death in the Hundred Battles country's Gold City. Five of the team leaders of the city guards and Xiao Qing Wan's lieutenant died in that battle. My brother Dashing also contracted his illness then. Tian Shui might have won the battle, but we lost over a hundred experts at the martial master realm or above. Only a dozen or so returned alive, and almost all of them were crippled. I also thought that I wouldn't be able to live long. Fortunately, my brother got Sun Jingzong from the Dusk Flame Empire to mend my wounds. Country rankings can result in such fierce and cruel conflicts. What is with these rankings? The Dusk Flame Empire is one of the three great empires in South Tianwu. It boasts a total of nine auxiliary countries. They are split into three superior, three middle, and three low countries. If a country has a six directions realm martial grand master or a fourth tier lord class alchemist who is willing to stay with the country, then that country would automatically rise to become superior rank. Every year, the Dusk Flame Empire would allocate these countries large quantities of cultivation resources. If there are less than three superior countries, the middle countries would fight over the remaining vacancies. A battle crueler than you could ever imagine could happen. How could such a cruel battle take place over rankings? Cruel? In order to survive in Tianwu, power is crucial. What can guarantee power? Resources, of course. It is a battle for resources disguised as a ranking battle. Humans are like ants. Their lives are trivial. What really determines combat power is the number of strong cultivators. 
This is why all countries must recruit strong warriors. Many empires have strong sects and large families backing them. For example, the Dusk Flame Empire, which we are attached to, is supported by the Heaven Gathering Sect. Heaven Gathering Sect? I think my eldest disciple, Hua Chen Chu, took a disciple who was the son of the sect master of the Heaven Gathering Sect. What was his name? I can't remember. It is rumored that the sect leader of the Heaven Gathering Sect, Chi Fong, is a Seven Constellations Realm Martial Emperor and is just a step away from becoming an Eight Desolation Realm Martial Supreme. He is even Martial Sovereign Hua Chenchu's direct disciple. Not even the backers of the other empires would dare to provoke them. Martial Sovereign Hua Chenchu. Oh, I remember, he was called Chi Fong. So he's the sect leader now. Little Hua is a martial sovereign too. That should have happened after I fell. Back then, he was still stuck as an eight desolation realm martial supreme. Yun Chao, if you ever get the chance to visit the Dusk Flame Empire, remember never to provoke the Heaven Gathering sect. Any one of their inner disciples, is it once again time for the ranking battles, which have pen every five years? Right. The battle five years ago was of great detriment to our country's power. The wisest choice would be to opt out of this battle. While middle countries will have to turn over more resources and taxes, it's a rare opportunity for the country to rest and recuperate. Then we will have to hurry. I'm afraid His Majesty won't be willing to opt out of this battle. I will only be able to persuade him to opt out if Prince Yu ascends to the throne. Prince Yu? Ah, uh, Dashing, you don't know much about the current situation. Let me tell you about it. The way His Majesty treats his loyal servants really pains my heart. After I pass away, I'll have to leave the Chen family in your hands. Brother, don't worry. As long as the Li family stands, the Chen family will not collapse. Brother. 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 My brother. Brother. Isn't it just the poisonous effects of benumbing Qi? You don't have to talk so morbidly. Xiao Qing Wang is afflicted with this kind of poison too. Although there isn't much, it is already deeply rooted within his bones. You should have been hurt by the same person. That person cultivates benumbing Qi. Right. It was the Hundred Battles Country's top expert. Marshal King Yi Xiaoshan. The ice element attack of the martial lord who saved old eight in the courtyard earlier seemed to be composed of benumbing chi. What? But because his cultivation was lacking, it was way weaker than the poison within your body. That brat has not only his majesty's support, he even has the people of the hundred battles countries he Shaoshan supporting him. If I had known, I would have killed him long ago. He won't stop at that. We will have more than enough opportunities to kill him. Let's cure Elder Chen of the poison first. Not even the third-tier alchemist, Sun Jingzong, could do it. What can we do? It is indeed hard to completely get rid of the poison, but my current level is enough to suppress the poison. W, what did you say? Brett, what did you say? Don't you brag about this. Medicinal pills with the chi of a martial king. Sun Jingzong was on the right track, but he wasn't experienced enough. He used the wrong medicine. Your chi is also a problem. He requires very strong extreme yang chi. Strong amounts of extreme yang energy in the whole country of Tianchui, the only martial kings are Commander Xiao, Zhong Lishan, and myself. None of us walk the path of extreme yang energy. Where could we find someone like that? I have someone in mind. The commander of the fourth team of the city guards, Luo Yuncheng. Although her abilities are slightly lacking, she uses extreme yang chi. Indeed. I'll go catch that last right this moment. Calm down. Don't rush to find Luo Yunchang. I need to first refine some medicinal pills that can suppress the cold poison. But the ingredients. This is the key to the family secret vault. I've always kept it with me. Apart from that extorted by Sun Jingzong, the rest of the family's wealth is in it. See if what you need is in there and let me know what is missing. I'll find it immediately. As one of the most powerful families in Tianchui, I am sure there must be many good things in this secret vault. 
What I lack most right now is all kinds of resources that can increase my cultivation speed. Wait for my news. What's going on? The master is back. Where did the young master go? Fourth uncle, take me to the family's secret vault. The young master is coming out. The young master is coming out. Secret vault? That's the restricted area of the family and the key. This is the key to the secret vault. You, have you seen the old master? Is he all right? Fourth uncle, you'd better not ask too much and just take me to the secret vault. This is the order from the old master himself. Understand, understand. Ji Ming, wait for me here. Yes. Vermilion Bird Divine Fire Array. Yun Chao, you can recognize this array? How is this possible? Old Master had invited many experts to examine it, but no one could recognize it. How long has this secret vault been in existence for? I'm not sure, but I have heard from former elders that this secret vault seems to have existed before the Lee family set foot here. It was not built by our Lee family. That's right. This Vermilion Bird Divine Fire Array is a ninth grade array and has been lost for a long time. Although some versions are circulating on the continent, they are all incomplete versions. If the ancestors of the Lee family had the ability to construct this array, then they must be a superpower that held sway over the entire continent and not a small family dwelling in a mere state of Kinshue. The secret vault has always been a restricted area of the family. No one can enter it without the permission of the patriarch. I'll wait for you outside. All right. It turns out that this place is an interstitial space asterisk. Such a large interstitial space must be supported by some divine artifact. No wonder the doors are guarded by the vermilion bird divine fire array. Where is it? Where is the support of this interstitial space? Let me see. Ha ha. I can't believe this tablet actually contains such tremendous power. I'll see what you really are. Like a dream, like an illusion. The flower in the mirror and the moon in the water. This is Divine Realm Tablet. What is the monument of the world god? How can it have such power? How could it break right through my moonset arts? The flow of its odd energy is stronger than my ninth tier Xian weapon, the constellation impaling sword. Could it be in the tenth ultimate realm? It is rumored that the moment you enter the ten ultimate realm, you will have reached the pinnacle of martial arts and become a martial deity. The monument of the world god, could it be an artifact left behind by the rumored deity? That must be it. The power to attack the soul head-on can only be found in artifacts from the rumored ten ultimate realm martial deities. Using the energy from the monument to guide it, the godly evolution techniques transforming on its own, the energies are responding to each other. The godly evolution technique might also be a martial deity class cultivation technique. The monument of the world god can connect the constellations. It's truly amazing. I'm not sure if it'd let me place my seal on it. The monument of the world god entered my consciousness. Consciousness storage. Will the monument of the world god help me break through to the peak five-star martial warrior stage right away? But no matter what I try, I can only enter the extra-dimensional subspace of the monument. I can't control it at all. It's just like having another extra-dimensional storage space in my mind. Forget it. I could take the treasures in the Lee family vault along with the monument of the world god. Let's leave it be for now. Next, I have to refine some pills and medicine. Not just to treat Xiao Qing Wang and Chen Dashing's injuries either. It's needed to prepare everything for my future cultivation needs. Many things are going on in Tianchue. I'm afraid that we won't have peace for much longer. What I need to do focus on is to prepare for rainy days. Alchemist Association Jiarong? He went into seclusion at the same time as Association Hit Su and hasn't come out yet. Don't worry, 
Just call him out. He won't get mad at you. That's. Young Master Yun, when alchemists go into seclusion, the training is much tougher and more perilous than that of martial artists. If he is disturbed for no reason, best case scenario is cultivation could be ruined. Worst case scenario, he could lose his sanity. If Jiarong learns that I was looking for him, but you didn't tell him, the consequences would be even worse. Li Yunchao is far too arrogant. All these alchemists are crazy people with their noses stuck in the air. They look down on everyone except more advanced alchemists. You're just the young master of the Li family. Although you are a very capable martial artist, they walk the path of alchemy. Why would they care about you? If you need something, we can help you. I plan to refine some pills, and I want Jia Rong to assist me. So that's what you're here for. Our alchemist association doesn't have much else, but we do have plenty of alchemists. I can arrange for two alchemists to refine the pills for you. Since when was it so easy to talk with the alchemist association? I once commissioned a second tier pill, but I had to wait for more than a month. That's too troublesome. It's easier to order Jiarong around. Master Liang, please fetch him for me. Easier to order around? He's so cocky. T that wouldn't be good. I'll ask you one last time. Will you call him or not? That's. All right. Ji Ming, let's go then. Isn't he being far too rude to Master Liang? If this is the case, I can't do anything about Xiao Qing Wang's injuries. Tell them to come to the Alchemist Association themselves. W8. Young Master Yun, I'll call for Jia Rong right now. Even if he's in a life or death situation, that wouldn't be good Jia Rong is in seclusion. We shouldn't disturb him. Xiao Qing Wang's injury would be considered a national affair. Within our country, you are the only one with the ability to heal him. I'll call for Jia Rong right now. Who are you kidding? If Xiao Qing Wang's treatment were to be hindered because of me, forget Xiao Qing Wang, even His Majesty the King or Association Head Su Han would skin me alive. Young Master Yun, just who are you? Lulu, go ahead and call him out. Ah? Uh, me? Master Jia something came up, so we'll need you to come out of seclusion. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, Jia Rong is going to be furious. Although it's for the sake of treating Xiao Qing Wang, I have no choice but to do so. How dare you? You dared disturb me when I'm in seclusion. I was one step away from becoming a second tier alchemist. Ah, second tier. But now, all my hard work has gone down the drain. Not even killing you would be enough to pay for that. What? Second tier? How long has it been since your last advancement? Is that even possible? Wow, Liang Wenyu, so this was your doing. Were you purposely making trouble because I was about to advance to the second tier? El Li Yunchao demanded we call you out. I tried my best to stop him, but I couldn't. Huh? Yun, that's exactly right. I've been looking for you. I've been waiting for a long time, too. Humph, he still dares to speak like that? Let's see how you die. If young Master Yun came, why didn't you call me out earlier? Do you know how precious his time is? How dare you make him wait? Do you not cherish your job? Young Master Yun, I'm truly sorry you had to deal with all these idiots. If I had known you were coming, I wouldn't have gone into whatever damn seclusion. Oh, but you were trying to advance to second tier. Second tier. But now, all your hard work has gone down the drain. Not even killing me would be enough to pay for that. Ah, uh, what's so hard about trying to break through to second tier? I can do that at any time. This stupid brain of mine. Why did I choose such bad timing? I deserve to be disturbed for that. You did great by disturbing me. What dis? Young Master Yun, this training room is the largest within the association. Hmm. Temple Sakuras in the middle of those fierce, determined strikes, how are they producing such a different effect? 
It's as if he's writing words in the clouds. A peach blossom hut in a peach blossom garden, a peach blossom sink in the peach blossom hut. The peach blossom sink plants peach blossom trees and plucks the peach blossoms to sell for wine. Ji Ming, if you aren't able to learn anything beyond enhancing your understanding of the peach blossom intent by the time you finish my training, it will only prove that you lack talent. In that case, you'll never be allowed to follow me again. This time, don't disturb us even if the emperor loses his life. Why, yes, sir. Let's refine the first batch. First and foremost, watch and learn. Your job beyond that is to support me with spirit power when mine alone is not enough. I hadn't originally planned on you helping me with anything. You were going to deal with whatever random things came up. It's fine. I'm fine with random things. I love helping you with random things. Young Master Yun, you didn't empty out the association store for all of this, right? These are from the Lee family's private vault. I brought all of them over. As expected from the most powerful presence in the military of Tianchui. Among the pills we have to refine today, there are a few extreme yang items. It will be difficult for me to control the refinement with my current spirit power. No matter how proficient my techniques are, it won't be able to replace the effects of the spirit power. Therefore, my primary objective in this seclusion is to ascend into a second tier refiner. Both of us have to ascend. Yes, young master Yun. Okay, I'll go have some tea first. Eh? Right as Li Yunchao started his seclusion, major events occurred in Tianchui country. Li Chunyang regained control in the Li family, proclaimed Li Yi as an enemy spy, and set a kill order on him. The dispirited army regained its morale and showed an active presence in the country once again. Furthermore, Li Chunyang organized a large-scale purge of political opponents who had sided with Li Yi. Their homes were raided and they were pressured out of their positions. Some were killed during their struggle against the Li family, and their bodies were thrown away for the dogs to eat. The once loud and obnoxious were now silent, as no one dared to oppose the Li family anymore. But in between these events, Li Yi vanished like a shadow in the night. He could not be found in Tianchui. A minister's mansion, Lan Family Garden, a servant named Zhang Baicheng in the Ministry of Customs had his mansion raided of his possessions, worth seven million. Seven fatalities, 23 severely injured. Hundreds wounded, Zhang Baicheng lost his left leg. Father, that old guy's actions are outrageously careless. Wouldn't his beating and killing of palace ministers and advisors mean that he's trying to overthrow the emperor? Father of Lan Fei, Lan Xian, Lan Guang. Oh Lan Guang, if Li Chunyang had really wanted to overthrow the emperor then he wouldn't have acted so openly. He's also only targeting the smaller insects, which has no effect on the throne. Is he perhaps only doing it to vent his anger from when he was captured? Do you really think that he'd be captured that easily? I bet that he went along with the rumors and went into hiding for a period of time, just to see how things would unfold. Watching from the sidelines gave him the perfect view to uncover the spy in the Lee family's ranks. On top of that, he's refilled the Lee family coffers with money gained from the past few days of raiding. He must have a hundred million gold coins by now. Does the emperor even care at all? The emperor has adopted a wait-and-see approach. He's probably trying to figure out what Li Chunyang's intentions are. If events go as I expect, Li Chunyang will submit at least half of the Li family's reaping to the royal vault by the end of the week. Since that old guy decided to make his appearance now, does that mean that he's already grasped the situation? Then why can't I understand anything? Father, by situation, do you mean, do you really think that the emperor would let him run amok? Humph. The people that Li Chunyang went against were either those who had disagreements with the Li family or those who were supporters of the eldest prince. Are you saying that Li Chunyang has already made his stand? Wasn't he a supporter of the eldest prince before this? He was only leaning towards that side. At our level of politics, choices are not made hastily when the situation remains unclear. 
Logically, the eldest prince should have a larger chance of winning, especially with the support of public opinion. So, what is Li Chunyang thinking? Could there have been news that we don't know of? Could he be intending to gamble everything here? If his support allows Qin Yu to ascend to the throne, he'd be made prime minister and the Li family could very well hold onto that office for the next hundred years. But if the prince's ascension fails, then it would be impossible to even save himself, let alone the entire family. He, Li Chunyang really is daring. Then father, do we need to take any action? No. We're not like the Li family. We have countless talented individuals among STR descendants. As for the Li family, no one else apart from the recently rising Li Yunchao has any skill. But Li Yunchao does seem very odd. If Li Chunyang is willing to gamble, could it be, could it be that Li Yunchao is able to cure Xiao Qing Wang? There's no way. That injury of his was deemed impossible to cure even after scouring the whole country. If even Xiao Qing Wang decided to support Qing Yu, then nobody could predict the outcome. Lan Guang, you must remember in times of change, no matter what happens, you mustn't reveal your motives or your capabilities too soon. Even if you can't win, you can't allow yourself to lose. That's the only way that our Lan family can continue through the coming century. Yes, father. Qin Yang's Mansion Meeting Hall those people are either the eldest prince's supporters or direct subordinates. We cannot allow this. Yes. If we let Li Chunyang take the initiative, who else would dare to support the prince in the future? But despite the prince's repeated requests for an audience, the emperor has declined each meeting. We can't hold out like this. Wouldn't it be better to just submit while we can get some advantage? I'm here to provide you with some ideas and plans. I promise that you'll successfully ascend to the throne. Spy from the Hundred Battles country, you would still dare to show your face in front of me? All of this happened because of you. Since you're here already, you can give me your head. You are on the brink of failure, my prince. Why try to kill the only person who can help you? You are in a precarious position, crown prince. Why would you kill the only person who can help you? What a joke. I am a prince of Tianchui, and you are a spy from the Hundred Battles country. It's only right to kill you. Both of them are very powerful. They're experts at the martial lord realm. There is more to Li Yi than at first glance as well. He is at the level of a great martial master. If you want to keep us alive, I'm afraid you'll have to pay the price. You would take a big blow. How do you plan to help me? Simply put, we will help you accomplish three things. 1. Get Li Chunyang out of the capital. 2. Kill Xiao Qing Wang. 3. Keep Zhong Lishan under control. Li Chunyang has plenty of power and status to spare. He's even respected for being an elder. Not even my father, the king, might be able to make him leave. Besides, why would I want to kill Xiao Qing Wang? You are telling me to bring the country to ruin with my own hands. When the time comes, who in my country would be able to stand up to your martial king realm experts? Crown Prince, calm down. Think about it. If Li Yunchao does cure Xiao Qing Wang, Qin Yu will have the support of both Zhong Lishan and Xiao Qing Wang. If we don't get Li Chunyang away, he will also stand by Qin Yu. When that happens, will there still be any hope for you? Initially, a favorable situation. Seems to have become dangerous ever since Li Yunchao appeared. Couldn't I just kill Li Yunchao so that he doesn't cure Xiao Qing Wang? Of course, you need to kill Li Yunchao, but you can't let Xiao Qing Wang off the hook either. Last time, you sent your men to kill Qing Yu and Li Yunchao too. And in the end? Not only did the assassination fail, we even lost a vice commander of the city guards. If you kill Xiao Qing Wang, Commander Gao will be the main commander of the city guards. You will be in complete control of all five teams of the city guards. Why are you worrying that you won't succeed? The brilliant gold city and python mountains lie between Tianchue and our hundred battles country, so they end up forming natural barriers. Strong forces are guarding Whitehead Town, which is near the python mountains. It's impenetrable. 
If you issue the orders to allow our forces to pass through the Python Mountains and Whitehead Town to surround the brilliant Gold City, we will have the Phylong Army and Li Chanfong trapped. If we surround the brilliant Gold City and stop supplying them with food, Li Chanfong and the Phylong Army that numbers 400,000 can last at most three months. When that happens, Li Chunyang, who would be far away in the CA Pital, wouldn't be able to just watch. He would order strong troops to leave the capital and head towards the brilliant gold city. That would be the perfect time for you to take action. It's a great idea. If we lose control of Whitehead City and the brilliant gold city, Eastern Tianxue would be completely vulnerable to attacks from the Hundred Battles country. We would lose not only a town and a city, but a large portion of our country's land. Your worries are entirely understandable. To be frank, it is indeed hard for Tenshue to participate in the next ranking battles for the position of superior country, but if Li Chengyang sends his forces as aid, we would suffer a great blow too. The ranking battles draw near. The Hundred Battles country doesn't want to waste our forces either. This is just to get Li Chengyang away to help you take the throne. It's simple. You just have to help the Hundred Battles country take the position of a superior country at a crucial moment. There are three large military forces in the country. The first is the forces of the Li family, led by Li Chunyang. The second would be the city guards led by His Majesty. While the third is the force led by you. If Li Chunyang leaves and we get the support of the king, you will be in complete control of the country. When you take action, I can be responsible for pressuring Qin Yu's teacher, Zhong Lishan, so he would not have time to care about you. We would have completed all preparations for you to claim the throne. Many would heed to your every word, and the heavens would be at your grasp. Many would then heed to my every word, and the heavens would be mine. Hmm, who, ha ha ha. Alchemist Association. Refining Room. This should be the 20th pill. These mystic fire pills are true second tier pills. It's not something a second tier refiner can create. But under your guidance, they were produced in bulk. Young Master Yun, there's only one spirit nourishing pill left. There aren't many thousand bird pills left either. Give me the thousand bird pills. You take the spirit nourishing pill. After recovering your spirit power, refine a pot of spirit nourishing pills first, then for now stop the production of mystic fire pills and help me refine some thousand bird pills. You're asking me to refine spirit nourishing pills and thousand bird pills? Young Master Yun, why you are going to give me the recipe for the spirit nourishing pills and thousand bird pills, right? You followed me for so long. Why are you still acting like a newbie? These low tier pills are stuff that can be bought in street stalls. Why are you getting so excited? These aren't things that can be found in street stalls. When I used other pills that replenished spirit energy, it would still take at least three days to recover, but with these spirit nourishing pills, it only takes a day to recover. This equates to increasing refiner's efficiency by three times. It also means that one spirit energy would be trained three times more efficiently. These thousand bird pills are also unique. There are always side effects of using pills to increase your strength. But these thousand bird pills allow you to magically cultivate both your body and chakras simultaneously by continuously stimulating your body's potential. This is the consciousness. Sparks of inspiration. This is a sign that I'm about to ascend to the second tier. This sensation is the same as when I broke through the first tier. Numerous sparks of inspiration are pouring into my soul. This is the omen of success. I'm breaking through. I'm breaking through. I didn't think that this day would come so fast. The second tier great refiner. Master Jiarong. That name sounds so pleasant. From today on, I, Jiarong, will advance manically as if I were possessed. From today. Damn it! This is the abyss of knowledge. If I can't escape, at the least, my spirit would be injured. At worst, I could lose my consciousness and become brain dead. Open your eyes and look at me. 
That's young master Yun's voice. Young master, please save me. The godly evolution technique this is. Ugh. Ah, uh, you fainted from just that much pain? How will you follow me if you're so weak? Young Master Yun. Young Master Yun, I'm, I'm so unlucky. I was finally about to break through the second tier again. Success was in my reach. Lu Yao is seriously my bad luck charm. Why? Jia Rong's bad luck charm. Lu Yao has unlocked a new tag. Second tier? Aren't you already second tier? Huh? What? Ha ha ha. Second tier. Second tier. I'm really second tier now. Ha ha. I really entered second tier. Ah, heavens, I'm not dreaming, right? Young Master Yun, hit me. Hit me hard that I can see if I'm really not dreaming. It's not a dream. Young Master Yun, you didn't actually have to hit me that hard or spiritually reinforce the punch. I, Gu Feiyang, have never seen someone so shameless in any of the dozens of adventures I've had on the continent of Tianwu. Even after taking all those thousand bird pills, I only managed to ascend to a six-star warrior. Seems like the pills aren't as effective at releasing the power of my body anymore. At least I broke through the second tier refiner. My cultivation matches the rank of this badge now, I suppose. Does this even make sense anymore, young Master Yun? When we first met, you were neither a warrior nor a refiner, right? How long has it been since then? You're already a six-star martial warrior and a second-tier refiner. In my heart can't take this. Would you like me to help you in having a change of heart? Erg, Inno. Young Master Yun, pardon my intrusion. We've received news about your father, Li Changfeng. He's been cut off and surrounded by the army of the Hundred Battles country in Shining Gold City. We've lost contact with him. Duke Jingwa is furious. He's preparing to lead an army to save them. I have been ordered to ask that you come out of seclusion and take care of the Li family business for the time being. We only went into seclusion about ten days ago, and things have already gotten this messy. Fine. If they're all so desperate to die, then I don't mind granting their wish. Alchemist Association Main Hall From now on, I will follow you anywhere. I swear to follow any order. Young Master Yun, please teach me well. After about ten days of work, and you only ascended to two-star. Seems like your talents are just about average. If you want to follow me, then your growth will be up to your own efforts and dedication. Wait, Ji Meng? He's an expert at the great martial master level. In the martial world, the more experienced and powerful you are, the harder it is for you to ascend. At the level of a great martial master, every step after is difficult beyond measure. According to this team, Ji Meng ascended to a two-star in just ten days? How is that even possible? Two stars in ten days is considered average talent in this teen's eyes? I'm sorry for my thick-headedness. I've let you down. But my dedication will be far beyond anyone else's. I will be a hundred times more hardworking just to follow you. Since the beginning, those who had countless achievements in the martial world were always those with exceptional talent. But even more important than talent is one's spirit and perseverance. And when I look at your spirit, I like what I see. From today onwards, you are to be considered as a trusted aide. Young Master Yun, now that Commander G is your aide, what about me? You? Aren't you my slave? I'll think about it once you have ascended into the fourth tier. Become a fourth tier? How far into the future would that be? Young Master Yun, please just let me follow you. Master Jia? A slave? Fourth tier? God, who in the world is this kid? The situation in the capital is messy. Prince Yu was worried that young Master Yun could potentially be targeted by assassins. He sent me here to escort you. City Guard's third team commander by Mao. 
I must be moving up in the world, but I didn't think that I'd be important enough to have Commander by herself as my escort. City Guards Push the enemy back. These arrows are made from verdant bamboo wood. These are supplies from the Royal Army. You're saying that these are the eldest prince's men? There is no doubt. Be careful there. The enemy didn't just deploy this rubbish to this place at random. The main culprit is here leading these men. Kill them all. Don't leave a single one alive. So it was you, old eight. Last time, Luo Yunchang saved you. Let's see how you die this time. Brothers, you can have the others. I want to get this pig myself. Welp. Come at me with all you have. Entertain me for a while. Don't die too early, now. Hundred Battles Country Marshal Lord Guan Yu Injia. Relax, brother. None of this dross will be able to match you. Feel free to take your time in peeling that kid's flesh off one layer at a time. Hundred Battles Country Marshal Lord Yu Yuanwen. A slave with plans to foment Rebel Lion, huh, very well. As the young master of the Lee family, it's up to me to take out the trash. Take these pills and hold off those two martial lords. I'll help you once I kill this slave. Hold off two martial lords? Do you think that Ji Meng is a martial king? You have no idea what you're doing, do you? Do you really think that you can kill me, a three powers realm great martial master, with your pitiful martial warrior tier cultivation? What a farce. Humph, an origin blasting pill? A great martial master stays a great martial master. No matter how much medicine you take, you'll still be an insect in the hands of a martial lord. What? His level is already equal to a peak nine star great martial master. But his power is still rising steadily. Won't this kid spontaneously combust and die? Uh. What? What is this pressure? It's equal to a martial lord's. He's become a martial lord. God. What kind of pill was that? How does it allow people to break through realms? Feel free to take your time peeling that kid's flesh off one layer at a time. Who said that, again? This kid, really breakthrough into the Martial King realm. How is that possible? How does that even matter? You can't win even if your aura broke through, your understanding of martial arts are still leaking much. I'll let you know the difference between a real Martial King and a fake Martial King. Kaishan Silver Trident, Unseal. Soul Sealing Freeze Wall. Good. Serpent Ending Sword, Unseal. How can my soul sealing freeze be countered by this unknown sword presence? Ugh. Extreme Frost, Unleash. Damn it, why can I feel a sudden sense of waverly thoughts within my aura this kid who just breakthroughs with pills can go as far as how this is martial presence materialization. Every flower petal stores a heavy presence of martial intent. Brother, I've come to help you. Go to hell. Hump. My sword's intent. Actually are being caught by mere flower petals. What did he eat? How come that pill possesses such extremely effective power? Thanks for helping me escape, brother. What pill did Li Yunchao bring out just now? How can it let one martial warrior fight two martial kings together? That's just absurd. If I can get my hands on these pills. Li Yunchao, come here and die under my sword. I must capture Li Yunchao alive and force him to hand over secrets about these pills. Originally, I wanted to give you more time for you to see them perform. If you don't need it, then use it to repay your debt. Debt? What debt? You lived in my house for so long as a servant, what you eat and what you use are all from my family, and now you want to rebel against my family. Isn't this debt? Repay these debts with your life. How dare you? Stage 3 Martial Weapon, Tying Freezing Sword, Unseal. Raging Current. Young Master Yun, please run quickly, you can't face the enemy alone. 
Hmm. Stage three, so it's something strong. It depends on who's wielding it. Wanna kill me? Absolute blasphemy. Hundred gravitational force, form. Shit. This skill again. My sword. Though this sword isn't that good, I'll take it. I'll take it as interest for what you've taken from my family all these years. Give me my sword back. Divine Frost Fist. You want the sword? I'll return it right now. My Freezing Sword Intent. How can you use my Freezing Sword Intent? I can do these types of low-level skills just by looking at them. Have you got no shame by using it? Just how much worry can you have? Like a river of spring water flowing eastward, 3,000 guests drunk with flowers in the hall, 14 states worth of fever within one sword. Morn, spring water, combine. He can unseal two third-tier Xian weapons at the same time? Unsealing two weapons like that is no walk in the park, even for martial lords. Not only that, the energies coming from those swords have different qi elements. How is Li Yunchao doing this? This is bad. I have to take him out. Even if you can handle two third tier Xian weapons, the difference between our power is immeasurable. Let's see how you intend to close that gap. Immeasurable? If you were a martial lord, I might have been more reserved. But a great martial master? Old Eight, look into my eyes. Universal Soul Suppressor Demon Moon. Mm, very good. Be a good boy, kneel and eat my blades. Brother, look out. Ah. Brother, get out of here. Leave those three. For now, we need to check on Commander Bai. Universal Soul Suppressor is too much of a burden on my soul power. He'll have his guard up now because of my misstep, and I won't be able to utilize that move again in the near future due to my current soul power. I have to be more careful. Dao Fong and his men ambushed us. These are your subordinates? Yes. His name is Lu Zhang. He was my direct junior. He was only 27 and a three-star martial master. I used to praise him a lot for his diligence and his bright future. As a state guardian, following orders is a known must. He died with his own faith intact. You should be happy for him. They're all the same. But their deaths should have been for the country and not for something as troubling as this. I wasn't worthy of them. Not every soldier's death can be a glorious one on the battlefield. If they did their job, they were a worthy state guardian. Qin Yu's mansion meeting hall that 8,527 mutt is still in the capital. I thought he fled already. It appears that he has teamed up with the eldest prince. I didn't think that Big Brother would associate with enemy spies just to confront the Li family. Does he not have any lows he won't stoop to? This explains the stuff that happened in Shining Gold City as well. What the hell happened? There was some information given out five days ago. The Hundred Battles country attacked Whitehead City with 800,000 soldiers. They surrounded Shining Gold City just after. Right now, your father Great General Philong is still locked in a stalemate with the enemy there. Requests for backup have reached the capital. Any response from the royal court? Shining Gold City and Whitehead City are natural barricades for Tianchue. It would be disastrous for the country if both of them were to fall. Father would definitely gather all of the army's leaders and request the duke to lead the army out there himself. Hey old man, what do you think? If other people had heard that their father was trapped, most would have jumped the gun and gone out onto the battlefield without a second thought. But my grandson here is staying oddly composed, let me say this. Shining Gold City is easy to defend but hard to attack. Your father has 300,000 men guarding the city, the enemy's 800,000 isn't enough to be a problem. 
Now that we know 8527 has joined Qin Yang, I can now better confirm this. The request for help is fake, and their real motive was to mislead us. Once the Li family's military power is out of the capital, Qin Yang will be able to do whatever he wants. If we return after realizing that something was wrong, everything would be over by then. It'd be too late to regret our actions. Correct. That's my grandson. You understand everything. But what if the backup request is real? But what if the backup request is real? If the 300,000 soldiers of the Phylong army can't protect Shining Gold City from an army of 800,000, your father would deserve to suffer for being incapable. Besides, you know that I cannot leave the capital city. He should be referring to how he has to help Chen Dashing. That thought process is a little simplistic. Even if the request for backup wasn't written by my father, the situation at Shining Gold City might not be as good as you think. The Hundred Battles country has been trapped to the east of the Python Mountains for hundreds of years. They have never been able to take over these two locations. But this time, a large army is advancing towards them. Did you think it was just to help Qin Yang take the throne by distracting you? Are you saying that the Hundred Battles country wants to invade us? If we lose Shining Gold City, all 13 cities will become vulnerable to attacks. What should we do? We do not know what tactic and goals they have, but we can't ignore the request for backup. Even though we know it's a trap, we have to fall for it. If not, the consequences would be grave. Is Qin Yang insane? To think he'd do something like this. He's waited so long for the position of emperor. Now, at long last, it is in sight. However, Prince Yu appeared out of nowhere and tipped the scales. It's not surprising that Qin Yang would choose to take risks. My elder brother is being way too selfish. For his own selfish desires, he would even sacrifice the common people. If he wants the throne, I can just stop competing for it. Your Highness, please don't do that. You're a generous person who takes care of the common folk. You would be a great king, a blessing for the people. If Qin Yang takes the throne, the future of the common folk would be bleak. The billions of people of Tianchui would be in a dangerous situation for the sake of the people. Please, Lord Su, you are right. For the sake of the people, I will have to compete for the throne, even if it costs me my life. What a wise decision, Your Highness. With you around, Tianchui will certainly become a peaceful and prosperous country. Why does this seem so damn familiar? Since you are so concerned about the country and the people, why don't I give you 300,000 soldiers to help those at Shining Gold City? TTH that's. Young Master Yun, do you have any ideas? Li Chunyang is definitely trying to help his grandson grow. If he displays his abilities and importance to Qin Yu, he'll gain great achievements in the future, which will ensure the success of the Li family. I do have a plan, but there are many years here. Everyone here is a close relative or trusted aide of Prince Yu. You don't seem to trust us much. It's not that I don't trust you much. I don't trust you at all. You. Li Yunxiao, you are humiliating us and disrespecting Prince Yu. If you can swear on your life that not a single word I say here today will spread, then stay here. That goes for you guys too, but if you stay here, be prepared for your head to go flying. If you have the courage to risk that, stay here. Who the hell is this Li Yunxiao? What's with that chilling gaze? Besides, why should we be held responsible if the information leaks out? Dear ministers, you've worked hard. Please rest at the Drunken Flower Pavilion. Send the best showgirls and musicians to the Drunken Flower Pavilion. Young Master Yun, you can speak now, right? Or do you want me to leave too? Ha ha, you really know how to joke. I was thinking, we should defend both sides at the same time. I have considered that, but we have limited manpower. If the Duke leaves the capital, I won't have the power to compete with my brother. You know how His Majesty treats the Lee family right now. Many of the important positions within the military have been given to people working for the First Prince. 
If Shining Gold City has really been surrounded, the only force that could support them would be the Central Army that numbers at 500,000. The Central Army. However, the leader of the Central Army is the First Prince, Qin Yang. It doesn't seem possible to make him send his soldiers to the rescue. Even if His Majesty himself sent the order for that, Qin Yang might defy his orders. If I call for soldiers using my prestige, I might be able to recruit some of the troops I used to work with. You can't leave the capital. There are important matters I need you to help me with. You should indeed stay in the capital. Just send me to save them. You? No, no, no. Even if I can gather some troops, those people are reckless, undisciplined, and don't like following orders. Unless I lead them myself, no one would be able to keep them in line. Young Master Yuan is too young. Even if you can gather some troops, our manpower and battle strength would be limited. Even if something really happened at Shining Gold City, it would be too hard to do anything with such an army. You seem to have forgotten about three people. Three people? Which three? First, the one who will lead the army. Obviously, I won't be able to keep those old men in line, but other than you, there's someone else who can. Though I can't completely cure him right now, if he stays by my side and takes pills regularly, recovering to his peak state won't be a problem. Why you really found a way? I refined some mystic fire pills which can immediately subdue the frost poison within his body. On top of that, if we treat him with strong extreme yang chi, he can recover his peak state. Amazing. That's really amazing. Who are you talking about? The one who followed my grandfather around back then, conquering lands together. The one who raised a thousand miles of the hundred battles country to the ground. The one granted the name Loyal Duke after his death, Chen Dashing. Loyal Duke Chen Dashing? Wasn't he already dead? Back then, in order to get rid of the people around me, His Majesty sent Chen Dashing to participate in that damned ranking battle. Chen Dashing returned to the capital half dead and even got ambushed that night. My father, the Emperor, made such poor decisions. How could he treat loyal men this way? After that, I swapped him out with a criminal on death row and told the outside world that he had died. Humph. Actually, he's been recuperating in the Li family's secret chamber this whole time. Also, though His Majesty granted him the name Loyal Duke, he lowered the nobility status of the Chen family. When I ascend to the throne, I will return the Chen family to their rightful status. Is General Chen's injury connected to Commander Zhao's? That's right. He was wounded by Yi Xiaoshan's Frost Qi. Now you know who the second person I'm talking about is, right? You really are a genius. You can even suppress Frost Qi. If Commander Xiao joins the expedition, you will be unstoppable. Now, I'm curious, with Chen Dashing and Commander Xiao, the team would be strong enough to help those at the Shining Gold City. So who is the third person you were talking about? Ho Ho, I also want to help you form an army that can defeat enemies of much larger numbers than themselves, Prince Yu. An army? Where from? Of course, I'm talking about your teacher Marshal King Zhong Lishan. No, that's impossible. My teacher may be supporting me, but he would never involve himself in any political affairs. He'll only make a move when the Hundred Battles Country Main Army nears the capital. I don't need him to make a move. Did you perhaps forget about the tragedy that took place in Tianchui 60 years ago? Do you mean? 60 years ago, when Qin Zheng was just a prince, a revolution sprouted in the south, causing the army to crumble. It left the country with no protection. The revolutionary army reached the capital in no time. During this time, the dean of Jialan Academy organized an army made up of capable students to combat the revolutionary army. Not only did it resolve the emergency in the capital, the army pushed forward. They pushed the revolutionary army back to the south, later dissolving them. The former king granted the group of students the name. This is also the origin of the State Guardians. Coincidentally, it's currently the school holidays, and most academies have started to form training missions for students to sign up. Prince Yu, 
you should know that the difficulty of training missions from Jalan Academy would not fall behind that of saving Shining Gold City. If we changed the training mission into supporting Shining Gold City and increased the rewards. Good idea. Young Master Yun, you're a genius. If we did send the students, we would gain a large number of martial masters, warriors, and disciples. That kind of power will be enough to push them back ten times over. Many of the strongest warriors in Tianxue have come from Jialan Academy in these recent years. Prince Yu, you can personally ask for the students to move out. We should gather the martial artists in this batch. They will become the foundation of the country in the future. Furthermore, the academy's teachers will also be guiding them. Even the lowest-ranked teacher in Jialan Academy is a quality martial master. As for dampening the benumbing qi inside Xiao Qing Wang and Chen Dashing, we'll need Luo Yunsheng in our army as well. Luo Yunsheng is a truly powerful martial lord. That is crazy. Not only would we be gathering a strong team, we would also be bringing many of the strongest warriors to Qing Yu's side. These are all important people. Xiao Qing Wan's injury is worsening, meaning that his control of the state guardians has weakened. Gao Feng's team 1 supports the eldest prince, whereas Commander Bai's team 3 supports you. The other three teams also have their own thoughts. But as long as Xiao Qing Wang has his full strength, would any of the state guardians would dare defy him? Prince Yu, you already have three of Tianxue's martial kings supporting you. How could you lose? You are right. Huh? Three martial kings? Who's the third? Could it be? Ha ha ha. Looks like I don't need to hide anymore. I have stepped into the five elements realm, and I am now a martial king. Congratulations, Duke. He he he, thank you. My grandson here has spoken like a true sage today. It seems like Qin Yu's victory is now certain. Young Master Yun, you really are an esteemed individual. If I manage to succeed to the throne, I will reward you lavishly. Today, I'm willing to call you my brother, to share our fates, our pain, and glory. Do you accept? Qin Yu is only doing that because of my ascension, but if Yun Chao can be brothers with him, the future of the Li family will be of an extraordinarily high prestige. Li Yun Chao is a prodigy worth teaming up with. You um, that, let's talk about that next time. As a royal prince, the future leader of our country, a bonding of brothers with a team would be a great honor for him. How could he reject such an offer when no one in the whole country would even think of dreaming about it? That's young Master Yun for you. My idol. He he he, Tianxue is a small country. How would that appeal to my grandson? This brat hid his abilities so well in the past. He must already have thought of going beyond Tianxue, so he didn't bother to think about anything until the situation forced him to. Humph, if it wasn't for the current circumstances, this brat would have just continued to be silly in life. As I thought, young Master Yun always puts the country's matters first, especially with the current worrisome situation. Prestige shouldn't be one's focus. No wonder Prince Yu decided to ask for a brotherhood. He was moved. Why don't we talk about this after Prince Yu ascends to the throne? Commander Bai is right. You are a rare genius. I am far too attached to your wisdom. We can announce it to the public after I ascend to the throne. Forget it. I'm already used to being a lone wolf. I'm not used to brotherhoods and never thought of making one either. Let's not bring up this topic again. Is his brain working properly? Even if you didn't want to form a brotherhood, did you really have to embarrass Prince Yu? How do you expect Prince Yu to back off now? Eh him. At least you know your boundaries. How can a vassal and the future emperor be brothers? Ha ha. You really are unique. You are the duke's descendant indeed. Even though Prince Yu looks up to you, you should just be humble and play your part as an official. That means that my teachings weren't wasted on you. Life is glory and shame, but all turns to dust. Life is like a fog, but martial arts are eternal. Ori and shame, but all turns to dust. Life is like a fog, but martial arts are eternal. 
At this moment in time, I thought that my fight for the throne seemed very insignificant. Life is glory and shame, but all turns to dust. Life is like a fog, but martial arts are eternal. Martial Lord How did Commander Ji suddenly become a martial lord? When Ji Meng decided to follow him two weeks ago, he was just a seven-star great martial master. How did he manage to break through to martial lord in that short amount of time? Back when I first became a martial lord, I had gone into seclusion for approximately six months and used up countless pills and high-quality medicine. Only then did I manage to break through. But you were lucky enough to break the barrier in no time. Your luck knows no bounds. Was it luck? Thank you for your tutelage. This is also part of your fortune. I'll have Jiarong refine ten of the thousand bird pills for you to break through to Marshal King. As you are now, you are barely strong enough to be my follower. Yes, young Master Yun. A martial lord is barely enough to be his follower? Isn't this brat getting too cocky? Young Master Yun getting annoying now, don't you guys think? Qin Yu went to Jialan Academy to meet with Zhong Lishan at once. Ji Meng went to invite Xiao Qing Wang, and Jia Rong went to find Luo Yuncheng. Li Chunyang and Li Yunchao returned to their residence to make preparations for letting the emperor allow them to mobilize forces. Qin Yang's mansion secret meeting room you had three martial lords. The opponent had one. You had thirty martial masters. The opponent had twenty. You also had over fifty elite crossbowers from the military. And all but four of you died. Why you damned slave? How will you pay for this? Almost the entire team of the state guardians that I command has been annihilated. They were the best men I had. I had already successfully subdued by Mao. How will you explain that? How will you make up for the lives of the 30 men under me and the 50 crossbowers? It was all because of Li Yunchao and Ji Meng. Ji Meng held off my two brothers and Li Yunchao chopped off one of my arms. If it weren't for the two of them meddling, the plan would already have succeeded. Did I hear that right? Ji Meng is just a seven-star great martial master. Your two brothers are martial lords. He could hold off both of them at once. Li Yunchao is a martial warrior and you are a great martial master. You're saying he could chop your arm off? Can't you make up a more reasonable excuse? I'm telling the truth. Ji Meng gained the strength of a martial lord immediately after eating some kind of medicine. And Li Yunchao is even more cunning and vicious. Not only did he have a third-tier Xian weapon, he also knew secret techniques. When I was in the Li family, I had investigated him and was very sure that he was nothing but trash. Who would have known that he had hidden his abilities so well? With his abilities and intellect, he will pose a great threat to you. There certainly is something strange about him. The plan to kill Qin Yu that night was flawless, but not only did all our efforts go down the drain, he even brought Ji Meng to his side. He's very weird. I don't want to hear your explanations. What should we do now? Don't panic. Though we might have failed this time, it doesn't affect the big picture. Isn't our plan proceeding perfectly? When the Golden Lion Army, which we ordered to retreat from Whitehead Town, returns to the capital and gathers with the Central Army, the Central Army will be complete. Won't the whole country be under your control? Yes, but what about Xiao Qing Wang? Li Yunchao might really be able to treat him. Who will be able to stop him if he stands with Qing Yu? The other martial king is Qing Yu's teacher. This is the biggest headache. Don't worry about that. When the time comes, my master will send experts here. There is no way Xiao Qing Wang will survive. That is great. I hope that nothing else will go wrong. You can take your leave and tend to your injuries. Commander Gao, do you think that the people from Hundred Battles Country are dependable? Dependable, my ass. I lost my team of over 30 experts. I think so too. I can only rely on myself. We have to carry that out as soon as possible. We should also force the other three teams to pick a side. Yes. Right. How is Jiarani doing? 
arrangements have already been made. Lord Kong is also very angry at Li Qingying for disregarding the country's laws by killing the ministers. Humph. So what if he is very angry? Jiarani is just a weak scholar. He's a bit useful in forming connections, but when you need him to spill blood, even a normal soldier is better than him. We haven't expressed our hostility to each other yet. Let him cause a bit of trouble for Li Chunyang in the name of justice. Something had to be done about the Li family's arrogance. Jiarani is well known and prestigious. He represents the heart of every scholar. Something unexpected could happen. Right. If we could use this opportunity to get the world to turn their backs on the Li family, it will be way easier to fully control the Central Army. With him by our side, the public will side with us. All of these were small fights. If that succeeds, even if everyone supports you, the throne will be mine. Li family residence. Huh? Who has the courage to surround the Li family? Lord, this is bad. The three disciples of the Imperial Academy's Lord Jiarani, Chao Jing, Shen Turing, and Xian Yuan Zixian have brought a hundred scholars to protest, many of which are court officials, accusing you of ten major crimes. The Duke's residence, Li Xian. What? That old man, Jiarani? Yun Chao, I'll take my leave for now. When these broke students are done making a fuss, they'll leave on their own. You dare to kill even high-ranking court officials who are both well-learned and strong. Are you scared of a few mere scholars? You have no idea. If I kill a few court officials, it's nothing to the country or the people, but it's different with Giarini. He is the descendant of a saint, the idol of scholars. He represents the ethics of literature. Even if His Majesty the King or the old man, Lan Hong, met him, they have to pay their respects to him. His name holds great prestige. If we kill them here, the Li family's reputation will be dragged in the mud. Why would you be scared of these ants? If he's showing himself now, Jiarani was probably given benefits or deluded by the first prince. He doesn't seem like someone good. Since he wants to block my way, I'll just clean all of them up. Our Li family is a family of generals. At our core, we respect scholars and the learned. Is he completely disregarding this? Three virtuous scholars Xian Yuan Zixian, three virtuous scholars Shen Turing, three virtuous scholars Chao Jin. Perjury. Injuring and killing court officials. Abusing military power. Allowing subordinates to commit crimes. Such arrogance. Disregarding the king. Cold-blooded and vicious. Heartless and immoral. These ten major crimes cannot be forgiven. Leah Cha, these ten major crimes cannot be forgiven. 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 Ugh. Ugh. This Grand Chi of Justice is condensed from the spirituality of a virtuous scholar and the Yuan Chi of Heaven and Earth. He does have some ability. Looks like I underestimated him. It seems like a great supplement too. How could I let it go to waste? I feel so refreshed. Ha ha ha. Your Grand Chi of Justice will become the best nourishment for me. Level up like crazy. W what is he doing? How is he floating in midair? I thought only martial grand masters from legends could float in the air. With the way he's floating, I think that he's absorbing our chi. Everyone, calm down. This brat knows demonic arts. We as the virtuous scholars of the Haosho Union have the most powerful supreme chi in this realm. He's sealing his own fate by absorbing our chi. Brother Chao is right. 
Everyone stay calm and recite our saints' teachings. Strengthen your supreme Q1 and vanquish this demonic being. My lord, is the young master all right? Floating can only be achieved by a martial grand master of the Six Directions realm that Brett must have used some sort of sneaky trick. That Brett must at least know his limits. When I absorb the Grand Chi of Justice into my body, not only does it convert into true Chi and meld with my Dantian, it's even allowing me to boost my soul power. My cultivation that hasn't been improving as much from relying so much on Thousand Bird Pills has now started to grow closer to that of a peak six star. Is it because I've been using the Heavenly Tyrant Body and the Godly Evolution techniques? How can this much Grand Chi of Justice not even cause me to break through a single star? Looks like using a few techniques at once has both pros and cons. But with knowledge of those techniques, combined with my comprehension of martial arts, I'll be unstoppable to those on the same level. Hmm. Everyone calm down. This brat knows demonic arts. We as the virtuous scholars of Haosho Union have the most powerful supreme chi in this realm. He's sealing his own fate by absorbing our cue. Brother Chow is right. Everyone stay calm and recite our saints' teachings. Strengthen your Grand Chi of Justice and vanquish this demonic being. The Grand Chi of Justice is getting denser. Fuck me. Chao Jing, Xian Yuan Xian, I love you both. Well, don't mind me then. Why you guys are so mean? Too mean. Ah. I can't let them stop the flow of Chi. I should put on more of a show. Seven Star Martial Law. Mutz. Stop this. Stop this now. I'm so dead. Help. Everyone, stay strong. The demonic being is almost dead. This has never happened before. Aren't we supposed to feel more spirited the more we recite from the Book of the Saint? My lord, what do we do? The young master is dying. This brat... Other than that wretched face, where else does he look like he's in pain? And those surges of energy coming from the air. Has that brat ascended? H.E. doesn't even look the least bit hurt. And the pressure from him seems to be even more dense than before. Phew. A mid-level 7-star martial warrior, not bad. If you guys put in just a bit more effort, I would have been a peak 7th star. You're already down for the count after I absorbed that bit of chi? Did you even learn anything? You. Why you, you? What? H. He was using our grand chi of justice to make a breakthrough on his cultivation? Ha ha. You really are my grandson. I'm thankful to Jiarani for this gift. Please help me give him my thanks. Ahaha. Uh -huh. You, you. Why, why you, you. All of you should drop dead. Humph, don't think that you'll be getting away scot-free after only spilling some blood. Surrounding the Lee family with malicious intentions and trying to pin crimes on my grandfather. Now, we should settle this. Ah. Uh. W. What are you doing? What am I doing? A hundred of you surrounded the Lee family estate, and you still ask what I'm doing? Are you here to joke around? The Lee family has committed ten major crimes. They cannot be forgiven. Even if our plan has failed, the idol of scholars needs to stand strong. We must stick the ten major crimes unto the Lee family. You really are here to joke around. Ten major crimes? Do you think the Emperor is blind? Are you trying to say that the Emperor's loyal retainers, faithful servants, and trusted associates are complete bastards and ruthless maniacs? Are you? You. I, you. Li Yunchao, don't you dare try to dwell on such trivial thoughts and blabber things out of context. Originally, offending the Li family would have given you the death sentence, but since you helped me in my ascension, I'll give you the choice to save your own lives. You savage. We are disciples of the saint. Scholarly disciples. I dare you to kill us all. We are born of saintly principles. 
If you ever touch us, look out for. Ah. No. Don't kill me. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I was wrong, young Master Yun. No. Please no. All of you, walk three rounds around the capital. Recite this as you walk. Jiarani is a fake, he is a stupid idiot. It doesn't matter if we can keep our lives today. Just by humiliating our senior like this, we will never be able to hold our heads high again. Hold this up and follow them. If they refuse to comply, kill them on the spot. Jiarani is a fake. He is a stupid idiot. Jiarani is a fake. He is a stupid idiot. Jiarani is a fake. He is a stupid idiot. Jia. I don't want to hear you shouting unhappily. Diss him happily. Diss him enthusiastically. Ha ha he he. Ha ha, Jiarani is a fake. He is a stupid idiot. Ha ha ha, ha ha, stupid idiot. Ha ha, stupid idiot. Ha ha, stupid idiot. Ha ha ha. Secret chamber, it's worse than I thought. But since I'm the one treating him, he can't die even if he wanted to. How long will he take to wake up? Look, he just woke up. Ah. I fainted again. I'm lucky I could wake up again. I don't know if I'll still be as lucky next time. Try standing up. Ah. Stand up? I haven't stood up for five years. I, I can feel my legs. Brett, how did you do it? It's simple, actually. You're afflicted with extreme frost. Sun Jingzong refined pills of extreme yang to nourish you, but that is just a temporary solution. To address the root cause, you have to neutralize the frost and remove the frost poison. This mystic fire pill of mine can do that, but it is only second tier. So we need extreme yang chi to help you recover. Brother, it's been so many years. I can finally, finally stand up again. My brother. Brother, your grandson really is outstanding. I'm so jealous. Sai, if I had told this brat about our situation earlier, you might not have had to suffer so much. I'm already very happy that I can stand up again. I have everything I want. You need to command an army and head east in a few days. Don't be so down. Command an army and head east? I can only sit here and recall the memories of the life I led in the military. You really know how to joke, brat. Shall we make a bet? Brother, he isn't serious, right? Brother, I'll have to ask this favor of you even though you haven't recovered yet. As seriously, ha ha ha. I would never have imagined that I, Chin Dashing, would once again wear armor and enter a battlefield. Brother, just tell me about it. I will follow your orders. Think about it carefully later. He he what? What are you looking at? You really are a second tier alchemist. I believe it now. You're a second tier alchemist. You should have good stuff, right? Why would I have good stuff? Oh? You don't have good stuff? Then where did the Lee family's treasury go? Answer me. You cleared out hundreds of years worth of savings. Clearing it out is fine, but even the treasury itself is gone. If I hadn't seen it myself, I wouldn't have or believed it. You so poor that you have to take the cave too? Hmm. I'll just take these for today. I can't extort everything at once. I'll have plenty of chances to do that in the future achievement obtained even capable people get screwed over. Your grandpa will always be your grandpa. Main character with plot armor gets counterattacked. Aren't you chin dashing? Lee, did you become a martial king? Ching Wang, it's been a grueling five years. Didn't you die from the benumbing poison all those years ago? That's a story for another time. Let me explain the general situation. Lee, why didn't you ask me for help? If His Majesty didn't care, I would have. You were injured from the battle too. 
I was just a young martial lord, and without the abilities to help him directly, I could only hide him. Young Master Yun, did you happen to find a cure for him? Correct. I refined a few mystic fire pills, which can suppress the effects of the benumbing poison. It's only a second tier, so its effects are limited. If we want a full recovery, we'll need the extreme Yang Chi from Teacher Luo. If I were to nurse you back to health, I hope that you can help the Li family in some matters. I understand. To receive aid, I must return the favor. I can agree to three things, just don't make the requests too difficult on me. All right. Three should be fine. For you managed to refine second tier pills? How did you? It wasn't on purpose. I was a bit lucky. So that's the case. You've been keeping your talents hidden, and I've been deceived by your shenanigans. You even made me worry for you back then. Teacher Luo, thank you for all that you've done for me. Once you finish helping me nurse Uncle Chen and Commander Xiao, the Li family will repay you with however much you need. Commander Xiao and Uncle Chen are both important pillars of the country, so helping them is within my duties. There's no need for reimbursement. Although, if you ever have the inspiration, don't forget to play the Guangling Odyssey for me, I want to hear it. I will play it for you, don't worry. Everyone here is an important guest. Let us all stay here in the Lee Mansion. I will head to the court tomorrow morning and request the transfer order. Take care of the nursing stuff. I'm going into seclusion. Lee Mansion's training room. I've trained using the most rigorous methods and never strayed far from the most ideal path. Under these conditions, even without any coincidental help, I should have already become a martial master. But even after absorbing Ming Bai's weird poison and true chi from hundreds of scholars, I'm still stuck as a mere seven-star martial warrior. Inside his consciousness. I've seen many people set up expanded spaces on the inside of Xian weapons. Most of them used formations to merge the distorted space into the desired object. Even if one branded their mark using their consciousness, it would still be a silent space. But the space that the monument created inside my consciousness is very lifelike. It's like a living, mystical world. But the space that the monument created inside my consciousness is very lifelike. On the whole continent of Tianwu, the number of people capable of refining a monument like this is near zero. Allowing my consciousness to stabilize and not fade away. Directly displaying my soul, the laws of this world seem different from the real one. Inside the consciousness in reality the soul can train the soul power and the body can absorb natural chi from the world. Sustain the boundaries while melding mind and body. The laws are definitely different. If that's the case, I can train my body and soul at the same time. In reality in the consciousness. 30 times gravity. Manifest and absorb. Absorb the crystal's energy. Ugh. There are thousands of minuscule links between the body, soul, and chi. I didn't think that I could absorb up to eight stones worth of energy at once. When I was at this level in my previous life, it would have been my lucky day to absorb just one or two. By training all three factors at once, even martial warriors that are higher level than me don't necessarily have the density of true chi I have. Push for more primordial stones once I return to the peak nine heavens realm, who in Tin Wu would be strong enough to rival me. Manifest and absorb, suck it all up. This is bad. This is too much. I was too greedy. I'm going to combust. This feeling. Is it really because my physical body can't support it and collapsed? What a joke. How is that possible? Goddamn seven star martial warrior. Return cautiousness, unify the mind. Get the hell out of here. Advance to eight star martial warrior. I finally succeeded. Ha ha. I'm still alive, haha. Ha. That was indeed too dangerous. I can't toy with my life like that again. 
if I die once, I'm dead a severe case of mismatch between words and attitude will definitely dare to do it again puts on clothes at light speed emergency. Ahem, so I didn't want to disturb you, but, ah, uh, ah, uh, W what happened to you? You broke through to H star martial warrior? If you hadn't come to disturb me, I was planning to break through to martial master before coming out. You just broke through to 7-star martial warrior two days ago. You became an 8-star martial warrior in two days? How is that possible? Even if you eat ninth tier medicines in bulk, the improvement wouldn't be that great, right? If there's nothing, then I'll continue training. No, wait. After what happened with the three virtuous scholars, some of the scholars went into hiding, some went home and some went mad. Jiarani was furious. He came down with a high fever. He gathered all of the instructors of the Imperial Academy and is waiting for the Lee family to take responsibility for our actions. When I saw them from afar, I just ran. Fifty this gang of scholars are the ones disrupting my advancement? What are you afraid of? Whoever blocks our way, kill them. If they were usual court officials, it would be all right to kill them. But Giarini is the descendant of a saint and represents all scholars. If I killed him, everyone under the sun would slander our family. We would be treated badly anywhere we went. You care about those too much. You need to know that for us who go down the path of martial arts, we only believe in strength. Those who are kings among the common people and use them to their advantage are no better than dirt. When I can part the clouds and my laughter reaches the heavens, look at them again. Who would dare to slander me? Our generation will take the heavens. I've run around for so many years. I've been in hundreds of battles, yet I've never feared any of them. If I feared a bunch of rotten scholars today, even the clouds would laugh at me. My grandson's words are majestic. It feels like my mind has suddenly been cleared. It feels like the path of martial arts has suddenly opened up in front of me. What is righteous about hiding in fear? Martial artists are supposed to charge forward and remove all obstacles in their paths. Today, I'll sweep all of these rotten ants away. Who can stop my way? How is that possible? How does that brat have such thick evil energy? It's as if he has killed billions of living souls, as if he is stained with large amounts of karma. Even I, a martial king, Tremble a little when in front of him. When I first became a martial king, I felt content. I felt like I had reached the peak, the destination of my life. But right now, I feel the aura of a grand master from my grandson. My vision was too narrow. At this stage, I've just started my journey down the path of martial arts. When Chin Yu's problem is solved, I will put aside everything else and focus on training. Who goes there? This is the doorway to the Imperial Palace. This is not a place anyone can visit. Dismount and proceed on foot. Whatever it is, dismount right now and proceed on foot. I will inform His Majesty. Time is running out. Make way. If you don't get out of the way, I won't show mercy. Preposterous. Dismount. How dare you? If you don't dismount right now, you're dead. You can just teach them a lesson. Why do you have to kill them? Today, I came here to kill. I am Li Yunxiao, the eldest son of the general of Phylong, Li Changfeng. I have emergency matters pertaining to the military that I need to inform His Majesty of. How dare you barge into the Imperial Palace and kill the guards? It's an emergency. We don't have time. Please make way. Giarini. How dare you? The Imperial Palace is a sacred place. It's not a place for kids like you to go wild. Commander of the Palace Guards Jing Feibai. An eight-star four quadrants Rome Martial Lord. He should be the strongest expert among the guards. The Duke, Li Chunyang. 
Commander Jing, who usually seems like a god, was done in as if he was trash. We have emergency military matters to report. Anyone who tries to block the way will be killed without mercy. Gramps is waiting for me. Li Yunchao, son of the Phylong General Li Chanfeng, has urgent military intelligence to report to His Majesty. Li Yunchao, Phylong General Li Chanfeng, has urgent military intelligence to report to His Majesty. Father, the Li family has become more and more unbridled. They actually dare to kill palace guards and force themselves into the palace. This is blatant disrespect towards your majesty. They should be executed. I didn't expect Li Yunchao to make such a grand entrance. All my original plans of gaining authority over the military are now useless. Li Chunyang and Li Yunchao come. Li Chunyang and Li Yunchao come. Li Chunyang and Li Yunchao come. Li Chunyang and Li Yunchao halt. Li Chunyang and Li Yunchao, you two are wicked sinners. After reviling the sages, you mutilated over a hundred scholars. Truly an unpardonable sin. This is the day of reckoning. Outside the imperial palace, let the heavens bear witness to your execution. 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 These Imperial Academy Grand Mentors seem to have read all their books in vain. It can't even compare to those scholars from earlier. Such a small amount of righteous chi. I don't even want it. Let the heavens bear witness. Li Yunchao is actually killing people outside the Imperial Palace. Li Yunchao is killing people. The major matters of the court aren't something you scholars can meddle in. You're merely pawns used by other people, yet you think you're fighting for some kind of righteousness. Ridiculous. I have no interest in fighting you guys. I'd also advise against wasting your life reading those sage books. Do you want to die for nothing? Just stay in the Imperial Academy and teach. That's where you belong. Also, if Jiarani was truly righteous, he wouldn't have sent you guys to stand in my way. He sent you to your deaths. Palace. Jiarani. My God. Your Majesty, you must take action for this lowly official. Kill these two demons. Li Yunchao, you've got guts. You actually dared to kill people outside the Imperial Palace. First, you kill palace guards. Then, you kill great mentors. Have you no respect for the law? Your Majesty, it is because I respect the law that I'm killing these people. Bullshit. Murder must be punished with death. You dare to slaughter people in the palace. You are blind to the law. You must die. Does Your Highness know about the law? Of course. I am the first prince. How can I not? The audacity. Let's see how you get out of this one. In that case, is the head of the Ministry of Personnel here? This old man is here. What does young Master Yun want from little old me? Minister of Personnel Ban Wenlin. I'm a little bit unclear on some matters. I hope Minister can enlighten me. Young Master Yun, please speak. Excuse me, but what is the punishment for blocking someone with urgent military intelligence? Urgent military intelligence is naturally a huge matter. By the kingdom's law, blocking the person reporting urgent military intelligence is punishable by death. So that's why that brat said he was going to report urgent military intelligence. It seems those palace guards died in vain. To think Li Yunchao would exploit such a loophole. Even if those palace guards deserve to die, what about those great mentors? You cold-blooded brat. You're a serial killer. Every single one of those great mentors devoted themselves to literature. During their work, they detached themselves from worldly desires and dedicated themselves to educating our country's foundation. You actually slaughtered them without a second thought. How is that respecting the law? Wah, such sad deaths. 
Excuse me, minister, what is the punishment for slandering an important court official? If it truly is slander, the punishment is death. That was actually one of the laws? If the slander is done by the common folk, killing them is only natural. But, those great mentors all hold official positions. Besides, everything they said was true. It wasn't slander. Everything they said was true? Watch your words, cause I'm a Buddha report you for slander too. His majesty personally told me to come. The great mentors blocked my way. He, he what's the punishment for obstructing someone from carrying out an imperial edict? This. The punishment for obstructing someone from carrying out an imperial edict is the complete and utter annihilation of their entire family. To think Li Yunchao would be so sinister. It seems that those great mentors also died in vain. Perfect. I believe Jiarani's nephew was among the great mentors who blocked me. As such, Jiarani should also be utterly annihilated. Their family after all. Every word and action of the sage's descendant serves as the epitome of righteousness. You are the leader of the scholars. You should naturally know that the law is inflexible, unforgiving. Why you? Your Majesty, Your Majesty, please uphold justice. T this headache-inducing dilemma was actually solved like this? I is this really my grandson? The Lee family has always been a family of generals. In a fight with words, we're no match for those rotten scholars. But, today, not only did he arrogantly charge in and kill people, but he also used the kingdom's laws to sentence Jiarani to death. If I confirmed Jiarani's crime, wouldn't that mean a descendant of the sage would get executed? If I don't, Li Yunchao will definitely not let this matter rest. Jiarani is the descendant of the sage. At the same time, he's also my first teacher. It was his nephew that committed the crime, not him. Given Jiarani's accomplishments, I hereby pardon him. As for his nephew, drag him out and kill him. He deserves it for offending Li Yunchao. All hail your majesty. Many thanks, your majesty. Many thanks, your majesty. This old geezer only cares about sucking up to his majesty. He doesn't give a shit about his own nephew's death. With this, I resolved the problem. Jiarani has been pardoned. Li Yunchao got Jiarani's nephew killed. I should have satisfied both sides. Your majesty, you can't. As a paragon of righteousness to the world, Jiarani must follow the law to a T. Besides, no one is above the law, not even a prince. Are you saying Jiarani is more important than a prince? Li Yunchao, why you? This was His Majesty's personal imperial pardon. You're making a mockery of it. Do you not put His Majesty in your sight? Translation failure. Failed to recognize language. I'm getting a sense of deja vu. I obviously don't put his majesty in my sight. The situation is getting out of hand. What kind of blasphemy is this? Of course, his majesty was not in my sight. He could have trampled them with his words. Why did he change his stance and say something controversial? You. I respect his majesty. As his subject, I've always had his majesty at heart. I've followed all of his orders and teachings. But Jiarani always goes his majesty this and his majesty that. I question where his loyalty lies. It's no wonder Jiarani dared to defy the imperial edict. He doesn't even have his majesty at heart. Does he really think he's more important than his majesty? Perhaps, Jiarani, you believe his majesty isn't wise enough and that you should be on the throne instead? You. You. Jiarani's crime of defying the imperial edict had not been washed away, and now he's accused of treason. You. You. You, ugh. Teacher. Master Jia. The Grand Scholar was angered to death. Teacher. He's a true sage's descendant. He chose to die for his crime. This means he knows justice and shame. The deceased man has shown remorse. 
even though Giarini had committed a crime, we should be compassionate and forgive him. I beseech your wise judgment, your majesty. Li Yunchao is too cruel, Giarini is already dead, but he still wants to add to his list of crimes. He's too dangerous. We shouldn't get in his way. Cough. Cough. I shouldn't anger the Li family over a useless dead man. Yun Chao is right. He had shown remorse. I will pardon him for all his crimes. Jiarini was a grand scholar. Give him a state funeral and have everyone mourn him for one day. Teacher. Our teacher is now history. Duke Li, Li Yun Chao, what's this urgent military intelligence that required you to kill even Imperial Guards just to bring it here? We lost by two town. Kunjin City had been besieged by the Hundred Warring States Army. We must send reinforcements immediately. And? And? There's nothing else. We're waiting for your majesty to give us the orders. Isn't this the military intelligence we got a few days ago? I was already aware of it. Is this what you meant by urgent? Li Yunchao, how dare you? You've slain Imperial Guards and Grand Mentors just for outdated military intelligence? You should die for your crimes. If you're that great, you should have gone to the front lines and slaughtered the hundred warring state soldiers. Are you only capable of killing your own people? You. He has a sharp tongue. Giarini even died from it. I will only be humiliated if I continue to argue with him. Ah. I forgot. The Golden Lion Army led by the Eldest Prince was slain by the Hundred Warring States and by Two Town. That's why you could only kill your own people in the capital. By Two Town, guarded by the Golden Lion Army, has a history dating back more than a century. In front of it is a monster-infested Anaconda Mountain. The Hundred Warring States troops have never been able to breach it. This is an extremely strange incident. The Imperial Court officers must be suspicious of it. My father had reigned as emperor for all these years. He'd notice it right away. If he discovers that I deliberately let the enemy in, I will not only lose the right to the throne, but also my position as a prince. I only need to deny all their accusations. No one has any evidence against me. Kunjin City's 400,000 strong Phylong army is enough to keep them at bay. Even with a million soldiers, they won't be able to breach it. That's why we think this request for reinforcement is fake. The enemy's true motive is to lure our central army away from the capital city and attack it directly. I see. But if the military intelligence is true, the hundred warring states will breach Kunjin City and Tianchui will lose all 13 of its cities. Then, will we be able to defend against an army of one million? Li Yunchao, your father is the one who's stuck. It makes sense for you to exaggerate the matter. But it's a matter that affects the entire country. We can't be reckless. Ah, despicable traitor. Li Yunchao, how dare you draw your sword in the imperial court? What do you think you're doing? You want to neglect Tianchui's safety? Protect the emperor. I will bathe our flags with your blood before our army moves out. Your Majesty, Eldest Prince. Save me. Your Majesty, I've brought urgent news. I was in a rush, so I didn't have time to disarm. Please forgive me. Today, I discovered a parasite in our country. Despicable traitor, I will cleanse our emperor of your taint. Father, this Li Yunchao is threatening a minister and ridiculing the imperial court. Please sentence him to death. Who dares to kill my grandson? Step out now. Eh? This isn't in the script. Ugh, the duke attacked the prince? Li Chunyang seems to be exerting more pressure than before. He must have made many breakthroughs in the past few years. Your Majesty, what is more important to you? The luscious lands of Tianchui or this senile man? Why are you even thinking about it? 
If you really think that I'm joking, then we can act as if we never relayed this news to you. Us of the Lee family can just go home and sit back from the front lines, and that'll be the end of it. If the ruling of these lands change hands, these useless bags can become the new ministers of the new leader. Their ranks will be the same, but your majesty's position will be, he he. What a group of loyal retainers, huh? They are very troublesome, one sharp-tongued, and the other with terrifying pressure. Looking at these two, if father refuses to deploy troops, a change of power in the royal court wouldn't even be improbable. Yun Chao is very much correct. That being the case, these are my orders. The duke will lead the army as general and select troops from the central army. The advancement begins tomorrow. My body has weakened over the past few years, so I won't be able to accept such a responsibility. But I will find someone dependable to fill in the role of general. Please leave this to me, your majesty. Buller asterisk P. Just from that pressure alone, you're probably already a martial king. What weakened body? All up to you. Li Chunyang, even if you lead the army personally, I would have still given you no extra help. Why the change? Let's see how you spice this up. Young Master Yun, you really did scare the whole court there. The student tryouts for an army have just started in Jialan Academy. Would you have any interest in watching it? Student tryouts for an army? Sure. Since that student battalion will one day become your most loyal subordinate group, I'm curious to see their power. Jialan Academy. Teacher. I beg you, let my brother sign up. He's also a martial warrior that means he meets the requirements. I've already said that only students from our academy are eligible. Furthermore, your brother's face looks way too green. Anyone can tell that he's malnourished, so how can he defeat anyone like that? Me? Malnourished? I'll have you know that I eat half a goat every day. Do you call that malnourished? Ha ha. You're so skinny. You don't even seem half as big as a goat. Your brother has a lot of talent. Even within Jialan Academy, it's uncommon for young kids like him to already be a martial warrior. You should wait until the next semester starts, then you can sign him up to school. If you don't let me sign up, I'll bring my master here. Master must know a way. You even have a master? Well, unless it's the principal, it'll be pointless effort. Who's your master? Me. Master, you really do just come at the right time. This old fart isn't letting me sign up. Eh, isn't that Li Yunxiao? What? That's his master? No way. Didn't Li Yunxiao just become a martial warrior not too long ago? That's hard to say. He did beat Lan Xian with one move. That takes some skill. Skill? Fui, he's probably just taking advantage of his family's prestige and wealth and using it to get loads of resources and learn powerful techniques. If I were the Lee family's young master, I would have already become a martial lord. Go cry more. Prestige and wealth mean skill. If he hears you saying that, you'll be a goner. Young Master Yun. Master, thank you for coming. Why you have disciples? This boy is really young and is already a martial warrior. He doesn't even look 15. Why do you look so ghastly? Malnourishment? Which old fart are you? So rude. Greetings to your highness Prince Yu, Duke Li, and Commander Bai. What? That young man is Prince Qin Yu? Whoa, that old man is the Duke? Duke? Isn't that Master's grandpa? What did I say earlier? Twenty-fold gravity room. One full day. Rong Ji, sign the young man up as well. Yes, madam. It's the prince. A big shot. Look. It's Prince Qin Yu. To all our students, as long as you perform outstandingly today, no matter your status or origin, you can join the state guardian straight away and be one of my most trusted guardians. Awesome. Here's our chance. We won't let you down. Great. We can become state guardians now. If Prince Yu ascends as the future emperor, then won't we be his trusted aides? 
Teacher wrong. Sign me up. Don't push me, idiot. Get lost when you've already signed up. It's my turn. Line up. Don't push. Which pervert poke my butthole? Duke Lee, young Master Yun, let's wait on the side. The name list should be out in a bit. I'm guessing that over 2,000 students will sign up, and the lowest cultivation among ST them will be martial warriors. A battalion made up of 2,000 martial warriors, their power alone will be enough to go up against 20,000 or more men. We'll head off to rest for a while, bring Ming Bai over. Okay. Boy, that gal's pretty decent. Her butt's high and plump, perfect for childbirth. Fuck off. The results are out, a total of 2,330 signed up. These include 27 martial masters, the rest are all martial warriors. They will be important pillars of our future country. With them in our grasp, it'll basically be having the country's future in our control. Principal Zhong. Teacher. Hoo hoo. Sixty years ago, your elders grouped together to form the first student battalion. Fighting against thieves, robbers, and criminals, saving Tianxue from an imminent danger. Now, the enemy's main army has surrounded Shining Gold City, putting our country at a risk. We will learn from our elders, so I have gathered us here to contribute to the country. Jialan Academy Principal Zhong Lishan. Contribute to the country. Contribute to the country. This time's tryouts will be held by His Highness Prince Qin Yu himself. From now on, Prince Qin Yu will lead all of you to head for a glorious future. Li Chunyang is a marital king now. Prince Qin Yu, please say a few words for us. That old fart. Ha ha ha. I'll make four points today. One, anyone who signed up will receive 3,000 gold coins. Two, if anyone perishes in war said families will receive treatment equivalent to a fifth grade officer, to those returning alive, another 3,000 gold coins will be rewarded and promoted to a fifth grade officer once past graduation. 3. For those with achievements, will become my trusted aides, no matter how many of you. As for my fourth point, for your student battalion, I decided to make Li Yunchao the commander to lead you into the heat of battle. No one is to defy him. What? Are you dissatisfied? Indeed, I'm dissatisfied. Unless he can beat me. Jialan Academy Minor Power Chart by Ching Fong. Same here. Jialan Academy Minor Power Chart Lin Yu. Young people have so much motivation, it's good for them to challenge. I like them. Young Master Yun, go ahead. You better not lose and let people slander me. Both of you, at once. One versus two. Academy preeminent battle. Jialan Academy Arena. I have a lot of things to do. Also, I wouldn't like to waste your time. So, the two of you, come at me together. Those at the top of the minor power chart are the idols of Li Yunchao might have defeated Lan Qian in one move, but he got lucky. Yet, he wants to do a 1v2. Li Yunchao is a mere martial warrior. He's a major realm lower than the two of them. Luo Lan Duo Li Yunchao became a 1-star martial warrior not too long ago. How did he become an 8-star martial warrior? Li Yunchao, you're too arrogant. Lin Yu, you're amazing. Lin Yu, I love you. Lin Yu, you're so handsome. Lin Yu, will you marry me? So what if I'm arrogant? I have the strength to back it up. Talk about your strength after taking a few strikes from me. His spear strikes are so fast and so strong. His spear is like tigers and dragons. I can faintly feel the howl of a tiger and the roar of a dragon. Lin Yu can display this as a two-star martial master. His talent really is exceptional. Hmm, my grandson. It's pretty good, the tiger and dragon spear. Today, I will fell a dragon and subdue a tiger. Ming Bai, look closely. Didn't you always want to learn the concealed tiger fist? I'll teach it to you right now. 
What? He's blocking a spear with his body? Is he insane? He really blocked it. How is that possible? Master, you're amazing. That's amazing. Go on, Master. The heart of a mighty tiger, the spear of a roaming dragon. Roaring spear of tigers and dragons. Dragon roar of the nine heavens. All right then, let's see if your roaring spear of tigers and dragons is stronger than my defenses. After training in the tyrant body tampering technique, the strength of the physical body is split into three layers. Body like glass unyielding tyrant physique the immortal golden body if one achieves the immortal golden body, they can ascend to becoming a saint immediately. At the wave of a hand or a single step, mountains will collapse and the ground will crack. Body like glass. Defense style. He's insane. He isn't dodging or blocking it. My idol. This is what my idol should be like. That's insane. He can't be fine after taking that, right? Even if he was injured, he's still my idol. Li Yunxiao, you're amazing. No wonder the tyrant could block my constellation killing sword with his immortal golden body. It is so powerful. Ha ha. A body like glass. Interesting. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I used to act so high and mighty. From now on, I'm afraid I won't get to interact with him anymore. He will only keep getting stronger and move further away. And I will only be able to see the dust kicked up by his footsteps from afar. Brother Lin, let's attack together. Don't think about anything else. We can only win if we work together. Nine Gates Thunderbolt Pearls Disperse Green Demonic Millstone Green Demonic Millstone, subdue him. Roaring Spear of Tigers and Dragons, strike him with all your might. The two great geniuses work together to strike him. Even someone a major realm higher, a one-star great martial master, would be hard-pressed to live. Lotus Sword Song Now, it's my turn to attack. Lotus Sword Song Ten steps, one kill. Song of Lotus Sword Ten steps, one kill. Dodge Hundredfold Gravity Ugh. Ah. Who else is dissatisfied? Come here now. The second day army assignment field. Old man, there won't be anyone else coming. Even without the central army, our current forces are enough for the march. Hmm, Han Bo's father Han Qianfang. Commander Xiao, let's begin. State Guardians, you have three minutes to gather beneath. Make haste. Calling on all five units. Any disobedience will result in punishment for the violation of orders. Ugh. That's Xiao Qing Wang. Li Yunxiao must have cured him of his injuries. His power is even greater than before. And what about it? Over 90% of the Central Army is under my command. Is he perhaps trying to gather all five units of the State Guardians? Let's go see. In the palace depths, you're finally back, Xiao Qing Wang. I, I can finally be at peace. Father, that voice earlier could it have been. That was definitely Xiao Qing Wang. The top martial artist of Tianxue. He's returned after five years of dulling. The army assignment field looks like fate has charted its course. Father, do you mean it's Concubine Xiang's birthday tomorrow? Have your men prepare gifts for the palace? Concubine Xiang, isn't she Prince Yu's mother? It seems like the Li family will be stepping over our heads for many years to come. State Guardian Unit 1 Commander Gao Fong. Reporting.
State Guardian Unit 2 Commander Wang Suguan. Reporting in. State Guardian Unit 5 Commander Xiao Chen. Reporting in. State Guardian Unit 4 Commander Luo Yuncheng. State Guardian Unit 3 Commander Bai Mao. Reporting in. State Guardians. Reporting in. The State Guardians have all gathered. That's amazing. The duty of the Guardians is to protect our homelands. We must be meticulous and be prepared to die. Hundred Battles Country is encroaching on our territory. His Majesty has given the order to mobilize the Central Army. But currently, there are only about two to three thousand people here. So, so your hundred or so state guardians will participate too? The army numbers a hundred thousand. Even though all of you are martial masters, it's useless. So the 124 generals of the Central Army will receive the death penalty for disregarding His Majesty's orders. Send all of your men to bring the 124 of them here. We will carry out the legal punishment right here. Xiao Qing Wang. How dare you try to kill the army's generals? Qin Yang, as one of the generals of the Central Army, especially since you are a prince of the country, for leading the opposition and disregarding the nation's safety. You will also be beheaded. Why why you are going to kill me? I am a prince. You're just an official. How dare you speak of killing me? Ha, ha, ha. Why wouldn't I dare to kill you? If not for Li Chunyang fighting for the country, claiming territory, if not for me protecting the country, Tian Chue would no longer exist. Your Qin family is just a speck of dust in history. And you, what I am an eight-star martial king. Would anyone in Tian Chue dare defy me? Killing you is just like killing a dog. After being silent for five years, not caring about what is happening around him, Xiao Qing Wang is finally back. Roger. I've been under Xiao Qing Wang for many years, and I know that killing intent isn't an empty threat. Right now, the only one who can save Qing Yang is His Majesty. Does ascending to the throne really mean that I'm above all, that all officials will listen to my orders? Then what is my older brother? If killing him is like killing a dog, what about me? All 124 generals have been brought here. Did you think that the law can't beat numbers? Did you think Li Chunyang was a pushover? We will take your heads for that. In your next life, remember that even without you, Tian Chue will still shine. Don't overestimate your own importance. You're nothing. Off with their heads. Spare them. His Majesty has issued an imperial decree. Xiao Qing Wang, please read it. Read it out. His Majesty writes, Qin Yang and the other generals of the Central Army acted arrogantly by refusing the mobilization order. They will receive the death penalty in punishment. But since the country's in a dangerous situation, I will give them a chance to atone for their crimes. Although Qin Yang is a prince of the country, he did not prioritize the country's safety. He will receive a hundred lashes as an example. Who? Phew, I can still preserve my status in the military due to my family. Other than Qin Yang, who will receive 500 lashes, all the others will be killed. Xiao Qing Wang, you old geezer. How dare you defy the imperial decree? You are the one who deserves to die. Ugh. Ah. Ah. Xiao Qing Wang, F for defying the imperial decree, you should be punished by being killed, along with your whole family. You don't seem to want to give me a chance to do that. Drag Qin Yang away and give him 500 lashes. Tell all of the vice generals to gather here within three minutes. Ugh. If they don't come here, kill them on the spot. All 124 vice generals have gathered. Very good. The first task has been completed. You're as vicious as I thought. With this, no one else will dare defy us. The commander of this mission will be Loyal Duke Chen Dashing. Present the commander's seal to Chen Dashing. 
father of Chin Jin. Chin Lin. Father. Father. It's really you. You're still alive. How can you be a commander if you ball your eyes out in front of everyone? Be gone. Roger. Is Han Chin Fong here? Yes. Father of Han Bai. Han Chin Fong. You will be the pioneer of the left. You're in charge of a hundred thousand men. Yes. Is Chen Lin here? Yes. Yes, I'm here. Sob. You will be the pioneer of the right. A hundred thousand men. Yes. Yes. Sob, sob, sob. Is Li Yunchao here? I am here. You will be the chief of logistics. You will take command of the 2,000 student soldiers. Protect our supplies. Logistics? The rest of you will be under my command. Now, let us set off. Let's set off. I'll leave the safety of Tianchui to you. Don't worry, Prince Yu. I swear that until I defeat the enemies, I won't return to the capital. Dashing, be careful. Stay safe. Brother, don't worry. I've survived for the past five years, so why would I die now? What is the next city? How much longer till we arrive there? General, the next city is Sunshore City. At our current speed, we will arrive in ten days. Ten days? Why did it have to take so long? What? You're bored already? Kid, what do you think of our troops? They're mad. Just mad? Sheltered kids really have no life experience. The faint killing intent that emanates from them comes from having experienced a battle of life and death. This killing intent can, okay, okay, I got it. It has reached noon. It's time for you to take your medicine. Don't forget to get Teacher Yunchang to help you suppress the poison. Brett, I know you're an accomplished alchemist. But war is difference, isn't it just killing intent? In 10 days, before we enter Sunshore City, these 2,000 students will emit more killing intent than those 400,000 soldiers. Do you believe that? Ha ha ha, what limitless arrogance. Do you think killing intent is like air? I'll swear a military oath, putting my head on the line. If I lose the wager in 10 days, you can kick my head around like a soccer ball. If I win, I want the position of commander-in-chief. You can do the odd jobs for me. A military oath is not a joke. As the commander of the student soldiers, you should know that there is no joking around in the military. Of course. But in these ten days, I'll leave the protection of the supplies to you. I'll be taking the students. See you at Sunshore City in ten days. You, master. Young Master Yun, attention, all student soldiers. Put down all the supplies and follow my vehicle at once. Father, are you really going to leave him be? Do you really believe that within ten days, he can train them to emit a greater killing intent than the Central Army? They need to keep moving towards our destination too. Of course I don't. B but, he put his head on the line. When the time runs out, he might have sworn a military oath, but who heard it? Do you really want me to kill him as per the military laws? I'll just give him a good beating. Ouch, my body is aching again. I really should go take my medicine. Teacher Luo, are you all right? I'm fine. I wonder where Li Yunchao got this treatment method from. While I'm helping you suppress the frost chi, I can feel my extreme yang chi being strengthened too. It seems even more effective than secluded training. Don't bring that brat up. In ten days, I'll beat him till he's half crippled. Oh? You might not get that chance. Young Yun, you're taking such a big gamble this time. You swore a military oath. Even if you don't lose your head, my grandpa will beat you till you're half dead. What's so hard about manifesting some killing intent? What's so hard about strengthening some killing intent? That's something only you would say. 
You can only collect the energy after experiencing a real battle with real swords and spears. When you enter a battlefield, this energy will be released, greatly increasing your combat ability. Forget 10 days, if one doesn't personally take part in a battle, they wouldn't be able to manifest killing intent even if they're given 10 years. Then can't I just make them experience a battle of life and death? Attention, all student soldiers from Jialan Academy. Advance at full speed. Arrive at Sunshore City within 4 days. For the remaining 6 days, I will make you go through hell. 3 days later, outside Sunshore City. Oh, it's already nighttime. By Cheng Fong. I guess there are a few resilient ones, Lin Yu. The moon's really beautiful today. Come out, guys, look at it. We had to run nonstop for three days, but these wrenches could sit in the vehicle comfortably. All right, break time is over. Get to work. Okay. It's done. What's this for? Is it a formation? This is such a waste. Big shots like him have all the money they need. God. How many primordial stones and strong refiners did he need to activate such a formation? Didn't you see that the second tier refiner Jiarong is with us? I know. This must be a massive recovery formation to help us recover our primordial Q. Is he really that nice? I spent most of my resources on this formation. Both of the formation cores are third tier Xian weapons. The formation can help everyone here to become a true warrior in a short amount of time. Everyone, let's start our enjoyable vacation. T this is. Uh, um. Ah. 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 Why your master Yun, what happened to them? I almost forgot. You guys should have fun too. Don't go in there. You have the cultivation of a martial lord and Jiarong is only a second tier refiner. Since my ocular skills are still too weak, I won't be able to control your mind. Young Master Yun, about this formation, this is the Thousand Hallucinations formation. In there, they'll experience some very heartfelt and unforgettable things. He he, some very interesting things indeed. G Ming, protect us. I don't know how long I can last, but I'll do my best. Yes. I'm Zhang Tao, top student of Sky Eagle Martial Academy. I've already opened five chakras at the young age of 13, and I have the potential to become a true martial warrior by 15. My biggest wish is to save enough money and to be accepted into Jialan Academy in the capital. Then, I hope to become a state guardian after graduating and make my family proud. I hope to support my parents, let them live well, and help my sister find a good husband. Why was the wolf inside the tree? Wait, this isn't right. That isn't a wolf. It's a beast. A beast wolf. Awo. Why is there a beast behind the mountains? I can't get away. Then. I'll fight till the very end. King Kong Fist. W. What's going on? Bastards. I'll kill you. Howl. H. How is this possible? Ah. Why? Why didn't it just kill me? Now that I've lost my arms, how am I supposed to practice martial arts? I won't be able to get into Jialan Academy, and there's no way I would get to become a state guardian. How can I improve my family's life now, ah? Uh, no. Ugh. Oh ho, you just missed the best part. The mayor's son fancied your sister, but they weren't a match for each other. So, we decided to touch up on some things. Sis, dad, mom. You swine. I'll kill all of you. I'll kill all of you. Kill? Ha ha. I was scared of you at first, but now that you've lost your arms, how do you plan to kill me? Beat him. Beat that trash to death.
Ah. Ward. Strength. This strength is. In my arms are back. I also have these. Kill, kill, kill. I want to kill everyone. Everyone must die. What? You a. Triple A. A thousand hallucinations. Illusions become reality. You a. Ah. These students are reacting so intensely. I'm glad young Master Yun didn't make me go in. I don't want to experience those interesting things. Help me inside. I need to rest. Let them enjoy. Being able to cry. The next day. You rabbits, wake up. I had to burn purple wailing dragon incense for you the whole night. You really had a comfortable sleep. Did you guys have fun yesterday? Fun, my ass. Fun, your ancestors. He completely exhausted his soul power yesterday night. He recovered it completely in one night. What a shocking recovery speed. I know that you're all angry. Actually, I don't know what you saw in the illusory realm, but I can tell you this. If you're weak, everything you saw in the illusory realm might actually happen. I must never let that happen. Stronger. I need to get stronger. Although that was fake, your own determination is real. If you want to live well, if you want to protect that weakness in your heart, you need to keep getting stronger. You need to keep walking down the path of martial arts. So, with the remaining five days, I will teach you a killing intent technique that can allow you to rapidly get stronger. The nature of your sword technique is the opposite of this technique. But all martial techniques are interconnected. Everything will eventually return to the understanding of martial intent. You can take a look at it too. The killing intent technique is a technique that stimulates the potential of one's body with killing intent. It first appeared on a battlefield. Later on, martial artists discovered that and looked into it. Thus, this technique was created. Your own level will determine how much killing intent can strengthen you. This technique has two parts. The first is to condense killing intent, and the second is to stimulate your potential. Now, memorize this. According to the mental technique, if you train your killing intent enough, you can get more than two times stronger. Let's not talk about myself. If I use this technique to train soldiers, the value of this technique is immeasurable. If many people train in this technique simultaneously, it will be many times more effective. Is he really a 15-year-old teen? In five days, you will be twice as strong. The 30 of you who show the greatest improvement in your killing intent will get one second tier pill each. Whoa! A second tier pill? He's gonna make me make those pills again. M Master, what are you doing? He he. Let me break through to 9 star martial warrior with your poison. 3 days later. This is? Not bad. Hmm. They achieved this much in 3 days. Looks like the illusions motivated them a lot. Young Master Yun, W. What is this? The God Slaying Finger condensed with killing intent. It requires the deepest level of understanding of the technique. This God Slaying Finger is flickering unstably. It's below the lowest standards. But it's pretty good considering they did this in three days' time. God Slaying Finger. If this finger was able to solidify, how powerful would it be? Solidify? No one has been able to get to that stage. If they could do that, they should be able to kill even peak nine heavens martial sovereigns in one strike. Make them continue training. The army should only arrive in two days. I'll go take a walk in the city. Yes. Young Master Yun, take me too. I've been refining for three days straight. Let me take a break. Me too, me too. Fine. Call your older sister, too. The three of you are coming into the city with me. Great. 
Ji Ming, stay here and protect them. Young Master Yun. My God, how many days has it been? He's already an eight-star martial warrior. Sunshore City is the hub many goods pass through. It is one of the busiest cities in Tianchue. Stop. 200 bronze coins each. There are four of you, so that makes 800. Pay up if you want to enter the city. If you don't have the money, you can't enter. Ah. 200 bronze coins each. There are four of you, so that makes 800. We need to pay just to enter the city? Is there a law that states that? By asking you to pay, we're giving you a chance to enter the city. If you don't want to enter the city, get lost. Forget it, just go in. You. Young Master Yun, they're blatantly abusing their power to extort money. That's illegal. There are so many illegal things. Do you think you can stop all of them? The subordinates will be corrupt if their leader is. Did you think that the money they collect goes straight into their own purse? They'll have to hand 99% of it to their superiors. These officials are terrible. Even if we stop it, everything will go back to the way it was the moment we leave. It'd be better to correct these things slowly after Qin Yu takes the throne. Sunshore City, the largest pharmacy, there are way too few medicinal herbs sold here as compared to the capital city. There might not even be a single refiner in this whole city. Never mind. Please prepare ten sets of these common herbs. There are only eight sets of ancient orchid leaves left. It is the main component of body strengthening medicine, so the demand for it is very high. Fine, eight sets it is. Shopkeeper. I'll be taking all of these ancient orchid leaves. I've used up all of my body strengthening medicine, so I've been waiting for these leaves. I am sorry, young master Wu Guang, but these ancient orchid leaves have already been sold to these customers. Huh? Hmm. Give me those ancient orchid leaves and that gal. Name your price. All right. We can negotiate, but I'm afraid you won't be able to afford it. Can't afford it? Shopkeeper, tell him who I am. Dear customer, young master Wu Guang is the son of the Lord of Sunshore City. The man behind him is Lord Zhong Tai, a high-class refining disciple. Oh? Which great refiner are you a student of? Do you really know any great refiners? Well, no harm in telling you. How dare a mere refining disciple act so boldly? I follow the alchemist associations. Lord Jiarong. Am I the clown here? Young Master Yun. These are baseless rumors. They're definitely baseless rumors. I know Jiarong. Since when did he have a disciple like you? Lord Jia didn't personally take me in as a disciple, but I am close friends with his disciple, Shi Yuan. We frequently discuss about refining, so I can be considered a disciple somewhat. How could the likes of you know Lord Jiarong? Zhong Tai, why are you talking with these hillbillies? How much do you want for these ancient orchid leaves and this gel? Speak. It's pretty cheap. Just trade for it with your heads. What? You dare. Give them a beating. Both of them. You can't. You can't do that. Dear customers, please stop beating them. That's enough. If you keep beating them, they'll die. Young Master Wu Guang. Young Master Wu Guang, are you all right? Ah. Uh. Quick. Quick, send the signal. I'll kill them. Do you regret it now? Look at the power I have. I will kill you. The idiots counterattack. Where did these four kids come from? All four of them are martial warriors. One of them is even a peak eight-star martial warrior. These youths probably come from a powerful background. I shouldn't take the risk of capturing them, team leader Ban Bing Bai. Commander Ban, why are you wasting time chatting with them? Just hang them up and beat them to death. Send that girl to my room. 
I'll make her wish she were dead. Ehe. Do you understand what you did wrong? Get your superior to come out right now, or the consequences will be grave. If you don't get out of the way right now, the consequences will be even graver. Are you ganging up on us? Yes, we are. What about it? You mad? If you are, I'll beat you up till you aren't. Didn't you want me to get my superior? Please wait. Cloud Piercing Arrows The Cloud Piercing Arrows are the highest grade military signal. Run. Just run. Who are you people? How dare you barge into Sunshore City? Run away. The military is attacking the city. And inform the city lord right now. Inform Commander Ban. I'm done for. I provoked someone I shouldn't have. Wu Guang has finally met his match after so many years of committing crimes in Sunshore City. W, who are you? Commander, what should we do? All right. As per your request, I've called them here. Let's have a proper battle. Who in the world are you? You. This is Sunshore City. This place is under the protection of the law. How can you mobilize the military for personal issues? Ha ha ha. When you have numbers, you talk with your fists, but the moment we outnumber you, you bring up the law? You called for a few hundred soldiers from Sunshore City to fight the four of us. Right now, I only brought 2,000 people to fight the few hundred of you. In comparison, we're the ones being nice. Commander Ban, let's begin. Stop wasting time. I'm very busy. The city lord has arrived. Make way. Make way. Please make way. I am the city lord of Sunshore, Wu Lientian. Lord of Sunshore City, Wu Lientian. Huh? They're all kids? Which of them is in charge? Dad. You're finally here. Dad, it was them. Look. They beat me up till I looked like a pig and even gathered so many soldiers to surround us. You have to arrest them and give them a good beating. What a stupid rich kid. Can't he understand the situation he's in? What would we be getting ourselves into if we kept following this idiot? You idiot. Beat them? Stop stirring up trouble left and right. You're going to get it from me when we get home. I am the Lord of Sunshore City. I apologize for not educating my son properly. Please forgive me. It's fine, it's fine. We're willing to talk it out. We can't make everyone keep standing here, right? Let's talk somewhere else. Sure, sure. This way. Let's talk in my residence. Do dangers or blessings lie ahead? Sunshore City, the residence of the city lord. Having a fight with Brother Wu Guang was also a way of getting to know him. Yes, yes, yes. It was a way of getting to know him. Guang, go pour him some tea. What is your name, brother? What is your position in the imperial court? My name is insignificant. I just heard that we were in a dire situation, so I got excited and decided to lead my brothers here to protect our home country. Amazing. As I thought. You are dignified and care about the country and its people. Guang, you should learn from him. Ho ho, I happened to be passing through this city and also sparred with Brother Wu Guang a bit. I guess fate has brought us together. It's rare that a city lord is patriotic. I'm sorry, but I have a difficult request to ask of you. Please tell me. Everyone is doing their part for the country and its people. You don't have to be polite. Ho ho, then I won't. You saw it too. The two thousand of us came here empty-handed, without any preparations. So I hope that you can lend us some supplies. Huh? Lend you supplies? We are short on supplies too. I'm afraid it would be hard to lend you some. Then giving us some of your wealth would work too. We can check out the neighboring cities and see if we can purchase some supplies there. Finally, we've gotten to the point. If you want money, just say you want money. 
Why bother pretending? You have charged straight into a battlefield for the sake of protecting your homelands. I was supposed to help you in any way I can, but I have always cared about the people and acted honestly. I don't have much savings either. What about this? I'll skimp and save so I can fund you 10,000 gold coins. They're just a few kids. 10,000 gold coins should be enough for them. Ha ha ha. Just those claw piercing arrows cost tens of thousands of gold coins. He thought too lightly of these kids. How generous. We only have 2,000 people. We don't need so many gold coins. I'll just get my men to choose a few things. Brother, what does that mean? It's nothing. Have some tea. Come. City Lord, Commander Ban, let's have some tea together. This youth has a martial lord working under him. Brother, let's talk it out. Isn't this robbery? Robbery? You need to be responsible for what you say. If you spout bullshit, you could die. Brother, there really is nothing of value in my residence. What about this? I'll gather a hundred thousand gold coins for you. Wu Lientian, what do you take me for? I'm just trying to cover military expenses, and you're saying I'm committing robbery? If that's so, I won't remain courteous. Ouch. Arg. Commander Ban. If anyone defies orders, kill them without mercy. Commander Ban. Save me, Dad. This feels terrible. Heave ho, heave ho. A mere city lord has amassed even greater riches than our Lee family's treasury? Young Master Yun, a mere city lord has so much wealth in his residence. There has to be at least a billion gold coins. How much did they extort from the citizens? If we report this, his entire family could be killed. Report? Report what? City Lord Wu is an honest official. He's not corrupt whatsoever and is completely broke. Did you see any riches in his residence? Nope. I didn't see anything. What about you? I saw nothing. The city lord's treasury is empty. If you don't believe me, go see it for yourself. Yes, yes. I completely believe you. You can't touch those, or you're dead. They belong to the first prince. If you dare to dirty it with your hands, your entire family will be killed. Oh, no wonder. So it belonged to Qin Yang. Then I have even less of a reason to hold back. We hit the jackpot. Ha ha ha. I've taken the stones and refining materials. There's quite a bit of treasure left. Split it among ST yourselves alongside the medicines and weapons. That will be your reward. Young Master Yun, what do we do with these two? Should we just kill them? Since they're the eldest prince's men, it won't matter anyways. Little brother, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Take the stuff. I don't want them anymore. We've already taken the wealth he worked many years for. Taking his life would be going too far. Keep up with your work. I'll return in a few years. You, uh, write a letter to the eldest prince now. I want those people to die. Lord Wu, die, die, die. Really? Ha ha, that's great. God is on my side. Quickly, report what happened here to General Tsang. Go, go. Set up camp here. Continue practicing killing intent. All men in position for battle. We really shouldn't have let that Wu Lintian live. He's already got men to go against us. Something's wrong. The Defense Brigade of Sunshur City only has around 5,000 men, and they don't have that many horses. What army is that? Young Master Yun, what do we do? That's definitely a real army. It has 100,000 men at least. The Golden Lion Army. 
Didn't they lose control over Whitehead Town? Why do they still have so many men? It's not just that. All of them are still spirited and prideful. Look at those war horses and gear. Does it look like they just lost a war? Did they perhaps flee without a fight? Who are you people? Who dared to rob Sunch or City? Golden Lion Army General Tsong Lacoon. We are men who retreated from the front line after losing a battle. We made our way to Sunch or City to assert our dominance. You're courting death. A martial lord. Who the hell are you people? It's been a while, Sam Lacoon. Do you not recognize me? Ji Meng? You've become a martial lord? By luck. General Tsang, what is with all this? Since we're all under the eldest prince, why are you robbing Sun Shore City and making it difficult for Wu Lientian? I'm no longer serving the eldest prince. Instead, I now follow young Master Yun with my heart. The eldest prince concerns me no more. What? Since that's the case, then I don't have to be polite anymore. And who is this kid? Head of Logistics of the East Advancing Army. We went to Sunshore City to settle a supply shortage in our battalion. The city lord Wu Lientian decided to gift us with all his worth. What a great deed. When we return, we'll report it to the emperor to reward him heavily. We just received a notice a few days back, stating that the capital had ordered the Central Army to rescue Shining Gold City. I didn't think we'd meet this soon. East Advancing Army? Why are there only so few of you? The course of the main army is top secret. We only followed orders to gather supplies. General Tsang Following orders, what bulk or asterisk P, you dare to lie about military orders, fake publicity, and rob officials, such crimes should be warranted the death penalty. Capture all of these men. Kill those who refuse. Yes. Danger. The pressure of over a hundred thousand men. Kill. Kill. I wonder how you will die now. Everyone, disperse and kill them off one by one. Ah. Ugh. Ah. 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 What is this? All of these soldiers are martial warriors? How is there such an army? However, though martial warriors are strong, the most they can do is take on a hundred enemies on their own. There's no way they can get past my army of four hundred thou sand surrounding them. Well done. Everyone, use the killing intent technique, get into formation, and charge towards the south. Yes. Kill. Block it. Block it. You have to block it at all costs. Ugh. Ah. Ah. As I thought, Li Yunchao is a demon. He will become a huge threat in the future. He is the one commanding the formation. If we get rid of him, we will certainly be able to break their formation. There's nothing to gain by waiting. I'll keep Ji Meng tied up. You go kill Li Yunchao. Senior brothers, we need to kill Li Yunchao this time. If that bad luck charm doesn't die today, not only will we suffer, even our master might be finished off by him. Right. I find him demonic too. Junior, please rest here. The two of us will suffice. All right. If the two of you join hands, he's as good as dead. Young Master Yun, be careful. Everyone, focus on charging towards the south. Don't get distracted. Face two martial lords head on? I'm not that stupid. Chen Dashing's troops should be coming from the south very soon. When he arrives, it will be time to fight back. You're trying to run? Humph. Trying to kill me? Kill your own men first. Nether swap, moonwalk. Ah. 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 Don't even think of killing my soldiers. That brat is so sly. He's using your soldiers as a shield. Get lost. Stop killing my underlings, or I will stop showing you mercy. 
We've opened a path in the south. Everyone, run out. Kill his companions. Let's see if he can keep hiding. Humph. Li Yi is casting aside his morals as a martial artist. Is Bai Cheng Fong doomed? This is a piece of cake. Corrupting spirit disc. Bombard. Mountain splitter azure wing pull arm. Cheng Fong. Cheng Fong. Die, maggots. Lin Yu. Lin Yu. Get out of there. Lan Duo. Don't go over. Lin Yu. Move it. Lotus Sword Song. Retreat with Cheng Fong and look for Jia Rong. Go. Finally stop running. Now you can die. Stop dodging, brat. Take this if you're a man. How shameless are you? A martial lord against a martial warrior and still complaining about dodging? Your gall is thicker than a castle wall. Damn it. I've already pushed the nether swap technique to its limits. If this goes on any longer, I'll die. Let's see how much longer you can last. Ahaha. Uh -huh. Everyone. Attack together and save young Master Yun. Don't forget who taught you martial techniques, shared goods with you, and pick you up when you were in danger. If you're still a man, then come with me. Come. I'll beat up whoever stays here for the rest of their lives. Ugh. Damn it. His methods will take both of us down. This bunch of people are insane. They're here. Everyone, do it now. The reinforcements are here. 400,000 men. Kill all of them bastards. Brother you, what are you waiting for? Help Brother Guan kill that crook. Humph. Die. What is, what the hell is that? Ah. Retreat. Don't care about me. The god slaying finger used up all of their killing intent and Yuan Chi. Only with that could they easily kill a martial lord. The good thing is that it frightened the 400,000 men in the Golden Lion Army quite a bit, so they don't dare charge in. Brother. Bastard. You bastard. I'll kill you. Li Yunxiao is like my nemesis. I need to kill him no matter what. All of you, stop right now. That voice is. Old eight, in a few days, you became less agile? Are you not used to missing an arm? I need to tie them down until Xiao Qing Wang arrives. Brother, you damn bastard. Brother, it's Xiao Qing Wang. Kill Li Yunxiao, quick. Let's see how you escape this time. It's quite tiring to fight both of them at the same time. No one can save you this time. Go die. What? You bastard. If you hurt half a hair on Li Yunxiao, I'll have all of you killed. It's too late. This is? His chi is rising sharply? Damn it. Not even this can kill you? Brother. How can I be content if he's not killed here? W. H. Watt is this? Was he an ape all along? That's absurd. The power that ape can exert is equal to that of a martial king. The demonification pill. It's the demonification pill. The demonification pill is refined with the blood and soul of demon beasts. After consuming it, one would temporarily gain the power of a demon. But it causes grave side effects. If you're not careful, your body could explode and cause your demise. Li Yunxiao, you must hold on. Ha ha. Power. I feel strong power. Li Yunxiao, we can finally end this today. Yes, we should finish this. This is? For quadrants elements? How is that possible? 
Only four quadrants realm martial lords can use this power. Why, did the wind pick up? TH this is? The winds and clouds rise. The great master has returned. The winds and clouds rise all because of me. Ah. Damn it. Young Master Yun. Yun Chao, are you all right? If Teacher Luo gives me a hug, I'll be fine. How dirty. You are still able to flirt with a woman in this state. Seems like you're really all right. Now, it's their turn. What's going on? The massive ape was the one that got hit by that technique earlier. How did it become another guy? Where is that ape? Did it get away? No way. I saw him get hit with that palm with my own eyes. How did you I? Escape? I didn't even see him do so. I'm in deep trouble. Yun Chao, how should we deal with them? I'm the general of the Golden Lion Army, tasked with investigating and capturing the robbers of Sunshore City's mayor. On whose authority are you punishing me? No matter what, I need to come up with a logical excuse first. I'm of a high military rank, so hopefully they won't mess around. On whose authority? Tell him whose authority it is. STST stop hitting me already. Stop. Do you know now? I know. I know. You're already a few decades old, and you still don't understand let your fists do the talking? How did you even become a martial lord? At least you will die knowing why you died. What? Kill me? You're going to do that? I'm a high-ranked official in the palace, and a general that defends one full side of the country. What about the imperial law? Would the emperor agree to this? Laws and teachings, they are worth nothing to me. But almost making me lose my life warrants a death sentence. No. Don't kill me. I'm a martial lord of the Four Quadrants realm. If you don't kill me, I'll pledge my loyalty to the fullest. Sam Lacoon is no doubt a powerful and rare martial lord in Tianchui. If he does pledge his loyalty, it would help us greatly. Martial lord? On the path of martial arts, a martial lord hasn't even scratched the surface. On the path of martial arts, a martial lord hasn't even scratched the surface. Execute. Devoid of all remorse. Sam Lacoon abused his power for his own benefit and colluded with the enemy. For that, he should die a thousand times over. The main commander has been sentenced to death. Vice commanders, you're up. Vice commanders of the Golden Lion Army, Huang Hong and Hua Man, greet Commander Chen. You saw how Tsang Lacoon colluded with the enemy. I will now officially change the lineup of the Golden Lion Army. Do you have any objections? Assign us however you like. We will not object. All right. The Golden Lion Army will follow the original arrangement. Huang Hong, you will take over everything. The punishment for deserting a battle and disregarding military matters is the death penalty. This is a chance for you to make up for your past mistakes. Return to the front lines and protect our homeland. Make up for our past mistakes and protect our homeland. Make up for our past mistakes and protect our homeland. Make up for our past mistakes and protect our homeland. Sunshore City and the City Lord's residence. Ha, huh, do you think General Tsang can get my wealth back? Of course. General Tsang is the commander of the Golden Lion Army, a great martial lord. I wasn't asking you. Commander Ban, what do you think? Getting it back shouldn't be a problem. But it would also be impossible to get Tsang Lacoon to spit it all out. Ha! I knew it. But, it's still better than losing all of it. I hope they can catch those little brats and bring them back alive. I need to tear them apart piece by piece. Lord! 
Lord, the Golden Lion Army has returned. Have you seen those little brats? I saw them. They were among the crowd. However, ha ha, that's great. I will break every single bone in their bodies. Ha ha ha. Guang, Commander Ban, let's go welcome the army back. There's no need for that. You can temporarily take over all the admin matters of Sunshore City. Don't disappoint me. Central Army, the main commander's tent, what do you think? That's absurd. Is he still human? I have only ever seen the blue-black killing intent the student army had come from serial killers drunk on blood. They are like gods of killing. An ancient legend has it that if a battlefield gets too bloody and cruel, the god of killing will descend. In the legends, the god of killing was engulfed in a blue-black chi and was covered in scales. You couldn't look him straight in the eye. Commander, is there really such a deity? That would be too fantastical. On the battlefield, this blue-black killing intent has another, more ancient, name. Ramayana. It refers to the power to kill everything. Ramayana. How can you and I witness the full extent of martial arts? This killing intent is also a form of power. There have to be masters who specialize in this field. Such a cultivation technique is rarely seen. How did Yun Chao learn this? He even passed this secret technique to 2,000 people. I'm sure an expert is helping Yun Chao behind the scenes. The Ramayana aside, he's only 15 years old this year, but he's already a second-tier alchemist and an eight-star martial warrior. His true strength is on the level of a great martial master. Even if you beat me to death, I refuse to believe that he doesn't have a teacher. That's right. The one backing him must be a pretty significant figure, too. On the path of martial arts, a martial lord hasn't even scratched the surface. He, he on the path of martial arts, a martial lord hasn't even scratched the surface. That person must be much stronger than me. Yunchang, you have at least a clue, right? If I'm not wrong, the technique Li Yunxiao used should be the military breaking martial sovereign, Gu Feiyang's Great Wind and Cloud Palm. It is rumored that Gu Feiyang took in five disciples in total. His eldest disciple, Hua Qianchu, rose to become a martial sovereign a few years ago. He is in the holy city of Snowguard. His second disciple, Mo Xiaochuan, is from the Mo family of Dark Iron City. There has been no news of him for the past decade. I heard that the third disciple, Jun Ryun, became the consort of the Guwu Empire, one of the three great empires the fourth disciple, Haolian Xiao Wang, has been in the city of mercenaries, fighting for the position of mercenary king with the leader of the Blazing Fire mercenary group. However, his efforts have been fruitless so far. The fifth disciple, Yang Di, is the one we're most familiar with. I heard that he has already become a 7th tier, Emperor Class Refiner. I don't know if it is true. If it is, he should have already headed to the Deity Transformation Sea. All of them are big names. They are people who have a great influence. It is definitely not Lord Yang Di. After what happened with Mo Xianer, he swore never to step into Tianxue ever again. The Guwu Empire is one of the three great empires. If Jun Ryun wanted to raise Li Yunxiao, he need only give the order. Not even the Dust Flame Empire would dare to object. The situation in the Chinga Forest of the City of Mercenaries is ever-changing. Hao Yunxiao Wang could not have come to a small country like Tianxue to mentor Li Yunxiao. Dark Iron City is even further from us. Unless he reached the Martial Sovereign Realm and could shatter space and time, he wouldn't have come to such a faraway place. Does that mean the one backing Li Yunxiao is Martial Sovereign Hua Qianchu? A Martial Sovereign? Yunxiang, what do you think? You're the one who understands Gu Feiyang the most out of all of us here. Commander Luo, who do you think it is likeliest to be? Why does it have to be among the five of them? Does anyone else besides his five disciples know the Great Wind and Cloud Palm? Of course. Although I have never met the five of them, I'm certain. Li Yunxiao did not learn the Great Wind and Cloud Palm from any of them. Could it be? Of course. 
It is Lord Gu Feiyang himself. Gu Feiyang? No way. Gu Feiyang died on the Tiandang Mountain 15 years ago. Everyone knows that. No one on this land can ever kill him. He must have just suffered from major injuries and ended up in Tianxue some way or another. He must have also become Li Yunxiao's teacher by pure chance. Yes, it has to be that. It has to be Lord Gu Feiyang. My gut says so. That demeanor that would shock even the heavens. That contemptuous manner. Who else apart from him would be able to pass those down? Fifty years saying that, military breaker Marshal Sovereign Gu Feiyang is not only living, but is also currently hiding in Tianxue? There's no other explanation. If it's Lord Gu Feiyang, forget scratching the surface, a martial lord is like dog's asterisk tea to him. If this hypothesis is right, if any enemy is powerful enough to injure Gu Feiyang here of this, not only will Tianxue get destroyed, but the whole of the Dusk Flame Empire will suffer the same fate. This topic ends here. No one is to discuss this any further. I'll say this first. If any of you were to publicize this information and endanger him, I, Luo Yunchan, will personally destroy them. Commander Luo, rest assured. I have good relations with the Han family and the Li family. We're basically closer than brothers. Xiao Qing Wang has also received their kindness, so he wouldn't leak anything either. No wonder his medicinal techniques seemed so skilled and effective. He was even able to clear away the benumbing qi that accumulated on us over the years. Yunchang, you can rest assured. Everyone here is your ally HM. Reporting. General, we'll be arriving at Goodwater City shortly. Should we pass through or go around it? Goodwater City's lord, Zhuo Hongguang, also works for the eldest prince. Going into the city will be disrespectful. Order them to take a detour around the city. Yes, sir. Hold on. General, young Master Yun wishes to let the army rest and hopes that you will allow me to bring myself and the student army to go in and ask for some supplies. Ask for supplies? Have we used up our supplies? No, it's because, please wait a second, hmm. He, we're just borrowing some money from the eldest prince. Mimicking Master Yun, we will return them someday. That's definitely Li Yunxiao's demeanor. We're a lawful and righteous army for the country and not robbers. How could we hold on? The fight for the throne is currently ongoing. By doing this, we can deal a blow to our opponent while reaping benefits for ourselves. Eh? You have one incense stick's worth of time. Go. We'll be done before that. I feel that the general is treating Li Yunxiao too well. In the past, no one would even dare to think about breaking the law like this. Goodwater City City Lord Zhuo Hongwang is accepting his 27th concubine today. Many guests gifted and praised them heavily, and all wore happy faces. Goodwater City Lord Zhuo Hongwang my lord, we are in trouble. A massive army has suddenly appeared outside. Maybe it's just a general coming to congratulate us. But I don't recall any encampments nearby. The east advancing army is passing through. We have come to ask for supplies. Mayor Zhuo, please continue with your day. We'll just help ourselves. Please pass that painting over here. Thank you. How dare you? Get those people. Ack. The building got cut in half. Ack. Help me. Mayor Zhuo wet his pants. That hit was for the eldest prince. General, we can start moving again. Look at you. You must have gotten quite a bit. How many gold coins did you get? Goodwater City may not be as prosperous as Sunshore City, but it's still a major city in Tianxue. I'm guessing you acquired at least a million gold coins. A million? That's so much. We didn't get that much. It wasn't even a tenth of what we got from Sunshore City. You robbed Sunshore City as well? No wonder the journey here was so smooth. How much did you get here? I haven't counted yet. 
but it's only 30 million or so. If we consider the other goods and treasures, about one or 200 million. What? 30 million gold coins? 200 million in treasures? Not even a tenth of Sunshore cities? Even the whole country's armies put together only get about a billion gold coins of funding a year. How did they get so much money? I need to report to young Master Yun. Father, I've never seen so many gold coins in my life. He might just become the wealthiest in the country from his first war. I agree. I've been a commander for so many years, but other than what's in the military vault, I've never seen this much money. When can I retire and rest with wealth? God damn it. Then don't blame me for what happens next. Father, why are you looking at the army course? To see how many of the eldest prince's lands there are ahead. One, two, three, four, just five? It's not enough. We can take a longer route to rob three more cities. It'll take two days longer. Li Chanfeng won't mind an extra two days anyways. Yes, we agree as well. Damn it. Xiao Qing Wang. Chin dashing. I'll be siding against you. Did another place get looted? I've only gotten to where I am now because I've been receiving wealth from these lords consistently over the years. Now, not only have my sources of revenue been cut off, but both the Central Army and the Golden Lion Army are gone. My power has left me in just these few days. How could there be such an absurd change? Was right. Li Yunxiao is definitely a curse. Ever since he gained influence and sided with Qin Yu, your power started to dissolve away. Get lost. We don't even know of Li Yi's whereabout anymore. Plus, that sly fox Lan Hong is also making his stand. Does no one believe in me? Your Highness, calm down. Don't forget about our trump card. Even if the whole world sides with them, we'll still be fine. Right. This is my biggest trump card and my only one. Very well. You guys wait. Let's see how I'll finish you off. Eight days later. The army arrives at Eternal Peace City, a small city on the outskirts of Shining Gold City. In the scale of a war, it only serves as an insignificant buffer. Eternal Peace City. I know it has been a long journey. Please follow me into the city. Eternal Peace City Lord Yuan Zijin. If the Hundred Battles country wants to advance west, their first stop is Eternal Peace City. Once the main army arrives, I'll transfer all my authority to them. I won't have to take any responsibility after that. The citizens have already fled, leaving a ghost town of a city. We may not be able to accommodate 800,000, but there shouldn't be a problem with four or 500,000 men. Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm a bit late. Yun Chao, you're already all right? Shouldn't you continue resting? I'm almost healed up. In addition, I'm the head of logistics and commanding chief of the student army, so how can I not attend the meeting? Don't push yourself too hard. Your body is more important. Since he's a disciple of that lord, I need to devote myself to protecting and caring for him. What's up with Teacher Luo? Does she know of my identity? Impossible. There's no way she guessed. It's something no one would believe even if I said so myself. Everyone's expressions look very suspicious. Come here, Yun Chao. A young man like him is also a general? Hundred Battles Country has already surrounded Shining Gold City for a total of 27 days, with no news going in or out of it. The three small towns in front of Eternal Peace City have already been taken by them. If Shining Gold City falls, I'm afraid they'll come for us next. The three small towns are Phoenix Mountain Town, Soaring Phoenix Town, and Three Suns Town. I've had my men check how many troops each town has, with the towns having a total of about 20,000 men. Since we couldn't break through these three towns, we have no idea of what's happening in Shining Gold City. We don't actually know how many men the Hundred Battles country has. Shining Gold City, but by my estimations, they should have about 800,000. There's something off about this. 
We started our march about half a month ago, so they should have heard about it. But they haven't made any moves yet. Which could mean that they aren't afraid of us. They could even be waiting just to take both Li Chimfong and us down. If I were the enemy's general, once I heard of the news, I would have forcibly attacked the city and taken it. If not, then travel west ahead and occupy advantageous terrain, or else, retreat back into safe territory. Their army staying there at a standstill just doesn't make any sense. Yun Chao, what do you think? I'm just curious, other than the three possibilities that Uncle Han mentioned, why can't they wait for us? Couldn't they just wipe us all out if they did that? You're not understanding here. Once we arrive, we have a definite advantage in numbers. Under those circumstances, they won't be able to defend properly. They would only dare to wait if they had an absolute advantage over us. What you thought of had considered their numbers, but not their strength. What if they were all martial warriors? 800,000 martial warriors? How did you even think of that? That student army of yours already has an absurd number of them. Does young Master Yun mean that we should take elite soldiers into account? Correct. If only regular soldiers, Xiao Qingwang's power of a five elements realm martial king can combat at least a hundred thousand of them. If the enemy has a martial grand master, then that person alone is enough to fight a million strong army. It's just a hypothesis. I don't think it's probable. The city would have already fallen if it were true. To be honest, I can only think of one possibility. That the goal of the Hundred Battles country isn't to take land or cities. Yun Chao has a point. Right now, we need to ascertain the enemy's actions. Scout officer, pick out 300 elite men and quickly investigate anything from the Hundred Battles country. Report back if you find anything. Yes, sir. Yuan Zijin, take the city's guards and manage the background stuff. The rest of you, return to your posts and wait for orders. Yes, sir. Understood. Teacher Luo, we're already in the yard. I can manage on my own. Please go back. I haven't found a place to stay yet. Since this place seems large enough, I'll just stay here. Huh? I haven't found a place to stay yet. Since this place seems large enough, I'll just stay here. Ah, that won't be good. The house is already full. It's fine, young Master Yun. Teacher Luo can stay with me. The bed in my room is pretty big. Your bed is pretty big, right? Why don't I squeeze in with you too? I haven't found a place to stay yet. You bastard. You don't seem to want me here? No, of course not. You're very welcome. I'm just afraid it's too shabby here, and you won't be used to it. That is fine, then. Yun Chao, follow me. I have something to ask you. It's a small place, but please take a seat. W.H., why are you locking the door? Huh? This is the noise cancellation seal that prevents others from eavesdropping? What is she doing? She wouldn't have actually guessed my secret, right? She can't suppress her love and admiration for me? Is she going to forcibly do the deed? Ahem. Forget it, my cultivation base is much weaker than hers. Even if I resisted with all my might, I'd still be cannon fodder. I'll let you get your way today. What? You don't dare look at me? No, I just feel a bit nervous. Looks like you're mentally prepared. Yep. I thought about it for a long time before coming to find you. Ho ho, as expected of you, teacher. I'm so nervous I could die. Come, let's hurry up. You. W.H. What are you doing? If I don't take off my clothes, how, oh, I forgot. I'm a man. I should be more proactive. I should help you first. Huh? Are you playing some special game? Li Yunxiao, if you weren't his disciple, today would be the day you died. W.H., what the hell does she want? Can't she just tell me? Huh? His disciple? 
She thinks I'm Gu Feiyang's disciple? No wonder. I got beaten up for nothing. I am my disciple. Li Yunchao focused on cultivating for the next few days. Although I was injured by Luo Yuncheng a few days ago, the extreme Yang Qi has been absorbed by my body, which was very beneficial for my previous injuries. As expected of the Nine Yang True Qi, the treasure of the Heavenly Night Palace. Back then, Chu Hongyan said that, the first time a woman who cultivates the Nine Yang True Qi has intercourse with a man, she will leave a sliver of the pure Qi in her partner's body. He he, I wonder who will be able to get such a great benefit. In the Monument of the World God, the other avatar of the Soul Shadow trained their soul power continually. This body of glass is pretty strong. It even has resistance to thousand bird pills. Do I have to start refining adversity destroying pills? Besides, the five main ingredients of adversity destroying pills are the scaled sound branch, rocky leek and orchid, heavenly universe cleansing crystal, mystic thunder blood, and profane jade fruit. Even now, I only have the scaled sound branch. I'll need to collect all of them first. The godly evolution technique disappeared? What happened in the Monument of the World God? What's going on? The true soul phoenix? Is there really a true soul phoenix within the Monument of the World God? How is that possible? That is a mythical creature of this world. Not even I have seen one, even in my previous life. No. It should be the shadow of a phoenix. Legend has it that true souls could traverse space and time. It could never be trapped in this artifact. But something so strange happened at this time. What the hell is going on? Within the city lord's residence, what happened? We've sent five batches of scouts out, one after another, but we've lost contact with all of them. Everyone in the last two batches was equipped with cloud-piercing arrows, so if they were in danger, they could just send the signal, but they, too, never returned, and we lost contact with them. What you're saying is that all of the scouts were killed in an instant, and didn't even have time to shoot cloud-piercing arrows? It's not that simple. Every batch of scouts had 300 men, and were split into many sub-teams. They even scout for information separately. It's not possible to silently wipe all of them out. In all my life leading armies to battle, this is the first time I've encountered such a situation. It seems that my previous predictions were true. They aren't scared of us and are just blindly waiting for us. You mean, they stationed many experts in these three towns? Not only did they station experts, they have definitely set up an array encompassing a wide area. I suspect all three towns are within the array. Otherwise, it is impossible to lose contact with over a thousand people. An array? Then what should we do now? Commander, a strange phenomenon has appeared in the sky towards the south. A strange phenomenon? Excuse me. Could it be? A phoenix. Lord Yuan Zijin, where did the phoenix land just now? This is the same phenomenon that happened in the Monument of the World God. That is Soaring Phoenix Town. All three of these towns are located at the base of the Phoenix Mountains. It is rumored that there is a phoenix in the mountains, but I didn't think it would turn out to be true. The Phoenix Mountains? So that's why. Yun Chao, what do you know? Let's go in first. The strange phenomenon in the sky is a sign that a great treasure will appear. This treasure is definitely related to phoenixes. This treasure should be the real goal of Hundred Battles Country. What? Since this treasure appeared in Tianxue, we can't let Hundred Battles Country get it. That's right. Send 800,000 troops as a distraction. This treasure is certainly exceptional. We shouldn't delay this. Order the army to attack the town head-on. That's right. I don't believe an array can trap 800,000 troops. Forget 800,000, I've seen arrays that could trap 8 billion people. But 100 Battles Country would never have such great power, we should approach this with caution. They must have something up their sleeves if they are acting so brazenly. We should scout the area first. 
You want to send more scouts? Even the most exceptional scouts could not return. How do we scout the area? This time, let me go instead. No. I disagree. Abnormally resolute. What about this? I will follow young Master Yun. That should be fine, right? I also want to see the treasure that could cause the strange phenomenon in the sky. That is not possible. Li Yunxiao, are you ignoring my words? You need Teacher Luo's strong extreme Yang Qi to suppress the frost poison or the poison sun will devour you, making you a burden instead. You can just get Ji Ming to follow me. This is a war between two armies. Don't try to play hero. Private sound transmission. Really? Yep. Huh? What did that brat say? Why so mysterious? Yun Chao, do you really want to go? Of course. Something so good has appeared. I have to go get rich. If that is so, I won't block you. Remember to put safety first. Just wait for me to bring good news. Young Master Yun, Soaring Phoenix Town is right ahead. My universal detect was reflected. There is definitely an array here. Indeed. Detection, Demon Moon. There isn't a single living person in town. Did they all enter the Phoenix Mountains? That might not be so. The situation here is more complex than I expected. The corpses of the people in town are deformed. We need to be extra cautious. Young Master Yun. Why didn't he bring me along? I was the first. There has to be a limit to being biased. Feels like I won't get any screen time for a while. The town's been put under a barrier. It's probably why no arrows came out. Ordinary peasants cannot see this barrier, so chances of survival for those who went in are very slim. Young Master Yun, be careful. It's all right. Piece of cake. The Hundred Battles country didn't even spare civilians. How cruel of them. My biggest concern right now. How did these people die? Those flesh wounds don't seem to be caused by humans. All of their wounds are very messy. It's as if they were chewed up by beasts. Could it be? Yep, it's monsters. Young Master Yun, what are these things? Each of them is as powerful as a martial warrior. First tier monster, nasal bugs. They're low in power but make up for it in numbers. They can easily mass reproduce in places where corpses are numerous. No wonder they destroyed the town, it was to breed these monsters. It looks like a lot of them are just hatchling, so they shouldn't be that strong. They are but a few old bugs that have the power of a peak martial warrior. Even if they have that power, their numbers, not to worry, these bugs don't have intelligence, nor do they take instructions, all they have is ugliness. Fun for killing. Young Master Yun is also a martial warrior, but he took down ten first origin realm monsters with one strike. I don't need the protection, so just kill them. Don't get too flashy, save some energy for later. This nasal bug has the power of the two forces realm. It has to be the strongest among ST them. Seems like we've been killing them too fast. He froze the second tier monster in mere seconds. Not bad. Your sword intent is sharper than before, you will break through soon. I'm grateful to be able to learn from you, young Master Yun. On Phoenix Mountain. Dusk Flame Empire High Palace Deputy Palace Lord Six Directions Realm Marshal Grand Master Qi Jinzi. Dusk Flame Empire High Palace Hexagram Five Elements Realm Marshal King Sun Xiumei. Dusk Flame Empire High Palace Hexagram Five Elements Realm Marshal Kong Li Wenchir. Dusk Flame Empire High Palace Hexagram 4th Tier Refiner Hu Yin Ming. 
Dusk Flame Empire High Palace Hexagram 5 Elements Realm Martial King Song Ching Tian. Dusk Flame Empire High Palace Hexagram 4 Star Martial Lord Su Ping Hong. Dusk Flame Empire High Palace Hexagram 5 Elements Realm Martial King Yi Shaoshan. The one who injured Xiao Ring Wang, Yi Shaoshan, makes his appearance. Is the mystery of the phoenix going to be solved? Dusk Flame Empire High Palace Hexagram 4th Tier Refiner Hu Yin Ming Su Ping Hong, what is it? The four nasal bugs that I placed at Soaring Phoenix Town have been killed. Dusk Flame Empire High Palace Hexagram 4 Star Martial Lord Su Ping Hong Someone finally barged in? Dusk Flame Empire High Palace Deputy Palace Lord, Six Directions Realm Marshal Grand Master Qi Jinzi. He, Brother Su. Your bugs were just second realm trash. Is it that strange for them to get killed? Dusk Flame Empire High Palace Hexagram, Five Elements Realm Marshal King Sun Xiumei. Dusk Flame Empire High Palace Hexagram, Five Elements Realm Marshal King Li Wuncher. We can't afford to be careless. One of you go there and take care of it. It's just a few mice. Let the two of us go. They were my nasal bugs. I'll go. I heard that this time, Xiao Qing Wan came too. If he entered Soaring Phoenix Town, I'm afraid you won't be his match. Dusk Flame Empire High Palace Hexagram 5 Elements Realm Martial King Yi Shaoshan Xiao Qing Wang has been injured by your extreme frost chief for five years. Even if he had recovered, his cultivation would have fallen by a mile. There's no need to be afraid of him. Besides, Su Pinghong has the mystic cloud-shaking thunder roar. Even if he really ran into a martial king, he wouldn't lose. Let's just sit and watch. We'll send more people there if anything strange happens. Yes. Brother E. You've been at Hundred Battles Country for so many years, Master Misses You. Back then, the king of Hundred Battles Country did me a huge favor. I have no way to repay him. In the past decade, I've been trying to make Hundred Battles Country a superior subsidiary country. Soon, the ranking battle that happens once every five years will commence. When the ranking battle ends, I will no longer have any regrets. I will then return to the High Palace and focus on martial arts, disregarding worldly matters. Brother Y1, after you leave, it'll be hard for me to find a good opponent. I'll be lonely by myself. Dusk Flame Empire High Palace Hexagram 5 Elements Realm Martial King Song Ching Tian. You're already an 8 Star Martial King. I haven't been a suitable opponent for you for a while. At the foot of the Phoenix Mountains. I thought some big mice had entered, but it's just a 2 Star Martial Lord and a 9 Star Martial Warrior. Trash. You don't have to introduce yourself. We don't want to know. What a sharp tongue you've got. I'll send you to the afterlife. Huh. The mystic cloud-shaking thunder roar? Right when I needed mystic thunder blood, the heavens sent me a mystic thunder beast. G Meng, keep that bastard busy. I'll face the beast. Roger. Even a docile fifth-tier demon beast is on the level of a martial king. Ha ha ha. But a kid at the martial warrior level is saying that he will face a bloodthirsty fifth-tier demon beast's mystic cloud-shaking thunder roar? Agile serpent, unseal. All right. I'll get rid of you, the martial lord, first, then go take care of that brat. Be a good little one, don't be nervous. My child, my child, why are you so naughty, bullying and deceit? Why are you willing to do those, bullying and deceit? Why are you willing to do those? Be a good child, come back to me. My arms are always open to you, be a good child, repent wholeheartedly, you will always be the child I love. Roar. Come, my precious. My precious, do not fear. We are within the monument of the world God. I just pulled it in one of your three souls and seven spirits each. What's going on? 
This two-star martial lord can stand on equal footing with me, a four-star martial lord? I don't need to keep wasting time with him. Little guy. Eat that martial warrior guy and come help. Me. Ho. My hand feels a bit numb from stroking you. Motherfucker. What is this? Little guy. Little guy. I invested so much money and resources. I poured my heart and soul into this mystic cloud-shaking thunder-roaring beast. It's basically my most powerful asset and trump card. But why is it ignoring every single one of my calls now? You. You mutt. Thunder-shaking jade flash strike. Peach blossom sword intent. Impossible. Mutt. How did you even beat me? Little guy. Save me. Roll, little guy. Do you know how to roll? Curses. I'll let the others deal with you. Trying to run? Lotus Sword Song. Save me, uncle. Ah. A month ago, I was just a seven-star great martial master. My absolute ambition then was to one day be able to become a martial lord. Just by following young Master Yun for one month, I've broken through six stars and become a three-star martial lord. Not bad. That slash had some semblance to the full technique. Young Master, Young Master Yun. Watch out. The two of us are friends now. Eh? He took care of the fifth tier beast already? With this little guy here, it'll be much easier to get into the mountains now. Dodge. How did they even tame Brother Sue's little lion? Three star martial lord and nine star martial warrior? Trash. Brother Sue couldn't even take care of such lowly maggots. He deserves to die. Are you two from the same clan as that lion tamer? You even speak the exact same way. Perhaps you're also called trash? The trashy sect? I never heard of it, really. Do you want to die, brat? Sister, capture that beast. Once I kill those two mice, we can then finish it off. I heard that the blood of a mystic cloud-shaking thunder beast is a high-quality restorative. We could power up even more if we drink it. Brother has had his eyes on that blood for quite some time now. Brother Sue's death just granted his wish. Decinium Bane Water Ring Hold. Once a mutt, always a mutt. It's so easy to capture. Humph. Just stay put. Good boy, don't move brother and I will drink your blood later, okay? Done watching, kid. If you struggle too much, your blood will produce toxins. It's all bitter and sour. It's horrid. Demonification. You should worry about your own lives instead of wasting time on watching the show. It's too difficult to take on two martial kings at the same time. Grave danger. The immense pressure of two martial lords. This is one of the innate powers demons possess. After being trained, the entire body will start taking on a demon-like appearance. Two martial kings. This is quite the pickle. G Meng, take this strengthened origin blasting pill. After taking the origin blasting pill, I will lose my ability to fight for a period of time after the battle. That means that young Master Yun is in an exceptionally dangerous situation, but this isn't a situation where I should be wasting time thinking. Unseal. Peach Blossom Sword Intent. What kind of pill is that? It can temporarily increase one's strength by so much. G Meng. Dodge. Damn it. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't even itch. How is his skin so tough? He also seems to be bigger than before. Humph. There's a limit to relying on medicines. You can get infinitely close to being a martial king but you will never be a martial king. But in this state, I am a three-star martial king through and through. Eat this. 
Earth devouring. The difference in power is too great. We cannot win. Let's retreat first. Either way, we got enough intel this time. Trying to escape? In your dreams. Young Master Yun. Use the technique you used that day to stimulate my potential. You've already taken an origin blasting pill. If you get more stimulation, you will die. If not, we would still die. This is the only sliver of hope we have. I only stimulated half of your tendons, but this is still extremely dangerous. Golden Needle Acupuncture Try to control your strength. Don't explode. Five Elements Rome Breakthrough Humph. Evil Ways Eat this Crimson Toad Demonic Technique Lotus Sword Song You Bastard How is this possible? You Trash How did you block the attack I put my full power into? Take this attack with 120% of my power Die Bastard Let's see who's the real bastard, you Toad Crimson Toad Demonic Technique my Agile Serpent. Couldn't withstand it. Kakik. Now you can die. Cherry Blossoms Rebloom. What? 10,000 Blooming Blossoms. Crimson Toad True Body. Block. G Ming. Catch. That sword? Isn't that Brother Yi's Benumbing Frost Sword? Why do you have it? He gifted it to me. Got a problem? You reckless maggot, you dare speak to me in that tone of voice? If you don't want to talk, then shut up. Bitch. What did you say, you little wretch? Do you know who I am? You want to hear more? Bitch. Fine, fine. You're way too reckless. I'll come over and kill you now. Calm down. It's already obvious you can't come over. Why still try to act tough? If you dare to even move a muscle, your trapping arts will be broken. Then my little boy will tear you to bits. All right, don't stare at me like that. Your fake eyelashes are going to fall off. If you dare to kill me, then come over. Otherwise, just be a good girl and try to act cool in front of me. Don't make me look down on you. Damn it. So infuriating. Right now, G Ming's burning up his lifespan in exchange for bursts of power. Sister, save me. I can't hold on any longer. Brother. He won't be in that state for long. Let's retreat and report to Uncle. Then we'll come back for them. It's catching up. Brother, do you love me? Since you do, then you can die for me. God. W.Y. Why? Look at yourself. You've completely turned into a massive toad. How could you let me suffer like that? I remember how your white clothes stood out in the snow. You gave me the warmth I needed. In return, I gave you everything you needed to flaunt your power and charisma. Among us six, you might lose to Brother E and Brother Song, but you were always the best in my heart. But no. You wanted to be stronger, stronger than the both of them. So you went to the land of monsters. Just to get these damn toad powers. You became nothing. Not a man or a ghost, but a toad. A damn toad. Have you ever thought of my feelings? My husband, a toad, do you know what the people say behind our backs? Damn you. Ever since you started training in that toad-like appearance, my love for you vanished day by day until I just wanted to end your life. Ha ha ha. You're finally dead. Ha ha ha. Want to kill me? Come here then. Don't chase her. Little guy, 
take him down the mountain, through soaring Phoenix Town, and towards Eternal Peace City. Don't worry, I'll return soon. That is where the true soul phoenix in the monument of the world god flew. The true soul phoenix really is connected to a spiritual treasure. Even if a martial sovereign appeared, I'd give it everything I have. How could I give up on this? The hidden treasure draws near. Hu Yin Ming, how much longer before we can activate it? Not long. We'll need around six more hours. Six hours? Two days ago, you said it'd take 20 hours. There are still six hours left? You've already been here for a month. This is an ancient seal left behind by an ancient power. If it hadn't been worn down over the years, I wouldn't be able to decipher it even if I had 10,000 years. This speed is fast enough already. You. Marshal Uncle. This is bad. Brother Lee and Brother Sue have been killed. What did you say? What kind of people came here? Brother Sue's mystic cloud-shaking thunder beast is a Marshal King class beast. Even I would be a little afraid of it. Both you and Brother Lee are martial kings, but you couldn't stop them? There were just two people. One of them was a martial lord, and the other was a martial warrior. Shiomei, are you kidding me? No. Not even I know how Brother Su fell, but the opponent tamed his mystic cloud-shaking thunder beast. I've restrained the beast. Brother Lee was overwhelming the two of them at first, but that martial warrior used some mysterious technique and made the martial lord's strength rise to the five elements realm instantaneously to kill Brother Lee. What was that? He tamed the mystic cloud-shaking thunder beast and made a martial lord exert power that could kill a martial king? Is that martial warrior a refiner? Hmm, of course, it's easier for a refiner with strong soul power to tame a beast, but how strong a soul power can a martial warrior have? How could he tame a fifth-tier beast that already had a master? Furthermore, I've never heard of a technique that can raise a martial lord's ability by an entire major realm. Either way, everyone, be alert. We cannot make a mistake in these last few hours, or I will skin you alive. That martial lord has been heavily injured. Only that martial warrior and the beast remains. I don't think they would dare climb the mountain. Who says they wouldn't dare? He's already here. What? I didn't think the opponent would have a martial grandmaster and a fourth tier refiner. Where did Hundred Battles Country get such strong forces from? Brett, come out if you don't want to die. If I come out, can I live? The Crimson Bird Divine Flames Array. Uncle, that's him. I didn't think he would dare chase us here, and alone at that. If you wanted to live, you wouldn't have come up. Since you came up, don't even think of leaving alive. Seriously? You're a respectable individual. You said to come out if I didn't want to die, so I listened to you and came out since I didn't want to die. You're going to eat your words? Humph, you've got a silver tongue. Even if you literally spat out silver, you would still be sent to your grave. Wait a moment. Spare his life. I have something to ask him. Hu Yin Ming, this is an important matter. Don't fool around. Fool around? Uncle, don't tell me you're afraid of a single martial warrior. What can a martial warrior do? If something happens, I'll take responsibility for it. Do you have what it takes to take responsibility for it? I have the highest authority in this mission. All of you have to obey me. If that is so, why don't you decipher the array yourself? You. Fine. If something happens, watch me skin you alive. You, Brett, come here. What is it? Don't act dumb. I saw the expression you had when you first came out. You recognize this array? Array? This is an array? It does look a bit like an array. What do all these tadpole words mean? Looks like I was too sensitive. How could a second tier refiner recognize an ancient array? I only know because I found similar descriptions in the High Palace's library. You're pretty talented. You're already a second tier refiner at this age. 
Who is your master? Second tier refiner? He's already a top talent if he's a nine star martial warrior at this age. He's also a second tier refiner? Such a scary talent is definitely not your common kid. Hmm, telling you wouldn't hurt. I have to find a chance to kill him off, or it will come to bite me in the future. My master is the Tianchue Alchemist Association's leader, Su Han. Ha, huh, as I thought, it's Su Han. Apart from Su Han and Zhang Qingfan, there aren't any presentable refiners in Tianchue. However, your talent is more than a hundred times better than Su Han's. Learning from him could be holding you back. I am a fourth tier refiner from the Dust Flame Empire, Hu Yin Ming. Are you willing to come under me as a disciple? He wants to take someone of an unknown background as a disciple? His love for talent is showing. How is this shitty brat's luck so absurdly good? Huh? A mere fourth tier trash refiner wants to take me as his disciple? His facade straight up cracked apart. Just as surprised, but surprised for different reasons. Hu Yin Ming, this is not the time to scout a disciple. Focus on cracking the array. Humph. Just stand there and think about it. I believe you understand how big the difference is between alchemy ranks. This guy's technique is crude, but he has already grasped the key parts of the array. He may be slow, but the array is definitely being cracked. As the array unravels, it will trigger astronomical anomalies, signaling the birth of a treasure. It's opened. Open. It's the true spirit fire phoenix. Is it really a phoenix? This is unbelievable. Humph, that's just a sliver of the phoenix's consciousness. It will dissipate, and the real treasure will appear soon. Oh, no. It's coming towards us. Even these martial kings cannot handle the pressure of a true spirit fire phoenix. What is this? Is this the fragment of the fire phoenix's consciousness? Then, does this mean we are now inside a part of the fire phoenix's memories? The fragment of the fire phoenix's consciousness is much stronger than my past life's consciousness as a rank 9 alchemist. There must be a reason why it pulled us into its consciousness. It can even materialize its consciousness. What kind of monstrosities are the ancient true spirits? The origin chi here is ten times higher than usual. Is this the Tian Wu continent from ancient times? What? Did we travel to the past? We're inside the Fire Phoenix's consciousness, so this is the ancient land inside its consciousness. We didn't really travel back in time. What do we do now? How do we leave? Leave? If my guess is right, the treasure should be hidden inside the consciousness as well. After all the trouble we went through to get in here, you want to leave now? Hey, Brett, what are you looking at? That truly is an ancient true spirit. True spirit Tyre Phoenix. Ah, that is. It really exists. I understand now. The treasure must be the flame of this phoenix. Oh, the flame is unbelievably strong. This must be the true flame of life that belongs to the true spirit Fire Phoenix. Legend says that the ancient true spirits are existences from the Ten Directions Divine Realm. The true flame of life is produced from the origin of the Fire Phoenix. Forget about its power, the Ten Directions Enlightenment found within will make anyone go crazy. Look! The spirit is descending. Forget about leaving, we should grab this phoenix's flame first. Everyone, there are still some time left before the spirit reached to the ground. We should discuss how to split the fire up. Qi Zhenzi is the strongest among us here. Even though he is our vice lord, we should be wary of him. Children, are you really afraid that I will take it by force? This is a treasure that belongs to the heaven and earth. Everyone has a right to it. You will all get a share. Don't forget, this is not the real world, but the consciousness of the fire phoenix. Everything here is made from its consciousness. The, the space. The space is changing according to his will. Those with a strong consciousness have the most power over the space. 
This means, I, Hu Yin Ming, am the strongest person here. Ha ha ha. The powerful soul power of an alchemist. This strength isn't something we can match. Stop right now. This realm of consciousness must have been around for tens of thousands of years. It's way weaker than it used to be. If you act recklessly, this realm might collapse. If that happens, we're all going to die here. Am I qualified to take two shares now? Judging by the power he displayed just now, it's certainly not something we can beat. Besides, we would probably also need his power to leave this damn place. You aren't bad either. It seems that you aren't an ordinary second-tier refiner who is your real master. I don't believe Su Han can accomplish such things. Why are you asking me so many questions? Do you want to give me a share too? Humph. If you want a share, fine, but you have to trade your life for it. Ho ho, the phoenix is here. Brett, what are you doing? What am I doing? Obviously, I'm collecting the true fire. Collecting the true fire? As I thought, you're courting death. What? Ah. Uh, how did a mere second tier refiner like you manage to utilize the power of the realm of consciousness? We're both refiners. If you can do it, why can't I? I am a fourth tier refiner. How can a mere second tier refiner compare to me? Since you exposed your true strength too early, you'll have to die. Thousand thunderbolts, blow him up. I am present here. Who gave you permission to rage a thunderstorm? The thunder avoided him. Disperse. How is this possible? Who the hell are you? The power of your soul is stronger than mine. This place was formed from the consciousness of the true soul phoenix, but I can still use the godly evolution technique as I wish. I'm brimming with power. I haven't felt this sensation for so long. Everyone will attack at once. There's something weird about this brat. Don't hold back. Use your strongest attacks. Martial Uncle. Profound Viridescent Divine Thunder. Holy Dagger of Jade Flames. Extreme Frost True Chi. Concealed Rainstorm Claw. Ho. It's been a while, my good friend. Transcended Xian Weapon. Constellation Impaling Sword. Although we're in a realm of consciousness, being able to see you again brings back many memories. Constellation. Impaling Sword. Worldly Contempt. What? Our attacks were completely arg. Oh no. The realm is about to collapse. Can I subdue this true fire? Ah, burnt by the fire. The treasure's counterattack. What is this? Am I going to die here? Impossible. I'm the martial sovereign vanquisher. I will not die here. Soul materialization. At least my soul will not be incinerated by the true flame. This is bad. My body is completely wrecked. Fuck, I can't even hide. I was lucky to have a second chance. But now, I'm going to die after such a short time. This time, there will be nothing left of my soul. I doubt I will have a chance to reincarnate again. What's this? This is the place where I died in the past, the Tiandang Mountains. Didn't I die? Why is my consciousness intact? This must be the Phoenix's memories of when it was alive. Whatever. I'm going to just follow it and look at what happened to the Tianwu continent in the past. This beast looks similar to the one I saw on the murals in the Tiandang Mountains. 
According to the texts, I think it is called a black flame disaster. Space. It shattered. I was once capable of standing at the peak of the Tianwu continent. But compared to the power to shatter space with one strike, this is the difference between the heavens and earth. What is this black flame disaster? It could fight one-on-one -on -one against a true spirit, but it wasn't recorded in our texts. Just like that the two beasts fought in the sky for seven days and seven nights. So, what I saw is just a memory of the fire phoenix before it died. I heard that phoenixes can revive. So, why did it die? What should I do now? How is my consciousness intact without a body and soul? This is the phoenix's true flame of life. The divine tablet? I'm still inside the divine tablet. Ah. My soul was reconstructed. Third rank. I've become a rank three alchemist. And this soul power. It feels as if there's no limit to it. Let me try and contact the outside world. Subspace of Fire Phoenix's consciousness. My body was reconstructed as well. I'm now a three-star martial master. Risen by three stars. Risen in rank. So, the flame of the phoenix was not trying to destroy me. Instead, it let me be reborn. Phew. The phoenix's true fire was directly absorbed into my soul. I don't know if it was a stroke of luck or a disaster. This true fire is too strong. It's really hard to control. Well, I might only be able to bring out its full power when I become a peak nine heavens martial sovereign again. However, with this fire protecting my soul, while I'm in this area, with the true soul gone, no one would be able to hurt my soul. Oh, it seems that I've returned to reality. I have nothing more to gain from this mountain. Humph, you're trying to hurt me while being so severely injured? You've become a three-star martial master. I don't believe it. I can't just let you go. Oh, if you don't believe it, try me. Just you wait. When I recover, even if you run to the ends of the earth, the high palace will shred you to pieces. Damn you. Oh, they're all from the high palace. The girl, who was the weakest among them, probably collapsed along with the realm. Not even her bones are left. They were too heavily injured. It'll take them a year or so to recover. My soul and physical body have undergone nirvana. That's enough time to become strong enough to kill them. Hmm, you guys were barely able to make it out alive today. You ran away in time. Young Master Yun. You came. Yun Chao. Are you alright? I'm fine. What could happen to me? Where are the enemies? I'll tell you when we get back to the camp. Hundred Battles Country's army will probably retreat within a few days. Three Star Martial Master? Why you're a Martial Master now? Three Star Martial Master? There's a gap of a whole major realm between Martial Warrior and Martial Master. He crossed three levels at once too? You were still an eight Star Martial Warrior before the army set off. In just half a month, you became a three Star Martial Warrior. What is happening to this world? How will I have the face to keep living? Li Yunxiao is definitely the disciple of that master. Who but him could produce such disciples? I was just lucky. Let's continue this conversation after getting out of this mountain. Luck. Under Chen Dashing's command, the army of 800,000 headed straight to Shining Gold City. Under a pincer attack, 100 Battles Country's army was finally defeated. They returned to their country after suffering heavy losses.
The army finally entered Shining Gold City. The two armies joined up. City Gates Tianchui's general of Filong, Li Chanfeng, father of Li Yunchao. For the past 15 years, I have definitely been the eldest son of the Li family, Li Chanfeng's son. But for me to have to call him father, you brat. How could you not say a word when meeting your father? DDD, you weren't injured on the way here, right? Were you so scared your brain stopped functioning? Your body developed pretty well. You take after me. Are you hungry? Do you want dad to cook you some noodles? Phalong's doting mode. Father, you're messing up my hair. So what if I mess up your hair? How dare you block me? I'll teach you a lesson when we get back. Humph, you really raised a good son. Did this little brat cause a load of trouble on the way here? I'll give him a good beating later. You're still acting. Keep acting, will you? Acting? How am I acting? How are you acting? Acting dumb, of course. You had such a good son, but you hid him for so many years. To think I treated you as a brother. Right. I get angry every time I see that useless kid from my family, but I would calm down the moment I compared him to Yun Chao. But what now? How will I stay calm now? What in the world are you saying? Don't tell me you didn't know Yun Chao was a second tier refiner. If you keep acting, you're not my brother anymore. Don't tell me you didn't notice Yun Xiao's already a three star martial master. Huh? Three star martial master. Three star martial master? Second tier refiner? Wasn't my son's body complete trash that couldn't cultivate? Why you were really a three star martial master? Why you were really a second tier refiner? HM. Uh, I used to be, so pretty much yes. You brat, tears welling up tears of gratitude. A heartwarming scene. You tricked me so painfully. The army stayed at Shining Gold City for three days, then returned to the capital in triumph. Li Chanfeng used the excuse that he was unwell and had to return to the capital to recover to throw the city's affairs to a few vice commanders and insisted on returning with Chen Dashing's army. Helicopter Parent Mode The medicine Jia Rong fed Ji Ming only prevents his injuries from worsening. His chances of survival are still some. It's good that his life has been temporarily prolonged. As long as he doesn't die, I'll be able to save him with my abilities. It'll just be a little troublesome. A month later, the army returned to the capital. Their great victory shook the court. Everyone knew the matter didn't end with this victory. It meant that the decisive moment in the struggle for the position of crown prince had come. Those hundred battles country trash. I knew they were unreliable. Luckily, that thing has already succeeded. I even got some great news. Humph. Qin Yu, Li Yunchao, Xiao Qing Wang, I'll be waiting for you here. Let's see how you fall from that advantageous position you're currently at. The imperial power struggle is entering the final stretch. Outside the capital, welcome platform currently, army is on the way back to the capital. When an army returns from a massive battle, the emperor always leads many nobles and officials to personally welcome them back. But this time, the emperor did not do so. The second prince, Qin Yu, set up the welcome ceremony platform instead. If the emperor doesn't attend the event, the prince must have privately gathered the military officials to his side. That's a heavy offense. If we do follow Prince Yu, we'll also be considered accomplices. But if we don't, we just get kicked out. Everyone who has eyes can see that Prince Yu will win the rights to the throne. Your Highness, it seems like the Emperor won't be attending today. Humph. Father is not in good health, so today's ceremony will be led by me. All hail Prince Yu. 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 Has it finally begun? All hail Prince Yu. All hail Prince Yu. Your Highness, is this really a good idea? 
All hail Prince Yu. All hail Prince Yu. All right, quiet down. You may rise. Lord Su, note down all of the officials who did not come to the ceremony today. Yes, sir. Duke, how long until they arrive? About half an hour. All right. We'll wait here for this historic moment. What historic moment is important enough to make my brother turn into an excited monkey? His Majesty has arrived. I greet my father, His Majesty. Martial kings and above are excused from kneeling. As part of the royal bloodline, we have to make an appearance at some point. I only came today so I could see Li Yunchao. You may rise, I hope you are well. Father, we can start now. Go ahead. Start the welcoming ceremony. Young Master Yun, you made the greatest contributions in this war. Prince Yu will at least give you the duke title. He he, that means you'll have two dukes under one family name. Once he is crowned, I'll be leaving Tianchui. Eh? Why? He has strong and definitive ambition. One day, he'll be a man of conviction and have his name be known throughout the world. Ha ha ha. Is that master going to leave Tianchui as well? Wherever Li Yunchao goes, I'll follow him as well. If I do that, I won't be far from that master. Stop. I would like to welcome back the army as the representative and leader of the many officials present. Today is not only a day where we fought and won a war. It is also a day where the past is past and the future is everything. I will announce the heir to the throne. Wait. If father announces the heir to be Qin Yang, it would be hard for me to ascend to the throne as I wouldn't be the legitimate heir. Qin Yu, what are you doing? Are you stopping him from announcing who the heir is? Of course not. I just wanted to ask him three questions before the announcement. Speak. Father, I ask you, is the blade in my hand sharp? It is sharp. Second question. Father, my army, is it mighty? It is mighty. Such a blade. Such an army. I, Prince Yu, your son. Do I qualify to rule over the lands of Tenchue? A show of power. The conclusion to the battle for the throne? Am I, your son, Qin Yu, qualified to lead the thousands of miles of Tianchui? The land under this sky belongs to them. Please abdicate your throne, your majesty. 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 Qin Yu, are you trying to start a revolution? Our father, His Majesty, has done so much for the country. This is the time where he should be taking care of his health. As his most excellent son, I should be worrying for him and helping him govern the country. Humph. His most excellent son? Who would believe that? Who dares to not believe me? Me. Lord Zhang Qingfan. Lord Su Han. You are out of seclusion? Qin Yu, you are really going wild. Your Majesty, I have come. Qing Fan, it's great that you have come. Who are these people? Your Majesty, I will introduce them. This is the Dusk Flame Empire Alchemist Association's Lord Yuan Hao. He is a fourth tier, Lord Class Refiner. Ha ha ha. Dusk Flame Empire fourth tier Refiner Yuan Hao. This is Lord Wang Chen. Not only is he a third tier refiner, he is also Lord Yang Di's direct disciple. Greetings, Your Majesty. Dusk Flame Empire third tier refiner Wang Chen. This is Sun Jingzong. He is also a third tier refiner. Greetings, Your Majesty. Dusk Flame Empire third tier refiner Sun Jingzong. He is a follower of Lord Wang Chen, Marshal Grand Master Su Xiang. Dusk Flame Empire Marshal Grandmaster Su Xiang. 
a fourth-tier refiner, a martial grandmaster. They are beings that everyone looks up to. One of them is Lord Yang Di's direct disciple, too. Ugh. You don't have to introduce me like I'm an outsider, Brother Zhang. I'm the one the Dust Flame Empire's Alchemist Association sent to issue badges. Ha ha ha. After yesterday's examination, Brother Zhang and Brother Su have passed the fourth tier assessment. They have officially become fourth tier, Lord Class Refiners of the Alchemist Association. What? Two fourth tier refiners. Two fourth tier refiners appeared in Tianchue at once. Ching Fan. I just got lucky, your majesty. Damn it. I had victory in my grasp and was just waiting for Qing Jing to abdicate the throne. But now, Qing Fan, after so many years, you finally broke through. Your majesty. That's great. That's great, Qing Fan. Your majesty, I remember that I started following you when I was just 12 years old. My greatest wish in this life was to continue exploring the path of alchemy. Around 10 years ago, I started to feel a sense of powerlessness. I thought that I would have to stay at third tier for the rest of my life. I never would have thought that the heavens were taking care of me and I could break through another tier. You just gained another 50 years of life out of nowhere. It's a shame that I'm not far from my end. I won't be there to witness your glory, Qing Fan. Congratulations, Your Majesty Qing Zhang. If either Lord Zhang or Lord Su are willing to stay in Tianchui, Tianchui will directly become a superior country without having to fight for the position. Qing Fan. Don't worry, Your Majesty. I will stay in Tianchui for the rest of my life. After all, Lord Yunchao, who I am most grateful to, is in Tianchui. How could I bear to leave? Lord Yunchao? That's right. The reason Brother Su and I could break through was all because of Lord Yunxiao's guidance. That's right. Who is Lord Yunxiao? Was there someone like that in Tianchui? Oh? There's such a hidden master in Tianchui? Brother Zhang, introduce me to him. Let me greet this master. Anyone would want to look upon a being that can help two third-tier refiners break through with just some guidance. Lord Yunxiao, are you present? I, Zhang Qing Fan, thank you for your generous teachings. I, Su Han, thank Lord Yunxiao for your generous teachings. Lord Yunxiao? Why does he have the same name as my son? I just gave them a little feedback. Eh? The two of you were only able to be promoted because of your strong foundations. I am ashamed to receive your thanks. Lo Yunxiao? Lord Yunxiao? That mother Fuker is such a committed actor. Having the same name doesn't mean you're their master. How shameless is this kid? Did that boy go through some kind of stimulation at some point? You stupid brat. Stop trying to make a scene at an event like this. This foolish grandson of mine, how dare he joke around. Even a martial grand master would be in trouble if they angered fourth tier refiners. Scram, boy. Okay. My grandson hit his head. Please forgive him. Lord Yunxiao, please stay. Please don't go, Lord Yunxiao. Thank you for your kind guidance. I said, this is all because of your stable foundations. You must remember that the path of a refiner is still a long one. Fourth tier is just entry level. Nanny? Ha! What prideful words. Brother Zhang, Brother Su. Don't tell me that your so-called master is this foolish brat. It's you? Master Yuan Hao, this is the kid I was talking about. This kid is a scam. He forged his refiner's badge. Yuan Hao. I may be grateful for you coming a long way to test my skills, but if you so dare to dishonor Lord Yunxiao, don't blame me for cutting ties with you. Sun Jingzong, I was the one who gave Lord Yunxiao his badge. How could it be forged? Tianchui's Alchemist Association is only capable of issuing second-tier badges. If it weren't for those restrictions, Lord Yunxiao would have been worthy of even a fifth-tier badge. 
Two fourth-tier refiners have been trolled by a child. How funny is that? Gaining a refiner's badge by forging or cheating, according to the law, must be executed. And you master Su Han, you'll also face some consequences. Sun Jingzong. What? Are you saying that my second-tier badge is fake? Of course. Fine. I'll face you in a competition today. If you lose, it would mean that your badge is also fake. You? You dare compete against me? Since you're so confident, how about we make a bet? What kind of bet? The loser will have to face the entire army, all the scholars and officials, kneel and kowtow loudly three times. In addition, if we were to meet each other in public in the future, they must bow and make way for them. Also, you've been freeloading in our family for so many years, so the valuables you've earned from us must also be part of the bet. Master Yuan Hao will be the judge. How about that? What? A great third-tier refiner is scared of me? A bet it is then. Why would I be scared of you? Humph. Here's my storage ring. We'll provide the items for your part of the wager, Lord Yunchao. I can pay myself. Don't worry, I'll wager something more valuable than he did. Hmm, could it be that this kid is secretly a master? But no matter how far-fetched, it'd be impossible for a 15-year-old kid to defeat the third-tier refiner, Sun Jingzong. How should we start this competition? How about we let Lord Yuan Hao set the challenge? It'll be fair that way. No need for such fuss. Just choose the subject you're best at. I'll take it on, no problem. What? Li Yunxiao, do you really understand how alchemy works? You should know that alchemy has specializations. Even if I might not be Jingzong's opponent in some specific areas. You'll find out in a moment. Today, I want him to count out three times in front of these people, whether he likes it or not. Such arrogant words. All right, Jingzong, set the test. Sure, let's compete on pill refinement. But, it'll be refining third-tier pills. What? Li Yunxiao has a second-tier refiner's badge, meaning that he has at most a second-tier refiner's sole power. But the competition's on refining a third-tier pill? How can a well-respected refiner say something like that? Is that even humane? He he he. Sun Jingzong, you're an embarrassment to all refiners. Humph. If you still have a smidge of a refiner's pride, then you'll pick a fair challenge against Lord Yunxiao. What? If you're nervous, then admit defeat and kneel now. Let's start already. I'm too lazy to waste my talents on a monkey. You. Listen up. We'll be refining a third-tier pill. You don't need to repeat your shamelessness. You've already exposed your immorality to everyone here. Are there any other rules? Speak up. Don't try to try something stupid later. We can't embarrass the Alchemist Association anymore. Why, why you? No other rules. Any third-tier pill will do. If you refine the same type of pill, we'll compare their potency. If different, we'll compare the purity. Let's start. The time limit will be two hours. Qin Yang's biggest supporter has always been the fourth-tier refiner Zhang Qing fan, but he respects Li Yunxiao more than anyone else. As long as Li Yunxiao speaks for me, even if Zhang Qing fan doesn't change his mind, my position will be much more stable. I must borrow Sun Jingzong's prowess to get rid of this pain in my ass, Li Yunxiao, once and for all. So he's been hiding so much, I should laugh at myself for defending him so much when I was in the academy. I want to see how a fake refiner like you will refine anything. I want to refine a seven-turn bod high pill. I'll need red dawn grass, white sunstone, scorpion stinger, aurora water, spiked parrot leaf, and bod high figure lord Yuan Hao. Please prepare three sets of ingredients. Bod high pills are the best for showing a refiner's abilities. Three turns makes a pill, five increases its tier, seven makes it a third tier. So a seven turn pill will have a massive difference from that of a three or five turn pill. What about you, Li Yunxiao? 
At his age, even being capable of refining a first-tier pill would make him a heavenly genius. I'll do the same as him, so it'll be easier to compare. However, I'll only need one set of ingredients. What? You should be at least some. What reasonable when joking around, the techniques of refinement are mysterious and unpredictable. Even I don't dare to say one attempt is enough. If I were you, I wouldn't dare either. Fine, up to you. I want to see how your pride brings about your downfall. That foolish brat only wants one set? He's pretty much courting death. A third tier green tripod. Jingzong, you really collected a lot of treasures. He he. I had to spend so much to get this guy. Brett, you can die happily after losing to my treasured tripod. You're crazy. No. I can't let him get the best of me. He must be trying to get me angry to mess up my refinement. Yes, that must be the case. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. He he he. Your plans failed. Haha, ha, he's laughing even though I called him crazy. He really is crazy. What? Stop with your nonsense. If you're so good, prove your abilities. Refinement competition, begin. Red Dawn Grass, 50 years old. Extracting liquids. White Sunstone, 70% purity. Use Yuan Energy to remove impurities. Scorpion Stinger, 70 years old. Green Wolf Demon Fire? Jingzong, you're really rich. He he he. It's still worth nothing compared to your soul burning stinging fire. Ha ha. WH, what are you doing? Aren't we competing? Why are you eating? Master Yuan Hao, mark him as a loss. Are you senile? The time limit is two hours. Can't I relax and have some fruits to replenish my energy? Jingzong, focus on your task. It's not a loss until time's up. I'll let you play your game now, but I want to see you kowtow and crying in front of me when I win. Sheesh. You're really crazy. Damn it. Rise. Condense. Three turns, first tier. Five turns, second tier. Six turns, just one more to go. Seven turns, condense. I'm one step away from success. Today's refinements have been pretty smooth sailing. I didn't think I could succeed with one attempt. What's going on? Why did my soul power suddenly disperse? Why did this happen? No. It better condense. What's happening? I'm only one turn away. Was I mistaken? There's no way he can fool around with me watching him. Su Xiang. Yes, Master Yuan. Ugh. If that exploded near us, most of the officials here would probably have gone to meet Yama already. So watching a refinement process isn't all that fun or exciting. It's too dangerous. W -A. Dummy. You think you're so amazing. Getting to start refining first? You're back to square one now, aren't you? Just like me here. You. Both of you, there's not much time left. Please spend it wisely. Lord Yunxiao, are you just going to watch from start to end? Red Dawn Grass, 50 years old. White Sun Stone, 70% purity. Use Yuan Energy to remove impurities. Scorpion Stinger, 70 years old. Heh, who said so? I'll open your eyes. Watch closely. Arm curls. One, two, three, he. -he. Lunges. One, two, three, he, he. Waist turn. One, two, three, he. -he. Joint loosening. One, two, three, he. -he. Spin to the left, twist to the right, he. -he. All right, I'm done warming up. Time to start refining. Lord Yunxiao, please use my pill tripod. A third tier purple tripod. 
a refiner's level will still be based on one's own strength, but the effects from the equipment are still massive. That purple tripod is definitely way better than my green tripod. No need, just put it away. But, this brat doesn't even want a third tier tripod? Does he have a fourth tier one? Lord Yuan, lend me ten high grade Yuan stones. My possessions are all in your hands. Impossible. Even if he has one, he wouldn't be able to use it. This young man is just messing around when he loses, he'll definitely try to make an excuse saying he didn't lose. However, I am the judge. I want to see what kind of trump card he has. Here. Is he trying to play tricks? This is Mysterious Refining Methods. Why did it make Wang Chen panic? As I thought, Lord Yang Di uses this Yuan Stone Array condensing technique frequently, and his movements are practically identical to the ones this youth is displaying. No, this youth's movements seem smoother and he is performing them with greater ease. But how is this possible? Many years ago, when Lord Yang Di gave a lecture and answered questions, he demonstrated this technique. Could this youth be Lord Yang Di's disciple? Just you wait and see, you toads in a well. How dare you disregard young Master Yun? After this, the entire world of alchemy in the Dust Flame Empire will be shaken up. How is that possible? He could hide his power under the scrutiny of my fourth tier universal detect? What? He isn't sorting the ingredients, purifying them, or controlling the fire's strength. He doesn't even need a tripod? He's just burning the ingredients? I shouldn't get distracted. I can't get distracted. This brat is just messing around in order to disturb my state of mind. I can't fall for it. TH this fire control technique. Right. This is the fire control technique that Lord Gu Feiyang created, the Symphony of Fire. Then he is Master's. Master never mentioned having such a disciple. Could he be Marshal Uncle Jun Ryun's disciple? That's not possible. The Guwu Empire is thousands of miles away. Furthermore, if he were really Lord Jun Ryun's disciple, he wouldn't be hiding in such an insignificant country. It's him. It has to be him. The one backing Yun Chao has to be that lord. Lord Yuan Hao, who do you think will win this contest? Right now, it could go either way. I think Lord Sun Jingzong is still going to win. Though Li Yunchao has good techniques, he only has first-tier soul power. How can he refine a seven? Second-tier soul power. Three-turn bot high pill. What's going on? Was he suppressing his soul power the whole time? The process to turn a pill from three-turn to five-turn requires second-tier soul power. It becomes a second-tier pill after five turns. Is he going to try to bring it to third-tier? He is exerting such fine control over his soul power. Even I can't tell how powerful he is. Does such an amazing technique even exist? My master once said a great refiner can use his soul power only where it is necessary without wasting any of it. So when a normal refiner and only refine one pill, a refiner of the same tier who can keep their soul power from being wasted can refine at least three pills. He is absolutely right. Look at Li Yunxiao's expression. He is already at four turns, yet he looks calm and composed, as if he doesn't even care. But although Sun Jingzong is at five turns, it seems that he is almost at his limit. However, this is a profound soul power control technique. Even my master is only at entry level. How can this 15-year-old teen know and apply it? Five turns, third tier. He's going for third tier. I'm fighting till the end. The Tai Thunder Talisman. 
Is he going to use thunderbolts to condense the pill? Thunderbolts? The Tai Thunder Talisman is a fifth tier J talisman. Its value is immeasurable. It is a precious treasure that can raise the tier of an item with thunderbolts. If a refined product is over fifth tier, it defies the heavens, and the heavens will not tolerate it. When it is being refined, a natural phenomenon will happen, and thunderbolts will be generated. That is how the legend about the thunderbolts goes. That brat has already entered the sixth turn stage. I'm fighting to the bitter end. So the greatest challenge for an item fifth tier or above doesn't stem from the weakness of the refiner's soul power, but its ability to withstand the thunderbolts. And the Tai Thunder Talisman is a trace of that thunder a strong refiner separated by force. Such a jade talisman can be directly used when refining a low tier item. It can raise the tier of an item with the power of thunderbolts. It is also very safe to use. Low tier refiners see it as a precious treasure. I'm at 8 turns. Li Yunxiao is going to lose. This bot high pill has entered the 8 turn level and it is still being tampered by the thunderbolts. Even if it didn't reach 9 turns and become a 4th tier pill, it wouldn't be much weaker than that. Though Li Yunxiao lost, it is a glorious defeat. Unfortunately, he bet too much. Ha ha. It succeeded. Youths are rash and impatient. After gaining a bit of skills, they act all arrogant. It's good to let him face some setbacks. Ha ha. It's a peak 8 turn Bodhi pill. Brat, unless you can refine a 9 turn, 4th tier Bodhi pill, you've lost. The opponent brought out the hacks. How can he escape this bleak situation? Although you ruined a 3rd tier green tripod, you managed to refine a peak 3rd tier pill, so it was worth it. If you understand the process, you might not be far from breaking through. Since one was breaking through so easy. However, I did indeed understand some new things through this refinement. Young Master Yun. He refined a bot high pill to seven turns without using a pill tripod? At such a young age, too. He really is a scary talent that only appears once in 10,000 years. It's a pity. Yeah. Right now, I can barely beat him, but what about 5 or 10 years later? Lord Yuan Hao, do you think he can get the pill to 8 turns? The flames in the array beneath him have started weakening. It seems like they are about to burn out. He also has to use his soul power to condense the pill and control the flames at the same time. There isn't much hope. If he had accepted Lord Zhang Qingfan's third tier purple tripod, getting to eight turns wouldn't be much of a challenge. Unfortunately, he was too arrogant. What? Is he trying to use Yuan Qi flames to forcibly increase the Bod High Pills tier? He could get it to eight turns like this, but the flames will go out. How will he condense the pill? And even if he somehow managed to condense it, without strong elemental powers, it would be very difficult to keep the eight-turn pill in shape. He must have realized that Lord Sun refined a peak eight-turn bot high pill and decided to give it everything he's got. A ray of hope. Could he really get to fourth tier like this? Yeah, he's in a situation where he cannot win. What is he thinking? Eight turns. He raised the level of the bot high pill to eight turns barehanded. His talent is almost demonic. He's trying to substitute Yuan flames with true Yuan. He isn't going to condense the pill yet. He's really putting everything on the line. Su Xiang, be on standby. If an eight turn bot high pill explodes, the impact would be far greater than a seven turn one. Yes, Lord Yuan Hao. Ha. This is the limit of what the true chi of a three-star martial master can do. Next, I just need to condense the pill. If I want to beat his peak eight-turn pill, I'll have to test that thing out. A mere third-tier refiner dares to show off in my face? Today, I'll teach you such a harsh lesson that by the time I'm done, you won't even be able to recognize your mother. What kind of flames are those? The demonic flames in my body are showing fear. This is the pressure from flames of a higher tier. 
This is the first time I am using the Phoenix's true fire. With my current abilities, I cannot control it. I am just gently prodding the silhouette of the flames, or in other words, the projection of the divine flames falling on the void. True Fire Pill Refinement Condense A natural phenomenon? A third tier pill can cause a natural phenomenon to occur? In theory, a pill of this tier cannot cause a natural phenomenon. Although the thunderbolts were multiple times weaker than the normal thunderstorm, it was definitely caused by the pill being condensed. Did the phoenix's true fire cause a thunderstorm? What level is that pill at? Even if it was fourth tier, it wouldn't cause thunderbolts to strike. Refining and condensing a pill in this manner is something even I can't do. And the only difference between me and a fifth tier refiner is the ability to invoke the power of the heavens and use thunderbolts to condense pills. A youth did something that I couldn't figure out for so many years. Lord Yun Chao, can you let me see your bot high pill? You're the judge, Lord Yuan Hao. Of course you can. Lord Yun Chao, why does your pill have patterns in two different colors? And what is with those thunderbolts at the end of the refinement? That isn't a normal thunderstorm. He, I don't know either. It's my first time refining a third tier pill in this life. What? It's your first time refining a third tier pill? Lord Yuan Hao, what are the results? Who won? Lord Yun Chao is the winner. What? How is that possible? My pill is a peak 8 turn pill. It's the strongest pill below 4th tier. Look carefully, Lord Yuan Hao. Even if his pill is a peak 8 turn pill too, it's at most a tie. Your bot high pill is certainly a peak 8 turn 1, but Lord Yun Xiao's pill is a quasi 4th tier. That's impossible. Quasi 4th tier pills are formed when a mistake is made when refining a 4th tier pill, so it could not reach 4th tier. Although they aren't 4th tier, only a 4th tier refiner can refine one. That brat is evidently only 3rd tier. Lord Yuan Hao, are you conspiring with that brat? Sun Jingzong, what are you saying? Ho Ho, didn't I tell you? He'll definitely be making excuses when the results come out that's why I made you, Lord Yuan Hao, the judge. These are your belongings and winnings, Lord Yun Chao. Ah, thank you, Lord Yuan. If you lost the bet, you have to admit defeat. Now, you have to kneel down and kowtow. I was originally planning to ask for mercy on behalf of him, but he slandered me in front of close to a million people. He was courting death. My career as a refiner pill pill. Kneel down now. Everyone is waiting. If you don't, I will ask Su Xiang to help you. But, I. Ah. The first bow is for baring your teeth at me. This kid, he's not a simple rank 3 martial master. The second bow is for stealing half of our family's fortune. The third bow. Who asked you, forget it. If it wasn't for him, your Uncle Lee would have died long ago. Let's just forget it. A bully can also be bullied. I will let you go because Gramps said so. Don't let me catch you again. Master Yun Chao, you don't need to care about these types of people. He insulted you, picked an unfair topic, and even tried to shamelessly wriggle himself out of the bed. He's a disgrace to the Alchemist Association. Today's competition was sufficient to prove your capabilities as a ranked 3 alchemist. I'm an examiner from the Huwu Empire's Alchemist Association. This is a rank 3 alchemist badge. Please accept it, Master Yun Chao. Thank you, Master Yuan Hao. You're the most talented man I've ever seen in my life. You have a great future ahead of you. It's my honor to give you this rank 3 alchemist badge. Thank you. 
Please don't call me master. I can never get used to it. I prefer to be called young master Yun. Young master Yun, you are younger than me, but I really hope that I can stay in the Tianchue kingdom to learn from you. Are you Yang Di's disciple? How is Yang Di at the moment? I previously guessed that Li Yunchao must be Jun Ryun's disciple, but if that's true, why did he call Yang Di by his name? He should have called him Shir Shu, right? Eh, but he is referring to Master like an old friend. Are they friends? But he is so young. He's good. Master went to Washenhai a few months ago. Oh? Ha ha. Does that mean that he is confident enough to break into the seventh stage? Yes. Master comes from the Tenchue Kingdom as well. I've always wanted to visit my master's hometown. I finally fulfilled my wish. Ah, uh, yes. I heard that when my master left the Tenchue Kingdom, he left a painting. He said he will grant anyone a wish if they can solve it. Is the painting still in the Tenchue Kingdom? I've always wanted to see it and try my luck. Ho, oh, you don't know? Master Yunchao, it's true. The painting is stored in the palace. It's our kingdom's treasure. When did Yang Di learn to paint? It was not painted by Master Yang Di, but by Master Gu Fei Yang. Back then, Master Yang Di was foolish and in a fit of rage, Master Gu Fei Yang drew this painting and threw it at him. Master Yang Di couldn't understand the secret behind it. That's why he said that if anyone can understand the secret behind the painting, he is willing to grant that person a wish, as long as it's within his capabilities. Did something like that happen? I don't remember anything about it. Actually, I have the painting with me. I always take a look at it, hoping to find the secret behind it. Unfortunately, Master Gu Feiyang is a true master. This painting is a peerless masterpiece. Young Master Yun, what's the matter? Do you know the secret behind it? No, haha. -ha. I'm sorry. Haha. -ha. Young Master Yun, is this painting really that funny? I'm sorry, ha ha ha. Please read that poem. Ha ha, Yang Di is really shameless, ha ha. Young Master Yun, please do not insult my master. The green willows bend ever slightly to the ground, the solemn songs of the flute and the fox around the willow like clouds. How many months were the beacons in the desert lit? As I look back at Jinling, it was winter again. Ha ha ha, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Ha ha. Now, I have already given Changyang, went up Shirong and back to Beatty. As the sun sets, where is my hometown? The precious pearl in the waves. What's wrong with it? It's a good poem. Is something wrong? Uh, hmm. Fuck. What does it mean? Just say it already. Duke, please calm down. I will beat you if you don't. Duke, do you really have to do it, young Master Yun? Run. I will hold him back. Think about it. Why did Gu Feiyang write these two poems? He's upset because his disciple acted foolishly. Yes, he was upset until he started yelling at him. But Gu Feiyang is known as a civilized and literate man. He does not swear and curse like an ordinary person. Look at the first character of the first poem and the last character of the second poem. Yang Di is an idiot? Yang Di is a pig? Ha ha. Master Wang, you're right. The Picasso shock style. Yang Di is a dumbass. Yang Di is an idiot. So it's like that, ha ha, eh? Um, I don't know if you're correct, so wait till I visit Master. If you're correct, he'll do any one thing for you that's within his power. To be able to have Yang Di do one thing for him, what a valuable gift. Thank you. But, slandering master. Ah, uh, I'm dead. Young Master Yun, you really are the pride of Tianchue. If I have the privilege of becoming the emperor, I'll bestow you and your future generations with the status of royalty. 
In addition, I'll let you marry Rushiwe. Chin Yang. You can't just dabble in my affairs. Sister Rushiwe, there is no one else more excellent than young Master Yun in Tianchue. Do you want to miss out on this chance? Young Master Yun. If I become the emperor, I will bestow on you more rewards than he would. Rushiwe, which of them do you think should be the emperor? Neither of them. That's a problem. Do you have any other brothers? Rushiwe. Is, is he really respectfully considering my opinions? See, could it be? Rushiwe, if I do become emperor, I'll make you the Taiping princess. Your status would be higher than everyone but the emperor. You're the Taiping princess. Ha ha. Brother Qin Yu may also be a jerk, but at least he's better than you. Your Majesty. Nothing lives on forever in this world, so please, abdicate the throne for Prince Qin Yu. With you on Qin Yu's side, I can rest easy knowing you'll manage Tian Chui properly. But there's one thing you must agree to. Please state it. Keep Qin Yang alive. I don't want you to make him follow me right after I die. I understand. I'll agree to your condition. All right. I officially announce that. TH that's. Green Wolf Battleships. Ha ha, they're finally here. Chin Yu. Let's see how you fight for the throne now. My trump card has arrived. Is the competition for the throne this fierce? It's already going back and forth, but there's still more to come. Of course. The floating battleship is a top-level weapon from the Dust Flame Empire. Only fourth-tier refiners and above can create them. They're treasures. Only a select few in the Empire have the rights to own them, but there's three of them here, and their family name is engraved on those ships. Why are they here? Dusk Flame Empire Zhou family of the four great families eldest son Zhou Yushan. Young Master Yushan, you're finally here. Is Lord Yang Biao not here? Do you really need my father for such a small problem? No, no need. Let's take a look at these ruffians. Young Master Yushan, you being here is already enough. Eh? El Lord Yuan Hao. You're here as well? Other than Yuan Hao, there's Wang Chen, there's also a few people beside them. I don't recognize them, but they definitely look like refiners. Why are there so many refiners gathered here? Greetings, young Master Yushan. I am here at Tianchui for official matters. Official matters? I'm just here for some trivial matters. I'll be leaving straight after. I won't bother you. Qin Zheng. You called for this emperor, young Master Yushan? What do you need? Emperor? In front of me, other than the emperor of the Dust Flame Empire himself, no one else has dared to refer to themselves as royalty in front of me. However, I'll let it go since you are an elderly. Today, I've come because the successor is being determined. Qin Yang is a suitable choice. Young Master Yushan, picking a successor is a matter that only concerns Tian Chui. It shouldn't have anything to do with you. Plus, I've already chosen the successor. I now announce that the heir of Tian Chui is Qin Yu. I will officially abdicate the throne. The crowning and abdication ceremony will start in three days. All hail His Majesty. All hail Prince Qin Yu. All hail Prince Qin Yu. All hail Prince Qin Yu. Father. I, your son. Rise. You will be the emperor of Tian Chui in three days. How can you show such a weak side of yourself? Originally, I favored you. But you contacted outsiders and involved them in our governmental business. I won't allow that. Old fart. You dare go against me? My Tian Chui, my choice. Zhou Yushan, if your father were here, I would still pay my respects. But you. Humph, go home. You old fart. 
Fine. Since you're set on that, let's see what happens if your chosen successor is dead. Hold on. Who the hell was this dude again? He looks pro. Who the hell was this dude again? He looks pro. Who? Who said that? Ho ho, he is the eldest son of the Dusk Flame Empire's Zhou family. He usually acts like this as his family is high in status. Please pay him no mind, young Master Yun. Oh? A second generation official? No wonder he has his nose in the air. Aren't you afraid of rainwater getting into your nose when it rains? Ha ha. You really have a great sense of humor. I do agree, though. Every time I see him, he has his nose in the air. I wonder if water has gotten into it before. I don't know if water has gotten into his nose before, but it has definitely gotten to his brain. Ha ha. Wang Chen. And you, Brett. How dare you make fun of me? You're courting death. Take this. Young Axe Explosion. A five star martial lord? You. Who are you? A teacher of Jialan Academy. Jialan Academy? What is your name? Don't you know that going against me is like a death sentence? Yun Chao, are you all right? I'm fine. This dude might be a martial lord, but it'd be quite the challenge to hurt me. If you're so great, don't hide behind a woman. You're ignoring me, huh? Come out and fight me one on one. Fight you one on one? You're a five star martial lord, and you want to fight a three star martial master one on one? Brother Yushan, your skin is so thick it could be used to construct city walls. If you don't dare to, just say so. Kneel down and kowtow until I'm satisfied, and I'll spare your life. I'm not scared of fighting you one on one. I'm just scared that because your skin is so thick, I won't be able to hurt it, so we'll be stuck in a stalemate. Ha ha. What a great metaphor. I should be careful when interacting with you in the future, young Master Yun. This guy probably used the strongest skin protection in the whole Dusk Flame Empire. Ha ha. Kill this brat. Yes. Scorching Yam Fire. A Martial King. Humph. My arms. I can't feel my arms. They're just a one star Martial King. Ugh. You a. Uh, an eight star Martial King? Xiao Qing Wang. Humph. Escorts. Su Xiang. Understood, Lord Yuan Hao. A martial grandmaster. Lord Yuan Hao, you're going to meddle in my business too. I just don't want to take a fall. Don't you just want to fight me one on one? Let's do that. However, it will take place three months later. You can choose the location. A brazen challenge. Don't you just want to fight me one on one? Let's do that. However, it will take place three months later. You can choose the location. Yun Chao. He is a five star martial lord. You said it yourself. In three months, come to Dark Gold Arena in the Dusk Flame Empire. I will make you kneel down, kowtow, and beg me to spare your damned life. This woman, too, if you lose, she will be mine. What did you say? Regardless of who wins or loses, what does Yunshang becoming yours have to do with me? Stop pretending. He he he. I've seen countless women in my life. The manner in which she gazed at you just now was full of worry. How wouldn't I notice that she likes you? Humph. Only someone capable should be able to have such a beauty. Is a toad like you really worthy of her? Ha ha ha. Die. Stop fighting, or the stage is going to collapse. Ha ha. That woman is smoking hot. Just to my liking. I'll tame you in three months. 
Let's go. Ha ha ha. Ha. Oh. I didn't get the beautiful woman, so I'll take this beautiful young lady to quench my thirst first. Father, save me. He he he. As a princess of this country, you're qualified to become my concubine. I'll take you in as my 23rd concubine when we get back. Ha ha. Lotus Sword Song. You're courting death. What? Yun Chao, save me. Lotus Sword Song. You're courting death. Ah. A three star martial master dares to attack me, a martial lord? Huh? What? You bastard. Are you alright? A. Ah. Damn you. How long are you just going to watch for? Hong Ling. Ah. Ah. Why ain't you, Zhou Yushan, if you dare to touch a single hair on Rushiwe? I swear that I will completely erase the Zhou family from the Tianwu continent. From elders a hundred years old, to infants still feeding on their mother's milk, I will wipe all of them out. Kill him, Hong Ling. Kill him right now. Yun Chao. Young Master Yun. Why didn't you kill him? Why didn't you kill him? Yun Chao, are you all right? Young Master Yun. I'll remember this. He's blaming me for not interfering. Among everyone present here, I'm the only person who could save Qin Rishue. But I'm not going to make an enemy out of the Zhou family just for a princess of a small country. Wang Chen, I have the right to ask Yang Di to do something for me, right? Yes. Good, I can give you that right. But in exchange, you must ensure Qin Rushiwe's safety for the next three months. Are you willing to accept it? He's going to exchange this opportunity for this? What? If Li Yunchao had said so earlier, I would have killed Zhou Yushan to save her. Yang Di is a rank 7 alchemist. He can simply make some pills and help me reach the Martial Emperor realm. Yes. Of course, I will do it. Young Master Yan, are you really sure? Of course. Great. I will send a message home immediately. My family will do our best to take back Princess Rishue. Please don't worry about it. There's no time to waste. Master Yuan Hao, I will go back to the Huwu Empire now. Sai, all right. Don't worry, Yun Chao. Wang Chen promised to help. It will be fine. The four great families Zhou, Wang, Mo, and Cheng are more powerful than a country. The Zhou family will not risk a war against the Wang family just for Rushue. And the Wang family will do their best to gain Yang Di's favor. Don't worry too much about it. There's a solution for everything. Since I abdicated from the throne. Qin Yu, you are now the emperor of the Tianchui kingdom. We will hold the coronation ceremony in three days. And you. Lock him up, now. I've finally made it, after all these years. Long live the emperor. Long live the emperor. Long live the emperor. The shops in the capital reopened again. Everyone was excited in preparation for the festival in three days. Your Majesty, Yuan Hao and his people left. They are returning to the Huwu Empire's Alchemist Association. The factions who previously supported Prince Yang wanted to join us, but we rejected them. Many of them went to the Li family for help, but they were repelled by the guards at their residence. They were barred from entering their residence. You finally got what you wished for. Ha ha. The heavens favor me. By Mao, you contributed the most out of them all. Thank you for helping me. That's not true. Young Master Yun contributed the most. By Mao, how should I reward Li Yunchao? Should I make him royalty? Which territory should I give him? Are you worried? Li Yunchao is extremely powerful. He has the support of two rank 4 alchemists and two martial lords. His father is the commander of a million soldiers. 
If I make him royalty, will our Qing family continue to be the masters of Tianxue? Your Majesty, are you thinking of killing Li Yunxiao? I thought about it, but I don't have the capabilities nor the courage to do it. Your Majesty, you should be wary about what you say. If anyone, we're alone now and I trust you. Last time, when you told me about my fortune, you told me I would meet my benefactor who would help me ascend the throne. Can you tell me the fortune of Li Yunxiao? I want to see if he will become a threat to me. He only shares his secrets with me, all right. I will do it. Divination is an art that consumes a lot of primordial chi. Some higher level divination techniques will even consume life force. But for my beloved Prince Yu, I will do it no matter how many times he asks me. By Mao, what's wrong? I've never seen you like this. By Mao. What's wrong? I can't see. I can't see any signs. There is something in my heart that tells me that. If I continue any further, I will really die. Fate that cannot be told. I once heard Master say that some people had souls that were once constellations. Unless one knew the art of divine battle day, they wouldn't be able to see through it even if they spent all of their yuan energy lifespan. Could Li Yunxiao have a divine fate? Usually, the term divine fate is used to refer to emperors sent by the heavens. Only emperors could say that they have a divine fate. But that is all used to fool and unify the common people. Are there really people with a so-called divine fate? If that is so, there is nothing for me to worry about. Father? Ching Fan gave me some stimulating medicines so that I could be somewhat energetic in my last moments. Why would you do that, Father? I often feel dizzy and tired. I'm also gradually starting to forget things. I want to teach you some last things. For example, this time, you weren't careful with your words. We're screwed. Everyone knows how much Zhang Ching Fan respects Li Yunxiao. You don't have to worry. I won't tell young Master Yun about this. Even if I really told him, he would probably just laugh. Ha ha ha. But I advise you to never think about going against young Master Yun, or you will face an endless world of disaster. Yes. Ching Fan is absolutely right. Li Yunxiao is just 15 years old, but he is already a three-star martial master. The fact that he's also a third-tier refiner is even scarier. Such a person wouldn't stay in a small country like Tianxue. Under the broad and endless skies is where he should be. Thank you for your advice, Father. I will bestow upon him the status of royalty during the crowning ceremony tomorrow. Which piece of land should I grant him? Whichever you want. Try to pick fertile land. Whichever I want. I believe that when you take the throne, the Li family's involvement in Tianxue's politics will gradually diminish. Your Highness, just consider the position of the Heaven Gathering sect, and you will understand. At first, the Heaven Gathering sect was just a family of high status in the Dusk Flame Empire. Right now, they do not involve themselves in politics and became a true power of the Tianwu continent. It is also a group that the common folk like us look up to. Ching Fan is right. It's a shame that I was not able to understand this back then and caused Yang Di to leave in anger. I lost a great opportunity for Tianxue. I see. Thank you, Father and Lord Zhang. You are still young. You have a lot to learn. It is laughable that all these years I have been blinded by the authority of an emperor which caused you two brothers to fight each other. But now, I don't have much time left to teach you. Ching Fan, Commander Bai, you can take your leave first. I wish to have a private conversation with you. Your Majesty. Hours later, Bai Mao and Zhang Ching Fan saw Ching Yu walking out from the palace. Father has left us. The day after Ching Zheng passed, Ching Yu ascended to the throne and granted the court officials rewards. 
Li Yunxiao was granted the title of Prince Wuchen and given ownership of the most prosperous city in Tianchui, Marshall Flame City. The court was shaken, and Qin Yu was accused of abuse of power, but he beat all of them down. Marshall Flame City It is located at the northernmost area of the country and is a stronghold connected to the Dusk Flame Empire. Furthermore, Marshall Flame City is next to the Dusk Flame Empire. All goods being shipped to or from Tianchui to the Dusk Flame Empire has to pass through this city. This made it the most prosperous business city in Tianchui. But Li Yunxiao stayed in seclusion the whole time, refusing to meet anyone. Seven days later, Li family. It's been seven days. He's still in there? It seems that the duel that will take place in three months stressed him out a lot. Yeah. His opponent is a five-star martial lord. I thought that in such a crucial moment, that lord would show himself, but... So what if he's a martial lord? Is that supposed to be something amazing? He has become a four-star martial master. Yun Chao, do you really have to train so desperately? This is training desperately? Don't all martial artists train M like this? You're still smiling? You're still in the mood to smile? Is your brain all right? Don't misunderstand. I don't really think much of the duel in three months. I'll just beat that young master something and save Rushiwe. And if that Zhou family of the four great families or something like that doesn't know what's good for them, I'll just get rid of them too. For the time being, Wang Chen has promised to keep Rushi Wei safe, so I'm not worried. Oh, right. Hand these pills to father and tell him to go cultivate properly in seclusion. We are pursuing the path of martial arts, which is limitless. If he can put all his effort into cultivating, he will be able to become a martial king soon. He, don't you have something good for grandpa too? I don't have any pills suitable for your level. When I gather all the ingredients I need, I plan to refine more pills. I'll refine enough for everyone. So envious. Which refiner would dare to say that they would refine enough pills? Only this grandson of mine would talk like this. One more thing. I need some rare ingredients. Help me gather them. Sure thing. To allow the Lee family's reputation to spread, gathering some ingredients is but a piece of cake. Let me see. Young Master Yun, some of these ingredients are so rare, we might not be able to find them even if we dug up every inch of Tianchue. Heavenly Universe Cleansing Crystal is the main ingredient of adversity destroying pills, so it can wait for now, but you have to find the 100 pattern hydrangea. This is the main ingredient I need to refine 6 sunset gold pills. Only this pill can save the unconscious Ji Ming. That's, how am I supposed to find an ingredient that can't be found anywhere in Tianchue? Then I'll have to send someone to the Deity Transformation Sea. There'll definitely be some there. The headquarters of the Alchemist Association is at the Deity Transformation Sea. It is a holy ground for all refiners. Practically every ingredient that exists on the continent can be found at the Deity Transformation Sea. The deity transformation is so far away, though. We don't have to go through that much trouble. The Dusk Flame Empire's Thousand Treasures auction is in three days. And this time, it will be held in your land, Marshall Flame City. Right. How did I forget? The ranking battles will take place soon, and the Thousand Treasures auction will be held before the ranking battles. This time, you and Lord Su Han are willing to stay in Tianchue, so we have been promoted to a superior country directly. Marshall Flame City is indeed the best place to hold the auction. Wait, 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 Marshall Flame City? My land? The Thousand Treasures Auction? The Thousand Treasures Auction is being held here too? Young Master Yun, you really are unaware of current matters. You don't even know that His Majesty granted you the title of Prince Wuchen and gave you permanent ownership of Marshall Flame City? All this about granting me land is just for show. I'll only have the land if I have power. If one day, our family goes into decline, won't they just take the land back? Only the common man would place importance in such fleeting glory. At such a young age, young Master Yun is more open-minded than us old geezers. 
Transactions in the Thousand Treasures auction only take place with primordial stones as currency or equivalent exchange. I will gather primordial stones in bulk for the next few days. The Thousand Treasures auction is the largest auction held by the Thousand Treasures Tower. In my past life, I have attended auctions held by the Thousand Treasures Tower many times. They certainly have many great items. I didn't think that the Thousand Treasures auction would be held in such an insignificant place too. Lord Zhang, I'm planning to refine my sword, Black Lass. I wish to borrow your refinement room. Whoa! Let me watch. The burning passion of a refiner's soul. Inside the Alchemist Association what? Young Master Yuan is going to refine his sword? Hurry and prepare the alchemy room. Tell everyone. We do not want to be disturbed even if the world collapses. Why yes. I've never seen President Su so frantic before. Inside the alchemy room yes, this 100-fold gravity array can be used as a surprise attack against the martial master. But it is useless against the martial lord. Let's just remove it. Remove arrays and seals. Is young Master Yan trying to refine a rank 1 Xian weapon directly into a rank 3? Is it even possible to skip a rank like that? Combine all the ingredients. I'm done. Eh. Young Master Yun, this sword is extremely sharp and full of spiritual energy, but it doesn't feel right. You didn't use the sword spirit embodiment technique at the end, so it isn't complete, right? This is still a sword base. I wanted to make a rank 3 Xian weapon, but when you said the Thousand Treasure Summit is coming, I decided to wait and see if I can get enough material to forge a mock rank 4 Xian weapon. A sword base? Won't it ruin the sword's potential if you forge it halfway like that? That only applies if I'm making a sword of the same rank. But I'm going to forge a mock rank 4 sword from a rank 3 sword base. This is an upgrade by half a rank, so it won't hinder its growth at all. Can you let us refine the sword base? We're rank 4 alchemists after all. If you guide us, we will make you a real rank 4 Xian weapon. It's fine, I feel better using the weapon I made myself. I can't fully utilize the rank 4 Xian weapon with my current abilities anyway. But, I will need your help in the latter stage of the refinement. We can study it later. It's time to prepare for my trip to Yinwu City. The next day, outside of the capital city. Young Master Yun, it will be a difficult trip. Please allow me to drink to your success. Since he has no desire for power and glory, I just need to fully express our friendship. I hope you're a good emperor. Ha ha ha, don't worry. I fear that you don't have enough men at Yinwu City, so bring these state guardians with you. You may send them back when you don't need them. Ian, leader of Team 1 of the State Guardian, reporting to Young Master Yun. A nine-star peak martial master. It seems that you're newly elected after Gao Feng was arrested. Take him. He's a good man. Thank you, sir. Your Majesty, Bai Mao is one of the beauties of our State Guardians. Please take good care of her. I won't disappoint you. By Mao's art of divination is only at the white stage. Do not attempt to use it frivolously. Because, if you try it against a powerful entity, you might cause your nerves and meridians to break or worse. If I remember correctly, the fifth elder of your clan once tried to use the art of divination on a certain entity. He's still a cripple today. How did Li Yunchao know I tried to use the art of divination on him? Not only that, he even knows about my clan and the secrets of the Taoist sect. Young Master Yun, please don't blame Bai Mao. I was the one who requested it. I, all right, no need to explain it. I would have done the same thing. Since I helped you ascend the throne, I doubt we will meet much again. I will always welcome you. You will always be the king of martial fulfillment of the Tianchue kingdom. King of martial fulfillment. King of Martial Fulfillment. King of Martial Fulfillment. 
becoming the owner of Yinwa City, starting a new chapter in life. Oh! Oh! My master is a city lord. My master is a city lord. Ha ha ha! Yun Chao, look at how great the disciple you took in is. He's just a kid. All they want is to become a general, a state guardian, or something like that. Master, how did you know my dream is to become a general? Why don't you make me a general after taking over as city lord? I'll lead an army back and show off to Uncle Li Dayuan. Humph. Those brats are here again? Yep. Halt. If you gave me a million such soldiers, even sweeping all the empires in the Tian Wu continent away might not be impossible. Stop dreaming. Even having 2,000 of them is already an amazing thing. I really don't know how they were trained. I dare say that if they went against another army, even if the opponents were 2,000 great martial masters, they might still be able to beat them. Please take us to Martial Flame City with you, Prince Wu Cheng. We wish to follow you. By Cheng Fong, I'm only heading to Martial Flame City in order to take part in the Thousand Treasures auction. Did you really think I'd stay there to be some weird city lord? Besides, all of you have yet to graduate. Go back. But, it's still the school break, just let them follow you. I'll explain to the academy. Teacher Luo. They would improve much faster if they followed you instead of training on their own. Ugh, not you too, huh? Thank you, Teacher Luo. Brothers, young master Yun agreed. Hey. Oh, that's great. Long live young master Yun. I knew young master Yun would agree. That's great. That's great. Young master Yun agreed. Long live young master Yun. As long as I keep rushing forward on the path of martial arts. Why the hell are you guys celebrating? I'm not going to war. I'm just attending an auction. Besides, I'm used to being alone. No way am I going to act as the city lord. Yun Chao, if the 2,000 of them keep growing, do you think they'd still be your average soldiers? So you mean, even though the vast majority of them are martial warriors right now, I can feel the killing intent in their bones. If they released it, it wouldn't fall far behind that of regular state guardians. They already far surpassed the standard for soldiers. Yun Chao, don't you want to surpass the world's standards? The individual is limited in time and effort. If you have such a force and people like us helping you, we can quickly form a group with powers surpassing most countries. That's right. We've gathered at least half of Tian Shui's military power, and they have limitless potential. Why don't we use Martial Flame City as a base, develop a force of our own, and strive to become an entity on par with the Heaven Gathering Sect? The Heaven Gathering Sect might be backing the Dusk Flame Empire, but accounting for the whole Tian Wu continent, their members are just second or third rate. However, creating a force of our own with that as our goal isn't a bad idea. I might have wandered the continent alone in my past life, but I have been surrounded and injured heavily by major powers many times. If I had a strong force backing me, I wouldn't have been reduced to such a state. These youths have a lot of potential, the best in the whole country of Tianchue. If I guide them well, they could become a first-rate power in the continent. Then I'll try leading them. Since I was called the military breaker in my past life, you will be called Heaven's Core. Marshall Flame City City Lord's Residence. Just tell me directly. How much money do I have, how much money can I collect per year, and how much is our yearly expenditure? I'm not interested in anything else. We earn about 300 million gold coins in taxes per month and turn over about half of that to the country's treasury. The city's expenses total about 100 million gold coins, Marshall Flame City Chief of Records Wu Zishir. So the remainder is about 50 million gold coins. However, because of the Thousand Treasures auction, thousands of merchants flocked here within a few days, and we got 120 million gold coins in taxes from them. We currently have 150 million gold coins in our treasury. There is a surplus of over so million gold coins annually, but why is there only 30 million gold coins left if you don't count the taxes from the Thousand Treasures auction? 
Where did all that money go? Prince Wuchen, of the annual 50 million gold surplus, the previous city lord, Lord Yudihai, would spend 30 million just to bribe court officials. He took the remainder away when he retired. That's bullshit. That is Marshal Flame City's money, not his own money. Is there a difference? Every city lord basically cleared out all the wealth of the city when they left. Because Prince Wuchim was taking office this time, Yu Dihai specially left 30 million gold coins behind as a welcome gift for him. Who would have thought that he was so young and ignorant of how this world works? Dad, send some people to the capital and tell Yu Dihai to spit the money back out. Roger, how dare he take money from my son's territory? Does he not value his life? Ah, you can't do that, Prince Wuchim. Lord Yudihai's younger sister is the current emperor's concubine. He's practically a relative of the royal family. He also has connections to many important figures. He didn't give them tens of millions of gold coins per year for no reason. Oh, you're right. He finally understood. Thanks for reminding me, Chief Wu. Other than Yudihai, those officials have also taken my money. Anyone who has taken Marshall Flame City's money had better spit it all back out. Right. Tell me the names of the last ten city lords and track all of them down. If they're already dead, ask their descendants for the money. May I ask what your name is, city lord? I am Li Yunchao. Just call me Young Master Yun. Ha ha ha. Let this beast come with me. I promise we'll complete our mission well. Remember to collect interest too. At triple the regular interest rate. Take primordial stones if possible. You can't eat gold coins or cultivate with them, so we don't need that many of them. All right. Th, that's absurd. Won't you be offending practically every single court official? Wu sure, I'll make you the vice city lord. Other than matters concerning money, you'll be in charge of everything else. Ah. When I want to decide something, I'll come find you. Let's go to the Thousand Treasures auction. Meng Bai, don't run off on your own. All right. Sudden promotion. I was just minding my own business, then suddenly, I'm the Vice City Lord? What kind of god is this new city lord? What is absurd? This is absurd. This is fucking absurd. It really is the Thousand Treasures Tower, the power and influence of this organization is beyond my expectations. The Thousand Treasures Tower's wealth can rival a country and is comparable to the Alchemist Association. They've also hired and gathered many refiners to offer services, the amount of martial artists is even more so. Master, master, there's so many people there. Let's go. Ming Bai. Don't stray too far. Master. Look. Wow. Monster egg? Those things are super rare. They're hard to find, even in an auction house. I didn't think that we would just find one out here. What a beautiful egg. I wonder what kind of monster's inside. It's just a regular green demon beast egg. It seems like the rainbow hue is due to the crystal box. Look at the description on the side. It's a second-tier windbreak poisonous weasel, HM. Weasel? That second-tier egg may be nearly dead, but it's still a poisonous weasel egg. Cooking it for Ming Bai will be beneficial. Eating an egg worth a whole city? Only young Master Yun can do that. Boss, we already know the price. You don't need to repeat it. But 10,000 middle-tier primordial stones? That's too far-fetched. Maybe make it cheaper. Cheaper? It's already a massive bargain. If it wasn't for my urgent need of money, do you think 10,000 would be enough to buy a second tier egg? It's even a poisonous weasel egg. Dream on. Boss, I'll buy this egg. But you'll have to prove whether this egg really is a second tier windbreak poisonous weasel egg. If the egg turns out to be something else, my life savings would have gone to waste. Open your eyes and look. I'm doing business under the Thousand Treasures Tower's name. If I were to sell fakes, my life would be forfeit.
This may be a real and living second-tier weasel egg, but its vitality is weakening. I'm afraid that it'll die within a month. What? A dying egg? What are you blabbering about? Where did you come from? Scram if you're spouting nonsense, or I'll have to take measures. If you were to take off the crystal box in front of the audience here, purple stripes will show up on the egg surface. So you made an effort to conceal them by crafting this crystal box, making a rainbow hue to cloud everyone's sight. Why you are making this up? I'm a second tier refiner. Are you perhaps doubting my skills and credibility? Young Master Yun told me to say this, I wasn't sure at first, but now that I'm looking at his face, Young Master Yun was absolutely correct. What? A second tier refiner? No wonder he's so professional. One look and he's figured it out. Humph, I said so. Demon beast eggs are super rare. No way some dude would randomly sell it on the market. I'm lucky I didn't fall for it. Sheesh, you probably just can't afford it. You were talking about selling all your assets for it. So abhorrent. Us brothers worked hard for many years to save up that money. Our wallets nearly fed you, black-hearted dog. I didn't know this egg was going to die. Go away. I'm not selling anymore. It's fine. Let's go. Nothing to see anymore. Uncovering scammers and protecting the people, that's our duty as refiners. Boss, would you still sell that egg? You know that this is a dying egg, but you still want to buy it. There's a need for everything. That egg is just what I need. Oh? Really? I'll sell, I'll sell. Haha, <laughs> how about this? It might be a dying egg, but it's still alive. I must still sell it for 5,000 middle-tier primordial stones. Wait, wait up. 5,000 low-tiers. Me, black-hearted? Then you can cook it for yourself next month. 100 middle-tier primordial stones. Take it or leave it. What? That's only worth 50 middle-tiers. You're the black-hearted one here. No, no, how about this? A thousand middle tiers. No, five two hundred. Yeah, two hundred. Let's go. Ha ha, you're so evil, young Master Yun. Ten thousand to just a hundred. What the heck? You were working together? Hee hee. It definitely is a dying egg. It shouldn't be worth that much anyways. Ah? Uh, so you were up to no good again? Why did you buy a dying egg? For you to eat. This second tier windbreak poisonous weasel might not be strong, but its toxins are a massive headache to deal with. Right now, the toxin's nature is mild. Eat it when we get back. It'll help you a lot. H it's really for me to eat? It's so big. How long would it take me to finish it? Just eat it all at once. Only then can you absorb the toxins efficiently. If only we had a good demon beast egg. It'd be best if it were to hatch into a cute little baby. Hey, this one's the real deal. Take it and try it out. Uh, young Master Yun, where did you get this one? What kind of beast is it? Aren't I your first follower? Aren't I your disciple? I found this egg inside a beast tamer's storage ring. I think he was called Su Ping Hong. Beast egg left in world forever. Streams of tears stained the heaven air. I'll teach you how to tame the beast when it's time. Once you tame it, you'll be able to freely travel in the Dusk Flame Empire. Master, that one looks way tastier. Put them away quickly. Everyone's looking at you. Okay. He gifted me such a precious thing without a second thought. He treats me so well. Hey, did you see that? That kid just took out two demon beast eggs. I saw it too. I thought I was seeing double. That kid's really rich. Who is he? I don't know. It just seems like he's trying to get women by splurging some money. Get women my a asterisk s. What kind of woman needs two eggs? Just one's enough to get any woman. Good point. 
He must be a big loser. What's wrong, sis? Your body feels warm. Are you sick? Let's hurry away, young Master Yun. Too many prying eyes here. They say, wealth is not to be exposed. I'm afraid that people already have eyes on us. No worries. If someone doesn't use their eyes properly, I'll make them sleep eternally. H.M.? Boss, how much is this fruit? 5,000 low-tier primordial stones. 5,000? Why not just go rob someone? It's just a fruit. All it will do is quench your thirst and fill your stomach, but you want 5,000? What do you know, Brett? This is a soul fruit. Sheesh, I'm the one who has lived in the mountains and eaten wild fruits. I've probably seen more wild fruits than you. Soul fruit my ass. Master, don't be fooled by him. Stupid brat. Do you know this fruit? What's its name? I don't know, but I know it's definitely a soul fruit. Because I saw with my own eyes a third-tier scaled python and a third-tier blood-striped tiger fight to the death for it, and both were heavily injured. I don't know the name of the fruit, so the price is 5,000 low-tier primordial stones, but I believe its price is way higher. Blood-striped tiger? Since both were heavily injured, and you managed to get the fruit, don't tell me you let those two beasts off. He he he. Master of reason. What do you want? Beast and fruit in hand. Grip tight and hold on. Don't worry. The corpse of a third-tier demon beast is definitely a treasure, but it's not something I want. How much for the teeth of the blood-striped tiger and this fruit? I'll buy them. Give me a price. You don't have to be so nervous. This is the Thousand Treasures auction. No one will dare to attack you. What the hell do you know? Do you know how many hungry wolves there are among ST the crowd? If they see that you have a lot of wealth on you and aren't very strong, humph, you wouldn't walk out of this country alive. Wolves? I've been feeling many sharp gazes on me since a while ago. Those should be the so-called hungry wolves. You can have the blood-striped tiger's teeth, but I will only sell that blood-striped tiger as a package deal. 5,000 middle-grade primordial stones for the whole corpse. It's non-negotiable. I'll just give you the soul fruit along with the tiger. I'll have to check if its teeth are damaged first. The teeth are undamaged, but its skin was slightly damaged in the fight with the scaled python. Deal. Young Master Yun, there seem to be a lot of people staring at us. They're probably after that demon egg. Ignore them. If they want to die, I won't stop them. Master. Master. Look over there. Isn't that Chen Jin and Han Bai? They seem to be in a conflict with someone. What are you doing? Young Master Yun. We found some hundred pattern hydrangeas, but these people suddenly ran over and said that they would be taking it. Isn't this just bullying? Where are the hundred pattern hydrangeas? That's the main ingredient of six sunset gold pills. Ji Meng is still waiting to be saved. I have to make them spit it out. They took it away already. Whoever takes it first gets it. Know your place and get lost. Point your fingers at me one more time, and I'll cut all of your fingers off. They're definitely from some group. The man leading them is only a nine-star martial master himself, but among the dozen guards surrounding him, there is a martial lord and two great martial masters. See customer you haven't paid yet. Are you saying that I would steal your items without paying? Get lost. Th that, that's the greatest treasure of my stall. How much for it? 200 middle grade primordial stones. I'll buy it. Th thank you. But the items, humph. It's fine. I'll get them myself. What did you just say? You were going to cut off all of my brother's fingers? What? You're mad. Don't you know the power of my forces or my family background? If you're smart, count out a few times and get lost, or... You were. Uh, young lord. Be blood, huh? Triple A. 
How dare you hurt the young master? You're courting death. Young master Yoon. Watch out. Ah. He killed someone. Murder. Regardless of who it is, anyone who hurts a brother of mine. Has to die. Kill him. You guys should retreat. Ah, uh, this is, you brat, no one can save you now. Commander Hong, come out already. Are you gonna wait till I die? If I die, be prepared to get skinned alive and have your bones shattered. Ugh. Who are you? Do you know who my young master represents? How dare you stick your nose into other people's business? Commander of Team 1 of Marshall Flame City City Defense, Hong Bing. I don't care who you are. As long as you are in Marshall Flame City's territory, I have to keep you in line. Marshall Flame City City Defense Team 1 Commander Marshall Lord Hong Bing. The power balance in this auction is very complicated, so I've been following the new city lord around. How did he notice me, though? Fine. That brat hurt my young master and even killed his bodyguards. What about that? Oh? Is that so? The moment I arrived here, I saw you hitting him. That's bullshit. Look at the corpses on the ground. Do you really think they killed themselves? So what if you're the leader of a small team? Even if the Emperor of Tianchue came, he would have to be polite to me. Get your city lord here right now. Do you know who I am? I'm the Dusk Flame Empire Xingyang family's heir, Xingyang Jie. Dusk Flame Empire Xingyang family heir, Xingyang Jie. That'll scare them. I thought you were some big shot, but you were someone I've never even heard of before. Hong Bing, keep that martial lord busy. First, I'll kill them all off. I don't have to hesitate to kill them now. You bastard. Even if you're the most powerful or influential person under the heavens, I'll still get you down without fail. God damn it. Old man you, is that teen over there the third tier refiner, Li Yunxiao, that Lord Yuan Hao mentioned? Correct. I've been following him ever since he entered the Thousand Treasures auction. The kid's got some super sharp eyes. He would have found me if I hadn't hidden myself so well. Really? You can see that he's just a four-star martial master, but the three-star great martial master is already not faring well. If I'm not wrong, he looks to be about 15 years old. He's already considered a martial arts genius. How can he also be a third-tier refiner? There's always a master of something. Lady, you're already a rare talent, but this Li Yunxiao is unthinkably more so. That's too much praise, old man you. What genius am I? Should we make a move and halt the fight? It would be a big mess if he does kill Xingyang Jie. The Xingyang family isn't too much a concern. The only problem is that one of their ancestors is an elder of the Heaven Gathering sect. That's one thing we can't overlook. I'll go stop them. Ah. I'm gonna die. Halt. Kid, forgive and forget. Why the haste to finish them off? Plus, the Xingyang family is not one to trifle with. Ever since I walked into the auction, someone has been watching me. You've finally shown yourself. It was you, old coot. What? H, how did you notice me? Humph. Out of the way first. I'm not in the mood to chat right now, so let me kill these two first. Just forget it. Kid. Seven Star Marshal King. Plum Blossom Point Break Form. Why you figured out my power realm? How did you even know I used Plum Blossom Form? Humph. Saving him means making an enemy of me. You've given yourself a death sentence. Li Yunxiao, I stepped in for your own good. The Xingyang family isn't a big deal, but they have an ancestral connection with the Heaven Gathering sect. If you kill Xingyang Jie, you're bringing ruin onto yourself. Brett, so you're Li Yunxiao. 
If I don't wipe you out for nine generations, I'm not a man. Let's go. See? If I don't kill him, he kills me. Plus, the materials for medicine I need to save a friend's life is still in his possession. How do you intend to resolve that? This, Xingyang Jia has always been self-centered and prideful. He's taken such a loss from you today. He won't just leave it at that. Since he won't stop until he dies, letting him go is equivalent to hurting me. I will remember this. You can worry about how to pay me back for this. Hold on. My lady wishes to speak with you. I'm busy. No. You can't go. You. Don't do anything stupid. What? Are you trying to force me? Don't think being a seven-star martial king makes you invincible. HGH, you. It's just some hundred pattern hydrangea. It may be a rare material, but it doesn't mean I don't have some. Young man shouldn't be too hasty. There was a good reason why he didn't let you kill Xingyang Jie. Hatred still exists between you two, but at least there's room to smooth it over. If you went and actually killed him, you would have been in massive trouble. Smooth it over? Then what happens if he tries to finish me off with a high-level fighter? Then I'll step in. I believe I'll be able to address the grievances. I'm Ding Linger. All right then, Ding Linger. Let's see what you can do. You clean this mess. Oh? Miss Linger is here as well. Dusk Flame Empire for Great Families Chang Family Chang Feiji. Oh, it's Lord Feiji of the Chang Family. I witnessed the whole event unfold. There were a lot of misunderstandings. The moment I promised to smooth things out, the main event started. I hope you can overlook this and think of it as nothing. Oh? Humph. Who is this guy? How did he make you talk for him? Brother Feiji, don't be fooled by her. Ding Linger is a businesswoman. She won't do anything without benefit. She must have gotten a lot from him. Humph. Benefit? If I didn't step in earlier, would you still have your life? Did I benefit at all? Saving me just means you're saving Li Yunchao. If I'm dead, he's a goner no matter how glorious his background is. You. Ha ha. Old fart, anything else to say? Saving you was no different from saving a dog. Lord Feiji, Ticket is giving me some face, would you? I may just be a girl in the auction, but I engage in frequent business dealings with the Zhou, Wang, Mo, and Chang families. Furthermore, there are people from my Tianyuan Commerce Guild all over the continent. Why not leave this issue here? So these two are from the Tianyuan Commerce Guild. The Tianyuan Commerce Guild is part of the board of directors of the Commerce Alliance. Their power influences the whole of Tianwu. Many large and small businesses across the Tianwu continent form the alliance. The Tianyuan Commerce Guild is one of the 13 directors, and the Thousand Treasures Tower is not only one of the seven permanent directors, but is also the leader of the whole organization. Today, the organization has expanded to a superpower in the Tianwu continent. No one dares to belittle it. Miss Linger, I'm not trying to embarrass you, but Brother Jia here represents us Dusk Flame Empire aristocrats. That brat killed his subordinate and chopped off five of his fingers. It's basically the same as being slapped in the face. How can we still have any dignity after that? How about this? I can't embarrass you either. As long as this brat kowtows ten times, trashes his dantian, chops off his arms, and saying words. What will happen to him? And kneels at the auction's entrance until it's over, I will spare him. What do you think? As long as this brat kowtows ten times, trashes his dantian, chops off his arms, and kneels at the auction's entrance until it's over, I will spare him. What do you think? You really are benevolent and kind. This brat is lucky to be able to get away with just this much punishment. How's that any different from killing him? Ha ha. It's been years since I've seen such a pretentious bastard. Since the rest of them are all dead. 
Looks like this brat doesn't appreciate my benevolence. Young Lady Linger, don't blame me for this. You're making life harder for yourself. Please make way so you don't accidentally get hurt too, Linger. Two martial kings and four martial lords. Chang Feiji, are you seriously trying to humiliate me? I did try to save you face, but you guys didn't accept it. I'm from a reputable family in the Dusk Flame Empire. If we just left like this, where would that leave our reputation? Since there's nowhere to leave it, just leave all of it under my feet. Cloud Piercing Arrows? You're from the Tianchue military? Did you think you could win if they sent over 10,000 soldiers? Ha ha ha. What a fucking idiot. Using the military against us? Ha ha. I can kill 10,000 regular soldiers without even breaking a sweat. Humph, these troublemakers from small countries are getting braver and braver, but they also keep getting stupider. Right. Let's crack his head open later. I bet it's nothing but shit in there. Ha ha ha. Chatter. Ha ha ha. TTH that's. What is that? Greetings, young Master Yun. All 2,330 members of Heaven's Core have assembled. Young Master Yun. The first unit of the State Guardians greets young Master Yun. Greetings, young Master Yun. How does a young lord in a small country have so many powerful subordinates? Just now, you said you were going to crack my head open, didn't you? I didn't. It wasn't me. It really wasn't me who said that. You were. Run. Young Lord Chang. Save me. You useless trash. Ugh. Everyone listen up. Kill all of them. Every last one. What? Kill them. What? That's absurd. Don't they know who we are? We're an esteemed noble family of the Dusk Flame Empire. Even the king of this country would have to be polite to us. Isn't he scared of getting his entire family killed? Is he an idiot? The two of you, come and greet me properly. We are both one star martial kings, but our opponent is an eight star martial king. He's crazy. This brat is really crazy. I am from the Chang family of the Dust Flame Empire's direct line. How dare you touch me? I want to meet the city lord. Let me meet the city lord. These maniacs, do they not care at all? Stop. Stop. Do you know what you're doing? He's a direct descendant of the Chang family, one of the four great noble families. Killing him would bring limitless disaster to the whole of Tianchui. Chang family? If they step out of line, I don't mind erasing them from the Dusk Flame Empire. Ah? Uh, erasing the Chang family? Who do you think you are? I'm not standing under anything, but I don't understand. Are you a sixth tier refiner or a seven constellations Rome martial emperor? Li Yunxiao. I'm sorry, I was wrong. Forgive me. Please spare our lives. I've wronged you. I'll never dare to do so again. P please don't kill me. I, I don't dare to wrong you anymore, Why, why, young Master Yun. Let them go, we can manage the situation here if you stop now. Yeah. If you stop now, the Tianyuan Commerce Guild will help to smooth things out. We'll be able to lessen the severity of the situation. Shut up. Wasn't being slapped in the face enough? Do you really think being in the Tianyuan Commerce Guild makes you a big shot? Only the Thousand Treasures Tower has caught my eye a bit. The rest are trash to me. Is the Tianyuan Commerce Guild really going to fall? Forgive us. I've cowed out. Forgive me. Disgusting. Just kill them. Yes, sir. 
Who dares to kill people in the Thousand Treasures auction? W.H. Watt? Marshal Grandmaster. I can't move or kill them now. Humph. Who dares? Thousand Treasures Tower Dusk Flame Empire Branch Elder Guardian Six Directions Realm Marshal Grandmaster Yin Chao Yang. I'm here and you still dare to make a move? It's Elder Yin. We're in massive trouble. While the Thousand Treasures auction is ongoing, acts of theft and murder are huge taboos. The Chang family can still be reasoned with, but breaking a rule of the auction is pretty much a death sentence. I'm saved. I'm saved. Ha ha. Save me. Save me, Elder Yin. I'm Cheng Feiji of the Cheng family. Those people are trying to assault. Me and public kill them. Ha ha. I'm saved. I've said so. If you can't save your face, then leave it under my feet. Was that all his doing? Such fierce means and sharp methods, is he really only 15 years old? Damn, damn you. Arrogant. Licentious. Unbridled. How dare you? How dare you think of the tower's rules as nothing? All of you must die. Elder Ean, hold on. Listen to me. No more talking. For those who break the rules set by the Thousand Treasures Tower, only death is a fitting punishment. Don't think your numbers can let you run around amok. No one is leaving. You can all die. That's definitely a martial grandmaster. The difference in power is astonishing. Are you Yin Chao Yang? How's you and Bo? Don't try to fool around. Don't think that knowing the name of our third elder gives you a free pass. Since you're a martial grandmaster, you must have the secret tool forged by the Thou San Treasures Tower themselves, the Spatial Communicator, correct? The Spatial Communicator is a secret tool developed by the Thousand Treasures Tower that allows messages to be sent over long distances. Through powerful means, one can use spatial formations to compress space on a part of the plate. When that compressed space is released, they can break through spatial limitations and transmit voices to the other side of the formation's appointed destination. A spatial communicator's value is very high, making it difficult to price. Plus, they are consumables. They will be destroyed after one use. So even in the inner circle of the Thousand Treasures Tower, only those who are martial grandmasters or above can have one. Who are you? How do you know of the spatial communicator? It is a top secret communication method. Those who aren't martial grandmasters wouldn't even know. Please convey a message to you and Bo just say, 20 years ago, outside Crimson Crescent City, an old friend on the Purple Cloud Peak misses him. A spatial communicator is very expensive to create. Besides, Elder Yu and Bo is a being that not even I can contact at any time. If I do contact him just for some random words, I might as well be done for. But if he really is an old friend of Elder Yuan, killing him will also be the death of me. Don't worry, just send the message. If Yuan Bo gets angry at you, you can express all your anger at me. What did Li Yunchao say? He made Ying Chaoyang calm down when I couldn't. Spatial Communication Send this message to the third elder. This is. After reincarnation, can old friends still recognize each other? Thousands of miles from Marshall Flame City. Third elder of the Thousand Treasures Tower Yuan Bo. Someone is sending the third elder a message at such a time? It has to be something very important. It's from Yin Chao Yang, who is currently in the Dusk Flame Empire to the south. The Dusk Flame Empire is just a small country in the Tian Wu continent. How important a matter can happen there. Even if the entire Thousand Treasures Tower was razed to the ground, it's not important enough to report directly to the Third Elder. 
Yin Chaoyang is my direct subordinate. How dare he report to my superior instead? What? Elder, what happened? Did something happen at our Dust Flame Empire branch? Ha 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 ha. I knew, Gu Feiyang, I knew you weren't dead. What did you and Bo say? The third elder told me to ask you something. A rainstorm rages in the dead of night, disturbing my rest. What is the sentence that follows? Ha! Even in my dreams, I see armored horses by the northern river. The elder guardian of the Thousand Treasures Towers Dust Flame Empire Branch greets, greets, the young lord. A martial grandmaster is paying his respects to young Master Yun? Get up! Just call me Young Master Yun. What did you and Bo say? The third elder said to just kill you and feed you to the dogs if you couldn't answer it. But, if you answered it correctly, I am to treat you like I would treat the elder himself. Ha ha ha. Everyone, just go back to what you were doing. It was a misunderstanding. We're on the same side. He must have done that. He must have given him information on that lord just now. Why else would a martial grandmaster suddenly bow down to him? Lord Gu Feiyang, when will I be able to meet you? You may all leave. Yes. I'm sorry for causing you trouble, Elder Ying. I broke the rules of the Thousand Treasures Tower, likely causing the Thousand Treasures Tower a whole lot of trouble. How should I make it up to you? Make it up to me? Don't these corpses do just that? This is what happens to people who break the Thousand Treasures Tower's rules by extorting, deceiving, and using their strength to pressure others. This is what happens to people who break the Thousand Treasures Tower's rules. This is what happens to people who offend an old friend of the Third Elder. How is he so good at sucking up to others? I feel threatened. For breaking the rules of the Thousand Treasures Tower, Xingyang Jie of the Xingyang family and Cheng Feiji of the Cheng family should die. Tidy up the corpses of the two of them and send them back to the Dusk Flame Empire. As for the rest, just drag them outside the city and burn them. Yes. The Thousand Treasures Tower's rules are as unbending as iron. There hasn't been an exception for hundreds of years. They wouldn't budge a single inch even against the Dusk Flame Empire's backer, the Heaven Gathering Sect. But now, he's blatantly bullshitting for Li Yunchao. Do you have any other orders, young Master Yun? If you need something, just tell me. Your orders are the Third Elder's orders. A peerless expert at the Martial Grand Master level is acting so humbly, I is this what a Martial Grand Master should be like? That's pretty much everything for now. Thanks, Elder Ying. Ha ha. Trivial matters. If I'm in need of help next time, I'll just come and look for you. Don't try to run away then. I wouldn't dare to. Young Master Yun, this is a gold VIP card for use in the Commerce Alliance. You can buy anything in the auctions for just 70% of their normal price. With your background, you should have a much better card. But I'm only a regional elder, so the highest I have is this. Thank you. This may be useful. No problem. I've established myself with him now. And to be able to make the third elder respect him, how many people like that exist? This teen may be very young, but he'll be an important and powerful person in the future. Flattering him should be the correct path now. When he does become someone powerful later on, I should at least be in his eyes. Right, does the Thousand Treasures Tower have any heavenly universe cleansing crystals or sulfuric haze? As long as it exists, the Thousand Treasures Tower will definitely have it. Even if the Dust Flames branch lacks it, we can just bring it over from the other branches. I'll get someone to check now. Young Master Yun, the Tianyuan Commerce Guild already has heavenly universe cleansing crystals and sulfuric haze in stock. I can ask someone to send them over now. Young Master Yun, our stocks will only be better than them in terms of quality. 
I'll send someone to find it now. I've just sent the order. My men are already on their way here with the goods. You. It's all right. I acknowledge your kindness. I'll just use Lady Ling's now. So there's a reason he's looking for Li Yunxiao. I thought we could have him in our grasp if we borrowed the influence and power of the Tian Yuan Commerce Guild. Now it seems like that won't be the case at all. Even the regional elder of the Thousand Treasures Tower is licking his boots. The Tian Yuan Commerce Guild is basically nothing to him. We searched the whole of Tianchui just to be unable to find those things, but now there are two world-famous commerce guilds trying to give it for free. Really? What did Yun Chao actually say to Yin Chao Yang? I need to question him later. Oh, right. Young Master Yun, this is the VIP badge for the Thousand Treasures auction. Don't forget to participate tomorrow. I'll ask someone to send the materials over once the list is set. Please. Thank you, Elder Ying. Marshall Flame City Meeting Hall. Just get to it straight away. I'm very busy. Our Tian Yuan Commerce Guild is facing some danger, so we're asking for your help. The reward will be satisfactory. Hmm. Is it time to hold the Commerce Alliance tandem event this year? Young Master Yun, you really are quite unique. You only lived in Tianchue, but you know of the tandem event. Then you should already know of the Tian Yuan Commerce Guild's unfortunate position. The Commerce Alliance tandem event refers to the Martial Arts event and the Refining Arts event. Tests are held to determine the skills of each Commerce Guild's members and to distribute power and authority to them. Those who want to enter the test must be a member of any Commerce Guild and age 30 or younger. It's done to make sure they can somewhat predict a Commerce Guild's future potential. Every event there's always one or two changes within the seven main management members. The other 20 members experience even more drastic changes. This time, the Tian Yuan Commerce Guild is ranked third to last within those 20 in terms of potential and power. We've become a glaring target for rising Commerce Guilds now. So my father, the Tian Yuan Commerce Guild chairman, Ding Shan, has been trying his hardest to recruit young talents from across the world. Hmm, I'm not part of your Commerce Guild. So how would I help? That's not a problem. We can just give you a random identity. There's still half a year before it starts. It's taking place in Song Moon Rai City. Song Moon Rai City? The main city of commerce in Tianwu. All right, I'll help you. But you'll have to pay up first. I can't wait for half a year. Pay first? How do we know that you won't play us half a year later? Or will you even be alive then? He he. Mr. Yu thinks that I would definitely be dead after angering the Xingyang family and the Chang family, right? Please see yourselves out. Young Master Yun, don't listen to old you ramble. If even the Thousand Treasures Tower is careful around you, what can those two families do? I'm just inquiring about your reward. Floating battleships. Fifty of them. What? Do you think floating battleships are cheap? Old you. Fifty. Even the lowest tier ones are at least fourth tier. Do you know how much fifty of them will cost? You're the ones begging me, not vice versa. I'm slightly annoyed. I'll raise the price to a hundred ships. If you can't pay, scram. You. Young Master Yun, if you can make sure that we win the tandem event, I'll pay you the fifty you want. I can get you first place for the tandem event and let you guys be one of the seven main management guilds. First place? But my price is a hundred now. Not fifty. Are you telling the truth? Are you sure you can win? Humph. In half a year, I'll be a four quadrants realm martial lord and also be a peak fourth tier refiner as well. My question is, would there be more than seven young talents that can beat me? If that's so, then becoming a main management member would be possible. It's just, how can you make sure of it? If I can't get you to be a main management member, whatever I request today, I'll pay you back tenfold. 
everyone who was demoted from a management position in the past got completely taken over by other commerce guilds in a few years and disappeared from the face of Tianwu. The Tianyuan Commerce Guild would have nowhere to go, so I have to bet on this. A hundred fourth tier refinement products is a ridiculous number, but looking at the danger the guild is facing, money doesn't even matter. All right, I'm betting on this. I just need some time to buy and collect the hundred ships you want. I don't have time for that. How many do you have right now? About 30. We also have three fifth tier Tiger King battleships. Oh, those three Tiger Kings can replace 30 of the Green Wolf ones. Just fill in the rest with fourth tier materials or Xian weapons then. Lady, I'm at fault here. I've made the guild pay double. It's fine. If we can survive this, these things won't even matter anymore. Giving Yunxiao more is good as well. It'd be beneficial for us to get on his good side. But he said that he'd be a martial lord and a fourth tier refiner in half a year. Isn't that going too far? I think he's too pompous. He's unreliable. You personally investigated Li Yunxiao. You also told me that he became a four-star martial master from a martial arts trash in mere months. What's even crazier is that he's also a third-tier refiner. At that speed, it wouldn't be too long before we see him become a martial lord and a fourth-tier refiner. But, even if the investigation results say so, it's all still very hard to believe. It's fine even if he doesn't reach those goals. In the whole Commerce Alliance, how many under-30s are at least a third-tier refiner? As long as he can compete with his abilities as a refiner, he'll be fine. As for Martial's Arts, just half a year is enough for me to become a Five Elements Realm Martial King. It was that simple? You made a deal for 104th tier equipment that easily? Young Master Yun, I'm not dreaming, right? Marshall Flame City Meeting Hall Humph, now isn't the time to dream. Seems like the Tianyuan Commerce Guild really is in a pickle. They wouldn't have agreed so easily otherwise. Although, if I weren't pressured by circumstances, I wouldn't have put such a price either. Is it about the Xingyang and Cheng families? The Xingyang family is easy to deal with, but the Cheng family has been a major power in the Dusk Flame Empire for over a thousand years. Their heritage is long and mysterious. Even if you used the whole of Tianxue, it'd be difficult to fight them. They won't just stand and take it either, so we need to make preparations soon. You don't need to worry too much. I have some tricks up my sleeve. Hopefully, but I'm here whenever you need me. It's a shame that I've never been able to be clear of this injury, so I couldn't improve myself further. I might not be of use to you much in the future. Ha <laughs> ha. You don't need to beat yourself up over that, Ching Wang. In one month, I'll not only clear you of your injury, I'll also make you ascend to a Six Directions Realm Martial Grand Master. A Martial Grand Master? Really? How? How? Trust me. You'll see when it's time. We need to send this badge to Zhang Qing Fan as soon as possible. Okay, I'll head over now. Oh, really can't imagine. What's that place? The highest mountain over there is called Chiyun Peak. The whole range is named after it, Chiyun Range. Many monsters roam about there. Even hunters and farmers only dare to move around the edges of it. There are monsters? Then, do you know if there are any noble family members in those mountains? I'm not sure, but there were a lot of rumors regarding meeting someone famous there. Since there are monsters, there's a high probability that there are experts there. Looking at the density of the soul power, they don't seem to be too powerful. Let's borrow that energy. It's mine now. The noble families get targeted by Yun Chao. Is it fortune or misfortune? Borrow soul power? How are you going to borrow soul power, and will you return it? Take the 2,000 members of Heaven's Core and set up these three arrays below Martial Flame City as soon as possible. The Nine Dragon Soul Absorption Array. The Taishu Heaven's Capital Array. The Great Sun Golden Sword Array. 
W.H. What are these arrays? I've never heard of them before. The Nine Dragon Soul Absorption Array can collect soul power from all directions and pour it into Marshall Flame City, but there aren't any soul mountains or treasure troves near us. The Chiyun Mountain Range is the only place with soul power nearby. So, I modified the array slightly so that it will absorb soul power from the Chiyun Mountain Range with its full force when activated. Both the Taishu Heavens Capital Array and the Great Sun Golden Sword Array are part of the Grand Mountain Guardian Formation. One is for attack and one is for defense. The Grand Mountain Guardian Formation? That's something only those legendary noble families of unparalleled strength have. This, the Heaven Gathering Sect, is probably the only one who has something like this in the whole of the Dusk Flame Empire. But Young Master Yun pulled out two of them at once. Young Master Yun, I, I am just a mere second tier refiner. See, can I really set up something like this? Each major array in the complete formation has 3,060 inhibitions and 108 different forms. Even if you had the ability to set it up, it consumes primordial stones at an astronomical rate. Thus, I simplified it a lot so it only has simple attack and defense functions. But even that will be very helpful. From now on, you can use my primordial stones however you like. If you need more, feel free to ask me. Go to the Thousand Treasures auction and exchange these items for primordial stones. Oh heavens! Young Master Yun even knows a formation that can kill a martial emperor? I have to set up this simplified array perfectly oh my god, I've managed the finances of the most prosperous city in Tianxue for many years, yet I've never seen so many gold coins before. So he will have a better opinion of me and teach me more. What the hell did Prince Wuching do in the past? He's just casually handing me such a huge sum to manage. I must prove that he didn't misjudge me. I must never betray his trust. City Lord's Residence Yun Yun Just now, the Tianyuan Commerce Guild sent over heavenly universe cleansing crystals, sulfuric haze, and other fourth tier pills and Xian weapons. The Thousand Treasures Tower has also sent over the list of items that will be auctioned. Ah, that's convenient. I needed a chamberlain to take care of the daily affairs in the residence. I'll leave that to you, Ming Wu. Ah, chamberlain? Me? In a no, how could I? Such an important. It's fine. If I say you can do it, you can. However, taking care of the daily affairs isn't that important. The top priority is to cultivate. Just assign the small things to your subordinates. You only have to do the important things personally. All right, I'm busy, so I'll return to my room first. Chamberlain. Isn't that just taking care of his daily life? Ah, uh, could it be, is he interested in me? It can't be, only a worldly beauty or someone with a noble status, like Teacher Luo Yunchang and Princess Qin Rishue, is worthy of young Master Yun. What am I? Yeah, but it's definitely possible. Didn't he touch me like that back then? Oh, damn it, what if he wants me to serve him in bed? I'll have to go along with his wishes. What else can I do? Go along with his wishes? Who? Sis? Sis, why is your face burning up? You're getting fevers pretty often these days. Bedchamber Hee hee. It's a four quadrancy fruit. If I didn't have the creation link technique, my body wouldn't be able to withstand it. Creation link. Huff. I'm so full. How great would it be if I could eat a fruit every day? What a shame. It's a bloodstriped tiger that was about to evolve into a tiger king. If it had eaten the four quadrants of fruit, it would have evolved immediately. No wonder it fought for the fruit with its life on the line. Never mind. With the two tusks of this tiger and its blood, I will be able to form my sword. He, the phoenix's flame really is a divine item. 
Even its shadow is so powerful. The incomplete third-tier sword couldn't resist at all. It was immediately forced into submission. With the tiger blood as a catalyst, it's easier to refine the tusks. Go, tiger blood. Go, tiger tusks. Condense. Divine flames, refine it. Damn. That emptied out my Yuan Chi in an instant. Seriously? Thunderbolts will be summoned whenever I refine? The Phoenix's divine flames are too overpowered. Ugh. How can those be considered thunderbolts? But after being struck by those thin thunderbolts, the energy on the sword is much stronger. I'm so tired. Since it is like a fierce tiger. I'll call you Tiger Tusk Sword. The Thousand Treasures Tower set up an impressive auction site in the largest square in Marshall Flame City. This auction is attended by those of high status or titles, with the second floor lined with rooms for esteemed guests. Auction Square Backyard in Chaoyang, I don't care what reason you have, but I won't accept this. The rules of Thousand Treasures Tower are concrete. No one is to disobey them. Thousand Treasures Tower Elder Guardian Gone Dimming Is it because I'm an Elder Guardian of the Dust Flame Empire's branch that I'm not allowed to participate in the auction? Thousand Treasures Tower Elder Guardian Yin Chao Yang You do have the qualifications to, but all items are to be submitted before the list of auction items is published. All of the information on the auction has already been sent across the continent. What would they think of us if we're to add new items now? This isn't the first time we've added something at the last minute, right? I remember that a descendant of yours once brought in a fifth-tier refinement item, and we put it in the auction regardless. Of course. It's a fifth-tier item. You're right. You don't even know what you're submitting, and yet you want to barge in like this. If it's only a first- or second-tier item, you'd become a laughingstock. What would become of the Thousand Treasures Tower? Thousand Treasures Tower Dusk Flame Empire Branch Master Su Zizhua. The item is definitely of a high quality. If there's anything wrong, I'll bear the consequences alone. Ha ha. You, alone? Can you really bear them? I will report this matter, as well as the matter where death was involved a few days ago in the auction, to Lord Yu Hang himself. Let's see how you bear it then. Treat him as if it were me. Humph, up to you. If Lord Sia Yu Hang does ask, I'll explain myself. As for you, you don't deserve to know. Branch Master, you saw everything yourself. Yin Chaoyang was basically acting as if the rules were nothing. I must report to Lord Yu Hang this time. Elder gone, what do you think of Yin Chaoyang? Humph. He's selfish, greedy, and narrow-minded. He has nothing good other than his martial cultivation. But such a person is risking being disciplined by Lord Xie Yu Hang just to carry out this auction. Why do you think that is? Well, yeah, why? And do you know of the people who died in the previous incident? No, who are they? The Xingyang family's sole heir, Xingyang Jie, and the Chang family's eldest young heir, Chang Feiji, along with two martial kings, five martial lords, and about 30 more warriors with lower cultivation. What? Who did that? I thought it was just some rat scurrying around since Yin Chaoyang dealt with the situation discreetly. Now that this has happened, does this mean we've made an enemy for the Thousand Treasures Tower? I'm not sure they'd be our enemy, since we weren't the ones to make the kill. But what I'm curious about is why such a selfish person would risk so much just for the city lord of Marshall Flame City. Marshall Flame City Lord? He's the one who killed them? But why Xingyang Jie and Cheng Feiji? Isn't he just courting death? What in the world is Yin Chaoyang thinking? We're missing something, and Yin Chaoyang definitely already has that information. And that information alone is enough reason for him to protect the Marshall Flame City Lord, even if it angers the Xingyang family and the Chang family. Enough for him to risk getting disciplined by Lord Xie Yu Hang to try to auction something he himself doesn't even know. Judging by his character, he would never do such a thing unless he had full confidence in it. 
Well, do you mean that the one trying to force something into the auction is that city lord? There's no way that a small country city lord can have such significance. Even if he's their emperor, it wouldn't be enough to make Yin Chaoyang protect him. What exactly is that information? I'm not sure either. But it definitely has something to do with the city lord. Just let him do whatever he wants for now. I'm interested to see what the Marshall Flame City Lord wants to auction off. But if it's just something simple, it'll just make people laugh at us. Didn't Yin Chaoyang already say he'll bear the consequences? I can't wait for something to actually happen. Let's see what's making him so brave. The auction started on time. Welcome everyone to the annual Thousand Treasures Tower Auction. I, Su Zizhua, thank everyone for your sincere care for the Thousand Treasures Tower in the past year. We've progressed much because of all of you. First, we welcome our main auctioneer, Mr. Mei. Yin Chaoyang and the Martial Flame City Lord are in the fifth guest room. Next to them is the room for the Dust Flame Empire's royalty. To Yin Chaoyang, that City Lord's status is comparable to the royalties. Welcome, Mr. Mei. Young Master Yun, it's starting. Senior Mei? From the Mei family? The Thousand Treasures Tower definitely has power. They even managed to invite someone from the Mei family to a branch auction. The previous auctions have always been held by Mr. Mei. Your item's already in the list. I'm just wondering about its contents. Thank you for your help. You'll see when it's time. With Mr. May here, I don't have to worry that they won't recognize it for what it's worth. Master, is Mr. May someone famous? I don't know this Mr. May, but everyone who comes out from the May family is called Mr. May. I only know that their master is called May Yixian. People of the May family have a weird quirk. They are able to sense treasures and precious items. So any auction that has any fame will always be directed by a Mr. May because after examining the items, they will always give the fairest prices. Really? Do they have some sort of hereditary skill that allows them to appraise items? Probably. The May family bloodline allows them to appraise items, so they probably added some techniques to refine that ability to get the effects we see today. The May family has always been very secretive. Not even I knew of their names. Li Yunxiao actually just said it out loud, my god, he's only 15. How's that possible? The first item is a 4th tier 1 Yuan purple soul pill. It can stabilize one's foundations and protect one's mind, increasing one's efficiency during training and breakthroughs. It's one of the most valuable pills among ST the 4th tier pills. 1 Yuan purple soul pill. It's mine. How much is it? I must buy it. Elder Yin, does the Chang family or the Xinyang family have any representatives in the auction? No, the Xinyang family never had a guest room in the first place. The Chang family left a room since they had a family member die, so I just gave it to you. These guest rooms are definitely special. I can feel strong power from each of them. No random elite can match up to these. I wonder if any of them are from the Zhou family. Zhou Yushan. The third room from the left, room number three. He he. Congratulations to number 133 for winning the bid on the first item. We're starting today off on a high note. The next item to join the auction is a third tier soul rendering cleaver. Made from the hands of Master Luo Tian. What? A soul rendering cleaver from Master Luo Tian? The path of a refiner is difficult and tedious. This item may only be third tier, but one can delve into the refinement processes Master Luo Tian used on this weapon. Oh? Luo Tian stuff? Stuff from Luo Tian's early years aren't really worth looking at. Which legend was Luo Tian again? It's just a third tier. Master can refine them as well. Master Luo Tian is one of the elders of the Alchemist Association headquarters. As a ninth tier sovereign class refiner, his fame has spread across the world. Ninth tier sovereign class? Isn't he a godlike existence? That lord is also a godlike existence of a refiner as well. 8,000 mid tier primordial stones. 
Sold. The current Luo Tian could probably refine a hundred such crappy third-tier weapons in a day. Doesn't that mean you could earn 800,000 mid-tier primordial stones every day? Maybe we should capture him and make him refine stuff. We'd be even richer. Young Master Yun, don't joke about things like that. If things got out, we'd face a death sentence. The next item is a fifth-tier purple tripod named Five-Line Tripod. It isn't just a normal refinement tripod, but one that completely captures the essence of martial arts in the five elements realm. Even if a fourth-tier refiner used this tripod, they would still be able to use the power from the five elements realm. Even if one can't become a fifth-tier refiner, they can still refine something better than a fourth-tier. And what makes this tripod more valuable is that this was created by the late ninth-tier sovereign class refiner lord Gu Feiyang himself. A faded reunion. Who will have the tripod? That thing belonged to Lord Gu Feiyang? What? The full extent of the Five Elements Realm? Isn't that Five Elements Realm cultivation essence? My God. If I were to study it, I would become a peak martial king instantly. This isn't, this isn't just a wisp of a martial art realm, but a conveying of martial intent. Of course, this isn't just any refining tripod. It's a fifth tier item itself. It has insane potential on its own. That's right. This five line tripod is one of the most valuable items to be sold at this auction. It's very difficult to set a price, so there won't be a base price. Everyone can bid at any price. A fifth tier purple tripod with cultivation essence of the five elements realm, my god. How can something so groundbreaking exist? Humph. What would you know? Did you forget that Gu Feiyang was a peak Nine Heavens Realm Martial Sovereign, the Military Breaker? Forget the Five Elements Realm Cultivation Essence, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a wisp of the Nine Heavens Realm on it. That thing belongs to that Lord? Elder Ying, do you want to participate in this bid as well? I can sense that you're pretty nervous, even your palms are sweating. I don't need to understand the five elements realm, since I've already become a martial grand master, but that thing is still a fifth tier Xian weapon, and one that's of the highest caliber. The Thousand Treasures Tower is wealthy, but this kind of high quality Xian weapon is still an uncommon sight. So that's how it is. Li Yunxiao is only 15 years old, but why is he able to read my every movement or thought? 8,000 Middle Tier Primordial Stones 9,000 Middle Tier Primordial Stones Young Master Yun, are you perhaps interested in that tripod? Yeah, that five-line tripod is something I must obtain. 10,000 Middle Tier Primordial Stones You want to buy that with just 10,000? Go home, you broke rats. 50,000 Middle Tier Primordial Stones You think you're rich with 50,000? Get lost with your middle tier stones. A thousand high tier primordial stones. Fuck off. Three thousand. That high already? Four thousand high tiers. Five thousand high tiers. Number four. Guest room four has stated their price. What? Ten thousand primordial stones? What the hell? Did I hear that right? 10,000 high tier stones is worth a million middle tiers. Which loser made that shush? Quiet down, didn't you hear it was from the middle guest room? That's where the royalties from the Dusk Flame Empire are staying. My god, even the royalties are bidding? There's no point in bidding, then. Who else has more money than them? Everyone, be quiet. 10,000 high tier primordial stones, going once. 12,000. Not even all my assets combined are worth 12,000, humph. But if I don't fight for it now, it'll be hard to take it back if it lands in the hands of the Dust Flame Empire's royalties. Master is so rich. What? 12,000. Guest room 5 bid that price. Who's in that room? Number 5 has joined the fray. 
Ha ha, now things are getting interesting. Who the hell knows? But to be able to have a guest room, they must be gentlefolk with millennia of history. We don't have any part in this anymore, let them bid. Best if they bleed dry. Dusk Flame Empire Guest Room Whoa! Uncle Yu, who's next door? Dusk Flame Empire Court Prince Xian Ruyu Your Highness, it might be the Chang family. But my Universal Detect is being blocked off by one of their more powerful people. They're at the very least a fourth tier refiner. Yu Jiolin The Chang family? Didn't we get news that someone from the Chang family got killed in the Thousand Treasures Tower? Well, no outside party saw it with their own eyes, and we can easily count those who dare to kill people from the Chang family. Even so, not many would want to face the wrath of the Chang family. My guess is that they didn't die, but were just heavily injured. I can't believe there's a fourth tier refiner in the area. They're probably the Chang family all right. Let's raise it a few more times. That tripod is good, but it's already overpriced. Yes, sir. 15,000 high-tier primordial stones. Whoa. It's number four again. Bidding 15,000. They raised it by 3,000? We're talking high-tier stones here. Big money. This is intense. Things are looking interesting. If I knew how expensive these things were, I would have refined more of them to sell. 15,000 high-tier primordial stones, going once. 15,000 high-tier primordial stones, going twice. 18,000. The Zhou family? Why do they want that five-line tripod? I think I know. Zhou Yushan has improved his cultivation recently. Seems like that improvement is way greater than I thought. Is he going to use the tripod to become a martial king? Your Highness, you may be right. There might just be that possibility. Obtain that tripod, study the cultivation essence in it thoroughly, and he'll have a high chance of becoming a martial king. It is the cultivation essence Gu Feiyang left behind, after all. Yeah, if Zhou Yushan can become a martial king, it'll be a great addition to the Empire's strength. I'll give this tripod to them. 18,000 high-tier primordial stones, going once, raising bid to that price, the Thousand Treasures Tower got us. Joe Family Guest Room 18,000 primordial stones, going twice, I didn't think we'd bid such an extraordinary price. But God be with us, we must bring this five-line tripod back, no matter the cost. Dusk Flame Empire for Great Families Joe Family Marshal King Peng Cheng Wen we're lucky the royalties were the ones bidding against us. My father would have disciplined me for that kind of price otherwise. Dusk Flame Empire for Great Families Zhou Family Great Martial Master Zhou Chuan If it wasn't for Lord Yushan getting such a massive cultivation improvement, we wouldn't have needed this five-line tripod for its cultivation essence and lost so much. Dusk Flame Empire for Great Families Zhou Family Martial King Shirongda 18,000 high-tier primordial stones, sold. Phew. Our family finally got it. Wow. The Zhou family actually bought it. That's really amazing. The Zhou family is his nemesis right now. What is he laughing so happily for? Young Master Yun, are you close with the people of the Zhou family? Not really, we only met once. It's better that they won the bid. I can borrow it from them now. Yup. Is he already trying to rob it from them? From one of the four great families of the Dusk Flame Empire? We just killed the Chang family member, and now we're going to rob the Zhou family, and you doing the robbing means there will be killing, right? Can we really take all the money? Borrow? You might be a big name, but I don't think they would be willing to lend you such a treasure. Oh, right. The item you put up for auction is about to come up. Borrow, my ass. I see. Jade letters? Are you? I should put more stuff up for auction, or I won't be able to afford the treasures that come out later. Take this. Is he going to put the jade letters up for auction? 
Although jade letters can be used to record information that contain the laws of heaven and earth, such information is very expensive. Li Yunxiao is a third tier refiner, so there's no way the letters contain anything above fourth tier. And about to be done for? I'm done. It's over for me. Next up, we have an auction item that was submitted a bit late. Since it was added late, I'm not precisely sure what the auction items are, but it seems to be some kind of technique. They were recorded in jade letters, so they should be high class techniques. High class, my ass. Information from a third tier refiner C of consciousness can be greater than fourth tier. Senior May. Huh? That's it. I'm so done for. Senior May. What happened? Is there something wrong with these jade letters? What happened? Is the information even below third tier? Did he get so angry he vomited blood? The information recorded in this jade letter is above sixth tier. My power is lacking. I tried to appraise it by force, but received backlash instead. I'm ashamed of myself. If I knew that there would be an item over sixth tier, I wouldn't have dared to conduct this auction here. I'm sorry, but you will have to invite an expert from the May family to assess the value of these jade letters. I'm very ashamed of myself. I hope you will forgive me. What? Something greater than sixth tier? A seventh tier item? Seventh tier? Are you kidding? The seventh tier innately contains the laws of heaven and earth. All seventh tier objects are priceless treasures. Who would be stupid enough to auction something like that off? Didn't you see the auctioneer suffer an internal injury? Don't you believe the May family's judgment? Seventh tier? How am I supposed to believe that? Senior May, are you certain that this contains seventh tier information? I'm not sure if it is seventh tier or not, since I wasn't able to successfully appraise it, but I can be certain that it is over sixth tier. My appraisal abilities have never failed on an item sixth tier or below. Elder Gone, raise all defensive measures to special class. The seventh tier treasures instantly caused a commotion. Yes. Everyone present is to stay put. No one is allowed to enter or leave either. Everyone, please retract all of your energy. Releasing your energy will be seen as a provocation. Anyone who disobeys will be killed on the spot. Esteemed guests on the second floor, please help the Thousand Treasures Tower maintain order. I hope that you will be willing to help us out if someone whom the Thousand Treasures Tower can't deal with acts out. It's unbelievable that a 7th tier item would appear in such a small place. I need to prepare for the worst. Master Su, don't worry. If anyone dares to act out, the Dusk Flame Empire's Xian family will not turn a blind eye to it. The Xian family. As I thought, they are nobility. Young lady, what exactly are these three jade letters? Why don't you introduce them instead? Huh? Someone is using sound transmission. It's from the fourth tier refiner next door. Is the Chang family the one who put these three jade letters up for auction? How is that possible? Our guess must have been wrong. The people the Chang family sent might really have died a few days ago. Then who could it be? I have a guess, but let's just wait and see. Seventh tier items are rare even in the Imperial Palace. We can't miss this opportunity. MHM Young Master Yun said that these three jade letters are the recipe for the seventh tiered Lesser Sun Yuan pill, the refinement method for the Five Mountain Dawn gown, and the design for the seventh tier Ashen Wolf sword. TH the Lesser Sun Yuan pill? It was really a seventh tier item. It contains the recipe for the Lesser Sun Yuan pill? You're not lying? Young Master Yun told me that. Of course it's true. Did I hear that wrong? Oh my god. They're really 7th tier items. S7th tier. I never expected. I knew it. 
The one beside us is the Martial Flame City Lord, the one who killed Cheng Feiji, and the one whom Emperor Qin Yu recently gave the title of Prince Wuching to, Li Yunqiao. Li Yunqiao? I've never heard you speak about him before. How could a city lord in a small country have seventh-tier items? I only took notice of Li Yunqiao after he killed Cheng Feiji. When I get back, I need to look into him. Young lady, I advise you to auction these three jade letters off separately. If not, they will be way too expensive for most people to afford, and you will not be able to sell them for a good price. Stay calm. I have to stay calm. I will listen to your advice, Senior May. I'm sure you have all heard. These are all seventh-tier jade letters. This young lady will explain the effects of these three items. I'm really going to go broke this time. But, no matter the price, I have to get the recipe for the Lesser Sun Yuan pill. The three jade letters are about to cause a ferocious bidding war. The Lesser Sun Yuan pill is a seventh-tier pill. It can allow males to recover their original pure young form, the body of a boy. The Five Mountain Dawn Gown is a seventh-tier battle gown. It can negate all attacks below the Martial Supreme level. If activated, it can even kill a Martial Supreme. Whoa! What kind of concept is this? A Martial Supreme is a being that can protect an entire country and is like a god. But they can be killed by activating a sword formation? A battle gown can block all attacks below the Martial Supreme realm? So the first one, the recipe for the Lesser Sun Yuan pill, is the useless one. Recover my original pure young form, get the body of a boy. What the hell would I use that for? Even if we recovered it, we'd revert to our current forms the same night. You idiots. Recovering the pure young form is basically like a rebirth for some cultivators. There are some special techniques that require the pure young form in order to complete. These plebeians don't know anything about alchemy. Someone who is able to refine a 7th tier battle gown has to be at least a Martial Supreme. They would already be able to negate attacks below the Martial Supreme level. The Ashen Wolf Sword is certainly abnormal, but a 7th tier sword formation can only be controlled by someone with the abilities of a Martial Supreme. These clueless idiots are dreaming about what they can do with these godly items, but they didn't even consider what level they were at. After a fierce and cruel battle, the three jade letters were auctioned off for the ridiculous price of 22,000 high-tier primordial stones in total. Su Zizhua obtained the recipe for the Lesser Sun Yuan pill, as he wished. Xian Ryu bought the Five Mountain Dawn gown, while someone from another VIP room on the second floor won the auction for the jade letter with the Ashen Wolf Sword. I really should sell more of these. I became so rich after that. My drowsiness evaporated the moment you said that. I hear something important. How much does this brat have in his head? Does he have more 7th tier treasures? A 3rd tier refiner condensing a 7th tier item with his mind already breaks all the boundaries of common sense. As I thought, this brat's master is on the same level as Elder Yuen Bo what a demon. Backstage, after the auction halt all investigations of Li Yunqiao immediately. Why? What happened today makes him even more suspicious. Shouldn't we put more manpower into the investigation? You fool. He is someone who can put 7th tier recipes up for sale without much thought. How powerful a force is he backed by? Besides, look at Yin Chaoyang following him. If our investigation enrages him, the consequences won't be something we can bear. Humph. That bootlicker. In conclusion, we will neither help nor harm Li Yunqiao. Remain neutral. Even if we can't get anything from him, we shouldn't bring disaster upon ourselves. It might not be good to be as attentive as Yin Chaoyang. I will leave the Dust Flame Empire for a few days. Please take care of the matters here. He's probably going to get someone to help him refine the pills, understood. That auction insert was really the most interesting one I've ever seen. Now, back to the original auction items. The next item is a fourth tier array device. Although this array device is only fourth tier, it contains many extremely rare soul training arrays. 
they can bless the sole power of refiners. Furthermore, its effective range is one kilometer. Only those great legendary refiners can refine something that can bless sole power. Any refiner would want to fight for this with all they have. It's a shame that after buying the lesser Sun Yuan pill, I don't have enough assets. All array devices that can bless soul power were left behind by ancient powers. Not even I can refine something like that. They are extremely rare. You are so awesome, but not even you can refine that? Then it must be something amazing. 5,000 high-tier primordial stones. This array device is my primary goal in this auction. I auctioned off the three jade letters in order to get enough primordial stones to buy this. Whoa! 5,000 high-tier primordial stones from the get-go. That's 500,000 middle-tier primordial stones. Big shots really have deep pockets. 6,000 high-tier primordial stones. Ho-ho! 10,000. T-10,000. Did I hear that right? Forget it. Let's give up. Damn. 10,000. They're seriously not even giving us a chance. 10,000 high-tier primordial stones, going once, 12,000. Crown Prince, why do you want this? And isn't the price of 12,000 too? I was just playing around. I want to test the guy next door. I want to see how high a price he can pay. Only the Xion family can play around with 10,000 primordial stones. What the hell? 15,000. Ha ha. It's getting interesting now. Someone's fighting the Imperial family, haha. Ha. Right. It's really hard to guess who will come out victorious. The Imperial family is definitely richer, but the question is, will they spend so much to buy an array device? I think the Imperial family will win this. They have more money, and they need to save face. That might not be the case. The mysterious guy in that room can even bring out 7th tier recipes. They aren't some common folk. 16,000. 17,000. 18,000. 20,000. Oh! Crown Prince, stop playing around. If you keep at this, we will suffer great losses. Ugh. 20,000 high tier primordial stones, going once. Since you say so, Uncle Yu, I'll let him off. You call this letting him off? You basically made him pay 10,000 more. He must hate your guts. 20,000 high-tier primordial stones, going twice. 20,000 high-tier primordial stones, sold. The Dusk Flame Empire's Xian family, I will make you pay for the 10,000 high tie. Primordial stones a hundred or even a thousand times over. Ming Wu, I still have something I need you to help me with. This brat is really fearless. He seriously dares to say anything. Yes, yes. Thank you for your help this time, Elder Ain. I'll invite you over for tea at a later date. Huh? The auction hasn't ended yet. You're leaving now? Yeah. I've already gotten what I wanted. Goodbye. Master. Where did you send my sister? There are some things I've tasked her with doing. We left early in order to make preparations. Preparations? You aren't going to rob the Xian family, are you? Are you crazy? Nope, we'll deal with the Xian family later. Ha, huh, what a relief, but I have to get the Zhou family's five-line tripod. A high-end player only needs to use the most direct way of getting rich. I've just checked with Universal Detect. The Zhou family only sent three people over. Two seven-star martial kings and one-star great martial master. They don't have many people, but they're far more powerful than us. We'll need to plan this well to succeed. You're really playing with lives. Two seven-star martial kings. We might have had a chance if Li Chunyang and the mystic cloud-shaking thunder beast were here, but now what? Xiao Qing Wang, if you were to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of them, how long would it take to kill them? They may be seven-star martial kings, but we don't know their battle power. If we take him as an average seven-star, it'll take me at least fifteen minutes to kill him. 
If he tries to flee, I might not be able to kill him at all. I'll give you a strengthened version of an origin blasting pill later. It'll allow you to become a peak martial king for a short time. Don't consume it if you can finish one off in 15 minutes. Since your body isn't fully recovered, I'm afraid there might be side effects. As for the other martial king, I'll find a way to keep him busy in that time. We can just ignore the great martial master. Keep him busy for 15 minutes? With just the three of you? We're talking about a seven-star martial king here. It's not going to be easy for you masters and lords to trap him. So I'll have to leave the auction early, then set up a trap for them on the path back to the Dust Flame Empire. Ching Wan will play the key role in this ambush. I won't have any problems trapping the other Martial King for the 15 minutes, but I can't do it for much longer. You must finish him off in that time. With an origin blasting pill in my pocket, consider it done. That's good. Since the Zhou family bought the tripod for such a high price, they must have a really good use for it. Once the auction is over, they'll rush back to the Empire. Let's go set up the trap now. And that concludes today's auction. Please stay for a moment. This lady here has a few words. My lord is the Marshal Flame City Lord, Li Yunchao. He wants me to convey a few things. What? The person backing the girl is the Marshal Flame City City Lord? No way. How does a small country city lord have such a background? Is she joking? Should we even listen? Young Master Yun said he has just become a city lord, so he wants to expand the city, and he's enlisting the help from anyone. So today, we're announcing a special enlistment. The rewards are as follows, any three powers realm great martial masters or above who want to join Martial Flame City will receive one second tier Xian weapon, any ten second tier pills, and a hundred high tier primordial stones. Any four quadrants realm martial lords or above who join will receive one third tier Xian weapon, any ten third tier pills, and a thousand high tier primordial stones. Any five elements realm martial kings or above that join will receive one fourth tier Xian weapon, any ten fourth tier pills, and ten thousand high tier primordial stones. If anyone higher than the five elements realm wishes to join, they may look for young master Yun directly. We'll definitely find a favorable reward. To all those that join, any primordial stones, pills, Xian weapons, or other resources that you may need from now on, we'll provide it all, without limitations. But to those who take without giving, your downfall will be imminent. What? That kind of treatment? Where did the Marshall Flame City get all these resources from? My God. Is that real? What kind of thought process is that? It's probably real? During the auction, the deals were really crazy. They've even thought of people stronger than martial kings. It's like they're going to found a new martial sect. I don't think even the whole of Tianxue can bring that kind of reward. Those terms are alluring for any martial artist. Many martial artists follow refiners just to obtain Xian weapons and pills. Even if you follow them like loyal dogs, they may not give you anything. As for the martial flame city, you'll get something just by signing up. This is insanity. Is the Martial Flame City trying to create a new sect? But with that kind of enlistment method, it's near impossible to do so. Haha, <laughs> it's not that. Give or take three days, the Xingyang family and the Chang family will be looking for him, so he's just gathering some fluff. Once they die, he won't need to pay as much. Although, I'm interested in meeting the city lord now. Ah, little girl, if I want to join, where do I go? Just sign up at the Marshall Flame City Lord's residence tomorrow. Haha, <laughs> I'll be the first one there. Even if I won't sign up, I'll take a look anyways. Isn't the Marshall Flame City City Lord the same person that has a set battle against our young lord? Li Yunxiao? I heard about it too. I think it was during the change in reign in Tianxue that he embarrassed our young lord in front of everyone. I heard that he was only a martial master as well. A martial master wants to battle Lord Yushan? Keep dreaming. I think he's trying to play it off by enlisting a lot of martial fighters. 
He's probably recruiting more people because he is scared of us, the Zhou family. Humph, rabbles. Once the young lord ascends to a martial king, he'll look for that person himself. Let's delay no more and get back now. The young lord is still waiting for us to study the tripod. Guys, look. What's going on? What is it? This is. Why are there such tall mountains here? What is this place? Zhou Chuan, did you go the wrong way? No, definitely not. It was this path, and there were no mountains. Do you mean that, in the past few days, a mountain just appeared? Those powers to move mountains and oceans are just sayings from old legends. How can there be that kind of stuff in the real world? Calm down, Zhou Chuan. Let's turn around. We're about to crash. The record needle can't be wrong. This was the path we took. And this mountain in front of us seems very familiar. I think it's the Mount King Hall nearby. Both of you, be careful. I have a bad feeling. What's happening? Is it falling towards us? Move mountains and oceans. Someone here can do that. Get away, quickly. An illusion. That was an illusion? Creation Link Universal Reaping Net. Go. No. The Green Wolf Battleship. First step, obtain the ship. Complete. Who are you? How dare you play with us? Give the ship back. Angering the Zhou family won't be fun for you. Marshal Flame City Lord, Li Yunchao. Nice to meet you. The robbing begins. Li Yunchao? The Marshal Flame City Lord? How dare you do this to us? So what if you're a noble in Tenchue? You're just a city lord. It was the esteemed city lord, I see. Why have you pulled this prank on us? It has only been a few days since I became the city lord, so my budget is a bit tight. I wish to borrow both the Green Wolf Battleship and the Five Line Tripod. When Marshall Flame City starts to prosper, I will personally return them to you. Borrow the Five Line Tripod? Ha ha. You're just mere Marshall Master. You're no different from an ant. Do you know who you're talking to? I actually don't know what your names are, but I'm not interested in finding out either. I'll just take the Five Line Tripod and leave. You brat. Are you really an idiot, or are you pretending to be one? Do you really not know who we are? Do you know what the consequences of your actions will be? Not even a regular martial lord can withstand the pressure I exert. This brat is just a five-star martial master, yet he can dispel my pressure with a single hit. That hit seemed very casual, but it contained profound martial intent. We are from the Dusk Flame Empire's Zhou family. Do you really want to offend the Zhou family? If you're the Zhou family, that means I'm in the right place. The Zhou family is one of the four noble families of the Dusk Flame Empire. Why are you being so stingy? You were also the one who killed the Chang family and the Xinyan family at the Thousand Treasures auction a few days ago, right? Do you really want to go up against two noble families at the same time? Have you really thought this through? Noble families that have a thousand years of history? I have even faced beings with a legacy that goes back tens of thousands of years. This brat is definitely insane. He can't be reasoned with at all. Why are we even talking with him? Just kill him. Die. Young man, don't act rashly. An eight-star martial king. An eight-star martial king? How could this be? How can a small city have an eight-star martial king? Yu Xiao Qing Wang. The martial king who protects Tianxue. You dare fight the Zhou family? Aren't you afraid of bringing destruction to the entirety of Tianxue? It doesn't matter. Crazy. He's crazy. They're just a bunch of maniacs. Shirueda, you're up. 
So what if you were an eight-star martial king? Hand your life over. Ugh. This is. Ah. Uh, a formation activated by just two martial lords? The likes of you are trying to trap me? What? It didn't budge a single inch? This simple four quadrants formation can really trap an expert at the martial king level. Damn you. Break already. I see your plan was to first take our battleship using illusions, then trap Shi Rueda with a formation until Xiao Qing Wang kills Pang Chen Gwen. After that, you would kill Shi Rueda too. What a great plan. Who will be facing me? I might just be a one-star great martial master, but you must have arranged for someone to fight me too, right? There's no rush. Our plan is just to buy time until Xiao Qing Wang kills one off. As I thought, you are the leader. I'll kill you first. After that, I'll save Shi Rueda, then kill Xiao Qing Wang. Ho ho. If I'm not wrong, you are the one carrying the five-line tripod. Why are you in such a rush to die? An adjudication in advance. A faint? You don't have to worry. There's no one else. He he. All my men are here. I'm your only opponent. Really? Ho go to hell. Hey. It looks powerful, but his weaknesses are showing everywhere. Moonwalk, neither swap. He's fast. Since you're so confident in your abilities, let's see how you dodge this. Go. Unseal. A second unsealing. Swallow him. Ha ha ha. A Xian weapon capable of a second unsealing must be rank 4 or above. I can't believe they gave a mere servant a Xian weapon like this. It seems that the Zhou family is not something Yin Wu City can handle for now. Life passes like a dream. A flying bird leaves its mark. Life seal. My Xian weapon. What is this technique? Why is it so powerful? If that's all you got, it's going to end pretty soon. A five-star martial master blocked the full attack of my spirit snake sword? How is that even possible? You cannot even defeat me in your human form. What makes you think becoming a beast will? Fool. Blade of the Tiger Fong. Song of the Green Lotus Sword. How is he so strong? I can only take the risk. I will die if I go back without the five guardian cauldron now. You have a snake Xian weapon, practice snake demonic art, even your beast transformation is a snake. Man, you're disgusting. Die. His attack has become stronger. This is quite troublesome. He's even doing a combo attack. Take this. Demon's Eye. Soul Binding Art. This is my chance. A momentary stun is enough. Blade of the Tiger Fong. Song of the Green Lotus Sword. Ah. The Five Elements Cauldron. No wonder its presence was so faint. You hid the Five Line Tripod in your own body. You. This is troublesome. I have to annihilate this snake completely in order to get the five-line tripod. Xiao Qing Wan's battle doesn't seem to have ended yet. I don't know how much longer he needs. If you hadn't shaken the five-line tripod out of my body, I would have forgotten. This thing is a fifth-tier Xian weapon. Let's see how you block this now. You're just a mere martial master. How are you still alive after getting hit by the five-line tripod? I want to see how many more strikes you can survive. What? You're dropping your weapon and surrendering? It's too late. Now, you can only compensate for this with your life. Struggle in the face of death. 
What did you do? You idiot. I took that hit on purpose. He placed a tampering seal on the tripod? It was back then. He engraved a seal on the tripod while defending himself from the Xian weapon's attack. Only someone with a complete understanding of the Xian weapon could do that. How could he? Five-line tripod, absorb. The five-line tripod. You bastard. Let me out. Did we succeed? Zhou Chuan. The five-line tripod was definitely in Zhou Chuan's hands. How did that brat suddenly manage to use it? Zhou Chuan's energy is getting weaker. Peng Chingwen is also reaching his limit. We have to hold on to the five-line tripod no matter what. I'll have to give it my all. Humph. You're like grains of light in the face of the moon. Did you really think two mere martial lords could trap me, a martial king? First, I'll save Zhou Chuan, then return to kill you. The first stage of the tyrant body tampering technique, a body like glass, still collapses in the face of a martial king's attack. The first stage of the tyrant body tampering technique, a body like glass, still collapses in the face of a martial king's attack. You're trying to escape? Get back here. Yun Chao. On it. Humph. Damn it. The five-line tripod is a fifth-tier Xian weapon. Even a martial lord would find it hard to refine and utilize it, but you just started using it immediately after gaining possession of it, young Master Yun. How does this make sense? I was the one who refined this five-line tripod. Obviously, I'd be able to use it freely. Refine. An invitation into the tripod. They went in standing, but in what shape will they come out? Xiao Qing Wang has taken two fights in a row. He must be getting exhausted. Should we help? Let's just watch for now. We can't interfere in a fight of that level whenever we want. Universal creation, five into one. Condense. Young Master Yun, how is it? It's a success. A success? What is? Where's Zhou Chuan? No need to look for him. It's here. Eh? Why you turned a human into a pill? I didn't turn a human into a pill, but a demon into a pill. Zhou Chuan took a demonification pill, so his body is basically made up of a demon's blood, flesh, and soul. He's no different from a demon. Plus, he studied and used demonic techniques, which is already considered not human. It's not weird to be able to refine a demon into a pill. This purple snake pill is an energy pill that I've removed all impurities from. Once Ching Wang finishes Shi Rueda off, I'll let him eat it. Not only would his injuries be gone, but he might also break into the ninth star. For you want to give this to Ching Wang? Aren't you afraid that he'll kill you if he learns of its origins? He he. How would he know if you don't say anything? Lucky to live up to the mission. Thank you, Ching Wang. It just so happens I have an extra pill. It can replenish your energy and break the eight star limit. What? I've been stuck as a peak 8-star martial king for over 5 years, and I thought that would be my final stop ever since that injury. Are you for real? Just try it. Ching Wang. Ching Wang. Wait. This stuff is awesome. Why are you looking at me like that? You jelly? Just let young Master Yun refine one for you when we get back. No need. I can't take such generosity. What happened to those two? They were also injured, so naturally, they aren't feeling the best. You should rest now. The pill will take effect soon. Right. Let's clean up the battlefield, or the Zhou family will be able to easily figure out that we did this once they send someone to investigate. Your guts are insane. I still can't believe that we actually killed three strong members of the Zhou family. 
We're now in the same situation as we are with the Chang family. It's do or die. Angering two of the great families at the same time, I'm afraid that we're the only ones in the Dusk Flame Empire who would do that. Uncle Chen, they angered us, not vice versa. There's no difference, I should start cleaning up. Of course there is. If we offend others, they have a chance of living. But if they offended us, they're as good as dead. Since we've hopped on the boat of insanity, we can only continue on the same stream. And as long as that lord still lives, I won't retreat, no matter how difficult the future may be. Phew. All cleaned up. Not a scratch to be seen. Ha ha. Ching Wong broke through. Not only have I become a nine-star martial king, the injuries that I've sustained over the years have also all been healed. Congratulations, Ching Wong. Ha ha ha. As long as I stay with young Master Yun, benefits will come rolling in. By the way, where's Zhou Chuan? Zero, he's probably dead after being stuck inside the tripod, right? What is up with you two? I'm getting a bad feeling here. Yun Chang, why do you keep eyeing me like that? What's going on? Uh, um, nothing much, by the looks of it. To all martial artists, anything can be medicine. Zhou Chuan is beyond dead, since I refined him into a pill using the five-line tripod. So he is dead. You two look so weird. W, what did you say? You refined Zhou Chuan into a pill? Then the pill you just gave me, W.L., anything can be medicine. What the hell? How dare you make me eat something so disgusting? You. Ah. Marshall Flame City. Yun Chao, are you alright? Master, who beat you up like that? Are you okay, young Master Yun? I'm fine. I just tripped, that's all. I can't feel my mouth anymore, humph. Son, I heard that you went up against two martial kings. You scared me half to death. Dad, your dad's smell is really heavy. You're way too gutsy. You didn't even wait for us to come back first. Ching Wang, what happened to his face? Humph. Educate your son, please. Dashing, you tell us. Eh? Ah, so you became a nine-star martial king. Congratulations. Ha ha ha. Humph. You're really cruel, kid. Refining a human into a pill for him, if I were him, I'd have torn you apart. Old man, dad, how's the mission? Ha ha, it's all done. We followed your instructions and collected mainly primordial stones. In total, 200 million gold coins and 6 million middle tier primordial stones. 10 city lords and about 600 court officials paid up. At first, they tried to deter us, but they relented once we started taking their homes. That's the same as 60,000 high tier primordial stones. He became a tycoon. Dad, you didn't rob the royal vault, did you? Did Chin Yu not try to cut you down? He. Not at all. His majesty is very understanding. He even helped us settle some business. It's a me. With this amount of financial power, things will be way easier. What about your side, old man? I just rushed home first. Zhang Qingfan and Su Han will make their way here tomorrow morning. All right. It's all within my expectations. We don't have enough power and we made too many enemies in a short time. If we can't get enough power quick enough, Marshall Flame City will be destroyed. I'm tired now. I'll go into seclusion for a while. Ming Wu, take the primordial stones to Jia Rong. Ask him if there are any difficulties and tell him to finish the arrays as soon as possible. Too many enemies? Weren't you the one angering them? No sense of responsibility. I didn't really think much of you in my previous life. I just refined you and gifted you to someone. I'd never have thought that in this life you would return to me. If I had known, I would have engraved a few more powerful arrays. What a shame. The five-line tripod is one of the more well-rounded artifacts I refined back then. 
If I can use its full power, my battle strength would be the equivalent of a peak martial king. However, because my current cultivation level is low, I can't display its full power. Marshall Flame City outside the City Lord's residence they said the recruitment was today. Why haven't I seen anyone since morning? They didn't prepare a thing here. Did they lie about this? Send someone out to manage stuff. It's almost noon. What's all this fuss? Shut up, all of you. What did you say? When did Marshall Flame City ever lie to you? If we said it's today, it's today. My son, the city lord, is still sleeping. When he wakes up, he'll come out to greet you. The sun is already so high up in the sky. He's still sleeping? Does the city lord even care about us? I thought they were trying to recruit talents, but he has just been sleeping. How? Disappointing. Disappointing? We're trying to recruit talents here. What we care about is strength. If you want to join Marshall Flame City, you'll have to abide by Marshall Flame City's rules. It's all about following orders, not acting on your own thoughts. Ming Wu and Ming Bai, you're in charge of managing the signups and receiving them. Everyone who is here for the recruitment, line up properly. Anyone who cuts the queue or breaks the rules will be disqualified. I'm here to be recruited. Three-star Great Marshal Master? Not bad. Just go there and register. My name is Lu Ku. How did he figure out my cultivation level? All right, take this. Oh, primordial stones. Then what should I do now? Whatever you want. You just have to register. But for the next month, you are not to leave Marshall Flame City without young Master Yun's orders, or you will be killed. Find a random place to stay within the city temporarily. When the time comes, young Master Yun will open exclusive training grounds for you to cultivate. Aren't they afraid that I'll just take the items and run? Next. Isn't it too easy to get conned if you recruit talents like this? There are so many people. How would they know if we just took the goods and ran away? Though Marshall Flame City is large, my Universal Detect covers the entire area. If anyone took the items and tried to get away, I don't mind killing them. Tian Yuan Commerce Guild Dusk Flame Empire Branch Young lady, the letter from Li Yunxiao, he wants to purchase first and second tier Xian weapons and pills from us in bulk. He's definitely going to use it to recruit soldiers. Young lady, I'm really afraid that we won't even be able to break even with all of these investments. We even gave him a hundred fourth tier items. Why are you worrying about this? Either way, he's purchasing them at a high price. This isn't a losing trade for us. If we don't help him now and he gets exterminated, then we really will lose a huge amount of wealth. Anyway, I have high hopes for him. Are you talking about the matter with the Zhou family? Although the news that something happened to the Zhou family hasn't reached the Dusk Flame Empire yet, the forces still in Marshall Flame City have already heard the news. They just don't know who the culprits were. Although I don't know for sure, my intuition tells me that this is definitely related to Li Yunxiao. Humph, we know the extent of that brat's abilities. Aren't you overestimating his abilities? Get someone to send him all the goods deployed here for the Thousand Treasures auction and get the Dusk Flame Empire to send all of our first and second tier Xian weapons and pills here. Young Master Yun, we've recruited over 300 people on the first day, including two martial lords. However, we're all out of pills and equipment. We won't be able to fund the recruitment tomorrow. Don't worry. I've already written a letter to the Thousand Treasures Tower and the Tian Yuan Commerce Guild to purchase first and second tier Xian weapons and pills. Oh, Elder Ain is already here. Ehe. What great detection skills, young Master Yun. I don't think even Xiao Qing Wang noticed my arrival. The Five Line Tripod. You. Young Master Yun, you really. What's so surprising, Elder Ain? You're really trying to drag me down. Li Yunxiao purposely displayed the five-line tripod to me, telling me that he stole the Zhou family's items and killed their men. 
If I provide Marshall Flame City with large amounts of resources, I'd be taking their side, offending the Zhou family in the process. Ho ho ho. The Thousand Treasures Tower is a leader in commerce, one of the huge powers of the Tianwu continent. Why would you be afraid of the Dusk Flame Empire's Zhou family? The Thousand Treasures Tower isn't afraid of the Zhou family, but my power only extends to the Dusk Flame Empire branch. I can't compare to the Zhou family at all. If the Dust Flame Empire branch gets raised to the ground by the Zhou family, how will I face my superiors? Then just look for you and Bo tell him that it was destroyed because of me. I'm sure he won't blame you. You might even get a promotion if you're lucky. I brought pretty much all of the goods the Thousand Treasures Tower has in Marshall Flame City. In total, there are over 700 first and second tier pills and over 100 Xian weapons. Young Master Yun, if you keep recruiting like this, the high-end battle power might not be much, but you will end up with one of the strongest low-end forces in the Dusk Flame Empire. Thanks. Please keep helping me out when I'm getting bullied in the Dusk Flame Empire. I don't have much of a say in the Dusk Flame Empire either. It'd be better if you didn't bully others. You're recruiting people so generously. Aren't you afraid that many people will take the goods and ditch you? Of course I'm afraid, so do you want to go on a walk with me? Outside Marshall Flame City. Ha ha ha. We got out so easily. That guy's so easy to scam. Right. I got one second tier Xian weapon, ten third tier pills, and a hundred high tier primordial stones. How absurd. Is the Marshall Flame City Lord an idiot? I don't know if he's an idiot, but he's definitely an upstart. Tomorrow, I'll change my appearance and identity, then come back for more stuff. What a great idea. I'm going to be rich. You could do that too? Why didn't I think of that? It's the Marshall Flame City Lord, Li Yun Chao. But, even if you were rich, you'd have to be alive to spend it. Humph, you're alone? But you're trying to block all 40 over people here? We even have a Marshall Lord with us. If you understand your situation, get out of the way. Get out of the way? You took so many things from me, but you're leaving without so much as a goodbye? How are you any different from bandits? Humph, so he really is an idiot. I took your things because you're an idiot. You're just a martial master. Don't think that I'll pledge my life to you just for a bit of money. Since you don't understand your situation, we're going to get a bit rough. Elder Ain, save me. Li Yunchao forced me to come along in order to make me fight them? If you hang out with Li Yunchao, you're bound to be dragged into bad situations. Fucking hell I fell for this brat's tricks again. You a... Uh, ah. Whoa. Triple A. It's an ambush. Who is that? That brat has an assistant. Be careful. Elder Ain? The Thousand Treasures Tower's Marshal Grand Master, Elder Yin Chaoyang? They recognize me? They even think I'm associated with Marshal Flame City. What? He's Yin Chaoyang? If this misunderstanding spreads, the Chang family and the Zhou family will never forgive me. Oh my god. A Marshal Grand Master? Are you serious? What? How does he have ties with the Thousand Treasures Tower? No wonder the people from Marshall Flame City were treated so well during the auction. So this is the real reason why he made me come along. Sigh, I can't get myself out of this situation now, humph. You scum are embarrassing all of us martial artists. If I'm already involved, I should see it through to the end. I'll just kill all of these people off, then stay far, far away from Li Yunchao. I'll be fine if I stop falling for his tricks in the future. None of you will be able to leave today. As I thought, you are powerful and accomplished, Elder Ain. If not for your help today, I might have been buried here. I'll help you keep the spoils of war. The Thousand Treasures Tower is so wealthy, you wouldn't even bat. And I at these dregs. You're being too humble, young Master Yun. You can even kill off two martial kings from the Zhou family with ease. These mobs would never be able to stand up to you. 
Tower Master Su went out to deal with some matters recently, so there are too many things for me to do at the Thousand Treasures Tower. Goodbye. Have a safe trip back, Elder Ean. Thank you for helping me out this time, Elder Ean. I'll look for you next time Marshall Flame City is in trouble. This shit is never going to end. The second day outside the City Lord's residence, I never would have thought that the Thousand Treasures Tower was the one backing Marshall Flame City. No wonder their wealth is so great. The Marshall Flame City Lord popped out of nowhere, but it seems that he's just the Thousand Treasures Tower's puppet. Is the Thousand Treasures Tower trying to raise a new force? But why Marshall Flame City? Sigh, that's not something you or I would be able to know. Let's just think about what we should do. Haha, <laughs> I'm glad that there were so many people yesterday, I didn't get to register. You've already registered, so you're screwed. If you try to escape, it'll be you hanging on that bamboo pole in pieces tomorrow. Ha <laughs> ha. Lord Zhang, Lord Su, you're here. Hey, did I see that right? Look at the robes those people are wearing. Are they refiners? I thought my eyes were deceiving me too. The ones behind you are wearing the attire of high-class refining disciples, but the dozen or so of them in front are definitely refiners. And the two at the front should be the two fourth-tier refiners who are the pinnacle of our Tenshue. Fourth tier? You didn't go blind, right? What kind of beings are fourth-tier refiners? Why would they be here? And two of them, at that. Blind, your ass. Didn't you know that my cousin's husband's third aunt's neighbor's relative's second uncle is a refiner? I know all the refiners in Tenshue. Ah, that's crazy. Are they pretending to be refiners? That's unbelievable. Pretending to be refiners? Is there anyone on this continent who would dare fake a refiner's badge? If anyone were to fake it, even if they were a martial sovereign, they would face certain death. Crazy. This is crazy. The Thousand Treasures Tower is crazy. What a huge investment. Even refiners are joining in groups. No, I want to register. Yeah. There are so many refiners here. Their future is so bright. I want to join too. Lord Ching Fan, Lord Su Han, and everyone else, thank you very much for coming to us when Marshall Flame City needed it the most. You're being too modest, Lord Yunxiao. Marshall Flame City is a city in Tianchue too. As refiners of Tianchue, it is our duty to do everything we can. So after receiving the letter from you, I immediately gathered some people and rushed here overnight. We are severely lacking in both pills and Qian weapons. Thus, I specially replicated the Alchemist Association's buildings and built a pill tower for refining. The Alchemist Association's tower has a raise set up by many generations of masters and rooms specialized for refining. All of them are most suitable for refiners to use. You built this pill tower in a rush, so it's probably very simple. Why don't you just tell us your request? We'll just refine it at the capital and get someone to send it here. Lord Yunchao must have something in mind if he told us to come to Marshall Flame City. The key to refining is your skills. External items are just support. If you can receive tips from Lord Yunxiao here, that is better than staying inside the association. You are right, association master. Don't worry. Even though I built this pill tower in three days, I'm certain it won't be worse than the alchemist association. I'm just afraid that after you come here, you won't want to go back anymore. Ha <laughs> ha. You will be satisfied. It's a miracle that he can so much as finish building a pill tower in three days. How could it be better than the Alchemist Association? Behold. Everyone, take a look at this. Marshall Flame City Pill Tower. Fucking hell. This is the pill tower that is better than the Alchemist Association? Hell, at least make the exterior look better to give us some peace of mind. Welcome. Welcome, my ass. He made us travel thousands of miles to get here overnight, just to refine pills for him in such a place. Does he have any conscience? 
Spatial isolation? Why am Master Yun, this is. He. An independent space? I've seen independent spaces before, but a space so wide and spiritual, only the caves made by those ancient powers of legends could have such a scene. That's right. This is the interior of one of my treasures. Not only is the soul chi here much denser, it is also filled with a mysterious power that is very beneficial to the cultivation of soul power. As I thought, I can already feel a force recovering my soul power. This is incredible. Even my fatigue is gone. I feel energized. This. Come with me, everyone. I placed the monument of the world god in this pill tower. I can already control the monument as I wish. In this monument, my will is the law of heaven and earth. This is the refining area that I prepared for you. Is this the great origin mystic Yang Array? It is rumored that only with tens of thousands of highest grade primordial stones can you set up this great array. You really are discerning, Lord Qingfan. This is just a simplified version of the Great Origin Mystic Yang Array, though. This array doesn't require primordial stones. It functions by absorbing energy from the mountains and the plains. And that energy is the energy of my treasure. It can support the operation of these arrays. I will name this place Square Inch Mountain. What kind of treasure can have such a space inside and continuously supply energy for refining? This is beyond my understanding of Xian artifacts. This is an ancient array device I purchased from the auction. It can bless soul power. I set up a soul absorption array outside the array device. It will continuously use the Yuan Qi in this space to activate arrays. Any excess will be sent to the mountain range to increase the effectiveness of your refinement. How is this a normal refinement ground? This is a treasure mountain. I need to rapidly increase the strength of the Marshall Flame City population in a short time, so you get priority access to all my resources. These are the recipes and ingredients for the pills I currently need the most. Please help me manage this area, Lord Qingfan and Lord Su Han. Of course. Lord Qingfan, Lord Su Han, follow me. Can Ji Meng be saved? Commander Ji is still unconscious? Yeah. The Six Sunset Gold Pill can save him, but his cultivation will be lowered if we use it. That's why I've been waiting until now. The Nine Dragon Soul Absorption Array that I made Jia Rong set up is already in operation. All of the Yuan Qi within a 500 kilometers radius will constantly be flowing into this tower. Then using the tower itself as a medium, I'll divert the absorbed energy into Square Inch Mountain. The center of the Nine Dragons Soul Absorption Array lies right underneath this mountain, so we can concentrate all of the Yuan Qi in this space here. I've also set up a Deepwood Life Spring Grand Array it's used to stabilize Ji Ming's life energy. Nothing will happen to him as long as soul energy continues to flow here, even for a thousand years. With such a large amount of Yuan Qi here, giving him the six sunset gold pill won't have any negative effects on his cultivation levels. So does this mean that this mountain is the center of the Yuan Qi in a 500 kilometers radius from Flame City? Correct. Both of you can watch my back. When I start directing the Yuan energy into Ji Ming's body, if I do run out of stamina, please help me. Master Yun Chao, rest assured. We'll help when it's needed. Six Sunset Gold Pill Springs of Deep Wood, Endless Lives Come Forth Yuan Energy Empowerment Hua Hold the Dantian, two energies into one, refine the energy of life. Young Master Yun This life energy is the vitality of all life. The Peach Blossom Sword Intent and Lotus Sword Song you train in are also part of Sword Intent. Try to understand their essences now. One of you is a four-star martial master, and the other is a seven-star martial master. You're both stronger than me. 
how about joining my greedy little gang? And Ji Ming finally became a five-star martial lord. Congratulations on your breakthrough, Commander Ji. In such a short amount of time, Commander Ji has ascended from a seven-star great martial master to a five-star martial lord. That kind of cultivation speed is already indescribably fast. Doesn't that go for you too? Young Master Yun, what's happening? Here's a lively one. Lord Ching Fan, Lord Su, I'll leave this area to you. Ji Ming, come with me. Young Master Yun. Ji Ming? Your injuries, Young Master Yun has already fully healed me. Ching Wang, what's the situation? I'm just here to sign up. What are you afraid of? Are you perhaps going back on your word? This man's aura is actually comparable to mine. If we clash, I may not be the victor here. What a strong person. Why are they joining Marshall Flame City? Maybe some external powerhouse wants to make a mess. Of course we welcome you. Come on. Young Master Yun. Be careful. A nine-star Marshall King. Just what our city lacks. A nine-star Marshall King. No wonder he felt so powerful. Just being close to him was making it hard to breathe. No way. Why would a nine-star martial king come to such a small city? Don't forget. The Thousand Treasures Tower is backing this city, so it's normal to see a nine-star martial warrior. There's also at least two martial grandmasters within the Thousand Treasures Tower itself. Ha! Seems like we were right to come here. Even a nine-star martial king is here. Looks like this is a place worth dedicating our lives to. My name is Money Many Many. A nine-star martial king. What are the payments? I wish to meet the city lord. I am the city lord. What is your price? You're the city lord? A 15-year-old boy? H.M. A martial lord who joins will be given a third-tier Xian weapon, 10 fourth-tier pills, and 10,000 high-tier primordial stones. Then I should at least get a fourth-tier Xian weapon, 10 fifth-tier pills, and 100,000 high-tier primordial stones. Oh my god! Fourth-tier Xian weapon, fifth-tier pills, 100,000 high-tier primordial stones, all of those are insane prices. But our opposition is a nine-star martial king, a powerful asset, so this request isn't too much at all. I can pay your price. It's just the pills that may be a bit tricky. Do you need a certain pill? The Lucent Limitless Yuan pill. I want all ten of them to be Lucent Limitless Yuan pills. Never heard of that pill. Lucent Limitless Yuan pill? It's fine if you never heard of it. Just tell the people backing you. If you can bring me ten of those, I'll join Marshall Flame City immediately. No need for the Xian weapon and primordial stones. The Lucent Limitless Yuan pill is an extremely rare and special pill. Not many refine them due to their one-dimensional usage. Seems like the Thousand Treasures Tower's power is what this guy is really here for. I should check this guy's background. Humph, a mere martial master wants to check if I'm the real deal with Universal Detect? Break. My mental defenses were instantly broken by a kid. A refiner. You're a fourth tier refiner. How is it possible at your age? We don't have any Lucent Limitless Yuan pills, but we do have something else for you. I only want Lucent Limitless Yuan pills. Don't waste my time otherwise. I don't have them, but years ago, I came across an interesting technique somewhere else. It's called the Moon Break Scroll. Who the hell are you? How do you know about the Moon Break Scroll? You've even read it before? Ho ho, you don't need to know that. Does the Moon Break Scroll meet your requirements? Yes. Of course. But how do I know you're not scamming me? Private Sound Transmission. Give it to me. Hand me the complete Moon Break Scroll right now. Go fill in the registration form. After I check it, I will get someone to call for you. 
Register. I want to register. Give me a registration form right now. Is this for real? He's a nine-star Marshal King. Oh my God. He's really going to register. I can't believe it. What are we waiting for then? H huh? Let's go. Why are you cutting the queue? I'm super strong. Me? Let me register. Out of the way. I want to register. It's such a great opportunity. What are we waiting for? I want to register. I want to register. Even a nine-star Marshal King registered. What is there to consider? Yun Chao, you won over a nine-star Marshal King with just a few words? What really is that moon break scroll? I saw something strange about that money guy's body, and the Lucent Limitless Yuan pill is used to relieve the symptoms. And the moon break scroll is something that can completely cure it. He can see through the secrets of a nine-star Marshal King with such ease. Yun Chao, so many people have registered, but Marshall Flame City is primarily a business city. How are we going to help these people settle down? Are we going to expand the city? We will definitely have to expand, but not now. It's not an urgent matter. I will make arrangements for these people. As of now, what Marshall Flame City lacks the most is high-end battle power. The only martial kings we have are Xiao Qing Wang, my grandfather, and this flat-haired beast. Therefore, I will be spending most of our time on increasing the strength of all of you here. Qin Duo Duo is a nine-star martial king. If he is reliable, I plan to help him and Qing Wang break through to become a martial grandmaster in the shortest time possible. Martial grandmaster? I just became a nine-star. I can only bridge the gap of a major realm to become a martial grandmaster flat-haired beast. With at least five to ten years of experience and luck. It's hopeless. Five to ten years? More like five to ten days. You don't have to worry about this. I have plans. Everyone here is one of the strongest forces in Marshall Flame City and a core member of the city. I don't even have to question your loyalty. Although I also recruited two martial lords this time, I haven't tested them yet. I don't know how low they'll stoop, so for now, they are not core members. Now, relax your universal detect, and don't reject my consciousness. Everyone into the monument of the world god. An independent space? An independent space with spirituality? All independent spaces with spirituality are heaven-defying Xi'an artifacts. They aren't something normal martial artists can refine. It has to be. That Lord has to be supporting him. It might be an independent space with spirituality, but you don't have to get so excited your face is flushed, right? You brat. How many other good things are you hiding from me? But, why does this feel familiar? Yeah. This is what I stole from our family's treasury. This is the interior of a Xi'an artifact I have yet to refine. I set up soul absorption arrays around Marshall Flame City, so the soul energy within a 500 kilometers radius will be gathered here. Soul absorption arrays. When all of you come here to cultivate, you will continuously absorb the soul energy in here and become stronger. With the pills and Xi'an weapons I asked Lord Zhang Qingfan and the other refiners to create, all of you can become at least twice as strong in the short term. Follow me. This is the center of the soul absorption array, and where the soul energy is the densest. You can stay here to cultivate. And when Qing Wang and Qian Duo Duo break through to become martial grand masters, the conception of breaking through and that of the martial grand master realm will also be very helpful for the rest of you. I've recently been feeling stuck at the bottleneck of peak great martial master. Cultivating in such a place will be very helpful for my breakthrough. The soul energy has just started to gather. It will keep getting stronger, so be prepared. It's time to refine Adversity Destroying Pills. Adversity Destroying Pills. The legendary ultimate fourth tier pill that can help all martial artists under Martial King make a breakthrough? Yes, that's the Adversity Destroying Pills. But these pills also have large side effects. 
As its name says, only after destroying great adversity can they force a breakthrough. The risks involved are very big. It is very hard for anyone under martial lord level to withstand the backlash of the pills. They must never take it. Then, Lord Yunchao, you. Oh ho, my body is already as strong as a martial lord's. It shouldn't be a problem to take one or two. One or two. I know the properties of this pill, don't worry. The five-line tripod is in this pill tower too. I have full confidence. The adversity-destroying pills are the ultimate fourth-tier pills. Lord Yunchao, if you let us refine them alongside you, we will be able to understand the complete Tao of the fourth tier. It will be very helpful. Come with me. A fifth-tier purple tripod. Lord Yunchao is a third-tier refiner. How can you refine a fifth-tier purple tripod? Please listen to what I am about to say. I will teach you the method for joint refining of adversity-destroying pills. The joint refining method is very different from the method for solo refining. If coordinated well, the efficiency could be multiplied. But if there is a mistake in our coordination, the effects would be worse than refining alone. Many hours later, not bad. Although it took longer than I thought, you've understood it. Let's not delay any further. Let's start. Slower at understanding limited talent. Let's just improvise living. Roses are red, the sky is blue. This is awkward OM nothing to you. Please help me control the tripod. I'm adding the ingredients. I'll be activating the array. Watch this technique closely. Watch closely. Heavenly Phantom Scripture Technique. Is this even the refinement process for a fourth tier pill? Why does it look even more ridiculous than fifth tier pill refining? I can vaguely feel something very important in my mind, but I can't grasp it. L. Lord Liang is breaking through. Spirit power fluctuations. I, it's the realm of third tier. I, I understand too. Ah, I'm breaking through. Please back off quickly. I'm going to use divine flames to condense the pill. The divine flames possess incredibly strong power. I'm afraid that it will burn the two of you. Thunderbolts could even strike later. It is time to condense the pills, but there isn't even a hint of thunderbolts striking. Are there no thunderbolts because we're currently in the World God Monument? Ah, this is what a fourth tier pill is? Its fragrance is spreading for thousands of miles. It's like we're right next to it. When will I be able to refine pills like these? It's as if we're in a dream. Just be happy that we can make a breakthrough. This is already great kindness. This. Lord Yunchao. Breakthrough to six-star martial master. Lord Yunchao broke through. He managed to break through after refining. If so many people can break through, why can't I? Lord Yunchao, why were the fluctuations around the pill so strong? See for yourselves. 16 pills. Oh my god, you refined 16 ultimate fourth tier pills at once. I'm not dreaming, right? Even if a fifth tier refiner was the one refining these ultimate fourth tier pills, there's a chance of failure. Refining 16 pills at once? What the hell is this? He's a god. Thank you for your help. The technique I used while refining is called the Heavenly Phantom Scripture Technique. Its difficulty might be a little high for you, but you will definitely be able to learn something. I'll demonstrate it again. One hour later. Ah, it's gone already? I can't remember most of it. Ah, 
We couldn't write it down. I wish I could watch it for 10,000 years. Why? Why did I have to see such a beautiful technique? What if I can never see something like that again? Sigh. There are at least tens of thousands of variations in this technique. We probably didn't even grasp the basic of it, but yet we gained a lot of insight. Both of us have benefited greatly. Let's just complete what Lord Yunchao tasked us with well. He will definitely treat us well. That's right. Lord Yunxiao's abilities are much greater than we had imagined. If I hadn't seen that with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. We have to put in our best efforts to complete the little tasks he gave us. Return to your original positions, everyone. Put in your best efforts into your tasks. Lord Yunxiao will definitely treat us well, but if you don't want to try your hardest, get lost and go back to the Alchemist Association. This place. It's a really great. The Alchemist Association don't want to go back anymore, quick. Go refine pills. Don't block me. I love my work. I'll keep refining, refining, and refining. Blazing Souls of Alchemy. One of the caves at the inner core of Fonsuin Mountain at this time, Ian is trying to use the rich primordial chi to break through the bottleneck of the great martial master realm. Damn. I failed multiple times to break through. If I fail to level up now, who knows when I will have a chance again. Carry all as one, try again. Young Master Yun. Carry all as one. Is this the power of a martial lord? Young Master Yun, did I? Good job, I have gained another martial lord. I'm sorry to interrupt everyone, but I have something to say. I was about to break through. Why are you interrupting now? Say what you want quickly. The abundance of primordial chi in this region makes it a superb place for cultivation. We won't even want to waste a second cultivating here. I wonder why young Master Yun is interrupting us now. Release whatever fart you're holding now. I want to go back and grind some more stars. Doesn't feel like saying it anymore. It's nothing great. I just made these pills to help you in your cultivation. But they have some nasty side effects. If your body isn't strong enough, you might even die. You can't take it if you're not a martial lord. So, after thinking about it, I think it's still too early for you to take it. I'm sorry for interrupting. My good grandson, you know you're the greatest warrior in the Lee family in tens of generations. What is that marvelous pill? Show it to your granddaddy. Marshal King's instant teleportation. Marshal King's instant begging. I can always cultivate later, but I shouldn't waste your effort, right? Just now your granddaddy was just kidding. It is called the Nine Gate Evil Repealing Pill. It is the strongest rank 4 pill that can allow any martial artist below the martial king realm to break through the next realm. You can take one each to try. Ching Wong, you can take two. Oh. Though the effect of the second pill will be greatly reduced, the pain level you will experience will increase significantly. You better take the pill in your best condition. Gramps, you should wait until you have stabilized your cultivation level. You might get a surprise. Only martial lords and above can take it? Ian, you just reached the martial lord realm. Stabilize your cultivation level before you take it. Regarding the flat-haired beast, you can take two as well. Haha, <laughs> it's not poison. Why are you screaming? It's just a bit of pain. You only need to endure it to know how great it is. You can go back and cultivate now. Arg. Brett. What kind of pill did you feed us? It hurts so much. Are you trying to kill your own father? Ah. 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 It hurts. It really hurts. Let me die. Reach the 7th Star Martial Master Realm. His power level continues to rise after reaching the 7th Star Martial Master Realm. Reach the 8th Star Martial Master Realm. Back then, it took me over one year to cultivate from the 6th Star to 8th Star Realm. I was so happy because I thought I was extremely fast, but it seems that I was just dogs hit all along. 
Take another one. Heavens. Is young Master Yun trying to break through to the Nine Star Realm? Is he serious? Arg. General Lee and Commander Luo, they've leveled up. The beast. It has become more powerful as well. Reached. Nine Star Martial Master Realm. Nine Star Martial Master. A new six star martial master realm that broke through more than three star realms in a short time to become a nine star martial master. That's not all, his power is still growing. This, though the elixir is powerful, its effect is limited. Can a human really break through so many realms like that? This is a mockery to the geniuses that cultivate diligently for several years just to break through one or two levels. I've reached my limits. If I continue to digest the elixir, my body will explode. Huh? What are you doing? How many more pills do you have? Give them all to us. You little brat. How dare you keep all the good stuff from us? Hey, we're risking our lives for him too. You shouldn't hoard them just because you're his father. Give everyone ten more pills. The effect of the Nine Gate Evil Repealing Pill reduces exponentially after the first one, but the pain will increase as well. Even the body of a martial king cannot tolerate the pain of a third pill. After consuming the second pill, its effect is basically negligible. Additionally, it's not a proper way to increase your cultivation realm through elixirs. You must increase your understanding of the martial path as well. Otherwise, it will become useless. That's right. You still need to cultivate yourself. Otherwise, you will die from the sudden increase in strength. But I'm in the Martial King realm. I can take one more, right? Enough. Go back and stabilize your cultivation realm now. I got that pill for you. Why aren't there any other kinds of clothes in this storage ring? Young Master Yun, aren't you going to stabilize your cultivation realm? Nope. I was at the peak of the Nine Heavens Martial Sovereign Realm. I can already integrate the law of the universe into my understanding of the martial path. For me, the Nine Star Martial Master Realm is peanuts. You must stabilize your One Star Martial Lord Realm before you take the pill. Otherwise, it will be dangerous. Ah. Young Master Yun. Why? Why is Master Jia crying? Young Master Yun, don't be biased. I was working hard for you outside, I'm going to complain. But these bastards who were just refining Xian weapons in here have all broken through. All those I left in the dust have surpassed me. Sob, sob, sob. This is unfair, Young Master Yun. Ugh. Stop acting like you're so pitiful. How is the setup of the three great formations going? I did as you ordered. They have all been completed. However, the primordial stones have all been used up. I even had to get 20,000 more high-tier primordial stones from Ming Wu to finish the setup. Young Master Yun, I heard you demonstrated a technique called the Heavenly Phantom Scripture Technique, huh? Why? Young Master Yun, don't be biased. City Lord's Residence HM, I can form a link with these two great formations already. Although they have been greatly simplified, they can raise Martial Flame City's offensive and defensive capabilities more than twofold. Huh? It's the City Lord. The Martial Flame City Lord is here. Young Master Yun. Huh? The City Lord is so young, yet he gives off such a strong aura, yeah. He feels special. How many people have registered in total? And what are their strengths? Currently, we have recruited one Martial King, four Martial Lords, 120 Great Martial Masters, and 1722 Martial Masters. Young Master Yun, the Tian Yuan Commerce Guild's young Lady Ding sent this. We're almost out of low-tier items, but I can't open this pouch. Hmm, that there's a layer of encryption on it too? Hold it tightly. Ding Linger must have placed it because she was afraid that Meng Wu would steal it. Oh ho. There really are many battleships and fourth tier items in here. 
The value of these is immense. Stop the recruitment after the remaining materials have been used up. Send someone to announce an assembly at Marshall Flame City's courtyard at noon tomorrow. All the martial artists who joined have to be there, or they will be treated as deserters. All right. I want to register. This is our last chance. Brothers, don't just watch. You've all heard what they said. This is our last chance. If we miss this, we'll regret it for the rest of our lives. Huh? Ah. Please queue up. I'll draw you a circle to curse you. Everyone else broke through, but I'm the only one who didn't. I first made my appearance early on in Chapter 2. Aren't I the second or third character to be introduced? All these passers-by he randomly recruited have third-tier Xian weapons and pills. Now look at me. I'm still in this position right now. That's a pretty good formation. I have another task for you now. Ah. I won't dare to do that ever again. Why are you acting so suspicious? Young Master Yun, why you're back in nothing? Young Master Yun, my cultivation. Humph, don't forget your place. You're still my slave right now. How can you negotiate? If you do well, I'll reward you well. Will you do it? Yes. Of course. Reward me well? Please personally deliver these two letters to the Tianyuan Commerce Guild's Ding Linger and the Thousand Treasures Towers Yin Chaoyang. Tell them that Marshall Flame City is in urgent need of resources and borrow 200,000 high-tier primordial stones for us to spend. Of course they will lend us the stones, but they might not fork out that amount. Basically, the more the better. Young Master Yun, there's something I don't know if I should say. Just tell me. Am I that hard to talk to? Isn't that so? The 2,000 or so members of Heaven's Core worked hard to set up the three great formations. Heaven's Core is a team that followed you from Tianchue. Their loyalty is definitely stronger than the ones who were recruited recently. However, their current equipment and cultivation levels are far inferior to those martial artists. Especially their equipment. They number over 2,000, but less than 10 of them have Xian weapons. Those that do are the people close to you, like Chen Zhen. There's no need to even mention second or third tier Xian weapons and massive quantities of pills. I got Lord Zhang Qingfan to bring a team over here in order to refine large quantities of low-tier pills and Xian weapons to raise their strengths. But 2,000 is too big a number, so I can't meet those demands in a short time. I've already pretty much bought all of the Tianyuan Commerce Guild and Thousand Treasures Towers resources at a low price and distributed them. I'll find a way to solve this. Heaven's Core is my first team, and all of these youths are very talented. They have great potential, so of course I will treat them well. Yes. Within the World God Monument my cultivation is only at martial master level, so the adversity destroying pills are very effective. Although they will become ineffective after three pills, the third pill can still raise my strength significantly. However, the pain will be much stronger. Triple A. Ah. Many hours later. Peak Nine Star Martial Master. Noon Martial Flame City Lord's Residence. Who are those people? Where's the City Lord? Why did it have to be so solemn? Is the City Lord sleeping again? Are they students? Where are they from? Their cultivation levels are pretty mediocre. Who are they? Where are they from? Who are they trying to fool? They're just a bunch of martial warriors. The number of them who have reached martial master can be counted on our hands. The city lord is here. They really can pretend. Humph. Everyone, be quiet. The sun rose as per normal. The weather is pretty good today. Since you took my money, you are now my people. You have to listen to my orders. Taking the money and slacking off is the equivalent of deceiving me. Anyone who has deceived me will have not only their money retrieved, but also their lives. This 15-year-old city lord, there's more to him. Unlike the peak 9-star martial master strength he is displaying. Huh? 
peak nine-star martial master? A few days ago, he was just a five-star martial master. How is he already at the peak of nine-star? How many days has it been? How is that possible? That's definitely impossible. I must have seen it wrong a few days ago. He rose four stars in a few days? How does he make friends if he changes this much in a matter of days? Look, this man's name is Li Yunxiao. He was clearly a five-star martial master just a few days ago, and he doesn't have anything on him to conceal his cultivation, but within those few days, he jumped four stars to become a peak nine-star martial master? Impossible. There's no way. I, I must have seen it wrong. Why, yeah, yeah. That makes more sense. Chin Duo Duo, get up here. Hey, this guy's a nine-star martial king. Even if he's your subordinate, you can't just command him however you wish. Geez, who would dare to talk to a martial king like that? That brat doesn't know anything. He doesn't even know how to show respect. Uh oh, he's gonna rage. Huh? What do you want? Whoa, he actually went up there. He's a nine-star martial king, for goodness sake. If that guy calls us up, are we gonna have to obey obediently as well? Humph, all this just for the moon break scroll. Here's what I promised. I'll give you this letter a pill and a good area to train in seclusion. I hope that you'll have become a martial grandmaster the next time we meet. Martial grandmaster? A punk stays a punk. Every word he says sounds stupid. Even if Qian Duo Duo is a nine-star martial king, it's still a very difficult endeavor to break through to a martial grandmaster. It's impossible to do so without accumulating years or decades of experience. The Moon Break Scroll It's actually the Moon Break Scroll. Ha <laughs> ha. I never thought I'd get such a treasure. Not just a martial grandmaster, I'll eventually become a martial emperor or even a martial supreme. This is an adversity destroying pill? You seem to know your stuff, you already know what the pill does. Along with the effects of the moon break scroll, it should be enough to solve your problems on your body. Breaking through in a short time shouldn't be a problem then, right? This brat actually figured out my condition after hearing of the Lucent Limitless Yuan pill, then brought out the Moon Break Scroll. Who the heck is he? Not only does he have mysterious abilities, but his knowledge and insight are also better than I anticipated. I'll do my best. What just happened? What did he give to Qian Duo Duo? Can it actually let a Martial King break through? There's a powerful wind. HM? A green wolf battleship. So it was you. How dare you? How dare you use underhanded methods to steal all of the soul power in these nearby lands? You caused Chiyun Peak to lose all of its soul power, which our Sky Locust sect had used for over a thousand years. You deserve to die. Someone's coming after me for that already? What Sky Locust sect? Never heard of it. If you're out of soul power, why not bring everyone over and join Marshall Flame City? I promise that the resources for cultivation will be ten times better. Stop joking. Return our soul power. Or I'll destroy this city. How insolent. I'll point a finger back. You dare say to destroy my city? Since it's your first fault, I'll give you three counts to get lost. You're just a nine-star martial master. Scram. If you want to court death, I don't mind helping you with it. Don't interrupt. Tiger Fong Sword Roaring Tiger Terraquake. What? Humph. A measly one-star martial lord dares to threaten my city. Great Sun Golden Light Array. W.H. What the Great Sun Golden Light Array destroy? Oof. Since you didn't want your chance to leave, you can just stay here. Eastbound Purple Mist, Universe Guarding. Release. Power of the Five Elements Realm. A fifth tier Xian weapon with cultivation essence? He's just a martial master. How is he handling a fifth tier Xian weapon like that? A peak nine star martial master, 
Just beat a one-star martial lord on top of a floating green wolf battleship into pulp easily. Is that still the trash who studied with us a few months back in Jialan Academy? From his astounding performance against Lan Qian to one-shotting a martial lord, isn't that way too much of a difference in mere months' time? Bring him here. Don't play dead, or I'll make you dead. I'm not dead. Name. The location of that Sky Locust sect or whatever. Its status. Tell me everything. If I'm satisfied, you may live, and I'll give you a chance for redemption. But if you lie, you'll wish for a death quicker than any. I'll say it. I'll say it. Don't kill me. My name is Bu Tiangong, a high-ranked disciple of the Sky Locust sect. The Sky Locust sect is based in the Chiyun Mountain Range. It's just a small sect, but we still have over a thousand years of history. The sect master, Ning Feichen, is a nine-star martial king. There are two vice masters, a seven-star martial king and a five-star martial king. There are also a dozen or so martial lords. Those lower than a martial lord number in the thousands. The whole sect only cultivated in the mountains and never cared about the outside world. A few days ago, the whole mountain range started losing its soul power due to some unknown reason. Like a broken dam, the soul power flushed out. Within a day, our sect sensed something was awry. Our sect master panicked and sent out members of the sect to investigate the issue. I'm one of those investigators, and I'm here by chance. Your strength may not be enough to create a powerful sect, but it's still good enough for my city. How about this? I'll go back with you and see if I can persuade your master to join us. Your Sky Locust sect should come under my command. This city lord is way too greedy. He's already trying to make a millennium-old sect his subordinate after a short talk. The sect has three martial kings and many more martial lords. That number alone would be enough to wipe out most of us. What are you looking at? Lead the way. You're really going? No shit. A deluge of battleships befalls the Sky Locust sect. Fifth tier Tiger King battleships. Three of them at that. And over 30 Green Wolf battleships too. 30 plus battleships? Oh my god. The Thousand Treasures Tower really spent a lot. Right. Look at those three Tiger King battleships. Those are fifth tier items. These battleships should be worth at least a few million high tier primordial stones. That guy must come from a great background. How did he get the Thousand Treasures Tower to trust him this much? Looks like we followed the right person. Our future is bright. He surprised me for the entire chapter last week, and he's still surprising me. Do I not have any dignity as a nine-star martial king? Ho ho ho. After this, the Thousand Treasures Tower will be stuck with me. They'll never be able to clear this up. The first mission is to subdue the Sky Locust sect. All those above five-star martial master are to come with me. Need to be polite. No tickets needed. Let's go. Ha ha. I get to board a battleship. What are you waiting for? Go. Ah. We will definitely catch up to young Master Yun before long. City Lord, based on what we learned just now, the manpower we have might not be sufficient to take down the Sky Locust sect. Should we send more people? It's fine. They sent out Bu Tiangong, who is a martial lord, which means the other martial lords won't be in the sect right now. They have at most the three martial kings. Chin Duo Duo, if you keep that nine-star martial king busy, it'll be fine. We have over 30 battleships. Even if we just blasted them, we could kill them. Look at his reaction. How honest. It's right here. Huh? It's all mountains and lakes here. There's no sect. Eh? They have a Grand Mountain Guardian formation, and it even has illusion techniques in it. Looks like the Sky Locust sect was pretty big in the past. I can't hide anything from him. Who the hell is he? 
If we just go down like this and ask them to submit to us, they'd ignore us. Since we have to fight sooner or later, let's just fight now. What kind of logic is this? This guy's so vicious. Everyone, listen up. Point the battleships downwards and blast them. Don't stop even if someone tells you to. Just blast this Grand Mountain Guardian formation into pieces. Grand Mountain Guardian Formation How dare you? Stop right now. Sky Locust Sect Sect Master Nang Fachin. Surround them. Keep blasting, don't stop. Huh? Be you Tiangong? Who are you people? Who we are isn't important. What's important is that we are here to give you an opportunity. Opportunity? This is the opportunity you're giving us? You blasted the Grand Mountain Guardian formation that has guarded the Sky Locust sect for millennia into pieces. What kind of opportunity is this? If you can't give me a good explanation for this, I'll send you into the afterlife even if I turn into dust. Haha, <laughs> fortune and disaster come together. The Grand Mountain Guardian formation breaking is the rebirth of the Sky Locust sect. Ning Feichen, I know you're trying to buy time until the dozen martial lords return before fighting us. However, I can responsibly tell you that the more people you bring, the more casualties you'll suffer. I'll tell you clearly. I came here today in order to make the Sky Locust sect submit to Marshall Flame City. Marshall Flame City? How is that possible? How does Marshall Flame City have such strength? Ha! Huh? Marshall Flame City is just 30 miles from you, but you couldn't even notice the changes happening here? What kind of sect that has been established for millennia? You guys probably just turtled up for millennia. What about this? Let's talk this out to prevent needless sacrifices on both sides. I'm willing to talk, but what are you going to do about the Grand Mountain Guardian formation? Besides, the Sky Locust sect might not be strong, but we've been established for millennia without falling. We have never submitted to any forces. You will never make us submit to you. Ha ha. That's because your strength is nothing to those real big sections who would be interested in making you guys submit? You. As for this Grand Mountain Guardian formation, you won't even care about it after listening to my conditions. Humph, how brazen. The Grand Mountain Guardian formation is the strongest among formations. It utilizes the fortune of the heavens and the power of the mountains and the land. It's not something that can be set up any time. Ho ho. What do you think the Grand Mountain Guardian formation is compared to the Soul Absorption Array? Soul Absorption Array? You are really the one who siphoned all the soul chi in the Chiyun Mountain range away. You. Even if I don't make you submit and turn back right now, all the soul chi in your sect is gone. How are you guys going to cultivate? How will you run the sect? You could try raising Marshall Flame City to the ground, this. But do you have the power to do that? What about this? I'll give you a set of conditions. The Sky Locust sect will retain its independence, but will become a subsidiary of Marshall Flame City. You will have to listen to my orders. I can give you cultivation grounds with soul chi ten times denser than what you had in the past and an unlimited supply of cultivation resources. As much as you need. How about that? That. That's. If Marshall Flame City had pockets that deep, you'd have become a large force long ago. Why are you even bringing us in? There is a process to everything. Marshall Flame City will become a large force sooner or later. But right now, we're still very weak. Can you promise to do what you just said? Ho ho. One, I will get you cultivation grounds with soul chi ten times denser than the Chiyun Mountains. Two, the Sky Locust sect will remain independent and just has to listen to my orders. Three, from today onwards, as long as they haven't broken Marshall Flame City's rules, all disciples of the sect will have access to as many cultivation resources as they need. Festival of Benefits Great conditions ahead. 
If I can't meet those three conditions, you can leave whenever you want. Three great presents. As never before seen high. If I can't meet those three conditions, you can leave whenever you want. Even if I don't make you submit and turn back right now, all the soul chi in your sect is gone. How are you guys going to cultivate? How will you run the sect? You could try raising Marshall Flame City to the ground, but do you have the power to do that? Fine. I accept. All right. You can have your own independence, but you must still go by an alias in Marshall Flame City. You'll be Heaven's Resolve. Nang Feichen, you'll be the leader. Sec Master Nang, you've probably been stuck as a Marshall King for over 50 years now. You may be a 9-star Marshall King, but that barrier to the next realm is probably out of your reach now. If you can't ascend to Marshall Grand Master, how much longer will you live? As long as you follow me loyally, I'll make sure that you'll become a Marshall Grand Master and give you another 150 years of life. You might even be able to ascend to a higher realm in this life. What? Are really? Of course. I've been stuck as a Marshall King for over 70 years, and I can't gain any more Yuan energy. The only thing I'm missing is an opportunity. Once I get a good opportunity, a breakthrough might just be possible. To the fighters who just joined Marshall Flame City, what I presented to the Sky Locust sect also applies to you. From now on, you'll be known as Heaven's Judgment. Other than Qian Duo Duo, everyone else will be part of Heaven's Judgment under Hong Bing's command. Uncle Chen, I'll leave Heaven's core to you. I never would have thought that Marshall Flame City's power would spike to this insane level. We're even taking in a hidden sect. This is unheard of. Okay. With Heaven's Core, Heaven's Resolve, and Heaven's Judgment, we've set the foundation for Marshall Flame City. But what's most important now is the cultivation of their combat capabilities. I'm sure that I can make Xiao Qing Wang, Qian Duo Duo, and Nang Feichen become Marshall Grandmasters in a short time. Only then will Marshall Flame City have a standing in the Dust Flame Empire. Sect Master Nang, since the Sky Locust Sect is now under me, why not bring everything you have back to Marshall Flame City? This place will lose all of its soul power soon and turn into an ordinary mountain. I know we've already agreed on this, but many of our people still don't know anything. Please allow me to return and provide them with an explanation. I'll return to you with them in three days' time. That's fine. I also have one request to make. Please come with me. Wait here. I won't take long. Go and prepare everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is our storage. Our Sky Locust sect may have been a small sect for millennia, but it was enough time for us to gather a stockpile of items. It should be enough to fulfill your conditions. Wow. Thanks for your help, Sec Master Nang. There aren't many high-tier items, but there are countless low-tier pills and Xian weapons, perfect for bolstering Heaven's core. Please leave some stuff for us. Many of the disciples here aren't too well equipped, unfortunately. Don't worry, I'm only taking around 2,000 items. City Lord, please don't forget your promise. I said, don't worry. Once you bring your disciples over, I'll make preparations for your breakthrough straight away. If you're quick, it'll take seven days tops. If you're slow, about a month. I'll make sure that you'll become a martial grandmaster. Let's go back to the city. Eh? Why are there so many battleships? Are you the Sky Locust Sex Master? That's right. Who are you? A three-star great martial master. Doesn't his aura seem a bit familiar? I am Fu Jun Kai of the Supreme High Palace, here to deliver an invitation to Sect Master Nang. I was right. The Supreme High Palace. The aura he emanates is similar to Li Yi's extreme Yin Frost Qi. This type of Qi aura is passed through inheritance. It's the same feeling from Qi Zhenzi, Yi Xiaoshan, and Li Yi, the only difference being their power. 
I was no stranger to this kind of true chi in my previous life. This was a generational technique unique to my adversaries, the Biming family. I don't know why such small groups in the southern region have it. What kind of invitation? Did your palace master marry or have a child? That's a good joke, your grace. Our vice palace master recently became a martial grand master and wants to invite nearby friends to celebrate. Inviting guests just for a breakthrough? Do we know you that well? Eh? After a major breakthrough, it's a common courtesy for nearby sect masters to give their greetings. It's just a show to make your power and standing known and to get some gifts. All of the sects and groups below the Heaven Gathering sect and the Dust Flame Empire have always done this. Plus, whether one gets invited depends on their credibility and different qualifications. The Sky Locust sect is just a tiny sect, and yet they're being stupid? What do you mean by that? Is the Supreme High Palace not qualified to invite you? Where is Sect Master Neng? This invitation letter is to be handed to Neng Feichen personally. If you were to delay matters, can you bear the consequences? No, of course I can't. Just pass the invitation to me. Oh right. I like your green wolf battleship, so I'll be taking it. Also, there's some things about the Supreme High Palace that I'm confused about. Please come here and explain them to me. Come here, we'll talk on the go. What did you? Ugh. What are you doing? Don't you know I'm from the Supreme High Palace? Impossible. Why does a small sect like the Sky Locust sect dare to do this to me? Let's go back to Marshall Flame City. Marshall Flame City? Why you guys aren't the Sky Locust sect? We aren't part of Sky Locust sect. Rather, they're under us. I'm very interested in the Supreme High Palace. Come, let's talk. At odds with the Supreme High Palace once again. Ho ho, tell me. Tell me everything I want to know. Who is in the Supreme High Palace right now? The Supreme High Palace lies within the borders of the Dust Flame Empire. The Palace Master, Ma Tienha, is a three star martial grand master. The Vice Palace Master, Ma Feibai, is the Palace Master's son. He broke through to become a one star martial grand master not long ago. A three star martial grand master. How many martial grand masters and martial kings are there in the palace? And what about the other forces? There are four martial grand masters who are the palace master, the vice palace master, and two elders. There are six martial king experts known as the Supreme High Hexagram. There are thousands of martial artists under martial king with about 30 martial lords. City Lord, the Supreme High Palace is a pretty strong hidden sect. If they came into the spotlight, they might even be able to beat some of the noble families in the Dusk Flame Empire. Are one of the two elders called Chi Jinzi? And what level is the other one at? How is the Supreme High Hexagram right now? Elder Chi Jinzi is a one star martial grand master. The other one is Elder Yi Baoxin, who is a two star martial grand master. I haven't seen the Supreme High Hexagram for a while. I think they are training in seclusion. Humph, training in seclusion, what bullshit. They won't be able to recover for a year or so. Is there someone called Li Yi in the Supreme High Palace? How did you know? I didn't know that there was such a disciple until recently. He's probably a disciple Marshal Uncle Li Xiaoshan took in when he was at the Hundred Battles Country. He only recently started appearing within the palace. The Vice Palace Master trusts him very much. So that guy really isn't dead. Looks like I'll be able to meet an old acquaintance again. Yun Chao, you aren't going to fight the Supreme High Palace, right? Of course not. Wouldn't I be courting death if I went to fight them right now? Martial Grand Masters aren't people who can be toyed with. They are all rulers and overlords. But 8527 is our old friend. We should go visit him. Stop fooling around. We'll be facing Martial Grand Masters. More than one of them at that. I'll tell my brother about this when we get back and tell him to stop you from fooling around no matter what. Stop me? 
That old man took two adversity-destroying pills. He should be in seclusion right now. Don't worry, Uncle Chin. I know what I shouldn't do. I'm just going to congratulate them. There's no rush. It'll be in three days. Return to the city now. Pretentious. He's so pretentious. Someone who doesn't know himself or the world well will fall, no matter how talented he is. Marshall Flame City. This is bad. There is a fight in the city. Advance at full speed. Who would dare to act like that in Marshall Flame City? They're insane. Their presence is unusually strong. It's definitely the power of a martial grandmaster exerting all of their presence. Full speed ahead. Full speed. A martial grandmaster came to Marshall Flame City. Are they from the Xingyang family? Everyone prepare for battle. Don't leave the battleship. The opponent is very strong. How strong is this attack? It's so powerful. No one in Marshall Flame City can withstand a strike from a Marshall Grand Master. Xiao Ching Wang and the others are still training in the World God Monument. They won't know what is happening in the outside world. Even if they could feel it, our losses would just be greater if they came out. Oh, what a large group of battleships. Is the Marshall Flame City Lord here? If you don't come out, I'll wash Marshall Flame City with blood. Not a single person will be left alive. Xingyang Family Elder One Star Marshall Grand Master Xingyang Kuen. A Marshall Grand Master? What? An expert at Marshall Grand Master level? No wonder he can stand on air. The heck? He wouldn't make us fight a Marshall Grand Master, right? He's insane. Doesn't the Thousand Treasures Tower have Marshall Grand Masters too? Why aren't they appearing? I don't want to become cannon fodder. Let me out. Anyone who tries to demoralize the army will be killed. Any deserters will be killed. Anyone who disobeys orders in battle will also be killed. Look at that. Meng Wu. What did you say? Young Master Yun will kill me when he gets back? Is Young Master Yun the Marshall Flame City Lord? Your city lord killed Young Lord Xingyang Jie. All nine generations of his family shall be executed. You seem to have a deep relationship with him. I'll kill you first. No. Taishu Heaven's Capital Array, Condense. A strike from a martial grand master leaves Ming Wu's life hanging by a thread. Go to hell. Humph. I'm an elder of the Xingyang family, Xingyang Kuen. Which one of you is the martial flame city lord? Come here. Come with me and face your eternal punishment. Who the hell is the city lord? If you keep remaining quiet, I'll just kill everyone here. You're the one dying here. Eastbound Purple Mists. Universe Guarding. Release. The Five Line Tripod. Didn't the Zhou family lose that tripod recently? You even dared to kill people from the Zhou family. You killed people from the Xingyang family, the Chang family, and even the Zhou family? There's nowhere in this world you'll be safe in now. I'll capture you, then massacre this city. You dared to kill the people of Marshall Flame City. So know this, I'll erase your family from existence. Perception Arts, Soul Absorption. Soul you know the art of soul attacking? Who the hell are you? I'm your ancestor. Great Sun Golden Light Array. Condense. Wag. With an attack that powerful, even a martial grand master would be injured, right? I can't sense Ming Wu's life energy anymore. Chin Duo Duo. Move, damn it. 
Sai. What the? You're. What a massive joke. Even a bunch of maggots are trying to kill me, maggots. I'll make sure you'll know to never mess with a Marshall Grandmaster. Marshall Intent Form. Phantom Massacre. Rip him to pieces. As money hits the ground, the wind and the moon fade. What technique is that? What a strong Xian weapon. If I get hit by that Xian weapon, even with my strength, I need to escape. HM? Humph. So what if you can use a 5th tier Xian weapon? You're just a peak martial master. Even giving you a 9th tier Xian weapon would be pointless. You want to try? I'll refine you into a human pill. That wave of fire is dangerous. What are you doing? What is that fire? A phoenix's true flames. Refining a human alive. Tyrant body tempering technique crystal body. Hurry. Leave this place. Leave the battlefield. Ah. How dare you use this demonic technique. Die. You're the one who's going to die. Heaven destroying flame technique. Is this really a battle between a martial master and a martial grandmaster? What's happening? Shouldn't it be more like the martial grandmaster points his finger and the martial master dies? This is defying logic. I finally blocked it. If I didn't block it with my innate chi, this shadow of a flame would have instantly obliterated me. Thankfully, it's just a shadow. If the full flame materializes, will I be able to block it? I will turn you into a pill even if I die. Tyrant body tempering technique. Crystal body. White wall. Open the cauldron. I'm a six zodiacs realm martial grand master. Do you really think this five elements cauldron can hold me? I will die if I'm pulled into the cauldron. Demon slayer. Destroy that cauldron. The invisible wind and moon. Bastards. I'm a martial grandmaster. Even the Wu Emperor has to bow in front of me. How dare mere ants like you defy me. Primordial lean core. I will drag all of you down to hell even if I die. Oh no. He's going to sacrifice his soul Xian weapon. That brat has no intention of dodging it. These two crazy MFS are going to destroy each other. Everyone should die. Even if you self-destruct your Xian weapon, I will still turn you into a pill. This is my crystal body shattering? Ah. Master City Lord. Heavens. You are. Uh. Uncle Chen. Cough, brat. You're too reckless. You should have run when he decided to self-destruct his Xian weapon. Run? I didn't have enough energy even if I wanted to. My crystal body was at the brink of collapsing. Brat, please be aware of your limits, okay? I owe you my life. It's time for me to repay you. The Frost Chi tormented me all those years. I thought I would die in the secret chambers of the Lee family. But then you appeared. You not only cured me, but also helped me level up. Now that I think about it, should have died back then. Thank you for letting me die an honorable death. It was worth it. Hey! Stop kidding around. He only self-destructed a Xian weapon. You're a martial lord, goddammit. Stop kidding. Farewell, please take good care of Chen Jin for me. And send my regards to Big Brother. Hey! This is not funny. It hurts. My heart, it hurts. What the? He didn't die? Die, damn it. I can't believe a martial grandmaster such as myself has fallen to this state. I must kill him. I will skin you and tear your tendons from your bones. 
he will never fall. Those two nine gate evil repealing pills have allowed me to break into the one star martial grandmaster realm. I wanted to greet you happily, but then this had to happen instead. I didn't even realize when he appeared. This overwhelming presence, he's as powerful as me. Who are you? I'm your grandfather. It's the six zodiacs realm. A martial grandmaster. It's time for payback. A martial grandmaster. A few days ago, this guy was barely on my level, but now, he's already a martial grandmaster. How is he so fast? Why you are a martial grandmaster? How does Martial Flame City have such powerful fighters? When I first decided to destroy my life Xi'an artifact, although I'd been heavily injured, I thought that escaping from these battleships and a nine-star Martial King would be a piece of cake. I never thought that they would have a Martial Grandmaster. Ugh. If they had a Martial Grandmaster, why didn't he come out sooner? If I'd known they had a Martial Grandmaster, I would have left immediately instead of self-destructing. If I really want to leave, no one here can stop me. Stay here, forever. Ugh. 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 You, all of you. I hate all of you. He's self-destructing his Danteon. Hong Bing, maintain order and clean up. Everyone, listen to me. All of you to the square, take note of the situation below and give aid. That battle earlier has to be the most exhilarating and extraordinary one we've seen. I can't help but feel a strong sense of belonging to Marshall Flame City after taking part in such a great battle. Inside the tower, Square Inch Mountain. This grand array can only condense small amounts of life energy. It's like pouring a cup of water into the ocean. Back when young Master Yun saved me, he refined some six sunset gold pills. Are there any more of them? I have Lord Yunxiao's ring. I already thought of the six sunset gold pills, but I have no way of cracking the encryption on it. Su Han, lend me a hand. We'll try once more. All right. Ming Bai, where are you going? I, I am going to train. I don't, I don't want to see my sister and master get hurt again. I was too weak to do anything. Ming Bai, it's fine. Sister and master will be fine. I know it. Master said if I eat this egg, I'll get a massive increase in power. I'll go eat it now. Once my sister and master wake up and see my massive improvement, they'll be very happy. Lord Gu Feiyang, your disciple has gotten severely injured. He needs you right now. Where are you, Lord Gu Feiyang? Sai. How is it? I thought you were fourth tier refiners. You can't even open a storage ring? Trash. Useless trash. Ching Wong, are you? Yes, I'm going to force it open. But forcing open a storage ring has a huge risk of destroying its contents. What if everything inside is lost? We can't delay it anymore. We just have to try our very best. When I break open the storage ring, I'll put all my effort into holding up the collapsing space. Yunchan, Ji Meng, Ian, Li Chan Fong, you four have to get as much stuff out as quickly as possible. Got it. Watch closely. Fate lies in this moment. Ha! Stabilize. Hurry up. We did our best, but we only retrieved less than a third of the items. We did the best we could. Lord Zhang, Lord Su, can you check if there are any pills that can be used to save him here? 
We got lucky. The Six Sunset Gold Pill is a holy fourth-tier healing medicine. Even the two of us would not be able to refine it. Putting aside the fact that we don't know the recipe and method to refine it, it also involves many tricky and weird hand techniques. We wouldn't be able to use them. How is it? This. Back then, Ji Ming practically had one foot in the gates of hell, but one six sunset gold pill was enough to save him. Li Yunxiao only deployed the Deepwood Life Spring Grand Array so that his cultivation level wouldn't fall. But even though Li Yunxiao took a six sunset gold pill, the only thing that happened was a bit of color returned to his face. How many bodies has this guy overdrawn? You're all refiners. He's just a third tier, and you two are fourth tiers. Why is there such a huge difference? I really am trash. Lord Yunxiao is in this state, but there's nothing I can do. Lord Zhang, I suddenly remembered a recipe. Do you remember the one you showed me a long time ago? The one hidden deep in the Imperial Palace. I'm such an idiot. How could I forget that? I once found a pill recipe in the Imperial Palace's treasury by accident. It recorded the recipe for a pill that could bring the dead back to life, and it was a fourth tier. Because I had thought that I would never be able to advance to fourth tier back then, I didn't pay it much mind. The recipe is still imprinted in my mind. I'll go refine it with Su Han right now. We have to save Lord Yun Chao. At that moment, within Marshall Flame City, Hong Bing had already started the recovery work systemically. In order to prevent the news from rapidly spreading and attracting even stronger enemies, the entirety of Marshall Flame City was sealed. No one was allowed to enter or leave. I scoured the entire city with my universal detect, but I couldn't find Li Yunxiao or the others. They must have entered the independent space. Even till now, I don't dare to believe that a youth at the martial master level can possess such strong combat power. If the bird of fire at the end had attacked me instead, I would have been obliterated. Was it a phoenix? Then it should be the shadow of the legendary true soul, the phoenix. The ancient true souls were all above the nine heavens, sovereign class. They were beings at the ten ultimate realm. They have long since perished in the river of history. The only things that remain are the rumors of them. I never would have thought I would be able to see traces of them. What kind of person is your city lord? Your city lord? He's also your city lord now, right? To be completely honest, I'm not sure either. He has only been in Marshall Flame City for half a month. But, but I believe that under his leadership, Marshall Flame City will certainly become an amazing place. Amazing? In your eyes, what is amazing? As long as he remains the city lord, we will become greater than the Dusk Flame Empire. Eventually, Marshall Flame City will become a first-rate power in Tianwu, or surpass even that. Ha ha. A first-rate power in Tianwu? You naive fool. Do you know how big Tianwu is? The Dusk Flame Empire is insignificant in the Tianwu realm. Even if the entire empire got flattened tomorrow, it wouldn't be notable news. Not many people would care. I might be a naive fool, and you might be an amazing nine-star martial king. But open your eyes and look. Look at the city lord. Look at the city lord leading us, leading Marshall Flame City, and walking to the pinnacle of this continent one step at a time. Goodbye. When I reach the pinnacle of this continent, I, Qian Duo Duo, will still return here. The pinnacle of the continent? Since everyone trusts you so much, I, too, will trust you just this once. It's a success. A success. We finally succeeded. This is the fourth tier holy healing medicine, the earnest snow pill. The sincere snow pill is a pill from ancient times. Although it is only 4th tier, it's much stronger than normal 4th tier medicine. Look at this soul chi. It can definitely save Lord Yun Chao. 
Six hours later it has been at least six hours. Why is there no reaction? I refined this together with Su Han. We have a deep understanding of its effects. So why does Lord Yunxiao just look a little bit healthier? It's so strange, maybe Lord Yunxiao's injuries were too severe. Why don't we refine a few more pills? It might have an effect. Yeah, you never know. Let's go refine a few more. I refuse to believe that Lord Yunxiao can't be saved if we feed him sincere snow pills like beans. Someone I treat as a teacher, Lord Yunxiao, is in a precarious situation, but even though I'm a fourth-tier refiner, there's nothing I can do. Impossible. I'll do everything I can. Hang on. The Great Array enveloped young Master Yun. TH the Array is functioning better than when we activated it together. The whole Grand Array is gradually coming alive. WH what's going on? Whoa! This chi of life is revitalizing me. Don't you dare absorb it. The two of them have to absorb all of it. The array activated for an entire day and night. Lord Qingfan, although your sincere snow pill couldn't completely heal me, you helped me recover a shred of consciousness. With that, I could control the array and activate it to heal my injuries. Young Master Yun. Yun Chao. Lord Yun Chao. Why is Meng Wu? Xingyan Kuan shattered her spirits. Unless we can find spirit nourishing wood, even the strongest life force cannot wake her up. I see. As long as there's a way. Li Yun Chao is way too calm. It's a kind of indifference that disregards everything. Young Master Yun, are you all right? I'm fine. How can a 15-year-old youth have the coldness of having experienced many challenges? Where is the old man and Uncle Chen? Your grandfather followed him. He left with him. I understand. I will go visit them. Let him go. Chen Dashing died to save him. You should be able to understand how he is feeling right now. Don't just stand here. Go cultivate. We might have to face even tougher battles very soon. I don't want any of you to leave like that next time. You're awake. Do you know what the most painful thing in life is? Ha ha. It's when you can't get drunk no matter how much you drink. After I became a martial king, I've never gotten drunk ever again. Next time, I will refine you a bottle of wine you can get drunk on. The aftermath cleanup of Marshall Flame City was quickly finished under Hong Bing's leadership. The list of missing people was put together. The ones who suffered great losses were the regular people, but since the population density in Marshall Flame City is too high, there were a few members of Heaven's Core and Heaven's Resolve too. To make arrangements for the civilians who are dead or injured. Give out the compensation to their family members in time. If they have no direct relatives, give it out to their extended family. As for the Heaven's Core and Heaven's Resolve members, give them a hundred times the amount of compensation. You have to personally hand it to their families. I have already sent Chen Jin and Han Bai into Square Inch Mountain to train in seclusion. I promised Uncle Chen that I would definitely help Chen Jin become a martial lord within a year. I have to keep that promise. How much did you manage to borrow? The Thousand Treasures Tower lent us 50,000 high-tier primordial stones. Yin Chaoyang said that he was going to go into seclusion, so he might not be around for a while. The Tianyuan Commerce Guild lent us 50,000 high-tier primordial stones, too. Young Lady Ding Linger said that she couldn't get more funds to be transferred there, so she could only lend us this much. That old geezer Yin Chaoyang is afraid that I extort more from him, so he hid himself. Humph. He wants to keep a good relationship with me without taking some losses? The world isn't that nice a place. 
Just send someone to tell him, if we can't get 200,000 high-tier primordial stones, I, Li Yunxiao, don't know him. When the time comes, even if he sent me 2 million or 20 million, he'd be ignored. Ah, uh, that, who borrows money like this? That guy is a martial grandmaster. This is basically slapping his face. And I'm the one who has to do it. City Lord. Someone sent a jade letter, telling me to bring it straight to the City Lord. It's from the Tianyuan Commerce Guild. They know everything that happened in Marshall Flame City recently, and Ding Linger also attached detailed information on the Xingyang family and the Supreme High Palace. It's as if she knows what I'm thinking. Humph. It seems that this girl doesn't trust me. She's controlling my every move, but I can't blame her for that. She invested so much in me, of course she has to keep an eye on me. Before I destroy the Xingyang family, I have to head to the Supreme High Palace first. The invitation from the Supreme High Palace. I'll be going out. Here are a few pills. Bring Ning Feichen into the pill tower to train when he comes. I've already set up here training grounds in there. I used formations to create extremely harsh conditions. Heaven's Core, Heaven's Resolve, and Heaven's Judgment can train there. Hand the leadership of Heaven's Core to Teacher Luo Yunshan temporarily. Remember to tell her about that after she comes out of seclusion. I understand. Invading the Supreme High Palace alone. The Dust Flame Empire's jurisdiction was extremely large, but the area in which the people lived took up a very small part of it. They were mainly gathered in the various large cities. There were also vast mountain ranges within its borders, taking up most of the empire's land. The Supreme High Palace was located at a cultivation ground that had very rich soul chi. It did not have a long history, but it had gained power very rapidly. They became a force whose name was known throughout the Dust Flame Empire in a short period of time. I specially changed my appearance a little so Li Yi doesn't recognize me immediately. To be able to make me prepare so thoroughly, you're really exceeding expectations, slave. Brother, please wait up. Are you attending the Supreme High Palace's celebration? Whoa! He's just a martial master? I am Xiao Jian, the son of the Hundred Sword Sect Master. May I ask what sect you are from? Let's head to the palace together. A three-star martial lord. I am the Sky Locust Sect's Ming Bai. Head to the palace together, my ass. The Supreme High Palace is right in front. It's just a few steps away. Why head together? He obviously wants something from me. Ah, uh, you're from the Sky Locust sect? Here for the Supreme High Palace's celebration? That's right. Why? Is something wrong? Huh? Did I do something wrong? What a waste. Don't overstep your boundaries. Overstep my boundaries? Brother Xiao Jian, please explain. What do you mean by overstep my boundaries? Humph, I don't know you. Don't call me bullshit like brother. Let me enlighten that idiotic head of yours. Is your social life not going well within the Sky Locust sect, and do you often offend others? Huh? What does that have to do with this? Everything. Your Sky Locust sect is famous in the Dust Flame Empire for turtling up. Ning Feichen has some ability, but the rest are embarrassments. Who doesn't know that you're the weakest sect? The Supreme High Palace was giving you more than you deserved when they invited you, but you guys are really oblivious. How could they have sent a martial master for the banquet? What arrogance. Humph, you must have been conned into this by your sect. Don't overstep your boundaries later. I see how it is. Usually, when sects send out invitations, the strengths of the disciples they send represent their attitudes. That's why, when the Supreme High Palace sent the Sky Locust sect an invitation, they only sent out Fu Jun Kel, a great martial master. Although the Hundred Sword sect Xiao Jian is just a martial lord, he is the heir of the sect. Just now, when he saw that my cultivation level was low, he must have thought that I was a disciple of a large sect, to the extent that sending a martial master was enough. 
That's why he piled smiles on his face and approached me, hoping to get to know me. But who knew that I was from the Sky Locust sect, which was far inferior to the Hundred Sword sect? He thought that he had made a lapse in judgment. If the Supreme High Palace gets angry, they could even kill me on the spot. Even if they don't kill me, humiliating me isn't out of the question. How troublesome. I'll just have to go through with it. So long as I don't get recognized by Li Yi too early. Welcome, young Lord Xiao. As I thought, the Supreme High Palace has a deep relationship with the Biming family. Even the palace gates are identical to that of the Biming Palace. It's just that it is severely lacking in majesty and size. I am Xinyang Ming from the Dusk Flame Empire's Xinyang family. The Xinyang family. So you're from the Xinyang family. This way, please. Escort Lord Xinyang Ming to his seat. This Xinyang Ming guy is a two-star martial lord. The power of Yuan Qi can be faintly felt around him. He seems to be stuck at the cusp of a breakthrough. Brother, what sect might you be from? He's just a martial master? Is he a disciple of one of the giant sects? The Sky Locust sect. Oh ho. So you're from the sky. Ha ha ha. What? The Sky Locust sect? The Sky Locust sect, huh? Yeah. What? What are the Sky Locust sect doing? Unbelievable. Hey. The Supreme High Palace held this advancement banquet as a way to display their pride and at the same time create a sense of prestige. But the Sky Locust sect makes it seem like they're the ones with prestige. Yeah, it's awesome. They actually just sent a martial master. That's the same as slapping them in their faces. Ha ha. You're right, Sonora slaps even. This is gonna be good. I don't know how the Supreme High Palace is gonna react. Would they kill him as a warning for the sect master? I don't think so, since today's a celebratory day. Although they won't be able to avoid this humiliation. With this crowd of people, even respectable powerhouses of the Dusk Flame Empire had to send men here. If I can't handle this situation well enough, it'll be a massive embarrassment for the Supreme High Palace. I really want to slap this idiot to death, but killing someone on the young master's big day is inappropriate. We're really testing this old geezer's intelligence, poor guy. May we know what gifts your sect brought for us? Gifts? Why you did bring a gift, right? Uh, um. My old storage ring got blasted open by Xiao Qing Wayne, and this new one only contains the five lying tripod and tiger fong sword. Well, we'll repay you. We'll definitely repay you next time. They didn't come for a congratulation at all. This is blatant provocation. He must have been framed by his sect. That can be the only reason. Ha ha ha. What a guy. Just bury him already. All right then. Third Jew, bring this Sky Locust sect guy in already. This master, please. Where are we going? Why did the others use the main entrance to go in? The main entrance? You're a master after all, so you should go here. There's a doggy hole here leading to the firewood room. Later when the banquet starts, I'll bring some rice for you. You should eat more, then you can go back. You shouldn't let the Sky Locust sect joke about the Supreme High Palace if you can't even deal with a bowl of rice. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. The Sky Locust sect is such an embarrassment. Eat a bit more, you baby. There's plenty of rice. I already planned to quietly leave the banquet while it was underway. I was even worried about getting spotted. This is just a free pass. Please, master, I'll head off now. Eat some more when I bring you the rice. There's a few strong people around to avoid. I gotta be careful here. This Supreme High Palace, not only did they bootleg the Biming Palace's exterior features, the interiors are basically the same. Plus, the extreme Yin Frost Chi they cultivate is actually just the Biming family's Biming Yin Frost Chi, also known as one of the most toxic true Chi in this world. And Luo Yunchang's Nanyang true Chi is incidentally one of its mitigation techniques. 
I never would have thought that both insanely potent techniques of extreme yin and yang would appear in the dust flame empire at the same time. Since the design is exactly the same, then the treasury should also be in the same spot. Back then, I massacred people in the Byming Palace on three separate occasions. If I hadn't received any help, I would have died in there all those times, so I'm already familiar with the grounds. This place may be smaller in scale, but the design is an exact bootleg. I don't even need a guide. Ha ha. Found it. Not a hint of creativity. They even copied a simple building and did it so crudely as well. Seems like we do share a fate. Old acquaintances meet again, oddly amiable feelings arise. What is he doing here? Is he here to steal too? How brave. Imagine stealing from your own sect. Whatever, he can be the scout. It hasn't been that long since I last saw him, but he's already a one-star martial lord. He's improving even faster than me. That's some skill. There are obviously strong encryption placed within this yard. If he makes a wrong step, he's done for. Sigh. Who the hell set up these encryption? It's so confusing. I did it. After enduring so long in front of that pervert, I'm finally in. Luckily, he's busy with his celebratory banquet. I wouldn't get such an opportunity otherwise. Once I find the heavenly obsidian jade and train the extreme Yin Frost Chi to the highest level, I can even face off with martial kings. The heavenly obsidian jade. That's the treasure of the Byming family. It is also required in order to cultivate the Byming extreme Yin Frost Chi. How can it be here? Who's there? What? He's the guy from the Sky Locust sect? I'm lucky it's not the master of the Supreme High Palace, or I would already be dead. Who are you? You. But if he's not from the Supreme High Palace, how could he get past the encryption so easily? I got the hang of it after secretly watching the Vice Master Ma Febai do it more than a dozen times. Even Ma Febai would not be able to clear it as quickly as that. This guy is only a peak martial master. That's still manageable. Who are you? How dare you barge into the forbidden grounds of the Supreme High Palace? Are you seeking death? He he. Now that you have a new master, are you forgetting your old one? Long time no see. How have you been, 8527? Li Yun. Xiao. He he. To meet an old friend in a foreign land, how fortunate this is. I'm a martial lord, I'm a martial lord, don't be afraid. I'm a martial lord, I'm a martial lord, don't be afraid. It's not always a good thing. If he just wants to borrow money, that's misfortune instead. Haha, <laughs> when did you become so humorous? That resembles me a bit. I don't see how this is funny. How did you know how to get past the encryption? Didn't you show me how? It's all thanks to you. Thanks for coming in first. If not for you, I would have been blown into pieces by that encryption. Thanks for doing me a favor. Cut the crap. I had to look at the steps over a dozen times to learn it. Even if you're a genius, it's not possible to do it so smoothly after watching it just once. You're such a crude person. You're born to be a servant. You know nothing about music. I figured it out after watching you take a few steps. The key to solve this encryption is a dance move that was popular in the ancient times, called the Soul Sword Tap Dance. Hear, hear. Is it like that? Why are you so mad? Getting angry is bad for your health, and the noise might attract attention from the Supreme High Palace. Come on, dance with me, lighten up the mood you. Stop the nonsense, just tell me. What do you want? Ha <laughs> ha, nothing much. Damn it. We can't make a scene here. We will be dead if we are found out. I see plenty of treasures here and feel like taking them. No way. Don't be greedy. There are countless treasures here. You can't possibly take them all. And I got here first. 
we will split everything 6 to 4. So I'll have 40% and you get 60%? Do you even know what you are talking about? Okay, you win. We will split it 5 to 5. You are just a dog from my Lee family. Do you deserve that much? Damn it. Back when I was at the great martial master level, never once did I manage to get anything out from this guy. And nothing has changed even though I am now a martial lord. Don't look down on me. 8527, you have improved. Keep it down. Don't attract attention. Tiger Fong Sword Lotus Sword Song. Forget the obsidian jade and my pride. My life is more important. Benumbing Chi, Godly Frost Sword Stance. Li Yunxiao, I will destroy you someday. I look forward to the next time we meet. Take your time. You have shown improvement. Ouch. When will this sorrow and hatred be resolved? I don't know if that brat will report this, but I shouldn't stay here for long anyway. There certainly are many good items here, but how could they compare to the heavenly obsidian jade? Damn, they almost tricked me. Oh, there are dragon bones. No wonder it could block my universal detect. Fortunately, the bones are small, so its functionality is limited. As I thought, it's the heavenly obsidian jade. It's only the size of a palm, though. Someone must have cut it out from the piece the Biming Palace has. Could the Ma family be traitors of the Biming Palace? A mere martial grandmaster tried to get their hands on this thing. He's really fearless. It has been a while since Li Yi escaped, but there has been no movement from the Supreme High Palace. Looks like he didn't report this. Ha ha ha. Congrats, congrats. All right. One more. Private sound transmission. Great Palace Master and Vice Palace Master, something urgent came up, so I will have to leave early. Please forgive me for this. Since you're busy, Lord Xingyang Ming, we won't keep you here. As your family is part of the Empire, you have many constraints, unlike sects established in the mountains like us. I sincerely apologize for this. I will personally return to make up for this next time. The voice transmitted to me was reading a very profound technique of the heart. Hearing just a few lines loosened the bottleneck my cultivation was stuck at. If I can get the complete technique, I will be able to improve by leaps and bounds. No matter how I look at it, this is the forbidden grounds of the Supreme High Palace. If I'm discovered here, it'll be hard to explain. It's the method to break the encryption. Humans die for riches, and birds die for food. Even though there might be something wrong here, I'll have to go for it. Huh? That voice disappeared. Like it had never existed in the first place. What the hell is going on? Where is this place? There was such a strange encryption outside. This place must be important to the Supreme High Palace, but it looks empty now. Something's up. Ah. Xingyang Ming. How dare you? You dare rob the Supreme High Palace? I've been framed. Great Palace Master, this is a misunderstanding. Let me explain. Explain, my ass. Hand over everything you took right now. Or I'll kill you. Cough. Run to the right. Humph. A mere martial lord is trying to escape from right under my nose? What? Dad, what happened? The encryption has been modified. What? That's... Forget a mere martial lord like Xingyang Ming, not even I have the ability to modify this encryption, and I'm a martial grand master. That's why I dared to put the quartet pavilion within it without sending anyone to guard it. Increase the search range. I refuse to believe that he can escape from the Supreme High Palace. All disciples of the Supreme High Palace pursue Xingyang Ming. Kill him on sight. Damn it. I was used. 
But if that guy can frame me without being detected by everyone else, he can't be a regular guy. Who would want to frame me, and why did it have to be me? Because you are from the Xingyang family. Who are you? That brat knows what I'm thinking? No, that's not the most important thing. That voice is the one that framed me. He was the one who framed me. He's just a peak martial master? You lived all those years like a dog. The power of a martial master is enough to kill you. You. H, how did you know what I was thinking? And why did you frame me? Ask that to Xingyang Kuan after you die. Perception Arts, Demon Moon. Eastbound Purple Mists. Universe Guarding. Hey, Brett. Who are you? Have you seen a martial lord from the Xingyang family here? You. Should die too. Revenge start. Xingyang Ming. I swear that if I, Ma Tianhe, don't kill you, I'm not a man. Xingyang Kuan. For killing one of my men, I will kill your entire clan. After Li Yunxiao returned to Marshall Flame City, he immediately entered the World God Monument to train in seclusion. Within a day, he broke the barrier of Marshall Master and became a great Marshall Master. What? You're going to Haisun City? Young Master Yun, you aren't going to the Xingyang family, right? Haisun City is the capital city of the Dusk Flame Empire, occupied by the noble families and the imperial family. That's right. I will be going to the Xingyang family. I firmly disapprove. Facing the Xingyang family now would be a futile effort. A single one of their martial grandmasters left us in an embarrassing state. Although Qing Wang has become a martial grandmaster, we are incomparable to the Xingyang family, a large family that has been established for hundreds of years. Would they not come to us if we didn't strike first? Xingyang Kuan has been missing for a few days. Did you think that the Xingyang family wouldn't be able to find out we were responsible? We should always take the initiative. I already have a plan. Just send 11 people with me. 11 people? It wouldn't be hard to gather 11 people who are martial lords or above. If such a force was at Tianchui, it could sweep through the whole country. But in the entirety of the Dusk Flame Empire, it wouldn't even be able to defeat a noble family. Count me in. For great things like this, please don't forget to bring me along, city lord. You're a martial grandmaster. You've also broken the shackles of martial king. Even you could do it. How hard would it be to me? As expected of someone who trained with the Moon Break Scroll. You have already stabilized your realm. Although Ching Wan broke through before you, he's still a step below you. The way that bastard talks, why does it seem like I'm the kid? I have a lot of trust in young Master Yun's words. Now that we have two martial grandmasters, we can try this. Holy shit! That bastard is a great martial master. No. Both of you broke through not long ago. How could you defeat martial grandmasters who have already made a name for themselves? Calm down, calm down. I've seen that bastard fight a martial grandmaster. I should stay calm. And me. Thank you for the pills, young master Yun. Congrats on breaking through. The world changes too quickly. Three martial grandmasters appeared in what seemed to be a blink of an eye. Three experts in a realm I didn't even dare to think about in the past are right in front of me, and they are paying their respects to my grandson. We will have to rely on your help this time, Sek Master Nang. Don't speak like that, great city lord. Since the Sky Locust sect has already submitted to Martial Flame City, everything will be as you order. All right. The three martial grandmasters, my grandpa, my dad, the two vice sect masters of the Sky Locust sect, Ji Meng, Hong Bing, and Ian. With the eleven of you, I will be performing the Twelve Capital Divine Thunder Array. Twelve Capital Divine Thunder Array? What kind of array is that? Twelve people have to work together to perform it? How long will it take to learn it? It's just an array that causes lightning to strike. 
It attracts thunderbolts from the nine heavens. Based on the strength of the people setting it up, the strengths of the thunderbolts attracted will differ. If 12 martial sovereigns used it, it could attract the strongest Brahma's periwinkle world destroying divine thunder. Even with the immortal golden body, if one got hit, they would be reduced to ashes. What? As for how long it'll take, we just need 6 hours, which is the amount of time it'll take to get from Marshall Flame City to High Sun City. What is it? Is there something about the array you don't understand? You should understand what I'm thinking. Can you tell me how that lord is? He's just a wastrel. What about being third on the major power chart? What about being the military breaker martial sovereign? What about being a sovereign class refiner? What about being an honorary elder? In my eyes, it's all dogs it. He has tricked so many pure and innocent girls like you into thinking about him day and night. But was it worth it? Don't talk about him like that. Though I lose weight over you. I do not regret for a haggard appearance is something I am willing to get. As long as he is well, it is a good day. I guess he's fine. Definitive news about the one close to her heart. Thank you, Yun Xiao. How am I supposed to deal with this? Can you tell me how he is right now? Teacher Yun Chang, this isn't the time to think about these things. I'll tell you when we get back. That was unbecoming of me. If you don't tell me when we get back, I'll make you regret it. Don't forget you still owe me a performance of the Guangling Odyssey. This is so troublesome. It's so troublesome, why don't you wait for Gu Feiyang to give you one himself in the future? Ah. H he will? Ahem. I don't know about that, but I will tell him your request. Thank you, Yun Xiao. All right, all right. Teacher Yun Chang, you should go back to your own battleship and familiarize yourself with the array. Did he teach you the 12 capital heavenly thunder array too? This is one of the three supreme arrays of the heavenly night palace I was part of. Although my master never let me use it, she imprinted the entire array in my mind. Attracting low-tier thunderbolts won't be a problem at all. I'm estimating that if we combine the powers of all twelve of us, we can at least attract one type of the five elements divine thunder. It would be enough to contend with the Xingyang family. It's hard to ensure the Xingyang family won't notice us if we condense a great array right above their house on battleships. They could disrupt the setup of the array just by sending a two-star martial grand master. Don't worry. I've already taken that into account. High Sun City, capital city of the Dust Flame Empire. We need a plan. If we just drive the battleship straight in, we'll catch the attention of those old fogies in the shrine. The Dust Flame Empire shrine is where the Imperial family gathers experts. There are over 30 of them, and to be qualified to enter the shrine, one has to at least be a martial king. However, the shrine is under the direct control of the Dusk Flame Empire's imperial family. They do not take orders from anyone. As long as the imperial city is not threatened, and they have not received orders from the Dusk Flame Empire's emperor, even if the four great families get exterminated, they won't interfere. There are indeed a few strong consciousnesses. We can't face them head on right now. This is just a secret art of concealment. I can't keep it up for long, and it can't fool everyone here, but it can at least make it clear that we aren't here to cause trouble publicly. Let's go find the Xingyang family. A few extremely strong consciousnesses have been observing us since we were close to Haisun City. Fortunately, they aren't showing any obvious enmity. Two of them have been following us the entire way, though. They seem to be monitoring us. Humph. Watch us if you want. With this thing as the core of the array, the Supreme High Palace will never be able to clear their name. Xingyang Family Meeting Room For the past few days, I've been feeling restless. At a cultivation level as high as mine, this can't be happening for no reason. Has Xingyang Kuen not returned from Marshall Flame City yet? Current Xingyang Family Patriarch Xingyang Yi Four-star Marshall Grand Master Yes, he has yet to return. 
Xingyang family grand chamberlain Xingyang Cheng. That shouldn't be. Although Xingyang Kuen is just a one-star martial grand master, he is a martial grand master after all. He has also refined his life Xian artifact. Even if he couldn't achieve anything, he should be able to return unscathed. Martial Flame City is just a small city in Tianchui. It isn't strong enough to defeat him. Could it be that Elder Kuen had some urgent business and went elsewhere? Humph. Xingyang Jie, the heir to the family, died. He should know the gravity of the situation. Ho ho. Xingyang Jie dying isn't a bad thing, though. It'd be even better if the other few died too. Only then would my grandson have a chance to succeed the family. Even so, Xingyang Jie is the direct grandson of the Supreme Elder. If the Supreme Elder finds out about this, that's precisely why I sent Xingyang Kuen to investigate this and bring the perpetrator to the Supreme Elder. I have already sent a message to the Heaven Gathering sect. They replied that the Supreme Elder was currently training in seclusion and would remain there indefinitely. If we don't catch the perpetrator soon, and the Supreme Elder realizes that their grandson was killed, not even I will be able to handle what is to come. Then should we send someone else to Marshall Flame City? Xingyang Jia wasn't the only one who died. I think the Chang family's Chang Feiji also died there. Although Chang Feiji is just a regular descendant in the Chang family, he's still part of the family. We can't be the only ones putting in effort for this. Inform the Chang family and see how they react. That's right, Patriarch. If the Chang family acts too, Tian Chue might catch the perpetrator and turn him in themselves. Right. Xingyang Ming went to participate in the Supreme High Palace's Ma Feibai celebratory banquet. Has he returned yet? Not yet. By right, he should have returned and reported to us yesterday. That's... I have a nagging feeling that these two incidents are linked somehow. It's making me feel uneasy. I can't find any connection between them whatsoever, but I'm getting a really bad feeling about this. Who dares to challenge the Xingyang family? That's... This power contains a very violent energy, along with a bone-chilling frost. It's as if we've fallen into an abyss of ice. This is the Supreme High Palaces. Extreme Yin Frost Qi. In the entire Dusk Flame Empire, only the Supreme High Palace has true Qi with such concentrated extreme frost Qi, but the purity of this frost Qi, not even Ma Tianhe has Qi of such high purity. What's going on? Is Xingyang Ming in trouble? Where are you? Show yourself. If you dare to do something, you should dare to own up to it. Only losers hide themselves. What's going on? Someone plotted against us? Who is it? Who dares to provoke the Xingyang family? No, this isn't just a provocation anymore. They're declaring war. Such powerful lightning and frost. If that strikes down, it won't just be our problem. The entire Xingyang family will be blown to pieces. I can sense you. Come out. You finally found us. But what of it? Yang Gold Divine Thunder, Yin Water Divine Thunder, blast them to bits. Everyone without a high cultivation base was turned to ashes. The Xingyang family has had centuries worth of history in the Dusk Flame Empire, but not once has it ever been in this state. Even the estate was destroyed. We didn't lose many of our core members, but we have never suffered this much shame before. You, you scum. I don't care who you are, but I'll find you, and I'll kill you. All elders of the Xingyang family, attack. We must eliminate them. Eh? Where are they? Damn it. S. Sire. Th. That's a very high tier rock. It's at least seventh tier. We actually did something insane. That was incredible. Summoning lightning to bombard the Xingyang family like that. 
even millennia-old families would have to think twice before doing so. The Xingyang family will go crazy now. Although they won't be able to find us out today, we should make preparations for a long battle. The scale of our revenge will be colossal. Revenge? Humph. Let's see if they can even survive this. This whole operation makes it seem like the Xingyang family took a lot of damage as the buildings were demolished, but the most important part of the family is the people. Not a single one of their experts is dead. Does young Master Yun have something else up his sleeves? Watch out. There's someone powerful. Oh? You're pretty good for a little tyke. How'd you notice me? H.M.? Wait, really? Are you actually just 15 years old, little tyke? I can't sense this old guy's presence at all. It's like he's not even there. Our universal detect can't even sense him. I wouldn't have believed he was there if it weren't for my eyes. A definite powerhouse. A seven constellations realm martial emperor. That's a martial emperor? An unstoppable force approaches. Friend or foe? Hmm, are you a fourth tier refiner? Or a third tier? No, 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 you're probably a fourth tier. Interesting. With such power, he has to be a top tier expert in the empire. There shouldn't be anyone above the Seven Constellations realm, except in the Heaven Gathering sect, the sect that backs the Dusk Flame Empire's imperial family. Even if this old man isn't something like a patron saint of the Dusk Flame Empire, his authority is definitely at a scary level. That is something personal. Does it have anything to do with you? We're in a hurry right now, so please be accommodating. In a hurry? He he he. You're afraid of the Xingyang family brats catching up to you, right? That is our business. It doesn't seem to concern you, does it? Please make way. Ho! Oh, that little brat dares to talk to me in such a tone? What is his background? Doesn't concern me? How dare you brats of unknown origins commit murder in High Sun City? That is blatant disregard for us useless old geezers. And you're saying that it has nothing to do with me? Do you know who I am? You must be spies sent by either the Heaven Sent Empire or the Wu Dawn Empire. This old man is pretty good at poisoning the well with this as a reason. He could justify killing us on the spot. I know you aren't trying to catch us, or you wouldn't have talked so much rubbish. We won't be able to win in a fight either, so just tell us what you want. Ha ha. It's so easy to talk with smart people. He he. H.M., that, yeah, that, the array you used in the air above the Xingyang family is a little interesting, although it's not good enough in my eyes. There are a few areas that are pretty good. Let me take a look at the array design. Of course, I don't want the array. I really don't think much of it. I just think it's interesting. Stop acting coy. Don't think much of it, my ass. This is one of the three supreme arrays the Heavenly Knight Palace passed down from ancient times. If all its might is harnessed, it can attract world-destroying divine thunder. Even deities in the holy region would be reduced to ashes. But a mere martial emperor is saying it's not good enough in his eyes? So you think the array is interesting? But before we headed out, the palace master told us that this is a secret array not to be taught to outsiders. We can't divulge the details about it. If we taught it to an outsider, we will definitely be punished heavily when we return. Palace Master? Which sect are you from? Why haven't I heard of a sect with such thunder arts? About that, I'm sorry, but I cannot tell you that. It has not been long since our sect came to the Dusk Flame Empire, so we do not have deep roots. We also launched a sneak attack on the Xingyang family today. If others find out, our sect will be in deep trouble. It hasn't been long. Could they be from those families? How do I know if you're telling the truth? If you're spies from the other two empires, the Dusk Flame Empire would become a laughingstock if I let you go. So, it's not that we can't hand over the array. As the saying goes, you can even summon ghosts with enough money. If you give us some compensation, we would be willing to face punishment. Isn't that right, guys? Right. That's how it is. Yeah. 
If we lose the array design, the Palace Master won't let us off easily. Even thinking about that extreme Ying Frost Chi is terrifying. If it enters my body, I might not ever be able to resolve it. Zhang San once lost a Xian weapon when he went to carry out a mission. The Palace Master beat him up so much he took half a year to recover. Ahem. Arg, if we can't get sufficient compensation, we won't hand over the array design even if we die. Great Master, you heard it too. It's not that we don't want to give it to you, we're just scared. Just give us some scrap metal as consolation. What is this logic? I'm here to rob them. I just wasn't shameless enough to blatantly declare that. Why are these people so clueless? That brat knows that he is at an absolute disadvantage against me, but yet, he's trying to negotiate. You're a martial emperor. You can't be trying to rob us and bully the younger generation, right? And he said it first. He just took away my excuse to act first. That thunder array must have attracted other people. They're probably hidden around, observing us. Thinking so hard the art style changed IP other people find out I stole from a junior, a 15-year-old kid at that, I won't be able to show my face in the Dusk Flame Empire ever again. Ahem. What kind of person did you think I, Zhu Jin, am? Would I steal from a junior? If the array wasn't interesting, I would have just taken a look and thrown it aside. Of course, I won't take it for free. Meeting me, Zhu Jin, is a great opportunity for you. I'll give you a few random things. Oh, this old guy is called Zhu Jin. I want a fifth tier Xian weapon. A sixth tier pill. The ears of the earth. Fifth tier armor. A Norway battle brush. Magical techniques. A sanctification pill. You immature bastards. 200,000 high tier primordial stones will suffice. Are you trying to make me pay your expenses? You dare play me? Play you? You're an expert at the martial emperor level. You think I dare to play you? Am I playing with my life? Are you reluctant to give us that, or are you unable to afford even that? Cough, cough, cough. Can't afford that? Those things might be precious, but they aren't precious enough for me to find them important. Besides, your lousy array isn't worth that. What about this? I'll give you 20,000 high-tier primordial stones, so give me the array design right now. What? 20,000? High-tier or highest-tier? I didn't hear that wrong, did I? Then 100,000. I can't go higher than that. That lousy design isn't even worth 10,000. I respect you as an expert, but stop treating us like beggars. Humiliating a warrior is worse than killing him. Even if I have to be annihilated along with the array design, I won't smear the name of my sect by lowering the price. I am a mighty martial emperor. How could I tremble in the face of a group of juniors? If there weren't a few presences nearby, I would have just killed them and taken the design. I knew you were afraid of the bystanders nearby. Don't cross the line, Brett. State your price. 300,000 high-tier primordial stones. Give us one less, and you'd be better off killing us. Cough. Although 300,000 isn't something I can't afford, it's a really large sum. However, I use a cultivation technique of the thunder element. Those are very rare and extremely difficult to train. If I use the array to attract thunderbolts, I can use the thunderbolts to assist my cultivation. With that, I can definitely make great advances. I have to get that array design. Okay. I'll give you 300,000, but if I find that there's something wrong with this array design, or that it's not worth this price, you will face my fury. Catch. Oh ho. It seems fine. Interesting. You should act cautiously after humiliating the Xingyang family to that extent. Don't think that you can hide it from everyone. The Dust Flame Empire is only so large. Say that after they gain enough strength. Thank you for your generous compensation, senior. See you soon. What? Enough strength? Clan leader, should we keep these 12 battleships first? 
It seems like the battleships were the ones supporting the prison of lightning just now. That's right. They probably didn't have the time to retrieve the battleships before escaping. This stone should be the key to catching the culprit. Even tearing their corpse into thousands of pieces wouldn't be enough to pay for the Xingyang family's humiliation. Humph. Tomorrow, the entire capital will be laughing at us. Huh? That's. This is bad. The battleships are self-destructing. We will be able to withstand the explosion of 12 battleships, but this thing. Everyone, work together to protect the people in the house. All disciples of the Xingyang family, run away. Run. Uncle Chen, do you see this? Although I can't bring you back, I can help you take them away Li Yunchao. Sometime before the explosion. They're headed towards the Supreme High Palace. Are they from the Supreme High Palace? The true chi leaking out from that teen, whether deliberately or not, was definitely of the extreme frost attribute. Furthermore, the lightning he summoned was also imbued with that extreme yin frost chi. Of all the sects that rose up in recent years, only the Supreme High Palace has that kind of strength. But, why is the Supreme High Palace feuding with the Xingyang family? Old Ju, you actually got something valuable from those youngsters. It's none of your business, Aodjia. Hee hee, that lightning summoning array is definitely 7th tier or higher. For only 300,000 high tier primordial stones too. Where does one find such good luck? Dusk Flame Empire Shrine Elder Aodjia. You old jerk. I can't go anywhere without you. Scram. Another word from you and I'll rip your tongue out. Humph. You really think I'm scared of? It's from the Xingyang estate. What? That massive, glowing blue thing, it emits such a chilling frost. I can feel it even at such a distance. Even I, a martial supreme, am scared. Humph. Even those old farts that I never see showed up as well. In just a moment, a centuries-old noble house was exterminated and turned into a piece of art. W.H. What the hell is this? This extreme frost chi has very strong yin energy. It seems to have used some sort of extreme yin and frost energy to explode. Only one sect in the Dust Flame Empire uses this kind of chi. The Supreme High Palace. Old Jew, you're the one who met up with them earlier. You should speak up. Old A.O., what do you mean? Are you suspecting me as an accomplice? Don't be so nervous. I'm not the least bit interested in your affairs. I'm more concerned about the Xingyang family's issue. The power of the explosion was very strong. How many of us here can say they can hold their own against it? Let alone those Grand Master Maggots. A power that can make a Martial Supreme feel threatened, hee <laughs> hee. Ju Jin, were those people really from the Supreme High Palace? It's just an educated guess. Is there anyone else in the Dust Flame Empire who can use such powerful extreme frost chi? We don't have to worry about the Supreme High Palace itself, but they seem to have connections to a major sect in the northern region. I don't want those people to intervene. Many powerhouses in Tianwu are eyeing the resources in the southern region. Could this be a ploy of theirs? From what I know, the Xingyang family has never really interacted with the Supreme High Palace. Why would they suddenly wipe them out? Humph. With the Holy Region's orders in place, who would dare to enter and meddle in the Southern Region affairs? At most, this should just be some personal grudge. They wouldn't dare to take the key to Mount Meru even if I tried to give it to them. What the hell would you know? Even if the Holy Region is managing it, what can they really do? Many superpowers don't even listen to them. Remember how Gu Feiyang vanquished all life within 4,000 miles of the Eastern Sea, causing the emperors of the Four Seas, the Bo family, to lead hundreds of sea folk of the Nine Heavens realm to attack the Holy Region, asking them to hand over Gu Feiyang? The Holy Region had the audacity to just activate their main defensive arrays and seclude themselves. They didn't dare to so much as make a sound. Old A.O. 
Are you deliberately being unreasonable? Military breaker Gu Feiyang and the Bo family, the emperors of the four seas? Who do you think they are? A pinky finger from them could destroy the whole southern region in one shot. Why don't you mention the tyrant marshal sovereign Ao Chankong's immortal golden body? Or the divine capital's three great saints? Humph. Even superpowers like the Heavenly Night Palace, Crimson Crescent City, the Biming Palace, and the Heavenly Draconic Family, can the holy region control them? Xian Pai, what's your opinion? The Dusk Flame Empire belongs to your Xian family, after all. You unreasonable me. We shouldn't make irrational guesses right now. Zhu Jin, you've met those people, so you should investigate this issue. The entire family is gone. Xing Yang was gonna go insane. Someone will have to face his anger. This is problematic. I'll have to make a trip to the Heaven Gathering sect. How am I supposed to explain this to Xing Yang Hua? Ha ha ha. All of you were just watching on the side, waiting for something interesting, not caring about anything. Now look at what happened. Are you shameless? As an elder of the shrine, you didn't even do your job by maintaining the safety of the empire. Look at that extreme Ean Frost Chi. It's still spreading outwards. People miles away will be affected by it. No one will be able to live here at all. If this persists, High Sun City will be doomed. It's not that serious. The few of us could just set up a large array and seal the extreme Ean Frost Chi. Their strongest members were at most just one-star martial grand masters. How would I have known things would go this way? One-star martial grand masters? Is it really the Supreme High Palace? Let's focus on this first and seal this Frost Chi, or the Empire's capital will really fall. All right, things will be stable for now. Everyone can return, and please be more wary of any suspicious persons entering the Empire. Soon, news about the Xingyang family spread like wildfire. The whole capital's people knew about the incident in days. People were stunned by the massive glacial structure behind the seal. The Emperor quickly sent out city guards to isolate and guard the area, but many rumors had already spread within Haisun City. Most of them said that the Xingyang family did too many evil deeds and faced God's wrath in the form of lightning. Meanwhile, all of the attention had shifted focus onto the Supreme High Palace. After returning from the banquet, everyone was notified of hatred between the Supreme High Palace and the Xingyang family. And with the appearance of extreme Ying Frost Chi, the people were almost certain of who had attacked the Xingyang family. Only one managed to guess the truth, Ding Linger of the Tian Yuan Commerce Guild. What? Are you saying that it's Li Yunxiao's doing? Impossible. I've seen the state of Xingyang family myself. That strength is something not even I could comprehend, one that killed everyone in a single moment. If Li Yunxiao had that kind of power right now, he'd have already taken over the Dusk Flame Empire. Why would he still be in Marshall Flame City? It's not just you. I don't believe it either. But I'm sure of it. It was definitely him. A confident guess. The strongest man in the Supreme High Palace, Ma Tianhe, is just a three-star martial grand master, and there are only four martial grand masters in the sect. Even if the entire sect was gathered, they wouldn't be able to defeat the Xingyang family. If even the Supreme High Palace wouldn't be able to do that, how could Marshal Flame City have done it? The strongest individual there is a mere nine-star Marshal King. They destroyed the Xingyang family? Ha ha, that's the funniest joke you've ever said, young lady. How in the world did they do it? Li Yunxiao is too mysterious. The information we got from our investigation is completely useless. We must be missing a crucial piece of information. What are we missing? Young lady, you're overthinking it. This was definitely not done by Li Yunxiao. There are less than a dozen investigative agencies better than ours in the whole of the Tianwu continent. The target is just a playboy in a small country. If they really tried, they could even find out how many times he wet the bed when he was young. There can't be any information missing. I have no clue. 
Old Man Yu, from today onwards, Marshall Flame City will be our number one VIP. No matter what they ask for, as long as we can do it, support them as best as we can. Number one VIP? Young lady, do you know what you're doing? Of course. This might be the biggest and most successful investment I will ever make in my life. Young lady, you wouldn't have fallen for Li Yunchao, would you? He might look handsome and dashing, but his status old man you. What bullshit is that? Get out. Sigh. A grown woman really can't be kept unmarried for long. Sigh. He he. Haisan City 4 Great Noble Families Chang Family. This go position is so mysterious, Lord Bailey. Ho ho ho. Sixth tier refiner Bailey Gong Jean. I, Chang Fong, have already been analyzing this position for half a month, but not only have I been unable to solve it, whenever my mind is immersed in it, I can faintly feel a thrill. This is unbelievably deep. Please explain it, great lord. Current Cheng family patriarch Cheng Fong. I can't solve this position either. Not even you can solve it? This position. You have been analyzing it for half a month, but I have been analyzing it for half a year. This is a position set by the royal throne martial sovereign, Tang Guang. It is called the Heaven and Earth Go position. It contains the royal throne martial sovereign's unparalleled understanding of formations. If anyone can solve it, he will pass down his 800 volumes on formations, making them a formation master of this generation. Ah, you're talking about the Saint of Go, the one ranked 7th on the major power chart and titled Royal Throne by the Holy Region, Marshal Sovereign Ting Guang? How did you get something so precious? You don't have to act so cautiously, old Brother Chang. Everyone in the Holy Region knows about this. There has got to be at least thousands of people analyzing this position, but there hasn't been any news of someone being able to understand the formations within. However, I have heard that many were able to comprehend a higher martial intent from it and were able to improve their cultivation greatly. It's a shame that I'm not well versed in the martial path, so I couldn't comprehend much. With your shocking strength, if you fully immerse yourself in analyzing it, you might be able to comprehend something. You frightened me there. If this was the only copy of the Heaven and Earth Go position, my Cheng family would have been the center of huge conflicts, thus getting annihilated. Ha ha. If I had been the only one with this, I would have been lying dead in God knows where by now. The Royal Throne Martial Sovereign wants to take a disciple, but the talents of those who have gone to him so far were insufficient. That is why he did this. If anyone can fully comprehend the mysteries in the position, he will take them as his disciple and teach them his principles of formations. Even if one can't fully comprehend it, understanding it partially would still bring great benefits. If none of the geniuses in the whole continent can fully comprehend it, there is no hope for me. It is definitely not easy, but you might get lucky. Maybe someone in the Chang family might be fortunate enough to solve it. If that happens, the Chang family would become strong enough to laugh at the Nine Heavens. You would no longer need to hide in a country in the southern region. If we can get the royal throne martial sovereign's teachings, no one in Tianwu's southern region would be able to defeat us. We would be able to step on entities like the Heaven Gathering sect. I will gather all of the family members later, replicate the position, and ask them to try comprehending it. I suddenly thought of something. There is someone who might be able to do it. Who is it? Everyone knows that Lord Yang Di once left a poem and painting in Tianshui. He said that if anyone could comprehend the mysteries in it, he would do any one thing for them. We have all seen that painting, and none of us were able to comprehend it. But a while ago, a youth in Tianshui solved it. That goes to show that the youth is exceptional at deduction. We should ask him to try. I have also heard of that. That idiot gave this insane opportunity to the Wang family in order to save the princess of Tianshui. I heard that it was just a message Gu Feiyang hid at the start and end of the lines to Di Xiang Di. That idiot probably got it by sheer dumb luck. Luck is also a skill. Yuan Hao also has a very high evaluation of this youth. Why not try it? Humph. 
Even if this hadn't happened, I was going to send people to find this youth. He is currently the Martial Flame City Lord, and his name is Li Yunchao. At the last Thousand Treasures auction, he was daring enough to kill a disciple of the Chang family and the heir of the Xingyang family, Xingyang Jie. I originally thought that the Xingyang family would take care of him themselves, so I didn't care about him, but who knew the Xingyang family would be hit with such a disaster? The entire capital was shaken. Brother, do you think the incident with the Xingyang family could be related to Marshall Flame City or Li Yunchao? Ha ha ha. Your imagination is really wild. The relationship between them is great enmity, but Marshall Flame City is just a small city in Tianchue. Even with the power of the entire Tianchue, they wouldn't be able to destroy the Xingyang family. You've also seen the ice at the Xingyang family right now. Even seven constellations Rome martial emperors might not be able to escape it. They wouldn't be nobodies if they had that much power. This incident certainly reeks of weirdness. I heard that Xingyang Ming stole all of the Supreme High Palace's treasures during Ma Feibai's banquet and killed many people from the Supreme High Palace. Dozens of people witnessed it with their own eyes during the celebration. It is reasonable that they would retaliate in this way. I never would have thought that the Supreme High Palace was hiding power great enough to instantly destroy the Xingyang family. The Supreme High Palace has only been established for a hundred years or so, and the palace master, Ma Tianhe, is just a three-star martial grand master. However, their true strength was way above what they showed. Now, I even suspect that they might have been sent by a superpower from the northern region. The Biming Palace, no one dared to provoke the Supreme High Palace because everyone thought the Biming Palace was eyeing Mount Meru. We haven't heard news of them in the past hundred years. That's why the forces in the Dusk Flame Empire just watched all this happen. That's right. They are one of the few superpowers of the continent, the Biming Palace. Who would be willing to take that risk? But now, they've gone and done that. It's just that I don't understand why the Xingyang family would try to rob their treasury. That old fox, Xingyang Yi, controlled the Xingyang family for over 30 years. He isn't such an idiot. There has to be something more to this. That's not important anymore. The Xingyang family has already been wiped out. Only Xingyang Hua is left. I'm afraid that he will head straight for the Supreme High Palace the moment he finds out. Xingyang Hua should be a peak 9-star martial grand master by now. He'd be perfect to test if the Supreme High Palace is bluffing. Mount Meru is about to open up. Many forces are watching it closely. There's definitely something up with the Xingyang family incident. Everything will become apparent in a few months. I also think that there is more to Marshall Flame City's mysterious rise. Not only did they offend the Xingyang family, the Chang family, and the Zhou family, they even have connections to the Wang family. Rumor also has it that they competed with Crown Prince Ruyu during the Thousand Treasures auction. Could they also be responsible for the Zhou family's loss of the five-line tripod? To stand in the center of all of this, Marshall Flame City is either comprised of a bunch of idiots, or they're a chess piece sent by some great power to observe the situation. There are rumors that the Thousand Treasures Tower is the one backing Marshall Flame City. I have asked the Thousand Treasures Tower about that, and they denied it. However, in such a situation, it is hard to tell if it is true or false. Neither the Biming Palace nor the Thousand Treasures Tower are entities we can offend. We can only watch the situation unfold silently. Yes, let's watch the situation unfold. Let's continue analyzing this heaven and earth go position. Ahaha. High Sun City Dusk Flame Empire for Great Noble Family's Zhou Family Meeting Room. The Zhou Family's higher ups were also discussing and analyzing the destruction of the Xingyang family. The conclusion they arrived at was no different from the Chang family's. The Xingyang family's demise is probably a recursor to chaos. The culprit may not be the Supreme High Palace or the forces backing them, for all we know. Dusk Flame Empire for Great Noble Families Zhou Family Patriarch Zhou Yangbiao From Ryu's bet to the theft of the five-line tripod, I suspect that Li Yunchao is a puppet of some force. All of these incidents were planned and schemed to bait the Zhou family into making a move. 
They would then act on that opportunity. Who the hell is it? They dare publicly challenge us? The most rage-inducing part is how Li Yunxiao deciphered the painting left by Yang Di, then gave the opportunity to the Wang family for a mere princess. That is the equivalent of Yushan gifting the Wang family something amazing for no reason. Zhou family elder Zhou Xing, Zhou family elder Zhou Chu. Should I make that Tianchui girl Yushan's concubine right now? The Wang family would thus have broken their promise to Li Yunxiao and would not get what they want from Yang Di. No. More than half of the Wang family's experts are loitering around the Zhou family every day. Hundreds of universal detects scan our residents throughout the day. Humph. To monitor us so blatantly, they must be determined. This is a crucial time for Yushan, who is training in seclusion. We must not make a single mistake. But what should we do about the five-line tripod? If we keep investigating it, we might get ourselves into something bad, but if we don't investigate it, what should we do about Yushan? I have already gotten two cauldrons to raise Yushan's cultivation by force. We don't need the five-line tripod anymore. Cauldrons The so-called cauldrons are comprised of two experts consuming their true yuan to raise a martial artist's cultivation base by force. One can increase their strength greatly in a short amount of time like that. However, not only is the strength increase limited, most of it is also false. Furthermore, to raise someone's cultivation base by force, you need someone at least two major realms higher than them, and after using this technique, the cauldron's true yuan will be scrapped. They will become crippled. Zhou Yushan is a martial lord. To raise his cultivation base by force, they would need experts with at least martial grand master cultivation. In the Tianwu continent's southern region, a martial grand master can form a sect and dominate an area. To raise a junior's strength, the patriarch is straight up sacrificing two great experts. Only the four great noble families have the ability to do that. We can't just leave this be, but we can't get dragged in either. What about this? Let's send an elder to investigate Marshall Flame City and the Supreme High Palace. Remember, you must never attack. Report back immediately if you find any information. Elders Zhou Chu and Zhou Xing, I'll leave this to you. Yes. The reason the Zhou family has not fallen in the past thousand years is not only our strength. Being cautious is more important. The opening of the southern region's secret realm, Mount Meru, might be more risky than any time in the past. Missing a thousand chances is better than taking one wrong step. Yes. Patriarch, the secret Ramon is about to open. A new adventure awaits? Li Yunxiao made a trip around the Supreme High Palace before silently returning to Marshall Flame City. We might have confused them, but I don't know if we can fool them. The Xingyang family still has one member, and they're an elder of the Heaven Gathering sect. His cultivation prowess is unimaginable. If he finds us, we're pretty doomed. Even if we fool them, it'll only be temporary. If it weren't for Uncle Chen's passing, I wouldn't have retaliated this soon. You shouldn't worry about this too much. Improving ourselves is the only way. With the Xingyang family's wipeout, we can at least instill some fear into the so-called esteemed noble families. No one will mess with Marshall Flame City for a short while. Not with the commotion. We should use this opportunity to strengthen ourselves. World God Monument, Square Inch Mountain Upon returning to Marshall Flame City, Li Yunxiao gathered Heaven's Core, Heaven's Resolve, and Heaven's Judgment, then brought them into the World God Monument. For a moment, the martial artists were utterly shocked. Whoa, my eyes are blessed. Where are we? This is amazing. And no wonder Marshall Flame City rose up to power in such a short period of time. You have such a legendary item. It's actually an independent space with spirituality. Young Master Yun, this Xian artifact's tier is pretty high, isn't it? It's not just pretty high even considering my previous life, this is one of a kind. Master Nang, does this fulfill the conditions I promised you? Yes. Yes it does. 
With this Xi'an artifact and the Nine Dragon Soul Absorption Array funneling in Yuan energy, they're much better than you promised. I believe that with this kind of resource availability, Martial Flame City will become a superpower within the Dusk Flame Empire's borders. Ha ha ha. Everyone. From today onwards, the interior of the Pill Tower will be your new training grounds. To help everyone with their training, I've divided the grounds into four sections. One for warriors of each cultivation level, first origin, two forces, three powers, and four quadrants realm respectively. In them are gravity fields, being tenfold, hundredfold, thousandfold, and ten thousandfold respectively. In the martial lord training grounds, not only is there the ten thousandfold gravity field, but there will also be countless surprises waiting for you. Ten thousandfold gravity? That's certain death. Surprises? The path of a martial artist is an upstream battle. Why is it that the further we progress, the harder it is to break through? It's not because the difficulty rises, but because your training efforts cannot keep up. A great martial master in a hundredfold gravity field? A martial lord in a thousandfold one? Don't embarrass yourself. Don't even think about breaking through that way. I'll tell you this. The reason you can't break through is because you haven't broken through your limits. It was never about not having enough talent or resources when it comes to cultivation. You were just never brave, strong, or determined. Yeah. We couldn't break through for so long because there was never enough pressure on us. If we train under hundredfold or thousandfold gravity, it'll even be difficult to hold back from breaking through. We never put in enough effort. I've said this before. Follow me, and you'll have as many resources as you need. As long as you train hard in this tower, I'll give you anything you ask for, whether it be pills, weapons, techniques, or even just primordial stones. All of you are entitled to take enough resources for you to break through to the next level. No limits, so take what you need. But all the resources in this tower are for you and for you only. If any of you are to smuggle any out, it'll be the end of the road for you. Take as many resources as you want. Not a single place in the world would allow that. With that in place, no one here will have to worry about using up resources. They can just focus all of their energy into training. Independent martial artists like us worry about resources the most. Deadly tussles over a single pill are common happenings. This all-you-can-eat style of resource distribution feels like a fever dream. If the Sky Locust sect had enjoyed such treatment, we wouldn't have had to hole up in Chi Yun Peak for countless centuries and live by others' moods. I came from a wealthy place as well, so there isn't much that I haven't seen. But this deal, it defies all logic. Such a massive resource drain can't be sustained for long. Once it's all used up, what do we do? Where do you think we got our resources? From everywhere. Robbing, plundering, and many other ways. When you have the strength, we just go back out and take more. You guys think I'm joking? All those superpowers in Tianwu, all of those holding a place in energy-filled mountain ranges, all of them had to fight for their resources. When did they ever distribute resources to suit everyone's needs? It was always the same rule, the strong prey on the weak. It seems very off-putting and unbelievable, but that is the truth of Tianwu. Why is it that only those superpowers can enjoy such luxury in those places, but we have to run around risking our lives just to get our hands on some scrub? We'll do it. I want to be stronger. So all of you, work hard. To those who don't move forward, I'm sorry, but we always take out the trash. The spirit nourishing wood is a treasure of sea folk, condensed from a large amount of life energy through the Kungo divine tree within the four seas. Only the four great royal families and the Bo family would have some in storage. I'd have no hope of getting any if I went there now. Unless I regain my full strength and force myself in. But when will that be? Meng Wu may not be able to last that long. Wuh. This beast still hasn't woken up after it took the second adversity-destroying pill. Monsters have strict tier regulations on their bloodlines. It may be powerful, 
but they hold less hope of breaking through than humans. It's a fifth-tier beast, and so it'll stay as one, unless it consumes some insanely rare and powerful material or encounters some mutations and evolves past its blood limitations. Only then can it break through. Little Mist seems to be at the bottleneck of the five elements realm. With each breath, it's gathering energy from its surroundings. Seems like it's a slow gathering technique. It's up to you to break through now. Eh? This energy. Deep inside the cave. You want energy toxic chi shield. This kid actually ate the whole egg in one go. Not bad. He chose to eat the egg by the more nutritious method, eating it raw. That poison rodent's purpose was to draw out the body's poisons. It's just, how long will it take for him like this? I'll find a better primer for you. To push you a step forward. Dusk Flame Empire Capital High Sun City. The best medicinal provider within hundreds of miles would naturally be the place where the best refiners within the Dusk Flame Empire gather, the Dusk Flame Empire Alchemist Association branch. A treasure hunt for the sake of the main siblings. I can't see a single martial artist. The streets seem very peaceful, but every single movement is being monitored by many gazes. The entire capital is probably in a state of high alert because of the incident with the Xingyang family. Dusk Flame Empire Alchemist Association There is a sixth tier, Grand Masterclass Refiner in the Dusk Flame Empire Alchemist Association. Its power is way above the Tianxue Alchemist Associations. It's so quiet. Why is even the Alchemist Association practically deserted? May I ask? This way. Huh? Oh. There's an instruction convention. The instruction convention is a tradition of the Alchemist Association. Every refiner has to host a public seminar when they get promoted. In it, they talk about their insights in alchemy and their experience of breaking through. Lord Bai Qianjin just rose to third tier. This is his instruction convention. Back when Luo Yunshan got me to become Jia Rong's disciple, he was hosting an instruction convention. Smells nice. May I ask what business you have? It's nothing much. Dare I ask for your name, beautiful? What a slick tongue you have. He's probably a young lord from some small noble family here to ask for pills or artifacts. Young lord, are you here to purchase pills or Xian artifacts? Fill this form over here, please. Write your request and the payment clearly. I will put it up later and see if anyone is willing to take the order. He's so fast. Done. The poison blood of a demon beast above fourth tier? Price to be discussed in person? So you're just here for materials, young lord. These things are very rare, so you'll need some luck to find it. The price is also incredible. If you don't indicate a price, it will be very hard to purchase it. In a place like the Dusk Flame Empire, there are very few demon beasts above fourth tier. One that also has highly toxic blood is indeed extremely hard to get. I'll have to ask to meet the association master. Only the higher-ups of the association will know about precious materials, huh? This smell. It's already close to taking shape. What a shame that it's going to be ruined. What did you say? Oh, it's nothing. Get away from here, or you'll get hurt by the explosion. I'll go observe. A new third-tier refiner is trying to refine a third-tier Xian weapon by force. Your courage is commendable, but your abilities can't keep up. What bullshit is this little brat saying? This kid doesn't know the world. Brat, how do you know that his abilities couldn't keep up? I think his refining is pretty good. It's about to take shape. Don't talk rubbish if you don't know what you're doing, or you will cause misfortune. Do you want to make a bet? I thought I saw light flash in his eyes when that brat first looked at me. Can he feel my strength? Make a bet. How is that possible? I must be overthinking it. What should we bet? If you lose, you'll have to listen to my orders for a year. If I lose, I will also listen to your orders for a year. 
A year? Did he really notice my strength? How is that possible? No, no, I don't think that I will lose. But if the unthinkable happens, I'm just a bag of old bones. I'll turn to dust if I have to listen to a little kid's orders for a year. You're scared? Then tell me. I'll bet whatever you want me to. This brat looks to be just 15 years old, but he is already a great martial master. I'm sure he is not from a normal noble family. He definitely has a pretty impressive sect backing him. Scared? Listening to the other party's orders for a year it is. I'm just scared that the adults in your family will cause me trouble when you lose. Even if my family causes you trouble, you are a seven-star martial grandmaster. Would you really be scared? There is a secret technique on my body, so regular people would not be able to see through my cultivation. This isn't good, Brett. Who the hell are you? I got a seven-star martial grandmaster to back me in an instant. This is very important to Marshall Flame City, which is currently at the front lines of the conflict. Ha ha. Old man, don't be so nervous. Relax. I'm not a bad person. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. We don't know who will win and who will lose yet. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. The sword suddenly became unstable. Why did a perfectly fine sword suddenly? It won't explode, right? How did this youth know that it was going to explode in advance? So far in advance, too. Ugh. Brother Qianjin, don't panic. Continue refining. You can suppress the violent energy if you just condense its shape. I'll lend you a hand. Third tier refiner by Qianjin. With you helping me out, it'll be fine. Third tier refiner Zhang Hua. You're overestimating my abilities. Although I'm suppressing the sword with my spirit power, it is not easing up in the slightest. Let's both use the form conversion technique to stabilize the violent energy, then condense its shape. All right. Ha ha. The situation is turning around. It's turning around. Turning around? Actually, they could have resolved the violent energy with just a few movements just now and continued the refining. But now, because that idiot used spirit power to suppress it and even joined hands to use the form conversion technique in ten breaths time, that Xian weapon will explode with a strength many times greater than before. What bullshit is this brat saying? People who don't know anything love talking the most. He's really shameless. 1. Please don't let him be right. Please don't let him be right. Where did this brat come from? How can you criticize a third tier refiner's skills? You're full of rubbish. Who are your parents? Two. Whose kid is this? Get him out of here. Ho. You dare look down on me? I'm a second tier refiner. Three. Just lock him up and get his parents to take him home. 4. That's right. Just detain him in my house. Brother Shiman, that wouldn't be appropriate. You're famous for going after handsome guys. That's not right, Brother Shangguan. I'm a distinguished person, not an immodest one. Just as winds will always be exposed to the rain and wind. 5. 6. How? Why did this happen? 7. Shit. I can't believe that not even two third-tier refiners can suppress this incomplete sword. How did this teenager see through it so early on? Get away. It's gonna explode. What? Run. Don't push the elderly. 8. Everyone stop. Let the second-tier refiners go first. First, my ass. Scram. How about it? Gonna admit your loss? H, how did you know? I like your honesty. Run away. Stop pushing. Staying alive is a more important. Run. Wait for me. There's only two counts left, but it can still be saved. Ah. I need to buy time for the others. Why aren't you running? The incomplete sword structure has been compromised. 
It's difficult to withstand a third-tier Xian weapon's explosive power. You'll be a goner if you don't go right now. Unfazed in the face of death, risking your lives to buy time for others, you too may not be much, but I'm speechless at your integrity. Stop. Do you know what you're doing? The spirit power we used to contain the incomplete sword got blown away by his own spirit power. Are you insane? Yule. The surge of violent energy from the sword seems to be mellowing out. Th this, his techniques are so fast. Those complex techniques and experienced movements can't be executed by someone who was just introduced to alchemy. They must have needed to go through countless challenges to have these smooth techniques and do whatever they desire. It's been more than 10 counts, with no explosions to be seen. I never would have thought I'd lose to a teenager out of nowhere. Huh. What's going on? What happened there? Has it not blown up yet? Was it not 10 counts? Why is it so quiet? There were some people who didn't run out, and I don't hear any sound. Did that sword perhaps form a sword spirit from the legends and eat everyone inside? Eat my ass. Only Shin weapons that have transcended ninth tier can have weapon spirits. Then can you tell me what's going on? How would I know? Right. Little Fawn, you go take a look. Eh? I'm just a weak little girl. It's too dangerous. Humph. You're just a random normal girl. What danger can there be? Unless you want us well-respected and valuable refiners to risk our lives there? If something were to happen to us, can you bear the consequences? Brother Shiman is right. Eh? Brother Shiman, you're still alive? You really want to see me dead, don't you? I got trampled on a few hundred times. Which one of you did this to me? Ahem, I digress. Fong, every single one of our lives are more valuable than yours. Who but you can go in? Hurry up. Don't waste our time. Yeah. Dozens of us are wasting precious time because of you. Do you know how valuable time is to a refiner? Crybaby. Quit acting for pity. Go inside. Get in there. You a... Uh, ah. Uh, huh? Hurry up. Go. Now, is there anything you still don't understand? Master, I'm still a bit confused. Why is it that when the both of us were containing the violent energy together, the outcome was undesirable? It's simple. I'm a bit thirsty. Any water? Ah. Uh, water? Hey. Fong. Where are you going? Go get some water for this master, now. Eh? Quickly. Oh, okay. You're usually pretty nimble. Why are you so slow now? Don't let our master be thirsty. Faster. Quit dilly-dallying. You didn't even prepare water. Looks like you don't want to work anymore. And master, please drink. Th, there are people waiting for me outside. I'll excuse myself. You can. Don't go anywhere else. Stay here and serve our master. He may have more orders later. What's with that attitude? How dare you yell at such a pretty lady? How dare you order her around lazily? One of you even wanted to fire her? I'm really suspecting you're not actual refiners. To be a true refiner, you must first have a heart of gold. Can you say that you have one? To treat beautiful women like this, I can't even imagine how you treat normal people. None of you are fit to be refiners. Huh? Um. Little Fong, please sit here. We were indeed too strict on you before. As a refiner myself, I need to have a kind and loving heart. If not, am I even a refiner? After hearing Master's tip, I've realized that's true. I don't have any gold coins on me right now, so please take these hundred middle-tier primordial stones as a reward from the association. Huh? 
A hundred primordial stones? How much is that worth? After hearing those words, I think I understand now. I suggest increasing Fong's salary. I remember now. Fong has worked here for so many years, but she hasn't ever gotten a raise before. No wonder we haven't improved much recently. It's all because we were missing a kind and loving heart. Yeah. Let's all make an agreement. Increase Fong's salary by ten times. OMG. We were too selfish and arrogant before. We only knew how to think for ourselves and never cared for anyone else. Ten times? How much have prices inflated in recent times? I say at least a hundred times. Sudden richness. A sentence from Li Yunxiao caused the refiners to change themselves. Fong reaches the peak of her life. That's right. It has to increase at least a hundred times. After this, let's suggest this to the Vice Association Master, who is in charge of this. If we can't get this much of an increase, let's pay her from our own pockets. Right. We should do that. Okay, okay. Based on what you just did, it seems like you're still decent people. Let's continue. I'll keep explaining, haha. <laughs> you scornful refiners who have high standards but low abilities have fallen into such a state too. I could never have imagined that they would have to beg someone else like a dog. Where is your arrogance? Where is your pride? Ha ha ha. But, which force could have trained up such a young high-tier refiner? Even the third-tier refiners have all been disciplined into obedience. What tier is that kid at? He's just 15 years old, and he's even a one-star great martial master in terms of martial cultivation. When did such a talent appear in the Dusk Flame Empire? Just now, I said that the reason the refinement failed was because the proportion of copper stop stone was too high. Because Master Bai. Master. Just call me Little Bai or Little Jean. Don't torture me by addressing me as Master. Oh. Because you just rose to third tier, Little Bai, your realm isn't stable yet. Thus, you use third-tier materials in extreme proportions to increase the success rate. But have you thought about how you would control a high proportion of third-tier materials when you can't even control a low proportion of them? That's why, during the refinement, you would certainly destroy much of the material's original structure, creating great instability. Yes, yes, yes. He he he. That makes a lot of sense. When I first entered, I felt such fluctuations, and I knew you wouldn't be able to prevent the destruction from worsening with your strength. Not even with little Hua's help. So when I entered, I told that beauty to get away from here so she wouldn't be caught up in the explosion later. I'm blind. I thought that he was some lunatic at first. He could make such detailed observations based on just the fluctuations emitted by the artifact. Oh my god. What kind of being is this master? Then how did you suppress the violent energy? Don't tell me your spirit power is strong enough to completely suppress all the energy contained in the materials. To control water, one has to let it flow and not block it. What I did was guide the flow. I used various techniques to disperse the violent energy and repaired the damaged structure of the materials at the same time. After completely eliminating the danger of an explosion, I just condensed the shape of this sword too. Damaged materials can be repaired? This is phenomenal. Oh my god. Refinement is an irreversible process. How can materials be repaired after being damaged? What rubbish. Of course they can be repaired. The resources on the Tianwu continent are depleting. If every refiner was as wasteful as you lot, and threw everything they damaged away, how many materials would be wasted? This is especially so in the high tiers. Seventh tier, eighth tier, and even ninth tier materials are all priceless. We don't have enough materials for you to waste. If Xi'an weapons can be repaired after they get damaged, of course materials can be repaired. The key to this is a deep understanding of the structure of the materials. The process of refining is actually one in which you break down the materials and recombine them. 
if you damage the material structure during the refinement, by guiding the materials and repairing them with reasonable techniques, you can still go through the regular refinement process without diminishing the effects. Although it seems possible theoretically, to actually do this would require a terrifying degree of precise control. Master. Master. There's a question that has been troubling me for many years. Master. Every time I use arrays, I get confused about. When I purify primordial stones, I sometimes. Enough. Everyone, quiet. Who do you think I am? Would I really answer your questions for free? I'm very busy. What about this? Write all your questions down. Not more than three questions per person and not more than 50 questions in total. Beautiful, help me select and organize these 50 questions. Give me questions from anyone you like. Just ignore anyone you don't like. In a few days, I'll send someone to get the questions. I'll answer all of them at once when the time comes. Farewell, master. Huh? Ah? Uh, that's, huh? What happened? It didn't explode? What happened here? Huh? What in the world happened? Little Fong? You little bitch. I told you to investigate this, but you're just sitting here. Do you think you're the leader? Eh? Uh? Lord Zhang. You. It's fine. One kick is nothing. As long as you're fine, I can take a hundred or a thousand more kicks. Fong. From today onwards, you are my sister. You have to give my three little questions to him. Huh? Accept him. Accept him. What the hell happened here just now? You guys. Tell us how to deal with this bastard. He's an embarrassment to refiners. How could he be rude to Lady Fong? Should he suffer death by a thousand cuts, be dismembered, or have his whole family killed? Just say the word. Save me. Killing his whole family is a light punishment. His entire clan should be killed. As long as Fong says the word, I'll pick up a knife and exterminate his entire clan right now. My cousin was fourth place in the last season of Dust Flame Empire's Superboy and has a good family background. He is still unmarried. Get lost. How can a good family background compare to the four great families? My nephew is a collateral disciple of the Chang family, and he is pretty young. He is a great martial master at just 64 years of age. Green Turtle Chinese Antiria, 2 years of age, mid-tier quality. It should have been picked in March 2 years ago, before the rain. Seriously? You can tell all that from its taste? I'll introduce myself. My name is Li Yunchao, but you can just address me as Young Master Yun. In this one year period, you will get a salary of 100,000 high tier primordial stones. Do you have any other requests? Wait, wait. Why you really want me to serve you for a year? I'm a seven star martial grand master. Don't you have a single bit of respect for your elders or martial experts? If you know you're a seven-star martial grandmaster, you wouldn't be trying to play tricks, right? No more salary for you. I'll just pay for your basic necessities. No, no, no. I still need the salary. I was just asking. What do you want me to do in the one year I have to obey you? You won't make me commit murder or arson, right? Whose kid are you? This brat's alchemy knowledge is exceptional. He's still so young, too. If he keeps this pace up, he will definitely become a household name in the future. Building a good relationship with him right now won't be a loss. Let me repeat myself. Call me young Master Yun. You don't have to care whose kid I am, Elder. How about introducing yourself first, O oh Great Marshal Grand Master? I'm Duan Yu. Just call me Old Duan. Yes, that's right. You have to respect your elders. All right. I'll just call you Little You, then. Hey. Are you looking for? 
the poison blood of a fourth tier demon beast or above. I want to get one to play with. What? You have one? Sigh. No, I don't. However, I know where there are some. Whatever he wants he gets. I know where to find poisonous monster blood. Humph. How's that for an answer? As if that wasn't obvious. The land of the devils, the Tiandang Mountains, the ancient barons, the gilded desert, need me to name more? Who would dare to go to those places? Even Gu Feiyang died in the Tiandang Mountains. I'd name you the controvert Marshal Sovereign. My suggestion is somewhere that's actually feasible, somewhere with a high chance of success. Is he gonna stop? Is there a mountain nearby with a few fourth-tier monsters, then? Not regulars monsters, sea monsters. Sea monsters? Are you talking about that small region in the South Sea next to the Heaven Sent Empire? That's right. It's so easy to talk to smart people. That region of the South Sea has many types of sea monsters, including fourth tiers. It'd be a piece of cake to hunt down one that carries fourth tier monster blood. Do you think I'm stupid? The seas are insanely massive, so the regions near land would have at most second tier monsters. To find fourth tier monsters, you would need to go a thousand miles into the region. Without a sea locator, it'd be near impossible to even start hunting, and even if we did have one, not getting lost is the best we can do. To try and find a fourth tier sea monster without a plan is also just wishful thinking. If we're unlucky, we may run into a higher tiered monster, we'd lose our lives in the sea, and the probability of that happening is damn high. This kid is way too crafty. How does he know so much at his age? Take a look at this. The Congo Divine Tree? You know about the Congo Divine Tree? Huh. I'm a refiner. There aren't many materials in this world that I don't know of. The Congo Divine Tree is just one of the many priceless materials. What's weird about me knowing about it? I lost my cool there. You look surprised there. You refiners are lunatics. If information on the Congo Divine Tree circulated as usual, it wouldn't matter as much. But now, Meng Wu is in a coma, waiting for spirit nourishing wood, and spirit nourishing wood is a branch from the Congo Divine Tree that has absorbed massive amounts of sea monsters' life energy. Based on this sea locator map, it should be somewhere a few thousand miles from the shore of the Heaven Sent Empire. It may not be far. But since the Kungo Divine Tree is there, there should be some high-tier monsters guarding it. We should have no problem with finding a few with poisonous blood. Alright, what's the price? Tell me everything. In detail, please, so I can have a good idea of it. What? Don't try to play dumb. If there was something good, you would have just kept it to yourself. Why else would you share this with me? He saw right through me. This kid is scary. If you don't explain everything, I'll pass. I'll pretend I don't know anything. I'm really suspicious of you now. Are you some old geezer in that body? I do need your help. I went to the Alchemist Association today for the same reason. I wanted to ask for Bai Qianjin, but it seems that he wasn't good enough. So you're considering me now. You thought that since I'm young but have strong spirit power, I'd be easy to deceive and use? Well, originally, yeah. Now, I'm worried that I found the wrong person. Had I known that you were this crafty, I'd have looked for higher tier refiners to work with. I was afraid of being scammed by the other person, so I wanted to find someone young and inexperienced. Don't worry, I'm just 15. What experience would I have? I want to beat him up. The region of South Sea next to the Heaven Sent Empire holds extremely rich and precious resources. Near that region lies a small town called Verdant Seaport. The town is quite small, but it's one of the busiest places in the southern region, with merchants doing business there every day. Other than the usual business, there are also many large powers and commerce alliance representatives with a foothold there. Many hunters from across the world also flock over here to hunt sea monsters for a living, trying to barter and trade for various resources. I'm one of those hunters. 
The strength I'm known to be at is pretty decent, and I'm usually a solo guy. My name is pretty well known among the hunters in Verdant Sea Port as well. In open waters, sea monsters have a massive advantage against us. Humans can only hunt down prey that are a realm lower than themselves. Usually, if you avoid deeper regions, you won't be in much danger. But for the same reason, safer shallow regions have already been hunted clean. So, many hunting groups have risked everything, going to deeper regions to try for better returns. I coincidentally met a team whilst hunting and saved them from a wipeout. Their leader then gave me this map as a gift to thank me for saving their lives. As it turns out, it was a map of a rainbow fog. A sea rainbow fog is a weird occurrence that appears out at sea. You know what the surface of a normal sea looks like. That surface can suddenly conjure up a rainbow-like fog that covers a wide area, thick enough that not even universal detect can pierce through it. Once rainbow fog appears, that part of the sea will lose its original form. This fog can warp space, creating a tunnel. Anyone that goes in it will be transported to another random part of the sea. Thus, any rainbow fog will have a high investigative value. This map has a marked a fixed rainbow fog, which makes it even more valuable. It's priceless. Of course, there are still massive risks. If the spatial tunnel leads to the habitat of high-tier sea monsters, we'll meet a bitter end. Also, wherever rainbow fog appears, there'll also be a pinkish crystalline dust. This kind of crystalline dust has no scent to it, and it scatters in the rainbow fog. Once it enters the human body, the person will see abnormal illusions. The only way to discharge it is to have a large amount of spirit power. You were looking for me to help dissipate the pink crystalline dust, right? Hey, are you really just 15 years old? Even long-term hunters in the many different sea regions may not know about pink crystalline dust. You're 15, but you know practically everything. Which freaking superpower managed to produce such a talent? Not only do I know of the rainbow fog, I've even experienced it once. There's a story on land that I, military breaker marshal sovereign Gu Feiyang, massacred sea folk for 4,000 miles to save a friend. The seawater surrounding that region turning red. But, humans twisted the story just to make themselves look good. Against thousands upon thousands of powerful sea folk, all of the nine heavens realm, covering the surface and the seabed, even if the top ten of the major power chart were there, all of them would be goners. The truth is, I was chased by those sea folk for 4,000 miles, but the part about massacring sea folk on that path and tainting the seawater red was true. I was forced into a dead end at one point, and I thought I was done for. A rainbow fog appeared out of nowhere and sent me to a different sea entirely. Only then was I safe from those sea folk. You are a hunter from the Heaven Sent Empire, but you came to the Dusk Flame Empire's Alchemist Association to employ someone. Not only that, you were looking for a young and inexperienced refiner as well. I can see that you're a conscientious and vigilant person. If I were to work with you, I'm afraid I'd fall into your schemes, thoroughly deceived. What in the world is he laughing about? The world is a cruel place. Since you already know how valuable this map is, you'd understand that I wouldn't find someone too powerful to work with. I'm already regretting sharing all this information with you. I think that I'm the one who'll fall into your hands. I don't really care about the map. What's more important are the Kungo Divine Tree and Poisonous Monster Blood. It's imperative that I obtain those two things. Let's discuss. What are our terms? How do we divide the gains? I need to know something first. How confident are you in dispersing the pink crystal and dust? Since you know about it, you should know the threat it poses. If it's just the two of us, I have a hundred percent confidence. A hundred percent? I never thought that your spirit power was that impressive. All the better. Then once we pass through the rainbow fog, we'll take action. So, we'll split the goods 8 to 2? 8 to 2? You're not saying that you'll take 8 parts and leave 2 parts to me, right? What do you think? Perhaps I, a 7-star martial grand master, should only have 2 parts and leave 8 parts to a 1-star great martial master? Don't forget, you're under my command now. 
Even if I don't work with you, I can go by myself and you'd still have to stick by my side and follow my orders. Fine. 7 3 split. No more. Since this map was mine, I'll probably be the one putting in most of the effort, anyways. Probably? You're using something that may or may not happen to decide the splits. Would you accept this? Arg. You think that you would do more? I'll never accept a 6 4 split. Then you can disperse the pink crystal and dust yourself. Don't blame me then. Once even a speck of that dust gets inside of you, your senses will be dull to know. Let's see which sea monster poops you out. Fine, fine. A 6 4 split it is. You have two choices first, split it 5 tive. Second, the Kungo Divine Tree will be mine, and you will help me hunt a fourth tier or higher sea monster. The rest belongs to you. Choose one. No way. Don't push it too far, kid. A 5 5 split is just wishful thinking. As for the Kungo Divine Tree, you know that it's an insanely valuable material. It's so difficult to determine its price that it might even be more expensive than ninth tier materials. Hunting down a sea monster for you would be just fine. Talking to me like that, are you sure you have any sincerity? I don't have sincerity. A 5 5 split is already a massive loss for me. But if I have to give you the Kungo Divine Tree, once we're in that region of sea, if there's nothing else other than the Divine Tree, you might as well just leave me for dead in the sea. That's why, when doing business, you need to learn how to take losses, only then can you have any gain. Don't forget again, you have to listen to me. The fact that I considered a 5-5 split is already me being nice. Four heavens. Where's my luck? Why did I go for that bet when I didn't have to? Fine. I accept the 5-5 split. But I have one condition. What condition? Say it first. If it's anything like you picking first, I won't accept. Four heavens. I've definitely used up all my luck. Why did I go for that bet when I didn't have to? My condition is, when you have the power, you must help me refine a Taishu Emperor Gold Pill. All right, I accept. Really? Do you know what Taishu Emperor Gold Pill is? Do you know what tier it is? This is a legendary pill that increases the chance of breaking through to a Martial Supreme once you're a 9-star Martial Emperor. You better not be pulling my leg. You have to know that this Taishu. Taishu Emperor Gold Pill, a high 8th tier pill. Made from three main materials. Flying Boar Tusk, Cobble Snake Grass and Phoenix Blood, an additional 9th tier material, Crystallized Dragon Breath, 1720 of any other compound materials. 12 different types of arrays during the refinement process, 360,000 hand movements and seals. The refiner must be at least 8th tier, same for spirit power strength. They must also prepare 3 7th tier spirit replenishing pills to refill on spirit power during the process at 3 different exact times. Even if all above is done, an 8th tier refiner may still fail this refinement process anyway. Sergeant, spirit nourishing pill and spirit replenishing pill are different, probably. We should go now. I have some important matters at hand, so I can't stay for much longer. Oh? What matters? We'll talk afterwards. I'll need your strength later on, old Duan. An adventure out on the sea. Going on a campaign soon. A Tiger King battleship? This is a fifth tier item. But should you really be showing it here? Recently, some mysterious expert came to Haisun City and wiped out the Xingyang family in an instant. It was sensational. The entire capital is in a state of alertness. Hundreds of gazes might be on us right now. That is exactly what I was trying to achieve. It's about ready. Let's go. Are you really not afraid of anything? Chase them. Go report this. Dusk Flame Empire Shrine. Huh? It's him. Damn it. I was too late. They left in the direction of the heaven-sent empire. Since we've already caused the scene, why not mess with the various forces' vision too? 
The messier it gets, the better. I need to buy Marshall Flame City more time. Are you crazy? Why would you provoke them for nothing? Aren't you afraid of the old guys in High Sun City chasing us? I have you here. What is there to be afraid of? Those guys are all Marshall Emperors. Just block them for a bit. With the speed of the Tiger King battleship, I'll be able to make an escape. The heck? Heaven Set Empire Verdant Seaport. The Heaven Set Empire is the strongest out of the three empires in the Tianwu continent's southern region, and more than half of its martial artists are gathered in Verdant Seaport. Although it is a small port, it is much bigger than normal cities. It has a population of over 10 million and is the most developed place in a sixth tier Green Phoenix battleship. He, he This is a real eye-opener, isn't it? Since I first saw him, he has been acting calm and looking down on everything. I always wanted to ridicule him a bit. Did you know? You need to gather at least five sixth-tier refiners to refine a sixth-tier Green Phoenix battleship. Let's not mention the southern region, even in the other three regions, which are stronger, sixth-tier battleships are very rare. Eye-opener? I only see a very poorly made 6th tier battleship. It's just an empty shell. What a waste of materials. I never knew that Green Phoenix battleships could be made so trashily. You. Although I don't like these battleships either, it's mainly because I don't have one. What the hell do you know? How honest. Do you know which forces the only two Green Phoenix battleships belong to? The left one belongs to the Thousand Crane Pavilion. I heard that they spent an astronomical sum of primordial stones to purchase it from the Deity Transformation Sea. You should know of the Thousand Crane Pavilion, right? Their position in the Heaven Sent Empire is the equivalent of the Heaven Gathering Sex position in the Dust Flame Empire. As for the one on the right, it belongs to an even greater faction. It is owned by the Eastern Region Star Mansion Sect. Have you heard of the Star Mansion sect? I knew you didn't know. Look at that blank expression of yours. I'll tell you. The Star Mansion sect. The Star Mansion sect mainly trains in the Wave Shock technique, which requires large quantities of sea monster pills to support it. With such a high demand for sea monsters, it is no wonder they pay so much attention to Verdant Sea Port. However, I heard that their main forces are still gathered in Heaven's Abyss City, a city in the Eastern Sea. That is the place that has the richest sea monster resources in the Tianwu continent. Also, the Sec Master, the Star Mansion Oldie, loves fresh young girls around 13 to 14 years old. Because of that, the Star Mansion Sect built a palace for him, where they raise girls for him to enjoy was going to pretend, after being enjoyed by the Star Mansion Oldie, the girls he likes will be kept as servants, and the ones he doesn't like will be either killed or released. He's that evil? He should really be killed. But I refuse to believe that you know everything in this world. There are many things I don't know, but they're all outside the range of your understanding. Ha ha. Trying to compare your general knowledge to mine is just frustrating yourself. Let's go take a look around first. I want to buy some things. Ha ha. Only little brats are curious about new things. Mock him when I have the chance. Country bumpkins act like country bumpkins. You've never seen the world. After you take a look around in Verdant Sea Port, you can go home and brag about it to your family. Any random patrol team has a team leader at the Marshal King level. Even the lowest ranked team members are great martial masters. And there are many such teams in this port. I have to develop Marshall Flame City's power to be even stronger than Verdant Sea Port. If you're using Marshall Kings as team leaders, I will use Marshall Grand Masters as team members in the future. Verdant Sea Port Thousand Treasures Tower. This way, esteemed guests. I am Xiaoya. Do you need anything? Verdant Seaport Thousand Treasures Tower Receptionist Xiaoya. Kid, I'm telling you, this is the largest commerce guild on the continent, the Thousand Treasures Tower. Only exceptional people can make transactions here. Could you get the person in the highest position here? Huh? TH the highest? I noticed these two people when they first entered. 
The elder has a strong aura, so I was focusing on him. Could this strong elder be the youth's servant? Although the Thousand Treasures Tower is open for business, it is also a superpower. If he is just here to cause trouble, we won't even know how we died. Young Lord, why are you looking for the Tower Master? Do you have any backers? Someone who can call for the highest authority immediately only comes once a few months. It is very likely that he was sent here by his superiors to check up on some business. I want to make a business deal worth a million high-tier primordial stones. A million high-tier primordial stones, this way, young lord. I will call the tower master here immediately. A transaction worth a million primordial stones. If she succeeds, she won't need to worry about living costs for the rest of her life. Esteemed guests, please stand by. The Tower Master will be here soon. Hey! I said, stop fooling around. Are you here for real or not? If you're faking it, it's not too late to run away. Calm down. Of course it's real. How many lives would I have to have to play around in here? You brat! Welcome, esteemed guests. I apologize for the poor reception. I am Yukon Shun, the Tower Master of the Thousand Treasures Tower's Verdant Sea Port Branch. May I ask for your names, esteemed guests? Thousand Treasures Tower Verdant Sea Port Branch Tower Master Yukon Shun. I am Li Yun Chao. Just call me Young Master Yun. It's pretty unexpected that you're an expert at the Marshall Grand Master level, Tower Master. You're overpraising me. I broke through to one star Marshall Grand Master by luck. I'm probably going to be stuck here for the rest of my life. I'm just like a candle in the face of the moon compared to this master here. Nah. Xiaoya, bring out my treasured top grade tea leaves. Yes. Please try my thousand year deep sea fermented tea. It is grown deep in the South Sea, thousands of miles away, and cannot be purchased with gold coins. Even if you offer primordial stones, the supply is very limited. What great craft. Here. HM, I haven't tasted highest grade tea leaves in many years. Verdant Seaport is such a profitable place. You really know how to enjoy yourself, Tower Master. You're overpraising me. To keep this place uncorrupted, I have to toil away day and night. There's nothing to enjoy. What business deal have you come to propose? How could it be worth a million high-tier primordial stones? It's actually nothing much. I just wanted to, beautiful, have another cup. Borrow some items worth a million high-tier primordial stones. The deal worth a million high-tier primordial stones is just borrowing money again. Haha, <laughs> you're very humorous, young Master Yun. So the business deal worth a million high-tier primordial stones is actually borrowing a million from them? One sad constant of human life, borrowing money constantly. At least a few dozen people surrounded us right after the Tower Master finished speaking. I can feel killing intent everywhere. Hee hee, you're jumping to conclusions, Tower Master you. We can take our time discussing it'd be a shame for such fine tea to go cold. I should never have listened to this brat. I feel moths in my stomach. Just look at him. He doesn't look like he's here for business at all. He's gonna get me killed. This little kid doesn't seem to be scared at all. Is it possible that a strong force sent him here to cause trouble? But if that was the case, there'd be no reason for such a farce. Sigh, there goes my pay raise. Your words are really deep. Could you please elaborate? The Thousand Treasures Tower may be massive, but I am limited in power. If we were talking about roughly a hundred stones, I could just have had someone sponsor you. But with your numbers, I can only take it as a joke. I'm not joking at all. Oh, you're not joking. How many people are outside? How strong are they? Can I escape through those windows? Is fleeing still an option? I'll leave. I don't want any blood on me. How much can this card borrow, then? This. This is definitely real. A Thousand Treasures Tower VIP card. And it's higher than what I can give. 
I didn't know that you were a VIP of the Thousand Treasures Tower. Why didn't you say so earlier? You made me very nervous. This is the identification of a first-tier VIP, so you can get a large discount at any Thousand Treasures Tower branch. But as for borrowing stones, it has never happened before. Usually, only the heads of powerful forces or powerful individuals can become a first-tier VIP of the Thousand Treasures Tower. Why would those people come here to borrow primordial stones? There are less than 10 VIP cards of this tier in the entire South region. Not even I have the authority to distribute these. Yukonshan changed his attitude and demeanor the moment he saw that card. How valuable is that card? Is he pulling my leg? A first tier VIP of the Thousand Treasures Tower? Who the heck is this kid? Humph. A first tier VIP card seems like the highest rank, but it's just a weird categorization trick the Thousand Treasures Tower did to make cardholders think that their card is very valuable. As for cards higher than this first tier card, there are at least four more tiers, the highest being a simple piece of wood, the Supreme Tier VIP. There's no more than five of those on the entire Tian Wu continent. I never had one of those in my previous life, but I did have a Jade card, which is a tier lower than that. Even that card is already a rarity itself. This card actually isn't all that great. If that's the case, I won't make things too difficult for you. My only option is to sell this card somewhere else. I'll just sell for however much it can fetch. I think I can still get a few hundred thousand then. Sell it? A first tier VIP card is already a rare existence in the southern region. There will definitely be buyers fighting for it. A first tier VIP can enjoy a 30% discount on anything. If another commerce guild gets their hand on it, the entire southern region's prices will be affected. Which damned person gave this lunatic a first tier up card? This feels like a catastrophe about to happen. If the higher-ups get angry, would it affect me? How about you buy it? I'll give you a discount too. Who the heck did I decide to follow? He won't get us in trouble, right? Will there be a problem going into a rainbow fog with him? Young Master Yun, please don't take this as a joke. That's all I came to talk about. You can think about it for a bit. I'll be in Verdancy Port for a few days. I'll return here at the end of my stay. You can make your decision then. Please, young Master Yun. I'll have to put a lot of thought into this. Right, we do have a favorable reputation in Verdant Seaport. If you face any challenges, you can just tell anyone to inform us. Tower Master, you really have such a bright future. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you, young Master Yun. I'm going to visit the Heaven Sent Empire's branch. I'll be back soon. You guys can make the decisions in the meantime. If the team comes back before I do, do whatever he asks. If you can do this for me well, I'll increase your pay tenfold. Tenfold? Who is that team? Oh right, do anything but lending money. Little you, lead the way. You know this place better than me. Ha, huh, there are still some things you have to ask me about. Don't think you're so awesome coming from somewhere strong. When it comes to hunting, you still have to rely on men. In Verdant Seaport, whoever lives off the sea would have to respect me. Oh? Old Duan? I haven't seen you for a few days. I had to send men to look for you everywhere. Heaven set empire soaring sword sec Ma Wendy, Ma Wendy, why look for me? This guy always lurks around in Verdant Seaport, looking for weird opportunities. Of course there's something. Ding ding. Ha ha ha. One star great martial master? I found something good recently, so I decided to form a large group hunt. Would you be interested in it? Not interested. Eh? Really? The good thing you mentioned is a rare sea beast. Usually, people will form large hunting groups to take on higher-tiered monsters. I know, hey. Don't keep rejecting it. You're known for your skills after all. There's no way we wouldn't invite you for such a hunt. You'll definitely get something out of this. Come on. 
Give it some thought. No means no. I'm more into solo hunting recently, and I'm going out to sea now anyway. That's not your usual style, though. Old man, we're gonna go hunt a sixth tier sea monster. Sixth tier? You're courting death. What beast? Who else is joining? A sixth tier beast is equivalent to a martial grandmaster. Since it's out in the ocean, there needs to be at least one martial emperor to take it down. All right, all right. Just say you're interested, sheesh. Hee hee. Elder Hanya of the Hanya sect, Shirhong Kai of the 4-H Corp, Yin Feel of the Slaying Tiger Clan, the Situ Couple, and me. If we count you in, that would make seven people. Ah, uh, you guys want to use the seven star striking array. With those people and the seven star striking array, we do have a good chance. What beast is it? He 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 a violet. Nine. Striped. Moth. Are you crazy? Where'd you find that? That thing's a seventh tier beast. Oh? A violet nine striped moth? Is it a young moth? Treasure found. Is it a young violet nine striped moth? Huh? How did you know? That's right. It is a young moth. If it had been a fully grown one, only martial emperors would even think of going after it. This is a once in a decamillennium opportunity, old Duan. Just think about it. It only has sixth tier strength, but we can fetch a price better than most seventh tiers for its corpse. How rare is such a good opportunity? If you miss this, you'll never get such an opportunity again. It is said that violet nine striped moths have the bloodline of ancient true dragons. It is just sixth tier in its youth, but it automatically evolves into a seventh tier beast when it matures. If it can live to 500 years old, it can evolve even further to become eighth tier. A purple nine striped moth that has lived a thousand years can challenge the breakthrough to ninth tier. After becoming a ninth tier, if it can overcome a catastrophe, it will be able to transform into a dragon, recovering its ancient dragon bloodline and entering the mythical ten ultimate realm. He must be from an exceptional family to have such knowledge, right? God knows which family he's from. Ask him yourself. He's probably Duan Yu's disciple. Senior, are you in? Give me some time to think about it. Kid, if you miss the purple nine striped moth hunt this time, you might never get such an opportunity again. It's a young, sixth tier purple nine striped moth too. The blood of purple nine striped moths are highly poisonous. It's exactly what I'm looking for. How will we distribute it when we succeed in the hunt, though? Feels like the power balance in their relationship isn't quite right. The distribution is up for negotiation. It will be split eight ways. I'll take two shares, and you'll get one each. I will also give each of you another 50,000 high-tier primordial stones. How does that sound? This is the common distribution method. The organizer can get one extra share, but will have to give the other participants additional primordial stones. As the organizer, I am also responsible for the distribution of the spoils. The participants at higher cultivation levels usually get the first pick, but I will be picking last, so no one has any objections. How does your strength compare to the others, old Duan? That Hanya guy has a similar strength to me, but the others, humph, they're insignificant to me. If that's the case, we can participate. Besides, what we're doing is heavily dependent on luck, so there's no hurry. Ha. Huh. All right. I'll go check out what the rumored purple nine-striped moth is like. Duan Yu is a famous martial grandmaster. Many factions tried to scout him, but they were all unsuccessful. But yet, he's listening to an inexperienced youth? Since he's not Duan Yu's disciple, and he is a great martial master at such a young age, it's highly likely that he's an illegitimate child. Then let's not delay this any further. Let's head out. Let's go out to sea. This way. Everyone is waiting inside. Help yourselves. Old Duan, I thought you had gotten swallowed by some sea beast. Ha ha. Hanya, who was the one who was swallowed by the hundred sow iron frog last time? 
Ha ha ha, I thought you had already been digested by that thing. Old Duan, you're courting death. We both know the depths of each other's abilities. You can't beat me, and I can't beat you either. We're all on equal footing, so don't act all high and mighty in front of me. Humph. That old man is smoking soul grass. It is beneficial for one's body and cultivation. I'll introduce the rest of them. They are all people who are well known in Verdant Sea Port, and all of them are Six Directions Realm Marshal Grand Master experts. The middle aged scholar wearing a headpiece is the Square Pavilion Sher Honkai Nice to meet you. This young man is the tiger slaying Sex Yen Feel. Yo! Lastly, the couple there is Situ Sheng and his partner, Tang Chiao Chiao. Both of them are martial grand master experts who made a name for themselves a long time ago. They are renowned in Verdant Sea Port. Although they like to assume the appearance of youths in their twenties, they are all old creatures who are eighty to ninety years old. Ha ha ha. Greetings. I have long heard of your famous names. That youth should be old Duan's disciple. Let's stop making small talk. Ma Wendy, where is the purple nine-striped moth? Let us see the map. All right. Behold. Here it is. Ah. This is bad. It is in the same direction as the rainbow fog. They are even within 30 miles of each other. This guy really can act. He definitely saw that the two are in close proximity to each other, but his face showed no sign of it. He is really good at scheming. Old Duan, is there a problem with this location? Damn. That old creature saw my emotions. I can only blame myself for this, though. Even a kid can hide his emotions better than me. Old Hanya, why do you say that? Stop acting dumb. When Ma Wendy pointed in that direction just now, your actions made it so obvious. Everyone is on the same boat now. Our lives are tied to each other. If you still aren't willing to share any information, humph, this mission might be dangerous. What Senior Hanya said is correct. Everyone is on the same boat. If there's some kind of danger there, you should tell us truthfully. What should I do now? Everyone here is as crafty as a fox. Would I really be able to trick them with a lie made up on the spot? I can't tell them, but I can't not tell them. Damn it. What should I do now? This is all because that kid cursed me. Old Duan, is this the place where you got the bloodfish fungus last time? The bloodfish fungus. The bloodfish fungus? Is that the legendary earthly treasure that can be directly consumed to increase one's strength, the bloodfish fungus? This kid is so quick-witted. I can't compare to him, Ark. Fine, I'll tell you. That time, we went out to sea with a party of seven, but I was the only one who returned. All because of that cruel bloodfish fungus. Old Duan, you were already a seventh star martial grandmaster when I first met you, but you're still at that level. If you got a bloodfish fungus, would you not have consumed it yourself? That's right. No matter how much a bloodfish fungus is worth, no one would sell it. Hee hee. That's a treasure that can immediately increase your cultivation by a star. It's all because of this brat. He's the one who consumed the bloodfish fungus. What? Old Duan, stop joking. At that cultivation level, if that kid had consumed the bloodfish fungus, even if he hadn't straight up exploded, his dantian would be ruined. How could he still be standing here, alive and well? That's right. Besides, what is his relationship with you? How would you be willing to give him a bloodfish fungus? You're done for after this is over. He he he, don't try to guess our relationship. Basically, I split the bloodfish fungus into over a thousand portions and gave him one portion per day. How else could he have become a great martial master at 15 years of age? Is there such an exceptional disciple in your families? If a bloodfish fungus is split, most of its energy will be lost. It also doesn't retain its energy for long. If you split it into a thousand portions and give him one per day, at least 80 to 90 percent of its effects will be lost. As I thought, he's an illegitimate child. 
What a waste of such a grand treasure. Ah, you youngsters wouldn't know. There are many things more important than your cultivation. Stop talking, and that includes family. When you form your own families, you'll understand. Stop talking. Stop talking, big bro. I'm just your stepbrother born of the same mother, yet you treat me like a real younger brother. When I make it big, I will repay you, big bro. Huh? They were born of the same mother? Duan Yu is at least a hundred years old. How old would his mother be? She sired a fifteen-year-old son with a different man? Brother Duan is so mighty. Bro, bro. Irk. A brotherly bond. Vicious. He's so vicious. If this news spreads, how can I show my face in Verdant Seaport? Humph. You did this to yourself. Don't try to beat me in intelligence. Um, well, brothers stay together when facing danger. Since you brought your brother along, this excursion will be a smooth success. Mm, MHM, yeah. Let's talk about something else. Come. Let's study this locator map and make our battle plans. Brother Duan, what kind of danger did you face last time? Tell us. Rainbow Fog, Rainbow Fog, I won't argue with the kid for now. It's all for the Rainbow Fog. It was nothing really. We just ran into an underwater vortex. I was lucky enough to escape it, albeit alone. Thank God I didn't run into the purple nine-striped moth, or I would have met my end there too. An underwater vortex. Damn. I guess no one could have expected that. Everyone. We will be using the seven-star striking array against the purple nine-striped moth. All of you should already be familiar with said array. All we need is good cooperation. This trip will take about a day's time. Shall we practice in the meantime? Brother, I won't stick my nose into you Marshal Grandmaster's business. The seven-star striking array is a very common tandem array. Its simple execution yields powerful effects. If we cooperate well, trapping a sea beast a realm higher than everyone should be no problem. I haven't had any spare time ever since I broke through to one-star Great Marshal Master. This is the first time I have gotten to train since then. After reaching the first stage of the tyrant body tampering technique, a body like glass, one can train with true chi alongside normal chi without any drawbacks. A day later, the battleship reached its destination. Ma Wendy, are you sure that this is the right place? Maybe the purple nine-striped moth already swam away? No way. Sea beasts are just like normal beasts. They have their own territories. Since the purple nine-striped moth is in this area, it won't leave unless it's dead or a stronger beast chases it away. Brother Seacomb is right. Come. We greet Elder Ma. Start. Yes, sir. Snake scent grass solution? You're amazing. You can even recognize such an uncommon herb. Snake scent grass is a favorite of scaly beasts due to their smell, acting as a lure. It's definitely best suited for luring it out. It's just that purple nine-striped moths are already akin to half-dragons. The seawater will also dilute and dissipate most of the smell, so it might not be able to lure it out. Lord Ma, you have a backup plan, right? Hmm. Your brother is definitely a genius. Is your brother also a refiner? So what if he knows about snakes and grass? If you knew about this kid's insane talents, you'd be hitting yourself with a brick. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Come on, stop calling him my brother already. I'll never be able to fix this. Humph. Ho. The Soaring Sword Sick definitely lives up to its title. They're powerful. He he. Do you know of this array? I don't. Could you please teach me about it? Ha ha ha, this is the cloud drop array that was handed down from ancient times within the Soaring Sword Sect. It allows us to search for anything breathing within 500 miles. 
As long as the purple nine-stripe moth is still here, it'll definitely be able to detect it. So that's how it is. The Soaring Sword Sect is awesome. Handed down from ancient times my ass. So strong. In Royal Throne Martial Sovereign Tang Guan's 800 arrays and formations, there are 12 beginner level ones. The Cloud Drop Array is just one of them. You can only fool plebeians with that. It's here. The clouds are spreading and the mist has dispersed. The moth is here. Let the hunt begin. It's here. Attack. Drive the battleship away from here and hide. This isn't a battle you can watch. That monster is coming after me. Sparing sword sect. Scorching sunstrike. Damn it. Seven star strike, start. Brother Ma, you owe me one. Seven star strike, start. Seven star strike, start. Seven star strike, start. Stop wasting time. Seven star strike, start. Combine. Be careful. That monster is about to use its innate ability, Seabid Draconic Thunder. Ha ha ha. It's a brute through and through. It's at most in the six directions realm. As long as we form the seven star striking array, even seven constellations realm martial emperors would have a hard time breaking it open. Seabid Draconic Thunder? It already awakened its innate ability. If it doesn't die this time, it should be able to reach 7th tier. Can they block it? Ha ha ha. No matter how many times you try, the result will be the same. Wasting your energy will only let us catch you earlier. Something's off. You a. Uh, ah. Ugh. As expected of a violet nine-striped moth, which possesses part of the dragon's bloodline. It realized that the key to breaking the array is to attack the people setting it up after testing it for a short while. You're nothing more than a brute. Even a simple illusion can trick you. White Flame Ghostly Strikes Six Evils Halberd. We're screwed. It's too strong. Where are those six motherfuckers? Are they all dead? I can't escape. I'm gonna die either way, so I should at least kill this beast. Kill my ass. If you don't want to die, get over here. Motherfuckers? They're the smart ones. The moment the array broke, all of them hid themselves and escaped. But you waited for a chance to ambush it, like an idiot. If you want to live, get on. I was the clown all along. What? They ran away when the array failed? Those damned cowardly turtle heads. When I find them, I'm gonna crush them to pieces. Can you stop yapping around and get up here? You're like a little girl. You were stupid, so don't complain. The fifth tier battleship isn't going to outspeed the purple nine striped moth. You should go first. I can buy some time for you. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll leave it to you. I'll be on my way. I was just saying. You better not leave me out here. Okay, seriously. How do we plan to deal with that? It's gonna catch up to us soon. Just find someone else to take the hit. Since you don't want to fight it, that's our only play. Oh. Good idea. Damn you, Ma Wendy. Now your men will go down. Get ready. Who is it? Old Duan. Mister, what's the situation? Humph. Explode. What's going on? Eh? Where's old Duan? And his brother? Where did both of them go? Ah. Haha, <laughs> they deserve it. How dare they do this to me? 
You should also blow up their battleship to injure the purple ninth striped moth further. Do you think I'm a ninth tier refiner or something? With my current spirit power, I had to lay out an encryption and a universal mark in order for the explosion to work. Even then, I've depleted a large store of my spirit power. I'm really impressed, you know. You, a one-star great martial master, can still stay calm and collected in such a scenario. You saved me from the purple nine-striped moth, too. You have my respect. I owe my life to you. I'll remember that. Don't celebrate too early. We aren't done here. If I were you, I'd be healing myself now. Take those pills. We might need you to fight later. Why would I? With this distance, we should have no problem escaping if we put in all our effort, right? Who said I'm escaping? What? What did you say? You're not going to try to get the kill on the purple nine-striped moth, are you? This is insanity. This is, you're insane. You might not want to live, but I do. Go by yourself. Who said I'm going by myself? Eh? Then you, Ma Wendy, is pretty ruthless. He can still hide in silence even when his people are getting slaughtered. I want to see how long he can hide for. Do you mean that the six of them haven't left and have hidden themselves? You think the other six are dummies like you? All of them have used secret techniques to hide themselves above the sea, waiting for an opportune moment. And all of them will wait for someone else to make a move first, then come out later to reap the rewards. Only your dumb ass decided to come out and make the first move. When I get my strength back, I'll kick their butts. Stop complaining. It's your fault for being stupid. Rest up quickly. You're gonna have to fight sooner or later. That calm demeanor is definitely real. No one can fake that. Only one that has been through countless challenges and faced failures can stay serene in such a precarious position. Winds and clouds in hand the world is mine. His methods always surprise me. Maybe he does have a way to defeat this beast. It's coming. A water-based true spirit will naturally fear fire, let alone a projection with a breath of a true soul phoenix. This is the tear suppression between the strengths of beasts. We're done, for now. What did he do? I can't face reality. I don't understand. Where do I stand under you? A sixth tier sea beast that I couldn't kill even when I was ready to give up my life was captured so easily, without any bloodshed? Ha ha. Congrats, Brother Duan and Young Master Yun. What mighty powers the two of you have to capture the violet nine-striped moth alive? My congratulations. Looks like we didn't come in vain. Ha ha. What does you coming have to do with us? We'll be heading back now. Please go back to wherever you came from. Ho ho. That's not quite right. Did you forget about the people who helped you along the way the moment you got your hands on the prize? Think about it. Brother Duan, if the seven of us hadn't worked together to use the seven star striking array, wasting most of the violet nine striped moth's energy, could the likes of you really have tanked a strike from it without dying? Duan, you, just go along with it. Split it into seven equal shares like what we agreed on. We can just let you get the first pick. What? Seven shares? Auntie Tang, didn't we agree on splitting it into eight shares? The Soaring Sword Sick will be taking two shares. When did that become seven? Eight shares? We agreed that we would give you an extra share because the Soaring Sword Sick's contributions would be the largest. As everyone could see, other than bringing the Violet Nine Striped Moth out, you didn't contribute a thing. Why should you get an extra share? You. Don't be impatient, Brother Ma. Distribution should be done fairly. I think what Lady Chow Chow suggested is fair. That's right. Brother Ma, I also think that dividing it into seven shares is fair. All of you are right. I agree that we should be fair. 
I was the one who trapped the violet nine-striped moth in the tripod. Do I get a share too? You? Brother, you don't think that trapping the violet nine-striped moth in a fifth-tier tripod is your own contribution, right? If we hadn't set up the seven-star striking array beforehand, would you even be able to stand in front of the moth? Ho-ho. Being down-to-earth is a virtue. Do not covet something above your skill level. Right. When you captured it, the violet nine-striped moth was already weak beyond recognition. Even a martial master would be able to capture it easily, let alone you. What about this? Pick a third-tier Shien weapon from your big sister here. That will be your reward for get it. A violet nine-striped moth isn't something a being like me can covet. Absurd fantasies can be harmful. What maturity at such a young age? Brother Duan, you really have a great younger brother. No wonder you're willing to give him something as precious as a bloodfish fungus. Humph. Wait, no, the previous distribution method was for a dead violet nine-striped moth. But what I captured in this purple tripod is a live violet nine-striped moth. Are you going to cut it up? This. That's true. Are we really going to cut it up? Before this, we didn't think we would be able to capture a live moth. That's why we thought that we could just cut it up and distribute it. However, a live violet nine-striped moth's value is many times the price of a dead one. Especially since it is a being that has the bloodline of a true soul and can evolve on its own. It's a priceless treasure. Ha ha. What are you doing? This won't do. If the negotiations break down, they will definitely come at me first. Don't forget what we agreed on when we set out to sea. Trust is the most important quality for hunters. If someone isn't trustworthy, they aren't fit to be a human. At least I, Hanya, will never do something so immoral. Then what happened to the original eight share distribution we agreed on? Ugh. That is something everyone agreed on. What could I do? I'll make my stand first. As long as you can offer me a satisfactory price, I will trade my share for it. Something similar in value to the violet nine striped moth? I don't think anyone here is that rich. Not necessarily. Someone might be willing to put a price on the moth. Then, that person would get my share too. Isn't that great? I have a sixth-tier ancient soul talisman made by the rune sect. This is a defensive talisman that can block an all-out attack from a one-star martial emperor. Its value is immeasurable. I'll trade it for a share. Are any of you willing to make this trade? A sixth-tier ancient soul talisman. This is the rune sect's secret technique in which the producer forces his cultivation into a talisman. Furthermore, it is a consumable item. The success rate of the refinement is very low. I don't know how these ancient soul talismans are refined either. The rune sect has always been a mysterious sect in the Tianwu continent. They rarely interact with outsiders. Even in the rune sect, such things are very rare. Only experts who are about to reach the end of their lives will give up their lives to refine a talisman with this technique. The talisman will then be given to their descendants as a way for them to defend themselves. That is certainly a great item, but we don't have any use for it. It is also uncertain if it can fetch a good price. Do any of you have an underworld stone? If you do, I will trade my share for it. The underworld stone is similar to heavenly obsidian jade, but the tier of the underworld stone is way lower. Underworld stone? What is an underworld stone? It's a shame that the piece I stole exploded when I used it to destroy the Xingyang family. At this rate, how long will we be here for? Let's just use primordial stones to settle this. As long as you offer enough primordial stones, I'm sure someone will accept it. The violet nine-striped moth inside seems to have adapted to the suppression due to the tier difference of the phoenix's energy. It won't stay trapped for much longer. Lord Yin, if you give us that ancient soul talisman and another 100,000 high-tier primordial stones, my brother's share will be yours. Really? 
Old Duan? Whatever he says, his word is mine. There. In my past life, I got many items from the rune sect from those old geezers at the Deity Transformation Sea, but I couldn't find anything out. This is definitely the same energy. Since my brother's share is now yours, you can hold on to this tripod. This purple tripod is a peak 5th tier Xi'an artifact. I'll give it to you too. Wait a moment, brother. These dragon and phoenix dual rings are the weapons I used when I was a martial king. They are 5th tier items too. Take it as compensation for this purple tripod. Since we are done trading, your distribution will be none of our business. Take this Tiger King battleship as a gift too. Farewell. Say, where did you get so many 5th tier battleships from? These aren't things you can get off the streets. You broke brats won't be able to understand my life. Just go tend to your injuries. I said that you might have to fight later. Fight what? Aren't we going back now? Right. We're going to the Rainbow Fog. Ha ha. We were delayed here, so I almost forgot. We'll certainly be going to the Rainbow Fog, but we need the Violet Nine Striped Moth too. They rested for so long, so it's time for us to rest. Huh? These encryption can prevent most people from detecting us. At this distance, it's not quite possible for them to find us. You mean that they will start fighting because of the distribution? I don't know about that, but it should be about time. About time for what? Can't you talk clearly? You were in such a hurry when trading for the ancient soul talisman. Tell me. What dastardly idea do you have this time? See. It's here. That's the direction they are in. It's the Violet Nine Stripe Moth. Ah. The Violet Nine Stripe Moth escaped? What happened? Did you do that on purpose? Damn. How ruthless. Ha ha. Those six are in for it now. Li Yunxiao's plot has succeeded. Will the six of them be able to overpower the escaped beast? Intentional? I'm just a one-star great martial master. Did you really expect me to take care of a sixth-tier beast that easily? I just used a few secret techniques to seal it temporarily. If it weren't for time constraints, I would have gotten more than just an ancient soul talisman, and there goes my five-line tripod. It's just a rusty old tripod. Yin Feiyue already repaid you with those dragon and phoenix dual rings anyway. I recognize that weapon well. I had faced it when he was still a martial king, a strong weapon, that one. The hell would you know? That five-line tripod contains a full understanding of the five elements realm, making it the most valuable fifth-tier item in the whole of Kinwu. Furthermore, I've studied this tripod thoroughly, and it's already won with me. Now, my battle strength has been reduced by a lot. Full understanding of the five elements realm? Is this the five-line tripod martial sovereign Gu Feiyang refined, which was auctioned off during the Thousand Treasures auction not too long ago? Oh? How'd you know? I was already looking for a refiner at the Dusk Flame Empire branch at that time, so I took a look at the brochures they gave out. I never thought that it was you who bought it. Not much time has passed since then. How did you already completely grasp it? Even I might not be able to do it. That just shows the difference between us. Relax and heal up. There's a good show going on. Damn it. That brat must have known this would happen. If I ever see him again, I'll rip him to shreds. I didn't think that Duan Yu would be this cruel. I wouldn't have let him in on this if I knew sooner. That guy was never good from the get-go. He lost his last shred of morality just for a little bit of profit. He's so greedy. What good can complaining do? Right now, all of us should team up and kill this thing, or we'll all perish here. It has already come to this. Group up against anyone who tries to run away. All right. Since everyone's being honest, I won't pull you guys down. All right. Bloody Crocodile Twin Snip. Spring Fall Skyward Scroll. Agile Tiger Flame Slash. Dual Blade Full Strike. 
Somring sword melding combustion. What a ragtag bunch. If they had been this cooperative when the array broke, they wouldn't be in this awful situation. A dumb teammate really is one's worst enemy. All six of them are old and cunning, so they hope for someone else to make a move and take the gains for themselves. Even if they could kill the purple nine-striped moth, it'd take up most of their energy. We'll be the ones taking the profits. What pill did you have me take just now? Most of my injuries have already healed. I feel like we're gonna have a bad time. But my universal detect isn't picking up anything. Old Duan, prepare to flee any moment. There's been a change of plans. Change of plans? This is troublesome, but what is it? How can my universal detect not sense it? Could there be a stronger sea beast lurking around? Everything looks fine to me. It's all going to your plan. What? That's it. Yup, it was a violet nine-striped moth. The sec master is turning 500 next month, and Master Su was troubled about not being able to find a good gift. The pill made from this moth would be perfect as nourishment for that old man. Greetings, Lord. That moth, Scram. Why you are from the Star Mansion sect? You have the aura of a Seven Constellations Realm martial artist, but it fades in and out. You must be a Peak Six Directions Realm Martial Grand Master. As far as I know, of the elites of Star Mansion sect that are in Verdant Sea Port, there are two Nine Star Martial Grand Masters on guard other than Master Su Fong. Are you perhaps one of them? Old Hanya does have some insight. Correct. I am one of the guardians of Star Mansion sect in Verdant Sea Port, hang you on. If you know me, then scram. If not, hee hee, this place seems like a good spot for your grave. Star Mansion Sect Guardian of Verdant Sea Port. Hang you on. Peak Six Directions Realm Marshal Grand Master. Guardian Hang, Master Su Fong and I. Don't bother using connections with me. Either scram or die. I'm Li Yuan Yu, an aide of Star Mansion Sect Master Martial Emperor Master Su Fong. As requested, I shall take your lives. They're all Martial Grand Masters. Take the Violet Moth. Why are you killing us? Just to save myself from trouble. He he he. You're all Martial Grand Masters. You've at least made your name somewhere in Verdant Sea Port, and Master Su Fong doesn't want any trouble. Li you and you, I'll leave this to you. Finish ASAP. There are two ants outside our web, I'll take care of them. An unstoppable enemy. We're really done for this time. I didn't expect a peak martial grandmaster to ambush us. He's so hard to understand, Li Yunchao knows full well that we're in dire straits, but he doesn't look panicked or scared at all. He can remain calm even in the face of death. How much composure does he have and what kind of cultivation path does he take? That bastard will catch up to us in just a moment. If you gather your momentum and attack with your full strength, how confident are you in injuring him? If I can fully land an attack on him, I won't be able to kill him, but I can at least injure him heavily. But would he really just stand there and let me hit him? That'll be enough. When he is 10 meters from the battleship, I will restrict his movements for a moment. That is when you should attack. Start gathering your momentum when he is 100 meters away. What? Our opponent is a peak martial grand master. A great martial master like him can restrict his movements for a moment? Seriously? Fuck it. White flame ghostly killer, unseal. Even I won't be able to tank an all-out attack from a seven-star martial grand master. Humph. A candle will never be able to outshine the sun and the moon. Do on you, because you have exceptional abilities, I can spare your life if you enter the Star Mansion sect. Even if you don't care about yourself, this youth is an illegitimate child of yours, right? As a father, don't you want to save your son's life? Save my ass. 
Send my greetings to your entire family. Universal Spirit Suppressor. Exile. Ugh. Mental techniques. Who is this kid? How can he affect me? Petty tricks. How can mere illusions hurt me, a nine-star martial grandmaster? The endless world. Stars shine ghosts hold. I will rip your illusory space apart. White flame ghostly killer, six evils halberd. Duan, you, I will, rip. You into a thousand pieces. Stop your own organs from burning first. Well done. Hey, kid, the sixth tier holy medicine that I've saved for a long time finally served its purpose. Duan Yu's attack was on the level of an eight-star martial grandmaster. He must be very weak right now. Although my true Yuan was injured, if I chase them down, I will be able to end those two ants with my bare fists. Don't even think of leaving. My universal detect was locked on the two of them the whole time, but they suddenly disappeared into thin air. What's with this fog? Is this another illusion? Rainbow fog. It's rainbow fog. Whoa. I can't touch this pink crystal and dust. Damn it, I won't let you get away. Ha ha. You greenhorn. In the end, I'm the one blocking the pink crystal and dust with my spirit power. Hee hee, I'm so tired, but this feels kinda refreshing. You bastard. You act aloof all the time, but you look so out of it now. We'll swap roles once my spirit power recovers. It's completely exhausted right now. Hey! Share some of that with me too. You're a seven-star martial grandmaster. Of course you'd have pills for Yuan Chi recovery, right? I've always acted alone, getting resources from hunting sea beasts. How could my wealth compare to you refiners? You even have a ton of Tiger King battleships. I only have a few fourth tier recovery medicines. Stop acting like you're poor. Someone who hunts sea beasts on a daily basis would have a bunch of their demonic pills, right? Demonic pills fourth tier and above. I'll trade you a chi gathering pill for each one. Holy shit. This is robbery. We're in the same boat right now. Our lives are tied together. Why are you still so stingy? Here are 76 fourth tier demonic pills. I want a hundred chi gathering pills. You wouldn't be stingy about such a small difference, right? Exactly 76 pills. You evil businessman. A few days later. We're out of the seas of Verdant Sea Port. Unknown seas, unknown dangers. Isn't this perfect? A static rainbow fog will also warp us to a fixed location. Since we were able to exit safely, the Congo Divine Tree must be nearby. You fully recovered your spirit power? Pretty much. Though I wish I hadn't. Huh? Why? You wish you hadn't? Because the moment I spread my universal detect out, I immediately noticed that we were surrounded. What? Ignorance is bliss. You looked so calm and happy before I told you anything. Just relax, there's no use resisting. They're all under the water, so we're probably in a deep sea region. We must have also wandered into the territory of a sea folk tribe. Damned humans. How dare you come here? Surrender yourselves, or we will make our move. A five-star martial grandmaster. And a dozen lower-tier grandmasters? That's too many. Everyone, please forgive us. We intruded on your territory by accident whilst trying to escape with our lives. This is not an intentional intrusion. Please understand. Humph, still playing tricks. Whatever reason you have doesn't matter. As long as you intrude on our territory, you will yield. On the orders of the Blazefish Tribe Master, I promise we don't have any ill intent. 
Capture us if you wish, but please spare our lives. The killing intent these sea folk emit is intense. They can't be reasoned with at all. That attitude appears even more prevalent against humans. They'll instantly kill them without even finding out the truth, and they'll be happy about it. Humph, at least you listen. Bring them to the chief. I don't know which beast's tendons these ropes are made out of, but their elasticity is insane. If you behave well, I promise to leave your corpses intact. Leave our corpses intact? Hey, come on, really? We surrendered, but you're still killing us? Do you have any honor at all? What they gave us were water warding pills. They're treasures that allow living beings from the land to move in any water body freely. If they wanted to kill us, why would they have us take those valuable pills? Water warding pills are rare valuables for humans, making them expensive. Seafolk have plenty of them, but it's still a waste. Bro, where are you taking us? Why must you kill us? They say that fate brings us together. Since it's all fate, let's be friends. Friends? You humans think that you're worthy of being friends with a sea folk? You really do favor yourselves, huh? Zero favor, my ass. I wouldn't have tried to befriend you if I hadn't been caught. Charming eyes. HM. It doesn't really matter. Not too long ago, a strong human intruded into our territory and injured three of our leaders. The entire tribe is in an uproar, and the chief has ordered us to capture that human. It has been centuries since we last saw humans, so why would multiple appear in such a short time frame? I refuse to believe that you're not related to him. Of course it's related. Hung Yuan made us his scapegoats. Brother Blazefish, I have a mountain of hatred for that guy. Where is he? What happened to him? Is he injured? He was under fire from our three leaders. Of course he'd have run away. He's already heavily injured. I'm guessing that he's hiding somewhere, healing himself. To be able to heavily injure Hung Yuan, but end up injured themselves, it seems like those three leaders are also eight or nine star martial grand masters. I know nothing about the tribe master's strength. As long as there isn't a martial emperor, there is hope of escaping. Let's see what they're up to. It'd naturally be best to avoid a conflict altogether. There are too many sea folk. No one can estimate their numbers in the four seas. So according to sea folk strength, they divided the tribes into seven different tiers for ease of management. The strongest would be the Bo family, reigning emperor of the four seas. They're said to be godlike and are excluded from the seven tiers. Under the Bo family will be the first tier. They include the four royal families, one of each ruling the four cardinal seas. They are the Guang, Qin, Shun, and Run families, all considered superpowers. Second tier tribes must have at least 10 or more martial sovereign tier fighters. They are also considered to be powerful forces in the seas. Third tier tribes must have at least one martial sovereign. Fourth tier tribes must have at least one martial supreme. Fifth tier tribes must have at least one martial emperor. Sixth tier tribes must have at least one martial grand master. They are around the level of the Dusk Flame Empire's subsidiary countries. The seventh and last tier only requires a martial king. Five other than the seven tiers, there are still large numbers of sea folk beneath the tier system. They are not allowed to call themselves sea folk, but are instead referred to as sea dwellers. Brother, what tier is the Blazefish tribe? The Blazefish tribe is a fifth tier tribe. In a thousand mile radius, my tribe reigns supreme. This is bad. Since they're fifth tier, they must have a martial emperor. Sea folk are usually more naive. Unlike cunning humans who hide their emotions. This guy looks like he has a headache. There must be a problem. Brother, is there a problem? Why do you look so distressed? Why are you asking so many questions? Are you trying to get information on us? Eh? No, of course not. I just saw your face of worry, so I wanted to see if I could be of any help. 
Look at your stupid face. What info? You've already told us just about everything. There'd be no difference in asking. We have a common enemy. An enemy of an enemy is my friend. We're already friends. Huh? We're suddenly friends? But he does make sense. Our chief is a one-star martial emperor. Unfortunately, he is nearing the end of his life. The strongest among our leaders, Tai Fan, only became a nine-star martial grand master recently. Originally, our chief wanted to use some secret techniques. By using up the remaining years he has, he can increase leader Tai Fan's power up to a peak nine-star martial grand master. But the recent intruder actually heavily injured Tai Fan. It's already a great feat that we could prevent his cultivation level from falling. To try and use the secret technique to push his power to 9-star Martial Grand Master on top of that is impossible. The other leaders are just 8-star Martial Grand Masters. It will take them at least 50 years, up to 100 to become a 9-star Martial Grand Master. The chief doesn't have that long. If Leader Tai Fan is unable to break through to a Martial Supreme before the chief passes, the Blazefish tribe will fall back into the sixth tier. This is a situation no sea folk would want to face. So we must capture the human and shred him to pieces. They really are just stupid fish. In just one sentence, he told us everything about the Blaze Fish tribe. Sea folk are dumb. Typhan is a 9 star martial grand master, but he still got injured alongside the other two 8 star martial grand masters. It seems like the fight was indeed tragic. Hung Yuan may be a peak 9-star martial grandmaster, but he still sustained heavy injuries after taking Duan Yu's full power. There's no way he was able to heal up in such a short time. The battle he had with these sea folk must have given him hard blows as well. All three leaders of the Blazefish tribe are injured, which means that the last remaining pillar supporting the tribe is the Martial Emperor tribe leader. Those purple crystals are called primordial crystals. Similar to our primordial stones, sea folk use them in refinement. Because the sea contains rich resources, most sea folk do not have to worry about food or shelter. Similar to human sex and powers, their most important day-to-day -day task is to cultivate. The elderly and children are in charge of transporting primordial crystals instead. Look at these weird sea folk. They're from other weak tribes. They're being ordered around by the Blazefish tribe. I've been working at Verdant Seaport for half my life. Did you think I wouldn't know such common knowledge? Do you have to tell me that? I didn't think you would have some understanding of us sea folk. This is a pretty good ship. Send this to Taiyu to help with transporting primordial crystals. It can do the work of a hundred workers. Yes. It's time to say goodbye to my last Tiger King battleship. Follow me. Let's go meet the tribe leader. If you can explain that you're not working with that person, the clan leader might spare your life. As per sea folk tradition, there isn't any seawater in the palace. These waterproof membranes keep the water out. Most sea folk are afraid of fire. I wonder why the Blazefish tribe has totems of fire. They even have the word blaze in their tribe name. Taifei, who are the people you have brought? Tribe leader, we caught two humans outside. Blazefish tribe leader Tai Pin. HM, are these two humans related to the one from before? Tribe leader, these two say that they have a deep-seated grudge against the human. Excuses. There isn't a single good seed among humans. Drag them out and feed them to the fishes. Feed my ass. Drop the act already. I'll wipe the Blazefish tribe out. You. How dare you speak to the tribe leader disrespectfully. Die. Ugh. You a. Uh. Ugh. How dare you. I see the two of you are sick of living. I told you to drop the act. You are certainly a martial emperor, and you certainly have the ability to kill us in one strike. However, you can only do it once. You can't hide the state of your body from my eyes. You're already on your last breath. If you attack us, you will die. What? 
human, what you said is not wrong. I can't last much longer. But if you threaten the Blazefish tribe, I will kill you without hesitation. We did not have any ill intent. You were the one who said you were going to kill us and feed us to the fishes right off the bat. I hate being threatened by others more than anything. Apologize and show us a token of your sincerity, or I'll kill Tai Fei before you can do anything. How many experts will be left to support the Blazefish tribe then? Die. Tai Fei, stop. Human, since you have no ill intent, just leave. Don't enter the Blazefish tribe's territory ever again. Tribe leader? The tribe leader has shown you great mercy. Get lost already. You seem like a pretty loyal guy, but there are two things I want to say. First, your tribe leader spared us after considering our strengths. It's not a display of mercy. Second, I don't want to leave yet. I want to make a business deal with you. I'm not interested in some business deal. Leave. Even without me, the Blazefish tribe will be able to stop you from leaving. Don't make me take my decision back. Seafolk have always been arrogant and proud, and I realized that long ago. What if my offer can give you an additional hundred years of life and help your heavily injured tribe head break straight through to Martial Emperor? What? What did you just say? Say that again. I'd be able to believe it if he'd said he could extend this old fish's life by a couple dozen years, but a hundred years, and to advance a martial grand master who became a nine star not too long ago to martial emperor, how is that possible? On top of that, this nine star martial grand master is heavily injured right now. Human. If you are lying, I swear that I will kill you. Tell me. What kind of business deal is this, and how can I trust you? Ho ho. This will be of help to both of us. It's a win-win situation. You know about the Congo Divine Tree, right? Ah. Th that's what you're after. The Congo Divine Tree. What? Is there a problem? With it, I can not only extend your life by a hundred years, I can even boost your tribe head to Martial Emperor. So that's the reason you came here. Typhel, tell these two humans about the situation. Yes. The Congo Divine Tree was the holy item that my tribe protected, but it has fallen into the hands of the Razor Clam tribe. The Congo Divine Tree should be in a nearby region. Didn't you say that the Blazefish tribe reigned supreme for thousands of miles? That's right. We are a fifth tier Seafolk tribe, and those Razor Clams are sixth tier. However, they have three nine-star martial grand masters. Unless the tribe leader strikes himself, our overall strength is weaker than them. The Congo Divine Tree is the treasure that has kept our tribe alive for tens of thousands of years. When ingested, the leaves of the Congo Divine Tree can nourish our vitality and increase our cultivation. That is why the Razor Clam tribe was willing to sour our relationship for it. Maybe they knew about the tribe leader's condition. They wouldn't have dared to attack us otherwise. These innocent and idiotic fish heads. The Congo Divine Tree is leafy and wide. When spread out, it won't be much smaller than a city. Your tribe has controlled the Congo Divine Tree for tens of thousands of years. Do you have a method to go straight into the Divine Tree? There's no way to get in without alerting them, but if we break their seal and break in by force, it will also be hard for them to find us. Then this I'll be easy. Tribe leader, please lead us there. If we break in and hide for half a month, I promise that you will recover a hundred years of life force. No. The tribe leader can only launch one attack. What if you end up in danger? Let me take you there instead. The Razor Clam tribe values the Congo Divine Tree greatly. All three of their nine-star martial grandmasters are guarding it. You won't be able to break in with that strength. Let me lead them in. Tribe leader. But, human, don't forget your promise. You must make Tai Fan a martial emperor. I thought that the older one gets, the more afraid of death they are, but this guy is ready to sacrifice himself. Ho ho. If that is so, bring the tribe head as well. 
As long as we can stay inside the divine tree for ten days or half a month, I'll be able to help him break through to Martial Emperor. Tribe leader, don't listen to his bullshit. All these humans are full of schemes. Your condition isn't good right now. Let me kill them instead. Blazefish Tribe 9 Star Martial Grand Master Tai Fan. Troubles rise one after another. Rise. Hey, damn it. These mere humans have some skill. Once more. Tai Fan. Stop. Ugh, dash. Chief, please don't let these two humans trick you. I have my certainties. Just follow my orders. Yes, sir. Father, Brother Tai Fan is right. Don't get tricked by humans. Marine refiner Tai Pin's daughter Tai Ling. Tai Ling, you keep quiet too. All of you know our current circumstances. This may as well be our last chance. If we don't take this chance, we might just be devoured by the Razor Clam tribe. What are we scared of? Once I rank up to third tier Marine refiner, who in this region would dare go up against us? Ling, if it weren't for the teachings you received from an elder by chance, how would you have become a second-tier marine refiner at such a young age? In the four seas, basically all third-tier marine refiners are over a hundred years old. It will take you at least another century to break through again. The Blazefish tribe can't wait that long. Marine refiners are the counterparts to human refiners. Due to the lack of marine refiners compared to human refiners, they receive more respect. What refiner? Marine what? Define marine? That is evident from the fact that Tai Fan, a nine-star martial grand master, only has a simple trident for a weapon. Not even a human martial warrior would want such a trident. In the worst case scenario, we can just hide ourselves, just hold out for a hundred years. Brother Tai Fan will be a martial emperor and I'll be a third-tier marine refiner. Tai Ling, you're too naive. The Razor Clam tribe won't leave us alone for a hundred years. Think back the last twenty to thirty years. They've been overstepping boundaries. They've almost taken over this region. Doesn't the ruling Hoverbat tribe care about this at all? Ha! Huh. Care? Remember when the Razor Clam tribe arrived here thirty years ago? Do you know what the Hoverbat tribe master said? They reasoned that the Razor Clam tribe had done a lot for sea folk and asked us to provide them with a small piece of land to rejuvenate themselves. They further stated that we should get along with them. The Hoverbat tribe must have gained a lot from them these past years. Then why not head to the tribes that rule over the Hoverbat tribe? Tai Ling, you're too young. This world runs on pure strength, not logical reasoning. If we were stronger than the Razor Clam tribe, everyone would be on our side. Consequently, the weaker of two can only live by that rule. If that's the case, what use are the mandates set by the South Sea King? Do not speak ill. If sea folk of other tribes heard of this, our entire tribe would be dragged down with you. Kids should stand aside. This little fishy really is innocent and naive. From what I heard, the Razor Clam tribe seems to have come from another region. Not just a region, they came from a different sea entirely. They were originally a tribe of the East Sea, and were a second-tier tribe then. The Razor Clam tribe has talents far superior to ours. They might just surpass us in a few more years. Second tier? Doesn't that mean they had more than ten martial sovereigns? For such a powerful tribe to fall into the sixth tier and migrate across seas, did they perhaps offend a royal families? I'm not very sure of any details either. What I did hear from the Hoverbat tribe master was that the Razor Clam tribe were under orders of the Guang family to capture a human. As a result, all of them perished alongside many other second tier tribes. I heard that hundreds of martial sovereigns died at the hands of that human. The Razor Clam tribe lost all members who were martial emperor and above. That was the cause of their rapid decline of power, allowing other tribes to take advantage of the situation. They then migrated to the South Sea to avoid any vengeful acts and to recover. Damn. How ruthless is that guy? Hundreds of martial sovereigns dead. Is it? 
Thirty years ago, the East Sea? That's right. That cursed human Gu Feiyang. The definition of heaven's cruelty. Gu Feiyang. A name that stains the honor of all sea folk. It's been so many years. Gu Feiyang is probably already dead. Why keep the hatred? We should always look ahead, yeah. Humph, even if he's dead, we'll have to find his descendants and kill all of them. Only that can cleanse the stain on our name. I heard that he died before even bearing a child. This fish is agitated. Let's change the topic and discuss how to get inside the Kungo tree. On what premise should I believe you? You say that you can extend my father's lifespan by a hundred years and allow Brother Tai Fan to break through to a martial emperor. Shouldn't you show some skill? Yeah. Yeah. Now that's reasoning. We can't just take your word for it. You're a second-tier marine refiner? That's right. In these thousands of miles, I remain as the only second-tier marine refiner. How about we have a contest? If you win, I'll listen to you. I'm a refiner myself. If you lose, this action plan will be under my command, and you have to listen to me. So? A chance to get the Blazefish tribe under my belt. A contest it is. Why should I be afraid? I didn't expect that this human would be a refiner. My apologies. What will we be contesting on? You can make the rules. Ha ha ha, I'm not sure of Li Yunxiao's tear myself, but triumphing over these fish will be no problem. Wow. You're so confident. You can make the rules instead. Choose what you're best at. Other than swimming, of course. Humph. You foolish human. How dare you take me lightly. We'll compete on simple refining. The one who refines something of better quality wins. Are you sure? Don't play coy when you lose. The sea folk's intelligence do need some raising. They agreed to my idea so fast. I'll lose? Don't pull my leg. I am the only. Tai Ling. This is not the time for you to play the heroine. Competing with humans involves the honor and reputation of the whole Blazefish tribe and of all sea folk. Compete with what you're best at fire manipulation. W.H. what? My fire manipulation? But, eh? Logically, the thing sea folk fear the most is fire. Even marine refiners usually look for other natural elements to replace the fire element during refinement processes. The tribe master said that her strongest attribute is fire manipulation? Isn't she afraid of being turned into a fillet? He, he. Human, do you dare accept this challenge? Sure, I accept. I really want to see how to control fire as well. So we agree upon said terms? No problem. If you win, you can lead us. Humph. He he he. Young Master Yun, is there really no problem? H.M., if I don't cause accidents, accidents happen to me. Huh? Can youngsters not speak properly nowadays? Even if I take accidents into account, I'll be able to destroy them. Strength forbids modesty, but breeds explosive confidence. Whoa. I was just asking. You don't have to act cool like that. Even the atmosphere around you is stylish. You, uh, is this the light of alchemy? No, it's the light of respect. Let's compete in this palace. You can set the rules. Fire manipulation is about precision and strength. How about this? I'll demonstrate a few actions. If you can imitate them, you win. If you can't do it, I win. How's that? I'm getting looked down upon by a bunch of fishes if I don't show them something good. These fishes might think they're special. Watch closely. I need to protect the fire with Yuan Chi when manipulating it underwater. As I thought, this is extremely difficult. I can't get cocky. He's a god. This isn't playing around. This is ridiculous. Oh heavens. Is he still human? Humph. Did you see that? It's your turn now. 
human refiners are as amazing as I thought. I have never tried such a precise movement before, but it's not impossible. Tai Ling Ha ha. Great. That's a success, right? Human, do you have anything else? Show us everything. Now you know what you're up against, human. Ha ha. To be able to imitate it so well on your first try, your talent in fire manipulation is extremely strong. Your talent in this is better than mine. What a surprise ho ho head. Now try this. This time, I will display my highest attainment in fire manipulation. If you can do this, it will be my loss. Who? Watch closely. Although the sculpting of each tree isn't as precise as before, this is a forest. And every tree has a different shape. It's so lifelike. Is this still fire manipulation? Would a god of fire even be able to do this? Oh heavens. Am I dreaming? Tribe leader. It's not over yet. Keep your eyes open. King's instrument. What I want to imitate is the phoenix's advent of a hundred birds. Right now, I have the hundred birds. The only thing I need now is the phoenix. Tai Ling, watch this. If you can do this, I will accept my loss. It's still not over. Phoenix's true fire, condense. Phoenix's advent of a hundred birds. I can only condense a phantom of the phoenix. Ho, oh, have I become a two-star great martial master? About time. Ah. Uh, what are you guys doing? Ah. Young Master Yun, you are God. I want to get down on my knees before you. Why did the Blazefish Tribe Chief kneel? Did he utterly submit or is there something else? Chief. Father. Whoa. Tribe Chief, what are you doing? You didn't have to actually kneel for us. Tribe chief, what is this? No trouble for me if I'm outside the border. Even if you respect me that much, you don't have to go to such lengths considering your age. All three of you, kneel. Come. Kneel. What the heck are they doing? The holy emissary. Holy emissary. You're the holy emissary. Who's Harry? You three, greet the holy emissary right now. Old fish, please get up and explain things already. Those three look like they want to eat me alive. Holy emissary, I never would have imagined that I'd get the chance to meet you in this life. Why? Holy emissary, you probably do not know what this is about. Same with you three. Do you know of the Blazefish tribe's origins? Origins? What legendary history could we have? Humph. The Blazefish tribe may not compare to the true soul's descendants, but we are not some random unknown tribe either. Do you know anything about the Congo Divine Tree's origins, then? The Congo Divine Tree was the resting place of a true soul phoenix during ancient times. By being burnt during a phoenix's reincarnation cycle, it revitalized itself over and over, eventually turning into the Congo Divine Tree. That's right, I do have the flames of a phoenix residing in me. Yes. You really are our holy emissary. During ancient times, the Blazefish tribe was just a tribe of normal sea dwellers. And in this exact region, a true soul phoenix reached nirvana on the Congo divine tree the flames of its reincarnation accidentally spread onto an ancestor of ours. That ancestor was thought to have met their end, but not only did they not die, but their body underwent massive changes under the divine flame. From that point on, they had sharpened senses and a heightened desire for any fire. Their body also evolved to be suitable to train with fire. Later on, that ancestor became a martial sovereign and brought our tribe up as a powerful force from mere sea dwellers. I never knew about that. Then why has no one in the Blazefish tribe been able to break through to the Nine Heavens realm for the past 10,000 years? I've questioned that many times, but I eventually understood why. 
That is because of the weakening of our bloodline. At the start, the flames changed our ancestors' whole body, including their blood. But as generations came and went, the flames in our blood started to thin. Today, our bloodline isn't even enough for us to even break through to the Eight Desolation Realm. If this continues, the Seven Constellations Realm might just become wishful thinking. I worry that the Blazefish tribe may once again be reduced to sea dwellers. If this continues, the Seven Constellations Realm might just become wishful thinking. I worry that the Blazefish tribe may once again be reduced to sea dwellers. What? How is that possible? But we don't have to worry anymore. With the Holy Emissary here, it means that the heavens are on our side. When you projected the Phantom of the Phoenix, I felt a tingling sense of warmth and empowerment. The ancient power that was dormant in my veins started to rise. Holy Emissary, you must have the divine flames of a phoenix on you, right? A true soul phoenix is a legend from ancient times. Most have thought that these ancient legends' existence has yet to be verified, but we're meeting a seafolk tribe that was empowered by a phoenix's flames. And the divine flames of a phoenix is a legendary item that is said to be able to burn everything and allow one to enter the reincarnation cycle. It is now in a teenager's hands. Yeah, I do have a phoenix's divine flames. Really? Thank the heavens. I thank the heavens. Even if I do have the divine flames, how can I actually help? It's not like I can just give all of you a little sizzle. Well, when you projected the flames earlier, I could feel the power within my blood start to awaken and rise. I'm sure you'll be able to do something. Since the heavens brought you here, you must have the ability to help the Blazefish tribe. I am sorry for my heinous actions earlier. Please do as you will. Don't be too gratuitous. It's embarrassing. I'm not sure how to help you on that point, but if we can get into the Congo Divine Tree, the two things I mentioned will be no problem. That's right. Our ancestor touched the Divine Flames whilst inside of the Congo Divine Tree. The Divine Tree must be the key. The Blazefish Tribe Tribe Master wanted to hold a welcome ceremony for their Holy Emissary, but was stopped by Li Yunxiao. After that, the few of them silently left the area and headed for the Congo Divine Tree. This region is eerily silent. There isn't even a single small fish. It's like a dead zone. However, the sea is filled with life energy, making this the most likely location of the Congo Divine Tree. The unique energy in these waters seems to irritate life. No wonder the Blazefish tribe moved away and distanced themselves. Who's there? Stop now. Holy Emissary, have you ever seen anyone from the Razor Clam tribe? I may have, but my memory's a bit hazy there. When I was fleeing then, I think I killed a ton of these, oh. The Congo Divine Tree is about 150 miles forward from here. Do we force our way there, or? Of course. We can definitely do that with our strength, unless we meet two nine-star martial grand masters together, but this region is massive, so hopefully, our luck isn't that bad. Kill them and force our way in one go. You really are wise, holy emissary. Taifei, finish the job ASAP. Don't waste the holy emissary's time. Yes, sir. All right. Let's speed up. Regions of sea are massive, other than the few seafolk earlier, our crew did not run into any more seafolk. Universal detect spread. There definitely is a colossal tree at the bottom of the sea. It's like an immense, sprawling ancient city. It's breathtaking. If this Congo divine tree was where a phoenix resided for its reincarnation cycle, why is it now underwater? Holy emissary, this divine tree used to stand atop an island. Time flew and the land changed, so here it is now. Ah, uh, all right. Everyone on high alert. There are many members of the Razor Clam tribe inside the Congo Divine Tree. All of you follow me. As long as we can get inside, they won't be able to find us. We're here. This is the Congo Divine Tree. This is. One can easily detect the unique energy flowing inside this thick, gelatinous liquid. 
It's making the true chi inside me expand and rise. It's an enjoyable feeling. Ah. These bitches. This is the sap from the Congo Divine Tree. They're destroying the tree. How much of the tree have they destroyed to have released this much sap? This is the Blazefish Tribe's legendary item. How can I face our ancestors now? Calm down, Tribe Chief. Since it has already been destroyed, let's find out what's going on first before making any decisions. From what I can deduce, they're using the Divine Tree Sap to directly increase their whole tribe's strength. The Razor Clam tribe's talents are definitely way better than the Blazefish tribe's. If they can directly absorb the Divine Tree's power, that'll be a problem. There is a number of strong presences inside the tree, but since they're all hidden inside, I can't tell you the exact situation. The destruction probably started a long time ago. Let's continue after we get inside. Who's there? You dare intrude on the Razor Clam tribe's forbidden lands? You're courting death. Let's break our way into the tree. We'll decide our next moves on the fly. Any problems? None at all. Forcing their way into the tree's interior. That's a great way of thinking. It's a shame that you won't be alive to do that. I was wondering who you were. So you were the Blazefish Sea Dweller Trash. You still dare to come back? For us to use your divine tree is the glory of you sea dwellers. How could you be so ungrateful? How dare they call us sea dwellers? You razor clams. When you first entered the South Sea, your strongest member was a peak nine-star martial grand master. If I had made the decision to kill you back then, none of you would be alive. The poor decision to act soft towards you was what caused the situation we're in today. Humph. None of us would be alive? How boastful. Back when my tribe was at the East Sea, we ruled millions of sea regions. Even the king of the East Sea had to treat us with respect. You shrimp-like beings aren't even fit to carry our shoes. It is glorious for you to have the opportunity to present us with the divine tree. How could you even talk back? You really should die. Ha ha. You were definitely very powerful in your prime. You got all of your experts who were martial emperors and above exterminated by one human, then ran thousands of miles to the South Sea with your tail between your legs. Amazing. How amazing. You're courting death. A nine-star martial grand master. It seems that the holy emissary was correct. We underestimated the Razor Clam tribe's power. Their strength shot up after they got the Kungo Divine Tree. Typhan, out of the way. Tribe Chief, your body. Within the Divine Tree. The most urgent matter is finding spirit nourishing wood that wood is nourished and formed from large amounts of life spirit absorbed by the Kungo Divine Tree. Usually, it is only found near the core of the Kungo Divine Tree. However, if we just cut our way into the core, it's very easy to attract enemies. The realm I just broke through is starting to rise again. The phoenix's true fire hidden deep in my soul seems to have felt something too. It's very lively. Young Master Yun, are you alright? I'm fine. Creation Link The chi of the essence is being absorbed into my body. A refreshing and comfortable sensation is flowing through me. The unlimited Yuan Qi contained in the essence is turning into true Qi. Even the flames deep in my soul have been nourished. It's really a worldly treasure. Such a divine object has been utterly destroyed. Those damned clams. Holy Emissary, the Kungo Divine Tree is made of three outer layers and three inner layers. This is the divide between the outer layers and the inner layers. If we proceed any further, we'll be entering the three inner layers. We haven't met any of the razor clams along the way. I think they're all training in the three inner layers. That's right. I feel many strong presences inside. They're killing the goose that lays golden eggs. They must be trying to use up all of the Kungo Divine Tree's power at once to raise the strength of their entire tribe. I'm afraid that the Razor Clam tribe's strength will be above what we previously estimated. How could that be? 
Now what should we do? Hmph. Let's see who will get it in the end. They're trying to get resources, but so are we. Let's see who wins. It's fine. I won't die until I kill all of these bastards. You. This power. You're the Blazefish tribe chief. Now that you know that, just die. My vortex was ripped apart with brute force. I'm not done yet, you Razor Clam monster. You damn Blazefish Sea Dwellers, how dare you attack me? Are you not afraid of the Razor Clam tribe's wrath? Humph. Wrath? It's now time for the Razor Clam tribe to bear the Blazefish tribe's wrath. Twin Star Jade. Die. Tribe Chief. Are you all right? Dad. This is all because I slacked off in cultivation. You had to fight because I couldn't even take care of a mere nine-star martial grandmaster. Dad. Dad. You'll be fine. H. Holy Emissary. Holy Emissary, I'll leave the Blaze Fish Tribe's future to you. I don't think I will be able to reach the core of the Kumbo Divine Tree. Typhan will lead you from now on. Don't talk like you're about to die. It's just that your life force is about to be exhausted. This is the interior of the Kungo Divine Tree, the place with the densest life force in the world. Even if you wanted to die, it wouldn't be that easy. I'll kill you. Stop Taifei. My body has never felt so light, Dad. Tribe Chief. You recovered? TH this, what about this? Hurry up and lead the way. Why yes. Thank you, Holy Emissary. Why are you guys crying? I'm not dead yet. Do you want me to die? Ha ha. I don't have to die anymore. Let's go. Towards the center. Are those humankind's medicinal techniques? Tribe Chief, I have only temporarily suppressed the deterioration of your body. When we arrive at the core, I'll set up a formation to help you recover a hundred years of your lifespan. However, you must not attack again before then, or you will really die. Don't look at me with such a dubious expression. Hurry up. I can feel a few strong presences closing in on us. Moments after Li Yunchao and the party left. There are six different energies. The weakest has the cultivation of a great martial master, but there is also a martial emperor. Razor Clam Tribe Elder Martial Emperor. Delay. What? There's a martial emperor. Lord Delay, what should we do? Should we inform the other elders? There's no need. They're all in seclusion. Based on the energy, this martial emperor isn't very strong. He should only be a one-star martial emperor. The other five aren't threats at all. There have been more disturbances happening recently. I don't know how long our tribe can continue absorbing this divine tree for. This divine tree is the largest one I've ever seen. We can probably continue absorbing it for another hundred years. As expected of a low-tier tribe like the Blazefish tribe. They possessed such wealth, yet they didn't utilize it properly. Humph. Not everyone can use such a worldly treasure. In a hundred years, even if our tribe can't recover to our peak from thirty years ago, it is very likely that we will be able to produce a martial sovereign or two. When that time comes, we'll attack the East Sea again and exterminate all of those ungrateful tribes who bully the weak but cower in the face of the strong. Lord Delay, what should we do about the intruders? Since they have a martial emperor, we'll leave them alone. The Congo Divine Tree is so big. If the Hoverbat tribe wasn't supporting us, we wouldn't be able to devour it either. Anyone who finds it gets a share. As long as they don't affect our tribe's plans, why shouldn't we share this with them? Yes. What great judgment, Lord Delay. Continue patrolling. Danger approaches. Holy Emissary, we're very close to the Kungo Divine Tree's core. As long as we find the correct path, we can hide ourselves in the core to cultivate. Ha! Huh? What do you mean by correct path? You don't know where the path to the core region is? 
That's, I'm ashamed to say this, but even when the Blazefish tribe had possession of the divine tree, no one was able to understand its internal structure completely. Here it is. Is this the path you were talking about? How did you do it, holy emissary? There are so many holes here, and the tree trunk can block universal detect. Hidden paths are very hard to find. HM, that's true. I don't know why either, but I just knew that there was a hole beside us. It might be related to the phoenix's true fire. Ho! Oh, I didn't know there was a vacuum in the divine tree. I'm really wondering if the Blazefish tribe has really been inside the divine tree before. This is the place, Tai Ling. Help me set up a formation so we can all reap great benefits. Yes. It's done. Holy Emissary, what is this formation? A few parts of this formation seem to go against the basic rules of formations. Holy Emissary, what is this formation? A few parts of this formation seem to go against the basic rules of formations. Ho ho. That's right. You have an eye for detail. This is a simplified version of the creation link formation. It can directly absorb soul chi from worldly treasures and convert it into our true chi. The creation link formation is an ancient formation. As worldly treasures became rarer as time passed, this formation was also forgotten. However, the four seas still contain many treasures. I will teach you this formation when we leave. Really? Thank you, Holy Emissary. Young Master Yun, is this formation enough to help us break through? Yes. Don't look down on this formation. This is a formation ancient powers often used. Unfortunately, because the concentration of Yuan Qi has been thinning, you can only find treasures to use this formation on in the sea. Stop doubting it. Get in the formation. He he he, we got a great deal. It's so strong. The feeling of this soul Qi. I can almost physically feel the density of the soul Qi around me. I feel like swimming around here. It can absorb it directly and convert it to true chi? Oh, heavens! As expected of the holy emissary, the dense chi all around here is nourishing my body. My sea of chi that had dried up because of my injuries is being rapidly repaired. If I could train with such dense soul chi for a year or so, I might even be able to become a martial supreme or a martial sovereign. Even if we had many more Kungo Divine Trees, they wouldn't be able to withstand the Creation Link Formation's absorption. If eight people use it at the same time, it might not even be able to last ten days, much less a year. This formation extracts Soul Chi directly from worldly treasures. Soul Chi that is lost will become normal Chi. This method is even more destructive than the Razor Clam Tribe's method of chopping it down to extract its essence. The divine tree can recover after being chopped, but extracting the soul chi is completely ruining it. The Congo divine tree will never be able to recover fully unless it had tens of thousands of years or even longer. After this, it will just be a giant piece of dead wood. If I tell them this, I don't know how those blazefish tribe folk would think, but we can't afford to care that much right now. I'm a three-star great martial master now. What a great speed. Huh? As I thought, my hopes were unrealistic. Old Duan, what's the matter? Why hasn't the true chi in your body changed in the slightest? My, my body has been sealed. What? Holy shit. This, this is the three directions ghost I curse seal. Huh? H, how did you know about the three directions ghost I curse seal? Who sealed you? Who? Since you recognize it, you should be able to guess that much. How many people can cast it? I've sought out many master refiners, but none of them could do anything about it. Hua Qian Chu. Emo Xiao Chuan. Jun Ryun. Or was it Hao Lian Xiao Wang? It can't be Yang Di. He doesn't have the ability to do this. Young Master Yun, is it possible to undo this seal? You were definitely above 7-star Marshal Grand Master in the past, right? 
When the three directions Ghost Eye Curse Seal is used on someone, it will not only prevent them from absorbing any Yuan Qi to cultivate, but will also constantly devour their cultivation, causing it to slowly fall. What was your past strength? 9. Star Marshal Grand Master? Or Marshal Emperor? The one who sealed me is the one from the city of mercenaries Chinga Forest. Haolian Xiao Wang. Back then, I was a mercenary in the Chinga Forest, but offended Haolian Xiao Wang. He was going to kill me, but decided to seal me in the end. I suppose it's a form of mercy? For all these years, I've been trying to break through this cursed seal, but all my efforts have been unsuccessful. Right now, I'm risking my life to earn money in Verdant Seaport so that I can save enough money to consult a higher tier refiner at the Deity Transformation Sea. Young Master Yun, if you recognize this seal and can name so many people who can use it, you must know how to undo it, right? So it was that Xiao Wang brat. Those kids keep causing me trouble. What? If you can't undo it, just say you can't undo it. You don't have to act crazy. Young Master Yun, so can you undo it or not? Of course it can be undone, and the method is really simple too. You can do it yourself. Really? Tell me. Young Master Yun, I'm begging you. Because of this cursed seal, I've never had a good night of sleep. Just castrate yourself. The seal will automatically be undone. Ha ha ha. Young Master Yun, I'm in such a terrible situation. Why are you still joking around? I'm not joking. This is an ancient seal accidentally discovered by Haolian Xiaohuang's master, Gu Feiyang. He then changed the seal a little, leaving the victims with the ability to break the seal on their own. It just depends on if they are willing to do it. Gu Feiyang used this seal on many people back then. Most of them just disappeared, never showing their face again. There was a martial sovereign called Ren Bubi who castrated himself to undo the seal. Gu Feiyang Ah, I've heard of Ren Bubi. He's an expert with a very wacky temperament. He kills people like nothing and is into pretty boys. Watching the show like he has forgotten the situation he is in. So that's what happened. Whoa. This Gu Feiyang guy really is a fucking bastard. How could he invent such a torturous move? I hope he dies a terrible death. Like this watermelon. Never love again. Get destroyed. Stop ruining the mood. Gu Feiyang is the person I respect the most. Not only does he have unparalleled achievements in the path of martial arts, he is also a distinguished person. He is a handsome man with looks that appear once in a millennium. Stop slandering him or just go castrate yourself. Ah. Ahem, let's go cultivate experience plus three. Young Master Yun, so you're saying that I can undo the seal without castrating myself, right? That is true, but someone seems to have been disrespectful to Lord Gu Feiyang. The Holy Emissary holds so much respect for Gu Feiyang? Then we, uh, I would never. Lord Gu Feiyang is an unparalleled martial artist in the Tianwu continent. The savior of humanity. The one who illuminates the moon in the skies with an unworldly handsomeness. Enough. Enough. Stop that. Put your shirt back on first. It's kind of disgusting. All right. I'll tell you the truth. The three directions Ghost Eye Curse Seal requires the caster's blood to be undone. Haolian Xiaohuang's blood. But. Wait for me to finish speaking. I can never love again. So tired. I can teach you a secret technique to break the seal for an hour each day. Problems should be fixed by the person who causes its master. So you're saying we can lift the three directions ghost eye curse seal without Haolian Xiao Huang's blood? Haolian Xiao Huang is a true martial supreme. I won't be able to get his blood even if I die. You can rest assured. As long as you follow me and listen to my orders obediently, when the time comes, I will make Haolian Xiao Wang present his neck to you respectfully to let you take his blood. Now pay attention and learn this technique well. If you learn this technique, you will be able to cultivate normally. The difference between having the seal and not having it won't be that big. 
Humph. Keep talking big. If you really had the ability to make Howley and Xiao Wang present his neck to me respectfully, why would you stay in a remote place like the Dust Flame Empire? But lifting the seal for half an hour a day is still better than nothing. If I can restore my strength, half an hour is enough to accomplish a lot. I never imagined that Duan Yu would have the Three Directions Ghost I Cursed seal on him. Now, he has to follow me to lift the seal completely. Haolian Chao Wang, you've done a great, great favor for your teacher. City of Mercenaries Chinga Forest Aong Lord Haolian, why did you stop so suddenly? I want more yes, yes, I want more too. Sai, I suddenly remembered my late master. I don't know why. Lord Haolian's master? He must have been very powerful, he he he. He he, my master never went after women, even when surrounded by beauties. He he he, it's so ticklish, humph. Could there be something more foolish? Taking every girl you see is the right way to live. Lord Haolian, you're so bad you should be his master instead. Ha ha. Lord Haolian, maybe the reason your master never went after women, even when surrounded by beauties, was because your master was not equipped in that sort of way? Ha ha ha. I'll forgive you this time, but if you speak ill of my master again, you'll be dead. It's almost the anniversary of my master's death. When I break through to the Nine Heavens Realm, Fourth Disciple of Gu Feiyang, Nine Star Peak Marshal Supreme Haoli and Xiao Wang. I must go to the Tiandang Mountains and find the truth. A few days later. Even in my past life, I've never been this extravagant. The Yuan Qi accumulated within my body is stirring again, showing signs of breaking through to four star. No wonder the soul Qi within the divine tree has been feeling off lately. It's all because of you. Hand over the diagram of this formation, and I might keep your corpse in one piece. Demang. Why you are actually a martial emperor. He he he. Type in, be smart and hand over the diagram of this formation. Since you possess the power of a martial emperor, I can forgive the crimes of the Blazefish tribe. Razor Clan tribe Chief Deming. I didn't expect that you would be colluding with humans too. The person who broke in here a few days ago was also your accomplice, wasn't he? Hang you on. You bandits. You've destroyed the divine tree to such an extent. The Blazefish tribe and yours are now sworn enemies. Treasures should go to the strong. This divine tree has been with the Blazefish tribe for tens of thousands of years, yet you still remain a fifth-tier race. It's truly embarrassing. How long have we possessed this power? Our entire tribe has already made a huge leap forward in strength. When I first came from the East Sea, I was only a nine-star martial grand master. It was all thanks to this divine tree that I was able to ascend to two-star martial emperor. Damn you! If only we had fought against the Razor Clam tribe head-on from the beginning, we might not have been defeated. But now, he has become a two-star martial emperor, and they're still in their prime. As for me, I'm only a one-star martial emperor, and I'm already quite old. I have no hope of winning. Tribe Chief, you try to hold him off as much as possible. Typhan is already at the breakthrough point. As long as he succeeds, the two of you will have a chance of winning. The future of the Blazefish tribe rests on the shoulders of these few individuals. Even if it means sacrificing myself, I must protect them. Type in. Don't make me say it again. Hand over the formation diagram, then. Ak. Demang. You can take the formation diagram over my dead body. Ha. Type in. Do you really think you can kill me? Or do you just want to buy some time? Even if your subordinate breaks through to Martial Emperor, the two of you will only be throwing your lives away by joining forces. Since you're so stubborn, I'll give the Blazefish tribe a lesson you'll never forget. I didn't expect Hang Yuan to enter the Kumbo Divine Tree too. He was already a peak 9-star Martial Grand Master, and after spending a few days in this Divine Tree, he has probably already become a Martial Emperor. The tribe chief is so strong, he can suppress even a two-star martial emperor. Will my dad be okay? 
What's everyone doing? Hold your breath and focus. Increase your strength as much as possible. The tribe chief is fighting outside just to buy us more time. Right now, the more power Tai Ping uses, the faster his life force will be depleted. It's probably going to be hard for him to last much longer. Damn it. Don't panic. Relax and focus on circulating your energy. Conquer your heart and conquer the devil, and it will come naturally. Relax and focus on circulating your energy. Conquer the heart and conquer the devil, and it will come naturally. He actually guided a peak nine star martial grandmaster to make a breakthrough. Even if he's several realms higher, it's not something anyone can do. And he's doing it so casually, like he's just guiding his own student. It's so carefree. I'm about to break through to four stars too. Ah. Break through seven constellations, reach martial emperor Tai Fan. He really broke through. Thank you, holy emissary. H.M. Tribe Chief, I'm here to help you. Breakthrough 4-Star Great Martial Master. Everyone, get ready to go. The Tribe Chief and Tai Fan can't hold off that 2-Star Martial Emperor forever. And the fighting outside caused too big a disturbance. I'm afraid it has already alerted other members of the Razor Clam Tribe. Holy Emissary, is my father and brother Tai Fan okay? You can rest assured and continue to cultivate. Leave the rest to me. Humph as I thought, you were a martial emperor. At the same time, outside the divine tree, a uh, dash. You were. Uh, I was going to leave your tribe alive as our servants. Tribe chief. But if you're going to act like this, just die. The Blazefish tribe's history ends today. The one who is going to die is you. This tree is ours now, you seafood monster. A seven-star martial grandmaster? I don't even need to use martial techniques to kill you. The Holy Emissary's Escort. That bastard. Humph huh? He he he, this feeling, it's been so long. Eight-star martial grandmaster? He broke through instantaneously. No, it's still rising. Nine-star martial grandmaster. Peak nine-star. Martial Emperor, Three Directions Ghost Eye Curse Seal, Unseal, How dare you kick me with your stinky seafood feet? I'll take a leg of yours as a lesson to you. Peak One, Star Martial Emperor, It's, it's still rising. I'm finally back at my peak. I even broke through. You bastard. You human scum from God knows where, even if you broke through to Two Star Martial Emperor, your realm will still be unstable. How will you fight me? Ho! Oh. It grew back? The anatomy of you sea creatures really is strange. Galaxy purification double vortex demonic flash. Humph. What petty tricks. White flame ghostly killer. Divine demon extermination. My arms. Stop wasting your energy. No matter how amazing your anatomy is, it won't be able to grow back after being sealed by my white flames. You bastard. Oh no. He's calling for help. Kill him right now. You don't have to tell me. Kakik. There are many members of my tribe nearby, including five to six martial emperors. No matter how strong you are, you're dead. Kakik. Humph. A pile of scum is still scum. Kill them. Kill these intruders. Ah. Ha. The scum is here. The fan, let's go into battle too. Yes, tribe chief. Become my warm-up partners. Kill all the razor clams. Kill as many of them as possible. Don't mind me. Spirit Nourishing Wood. Ha ha. It's here. Although it hasn't fully formed yet, if I refine such a large piece of Spirit Nourishing Wood, it'll be enough for Ming Wu. When De Ming died just now, I felt the direction his spirit flew in faintly. That's how I could find the very core of the Kungo Divine Tree. 
By right, the spirit nourishing which should have evolved long ago after absorbing wandering spirits for tens of thousands of years. Its large size must be the reason why it still hasn't matured. I should wait a while more for Duan Yu to exterminate the entire Razor Clam tribe. Its effects will be even better when this divine wood absorbs their spirits. It has been tens of thousands of years. Is my chance finally here? Who's there? Universal detect spread. There's nothing? A being that can escape my universal detect, below me. Ho ho ho. Someone that universal detect cannot identify. Is it an enemy or a friend? He he he, there's no need to be afraid. You are. You're the spirit of the Congo Divine Tree. What a strange boy. Your strength may not be impressive, but your soul power is so pure, it doesn't seem like that of a teenager. You give me the feeling that you are over a hundred years old. This tree spirit is the first to discover my soul's secret. No wonder the spirit nourishing wood hasn't formed perfectly after tens of thousands of years. So you absorbed it all. You, you're not trying to devour my soul, are you? Ha ha ha, don't worry. I can only absorb the soul power of those who have died, those without consciousness. Unless you die, I can't take your soul. And I have a request for you. A request for me? Could it be that you don't want me to take this spirit nourishing wood? I'm sorry, but I can't do that. My friend is waiting for it to keep her alive. Hee <laughs> hee, if it were anyone else, I might say that. But not you. Since I met you, I don't need this spirit nourishing wood anymore. And as you can see, my body has been damaged beyond repair by these people. Plus, your damn formation has already exhausted my soul chi. Even with the spirit nourishing wood, I won't live for long. Do you want to possess my body? Your body? You humans think your bodies are so wonderful, but in my eyes, only the body of a great tree could be the most beautiful thing in the world. Although your body is somewhat extraordinary, it's still not as good as those of the higher level sea folk. Super annoyed. I need your help. To be reborn through fire. Reborn through fire? Are you saying that I should use the phoenix true fire in the depths of my soul to help you be reborn through fire? I'm sorry, I don't know anything about what you're talking about. And I can't control that phoenix true fire either. I don't want to accidentally burn myself to ashes. He, don't worry. With my help, mobilizing the phoenix's fire won't be a problem. Don't forget, I have seen the true phoenix's rebirth with my own eyes. Isn't this also an opportunity for you? As long as you're willing to help me, I promise to teach you how to refine the phoenix's flames. The benefits to you are evident, right? And before my rebirth, I can transfer all of my remaining soul chi into your body. You might even break straight through to Martial Lord. He, you should think about these two great benefits carefully. Whether it's controlling the Phoenix Flame or breaking through to Martial Lord, they are both extremely tempting. The Soul Chi of the Congo Divine Tree isn't it great to directly advance to Martial Lord? This is obviously setting yourself on fire. When the tree is reborn, what about you? Can you be reborn? Will I experience any discomfort during the process of helping you be reborn? You're really a cautious kid. Don't worry. You'll be reborn with me, and it will only bring you great benefits. If I'm not mistaken, you should have practiced a domineering body tempering technique. After the rebirth, your body tempering technique will be raised by at least one stage. This tree spirit's eyes are too sharp. He even noticed the tyrant body tempering technique. The tyrant body tempering technique is divided into three stage. If I can reach the next stage, the strength of my physical body will increase by several times. Temptation plus one. You've said so much, can I even refuse? Hee hee, I knew you couldn't resist. There is one more thing I ask of you. After my rebirth, I will return to my original seedling state and enter a deep sleep. When that time comes, I hope that you can take me away and plant me in a place with abundant soul chi. Remember it has to be a safe place. 
As long as you help me, when I wake up again, I will give you great benefits. What kind of benefits? Don't deceive me. If you end up with nothing, will you let me eat you instead? Absolutely nourishing. Don't get any funny ideas. If you can protect me and help me until I wake up, I can give you a trace of Thai mystic chi. Ha ha, I knew you were broke. It's just Thai. Thai mystic chi. You can actually cultivate Thai mystic chi? Right now, I only have a trace of Thai mystic chi, which I have refined into my own chi. If I can be reborn after this, I can cultivate a second and third trace. When that happens, I'll give you one trace as a reward. Deal? Yes. Of course. Tai Mystic Chi is the primal energy that was born from chaos before the separation of Yin and Yang at the beginning of the universe. Later, it transformed into one with the realm, then divided into Yin and Yang. Subsequently, it became one with the universe. Earth, water, fire, wind, these are evolved from Tai Mystic Chi. If I can obtain a trace, the probability of reaching martial deity will increase greatly. In that case, we shouldn't delay. Only the ancient true spirits that have disappeared can cultivate Tai Mystic Chi. This Kungo divine tree must have been influenced by the phoenix and cultivated for tens of thousands of years to refine a trace. Follow me and clear your mind. Don't resist my universal detect. Those are all my words. How about it? Do you understand everything or are there any unclear points? There are no unclear points. It's just that if I activate the Phoenix True Fire like this, I won't be able to control it later on. Will I end up getting caught in it too? Why are you so afraid of death? If you die, won't I get swallowed by sea beasts after I'm reborn? You little smartass. I'm only doing this for myself. It won't harm you. All right then, I'll give it a try. But first, let me put away this spirit-nourishing wood. Here, you must keep it safe. Regardless of whether the rebirth of the divine tree is successful or not, at least Meng Wu's life is saved. Hey. Okay, let's begin. All right, follow my lead and don't make a single mistake. I won't need this body anymore, so I'll transfer all my soul chi to you. 5-Star Great Martial Master Peak 5-Star Great Martial Master 6 stars This is really So refreshing I was wondering why things suddenly didn't seem right So it was you messing around Compensate me for my cultivation level You animal Unforgivable I was breaking through to 2-Star Martial Emperor But the soul chi in this divine tree became weaker and weaker now, it's almost completely depleted. In just a few days, Hang Yuan has already advanced to peak one-star martial emperor. So it was you causing trouble here. Return my Yuan Qi and cultivation level. Caught in the act. How to escape? You three powers realm trash, you don't deserve this soul Qi. Die. Idiot, you came an hour early. Born of water, return to fire. Karma purifies flames, emptiness with nothingness. Has it finally begun? What kind of flames are these? I feel a death energy so intense I feel like even my soul might be burnt, and what is that monster behind him? I was so hung up on getting rid of that brat that I didn't notice that thing. Although soul chi is great, my life is more important. Just wait, you brat. See you after our rebirth, brat. Why is all the soul chi in the Kungo divine tree gone? This is bad. Enemies have appeared. Many members of our tribe have been killed. What? Who would dare? How dare they challenge the Razor Clam tribe? I don't know. I think the loss of the divine tree soul chi is related to these people. Let's go check it out. That bastard. I was about to break through. Die. 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 Lord Way 11, another tribe is intruding. 
They have killed many of our tribesmen. Razor Clan Tribe Elder Marshal Emperor Delay. Even Tribe Chief Deming has died by their hands. Please help us, Lord Way Eleven. What does your tribe being killed off have to do with me? Our agreement was limited to me helping you obtain the Kungo Divine Tree in exchange for you helping me break through. When did I become your fighter? I wouldn't dare. Lord Way Eleven, those people have caused heavy damage to the Divine Tree. If we leave them be and don't take care of them, the Divine Tree will die. You won't be able to continue cultivating either. I was wondering why the soul cheat suddenly seemed to run out. He's going to help us. That trash? You razor clams really are useless. You can't even take care of a few martial emperors. Whatever. I'll help you take care of this scum. Thank you, Lord Way Eleven. Thank you, Lord Way Eleven. The enemy will be instantly annihilated by your power. My respect for you is like the unending seawater. Like the overflowing yellow river. Don't, don't. But I can't fight for free. Just now, I was at an important stretch in my cultivation. I'm slightly pissed by how the supply of soul cheese suddenly stopped. Since you have the power of a martial emperor, I'll give you the honor of being my supplement. Let me absorb all the yuan in your body. Wei. Tai Fan, Sir Duan, leave with Tai Ling first. I'll wait for the holy emissary here. Where is that brat? How could he screw up at such an important time? He isn't dead, right? The holy emissary is definitely alive. Tai Ling, you. Dad, I've advanced to a third tier marine refiner. Ha ha, it's true. Your aura is just like the great marine refiners I've seen. Dad. Ha ha. The Blazefish tribe has a great marine refiner too. Look, tribe chief. Taifei has also advanced to peak 9-star martial grand master. Hey. The heavens are helping the Blazefish tribe. The holy emissary was sent by the heavens to help us. Since he's already at peak 9-star, why not just ride the momentum to break through here? If you miss this chance, you might not get another chance unless you cultivate hard for another 10 years. That's true. You, dad, I don't know why, but this place is now devoid of soul chi. The formation the holy emissary set up can't absorb a single bit of soul chi either. What? How could that be? The Congo divine tree might have been heavily damaged, but it shouldn't be devoid of soul chi. Could it have something to do with that brat? Have to do with who? The Congo divine tree suddenly became devoid of soul chi. Is that your work? Way 11. You are Lord Way 11. He is the only Marshal Supreme in this region. What? Marshal Supreme? Lord Way 11. Why are you, Tai Pin, tell me everything about why the Soul Cheat suddenly disappeared, or I won't go easy on you. A Marshal Supreme suddenly popped up, even in my peak state, I wouldn't be able to do anything in front of him. I understand now. No wonder you stood by the Razor Clan tribe when they first occupied our divine tree. So, you were an accomplice. Humph. The strong should possess such divine items. The Blazefish tribe occupied the tree for so many years, but all you did was eat leaves. The Razor Clan tribe hasn't been here for long, but the entire tribe's strength has been raised by a few tears. Even I have benefited a lot. Are you not embarrassed to hear that? Get the soul chi back, or I won't stop at just killing you guys. I'll annihilate the entire Blazefish tribe. Lord Way 11, we don't know why the soul chi disappeared either. Kill me if you want, but please spare the others. The Blazefish tribe has treated the Hoverbat tribe respectfully for the past 10,000 years. We present you with offerings every year. Please have mercy. Oh no. How annoying. Tens of thousands of years of your offerings can't measure up to the effects of being here for a day. If you don't speak up, I'll cut up this old geezer first. This is your last chance. Spit it out. Don't move. You can't beat him. Dad. Tribe Chief. Great Tribe Chief. 
Why now? Ugh. If they're not going to speak, you're at least a martial emperor. Just become my supplement. Release him. I'll tell you why the soul chi was lost. Hey. Who? Who is it? I didn't notice him, even at my cultivation level. Who I am is unimportant. I can give you the soul chi you want, so long as you stay alive to take it. These flames contain power that I am unable to withstand. What is? How dare you play me? Dad. Tribe Chief. Ah. What kind of flames are these? How can it burn me? Ah. This is impossible. How could this happen? Absurd. This is absurd. I am a Marshal Supreme. I have commanded this region for over 400 years. How could I fall here? What kind of flames are these? You. Who are you? Ah. No. The ultimate realm flames that can insta-kill a Marshal Supreme. Ah. Stay away. Ah. What's happening outside? Even with my limited universal detect, I can feel the number of enemies decreasing rapidly. Divine fire. Is this the divine fire that our ancestors once obtained by great chance? Dad, don't move. Your injuries are too severe. Hey, hey, be careful not to burn us. This flame will kill on contact. This is the Phoenix True Fire. Divine Fire. Divine Fire. Ha ha ha, our Blazefish tribe is blessed. Our Blazefish tribe is blessed. Ha ha ha. Uh, cough, cough, cough. Hurry, run. The fire is spreading. Damn, how did it start? Who was so careless? What's the point of running? Put out the fire quickly. Put out the fire? Our tribesmen are dead. We need to run now before it's too late. Ah. No. I can't believe it. I'm a powerful martial king. How did I get burned so easily? Ah. 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 The Congo Divine Tree, why? Meanwhile, on the surface of the sea. Hey, have you heard? The two humans caught here a few days ago, yeah, I heard about it earlier. The tribe chief reportedly called one of them the Great Holy Emissary and has taken him to the Congo Divine Tree. Are they trying to take the Congo Divine Tree back from the Razor Clam tribe? Hard to say. The Razor Clam tribe has held the Congo Divine Tree for so many years, their strength is probably greater than ours. Even if there's a holy emissary helping us, it won't be easy to defeat them. What's that sound? H.M. Why does the water surface seem like it's boiling? Hey, do you feel that? It's getting hotter. Quick, get out of here. Fire? What kind of flames are these? It's terrifying. Why is this fire coming out from the bottom of the sea? The sea, the sea is being... Split apart. What's going on? Thousands of miles away, in the depths of the South Sea. Lord of the South Sea, Qin Ming. H.M.? What's happening? What is this feeling? Could it be that a powerful warrior has come to my domain in the South Sea? Where is the sea taming Yiksha? Your subordinate is here. Go north and investigate who is displaying such extraordinary power in our territory. Once you find out, report back immediately. Remember, do not offend that person at all costs. Yes. Several days later the location of the Congo Divine Tree, the Divine Tree that has nourished our tribe for tens of thousands of years. I can't believe it turned out like this. This fire has been burning for three days and three nights and even the surrounding seawater is about to dry up. We have not heard from the tribe chief since he entered the divine tree. If this continues, our tribesmen may have to choose to leave this area. What on earth happened? Could it be that the heavens want to destroy our blazefish tribe? We'll die for sure if this goes on any longer. 
How long has this fire been burning for? It has been a few days, right? What the hell is that kid up to? He hasn't burned himself to death, has he? And nothing bad will happen to the holy emissary. Right, Mr. Duan. If something had happened to the holy emissary, these flames would have already burned everything inside. How could they still be controlled so masterfully? I'll turn into a salted fish if this goes on any longer, but if it keeps burning like this endlessly, we'll still die sooner or later. Since he burned that way eleven guy to death, he hasn't made a sound. The seawater is flooding in. Ah. Where's the tree? Who dares to spy at me in the void? Show yourself. May I know who you are, O oh Great One? Who is showing such extraordinary power in the South Sea Territory? Oh, it's the sea taming Yiksha. Get lost. Ugh. This person's cultivation level seems to be only at the level of a martial lord. But the aura and pressure he unintentionally emits are enough to make my soul tremble. This person's true strength as a martial lord is just a facade. Just the pressure and the devastating divine fire from earlier prove that his strength far surpasses mine as a one-star martial sovereign. He even recognizes me as a sea-taming Yiksha. Given the explicit orders from Lord Qin Ming, I must not offend him. Please tell me your name, Lord, so I can report back to my Lord. If you want to know who I am, have Qin Ming come and ask me himself. If you don't leave within three breaths, you'll stay here forever. These unparalleled experts are all eccentric and unpredictable. If I offend this person, even if I die, the king of the sea may not seek revenge for me. He was able to break through the void. He truly is a martial sovereign. Calm down, Lord, I'll report to the sea king. That was close, I can't believe I was able to fool even the martial sovereign. I didn't expect that helping the Congo divine tree to be reborn would cause such a big commotion. Even the king of the South Sea noticed it. Fortunately, the phoenix true fire still has some residual power. Otherwise, I might not have been able to scare off that Yiksha. Hey, that's it. It's real. The second stage of the tyrant body tempering technique. Let's do this. Tyrant body tempering technique second stage. Unyielding tyrant physique. With this body alone, I can match a martial lord in strength without using any true cue. Plus, I'm now a four quadrants realm martial lord too. I'm coming back, little by little. Eh, what are you guys doing? You look barbecued. It's all because of you. You made such a massive scene. H. Holy Emissary, the one who appeared in the sky earlier, wasn't he the sea-taming Yiksha of the Crystal Quartz Palace? H.M., what about it? That Onyx Man was the sea-taming Yiksha, all right. Ah. Hopeless Emissary, T. the sea-taming Yiksha is rumored to be a Nine Heavens Realm Marshal and the Yiksha tribe is only second to the Royal Tribes. They're second-tier beings. What? H. How did you scare him off with one scolding? A martial sovereign? That guy? No wonder there was no trace of him. He ripped apart the fabric of space to traverse that way. Your guts are insane, Brett. You used the phoenix flames to scare off a martial sovereign. If we look only at your strength, eh? Martial lord? Why why you are a martial lord? You just realized? A martial lord? You went ahead and skipped an entire realm. Breaking through to Martial Lord? Am I dreaming? Quick, hit me. See if I'm DR. Do on the rocket take off. Never heard of such a lame request. He, the tyrant body does feel amazing. I didn't use any true chi in that punch. It was my body's strength alone, but it managed to blow away a seven-star Martial Grand Master. That hurt. I know I asked you to hit me, but on the face. Really? What the hell is up with you? 
You keep defying logic. That kind of cultivation speed would put those so-called geniuses on land to shame. What does that make us normal people then? This is unfair. Let's hurry. Any moment now, not only will the water come rushing in, if that Yiksha returns with Qin Ming using spatial traversal, we'll all be gunners. Emperor of South Sea. Qin Ming Sea Tamer. Let's go. Fuck you guys. Wait up. Wait for me. God. Shit. Since the Congo divine tree disappeared, the seabed that the tree used to be rooted on is going to collapse. Block the undercurrents with everything you have. When the seawater fills the vacuum, the whirlpool will end. You are. The whirlpool was pretty strong, but it didn't really do much damage to my body. Seems like the unyielding tyrant physique is tougher than I thought. How are the others? I don't think the tribe chief can withstand such a shock wave, universal detect. Father, where are you? Thank God I'm alive. Tai Ling, the chief is here. Tai Fei, come here and help. Coming. Darn it. I waited so long for that chance. That damned brat ruined everything. Lotus Sword Song. Fuck. Brett, stop being cocky. I'm a two-star martial emperor. Killing you would be a piece of cake. Get lost. Don't think I'd be afraid of you just because I'm injured. There are three realms of cultivation difference between us. You. You're just an idiot. I'm three cultivation realms higher, but you're still fighting? Do you even know the difference between a martial lord and martial emperor? Are you insane? I'm a martial emperor. That massive whirlpool had enough power to injure me heavily, but this measly martial lord doesn't look hurt at all. What is going on? H.M.? Wait, what? Why you're a martial lord? You were just a one-star great martial master a few days ago. Again? Are you done yet? You're just a crazy dog. Damn it. You're running away? You're three realms higher and you're running away? Aren't you the crazy one? I can't die to a crazed idiot. Is there use in running away? Lotus Sword Song, Zero Respect Style, Holy Emissary. Please look at my father. He's not gonna make it. Holy Emissary, please help my father. Tai Ling, Ak Ak. Don't bother, the Holy Emissary. That guy still has the purple nine-stripe moth, Brett, I've memorized your face. I'll treat you guys well when you return to Verdant Sea Port. Ha ha. We won't be able to get it back after we return to Verdant Sea Port. Fuck it. Holy Emissary, Father. The heavens sent you here. You must have a way to save my father, right? Can he save the Blazefish Tribe Chief? The heavens sent you here. You must have a way to save my father, right? Please help him again, holy emissary. Nature is the true law. It does not exist because of benevolence, nor does it disappear because of cruelty. Your father has truly reached his limit this time. I would only be able to save him if we had another Kungo divine tree. Ho, oh, you dumb child. All lives will come to an end. I've lived long enough. Dad. In the centuries I have been the Blazefish tribe chief, I have treated my tribe's people in a shameful manner. Not only were my efforts futile, I almost dragged the entire tribe into an irreversible mistake too. If the heavens hadn't sent the holy emissary, I would not have been able to repent for this even with a thousand deaths. That's not true, tribe chief. Tribe chief. Sob sob. You're our best tribe chief. Tribe chief, you can't die. The Blazefish tribe needs you to guide us. I am really happy to have seen you grow to such a level. Right now, I formally appoint Tai Fan as the Blazefish tribe chief. Please support him with all you have. And no. Tai Ling should take the position of tribe chief. She's a third-tier marine refiner. Her prestige is far above mine. 
Brother Ty Fan, this is an order from the tribe chief. You can't reject it. Brother Ty Fan, this is my father's dying wish. Don't turn it down. Do you want my father to die with his wishes unanswered? Don't worry, tribe chief. I, Ty Fan, promise to protect the Blazefish tribe, even if it means my brains and organs will color the ground. Ty Ling, you will be an elder of the Blazefish tribe. Please support Ty Fan as best you can. Yes. I will do everything in my power to support Brother Ty Fan. TH thank you, Holy Emissary. The Blazefish tribe will be in your care in the future. Tribe Chief, I have finished what I had to do here. I'm afraid that I will have to return to the Tian Wu continent soon. I don't know how many months or years it will be until we meet again, but if fate allows it, I will take care of the Blazefish tribe. I had hoped that you could stay for a while longer, Holy Emissary. After all, Tai Fan is still young. They will be able to avoid making many mistakes if you are there. I'm sorry, Tribe Chief. I can't do that. Hey, if that is so, please take care of them if fate allows it. I will. Then I'm relieved. You must remember that no matter when it is or what happened, the Holy Emissary will always be a friend of the Blazefish tribe. Remember to treat him in the most respectful fashion. Yes, tribe chief. The Holy Emissary will always be a friend of our tribe. Tribe chief. Tribe chief. Dad. This is where we say goodbye. Don't think that you are above the Blazefish tribe just because you are the Holy Emissary. The tribe chief begged you to stay behind right before he passed. Even lying to him would have been better so he could leave in peace. The Blazefish tribe's future is in your own hands. Do you wish to leave your future to an outsider? You are the Holy Emissary. It is natural for me to trust you. Since you trust me, I can't lie to you. That includes the tribe chief. That's Holy Emissary. I wish to learn the art of refinement from you. Tai Ling, you are certainly very talented. What about this? Your father just passed away, and you have been newly appointed as an elder of the Blazefish tribe. There are many things you need to take care of. When the Blazefish tribe settles down, come and look for me at Marshall Flame City at any time. I will teach you my knowledge in alchemy as it is. Marshall Flame City? I've never been to the human's continent. That's right. I'm the Marshall Flame City Lord, Li Yun Chao. Marshall Flame City is at the south of the Tian Wu continent, in Tian Chue, which is near the Dust Flame Empire. No matter when it is, as long as you go there, you will be able to meet with me. When the Blazefish tribe settles down, I will definitely look for you at Marshall Flame City. I will learn all of your marine refinement techniques and become a great marine refiner. I will wait for you to come to me and for you to become an outstanding marine refiner in the four seas. For you to surpass Hass, Shelley, and Insun. Holy Emissary, you know these three legendary great marine refiners? Those are the three most outstanding Grand Master marine refiners in the four seas. They are respected by thousands and treated like gods. Their status is AR on the level of royalty. They're just three old geezers. Tai Ling's talent is not worse than theirs in any way. Although it has only been a few days, the experiences I had here are comparable to my past life. We're leaving just like that? This place is full of treasures. How are you willing to leave? He Holy Emissary. Holy Emissary. Sir Duan. You have helped the tribe chief and the whole Blazefish tribe greatly in these past few days. Tai Fan, Tai Ling, and Tai Fei will never forget your grace. Holy Emissary, let me lead you up. This region is so big, I'm afraid you might get lost. All right. Lead the way at least you know to thank me for my contributions. I guess you fish heads have a conscience. This water ball is pretty useful. It would be great if I could make it a Xian artifact. Hee hee, you want to fly without raising your cultivation to Marshall Grandmaster? Life isn't so easy, you're a Marshall Grandmaster. Why don't you go fly on your own? 
Uh, holy emissary, this is where we first met. How will you return? Let's just rest on that island for a while. I don't know when the rainbow fog will reappear. We'll just have to wait around like fools. I don't know when we'll meet each other again. Please stay safe, holy emissary. I'm someone whose hands are stained with the blood of innumerable sea folk. This is the first time I have been so close to that race. You have such experiences too? What's so special about that? I think you look pretty similar to those fish heads. Why don't you stay with them and marry into the tribe you'll have your pick of the most beautiful fishes in the tribe? Ha ha ha. That's your wish, right? Other than seeking out obscene joys, what do you do? You. Why did I pick a fight with this evil guy again? I didn't learn my lesson. There should be quite a few low-tier demon beasts and sea beasts on this island. If you feel frustrated, you can take it out on them. Right in the heart. Humph. The reborn Congo divine tree. He he he, I'm so tempted to just swallow this hole. Consuming such mystical soul power would allow me to break through at least three tiers. This is the first time I've ever heard of or seen a spirit that can be stored in a Xian weapon. I need to suppress these urges. No matter how much soul power there is, Tai Mystic Chi is better. The Congo Divine Tree is a rare existence, even among the best treasures out there. Holy Emissary, we almost left your belongings behind. I hope we did not cause you any delays. You remembered. He he goodbye for real, Holy Emissary. Holy Emissary, see you soon. Ho! Hell yeah! You fishies are pretty clever now I regret blowing up the other two. I could have filled up those two as well. Right on time. Oh! I'm here. I'm here. The rainbow fog. We can finally return. Ah! Did I fall asleep? How come, I've never heard that rainbow fog would making our faces hurt before? Sigh, the world is big. This isn't surprising and now you've seen one that makes your face hurt. Even at this distance, the pink crystalline dust can still ward off my universal detect. Plus, the crystalline dust in there seems to be denser than before. Hey, are you sure you can make it through this? Don't worry. My spirit power has grown since we came here. Then let's go. No, wait a moment. Wait? When the pink crystalline dust is denser, the spatial traversal will be much safer. If the dust starts to clear, the spatial tunnel will destabilize, making this the best moment for us to enter. You are correct. Pink crystalline dust at its densest also drains our universal detect fastest. Now I'm just waiting for. Eh? It's that bastard from the Star Mansion sect. He was nearby the entire time? Right now. After him. Ugh. What strong power. I'll open up a path with my spirit power in front. Just follow the path closely. Hey. What are you doing now? You aren't trying to finish him off here, right? Do you want to die? Wait up. Is this path even the right way? Stop blabbering and keep up. Star Mansion sect friend. Please hold on. Tiger Fong Sword. Roaring Tiger Terraquake. Are you insane? A martial lord chasing a martial emperor? Do you really think I'm afraid of you? Don't you know where we are? We'll both die here. Oh right. This is the Rainbow Fog. Thank God. You're not dumb. If we do fight here, there may be a lot of pressure on me, but killing both of you then making my way out won't be a problem for me. I just want to give you a fair chance. When we return to Verdant Seaport. Whoa. You're crazy. Did you even understand what I just said? Humph, you act exactly like the Star Mansion sex old geezer. Would it kill you not to lie? You. What are you doing? Stop. 
this guy can actually control the pink crystal and dust. I may be able to do so with all my spirit power, but I won't be able to escape afterwards. So what is he trying to do? Fortune Spirit Strike You Maniac Boundless Realm Star Mesh Shield Fuck No matter what you do I'm still a martial emperor So what if you can control the pink crystal and dust? Kakik Spirit Power Manipulation Hey Break Crystal and Dust War Axe Smash It Up Threefold Star Mesh Shield This is all my Yuan energy me, a martial emperor, losing to you? If you somehow break the Star Mansion 6 Ultimate Shield, I'll count out to you 10,000 times. Eh? Such underhanded tricks. Aren't we facing off head on? The Star Mansion 6 trying to talk about morals? Go to hell. Block. You a uh, pink crystal and dust. Sworn to take his life. You a. Uh, I can't block it. Ugh. You bastard. My precious. The stone of three lives? If you had told me you had a stone of three lives, I could have spared your life. You exploded such a precious treasure. Not even a thousand deaths could pay for that. So it was called the stone of three lives. It was just a stone I bought by chance, but it saved my life. Ugh. Young man, we can talk this out. Gentlemen don't use violence, they negotiate. You have to act reasonably. Leave me alive, and I will treat you well when we meet again. I'm certainly not going to be able to block another attack. Hero, spare me. I was in the wrong in the past. I'll count out to you. I'll give you whatever you want. Just spare my puny life. Holy shit. What did I miss? You're a coward. An embarrassment to martial emperors. Yes, you're right. I am a coward. I'm an embarrassment to martial emperors. I deserve to die. You are right, Lord Duan. Please ask him to spare me. When we return, I will look after every aspect of your daily life. I will run around doing your errands like a servant. Dis, disgusting. As expected of someone from the Star Mansion sect. He's comparable to that oldie. Take my shooting star fireball. You bastard. You little bastard. If you kill me, I won't let you get a single thing. You want the violet nine striped moth? In your dreams. Die. Kakik. If I can't have it, no one else can. Ah. No. Ah. Uh, Irk. I, I'm not dead. I've never seen what happens to someone sucked into the pink crystalline dust before. Ah. Uh, ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. What a strange pair. A 15-year-old fourth tier refiner? A sealed martial emperor? W.H. What just happened? The pressure Hung Yuan exerted just now was so great. With just a glance, I almost collapsed. He was possessed. What? Possessed? Such an evil technique really exists. I always thought it was made up. The one who took control of Hung Yuan's body is someone with very strong spirit power. They pierced the whole rainbow fog with the rays of an arm. Not even I can do that. Is that person a refiner? Since only refiners have spirit power strong enough to detach from their physical bodies, it is highly likely. Usually, only refiners cultivate possession techniques. I was reborn in Tianshui after falling in the Tiandang Mountains too. However, that should have been because of the godly evolution technique. That person was probably within the pink crystal and dust as a spirit body until they entered a human body and possessed him. The world is so massive. There are so many wonders that what we have seen is like the opening of a well. Th then could there still be spirits in this pink crystal and dust? 
Who knows? We're lucky enough that the guy couldn't be bothered to fight us. Let's look for the violet nine-striped moth's corpse. That's a great treasure. W wait for me. Ha ha. I'm back. I'm finally back. Oh. Oh. Who is making all this noise here? You're affecting the limitless sex hunt. Surrounded right after an ordeal? The Limitless Sect? Ha ha. We're finally back at Verdant Seaport. You dare still laugh? Do you know how much time and effort we spent just to hunt this golden mystic sea cow? Setups and preparations alone took at least three months. We also had to use an immense amount of resources and hidden techniques. But now, because of the noise you made, it's all for nothing. How do you intend on repaying us? Eh? Repayment? Of course you need. Shut up. I can't detect this guy's cultivation at all, which means his cultivation must be way beyond ours. Elder, please be the bigger person and ignore him. It's just that we put a lot of effort into this golden mystic sea cow hunt, so it will hurt us a bit. That has nothing to do with you, though. We are just unlucky. Big sis, hiding this ship alone cost us 10,000 concealment seals. We can't just let him. I told you to shut up. No, the kid is right. I should repay you. No, please. Elder. He's increasing his power. Activate the battleship's arrays. Limitless sect. Prepare for combat. Oh no. He's trying to destroy the battleship. Elder, we are complete strangers. Why are you killing us? Ah. Big sis, watch out. Huh? The Golden Mystic Sea Cow. I already noticed you lurking around under the water. I was gonna let you go if you stayed down there since I was in a good mood. But you dared to counterattack? You courted death. That's way too powerful. He killed a lurking golden mystic sea cow with one hit? That guy's strength is insanely scary. We were stupid to try to fight him earlier, shut up. We're lucky we weren't fast enough to attack, or we'd be toast. What cultivation level is he at? With his status, I hope he doesn't back us into a corner, go on music to my ears. Take that sea cow. It should be enough as repayment. Eh? Elder, you must be joking. You hunted this yourself. Please just let us go. I'm due on you. Who am I to bully the weak? Just take it. Pack up and scram. Duan, your elder Duan you? You're not dead? Who are you calling dead? Would it kill you to shut up? No. No. Please elaborate. What's going on? Why do you think that Duan you died? Who are you? Speak. Yes, sir. A few days ago, rumors of Elder Duan Yu and other elders circulated in Verdant Sea Port. It said that all of you died in a purple nine-striped moth hunt. Seven martial grand masters of the Six Directions realm had perished, so it caused massive uproars in Verdant Sea Port. Among ST those in chaos were the Elder Ma Wendy, Yin Fiel, and Shir Hong Kai Sex, the Soaring Sword Sect, Tiger Slaying Sect, and the Square Pavilion, respectively. They've even sent out experts out to sea to investigate, but returned with no results. Damn it. It has to. And where did you get this info? From an expert of the Star Mansion sect. I heard that he watched the entire incident unfold, but was lucky to be far enough and escape with his life. Duan Yu is a famous martial grand master, and this kid here is just a one-star martial lord, but Elder Duan Yu seems to be following his lead. All right then, thank you for the info. Take this cow with you. The Star Mansion sect. Um, but. Any more delays, and we might fancy some blood. Thank you both. Kid, what do you think? Should we reveal the fact that the Star Mansion sect killed our teammates? Kid? Call me Young Master Yun. 
Young Master Yun. What shall we do next? No sense of dignity left. This is unknown in the heaven-sent empire. No more pride left. The Soaring Sword Sect, Tiger Slaying Sect, and Square Pavilion may not match up to the Star Mansion Sect. They don't. But there's still a massive force in the heaven-sent empire. That's true. Creating disparity and chaos between them is good for us. We can use that chance to borrow that Green Phoenix battleship of theirs. Yup. W.H. Watt? You want to steal their Green Phoenix battleship? Are you stupid? That is a sixth-tier battleship. It's immensely powerful. Even if we can take it, the Star Mansion sect will be on our tail for eons. Sheesh, you're belittling the Star Mansion sect. A Green Phoenix battleship isn't going to be a huge loss for them. Just to save you, I had to lose three Tiger King battleships. I haven't even sensed any gratitude from you. An opportunity for you to show your gratitude has arrived, but you're throwing a tantrum. Then I'll find three Tiger King battleships for you. How can we anger a monstrosity like the Star Mansion sect? From what Hung Yuan said, the strongest fighter of the Star Mansion sect in Verdant Sea Port is just a one-star martial emperor named Su Fong. You can be unsealed for an hour, which should be enough time to take him out. As for the Green Phoenix battleship, I'll find a way to control it. You better have thought this through. If we really do kill Su Fong and steal the battleship, we'll really have angered the humongous Star Mansion sect. We won't be able to hide anywhere in the Tian Wu continent. You better not be messing about. Don't forget, the Star Mansion sect was already out for your blood in the first place. Now that Hang Yuan has disappeared and they can confirm that you are alive, they'll be looking for you even if you don't. You're the one who needs to consider your situation, not me. When the Star Mansion sect surrounded us, they were very quick and clear with their motives. Now that I'm still alive, the Star Mansion sect definitely won't let me off. Then why shouldn't I return the favor? A Green Phoenix battleship is said to be able to output the strength of realms. A full power blast from one can even kill a martial emperor. You can just focus on Su Fong. It's a pity the Star Mansion sect's Green Phoenix battleship in Verdant Sea Port is just a half-assed item. It's effective for scaring people, but it's impossible to utilize its full power. A top-tier Green Phoenix battleship definitely does have such power, but it'd require at least multiple third-tier refiners to be able to control and arrays on it to be able to destroy forces. The Star Mansion sect was already out for your blood in the first place. They'll be looking for you even if you don't. You're the one who needs to consider your situation, not me. Fine. I'll follow your lead and go all out. I'll repay the Star Mansion sex hostility with my own. Robbery Operation, Revenge Two days later soon after, the story of the Star Mansion sect assassinating Ma Wendy and the team to steal the Violet Nine Striped Moth spread like wildfire, spreading through the entirety of Verdant Sea Port. Within just half a day, the Soaring Sword Sect, Tiger Slaying Sect, and the Square Pavilion started sending many experts into Verdant Sea Port. Lord Ma Wendy was killed by the Star Mansion Sect? They're in big trouble this time. Seven Marshal Grand Master experts, heroes of the region, have fallen. The heavens have been pierced. I'm a little doubtful. Although the Star Mansion Sect is incomparably strong, their roots are not in the southern region. Why would they offend the three local powers? That isn't a very wise decision. What do you think is a wise decision? Gentlemen are brave. You're not a man if you aren't cunning. This is what wisdom is. That's not wisdom, that's insanity. I heard that the Star Mansion sect master is an insane pervert. He's a few hundred years old, yet he looks for young girls specifically. Shoo! How do you dare to say that out loud? Do you not value your life? W.H. What did I say? I didn't say anything. Let's drink. The Star Mansion Sex Sixth Tier Green Phoenix Floating Battleship. Green Phoenix Battleship Core Formation Area. This Green Phoenix Battleship is insane. The four of us work together, 
using up so many materials, but we only managed to repair one formation source. Just think of how strong the refiner who made this Green Phoenix battleship must have been. No shit. Even sixth tier, Grand Master class refiners can only refine such a thing by working together with many other refiners. If we didn't have the formation blueprint, how could we even think of repairing the formation sources? How grand and inspiring a scene would the refinement of a Green Phoenix battleship be? I really want to witness it. Ho ho. Your talents are pretty good. You will such a chance in the future. Who are you? How did you get in here? This seems even worse than I thought. Hey, hey, hey. Don't take a single step forward. Stop right there. This is the Green Phoenix Battleship's central control region. There are many experts guarding this place. How did you get in? Are you not ashamed to say that? If I hadn't spoken up, you wouldn't have realized I was here either. All four of them are eight Star Marshal Lords Ah, You're the kid from the Man Duo Commerce Guild transporting primordial crystals. It was a disguise? Ho ho, what a good memory. That's why I said your talents are pretty good. If you work hard, you might be able to go to the Deity Transformation Seat in the future. Now please make way. I want to examine and study this main formation. Stop. This is reasonable. This is excusable. Sigh, then I'll stop being polite. Ha ha ha. I'm done gathering my power. Why would you shout when trying a sneak attack? Ha. I will grind you into paste. Ah. Ow. Arg. The unyielding tyrant physique didn't disappoint me. Impossible. Grind me into paste, was it? Arg. Ah. Ugh. He destroyed a fourth tier Xi'an artifact with his bare hands? This. Even a martial emperor can't destroy a fourth tier Xi'an artifact with their bare hands. If anyone else dares to step out of line, you will end up looking like this, this person, this corpse, this pie, this flesh, paste. It doesn't matter. It's so badly wrecked. As I thought, it was just here for show. The Star Mansion sect loves their public image. How much money do I have to put into fixing such trash? Is he good with formations too? The formation source is moving. Someone is barging into the battleship. A fight that can make the entire battleship tremble, that isn't something we can achieve at this level. Is it the three great sects? Be careful not to wreck the battleship even more, or I'll have to waste more money. Who is courting death? How dare you run wild in the Star Mansion sect? This voice. It's Martial Emperor Su Fong. Even the highest authority has moved? Humph. You only appeared after I killed so many of the Star Mansion sect's disciples. The one courting death is you. Face off on the Green Phoenix battleship. Who are you? Speak up. I don't kill nobodies. Star Mansion Sect Highest Management in Verdant Seaport 1 Star Marshal Emperor Su Fong. Humph, you are qualified to know my name. You arrogant little 7 Star Marshal Grand Master. What? This form really does feel more awesome. This energy, it feels higher than, he's at least a 2 Star Marshal Emperor. What did you? L Lord, please be kind. Did the Star Mansion Sect offend you in any way? Could you please inform us? If the Star Mansion sect is at fault, we'll. Ek. Master Su, help. Humph, you know what you did. Fine, I'll give you my name. I'll let you die with that knowledge. Is that fair enough? I am the Verdant Seaport Beast Hunter, do on you. It's you. You asked for it, feral old man. Elders, prepare for battle. That guy's actually stronger than Martial Emperor Su Fong. 
Thank God the Star Mansion Sect has a lot of powerful fighters. It seems to only be one martial emperor, so he's outnumbered. Speaking of which, is he really alone? Whoa. Look. The formation source. It has never been operated at such speeds before. It's fixed. The Green Phoenix battleship is actually operational. No, this battleship is way too decrepit. The only way to activate the arrays is by using primordial stones to force in energy. If I want to repair it completely to use it freely, I will still have to go there. First, I'll have to take care of some annoyances. Oh, I really do feel sad for you. You've never even seen the ship's navigation panel. Come, I'll show you something cool. His attention's all on the battleship. Well, let's get over there and avenge boss. All right. We'll get rid of our embarrassment when his guard is down. Kill him. Ah. What just happened? How did a sudden green flash turn those three people into mush? What the hell is this green light? All third-tier Shin weapons I've struck gold. Ugh. Everyone, attack all at once. He can't win against a crowd. Yes, sir. How shameless are you? Using your sect members' lives to protect yours. This won't be good for me if it continues. What? Ah. It's the kid. Ah. Ha ha ha. That kid's got it. The Star Mansion sex members all got bounced away. That thief must have allies. If anything happens to this floating battleship, the higher-ups will make sure we're punished. Elders, use whatever strength you have left and bombard those thieves. With that many attacks, even if I can maintain my peak strength, it'd still be hard to hold up against them. Kid, I hope you have more plans. You guys, come and help. This Devil's Tone Cognate Formation needs the cooperative strength of several people to activate. Eh? Um? W-H-Y don't you tell us why we should help you. I really want to help. He he he. The Devil's Tone Cognate Formation is the main offensive formation of the Green Phoenix Battleship, but isn't it already broken? You don't say? It took so much effort to steal this battleship. But it turned out to be such trash. Do you not see me painstakingly fixing this? Get over here. Humph. If he at least be nicer, is this okay? Should we have a go? Why not? It's beneficial. But he's so ill-tempered. Damn it. Is it considered betrayal for refiners? I'll pass on the mechanics of the Devil's Tone Cognate Formation to you now. You only have to the count of ten to understand it. Anyone who can't do it, dies. Wasn't this defense formation broken for over a decade and couldn't be fixed? Who the hell fixed it? Fear not, Master Su. There's no way they have enough primordial stones to maintain the defense formation. No shit. An opening. Get in there. Immobilize and capture those thieves. Bring the ones in the central formation area to me. I want to. I, I couldn't stop my attack. If the battleship is damaged, I'll have your head. This isn't fair. Go. Isn't this the Devil's Tone Cognate Formation? Ah. The Devil's Tone Cognate Formation tremors everywhere. The experts the three sects brought here are strong. They managed to steal the Green Phoenix battleship's main control. He he. Those Star Mansion sect dogs are in for it. Who's the two-star martial emperor who fought so many experts alone? If he's from the southern region, he must have made a name for himself. A few days ago, people from those three sects contacted us in secret. They wanted us to help them fight the Star Mansion sect. Humph. So they had such a card up their sleeves. I'm lucky I declined it. You can't say that. The Soaring Sword Sect, Tiger Slaying Sect, and Square Pavilion are the forces of the Heaven-Sent Empire. We should unite against common enemies. 
We, the Thousand Crane Pavilion, were the ones who suffered the most because of the Star Mansion sect. Humph. We might be overjoyed that someone stood up against them, but we should at most help them a little in secret. We can't openly declare war on the Star Mansion sect. It's a devil's tone cognate attack. Intelligence Hall, who told me that the Star Mansion sect's main offensive formation was broken. But it was indeed Intelligence Hall Master Xu Jingqing. Don't tell me that the two great formations were repaired in just a few days. Humph. The trash you've raised even got such an important piece of information wrong. All of you are losing half a year's worth of primordial stones. Xu Jingqing, because you are the Intelligence Hall Master, you will also receive punishment by thorns. I accept my punishment. Devil's Tone Cognate, it was originally created by a famous martial sovereign far in the past. It is a profound sound art that disturbs the minds of listeners and primes the devil's heart. Who is talking? Shut up. The most important thing to martial artists is protecting their yuan and mind. If the devil's heart stirs and their true chi is messed up, they might go crazy or even lose their lives. Shut up. Ever since I arrived at Verdant Sea Port, I have wished to repair the Devil's Tone Cognate Formation day and night, but I couldn't find people who could do it, damned refiners. They're a bunch of trash. Yet when the formation was used for the first time, I was on the receiving end. These martial techniques are very overbearing and hard to block. Later on, a genius refiner modified it to become a formation. Although its power cannot compare to when a martial artist is using it, it can manifest the same effects. It is very suited to wide area attacks. He he he, it's quiet, it's finally quiet. Later on, it slowly made its way into the Green Phoenix battleship as its main offensive formation. He he he, so this is the Devil's Tone Cognate Foration. You won't be affected if you can't hear it. He he he, it's so stupid. Ugh. You were trying to escape the Devil's Tone attack by destroying your ears? What do you take a top-tier formation for? You. W-H-Y, aren't you affected by the Devil's Tone? Does someone who's about to die need to know that? White Flame Ghostly Killer. No. I can't die like this. Regret your actions even in your death. If not for Li Yunxiao, I would have died with Ma Wendy's team in the South Sea. But not only did I return alive, he even taught me a high-level technique like the heart calming technique to withstand the Devil's Tone attack. He's amazing. Ah. Even if I die, I'm dragging you down with me. Get lost. Ah. Hey. Look at that. It's raining Marshal Grand Masters. Aren't they all elders of the Star Mansion sect? Wait a moment. I think I saw the Martial Emperor Su Fong there. Su Fong. It's really Su Fong. An apex being in Verdant Sea Port, Martial Emperor Su Fong has been done in. You uh. They fell. Looks like some of them are not completely dead yet. Run away. Watch out. They might absorb our fine yuan. Run. Ha. There was just enough time. Hey Brett. How are things on your end? Look. The Green Phoenix battleship is moving. It can't be. It has already been here for a decade. Everyone thought it was just for show. The battleship that has been here for so many years is being driven away just like that? It was stolen, too. Now only the Thousand Crane Pavilion's battleship is left. Who in the world did it? They're so strong. Of course it was the Soaring Sword Sect, the Tiger Slaying Sect, and the Square Pavilion. If the three great sects hadn't joined hands, they couldn't have beaten the Star Mansion Sect. The three sects have such power? Don't they need a Martial Emperor to kill Su Fong? H.M., that makes sense. The Thousand Crane Pavilion must have had a part to play in this. Remember that the Star Mansion sect is a mighty dragon from another region. They didn't like each other from the start. Be quiet. Don't talk about beef between great sects, or you will be dead before you know it. 
Soaring Sword Sect Head 9 Star Peak Marshal Grandmaster Lu Jinfei. Square Pavilion Head 9 Star Peak Marshal Grandmaster Shernan. Tiger Slaying Sect Head 9 Star Peak Marshal Grandmaster Duan Chenhu. Now what do we do? Practically everyone thinks our three sects were responsible for that. Unless we catch the real culprit, we will never be able to wash our hands of this. Wash? Why do we need to wash our hands of this? Isn't this exactly what we wanted to do? It's better now that someone did it for us. The problem is that we didn't do it, and that these people utterly destroyed the Star Mansion sex roots in Verdant Sea Port. I heard the Star Mansion oldie is a Nine Heavens Realm expert. If he descends on the Heaven Set Empire, not even the Thousand Crane Pavilion will be able to stop him, much less us. The Star Mansion oldie crossing regional borders to fight us would be a clear violation of the Holy Region's laws. Even if he's at the Nine Heavens Realm, he can't go against the whole Holy Region. If he can prove we did it, it wouldn't be a violation of the Holy Region's laws. But we didn't do it. How can he prove it? Those sects that cultivate the Grand Chi of Justice and bury themselves in books don't know anything about how the world works. Brother Zhang, what do you think? I think we're in big trouble. What is it? Where from? Someone is wiping out all of the Star Mansion sect's disciples. If all the disciples are killed, we'll be taking some heavy blame. Just wait for the Star Mansion oldie to cross over. Ah. Elder Zhu, you're playing with fire. Will anyone in the Heaven Sent Empire be able to stop the Star Mansion oldie crosses over to our region? Elder Yang, you're worrying too much. With the three sects taking the blame, we won't be affected. The extermination of the Star Mansion sex branch will just make the Star Mansion oldie come to help us clean up the remaining section's riches befall those in dangerous situations. Don't be so calculative. Now, at least half of the profits in Verdant Sea Port will be ours, the Thousand Crane Pavilions. Ha ha ha. At that moment, Li Yunxiao's Green Phoenix battleship was already parked hundreds of miles out of the South Sea. You really stole the Green Phoenix battleship, how is this possible? The youth before me doesn't seem like a human, I won't break if. Touch it a bit, right? Other than being able to float, there isn't a single use to this whole battleship. I didn't touch anything. What a pretentious sect. Why play with such high-end goods if you don't have the money? Didn't you repair the main offensive and defensive formations already? Just the Devil's Tone Cognate attack alone should be worth the value of this battleship. Do you know how many primordial crystals I just spent on starting the defensive shield and using the Devil's Tone attack for 10 counts? The equivalent of 50,000 middle-tier primordial stones. The fuck? Are you joking? So thousand middle-tier primordial stones vanish with just that? Does this formation eat primordial stones? I can't make that much money in an entire year. A sixth tier battleship can affect a martial emperor's blood circulation and mind. Crossing realms like this is already an insane feat. Did you think martial emperors were so weak? Of course it devours large amounts of Yuan Qi. That's true, seven constellations Rome martial grandmasters are already peak beings in the heaven sent empire. Young Master Yun, what will you do with these four? Please don't kill us. We're all third-tier refiners. We might be of use to you. Would sparing their lives be a problem? After all, they're from the Star Mansion sect. Don't worry. These few people are pretty familiar with the battleship. They're pretty useful. Right now, the most important thing is how to repair this battleship. Ehehe. <laughs> I'll have to look for them. Them? Who is this them you're referring to? Who can repair a Green Phoenix battleship? The Commerce Guild below only the Thousand Treasures Tower that will accept any business deal, the Thunderwind Commerce Guild. Whoa. A tense atmosphere. Who is the Thunderwind Commerce Guild? The Thunderwind Commerce Guild? Isn't the Thunderwind Commerce Guild just some random small commerce guild? I recall that their entrances are only one person wide, and I never see them get any business. This doesn't fit your imagination in the last chapter, bro. All of their entrances look like that. 
They don't have to build stupid tall skyscrapers to be a massive commerce guild. They'll accept any business deal? You've got to be exaggerating. Would they dare to take a commission for A.O. Chancon's head? Of course. But no one would be able to pay for that, hey. The Thunderwind Commerce Guild always takes payment up front. Let's dock on that island. The battleship is too large to fit inside a storage ring. I'll set up a formation on that island to hide the ship, then we'll look for the Thunderwind Commerce Guild. What I taught you just now was a concealment formation. Digest the information and come set it up with me quickly. Yes, young Master Yun. All right. We've learned more from this guy in one day than what we did ourselves in a year. Where's the island? Just went for a toilet break. I've been out of Marshall Flame City for half a month now. I wonder how they're doing. The next day seems like we're within the Dust Flame Empire's borders now. Kid, who the hell are you? Can you tell me now? The city lord of a country within the Dust Flame Empire's administrative control, Tianchue's Marshall Flame City. Damn you. Ain't even going to tell me the truth. You're just a city lord of a subsidiary country? You think I'm stupid? How could he get so drunk? How weak? Not enough friends. You have such extraordinary prowess and strength, but you're only 15. I'll let you use my brain as a stool if you aren't a disciple from some massive superpower. Ho? You want to hear something realistic? I was once a Nine Heavens Realm Marshal Sovereign and a Ninth Tier Refiner. Are you sane yet? You didn't even drink. Need any peanuts? Let's go back to the City Lord stuff. The strongest sect in the Dust Flame Empire is the Heaven Gathering Sect. My guess is that you're one of their disciples. The sect master of the Heaven Gathering Sect is Chi Fong, who is said to have stepped into the Eight Desolation Realm. His master is also a Nine Heavens Realm Martial Sovereign, Hua Chen Chu. In the entire Dust Flame Empire, only the Heaven Gathering Sect has the ability to create a monster like you. Hua Chen Chu is my eldest disciple, so that would make Chi Fong. I suppose I do have some connection to the Heaven Gathering Sect. See? I got it right. Tell me now. What kind of connections? Chi Fong is my grand disciple. Sobriety 100%. Fuck you and your lies. Even though I'm already used to it, if the Heaven Gathering Sect heard about this, you'd be turned to ashes. But as long as I follow you around a little longer, I'll eventually learn of your background. Humph, let's see how you deny it then. Marshall Flame City. Original location of the City Lord's residence. What the hell is up with that tower? My lord. I don't know. Humph. It's all because of Li Yunchao. He did everything. My lord, you just need to capture Li Yunchao and you'll know everything. Last time, when Li Yi tried to steal something from the Supreme High Palace, Li Yunchao took it from him. His hatred for him had only grown since then. He tried to think of a way to reveal the truth behind the theft to Ma Tianhe to exact revenge on Li Yunchao. But he had not anticipated that a man named Qing Yang Huo would enter the Supreme High Palace and kill over half the sect members without uttering a word. He had even tortured Ma Tianhe and his son to death. They never found out who had put the blame on them, even on their deathbeds. Li Yi then got the idea to push all the blame onto Li Yunchao. Li Yi himself didn't know if Li Yunchao actually did wipe out the entire Xingyang family, but he did witness Li Yunchao frame Xingyang Ming. Thus, he guessed that they were at odds with each other. With that, he saved his own skin and brought trouble for Li Yunchao. That's two birds with one stone. Afterwards, Xing Yang Wu dragged Li Yi all the way to Marshall Flame City. But after searching for a while with no results, he lashed out and flattened the city lord's residence. It was after that that he noticed a strange occurrence, a tower that was not damaged by his attacks at all. Grot. Li Yunchao must be hiding in that tower, using some sort of formation to increase the defenses on it. 
Defensive formations like this are usually very resource intensive, especially with primordial stones. Once they run out, it's a death sentence for them. Let's see how long you can last for. My lotus field flames will neither fizzle nor blow out. I'll burn you as long as I can. See how long you can hold out. Marshall Flame City definitely feels off. What do you think of the formations in that tower? It actually has the power to hold against Qingyang was lotus field flames and even block off our universal detect. Something's definitely up. Is the Marshall Flame City Lord the one who massacred the Xingyang family? But even the royal family of Tianxue doesn't have the strength to do so. But that tiny tower, that tower may have been the ugliest thing we've seen, but inside, it must store something of high value. If not, there wouldn't be such large formations here. These formations are comparable to the ones used for small mountains. Damned gets just watching from afar. I'll play with you once I'm done here. Hark. Who's there? Where did you come from? He, he's just a martial lord. How is he making a peak nine-star martial grandmaster like me feel scared? That's him. Kid, who are you? Li Yunxiao. Emma Lord. He's Li Yunxiao. The martial flame city lord. My lotus field flames are extraordinary flames. Even martial emperors wouldn't dare to take it lightly. To cultivate these flames, I've had to stop cultivating myself. I would have been a martial emperor otherwise. This kid is just a one-star martial lord. How is he able to ward off my flames? Who are you? Xing Yanghua hasn't burned him alive yet. He must want answers from him. My lord, that guy is very cunning. Don't give him any chances. Burn him and get revenge for us quickly. Who are you to command me? Get lost. Gua. My lotus field flames aren't being warded off by some power. They're cowering in fear of something. I've trained with these flames for years, and I've already long connected my heart to them, so I can definitely feel the fears they emanate. It's like a peon encountering a legendary being. You wouldn't even be able to think of fighting back. I'm Xingyang Hua. Are you the one who wiped out the Xingyang family? A cockroach of the Xingyang family? Can't believe there's more of you. Unyielding tyrant physique release. True phoenix flames scare off all other flames. It is you. Those flames, what feud did the Xingyang family have with you for you to take such drastic actions? Take one man from me, and I will take everything from you. The course of your fate has been charted. You, uh, I'm getting burned alive. Extreme Yin Frost Chi. Ah. Hua, ah. When I get rid of you, old dog, the Xingyang family will be completely wiped off the face of the continent. Preposterous. What do you take yourself for? I will burn you to ashes, then crack open this short tower and skin everyone by your side. Explode, shooting star fire rain. You're finally dead, Li Yunxiao. My lotus field flames. Avoided him. Lotus field flames. Burn him up. How is this possible? I refuse to believe this. I'm two whole major realms above you. How can you withstand it? Die, 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 die. You. What do you want? Don't come here. Ah. Why did my lotus field flames avoid you? I, I know now. Strange flames. There are heavenly, strange flames in this kid's body. The tear of those strange flames must be far above my lotus field flames. I'm losing control of the phoenix true fire. Even though I learned how to refine the true fire from the Kungo divine tree, as I thought, it's too hard to gain complete control over the true flames at the martial lord level. Ancient divine flames. This feeling, it's something from ancient times. You aren't fit to possess such a heavenly treasure. Give it to me. Damn it. I was almost able to give me those flames. Sigh. Let me do it. Ah. 
Hee hee. Kid, this time, I'm saving your life. We don't owe each other anything now. Shut up. Don't kill him while I'm suppressing the Phoenix True Fire. I want to kill the guy from the Xinyang family with my own hands. A two-star martial emperor. All this time I've had the Phoenix True Fire, I could only display a phantom of the flames. Divine objects from ancient times are truly complex. I'm only going to be able to control it when I become a martial sovereign. You were just too scared of him just now. Actually, you could have suppressed him with your realm. Haha, you're so stupid. What? You. Who are you? Why do you need to know so much? Your flames are pretty good. Give them to me, and I can secretly let you go. I'm learning from the guy follow. How dare you eat my lotus field flames? You want to steal my lotus field flames? Even if you were a stronger martial emperor, I wouldn't be afraid of you. Is that so? I won't kill you for the sake of the flames. Who is he? He's an unfamiliar face. The best case scenario would be if he was a hidden expert in some sect. I'm afraid that. I'm worried that he's an expert from one of the other three regions. The Tianwu continent is split into four regions. The southern region is the weakest. We are nowhere near being able to fight against the other three. No matter where he comes from, there's something going on with Marshall Flame City. I heard that the power backing him was the Thousand Treasures Tower, but they denied it. I don't think they would lie. Then who is behind him? Now that Mount Meru is about to open, we can't afford a single misstep. Should we catch him and interrogate him? Absolutely not. Since Mount Meru is about to open, the other three regions are keeping a close eye on it. However, they have yet to cross the line. All the forces that want to squeeze into it are hoping for us to cause some trouble so they will have an opportunity to do so. As long as we don't do anything, none of them will be willing to openly break the holy region's laws. Humph. Laws, my ass. Even though they don't dare to do it openly, those large powers have always managed to smuggle their disciples in. How detestable. Nothing is completely fair in this world. Being able to maintain this state is already pretty good. From today onwards, monitor Marshall Flame City closely. Leave them alone if they don't cause any trouble. We can sort this out after Mount Meru's opening passes. Elder Xian, do you think Xinyan Huav can win? Although the Lotus Field Flames has a higher tier, he is a major realm below his opponent. Field Flame Dual Thorns Unless his opponent is inexperienced, it would be very hard for him to win. It is indeed hard for me to suppress you with my flames, but did you think I didn't have any other tricks? Get. Out. Although that move wasn't strong, it is a true water element martial skill. With his cultivation realm being higher, he is fully suppressing my flames. He. -he. I learned many useful things from those fish heads. Doesn't it feel great to have your realm suppressed and your element countered? I didn't expect Duan Yu to have such a card. His strongest technique, Blazing White Fire, is incomparable to the Lotus Field Flames. He would be countered if he tried to use it against him. That is why he switched to using an unfamiliar water technique, suppressing his opponent with his higher cultivation. Furthermore, water element techniques tend to be softer and are not deadly. He will be able to avoid killing his opponent so he might be able to extract the lotus field flames in Xinyang Ho's body. That guy is certainly an expert who has gone through thousands of trials. Xinyang Ho cannot win. That idiotic guy can actually put up a fight in a real battle. Don't be so arrogant. Even if I die, I'll bring you down with me. If you want the Lotus Field Flames, you can get it from me in our graves. How petty. Why do I meet people who blow themselves up? Ha ha. The entire city will go down with me. Oh no. He is going to self-destruct using the Lotus Field Flames. If he self-destructs like this, the whole of Marshall Flame City might become a sea of fire. What does that have to do with me? Then it's a shame that we won't be able to see the formation in that short tower. Ha ha ha. 
The likes of you don't deserve the entire city to decorate your grave. Mental pressure. Universal spirit suppressor exile. No. It's a mental attack. I know these things aren't real. You can't trick me with them. Who is this kid? My Lotus Field Flames. Ack. I need to suppress the Lotus Field Flames now. Or these unique flames will break off and escape. It'll be hard to find them once they've gone back into the world. What's going on? Why did Xing Yanghua stop for a split second and give his opponent an opening? With the ongoing situation, there was no way Xing Yanghua would stand still for no reason. Oh? Boss XIN, are you interested in those Lotus Field Flames? If you manage to obtain and train with those flames, you could increase your cultivation by an entire star. Should we kill them all and steal those flames, or should we just watch from the sidelines? Humph, my cultivation speciality is not of the fire element. The time it would take me to cultivate those flames is enough for me to break through one star. The Xinyang family incident has finally come to a conclusion, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. Let's return. Although, with Mount Meru about to open, I hope everyone will be on high alert. Try not to cause any more trouble. The uprising of Marshall Flame City clearly shows that they have a strong backing. I hope that those with grudges against Marshall Flame City will hold back for now. Try not to anger them in order to avoid any more nuisances. You should know that a millennia-old family may be hard to topple, but when they do fall, it's over in a blink of an eye. The Xinyan family is the best example of that. You, uh, hey, you four, come down here. Combine your efforts and help him suppress the flames. I don't know where Li Yi disappeared to during the chaos either. The interior really wasn't affected. Ah, young Master Yun, you've returned. Young Master Yun. Oh, you're a third tier refiner now? It really has been a while, time for a repunch. I knew it. I was lucky to have Master Su and Master Zhang aid me. It's all because of you that they did it. Not only did he rank up, he also became a harder punching bag. An old martial grand master was outside. Were any of you hurt? Hong Bin sensed the martial grand master's arrival and quickly got everyone in here. Qin Duo Duo decided to investigate a little bit afterwards and retreated back here when he suffered injuries. The Marshal Grand Master couldn't find us, so he decided to flatten the entire building. No deaths at all. We're lucky. How are Qian Duodu's injuries? With Master Su and Master Zhang watching over him, there should be no problem with the treatment. Young Master Yun, how did you get in here? Did that old guy leave? Nah, he's dead tell Hong Bin to return and rebuild the residence. At the same time to expand the city. No one else will be looking for trouble anytime soon. There's someone heavily injured outside. Don't interrupt or annoy them. D dead? Hey, young Master Yun. From what Qian Duo Duo said, that guy could have been a martial emperor. And you're telling me he's dead? A martial emperor is a pinnacle existence in the Dust Flame Empire, but one died in Martial Flame City just like that? How much chaos is this gonna create? Young Master Yun, did you do this too? H.M. You're finally at 6th tier. Beasts are usually limited by their bloodlines. It is difficult to break through. But if they do, it'll definitely cause some mutation of sorts, and their strength will be way higher. That's the glint of a legendary demon beast. There must have been some sort of mingling with a legendary demon beast in your ancestral line for you to have that in your blood. I've underestimated you. I really want to see your true strength right now, but I have something important to take care of. Guard the entrance. No one is to enter. Ming Wu, I'm here. A hopeful reunion on. 
Aside from being unconscious, there's nothing wrong with Ming Wu right now. Her life force is stronger than a normal person's. I can begin without worry now. You brat. Young Master Yun. Li Yunchao. Yunchao. Young Master Yun. Young Master Yun. Spirit Training Arts Cocoon Shitting. Two days later, he, he this is an incredible supplement. If a normal refiner ingested this, their spirit power would instantly go up a tier. I can begin now. Why? Why is Li Yunchao so similar to that lord and how easily they do things? Is it just because he is his disciple? Lord Yang Di is also a disciple of Gu Feiyang, but he is completely different from Gu Feiyang in every aspect. But from time to time, Li Yunchao gives me a faint feeling that the Lord is right before my eyes. Why are they so similar? Could Li Yunchao be that Lord's son? What a wild idea. But why would I get such a strong impression? Why do I see the shadow of that Lord in him? If, if I was the one lying in that formation, how great would that be? Just now, I. But, my strong desire to be in Ming Wu's position, I can't suppress it. I'll be teaching you an unparalleled spirit training art. Memorize it. Life returns to Yin and death. The more one has enjoyed, the stronger one's spirit. This is. Formed from Qi and unique due to its Qi, spirits differ. The form of an attached soul is the Yin, and the Qi of an attached God is the Yang, that's, you understand what he's saying? Life returns to Yin and death. The more one has enjoyed, the stronger one's spirit. Formed from Qi and unique due to its Qi, spirits differ. The form of an attached soul is the Yin, and the Qi of an attached God is the Yang. A spirit training art. It's really a spirit training art. A spirit training art. This is young Master Yun's voice. Another spirit training art even more profound than what he taught me last time. Memorize. I have to memorize it. A good memory cannot compare to a broken pen. Give me a brush. Li Yunchao talked for a full hour. The more materials you enjoy, the stronger your spirit. The rest is up to you. Wake up as soon as possible, Ming Wu. Where have you been these past few days, you brat? I thought you died outside. W.H. Watts with your body? Huh? The force of four quadrants? You. I'm gonna go blind. You're a one-star martial lord? Ah, uh, I'm going to go to the afterlife if you're not careful what? Head to the wall. Head to the wall. That bastard went up by a major realm in just over half a month. I took many years to get to Martial Lord, even with the Heavenly Knight Palace's unparalleled techniques, maybe I should just run into the wall. I just broke through to two-star Martial Grand Master. I was going to show off in front of everyone, but in comparison, my speed is like a snail. How are we supposed to live like this? How are all the geniuses in the world supposed to live? If you can cultivate that fast, why are we even alive? Ha ha ha. As expected of my son. As expected. As expected of my son. Ha ha ha. What about those dogs hit geniuses in the Tian Wu continent? They aren't even worth a fart in front of my grandson. Another one has gone crazy. Ha ha. I'm so happy. So damn happy. Yun Chao, when do you plan on becoming a Nine Heavens Realm Martial Sovereign? Nine Heavens Realm Martial Sovereign? Not even the entirety of the southern region could produce one, much less Tianxue country. You old geezer, stop dreaming. Not a valid argument. Becoming a Nine Heavens Realm Martial Sovereign isn't that easy. I could only cross a major realm because of my great fortune. I won't have such luck in the future. I'll have to advance one step at a time. Young Master Yun. Young Yun. Yun Chao, you're finally back. Young Master Yun. Your spirit training art is incredible. Phew. So it was because of great fortune. 
I'll have to work hard. Cultivation isn't something you can force. I can only work up one step at a time. I should try to get to the Nine Heavens realm in two or three years' time. Huh? Ah? Nine Heavens realm martial sovereign. Head dive faction support faction respect faction I'll take a look at Ming Bai. Don't bother me. With the density of poison here, no one except me can even get close to him. Ming Bai. Huh. It's strong poison. There are even silkworms on him. That poison body of his really is crazy. If I didn't have the unyielding tyrant body, I would've. Let's speed up the process. I don't know how long the violet nine-striped moth's blood will cause you to sleep for. Take care and mature properly, Ming Bai. Young Master Yun, Young Master Yun. Ack. For Quadrant's Realm, you. Hold up. Don't be too surprised and waste precious panels. Too many surprised people lately. Let's head outside if you want to chat. Eh? That's the city stop pointing fingers. You might get us killed. Let me guess, Ding Linger invited me? The city lord's residence was destroyed by some villains, so I was worried about the finances needed for repairs. Even if Miss Ding hadn't invited me, I was gonna pay her a visit anyway. Irk. Even if this kid is so talented he can reach the Four Quadrants realm at this age, there is no way a single glance from him could scare me this much. Am I an eight star Marshal King? Miss Ding is the one lending me money, not you, old git. You don't have any right to blabber to me. Plus, if it weren't for your stupidity, would the Tianyuan Commerce Guild have lost twice as many resources? Just ask Miss Ding to look for me. I've got stuff to do. See you. Young Master Yun, I was wrong. Our mistress does have some important business with you. It will benefit both of us greatly. Please do join us. Do you think being an eight-star martial king is impressive? If it weren't for Ding Linger, do you think you're worthy of inviting me? Ding Linger's an intelligent person. Why would she send such a dumb old geezer to invite me? Hai Sun City. Once the Xingyang family incident was resolved, all forces seemed to have lowered their guards. At least when I'm using a battleship in the city, there aren't any strong forces watching my movements. Are you still sore? What do you want? I've already held back. Why still fuss over nothing? Old man, you're not only weak, but also stupid. During our first meeting, if you had tried to be nice, you would have saved millions worth of resources. I can easily tell that you're only following Ding Linger because of your unyielding loyalty. That's probably the only good thing about you. You don't have the right to talk about me. Do you think you're clever? Everyone now knows you wiped out the Xingyang family. Marshall Flame City won't stand for long. I'm in a pretty good mood today, so I'll chat with you. If it's really as you said, Ding Linger should be trying to cut off connections with me. Why is she now inviting me immediately instead? Uh, you should understand the situation Tian Yuan Commerce Guild is in more than I do. The reason why Ding Linger keeps helping me is because she sees me as her saving grace. As for today's business, if I were to guess correctly, with the Xingyang family incident concluded, she'll be wanting to bet her life on me now. It seems so, a young girl like her has such vigor and clarity, and here you are, dumb as a pig. What I need from you are just primordial stones and money. The Thousand Treasures Tower can also give me those. But you need me for events that relate to your survival. I'll say what I said last time once more, you're not helping me. I'm the one helping you. I hope you won't do anything stupid again, or I might just walk away one day. What would Ding Linger do then? The Tian Yuan Commerce Guild is in a precarious position now. If I were to mess up the plans Miss Ding put so much time into. Young Master Yun is right. Old you, please treat him like you treat me from now on. Young Master Yun is a rare existence, a diamond in the rough. It's not worth fussing over such a small thing and casting me aside. 
Your smile has such charm, it sweeps away all my sorrows. I'll listen to good people. Why am I so dumb and rash? The mistakes I've made were all fixed by Ding Linger, I'm ashamed. I think the main hall may be too formal of a setting. I believe that with our interactions, you won't decline an invitation to my private room. I've already prepared some desserts for you, young Master Yun. This is tea that my father kept, produced from the unmelting ice mountains in the eastern region. Under those icy conditions, time flows so slowly it's as if it stopped. These leaves have matured for many thousands of years, but only two of them have grown. An extreme in terms of quality. Do tell me if it fits your taste. It definitely is smooth and delicious, and I can feel some chi inside as well. It certainly is top quality tea. Not many other types of tea can compare to this. But. Fragrant tea begets a more fragrant person. Lee style woman charm. Fragrant tea begets a more fragrant person. Young Master Yun, you said that there weren't many other teas that could compare to this one. It has piqued my curiosity. To my knowledge, this tea is already an insanely rare existence in the world. My father is a connoisseur of tea, but even he hasn't mentioned anything that can compare to this. From what I can recall, there are at least three kinds of tea that do. A. Eh? There are. Three. Within Crimson Crescent City, there exists a mysterious kind of blood tea. It looks red, smells and tastes like blood, and even has a pungent blood smell coming from it. It is brewed using a secret method within Crimson Crescent City. The tea suddenly turns blood-like, but its taste is supposedly sublime. It really is a top-tier tea, comparable to this iced tea. A blood-like tea? How could anyone drink that, even if the tea is of otherworldly quality, I wouldn't taste it. There's something even creepier that's best left unknown. This blood tea requires human blood in order to grow. The higher the cultivation of the martial fighter, the higher the quality of leaves. The second type of tea originates from the mystical fairy realm. A kind of green tea, called eternal verdance. Those are ones that have lived for a hundred thousand years, absorbing the chi from the luscious surroundings, making itself a rare treasure. Grown from a divine water source, it can instantly increase a martial artist's cultivation and polish one's body and soul. A tea of extremes. The mystical fairy realm. Eternal verdance. H. Have you been to the mystical fairy realm? How is that possible? I just heard about it somewhere. With that reminiscing look on his face, how can it just be that he heard about it? But I really can't believe the alternative. Then what about the last type? You left it as the last one. Is it really better than even the eternal verdance? The last kind doesn't exist on the Tianwu continent. Doesn't exist in Tianwu. Then is it in the four seas? It is possible to find a rare top tier tea, I suppose. Since the four seas are larger than the Tianwu continent, much larger than any of us could imagine. I don't know if there are any rare teas in the four seas, but the tea I'm talking about isn't from the four seas either. But from exoteric space right above these clouds, within nine days, the power of stars and moons will converge in a void of space, an eon's old existence, a mess of voids and time. It is difficult to collect anything from there. In the entire Tianwu, I'm afraid only the holy region has this kind of stardust tea. Stardust tea. Crimson Crescent Blood tea, Eternal Verdance tea, and Stardust tea. Father has never mentioned any of them at all. You have a strong sense of filial piety. You can definitely fulfill this wish in the future. I keep finding young Master Yun to be more mysterious by the day. That cultivation speed of his is already shocking enough. No one else has done it before. At first, I thought he used some sort of secret method or medicine to increase his cultivation tremendously, which would lead to severe side effects. But through thorough, thoughtful evaluation, the four quadrants realm energy he is emitting holds an even deeper understanding than myself. My plan no longer needs any questioning. I feel like I've learned so much from you today. I'm really impressed at the amount of knowledge you have. 
I actually do have some business with you today. This teen. How does he look even more thoughtful and cunning than those century-old gits? Since you know about the mystical fairy realm, then in the entire Qianwu, there is one other place beautifully comparable to it. Have you heard of it before? Are you perhaps talking about Mount Meru? That's right, it's Mount Meru. I guess it's natural that you'd know about Mount Meru if you know about the mystical fairy realm. One of the five mystic realms of Qianwu, said to have gathered the brilliance of the Qianwu realm, created from the qi within it. The dream abode for all martial artists. Oh, do you also believe that Mount Meru was naturally formed? I wouldn't believe it if you said an ancient being created Mount Meru, but there really is a lot of human footprint there. I suspect that these five so-called mystic realms are just five major sects of ancient times, just fallen and lost to time. These five places drifted in the break of space and finally stabilized somewhere. Only then did they form the five mystic realms. Young Master Yun, your knowledge really far exceeds a regular person's. Most people of the southern region wouldn't have this much insight either. I attended a high-level meeting with my father earlier on, and the conclusion about the five mystic realms between the people who attended mirrored yours. This is already an agreed-upon fact between superpowers. It's not really a secret. Then do you know that Mount Meru's opening is soon? What? Mount Meru is opening? Is that true? I've never seen this guy be startled or shocked before. I'm feeling kind of accomplished here, he he he. No one can really predict the exact time of a mystic realm's opening, but there will always be some signs before one opens. To avoid missing any openings, the three empires of the southern region each employed refiners to create space-time locators to monitor any major changes in the southern region. According to the three empires' assessment results, Mount Meru will open in a month at earliest, three at latest, and the opening point will most likely be in the Dusk Flame Empire. Mount Meru is descending upon us. Unbelievable. The whole of Tianwu must be going crazy right now. Not really, this has been old news for quite a while now. The superpowers in the other regions must be scratching their heads to find a way to get a place in Mount Meru. From rumors and legends, there are countless priceless and valuable treasures within the five mystic realms. They're filled to the brim with the purest chi. Some even contain Xian weapons from ancient times, and maybe even unworldly secret techniques. Every time a mystic realm descends, it creates the next batch of the world's greatest. All the famous and powerful people on the continent have gone through at least one mystic realm and reaped benefits from them. My perception arts did come from the mystical fairy realm. Without it, I wouldn't have been placed third on the major power chart. You should know about the holy region's laws. Wherever a mystic realm descends, the other regions aren't allowed to interfere with it. This, to the southern region, is protection against other regions. Otherwise, the southern region wouldn't even get a single place in it. Young Master Yun, what do you think of this information? Since Mount Meru is about to open, we people of the southern region will definitely be participating. I did wonder why the Dusk Flame Empire was so lenient toward Marshall Flame City. No wonder they didn't want to stir up any more trouble. It's because of Mount Meru. If I had known earlier, I would have acted up more. You already wiped out the Xingyang family. What do you mean by acted up more? Miss Linger, you didn't bring me here just to relay some information, right? It's just some preliminary information. You should also know that each mystic realm has weird restrictions on entry. For Mount Meru, the restriction is on the age of its entrance. If you are over 50, even by a single day, you won't be able to enter. So out of the five mystic realms, Mount Meru is actually the least attractive. If not for that restriction, the other region's superpowers would have taken every measure to secure a place in Mount Meru. Which also means only young people will be able to enter Mount Meru. With the 50-year restriction, especially in the southern region, it means that those so-called geniuses of large sects will be at most just martial kings or martial grand masters. The chance of a young martial emperor appearing is very low. The Tianyuan Commerce Guild has obtained two places in Mount Meru, and I hope you will come with me. 
Two places? Mount Meru only has an age restriction, right? Where did this restriction on the number of people come from? Young Master Yun, your intellect may be sky high and know of some of the world's biggest secrets, but you don't even know this common knowledge of the southern region. It makes me wonder, are you really from the southern region? I don't believe that you haven't taken a clean background check on me before. I'm a Lee family man through and through. Miss Linger, you should explain this other restriction to me too. We've gone checking Lee Yunxiao's identity and background dozens of times, and there's definitely no problem. But no problem is the biggest problem. Although Mount Meru does not have an entry limit, the southern region's sects have many agreements. They set entry ratios to prevent any sect from expanding too much due to Mount Meru's resources and to maintain the stable dynamic between the current powers. The three leading forces are the Dusk Flame Empire's Heaven Gathering Sect, the Heaven Set Empire's Thousand Crane Pavilion, and the Wudan Empire's Grim Reaper Cult. No wonder the southern region is powerless compared to the rest of the Tianwu continent. They're restricting and hiding such massive resources. They would have lost the cake long ago if not for the holy region's laws. Although this is fair, the internal struggles in each country will be very fierce. How much is each country's entry quota this time? Each country can send 3,000 people in, but the country Mount Meru lands and gets another 1,000 entries. This rule was also set a long time ago. It is very likely that Mount Meru will land in the Dusk Flame Empire this time, so the Dusk Flame Empire should have a quota of 4,000. Just 10,000 people in total? Then how will the quota be split within each country? The Heaven Gathering sect doesn't dictate everything, right? Of course not. Each country's quota will be divided based on the collective agreement of the country's martial emperors and above. Any sect with a martial emperor will be able to snatch a few places somehow. Then isn't it hopeless for any force that doesn't have a martial emperor? Nope, but these martial emperors will take 90% of the places. 5% will also go towards raising the talented youths in the country. The Dusk Flame Empire will soon hold a large martial arts competition. Competitors will be split into three groups based on age, and the youths who show the most potential in this competition will be given places. The last 5% will be auctioned off. Auction? 5% is still 200 places. It will be auctioned off? Considering the Tian Yuan Commerce Guild's wealth, purchasing a dozen or so places shouldn't be a problem, right? Every time Mount Meru opens, we will need more primordial stones than a sea can hold. Even if we empty out an entire force's wealth, we might not have enough. Participation in the martial arts competition is also limited. Any disciples from sects that have already been given places are not allowed to participate, but the auction has no restrictions all forces in the Dusk Flame Empire can participate. That's why the primordial stones earned from the auction can be used to open Mount Meru. Although there are 200 places up for auction, I'm guessing that each one will go for at least a million middle-tier primordial stones. A million middle-tier primordial stones. Forget it. Just sell my place and give me the money to spend. Don't think that I'm exaggerating to scare you. You know the benefits of Mount Meru too. Other than the known sects in the southern region, there are many hidden sects who will all begin to show themselves. Furthermore, sects from the other three regions will also sneak in to obtain places with large amounts of resources. The Mount Meru entry auction is, without a doubt, the fiercest and most expensive auction in the entire southern region. HM, when will the martial arts competition begin? You should be able to win a place from that too, right? That's right. You've got a discerning eye. I think that with my strength, it wouldn't be hard to get a place, but I don't want to expose my strength right now. However, you should easily be able to win a place. Mount Meru is extremely important. Every one of the five mystic realms is a dream of every martial artist. I can't miss such a great opportunity in this life. Besides, this is the best chance to raise Martial Flame City's power as a whole. Mount Meru, it's a heaven-set opportunity. Everyone else is limited by the quota, but I'm not. I can bring in as many people as I want. 
If I just use the World God Monument, I can bring everyone in Marshall Flame City's three teams under the age of 50 into Mount Meru. But those above 50. Many years ago, a top expert from the Holy Region gathered the top refiners of the continent at that time and refined a peak ninth tier spatial Xi'an artifact. According to the records, although it wasn't as strong as the World God Monument, it could form a space that could breed soul power and nourish life forms. It was also the strongest recorded spatial Xi'an artifact. Not long after it was refined, Mount Meru descended, and this holy region expert had a thought. They had everyone in their sect in this spatial Xi'an artifact and tried to smuggle themselves into Mount Meru. However, in the moment they entered, the spatial Xi'an artifact was shattered by the spatial power of Mount Meru. Every martial artist above 50 in the artifact was exterminated. But those under 50 were sent into Mount Meru completely unharmed. Back then, that martial expert was also hidden inside. He was heavily injured when the Xi'an artifact was destroyed as they were spiritually connected. In the end, he tore apart space to escape with his incredible strength, but the encryption seemed to have a soul. It crossed space to chase him into the capital of the Holy Region, killing a top expert of that time in front of all the peak martial artists there. After that, no one ever dared to try sending anyone above the age of 50 into Mount Meru again. When that martial expert tried to enter Mount Meru, the spatial Xi'an artifact was destroyed, but all the martial artists under 50 years old entered Mount Meru safely. That is the most important point. I'm not sure if the spatial Xi'an artifact was destroyed because Mount Meru doesn't support such spatial artifacts, or if it was because there were people over 50 years old hidden in it, setting off the encryptions. If it is the latter, I can use the World God Monument to bring people in without worrying, but if it is the former, even the incredible World God Monument might not be able to withstand Mount Meru's encryptions. If my own cultivation was all I cared about, I definitely wouldn't risk the World God Monument. However, if I want to raise Marshall Flame City's strength as a whole, I'll have to take the risk. Even if the World God Monument gets destroyed because of this, bringing thousands of people inside is worth it. Without the Nine Dragon Soul Absorption Array Soul Q1, the Soul Chi and the World God Monument won't be able to support their cultivation for long. Take this. Into the Sea of Consciousness. Ah. Ah. The tower, it was indestructible just now. It was fine even after a martial emperor attacked it. You. You brat. With a swoosh, it disappeared, and a flash of golden light. Your head, the tower, golden light, it's gone. You ate the tower? What rubbish. Oh, old Duan, congratulations on becoming a three-star martial emperor. Ah, uh, how D became no I became a three-star martial emperor. You're a three-star martial emperor? I guessed with your previous strength, was practically impossible to suppress the lotus field flames in so little time unless you broke through a star. Although you look a little tired, you look happy, so I knew you successful about the flame. If that is so, you definitely broke through to three star. And so I gave up struggling. In front of this insane man, the ants I had always been proud of became an absolute flaw. Look past vanity peace is a blessing you guys, relax and don't resist my universal detect. I saw that. You're eating people now. Can your intelligence get even lower? Hurry up and follow me. A few hours later Supreme High Palace. Not bad. I'll borrow this place for a while. Who is it? How dare you mess around in the hundreds word sect. Ack. Oh my. Ugh. How daring are you? You barge into the hundreds word sect, then crash a battleship into me. Don't you know that's a crime worthy of death? Huh? Your driving skills are terrible. Why did you crush his legs? You should have crushed that annoying mouth of his under the battleship instead. That bastard pulled his sword on us without even asking. I was going to kill him with that crash, but I met an old acquaintance, huh? Old acquaintance? One type of meeting is called meeting after a long time, and another is called plowing the ground. 
when this guy came at us swinging his sword, I already wanted to attempt vehicular manslaughter. I never thought that I'd recognize him, eh? Do you know him? What? He's here. Young master. Young master, are you all right? I know you. You're that disciple of the Sky Locust sect. All right, my A asterisk S. You try being stuck here. It must be exhausting, young master. It's been a while. You look as stylish as ever. Ack. You pig. How dare you mock me. You and your entire sect are done for. It's the Sky Locust sect trash. Let our young master go, and we might just leave your corpse intact. Get down on your knees and wait for our young master's orders. Why aren't you kneeling when meeting a higher sect than yours? He he. Kneel? These are the three jacks of our great hundred sword sect. I advise that you listen obediently. The hundred sword sect's welcoming methods are pretty unique. That mental attack he just used was indiscriminately spread in all directions. Even I was affected. Even though I'm a seven-star martial grandmaster, that attack still felt as if it had split my head. Within the top ten ranks of the major power chart, not only have all of them reached their peak martial prowess, they also have techniques and skills powerful enough to solidify their reputation and strength. The secret arts Gu Feiyang relied on to enter the top ten are these specialized mental attacking arts, the Moonset Arts. As long as the opponent's spirit power was lower than his, he could use the eyes as a medium and utilize the power of the soul and spirit to attack. As a former Nine Heavens Realm Martial Sovereign, people who had more spirit power than him were far and few between. As my current spirit power keeps rising, reaching fourth tier, Lord Class Refiner, the power of the Moonset Arts is finally bearing its fangs. Brat, you'll regret stirring up this mess at our Hundred Sword Sect. The sick master is in a meeting in the Grand Hall. You're dead once he's out. You keep saying that this is the land of the Hundred Sword Sect, but isn't this the Supreme High Palace? Even if the Supreme High Palace scattered, it wouldn't be up to you to take control, right? That's right. This boy is quite right. The chi veins around the Supreme High Palace were, let's say, rented to them by our Daybreak Sect. Now that the place is empty, of course we're going to take it back. Daybreak Sect Master One Star Marshal Grandmaster Yuan Yanwei. Yuan Yanwei, how shameless can you be? Isn't the Supreme High Palace closer to the Nun Aspect Sect than it is to the Daybreak Sect? Nun Aspect Sect Master One Star Marshal Grandmaster Guan Buzai. Ha! Are we talking about distance? The entire Supreme High Palace is within the lands of the First Sky Sect. Leave if you value yourself. First Sky Sect Master One Star Marshal Grandmaster Lu Wuman. Who dares harm my son? Brat. If you want to live, release my son. Hundreds Word Sect Master One Star Marshal Grandmaster Xiao Guang. Father. Help me. Help. Father. Kill them all and get me out of here. Ah, uh, this is getting entertaining. Does this chief filled mountain just belong to whoever is the closest? Of course. It'd naturally be that way. Brett, if it were not for that guy behind you, we would have torn you to bits already. That doesn't sound right, I think. The Hundreds Word Sect, Daybreak Sect, Nun Aspect Sect, and the First Sky Sect, all of your Chi Vane Mountains are in range of Marshall Flame City. Brat, know your place. Where are your guardians? Greed will only bring upon pain. I'll forgive you since you're young. Leave now. What? You're from Marshall Flame City? Are you the Marshall Flame City Lord, the one who wiped out the Xingyang family? Li Yunxiao? Marshall Flame City is a few thousand kilometers away. Do you want to move the entire mountain, Lord Yunxiao? Yeah. We know that the world's top commerce guild, the Thousand Treasures Tower, is backing you. Why are you trying to compete with us for resources? You're a prodigious man. You won't care about this small piece of land. Why not just give me a hand, and you shall be a friend of the first Sky Sect forever? 
for Lord Yun Chao, please let go of my son first. We can talk. Oh, I don't have any objections to that. I just couldn't stand his arrogance. That's why I drove into him. I didn't think that the four of you were living in such poor conditions that you would go for this decrepit place. Why not join Marshall Flame City? You'll fare better there. City Lord Yun, that's funny. Since you're here to help us reach a consensus, the Nun Aspect Sec will leave this dispute to pay our respects to you. Yes, since Lord Yun came here personally, I'll have to give way. Everyone, I'll return to managing my sect. May everyone be and stay well. I bid you farewell. Hold on. Since no one's interested in joining Marshall Flame City, I won't force you to. I'm sure you know that my recent feud with the Xingyang family was very costly. Since fate has brought us together, I want to borrow some primordial stones. Haha, -ha, your humor really is something else. Your city has the thousand treasure towers support. Primordial stones are the one thing you'll never run out of. What feud? You killed them all. He, I don't think I'm funny at all. Super serious Yun Chao. If you masters see me as a friend, lend me 50,000 middle tier primordial stones each. Why are you using me as an extortion machine? If you don't lend me the stones, that means I'm not your friend. For those who aren't friends, he he. Everyone, are you joining Marshall Flame City or are you giving the 50,000 middle tier primordial stones? If you don't think our friendship is worth that much, I don't mind ending said friendship. If we dare to end the friendship, our lives will be gone too. Such a blatant way of scamming. This is a first for everyone. Usually, the people who do have the strength to extort us like this are well known, so they wouldn't do such lowly things. The four of you understand. I thank you all. I do have some relationships with the Supreme High Palace. I'll be using this place temporarily. The four of you can go. Take care. Why are you so greedy? You aren't even that poor. You're at least a city lord. And the Thousand Treasures Tower? Really? Once I trained with body tempering techniques, I found out that after every step, the primordial stones needed would be tenfold that of other martial artists, or maybe even hundredfold. During my trip in the South Sea, I soaked up almost the entirety of the Kungo Divine Tree's soul power, but only went up by one realm. If that soul power were to be taken by any normal martial artist, they'd already be a martial grandmaster or even an emperor. Sigh, one step at a time, I suppose. I really want to ask A.O. Chankong how he managed to become a peak 9-star martial sovereign. Toughest body my A asterisk guess, more like drowning in primordial stones. Such resource-intensive secret techniques are usually only used by superpowers around the continent. Are you a disciple of one of those superpowers? Well, none of those superpowers would take me in anyways. Universal Detect Spread I found the mountain's most valuable spot. Time for new foundations. World God Monument. What is this? I don't even need to activate the Nine Dragons Soul Absorption Array in the World God Monument. It's working on its own. Can I also use other arrays by setting them up in the World God Monument? If that's true, I basically have a moving fortress, and that fortress can continuously get stronger. Is that Blackstone Monument you planted in the ground the one you brought from Marshall Flame City? It was a tower just now, but it's a tree now? Follow me. Hey! Hey! Answer me! Don't even think of tricking me into going in if you don't explain this. Ah! Ah! Th this is, don't tell me that within the stone monument we entered, don't tell me that this is a world contained in a tiny space, a spatial Xi'an artifact containing a spiritual plane. Looks like you know quite a lot. There aren't many people on this continent who know about spatial Xi'an artifacts. Even refiners might not know these things exist. Legend has it that ancient experts on the Tianwu continent could rip apart heaven and earth, then reestablish their own little world in the void with earth, water, fire, and wind. 
The five great mystic realms that will descend on this continent after a period of time are said to be small worlds established by ancient powers. Other legendary beings could evolve and refine the small worlds they established. Some could even merge them with martial artist Xi'an artifacts, forming unique items called spatial Xi'an artifacts. These spatial Xi'an artifacts are different from storage Xi'an artifacts. They share absolutely no similarities. Storage Xi'an artifacts just compress space, then merge it with a Xi'an artifact using a formation. Its only use is to store items. But spatial Xi'an artifacts truly establish a world with earth, water, fire, and wind. Th this is really a spatial Xi'an artifact. Tens of thousands of years ago, the expert Bailey Zoom gathered the entirety of the Tianwu continent's power to refine the spatial Xi'an artifact Heaven's Ark, but it was destroyed when entering Mount Meru. Later generations were torn over whether Heaven's Ark was a spatial Xi'an artifact, and generations of refiners argued about it nonstop. But this right here, this is definitely a true spatial Xi'an artifact, something that only exists in rumors. Looks like you're pretty well read. You even know about Heaven's Ark. And this isn't Heaven's Ark, but the second spatial Xi'an artifact on the Tianwu continent? Heaven's Ark is definitely a spatial Xi'an artifact, though it's a shame I've never seen it before. However, I am certain that the tier of Heaven's Ark is below that of my World God Monument. Unfortunately, I don't have the strength to refine this treasure completely. I can only link my mind with it. Refine. Just stay in the World God Monument to cultivate for now. I've set up the Nine Dragons Soul Absorption Array here, so there are dozens of times more Soul Chi here than outside. If he can refine this spatial Xi'an artifact, any movement or word he makes or says will be a law of this place. Then within this world, Li Yunxiao will be the greatest being. After returning from the South Sea, I seem to have gained more enlightenment from coming into contact with this godly monument. I need to take a close look at the World God Monument. Release all of my primordial stones. Creation Link, absorb it. A normal one-star martial lord's body would have imploded long ago if they absorbed energy so crazily. However, my Dantian seems like a bottomless pit. It can't be filled up, no matter how much Yuan Chi I pour in. I understand how the tyrant martial sovereign Ao Chankong could take first place on the major power charts now. It was definitely not because of luck. With the amount of Yuan Chi needed to cultivate the tyrant body tempering technique to the peak of the Nine Heavens Realm, a hundred martial artists could break through to Nine Heavens Realm martial sovereign. Only through a long period of gathering and nourishing can the physical body be completed, forming the immortal golden body. This brat's future achievements might be beyond my imagination. The Tin Wu realm, despite endless time and as many experts as there is sand in the Ganges River, is going to record his name. The realm of a body of glass is reforming one's physical body, purging impurities, and strengthening the physique, reaching the state of a perfect physical body. The unyielding tyrant body then builds on the foundation of a body of glass to evolve the power of an unyielding tyrant. It is the extreme strength hidden in one's body. Tyrannical strength like steel, shredding everything in its way. Many martial artists focus on training their chi, but is that really the correct path of martial arts? The body of a martial artist is an infinite treasury, like the Tao of the universe, the way of the constellations, containing unparalleled strength. Spirit, body, and chi. All three of those are great treasures. As long as you train one of them to the limit, you can scorn everything under the heavens. I am cultivating in all three at the same time. Although it is a tumultuous path, this might just be the path to the ten ultimate realm. All techniques were originally one. What difference is there between this tyrant body tempering technique and refining artifacts? It is refining materials to their limits, evolving new strength from them to become Xi'an artifacts. My body seems to have resonated with some sort of law, causing a change in the world. I understand. Ao Chakong's so-called immortal golden body is just like a Xi'an artifact. A Xi'an artifact refined to the extremes with the world as a tripod and his body as a mold. Breakthrough to two-star martial lord. 
A type of law seems to be silently working above this space. The power of laws. Godly realm technique. This text, it's the same kind of text as the godly evolution technique, but it isn't the godly evolution technique. This is shocking. Legend has it that there are some supreme laws of the world that cannot be written in words. They are contained within the world, hard to put into writing. Could these golden tadpole words be something used to describe those supreme laws? The second godly technique after the godly evolution technique. The divine scripture bordering worlds. It's the script that contains the higher rules of the world god monument. Unyielding Tyrant Physique Release Once I understand, I'll be able to control the World God Monument fully until my soul is truly connected. I never thought that my training to understand this body tempering technique would invoke the rules of worlds, causing the scriptures with higher rules within the World God Monument to appear. Ancient Air, Simple Faint Elements of I, All from Name Chaos Breaks, Tai Spits Two rights axiom, dark sun, bright moon. Heavens shift, worlds change, isolated worlds form heavens. Seems like this is the exact same as the godly evolution technique. It's nigh impossible to read this with just language now that I know their divine scriptures. Even my unyielding tyrant physique is failing against the divine scripture. If I lose this chance, who knows how long it'll be until I can witness another rule of the heavens once again. Since I can contain the godly evolution technique in my consciousness, I should be able to contain the godly realm technique too. Let's do it. Imprint the divine scripture into my consciousness. This is the sound of the divine scripture of evolution. After I reincarnated, this scripture was the one that gave me my memories back. This feeling, did I die again? Did I reincarnate? Uh, that's definitely my blood. This, my spirit power is now as high as a fifth tier refiner's. Both the godly realm technique and the godly evolution technique are divine scriptures. Could they be something left behind by a tenth ultimate realm martial artist? But, nothing about a 10th Ultimate Realm Expert was ever recorded in the history of Ken Wu. How did I even obtain two scriptures in such a short time? H.M.? It's them. Supreme High Palace. What happened to the Supreme High Palace? Why is no one here? Yup, Extreme Ean Frost. Brad. It's you. Where did you seclude yourself? You avoided such a massive tragedy. Even my universal detect didn't find them. Return the true phoenix flames. Uncle, don't kill him. We need him to be alive. The heavens have gave us a second chance. He brought him back to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Humph, you could have taken the easy way out, but you came to us instead. I'll send you off myself. I forgot to inform you. This place is mine now. So you're the one coming to me. How is this possible? Huh? A martial lord. You went from a nine-star martial master to a martial lord in mere months? How is that possible? What? It must be the true flames. He must have absorbed the true flames to have such unworldly cultivation speeds. Return my true flames. Brett, if you're smart enough, give us the true flames, and we'll look past our past. Hu Yin Ming is a fourth-tier refiner. He'll find a way to save you. I was getting to the good part of my training when I heard your call. Who are we fighting this time? The power he emits is suppressing me completely. Who are you, Elder? Oh, it's you. Eh? May I please know your relationship with this kid? That guy just came out of that Xian artifact. I have some matters to settle with him. I hope you won't interfere with us. Who the hell are you? I called him here to stop you from escaping. Huh? 
Does he want to solo a martial grandmaster? That guy seems injured, but he's still a one-star martial grandmaster. Two realms of difference is not a gap that can be bridged easily with just techniques. Elder, I'm a fourth-tier refiner, Hu Yin Ming. I'll owe you one if you promise not to interfere with our business. I'll return the favor. Just a fourth tier? Get lost. Go away, go away. Shameless side eye. A fifth tier's disregard. Even if you were in the seven constellations realm, you wouldn't just anger a fourth tier refiner. But the ignorance and annoyance in his expression doesn't look fake. Elder, can I take this little thief down and away? You guys seem intent on taking him. Of course. Do you have other thoughts? Chi Jinzi, let's make a bet. Bet? You aren't good enough to bet with me. Actually, hearing you out wouldn't be a problem. The guy beside me won't make any moves, so you can do anything you want. If you can take me down, you can have the true Phoenix Flames. If not, the three of you have to follow me. How about it? A confident challenge. What? You want to challenge me one-on-one? -on -one? Obey you? Do you have the qualifications for us to follow you? Ha ha, you don't even dare make this bet. Then hurry up and get lost. What use would I have for scaredy trash like you? How shameless. Preposterous. Forget Marshal Uncle Chi, even I can definitely destroy you. Great Lord, will you interfere in this bet? Since both sides have agreed, I won't interfere. If not for this mysterious martial grandmaster, I would have killed Li Yunchao long ago. However, I won't have mercy on you if you go back on your word later on. With you as a witness, we won't break the agreement. Come at me. Don't blame me for not giving you a chance to strike when you lose later. I really can't figure this martial lord out. Why does he dare to challenge me? Since you're so generous, I won't hold back. The power of this strike is incredible. It far surpasses what a normal martial lord should be able to display. It must be due to the phoenix true fire. If I capture this guy, all those benefits will be mine. Brett, extreme strength triumphs all techniques. Whatever heaven-defying techniques you have, you won't be able to escape the palm of my hand. I will try to keep you alive because of that expert. Take this as a lesson and surrender. What chilling Ian Frost Chi? Not even I am confident in defeating such Ian Frost Chi if we're in the same realm. What? Fine. Since you're so determined to die. Don't blame me for not giving you a chance. Nice movements, but they're useless. Extreme Frost True Chi, condense. Ugh. Haha, <laughs> how boring. I haven't even warmed up. Yumun, restrain yourself in the future. Don't act foolishly. Great Lord, the bed is over. I'll be taking him away. Huh? Ah. Ugh. Humph, how boring you fell for such a basic trap. If you haven't warmed up yet, I'll help you. Extreme Frost True Chi, Ice Shard Armor. Phoenix True Fire He managed to refine the Phoenix True Fire. Only the Phoenix True Fire can burn a martial grandmaster expert in one strike. If I could actually refine the Phoenix True Fire, he'd have burnt to ashes long ago my ice shard armor. The current me can only maintain this attack, even with the support of the tyrant body's tempering technique. Tiger Fong Sword Lotus Sword Song this is the first time I've seen Li Yunchao fight seriously. He defeats brute force with technique, combining fake and real, avoiding the most powerful attacks and facing the less dangerous ones. He is like a powerhouse that has gone through hundreds of battles. This isn't something a martial artist who spends his time cultivating in seclusion can achieve. Ah. Brett, your luck ends here. Ah. Huh? The Bell of Mountains and Rivers. That's the treasure of the Supreme High Palace that was said to have been stolen. 
Because of it, the palace master investigated for months, and hundreds of people had their cultivation bases wrongfully destroyed. So you were the on who stole it. Ho, oh, oh my. How flashy, my guy. This thing here is just a cheap imitation. Ah. Uh, no, 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 Master Lee. Take another look at it. Did you miss something? What the hell are you looking at? I've tolerated you for so long. This is the real bell of mountains and rivers. The bell tolls shake mountains and rivers. The majesty of mountains and rivers. Not bad, really. It may be a counterfeit, but it still has this kind of power. Ack. Humph. Ha ha. This bell of mountains and rivers not only attacks one's chi veins, it can also attack one's mind directly. With this bell, even if I face someone stronger than me, I will still come out victorious. These valuable, specialized attacks on the mind and chi veins turn into garbage against my powerful soul and hardened body. If Chi Jinzi had utilized all of his true chi to attack me through complete martial realm suppression, I wouldn't have been able to fight against him. Unfortunately for him, the idiot only used an attack that gave me the most advantage. Every time Chi Jinzi hits the bell, he has to use up a lot of true chi. My own true chi, on the other hand, is starting to swell up under the sound vibrations from the bell. Humph. No matter what you do, you can't defend against this. You're only a four quadrants realm martial artist. I want to see your body and soul disintegrate under my bell's power. The brat looks emotionless. Who did his soul get blown away? Damn it. If his soul dies, what happens to the true Phoenix Flames? The situation's unclear. I shouldn't get too close to that devious brat. H. He went up in cultivation. Three star martial lord. This kid. He lied about how hard it was to rank up in cultivation. How many primordial stones he needed, a hundred times more than the average cultivator. Damn you. In a few days, he went from a one star to a three star. I didn't think ranking up would be this easy. Might be due to accumulating too much chi in my body, securing the godly realm technique, and my body and chi veins being stimulated by the vibrations of the counterfeit bell of mountains and rivers caused the breakthrough with all those changes in my chi. Thank you. How? How's that even possible? Under the bell of mountains and rivers, even martial kings and martial grandmasters would have a hard time fending for themselves. He's not only fine, but even broke through a star. Bell of mountains and rivers, blockade of all mountains and rivers. Crush him. Oh no. He has gone insane. Retreat. Go to hell. Ha ha ha. Kid. What are you doing? Dodge. It's too late. Kid. Where did that weird thing go? Die. 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 What the heck? That brat must be fruitlessly struggling for his life. Humph, you're dreaming if you're trying to break the bell. This bell of mountains and rivers is a seventh tier Xian weapon. Nothing below that can break it. Unless you have something equal to this, you might as well give up. You broke the bell of mountains and rivers. Shut up. What? The bell of mountains and rivers. World God Monument. What is that Xian weapon? It managed to break the bell of mountains and rivers and come out unscathed. Ancient scriptures? How does someone know how to use them? The surrounding space around me is locked under this Xian weapon. With your methods, I'll return the favor. Ah. First victim of the World God Monument. A martial lord crushed a martial grandmaster to death. And he made it look so easy too. Like it wasn't even worth mentioning. Is he even a martial lord with this kind of power? Is he dead? There. 
Look. A martial grandmaster expert died so helplessly, reduced to a mound of flesh. What the hell? Why would you want something so disgusting from a corpse? Didn't I tell you? I'm very poor. I need resources. Humph. You lied to me about how hard breaking through was, but within a few days. You broke through to three-star martial lord. I'm a fucking idiot if I ever trust you again. So, you guys want my Phoenix True Fire too? I'll give you two choices. One, submit to me. Two, die. Very soon, the two of them swore their loyalty to Li Yunxiao, and he sent them into the World God Monument. Inside the World God Monument, everything is under his control. Li Yunxiao assigned Hu Yinming to Square Inch Mountain to refine pills, and Yi Xiaoshan, who was an eight-star martial king, was placed at the sole chi center of Square Inch Mountain to concentrate on cultivating. The world is ever-changing. Back then, we were the owners of our own lives. How could we have imagined that mortal enemies on the battlefield would meet like this? The next time we bear our fists at each other will be as a spar. Now, I need to go to Verdant Sea Port to take care of that Green Phoenix battleship. Will you come with me, or will you stay in the World God Monument to cultivate? This treasure of yours is really like Heaven's Ark. I'll stay here and cultivate. There is no soul chi coming in, though. The Yuan chi here seems to be gradually dispersing, too. That's right. The realm in the World God Monument cannot be compared to the grand world we live in. It cannot create soul chi on its own, but instead nourishes the life forms within it by absorbing resources from its surroundings. However, the amount of soul chi needed to support the functioning of such a world is staggering. All the soul veins within 300 miles of Marshall Flame City have already been sucked dry by the Nine Dragons Soul Absorption Array. When Marshall Flame City solidifies its standing in the Dust Flame Empire, I'll kick those rabbits out. I really can't afford to raise them. I wonder which ancient power could refine such a heaven-defying artifact. The so-called Heaven's Ark might not be better than the World God Monument. Many days later, Verdant Seaport. Because of the relationship between Li Yunxiao and the Thousand Treasures Tower Elder, he obtained a million middle-tier primordial stones without a problem. I heard that the Soaring Sword Sect and the other two large sects are under the Thousand Crane Pavilion's control, but it isn't confirmed. However, it's true that we haven't seen the three large sects in Verdant Sea Port recently. I bet it's true. The Star Mansion Sect was entirely razed to the ground. If the Thousand Crane Pavilion doesn't do anything as the largest sect in the Heaven Sent Empire, things will get messy when the Star Mansion Sect crosses over to our region. Huh? The four regions of the Tianwu continent are trillions of miles away from one another. Low-level martial artists would not be able to reach us even if they spent their entire lives trying. The Star Mansion Sick might be strong, but it would take them at least a few dozen years to cross over to our region, right? You don't know anything. Even if you don't consider how Nine Heavens Realm martial sovereigns can instantly shrink space to travel thousands of miles in a single step, all the great sects that have been established for tens of thousands of years have set up long-distance transport formations. They can cross a region in the blink of an eye. Really? Brother Dafe, don't lie. Shrink space? Shatter the void? Are they even human? Humph, what do you know? Do you know what the Nine Heavens Realm is? Do you know what martial sovereigns are? They are sovereigns among martial artists high up in the Ninth Heaven. What can't they do? If I could enter the Nine Heavens Realm and become a martial sovereign, how great would that be? My two pretty female cousins wouldn't have been taken by that Shanji bastard. Young man, what business do you have with an elder like me? Thunderwind Commerce Guild Guild Master Shang Wan Tai. I heard the Thunderwind Commerce Guild is willing to and dares to take any business deal and will keep any secrets for the customers on request. That will depend on the payment. Follow me. I'll show you the goods. The tea is on me I want a battleship repaired. 
How long will it take? Kid, what battleship do you want repaired? Don't tell me it's a Green Phoenix battleship. This. This. You're the one who exterminated the Star Mansion sex branch? A secret leaked? You're the one who exterminated the Star Mansion sex branch? Does the Thunderwind Commerce Guild need such information? Ah. I apologize. It was quite the shock. Right now, the entire Heaven Sent Empire, and maybe the entire Southern region, is talking about it, not just Verdant Seaport. I didn't think the three sects were being wrongfully blamed. They might not be taking the blame in my place. How much will it cost? It's an incredibly great task, but we have accepted such tasks in the past. Our price is one million middle-tier primordial stones, and the repair time will be one month. One month? With Mount Meru's opening on the horizon, I don't know if I can wait one month. That's my estimate. You may already know this, but to repair such a battleship, we have to use the Transportation Grand Arrays to send it to the Thunderwind Commerce Guild headquarters or to the Deity Transformation Sea Branch. I can place this order on the high priority list so it is finished as fast as possible. But, payment first. All right. One million, no more, no less. There are no problems with the money, so allow me to keep the ship for now. Kudos to the most mysterious commerce guild known to man. These tricks nearly had me too. He he he, it's nothing, but thank you. I'll be waiting on this island until the order is complete. Just come here when it's done, Guild Master. Verdant Seaport Thunderwind Commerce Guild. Master, the men you asked for have all arrived. None of them are from the Heaven Sent Empire. All of them are from the Dust Flame or Wu Dawn Empire. Oh? That soon? Bring me there. Many smaller sects are getting wiped out by larger ones, possibly because Mount Meru will be opening soon. Many martial artists have no place to go, becoming roaming cultivators. Mm -hmm. Mount Meru's descent is a grand occurrence. Its last opening was over a century ago. It's a shame only those aged 50 or younger can enter. Otherwise, those superpowers from other regions would have taken Mount Meru all for themselves, disregarding the holy region's laws. Oh? There's a martial lord? Where are you from? What's your name? The Dust Flame Empire's Li Yi. In the two weeks Li Yunchao waited on the island for the Green Phoenix battleship to be repaired, he used up all of the primordial stones within Qi Jinzi's ring. Not only that, he brazenly half-threatened Duan Yu, Qian Duo Duo, and others for their primordial stones, totaling another 200,000. I had to make a lot of dealings to get all of the chi in this world god monument. Did you think you could stay here for free? Eh? Your seal still hasn't been removed. Do you think you would be able to get Haolian Xiao Huang's blood without me? Nanny? I'll tell you this, there are definitely over a thousand men in this world god monument, and at least half of them have soaps. Maybe I'll strip your strength away and throw you next to them. But he still only managed to reach peak three-star martial lord. 300,000 primordial stones and not a single star. Ha ha, I see you've done quite well in the last few weeks. You went from a newly ranked three-star martial lord to a peak three-star martial lord. With that kind of cultivation speed, even those prestigious families, disciples, and progeny would be left far behind. With your strength, there wouldn't be a problem in getting a place in Mount Meru, right? He, he only those from the southern region have the right to enter. You seem to be prying for my background apologies. Prying for a customer's information is an impropriety within the Thunderwind Commerce Guild. Please don't use this as a complaint. We've finished all the reparations needed for the ship. In addition, we've also removed any labels and markings left by the previous owner of the ship. Consider it brand new, if you know what I mean. 
HM, the hundreds of arrays, alongside all cracks and other broken parts, have all been fixed. You can't even tell it was ever broken. All right. The Thunderwind Commerce Guild is trustable, as always. He he he. Youngster, I do have a query. Did anyone else attempt to repair the ship before you gave it to us? Oh? Why do you ask? He he, to be frank, the refiners who worked on this ship wanted me to ask this. They found traces of repairs that were incredibly brilliant, which received many praises, even from the best refiners we have. It led to an official query, so no impropriety there. You can choose to answer, or you can refuse. I'll catch any sliver of expression you show. Show me your feelings. Really? Are you sure? That's way too fake. You aren't winning any acting awards. Or MHM, then we really don't know who did so. It might have been someone of high standing in the Star Mansion sect. Eh? There we go, a clue. Um, youngster, I want to make a deal with you. Would you be interested? Do you want to make a deal, or does the Thunderwind Commerce Guild want to? He he, all the same. Is he a teenager or a sly crude? Let's say the Commerce Guild wanted to make a deal. Would you be interested then? Hmm, tell me about it. Mount Meru's opening time has basically been calculated by the superpowers around. It should be in around 40 days. The location will be somewhere in the Dust Flame Empire, a place near Tianchue. Near Tianchue? Marshall Flame City? The task is simple. When you enter Mount Meru, I want you to find a single item for me. What is it? What could make the Thunderwind Commerce Guild want it? He, this is just a calculated guess from a very capable member of the Commerce Guild about where the item is. It may or may not be there. Mount Meru hasn't been opened for a century, after all. No one knows the situation inside. All you have to do is enter this palace and retrieve the item. What exactly is it? Can you really not tell me? If you manage to enter, you'll find out. This treasure was born inside Mount Meru, then it was taken out by someone. It was then lost a few years after, and our members made the guess that it returned to Mount Meru. If this task is completed, the Thunderwind Commerce Guild will prepare 10 million middle-tier primordial stones as payment. Guild Master, this retrieval task was neither from you nor the Commerce Guild, but from someone else who commissioned you, right? Why do you say that, youngster? This sketch is in the art style of an old friend of mine. So he hid himself in the southern region. Would you be able to disclose his whereabouts? I don't want to talk. I'm singer and I don't want to speak. I'm pure same day, same face, same me in front of you every day. Can you tell me where this person is residing? I don't know who the person who drew this map is. I only know that the person who gave us this mission is extremely mysterious. He didn't have a single bit of Yuan Chi fluctuations around him. He seemed just like a normal person no matter how you look at it. Even the wooden guqin he carried around was definitely a normal, common item. But when he gave us the mission, he took out a million primordial stones as compensation without even blinking an eye. It was a million high-tier primordial stones, worth a hundred million middle-tier primordial stones. That incident was instantly reported to the headquarters of the Thunderwind Commerce Guild, and we were immediately ordered not to offend that person no matter what, and to complete the mission by any means necessary. Who is this youth? He's an old friend of that mysterious person? Brother, I am very sorry. This concerns the personal information of a customer. The Thunderwind Commerce Guild cannot reveal this. Does that person carry around a common wooden Gucci all the time? I can't answer that. He definitely saw through me. Brother, please stop questioning me. If I reveal a customer's personal information, the Commerce Guild will tear me apart. Ho, oh, why did you choose me? It was a spontaneous decision. The Thunderwind Commerce Guild was never too interested in the southern region. We don't have any secretly raised force, so when we couldn't find suitable people for Mount Meru's opening, we had to look for young martial artists from the southern region. 
However, their abilities were all dubious, so I couldn't trust them to complete the mission. But you gave me a completely different feeling. Oh? How so? As long as you're willing to pay the required amount, it shouldn't be too hard to find a Marshall King level youth, right? At a backward place like the Southern Region, everyone who could become a Marshall King before the age of 50 is a core disciple nurtured caringly by a sect like a great treasure. I don't want too many people to learn about this mission because that might cause more problems. That is true. If I can enter Mount Meru, I'll check it out. Whether I can complete the mission will be up to fate. That's a very interesting treasure. Have the time and location of Mount Meru's landing been confirmed? This is what very capable people have deduced, so it shouldn't be too far off. Three days later, High Sun City. Dusk Flame Empire for Great Noble Families, Zhou Family. I am Marshall Flame City's Li Yunchao. Zhou Yushan, you trash, you agreed to a match, so don't go into hiding. Just tell me if you're afraid of death. Kneel down and count out to me, and I'll spare your life. Zhou Yushan, you trash you agreed to a match, so don't go into hiding. Just tell me if you're afraid of death. Kneel down and count out to me, and I'll spare your life. And Marshall Flame City's Li Yunchao. The Xinyan family was ruined a while ago, so martial law is in effect over the entirety of Haisun City. Is something going to happen to the Zhou family too? It has just been two days of peace. Why is someone challenging the four great families again? The ruins of the Xinyan family are still there. Is it the Zhou family's turn now? Tianyuan Commerce Guild Dusk Flame Empire Branch. He's really causing an even greater fuss. I thought he was joking. That brat is challenging the Zhou family? Is he actually crazy? Dusk Flame Empire for Great Noble Families Wang Family. Huh? It's that guy's voice. He's fighting the Zhou family? Dusk Flame Empire Imperial Palace. Humph, does he not fear death? Does he think he can challenge the Dusk Flame Empires for Great Noble Families because he has a martial emperor backing him? I let him off at the auction last time, but it seems like I need to teach him an unforgettable lesson. Imperial Family Shrine The royalty already lost face because of what happened to the Xingyang family. If the Zhou family is challenged, what dignity and face would the nobility of the Dusk Flame Empire have left? Who is it? Who dares to make a fuss above the Zhou family? Announce your name right now. Stop acting dumb. The entire city heard me announce my name just now, so why are you asking? How shameless is the Zhou family? You. I was wondering who it was, but it's a little kid who hasn't even fully developed yet. Don't think that you're unrivaled in the Dusk Flame Empire just because the Xingyang family has fallen. The Zhou family isn't a family of brat like you can afford to offend. Oh? Is the Zhou family's status unparalleled? You lord over other forces? Humph, of course. Bullshit. The Zhou family has merely existed for a long time. Are they not ashamed of saying they lord over other forces? I'm embarrassed that they're part of the four great noble families too. Humph. Thousands of years have passed. I think it's time to reorganize the positions of the four great families. What an embarrassment. Do they think they're above even the imperial family? Stronger than the heaven-gathering sect? Humph. Maybe they are all thinking something like that. Shut up. What I mean is, the Zhou family lords over the vast majority of forces. Not all. Don't spout bullshit, you people. Whoa, how amazing. That's right. Look at their haughty demeanor. As expected of a family that lords over the vast majority of forces. Oh no, it's over. Is the bewildering fist sect part of the vast majority of forces? Yeah. I wonder if he took my Waterthorn family into account too. Elder. May I ask who this vast majority of forces are? Please give a few examples so everyone will understand. When did he leap over the guards? Let me handle this, Elder Zhou Bo. Current Zhou family head Zhou Yangbiao. Kid, 
you were very brave for daring to challenge the Zhou family. I made a life and death bet with Zhou Yushan. I'm just here to keep my promise. But you're acting like this, treating our oath as a joke. The bet you made with my son is supposed to be a month later, at the Dark Gold Arena. It's not time yet. You'll drag it from yesterday to today, from today to tomorrow, then to another month later. When will it end? Come up and fight right now if you're not a wimp. Nice. Well said. Come up right now if you're not a wimp. That's right. Do what you promised if you're a man. Don't break an oath even if you die. There's no point in choosing a day. He is right. When will the dragging end? I didn't expect the so-called four great noble families to be like this. They don't even dare to show up to a fight they agreed to. Sigh, thousands of years have passed. The four great noble families no longer have the pride they held back in the day. All of them are scaredy cats terrified of death. You brat. You're courting death. You a... Uh, ho ho, what a strong force. They indeed lord over everyone else. That's right. It's a miracle that Martial Lord Kid wasn't instantly killed by a full power roar from a nine-star Martial Grandmaster. Humph, they're the ones who went back on their word and broke their promise, but they're even trying to kill him to keep him quiet. It's embarrassing that they're one of us for great noble families too. There are people from the other three great noble families below. They won't let go of such a great opportunity to make fun of us. I can close an eye to fights between noble families, but you outsiders are absolutely not allowed to laugh at the system of this empire. The Zhou family head is as domineering as I thought. What an incredible sound martial technique. It isn't so easy to kill me. But I'm afraid I have already suffered grave internal injuries. I won't fare well against Zhou Yushan, cough, cough, cough. But a man has to at least die on the arena. If the Zhou family still has even a bit of the dignity of a martial artist, what a show from this bastard. Call Zhou Yushan out to fight me to the death. Where is the credibility and demeanor of the four great noble families? Calm down, calm down, every single word and action of mine will affect the Zhou family's reputation. Yushan is in secluded cultivation. It is impossible for him to come out right now. In seven days, he will be able to break the seal and come out. When that time comes, he will definitely come to fight you to the death. Besides, you were injured from my sound attack just now. This is a fourth-tier recovery holy medicine. Seven days will be enough for you to make a full recovery and make another breakthrough in cultivation, so you will be able to fight fairly. The Heavy Weight of the Family Head Personal sacrifices to maintain the family. After Mount Meru's opening, I will pull Marshall Flame City up from its roots. I will skin Li Yunchao alive, fry him, and refine his bones. I don't feel so comfortable with your medicine. If you really mean it, take this back and exchange an equal amount of primordial stones for me. I'm the head of the Zhou family. Did you think I'd straight up kill you? Then what was that sound attack earlier about? Shut it. Are there any refiners around? Can someone help me check for poison in this medicine? I'm scared that the underhanded Joe family is trying to secretly kill me. Lend me a hand. Never has the Joe family been humiliated like this. Never in the past millennium. I'll have a look. Master Bailey. It's actually Master Bailey. Bailey Gongjin, a sixth tier refiner, master of the Dusk Flame Empire Alchemist Association branch. A legendary being in the Dusk Flame Empire. So the branch's master is called Bailey Gongjin. There are a lot of strong soul power fluctuations around him. He's definitely the real deal. So it's Master Bailey. You have my gratitude. It's no problem. I heard about you from Yuan Hao. He was very approving of you. I wasn't believing much at first, but you've exceeded my expectations today. Young people like you are talented these days. Yuan Hao was exaggerating, and thank you for your words. Master Bailey, please have a look and clear the Zhou family's name. 
H.M. It definitely is a fourth-tier medicine, and from the chief fluctuations emanating from it, it seems to be of a higher grade as well. Thank you, Master Bailey. The Zhou family has been around in the Dust Flame Empire for over 10,000 years. Why would such a massive family go back on their word and put you in such pointless danger? Right now, you should go back and recover. In seven days, I'll make Yushan teach you an unforgettable lesson at the Dark Gold Arena. That kid may have been too careful. The Zhou family is a prestigious family. They won't use such underhanded methods no matter how far they go. H.M., in my opinion, the kid was starting to become scared and wanted to play things his way. Haha, -ha, what use is being scared? If you've gotten to this point, you have to see it through to the end. This is interesting. I never thought someone would challenge and mock one of the four great families. There must be something more to this. Well then, this isn't looking good for the kid. It's weird. Everyone agreed with him after Zhou Yanbiao used that sound attack on him, but now the Zhou family has the initiative again. Wait. Hold on. Guys, look. What is Master Bailey doing? Why is he still staring at the medicine? Didn't he already check it? He said that the medicine was a high-grade fourth-tier medicine. These pills are poisonous. The head of the Zhou family really tried to poison the kid? What? No way. My jaw's on the ground. There really is poison? Are you sure? Did the kid do something to it? There are countless strong martial artists here. How would a martial lord hide any movements from us? Th, this is outrageous. Has the Zhou family stooped to such low tactics? Sai. This is twisted. This has me all twisted. Master Bailey, are you sure you've checked properly? If you don't believe me, you can try one yourself. Seventh Elder. Try a pill. I understand. If Bailey Gong Jean says it's poisonous, it most definitely is. Zhou Family 7th Elder Peak 9 Star Marshal Grandmaster Zhou Bo. Now's our only chance to prove our innocence. All I have to do is use True Chi to suppress the poison. If I can do that, that'll prove it. Pill please, Master Bale. I don't believe it. A high grade 4th tier medicine having poison? Humph. I'm only a step away from becoming a Martial Emperor. There aren't many poisons that can harm me. True Chi Embalming This concerns the name and prestige of the Zhou family's past millennium. I won't let this be ruined in my hands. Now that a man from my family has proved its purity, how are you going to explain this? He he. This is defamation. It is a huge, unforgivable crime against our family. Because you have an upcoming battle with Yushan, I'll spare your life for now. But things won't be settled like this. You must bring us at least 5 million middle tier primordial stones as an apology, or you won't be leaving here today. You brought this upon yourself. Seventh Elder. Seventh Elder. Are you all right? H. He's dead? Seventh Elder. Seventh Elder. What kind of poison is that? How did it manage to kill Zhou Bo? He didn't even have time to say anything. How can there be such extreme poison in this world? Zhou Bo was definitely the strongest below us martial emperors. To be killed in an instant, what would happen if it were us? Li Yunxiao is too mysterious. There's something up with him. I suggest that we catch and interrogate him. Why do you think that he's the one who spiked the medicine? Did you see it? Humph, would the Zhou family or Bailey Gongjin be the one who spiked it then? Are you helping the kid out because you got something from him? AODG, do not try to pin this on me. I got a puzzle piece of an array from him. What about it? He's just a martial lord. Would he be able to spike the medicine without any of us noticing? Asked Boss Xian. Did he see it? I did not but it's impossible for the Zhou family to have spiked the medicine. 
not only would they not have had such extreme poison, they wouldn't have risked Joe Bo's life either. Joe Bo was a core elder who was definitely going to be a martial emperor. But that puts the suspicion onto Bailey Gong Jean instead, Boss Xian. Don't make that suspicion too rashly. You know about Bailey Gong Jean's identity. Correct. He wouldn't do this just because of his name, but how did none of us see what Li Yunchao did? The three of us are far ahead in cultivation, but there are at least a couple hundred down there with a higher cultivation level than Li Yunchao. Sai, this is making my head hurt. Let's see how things turn out. Lin Yunchao is really gutsy. I won't believe that he doesn't have anyone backing him. What? The poison tactic didn't work, so you're going to do it yourself? He, what prestige? Brett, no matter what you say or do today, you aren't leaving here alive. Emanating you killing intent. Humph, even if you let me leave, I wouldn't. You went against your values and went back on your word first, then used lowly methods like poison, and now you're trying to kill me in broad daylight. You have no faith, justice, or morals. What four great noble families? You're ruining the reputation of the four great noble families. I already came here. Why would I be afraid of getting killed? If you don't explain the morality of your actions, I'm not leaving this place today. You want to die together? Ha ha, you? Are you even qualified to? Is that, it can't be, it can't be what I'm thinking of, young Master Yun. How many more surprises are you hiding from me? I never thought I'd see one in Haisun City, Li Yunchao, what kind of deity is he? Green, green, phoenix. A green phoenix battleship? Which force sent you here? How can you have a green phoenix battleship? Hammer. Hammer? What does that mean? Is the force backing him called Hammer? Oh, I understand. He means that the green phoenix battleship is as strong and indestructible as a hammer. You're so smart, Brother Shange. He's pointing at the green phoenix battleship. You figured out even this? He he he. What the hammer does my green phoenix battleship have to do with you? Looks like you're fully prepared to fight the Zhou family. So what if you have a green phoenix battleship? I'll make sure both you and the battleship stay here today. Humph. If you don't have many refiners to control it, what can you do with a battleship? The Zhou family has tens of thousands of years worth of foundations and reserves. No one can challenge us. Leave your battleship and your life behind. Supreme Elders It's the Zhou family's Supreme Elders. Their seven constellations roam martial emperors. Martial artists at the pinnacle of the southern region. Ugh, my body, weren't the Zhou family's Supreme Elders in seclusion at the Heavenly Jewel Gate? The one in seclusion is the Zhou family's strongest martial artist. I heard that their ability level is through the heavens. They haven't bothered with the family's matters for a long time. That kid is in for it now. If he doesn't have strong support, he might get smacked to death like a fly. I apologize for my incompetence, Supreme Elders. I brought shame to the Zhou family. Greetings, Supreme Elders. Greetings, Supreme Elders. I don't know what your goals are or who is behind you. Zhou family Supreme Elder Zhou Changfa. But, for millennia past, no one who has dared to make a fuss in the Zhou family has left alive. Right now, as a Supreme Elder, I will give you a chance. Present the Green Phoenix battleship to us respectfully, then kneel down at the side and wait. We might just spare your life. How spare my life? You're really thinking highly of yourself. Since you want this battleship, I'll give you the battleship. Kid, I'm advising you not to continue down the wrong path. Did you think you could defeat the entire Zhou family with just a green phoenix battleship? No matter how strong the battleship may be, it's just a sixth tier Xi'an artifact. I could kill you in an instant. I don't know if this green phoenix battleship can defeat the Zhou family, but you won't be able to break through its defenses immediately. 
That is enough time for the refiners on the battleship to crash it into the Zhou family and blow it up. He, he can you martial emperors withstand the force of a self-destructing Green Phoenix battleship? Killing me won't stop the battleship from crashing into the family buildings and blowing up. Even if the few of you can escape, how many of the other thousands of Zhou family members do you think will survive? Ah, what is he saying? He is going to crash the battleship? And make it self-destruct? Is he crazy? Run. Young lady, let's run away before it is too late. Crazy. He's crazy. Young lady, if we don't go right now, it'll be too late. Why would you want to die with that brat? No. I want to see it. See how strong he actually is and what he can do. What? He's crazy. I really regret not killing him back at Marshall Flame City. Wait. Li Yunchao, stop. We can talk this out. You aren't mortal enemies. Why would you act so inflexibly just for both sides to suffer huge losses? Li Yunchao, tell them to stop. We can talk this out. Talk this out? He's trying to kill me. Why the hell would I talk to you? The entire Zhou family should die with me. I guarantee that Zhou Chimfa will not kill you. Stop right now. At its current location, even if the Green Phoenix battleship doesn't crash into the Zhou family's residence, none of us will survive if it explodes. I will be the mediator. Let's resolve this peacefully. Really? You were merciless in killing and vicious in your ways, sly as an old fox, but you dare act all innocent right now? Yes, of course. But he said that no one who had dared to make a fuss in the Zhou family had left alive. If I don't die, won't the Zhou family lose all its face? I don't believe that you can let me live. Let's just die together. No. No. Stop. Zhou Changfa. Tell him you stand. Stop right now. I can make an exception this one time. Make an exception? Isn't that too good to be true? Slow down the descent. It's not. Rules can be broken. As a representative of the Imperial family, I'm here to mediate. I will definitely be fair and impartial. The entire population of Haisun City is here. Everyone here is watching. Boss XIN would not joke around with his credibility. HM, all right. I'll believe you this once. The technique Li Yunxiao is using to communicate with the refiners in the battleship is very special. All of my meridians have been sealed. Ha! Zhou Changfa, you dare challenge us. A fatal strike. I'll kill this bastard first, then kill everyone on the battleship. That is... Don't leave. Damn it. What was that talisman? How could it block a strike from Zhou Changfa? Something that can withstand a strike from a three-star martial emperor. You little shit. Don't run away. Phew. I got the shock of my life. With that hit, Zhou Changfa would have been killing not only Li Yunxiao, but also the Tian Yuan Commerce Guild's only hope, someone we have gone on and on. She couldn't have been trying to use the guild's secret technique to save Li Yunxiao by force, right? That would have been formally making an enemy out of the Zhou family. What a scary thought. The ancient soul talisman I exchanged for proved useful. I see. The Zhou family was indeed sincere. Let all die together. He escaped back into the battleship. It'll be hard to kill him now. Zhou Changfa, what have you done? Shut up. You're so annoying. This is... TH the Six Universe's stargazing formation. Stop. Young Master Yun, we can still talk about this. Master Bailey? Do you need to use a killing formation? If you're not careful, everyone in the entire city will die. What? Stop, my ass. Do you think I'll fall for it again? Just die. Stop. 
I formally swear that I will not let anyone hurt a single hair on you. If the Zhou family hurts you again, I will raise them to the ground. Xian Pai is both someone from the imperial family and the master of the shrine. He has to keep his word. Looks like it will be impossible to kill Li Yunchao today. Oh? Do you noble families not value your words? Just now, that Zhou family guy said so many fancy words, he basically stuck his face on my ass. But now? Wasn't that all bullshit? I am the current emperor's uncle and the master of the shrine. I always keep my word. I will never lie to you. Put that formation on your battleship away, and we can talk. Forget about putting the formation away. I feel safer talking like this. You were perfectly fine as the city lord of Tianchui's martial flame city, Prince Wuchen. Why are you causing trouble in my high sun city? Old Geezer Xian, you're making me unhappy. Old Geezer Xian? Plebeian, you dare. How dare you address him like that? What do you mean, cause trouble in High Sun City? The Zhou family was the one acting all arrogant, throwing their power around, then going back on their word. They are detestable. I'm here to settle this. Xian Pai is like a god in High Sun City. He is above even the emperor. He's basically the top dog of High Sun City, but he was addressed as Old Geezer Xian. What bullshit? You were the one who made a big deal out of nothing, defaming us. The entire Dusk Flame Empire has seen how trustworthy the Zhou family is. If you have a bit of shame, just shut up. You. Then what do you want to do now? 1. Release Tianchui's Princess Qin Ruxiue, who was kidnapped by Zhou Yushan, compensate and apologize to her. 2. The Zhou family went back on their word and launched surprise attacks on me multiple times. 3. Stop running away and putting off the duel between Zhou Yushan and me. Curse your ancestors. Who ran away? Who put it off? I can release one woman, but the Zhou family will never apologize to and compensate Tianchui's princess. We are already doing you a great favor by sparing you when you caused trouble in the Zhou family's territory, but you even want compensation? In your dreams. If that is so, there is nothing left to talk about. Let's just die. Green Phoenix Battleship, Six Universes Stargazing Formation, activate. Wait. Li Yunchao, don't go overboard. You need to stop. Overboard, my ass. I'm prepared to give up my life. What do you mean by overboard? This kid is blatantly cursing me out. He really is prepared to die. Pause. I'll agree to your conditions. I agree on behalf of the Zhou family. Lord Pai. If you agree to that, what will the Zhou family's reputation become? You caused this mess yourself. Do you want to bring the entirety of Haisun City down with you? Reputation? Look at your current state. What reputation do you have left? I have to grind Li Yunchao into dust. I only state my conditions. Whether or not to accept them is up to you, but it's not up for bargaining. Release Qin Rushiwe right now, compensate us with 5 million middle tier primordial stones, and publicly apologize to Tianchui. As for the two times they tried underhanded methods on me, I can forget about this for 50 million middle tier primordial stones. Free her and hand over the money right now, and I will leave immediately. If not, we will die together. Make a decision right now. I'm not a patient person. This six universes stargazing formation is also incomplete. It might activate if left like this for too long. Let's not cause innocent deaths. 50,000 middle tier primordial stones, how vicious. That kid is extremely vicious. He knows that he is in a winning position. Boss Xian will never let the Green Phoenix battleship explode here so he cannot lose. This is very troublesome. That kid is playing with even a Green Phoenix battleship. I wonder which family is backing him. Right now, even an idiot would know that a great power is backing Marshall Flame City. Princess Qin Rushiue is back. Can they successfully save her? 
You always had the vibe of a caring older sister. Why are you crying so much now? This voice. Princess Rushiwe. I've come for you. Yunchao, take me home. I don't want to be here any longer. I've hoped for him to rescue me many times, but I didn't want him to either. Tenchue won't survive if we offend any of the four great families of the Dust Flame Empire. I thought I would have been locked up, beaten up, or tortured for life. But ever since I got thrown into that cellar, no one has touched me. Later, I found out Li Yunchao traded an extremely valuable promise for my safety. Yunchao, let's go home. No one will bully you anymore. Yunchao, sob, you have nothing to fear now, Rushiwe. From now on, within the Dust Flame Empire, if anyone touches even a strand of your hair, I'll wipe their lineage from existence. My impression of Li Yunchao was a talented, up and coming teenager. But now, I can feel a murderous sense of coldness emanating from him. He's like a landmine, one wrong step and you'll be blown to bits. The Xinyang family fell, and the Zhou family followed suit. What if it was the royal family? Young Master Yun, do you have any other conditions? If not, please take the ship and leave. I'll have Yushan grind down every bone in your body at the Dark Gold Arena. Hee hee, thank you very much, Lord Xian. I only reclaimed what was mine. See you later, everyone. Oh. Right. Brother Wang Chen, thank you for your efforts. And to Lord Cheng Feng and Lord Imo Jai, thank you as well. Thank you for taking care of me, Master Bailey. Young Master Yun. Show me more puzzling stuff next time. Eh? You dummy of a son, get your head in the game. We've been dragged into a mess, eh? Dusk Flame Empire for Great Families Wang Family Head Wang Mang. Sai, Zhou Changfa, what are you doing? Wang Mang, Cheng Fong, Imo Jai. Care to explain? Lord Changfa, this is just a ploy to make us fight each other. I've never met him until today. Him thanking us before leaving was just a ploy. Please don't fall for his tricks. Dusk Flame Empire for Great Families M.O. Family Head M.O. Jai. That's right. That kid wanted to screw things up more and make the four great families wary of one another. Master Bailey is one deserving of great respect, but he was also dragged into this. How despicable. Dusk Flame Empire for Great Families Head of Chang Family Chang Fong. You're saying that I would fall for such childish ploys? H.M.? You even said it out loud, so embarrassing. And Wang Mang, why are you being quiet? The entire time, you had over a dozen people watching our entire compound, day and night. Do you also not know that kid? Lord Changfa, we do know the kid, but we've only had one dealing with him. Lord Yushan and Master Yuan how of the Alchemist Association know the details the best. Nothing else has happened between us. Humph. Nothing happened? And Master Bailey, what happened to the medicine? I want to know. Zhou Changfa, what are you talking about? Are you suspecting me? Master Bailey, I respect you as the master of the Alchemist Association branch, as a sixth-tier refiner that can oversee the three empires of the southern region. But earlier, with tens of thousands of us watching, there was no way Li Yunchao could have spiked the medicine without any of us noticing. I want to know what's going on. Brother Changfa, everything may seem chaotic right now, but I can guarantee on my life that Master Bailey did not do it. All of us are sad to see Elder Zhou Bo go, but we need to calm down and discuss this first. Master Bailey, Zhou Changfa really couldn't keep his anger down. It'd be hard for any family if this happened to them. Zhou Changfa, I'll pretend I didn't head that. But starting now, the Alchemist Association will no longer be working with the Zhou family. Master Bailey. Master Bailey. Damn it. I've done something stupid. If our relations are severed, acquiring high-tier refined goods will be extremely difficult. It's all because of that kid. I hate him. I hate him so much. 
there is still a chance to repair your relations with the Alchemist Association. Private Sound Transmission The greater headache is Marshall Flame City. Their suspicious actions and mysterious strength are confusing. We shouldn't mess with them anymore before Mount Meru opens. What? How can the Zhou family take this? Is a single incident or a several millennia old lineage more important? Do you think it's a coincidence that such a troublesome thing such as Li Yunxiao appeared right before Mount Meru's opening? A superpower that can toy with a green phoenix battleship can easily squash your entire family like an ant. Why try to save face against such a force? If the Zhou family wants to end themselves, I won't stop it. But if you interrupt or mess up Mount Meru's opening, I'll make sure you're dead. Then are you fine with it if it's at the Dark Gold Arena? HM It's all down to skill at the Dark Gold Arena. Yushan is a gifted child, but you shouldn't let your guard down. That Li Yunxiao is way too weird. Thank you for the advice. Yushan is still in seclusion. He'll break through in seven more days. We'll wash away this embarrassment then. All for the better. Earn back some face for us nobility. But Li Yunxiao. Bah, just keep your guard up. I just don't think it'll be that simple. The situation's getting ever more complicated. The information about Mount Meru's entry distribution will also be released soon. Utilize all of the resources and manpower we have. It's imperative that we upkeep the safety and stability of Haisun City. The other three great families shouldn't let their guards down either. You should be working together to face any possible scenarios rather than being wary of one another. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To all families and sex present, anyone who causes trouble before Mount Meru's opening will be killed. Humph, they only know how to bully the weak. Li Yunxiao got away scot-free, but we have to face death. Any more opinions? Scram. Terror of the royalty. He didn't show any fear before the threat of a martial emperor, displaying his bravery. He manipulated thousands of people, displaying his wisdom. Li Yunxiao is both wise and brave. I knew I didn't misjudge him. H.M., although that kid used a very cheap tactic when leaving, it had unexpected effects. Breaking ties with the Alchemist Association will be a big hit to the Zhou family, even greater than their reputation tanking. Cracks will also form between them and the other three great noble families. He is indeed capable. At such a young age, he has such great cultivation, intellect, and strategy. He will become a menace if left to develop further. Phew, Uncle Yu, do you think Zhou Yushan can win the duel in seven days? H.M. Zhou Yushan has an exceptional physique. He was born with a shallow emotion body and received favor and teachings from the emotion-severing mountain. When he emerges from seclusion, he will be almost unrivaled among the younger generation of the Dust Flame Empire. But just now, Li Yunxiao survived a hit from Zhou Changfa. Although it was just the residual energy from the attack, it is not something a mere martial lord can withstand. I think the force backing Martial Flame City might be even stronger than the emotion-severing mountain. Unrivaled among the younger generation? How do they compare to my 24 Bridge Moon Knight? Of course, they can't compare to that. Besides, Li Yunxiao is acting too brazenly right now. He might get killed off before he even grows up. And although Zhou Yushan has received the teachings of the emotion-severing mountain, his abilities limit him. You are underestimating Zhou Yushan, Uncle Yu. The emotion-severing mountain's emotion-neglecting heavenly tome is a pinnacle existence. Even though the emotion-neglecting heavenly tome is exceptional, you cultivate the heaven-gathering sex void scripture, which is undoubtedly stronger. You also have the heavenly jewel gates 24 bridge moon night. The strongest among the southern region's younger generation is no one if not you, Prince. I have already mastered techniques from two of the three great sects in the Dust Flame Empire. I'm only missing the emotion-severing mountains emotion-neglecting heavenly tone. Unfortunately, I was rejected every time I went to request for their teachings. 
I want to see how strong the emotion-neglecting heavenly tome is after Zhou Yushan completes his cultivation of it. Your Highness, techniques are not what's important. The way forward is to raise your own strength. Supreme High Palace the World God Monument has sucked all the soul chi within a 300-mile radius dry. The Supreme High Palace is not some soul mountain or treasure of the earth, so it can only be used temporarily. Should I start going after the heaven-gathering sex treasures as the largest sect in the Dust Flame Empire, the location they are at must be the richest in terms of soul chi. That Chi Fong kid has likely entered the Eight Desolation realm to become a martial supreme with the power of the universes of Eight Desolation. Threatening them with a self-destructing Green Phoenix battleship wouldn't work either. It can't be done. She fell asleep? Teacher Luo, please help me support her. Girls are such strange creatures. How can she fall asleep while standing? Phew, I'm finally free. Green Phoenix Battleship. Drive straight in. Forward. You brat. Are you really dumb or are you playing dumb? Teacher, it was too loud just now. I couldn't hear you clearly. I knew you were playing dumb. Rushiwe and Meng Wu. Which one do you really like? You aren't trying to get both of them, right? Teacher, what are you saying? We are both still students of Jialan Academy, doesn't the Academy forbid dating? You're making me blush. Li Yunchao, quit acting already. He's gone. Get up. He's gone. Teacher Luo, do you think Yunchao likes me? If he didn't like you, would he have taken such great risks to save you? It's just that. Just that what? Just that you might get swept along into failure. Within the World God Monument, an empty area. I just looked around Square Inch Mountain. The strength of all three groups have increased tremendously. Many of the refiners in Square Inch Mountain have also broken through. All of them are training exceptionally hard. Meng Wu and Meng Bai are still slumbering. The Yuan Qi consumption in the World God Monument is extremely fast. It might dry out a billion middle-tier primordial stones. Although Square Inch Mountain is in dire need of primordial stones, there is something else just as important. This vast amount of primordial stones I'm giving you guys as nourishment should fulfill my promise. Using such a massive amount of primordial stones to enrich the land, I'm probably the only one on the Tianwu continent who would do that. Now, whether I will be able to get Tai Mystic Chi is up to you. Kungo Divine Tree. Go. Ha. How impressive. Good. Grow at the World God Monument's Soul Chi Source. Seven days later the cave with Meng Bai's cocoon. Meng Bai is about to break out of the cocoon. What is this? Ching Wang, what's going on? I sensed some suspicious Chi, so I followed it here. And I found this cocoon. This chi is fluctuating so much. What is this cocoon? When did such a thing appear in Square Inch Mountain? Ask young Master Yun, since he's probably the one who got it. What is this energy? It's somehow corroding my chi. The energy itself isn't powerful, but it can exhaust true chi so fast. It's ridiculous. Huh? What? Ming Bai? The kid who helped with random things around the manor? Where am I? Lord Shao. Old man. You're. Stop. God. Where are my clothes? My eyes. It's too bright. I can't see. Kid. Just use my cape for now. Such corrosive power. That cape was woven from fire red fur. It should be resistant to fire and water-based corrosion. W.H. What's happening? Xiao Qing Wang. Old Man Li. Help me. I don't want to die. Calm down. Try to pull your aura back in. I don't know how to. D dummy. Mind your dantian and resolve yourself, Master. Try to think back on the lesson I taught you. 
the toxic aura around you is your own. Try to sense and accept it rather than pushing it away. Use your body to absorb the aura and cleanse it so you can make use of it. Quick! Master, I feel so strong right now. I've never felt this much strength in me before. HM, let's try it out. Eh? No dodging, face it head on. The power Ming Bai is exerting isn't great, but any technique he uses will release that highly corrosive true chi. One would need to use many times the normal amount of strength needed to fend against that chi. Not bad. Your poison body has finally awakened some potential after being spiked by the poisonous blood. From now on, your cultivation speed will greatly increase, surpassing most other people. You may only be a martial master, but you can already defeat a great martial master. Martial master? Ha ha. I was gonna ask why I felt so strong. I fell asleep and went up an entire realm. You're amazing, master. Let me sleep more. The master disappeared for a few days, and he returned one realm higher, and now the same has happened for the disciple. The road of cultivation is never-ending. You haven't even reached the beginning. The most important thing for you now is to train in the body technique I taught you as soon as possible. That's the best way to increase the limits of your body. Yes, sir. Can we skip this dialogue? Young Master Yun, it has been seven days. Are you going to meet up with the Zhou family? Of course I am. They'll definitely set something up at the arena. In my opinion, you should leave the Dusk Flame Empire, find a spirit Qi mountain or Qi vein, and cultivate there. With your talent, defeating them with relative ease shouldn't take long. But that's cumbersome. He's just some random nobility, not enough to be important. I'm worried that you won't be able to leave even if you win. The Zhou family has been around for many millennia. They've been through so much. How would they lose to you? I agree with Chun Yang here. If I can't retreat at all, I'll just bring out the Green Phoenix battleship and blow up High Sun City. I guess, let's go master. Not bad, you really are one heck of a beast. You already have the strength of a peak martial grandmaster. I'll look for materials for you to break through the Six Directions Realm Barrier once I have some time on my hands so you can get stronger. Are you really going to battle? Who's going to help me break the seal if you die? If I die, you can remain sealed forever. Ow. If you're going to get killed, call me. I'll come out and save your butt. Killed? No one in the southern region can do that. Don't you think so? Look cooler, use your new form, and stun everyone. Let's go. High Sun City after Li Yunchao caused a ruckus at the Zhou family, the entire city became lively. Challenging one of the four great families' power was a first in many millennia. Word of the Zhou family was everywhere for seven days. Those who didn't talk about it were seen as dumb, uncool. All the rising powers kept their eyes on Marshall Flame City. This new force that had risen out of nowhere caught everyone's attention, and people are anxious to see what kind of monstrosity would dare to challenge the Zhou family. I bet 10,000 middle-tier primordial stones on Zhou Yushan's victory. Many more people were excited for the day of the battle, seemingly more so than any other festival or celebration. Some people even started betting centers, and their business was booming. 10,000? 10, 10,000 middle-tier primordial stones? That's way too much. Are you sure you want 10,000 on Zhou Yushan? Of course. Bet on young Lord Yushan? Is he serious? What? Let's observe a bit more. Young Lord Yushan is the spearhead of the Dust Flame Empire's younger generation. Plus, he's a disciple of the emotion-severing mountain sect. His victory is assured. But Li Yunchao of Marshall Flame City also seems strong. That day at the Zhou family's estate, he was hit by Elder Zhou Changfa once and came out unscathed. It was too weird. I saw it happen myself. I'll tell you this, Li Yunchao used a sixth-tier ancient soul talisman to absorb the power from that elder's attack. 
which means he wasted a sixth tier Xian weapon to save his life. So that's how it is. Humph, he's just a martial lord. You should know that Zhou Yushan was already a martial lord before he was even accepted as a disciple into the emotion severing mountain. I'll bet on Zhou Yushan too. Same here. Sorry for being direct, but why are you this sure? It's not much of a secret. Many people already know. Do you know of the Four Poles Commerce Guild? Four Poles? Aren't they one of the seven main commerce guilds, known as the number one commerce guild for information trade? Did your information come from the Four Poles Commerce Guild then? I heard that all information from the Four Poles Commerce Guild is trustworthy, but also extremely expensive. Any kind of information, no matter how minute, is sold at insane prices, no random plebeian can buy them. All of you are correct. The Four Poles Commerce Guild released a booklet of information about this to spread their name and build their reputation. It has all kinds of info on Li Yunxiao and Zhou Yushan's their strengths, weaknesses, and even their usual meals and sleep posture. Everything is described in detail. You can have a look if you don't believe me. Ah, there's such a thing? Can you please lend it to us? Hey, hey, hey. These are a thousand middle-tier primordial stones per book. I spent a huge amount on these. How could I just lend it out to a bunch of strangers? Go buy it yourself. They're being sold on Royal City Road. A thousand middle-tier primordial stones per book, limited to a thousand books. No more will be sold after that. Only a thousand? It's too expensive. We should buy them together so all of us can benefit. This isn't fake, right? Fake, my ass. How can it be fake if it's from the Four Poles Commerce Guild? Hurry up. First come, first serve. There's only a thousand of them. He he he, our status all depends on him now. Jiarong, you really are gutsy. As a man from Marshall Flame City, you really bet on Zhou Yushan? Aren't you afraid of Li Yunxiao finding out and cutting your head off? Jia Rong's shenanigans end here. Aren't you afraid of Li Yunxiao finding out and cutting your head off? And Miss Ding Linger? So it was you. I got the fright of my life. I just wanted to win some pocket money. Please don't tell Young Master Yun. Although Young Master Yun might be strong, he's still nowhere close to Zhou Yushan, don't you think? How dare you, Jia Rong? You're trying to trick me too? You might have bet 10,000 primordial stones at this betting center, but if you make a few other identities and bet on Li Yunxiao somewhere else, you should get at least 3 million. And this sum is still increasing. He he he, does the Tianyuan Commerce Guild spend its time on useless things like trailing me? Have you fallen for me, young lady Dinglinger? Your young master Yuns. I'd never dare to bah. Stop spouting rubbish or I'll cut off your tongue. How brave are you? You dare use the name of the Four Poles Commerce Guild to sell fake information? Aren't you scared of them hunting you down? Even the sixth tier Lord Bailey Gongjin wouldn't dare misuse the Four Poles Commerce Guild's name, and you're just a third tier refiner. Is it that serious? It's all under young Master Yun's arrangement. Even if the sky falls down, he'll hold it up. He arranged for this? Should I say Li Yunxiao is incredibly courageous or young and ignorant? The Four Poles Commerce Guild has martial sovereigns. They are in a completely different league from the small sects in the southern region. The Tianyuan Commerce Guild should also have martial sovereigns, right? Is young Master Yun so sure that he can win against Zhou Yushan? Based on what I know, Zhou Yushan has an extremely special physique that is well suited to the emotion severing mountains techniques. Because of that, the Emotion Severing Mountain treats him like an extremely important successor. He had also broken through to become a Five Elements Realm Martial King long ago. It won't be easy to win. I am a true third tier refiner. How could I almost lose my senses just from a look from her? This woman is incredible. Since you have a deep relationship with young Master Yun, you should trust in him. 
Ever since I've known young Master Yun, he has never lost, no matter how strong the opponent. Zhou Yushan is a martial king, but even if he was a martial grandmaster or martial emperor, I would bet on young Master Yun without hesitation. No matter what it is, if he is determined to do something, he has already won. For his subordinate to show such pure respect and trust, Li Yunxiao is really amazing. I understand. Royal City Road. Stop crowding around. It's sold out. Sold out. Boss, you can't do this. All of us rushed here as soon as possible after hearing the news, but you didn't even show us a single piece of paper. That's right. Why was it limited to a thousand? Print some more. We are strongly requesting for another thousand booklets. The most important thing in business is trust. Only a thousand copies of the two booklets will be sold. Nothing more. But, don't worry. The Four Poles Commerce Guild will have the latest information about Li Yunxiao and Zhou Yushan anytime. We already have quite a lot of new materials. Tomorrow, we will release the newest analyses of the two of them. It will also be limited to a thousand copies. What? There is new information? Then why would we buy this expired news? Don't worry. For the sake of fairness, the content in the new booklets will not be repeated, so you will not be wasting money. Boss, based on this booklet, Li Yunxiao and Zhou Yushan were childhood sweethearts, but because their identities and positions were very different, the Zhou family opposed it. Li Yunxiao challenged the Zhou family because of his anger as lovers. So did they get together in the end? Yeah. Do they end up together? What a tease. We spent so much money. Where's the ending? Isn't this an analysis of their strengths? Why is it BL? To deduce the results of a match, we need to analyze the causes and effects of the battle. Besides how powerful they are, emotions and rivalry have to be accounted for too. Only then can we make the most accurate prediction. Although Zhou Yushan might be at a significant advantage in terms of strength, how do you know he won't sacrifice himself for Li Yunxiao in the end? This young lady is correct. Love makes one rash and clouds one's thoughts. I haven't seen the newest report either. Look out for the latest information regarding Zhou Yushan. I want to be the husband of the emotion-severing mountain. It will also come with a new volume that Li Yunxiao has personally signed. It is not easy to say I love you. Damn it. We still have to rush here tomorrow morning to buy the ending? Fuck. Please wait. Later, we will also be selling weapons and armor that Li Yunxiao and Zhou Yushan have used. There will also be perfect 1 colon 1 replicas of various outfits they have worn. We also have the originals, but they will be more expensive. Zhou Family Mansion, what is left of it? What kind of petty rumors are spreading? They're saying that Yushan and that Li Yunxiao guy are lovers? Kill them. The book I Want to Be the Husband of the Emotion Severing Mountain even said that in order to learn the Emotion Severing Mountain's techniques, Zhou Yushan became a plaything and boy toy of the Emotion Severing Mountain's elders. How infuriating. What we can be sure of is that booklet wasn't published by the Four Poles sect. They are the leading information merchants in the world, with a sky-high reputation. They would never do something so nonsensical. It was most likely done by ignorant nobodies. Yangbiao, look into this. If it was a joke, exterminate their entire family. Don't worry, Supreme Elder. I have already sent orders to capture the culprit. If this was done on purpose, inform the Four Poles sect about this. They will take care of this themselves. What I am most interested in is what Yushan can achieve under the two emotion severing mountain elders' help. Don't worry, Supreme Elder. There is no doubt that Yushan can defeat Li Yunxiao at his cultivation level. Of course there isn't a problem with winning, but what I want is a complete and satisfying victory. That will improve the Zhou family's reputation, using Li Yunxiao's blood to cleanse ourselves of our humiliation. Oh, right. I heard that many forces have opened betting centers. That's right. Most people bet on Yushan winning. 
but my investigations have also found quite a few forces secretly betting on Li Yunchao. The most prominent ones are Marshall Flame City and the Tianyuan Commerce Guild. Oh, the Tianyuan Commerce Guild? The Tianyuan Commerce Guild can't even keep themselves afloat right now, but they're still meddling in this? We don't have to care about that. Let him walk the path to his own demise. Then what about the Thousand Treasures Tower? I heard that the Thousand Treasures Tower is backing Marshall Flame City. That is pretty worrying. The Thousand Treasures Tower has been staying very silent and laying low. They have been so quiet it's a little unusual. I can't see through them. Since the Thousand Treasures Tower publicly said they were not involved with Marshall Flame City, they have been laying low. They may really be unrelated to Marshall Flame City. If they are really unrelated, why would they completely cut themselves off? They're trying to cover something up. It is fine if they don't want to publicly admit it, though. That would mean we don't have anything to fear from Marshall Flame City. Not only do we need to completely destroy Li Yunchao, we also need to increase Yushan's prestige among the Dusk Flame Empire's younger generation, making him a leader. Don't worry, Supreme Elder. The heavens are helping the Zhou family. Yushan used to be average among the four great noble family's disciples, but because he had the shallow emotion body, he received the emotion severing mountain's teachings. The only one in the younger generation who can match up to Yushan is His Highness the Prince, Xian Ruyu. That's right. The prince certainly has exceptional talent. Not even I can figure him out. Send out these orders. For now, members of the Zhou family should restrict their actions. Don't cause trouble outside to prevent any ripple effects. On the day, at the arena, we will destroy Li Yunchao to reestablish ourselves. Yes. Dusk Flame Imperial Palace. Ha ha ha. Crown Prince, these books are complete rubbish. If the emotion severing mountain sees this, they will kill the original author by a thousand cuts. Rubbish is an understatement. It's basically R rated. How unsightly. I do enjoy seeing their suffering, though. Zhou Yushan received the emotion severing mountain's teachings, so he will become someone who might be able to threaten me. Him being publicly embarrassed is a good thing. Right. Many betting centers have been opened in the city. Uncle Yu, help me put five million middle tier primordial stones on Zhou Yushan winning. Five million? Isn't that too big a sum? Zhou Yushan might be outstanding, but Li Yunchao isn't your average person either. The result of the match might not be so clear-cut. Uncle Yu, you are an expert, a martial emperor. Have you forgotten that power triumphs all? If Zhou Yushan could receive the teachings of the emotion-severing mountain, he must have become a five-elements realm martial king. Furthermore, in such an important match, the Zhou family will bring out their hidden cards. No matter what you say, Li Yunchao is still a martial lord. Do you think it is possible to cross a major realm? Not with his strength, but on that day, the ancient soul talisman he used to withstand Zhou Chimfa's attack was a sixth tier item. If he has a few more such talismans, Zhou Yushan is dead. That is true. Such talismans are each with an entire city, so Li Yunchao can't have that many of them. However, I should act cautiously. Just bet 3 million middle tier primordial stones. I feel like there's something Li Yunchao is hiding, but other than the ancient soul talisman, I really can't think of any other ways Li Yunchao can win. Maybe I'm being too sensitive. The day of the battle. The day of the battle has come. Thousands flock over. Dark Gold Arena. Miss, aren't we being too reckless by betting so much on Li Yunchao? Zhou Yushan managed to become a five-star martial king in just a few months. Plus, the energy he's emanating sends a chill up my spine. Li Yunchao is just a martial lord. How can he win? What's done has been done. Let's wait patiently. I know he'll surprise us once more. Fine, we've gone so far that we can't turn around anymore. Let's see then. I had full confidence in Li Yunchao, 
but Zhou Yushan has improved too much. I can't help but be somewhat anxious. Brother Chimfa, Yushan's control over his true qi is immaculate. It's evident that his understanding of the five elements realm is at the highest. Yushan really is the apex of the new generation, being able to step into the five elements realm and bring his martial understanding to such a level. Humph. You flatter us, Lord Pai. If we're talking about the best of the new generation, that title belongs to Prince Ryu. He has inherited the 24th Bridge Moon Knight after all. How can Yushan ever compare to him? So, Elder Zhou, do you think that the emotion-severing mountain's emotion-neglecting heavenly tome can't match up the heavenly jewel gate's 24 bridge moon knight? Emotion-severing mountain elder Marshal Grandmaster Jiang Ji. You misunderstand. Yushan has only cultivated the emotion-neglecting heavenly tome for a short time, whereas Prince Ryu is already the pride of the heavenly jewel gate. The difference lies in time and cultivation levels. It isn't about the difference between your martial arts. The Heaven Gathering Sect, Emotion Severing Mountain, and Heavenly Jewel Gate are powers beyond the Dusk Flame Empire. The backing of any one of them is enough support to maintain a family for a millennium. The Emotion Severing Mountain's Emotion Neglecting Heavenly Tome is an extremely powerful art, although the conditions for learning it are quite peculiar, they must restrict and release themselves from all emotions and feelings with the minimum required cultivation being a five elements realm martial king. Coincidentally, Zhou Yushan has the shallow emotion body, making him a perfect candidate. He received the emotion severing mountain's full support and became a core disciple. Zhou Yanbiao had utilized most of his power to increase Yushan's strength to a martial king so as to not waste the efforts of the two elders. Zhou Yushan being a core disciple of Emotion Severing Mountain allowed him to have close relations to the elders. The sect even sent two elders to watch the event. I almost angered two elders of the Emotion Severing Mountain. The Emotion Severing Mountain is now our largest backer. We have to do everything in our power to keep them. He, Brother Chimfa's words are very true. One's strength relies on one's cultivation. The power of martial arts are essential, however any differences are at most minor. If the gap in cultivation is too large, overwhelming strength will beat any powerful arts. There is no way one can win with just techniques. Don't you say so, Miss Hongling? Lord Pai is right, really. The difference in Zhou Yushan's strength before and after seclusion is astounding. Even the power he's emanating is making me second-guess his strength. If he were to be allowed to further his cultivation, it won't be long before the Zhou family tramples over us. Cheng family hit Cheng Fong. There has been a report stating if Zhou Yushan manages to learn the fifth stage of the emotion-neglecting heavenly tone, the sect master of the emotion-severing mountain will betroth their daughter to Zhou Yushan. Mo family hit Mo Zhai. This woman is the daughter of the emotion-severing mountain sect master, Lang Hong Ling. Now that we've all seen her presence, that report is most likely to be true. Wang family head Wang Meng. If the Zhou family and Emotion Severing Mountain are to be connected, our positions as part of the great families will be even less stable. Yushan's shallow emotion body makes him a great fit for learning the emotion neglecting heavenly tone. He has a good chance to pass all nine stages of this art. You should know that the creator of the emotion neglecting heavenly tome was a martial sovereign. Rumor has it that the one who created the heavenly jewel gates 24 bridge moon knight only peaked as a martial supreme. You simply can't compare the two of them. To become a martial sovereign, it's the talent that matters. No amount of powerful arts can raise one's strength if they just don't have the talent. Elder Jiang. Miss Hong Ling. Please forgive Ruyu. He's still young and naive. I heard that Prince Xian Ryu had a pearlescent body. Not only has he been taught the 24 Bridge Moon Knight, he also has the Heaven Gathering Sex Void Scripture. Now, I can confirm this with my own eyes. Prince Ryu really is the apex of the new generation. He saw through me with a single glance. I'm feeling uneasy now. Not much is known about the relationship between the Emotion Severing Mountain and the Heavenly Jewel Gate. I don't know if this will cause any trouble. Furthermore, 
Lord. Lang Hongling's eyes look affectionate, but they seem to pierce coldly into my soul. I can't refute them. Lang Hongling should be younger than me. How strong is she for her to have such a powerful gaze? I've always thought I was the top of the new generation, but now I realize my naivety. Prince, don't be intimidated by her. That Hongling girl has always been a weird outlier in martial arts. She may not match up to you in strength. Otherwise, she wouldn't have to be stuck to Zhou Yushan. Hoo hoo hoo, I wonder what kind of person the Martial Flame City Lord is who would be dumb enough to seek their own death. It's a long story. I'll tell you two elders and Miss Hongling everything from the beginning. Xi and Pai then briefly described the scenes where Li Yunxiao wiped out the Xingyang family and caused a scene at the Zhou family. When I first saw him in Tianxue, I thought he was just a normal brave martial artist. I never would have thought he would do such insane things. It's hard to believe it. Outrageous. Outrageous. Damn him. He sounds very arrogant indeed. Let him die at Yushan's hand and be done with. Not only will the Zhou family name be untarnished, but it'll also display the emotion severing mountain's power. That's two birds with one stone. Hoo hoo hoo, I don't think it's that simple, not at all. It's already nearing noon and Li Yunxiao still isn't here. Did he run away? If he dared to make the challenge, he would dare to fight. But that's just heading straight to death. Even a pig would know how to weigh their options to avoid anything detrimental and run. Where would we be able to find such an intelligent pig other than you, Lord Imojai? Who goes? How dare you? He's here. You finally come to die, mutt. Yushan, kill that mud on the dark gold arena today. For your uncles, Zhou Chuan and Zhou Bo. For the reputation we lost in the Dust Flame Empire. For the Zhou family's name to be untarnished. Here comes Zhou Yushan. Hey mud, we've only met once and you're already causing trouble for the Zhou family. Today, I'm going to wring you dry of your blood to use as bleach. He he. Like father, like son. Let's see if you can stay arrogant afterwards. It's so strong. A peak martial grandmaster level demon beast. You bastard. Don't tell me you'll be using that demon beast to fight for you. No wonder Li Yunxiao dared to come. He had such a hand. Ha ha. I knew the kid had something up his sleeve. That's five million well spent. Oh. You bet quite a bit. Four great families. Wang family's top refiner of the new generation Wang Chen. Four great families M.O. family, elite warrior of the new generation M.O. Zichian. Did Miss Xiaoland perhaps bet on Zhou Yushan instead? Oh, of course not. Zhou Yushan is quite strong, but I don't know much about Li Yunxiao, so it'd be hard to make a choice. I decided not to enter a bid in the end. For great families, Cheng family elite warrior of the new generation Cheng Xiaolan. Quite judicious of you, Miss Xiaolan. A quality worth respecting. You flatter me. I heard that someone scraped two million primordial stones together to bet on Zhou Yushan. You're definitely going broke. My three million, two million is just pocket change to me. I also heard that the prince had bet three million primordial stones on Yushan, and he doesn't seem concerned either. A lightning demon beast. A peak sixth tier lightning demon beast. Uncle Yu, isn't that what you've been looking for for quite some time now? How could he do this? How can they use a demon beast to help them? Victory is assured. Victory is assured. Even cheating has a limit. Victory is assured. Victory is assured. Victory is assured. This is just blatant disregard of the Dark Gold Arena's rules. Victory is assured. Victory is assured. I knew that E5 wouldn't do something he had no confidence in. Zhou Yushan must be shocked and confused. He's so unpredictable. Young Master Yun, a fight in the Dark Gold Arena is a fight to the death. It is unfair to bring in a demon beast, no matter how you look at it. 
That's right. Take that beast away. Cheater. I say we punish him. Instant forfeit. Make him forfeit. Then sentence him. What is there to argue? Demon beasts are the weapons of a beast tamer. If Li Yunchao is a beast tamer, him bringing a demon beast is within the rules. Nothing. Yeah, he's a beast tamer. What else can he use if he can't use his demon beast? Plus, there have been beast tamers battling with demon beasts in the Dark Gold Arena's records up to thousands of years ago. On what basis is the Zhou family allowed to disobey millennia-old rules? Mm hmm, they do have a point. Beast tamers have always been allowed to use demon beasts. Coward, get lost if you're scared of dying. What skill is there if you're just using a demon beast? Scared of dying? Ugh. Why you? What are you doing? Do you not dare to fight on your own? Fight on my own? This is an arena of life or death. Not an arena for playing hero. I thought you weren't afraid of dying. I'm a beast tamer, so it's natural for me to fight with a demon beast. Even if he really is a beast tamer, he's still just a martial lord. How did he manage to tame a peak martial grandmaster level demon beast? It's the lady who stopped me back in Tianchue. Don't try to be slick, brat. Can you prove that you're a beast tamer? Clearly, you used some sort of pill to dull the beast's senses so you could control it. Now you're just using it so you have a chance of making it out alive. That's right. It has to be that. That beast's eyes are unfocused and drifting. It shows that the beast has to be under his control through a pill. You people can still spin lies in front of the entirety of Haisun City's population. Then how can I prove myself? A beast tamer's heart will always be linked to a demon beast's. They're the tamer's weapon and companion, so they will follow every order down to the details. The highest level of a beast tamer is for a beast to follow every command without fail. There are only two possible situations in which that can happen. Either the beast grew up alongside the beast tamer, or that the beast is outclassed in cultivation by a large margin. You're outclassed by this beast by too much. So that's impossible. Most of us already know what the Zhou family is like. The moment they start losing, they throw out whatever they have to inconvenience us. Fine, I'll shut you up. Little Xian. Cotton candy. Wah. Haha, ha, what an adorable little cub. As Zhou Yushan's future wife, how can you joke around when your husband-to-be's life is in danger? Difficulty increase. Roar. Good boy. I is that even a demon beast anymore? It's basically a dog. Through fire and flames. Game over. Now, time to kill. What kind of joke is this? Ahem, hold on. Young Master Yun, hear me out. The Dark Gold Arena is a place where you prove yourself. If you use this demon beast, doesn't the fight lose its meaning? How about you leave the demon beast aside and just have a spar? None of the fight to the death business. Let's just leave it at that. What do you think? Leave it at that? My win is already in sight, but now you're telling me to leave it at that? You can't change a fight to the death, or the dark gold arena loses its meaning too. I can leave my demon beast aside if that's what you want, but I rented it for a hefty sum. If you can give me about 50 to 60 million middle tier primordial stones as compensation, I'll consider not using it. Rented it? How devilish. You just scammed the Zhou family of 55 million a few days ago, and now you're doing it again. Are you a primordial stone bank? You bastard. Didn't you say you're a beast tamer? How is it that you rented it now? Do you think we're a primordial stone mine? You want to scam us again? In your dreams. The men of the Zhou family are one of two. If they live, they'll be our finest. Otherwise, they're just hollow shells. Yushan, you'll use everything against that brat. If you die, die with glory. Do not taint the Zhou family's name anymore. It has always been me granting other people their death sentence. Why have the tables turned? No. 
Please no. No. Father. I don't want to die. I have the most talent within all disciples in the Zhou family. The Zhou family would have grown and expanded so much in my reign. How could just be left to a mutt like him? Father. You have to save me. It's just so million primordial stones. Am I not even worth that much in your eyes? You. God damn it. Zhou Changfa, are you really not going to save Yushan? You should know that Yushan has been chosen by the sect master himself as the successor. Not only will he one day take over the Zhou family, he is also very likely to take over as sect master of the emotion-severing mountain. If anything happens to him, you won't be able to shoulder that responsibility. Fifty million middle-tier primordial stones. We'll pay. It's sixty million. And pay it up front, no deposits. Squeeze out every bit they have. Shady deals. Unlawful transactions. HM, this is enough. I've captured everything. We should look into this. It doesn't seem like an act. Investigate him. Little Xian, find a cool place to stay by yourself. He just gave up a guaranteed victory? Although 60 million middle-tier primordial stones is amazing indeed, does he still have another trump card he can guarantee victory with? Yushan, if you don't cut this person to pieces, grind his bones, and scatter his ashes today, I'll kick you out of the house immediately. Father, rest assured. I'll use his blood to wash away the humiliation of the Zhou family. I'll let people from all over the world know, touch the Zhou family's reverse scale and you will die. Wow. Just now, you were frightened out of your mind, but you're suddenly furious? You dare humiliate me with words. Die. Where's the guy who was so scared of death he was crying? Young man, it's normal to be scared of death. Ugh. Li Yunxiao has such a flexible and agile body, but no lack of power. Has he trained in body techniques? Body techniques? You're like an ant. What's the use of struggling? Emotion neglecting heavenly tone. Test of the strong. Is this the martial skill recorded in the emotion neglecting heavenly tone? The reputation is well deserved. He he he, the emotion neglecting heavenly tone contains the best techniques of the emotion severing mountain. It records dozens of different martial skills, each of which can shake the world. What? This guy is really courting death. The place where the strong winds meet is the most powerful place. If this sword stabs it, it will be caught in it and torn apart. The power of test of the strong is unmatched, but there is life in death. The strongest point is the way out. The place where the tornado gathers is precisely the only place where this trick can be cracked. How did he see it? Could it be that he has also read the emotion neglecting heavenly tone? How did he? Not only does it diffuse an inevitable attack, but it can also turn defense into offense. This guy's comprehension of martial skills has reached an unbelievable level. Even if it were the current me, would I have been able to do this? Watch this. Emotion neglecting heavenly tone emperor fist rolling crazy. Strength triumphs all. Slow but strong moves like this are the most effective at the moment. This guy will be smashed into bits. Unmoving king's fist. Unyielding tyrant physique. This is a body technique. He is really trained in body techniques. It's impossible to withstand and attack one major realm above your level with body techniques. Is he dead? This is the first change of clothes I've gotten in over 200 chapters, but you ruined it right away. I'm adding this to the Zhou family's bill too. Ah. With just the strength of his body, he was able to withstand the Emperor Fist. Not even the body of a demon beast at the same tier would be so unharmed. Who is this guy? I have seen lots of body techniques, but I've never seen such an insane one. Is he still human? No wonder he was fearless. With such a powerful body, he cannot lose. 
Zhou Yushan is in danger. I always thought body techniques had no future, but now it seems that they are even stronger than martial techniques. I heard that the tyrant martial sovereign Ao Chang top expert of the Tian Wu continent, also practiced body techniques. I didn't believe they were so powerful at first, but I am convinced after seeing it today. Everything Li Yunchao has showed, be it the Green Phoenix battleship, the Demon Beast, or the Heaven, defying body technique, are not things that ordinary forces can produce. As a three-star martial king, not even a five-star martial king would dare to face my emperor fist head-on. He actually didn't move, dodge, or resist. Does he have an undying body? How do I fight him then? Victory is assured. Victory is assured. Oh. Hey, don't underestimate me. Ugh. Ow, ow. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. What was that move just now? I must become his disciple and learn it. Awesome. Could it be the legendary sausage snapping kick? What sausage? It was obviously a mini cocktail sausage. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Mini cocktail sausage. Mini cocktail sausage. Mini cocktail sausage. Die. Die. Why won't you die? Want me to die? There are indeed countless people who want to kill me. But someone who can actually kill me cannot be found anywhere in the southern region. Li Yunxiao, if he only has that body technique, even if it is. So my greatest competitor for the position of first among the younger generation was him. Now what should we do? Don't worry. If the only thing Li Yunxiao has is that body technique, Zhou Yushan won't lose. Lady Hongling, why do you say that? The body technique Li Yunxiao uses is incredible. Even the power of a martial king couldn't shake him at all. It is also extremely fast. Yushan seems to be at a complete disadvantage. Although Zhou Yushan has only received flesh wounds, his dignity is completely gone. Were the results not already set in stone? I hate him. I hate his guts. His demon beast frightened the dignity out of me. He didn't even dodge the attack I put my full power into. I got kicked in the balls and smacked around. The laughs and ridicule coming from all directions feel like a prison of shame. Why don't you die? Why don't you die? I. 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 Should I die? Huh? This is? The fifth layer of the emotion neglecting heavenly tome, Grand Emotion Neglect Ion. What? This is the fifth layer of the emotion neglecting heavenly tome? Thank you. If not for you, I might not have been able to enter the realm of Grand Emotion Neglect Ion so soon. I see, it is a technique to quell the seven emotions and six desires, although it's a little inhumane, it is definitely a great technique. But could the one who created this technique have known, saints leave their emotions behind, they are free from the restraints of emotions. People like us live and die by emotions. People like us live and die by emotions. Within the World God Monument saints leave their emotions behind, they are free from the restraints of emotions, Teacher Luo. People like us live and die by emotions. People like us live and die by emotions. Don't try to disturb my mind with gibberish. Grand Emotion Neglect Ion is heartless. A long time ago, the emotion-neglecting martial sovereign created this unrivaled technique. How could a mere ant like you understand the meaning behind it? Your body technique is extremely weird. I might not be able to kill you at the Grand Emotion Neglect Ion realm. Shining Frost Machete. Elder Jiang, is that Xian weapon? That's right. It is the weapon the sect leader once carried, 6th tier Xian weapon, Shining Frost Machete. What? The Shining Frost Machete? The Shining Frost Machete was very well known in the Dusk Flame Empire. It was the weapon the emotion severing mountain sect master Lang Xingbo carried. Wherever he went, he brought the machete with him. It was practically synonymous with his name. This Xian weapon was shelved over 20 years ago and had not been seen since. 
Some said that it was because Langxingbo had become an eight desolation realm martial sovereign, so the Shining Frost Machete was no longer good enough for him. Others said that it was because there was no one else in the Dusk Flame Empire or the Southern Region who was worth using the Shining Frost Machete on. There were many speculations, but what was certain was that this Xian weapon faded into the background along with Lang Xingbo's retreat. However, it reappeared in Zhou Yushan's hands. Looks like Lang Xingbo is indeed planning to give Zhou Yushan his daughter. So Sek Master Lang values Zhou Yushan this much. The Zhou family is blessed. The shallow emotion body is an extremely rare physique. The Sek Master is raising Yushan as his successor. The Shining Frost Machete is the pinnacle of sixth tier Xian artifacts. It can break an artifact of the same tier with just one strike. I wonder if this kid's body technique can withstand its sharpness. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. A physical body is but mortal. Under such an exceptional weapon's edge, he will be reduced to a paste and blood. As long as Zhou Yushan can marry Lang Hongling, the Zhou family will lead the four great noble families for the next hundred years. Unnamed Saint, Grand Emotion Neglect Ion. Machete of the Cold Moon Strike of Emotion Neglect Ion. Emotion Neglecting Technique, Machete Sword. Tiger Fong Sword, Lotus Sword Song. The Grand Emotion Neglecting Technique gives me the power of a peak martial king. With this 6th tier Xian weapon, the Shining Frost Machete, I would even dare to fight a martial grandmaster. How will an ant like you block me? A young man, machete in hand, strives to let his talents shine. To make grand contributions and revive the land, ambitions his heart will find. What a good sword that is. I wonder who refined this machete of the cold moon. Even when Xian weapons shatter and death flashes before him, he is still relaxed enough to recite a poem and be caught up in his emotions? Humph. Is Li Yunchao really only 15 years old? His grace and elegance stand out even under such a dangerous situation. We've always known strength over skill, but those godlike techniques of his somehow made up the difference in cultivation between them. It goes against everything I know. How is it so brilliant? It's really a mystery. What a tactical genius he is. His Xian weapon is already broken. How can he fight against Yushan now? He's so dead. Such a genius teenager dying in this arena, he would have been a powerful fighter had he received adequate training and support. Ah. Farewell, Tiger Fong Sword. My body really can't take the force from that Shining Frost Machete's emotion severing techniques. Now I don't have anything else apart from the World God Monument. Ten, I shouldn't reveal it unless I have no choice, just so I won't bring even more trouble. Life passes like a dream, a swan step in the snow. Floating life seal. Isn't that Lord Yang Di's floating life seal? How does he know it? Within the Dust Lame Empire's Alchemist Association, how is that possible? How old was that teen when Yang Di left the southern region? The seal has formed, but the floating life seal seems to be changing. It's different. Could it be the evolved version? The Dusted World Seal? Dusted World Seal. I've never heard of it before. Before Lord Yang Di left, he mentioned that Gu Fei Yang had taught him the floating life seal. These seals are split into three stages, the floating life seal, the dusted world seal, and the divine earth seal. At the time, Gu Fei Yang had only taught him the first stage. Lord Yang Di attempted to learn the second stage on his own after Gu Fei Yang's demise, but failed to come up with anything. Is this perhaps the dusted world seal Lord Yang Di searched for? Dusted worlds and bitter seas, shores and tides beyond. Dusted world seal. I is this the dusted world bitter sea? It actually formed a complete image of the bitter sea. How much of an understanding does he have? It really is the dusted world seal. This is bad. The difference in their cultivation is way too much. Zhou Yushan still has the Shining Frost Machete. 
Li Yunxiao is done for. If I known he had the dusted world seal, I would have stopped the fight from happening. Is this a joke? You're just a four-star martial lord, way too weak for me. How can you go against my emotion-severing techniques? Do you think you can trap me with such illusions? Emotion-severing slash. Illusions, huh. huh. That's the. D divine earth, the divine earth seal. Divine earth unbound. Six path reincarnation. Divine earth seal. Emotion severing slash extinction scale. Were, were they equal in strength? This kind of destructive power should only be possessed by martial grandmasters. Zhou Yushan can barely unleash such power, even with the Shining Frost Machete. Li Yunxiao is just a four-star martial lord and was barehanded. But how? What kind of technique is that? It is on a higher level than the emotion-neglecting heavenly tone. Those seals he used were increasing in power. It looked like Lord Yangdi's floating life seal, except it was way stronger. Seems like it is some extended or empowered version of it. Yang Di has received Gu Feiyang's teachings. Is Li Yunxiao also a disciple of his? Gu Feiyang has been dead for years. Is he perhaps under a disciple of his? If Li Yunxiao really is connected to Gu Feiyang in any way, then the Zhou family is screwed. We can't afford to offend any of Gu Feiyang's disciples. The emotion-severing mountain may be powerful in the Dust Flame Empire, but compared to the entire Tian Wu continent, we're nothing but ants. The smoke is dissipating. Where's Zhou Yushan? Miss, is he really a four-star martial lord? That kind of power would render even a martial grandmaster. I've won. I picked the winning number. A martial grandmaster's strength and a fourth-tier refiner's skill, how many young people in the southern region can do that? He will save the Tianyuan Commerce Guild from the danger we're in. With such a potent body tempering technique, it's no wonder I couldn't ever beat Ao Chan Kong. Those powerful impacts were mostly absorbed and converted into true qi, filling my dantian through my unyielding tyrant physique. Even if Zhou Yushan is stronger than me by one entire realm, he won't be able to come out unscathed. Come out. I know you're not dead yet. What? Are you playing dead or trying to buy time? Everyone who wanted me dead is dead themselves. You will be no exception. Don't force me to die. Zhou Yushan sneak attack. Die. Emotion severing slash. Humph, I've been waiting for you. Blade flick. What an extraordinary blade flick. That small finger movement somehow captures a huge amount of martial intent. Almost as if it uses the rules who the of the world. Hell is Li Yunxiao. His understanding of martial arts are beyond what I'll ever comprehend. I put everything I had left into that final swing, and he somehow handled it with a single flick. Use your eyes next time. Some people aren't to be messed with. Damn it. Halt. You're already this cruel at such a young age. I'm going to teach you a lesson your parents didn't. Elder Jiang. The Dark Gold Arena has been a sacred place in the Dust Flame Empire where challengers held their final bout for over 10,000 years. Never has anyone dared to break its rules. Not even the royalty are allowed. All life in this arena is in heaven's hands. Since you're throwing away your pride, might as well kneel for me. Elder. Save me what did you say? How dare you? No one will feel bad if I kill you right here and now. What's this? Is this a soul attacking art? Godly realm technique. I said, kneel. Universal spirit suppressor. Dual arts resonance. What? What just happened? He actually knelt? Are my eyes all right? A martial grandmaster kneeling to him? Why? What the heck? Am I seeing things? What just happened there? Nanny? 
I just blinked and such a farce happened. H. How dare you? You made a martial grandmaster kneel for you. You should die. 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 Who said you could get up? You were. Uh, no way, Earth. You hound. I want you dead. Go to hell. What is that Xi'an artifact? Elder Jian couldn't break through the space it's in? Please. Please spare me. I don't want to die. Yushan. Big Brother. A powerful martial grandmaster died just like that? At first, I wanted to see who was stronger between us. He actually went ahead and crushed a martial grandmaster. How? I thought I had a good understanding of Li Yunxiao's strength back in Tianchue, when he was still a great martial master, his power output was already that of a martial lord's. And now, he can kill a martial grandmaster with a wave of his arm? Does this make the slightest bit of sense? Why you killed my elder brother? How dare you kill someone of the emotion-severing mountain? Why you deserve to die? Zhou Yangbiao, are you not going to do anything for your now dead son? Kill him. So what? What's the difference between killing you and killing dogs? Dire Wolf Divine Claws. Emotion Severing Tyrannical Palm. That Xingyang was Green Lotus Flames. Why are they here? Hey kid, told you I'd be useful. Less talk, more cleanup. Green Lotus Chalk Flames Dual Extreme Hell Pursuit Ugh. He's just a three-star martial emperor, but he can use the power of those Green Lotus Flames to suppress me. Who are you? You dare go against the emotion-severing mountain? Aren't you afraid of death? Whether it's the emotion-severing mountain's pet dog or their favorite disciple. Even if it's the sect master Lang Xingbua, anyone who crosses me dies. Who is Lang Xingbua? The sect master of the Emotion Severing Mountain and one of the three strongest martial cultivators in the Dusk Flame Empire. Along with the Heaven Gathering Sect's Chi Fong and the Heavenly Jewel Gate CUI Songha, he's a symbol of martial cultivation in the entire Dusk Flame Empire. Does he even know what he's talking about? Is he not afraid of attracting danger by spouting such atrocities? For you really are fearless. You dare to speak of such crazy atrocities? Sorry, I'm still young. Please don't mind me. Damn it. So he does know what death means. I'm usually pretty blunt, so if I offend you in any way, tell Lang Xingguo to come at me. So he doesn't know what death is after all. Why you? I'll remember your words today, young Master Yun. Milady. Today's happenings will be reported to my father. That sword has never lost a single battle in its 40-year journey with my father. We've lost our pride to you here, so you may keep it for now. We'll be back to retrieve it personally in the future. Milady. Humph. Not bad. A decent Xian weapon. This should be able to fetch a good price. Ahem. Here I announce, the victor of today's Dark Gold Arena match is Marshall Flame City's Li Yunchao. Humph, the famed Dark Gold Arena is rumored to be a place for final battles where matches are decided by death. Its rules are supposedly firmly set in stone. Never would I have thought that several people would try to take my life after my win. They really are set in stone. Set in stone. This is definitely my fault for not enforcing them well enough. Jiang Ji has already been crushed by Li Yunchao himself. As for the Zhou family, they will be punished accordingly. I have a bad feeling about this. Does anyone believe you? I don't. This kid isn't even afraid of the emotion-severing mountain. It's safe to assume he isn't scared of me either. What do you want? You know. Don't worry, anything is negotiable. Just give me some primordial stones and we can act as if it never happened. Otherwise, today's happenings will become tomorrow's special edition. 
Even the narrowest streets will be talking about it. As I thought. If it's as he says, the pride of the Dusk Flame Empire's royalty will all be gone. How many? Ten million middle tier primordial stones? You really are greedy. Ten million? Do you usually make jokes, Boss Xian? Even the Zhou family can take out sixty million on a whim. You're the royalty and the current prince's uncle. Are you not ashamed of only saying ten million? Why you are really asking for a hundred million? You've gone poor for too long. Since you don't think much of this matter, forget about it. I'll make sure you get the special edition first thing tomorrow. Fine. A hundred million it is. You can have the one hundred million, but you must promise me one thing. A deal is a deal. Give the one hundred million first, then we'll talk. The average person would have been happy enough if they got such a profitable deal. How does he still have the nerves to think this carefully? Why do I feel like he's the old sneaky git whilst I'm the careless 15-year-old? I'll come looking for you in a bit. As the head of the Zhou family, Zhou Yanbiao had the audacity to break the rules of the Dark Gold Arena. He will be sentenced to three unconditional slashes and submerged into the Black Sludge for three years. End of match. Disassemble. Congrats, brother, on your grand winnings, Brother Chen. Pure luck, pure luck. That Zhou Yushan is such trash. The Zhou family is useless. The Zhou family is gonna get me killed. Ha ha. Thank you for making me rich, young Master Yun. No God, please no. I'm gonna have to pay them back with my body. Time to go shopping. We should go as well. I know you're unhappy with the circumstances, but I'm warning you now, do not anger Li Yunxiao. There will be better chances in the future. But uncle. Fine. Uncle Yu, what shall we do? I don't know if we'll touch Li Yunxiao. But I will get my hands on that demon beast. Display your treasures and attract the hoarders. The battle in Dark Gold Arena ended with the complete victory of Li Yunxiao and the deaths of Zhou Yushan, the heir of the Zhou family, and an elder of the emotion-severing mountain. The result of the battle was unexpected. It led to significant losses for gamblers, to the point of financial ruin. The people from Marshall Flame City had redeemed 20 middle-tier primordial stones immediately under the orders of Jia Rong, Chen Jin, and Han Bai. Li Yunxiao's strength is far beyond my expectations. Even a martial grandmaster can be suppressed with a wave of his hand. Not to mention the Dust Flame Empire, this kind of power is rare in the entire Tianwu continent. There should be no problem with the summit at Moonrise City. Now is the time when the forces of all parties are moving. He exposed his strength so early and even offended the emotion-severing mountain. I'm afraid he'll get in trouble. What happens to us if he is killed? Should we mobilize the Tianyuan Commerce Guild to protect him? At present, the southern region is very turbulent. I'm afraid if we rush to mobilize our forces, it might cause many issues. It would be even more dangerous if the other Commerce Guilds discovered our relationship with Li Yunxiao. I hope I'm just worrying too much. We should do nothing, although he seems to be acting recklessly and bravely, he is thoughtful and full of schemes. Even I can't see through him. That mysterious weapon is absolutely extraordinary, suppressing a martial grandmaster with a single move. Who can nurture such an exceptional disciple and have such great resources? Ah, that's the direction of the Thousand Treasures Tower. Li Yunxiao, Li Yunxiao, just who is the power behind you? Is it really the Thousand Treasures Tower? For a while, practically all forces focused their attention on the Thousand Treasures Tower as well as Li Yunxiao's movements. Young Master Yun, why are you here again? What? Am I not welcomed? No, no, you've come from afar, Young Master Yun. It's a pleasure. It's just Dusk Flame Empire Thousand Treasures Tower Elder Guardian Yin Chaoyang. What? It's just that young Master Yun came to the Thousand Treasures Tower right after causing a big commotion. What would others think about this? What is the meaning of this action? 
Nothing in particular. After borrowing money last time, I heard Elder Ean has been training in seclusion. This time, I just stopped by to say thank you in person. Did you think I came here to pay the money back? I'm short on cash right now. That amount is too big and will take some time to return. Your acting sucks. Everyone knows that you extorted two huge sums of primordial stones from the Zhou family. You have even more money than the Dust Flame branch of the Thousand Treasures Tower now, but you are still crying about poverty. You just want to pull the Thousand Treasures Tower into the fray and have us act as a shield for you. You must be joking, young Master Yun. That money is not that big a sum. It won't be too late to return the money when you have enough. Nice. At first, I was worried that the Thousand Treasures Tower's money would not be enough, but I'm relieved. This amount is just a drop in the bucket for you. Actually, I came because I want to borrow some primordial stones again. This guy is really shameless to even say this. His way with words is just as good as his cultivation. This, this. Ten million middle grade primordial stones would be enough. Please wait a moment. We'll go discuss this. Awaiting good news, he a friend of you and Bo and my depends promotion on this. This man really is a robber. You are really cruel. Ain Chaoyang wants my favor, but doesn't want to pay the price. I'm just helping him make up his mind to stay on my side. Saying that extorting 10 million primordial stones from him is helping him this logic, you know my current situation. I don't need the primordial stones just for myself. But also for you guys. How can we cultivate without it? Borrowing primordial stones to cultivate this is the first time I've heard of it. Would I need to repay him when my cultivation is high? I'm speechless. Young Master Yun, I used all my power to help you. Please don't forget me in the future and put in a good word for me to Elder Yu and Bo, don't worry. When the time comes, I'll ask Yu and Bo to promote you to the headquarters of the Thousand Treasures Tower. Seriously? Young Master Yun, do you mean it? You are as good as your word. Of course I mean it. I still have more to do. Can you send us out? Yes, of course. I'll send you out. He still wants to show everyone that he has an intimate relationship with the Thousand Treasures Tower. Thank you for your hospitality, Elder Ean, and thanks again to the Thousand Treasures Tower for the generous help. You are welcome under the skies of the southern region. It would be impossible for me, Li Yunchao, to be where I am today without the support of the Thousand Treasures Tower. I am extremely thankful. I can feel countless gazes on us. Your kind words are all we need, young Master Yun. Your achievements so far have nothing to do with the Thousand Treasures Tower. You are being overly modest, not taking credit where it is due. That is how the Thousand Treasures Tower has always acted. I will be heading out now. Everyone's attention is on me now. But on the way. If I'm not mistaken, you are Xian Ryu, the current prince of the Dust Flame Empire? Indeed, that's me. Li Yunchao, you're causing quite a stir. Whether I am running rampant or not, does it have anything to do with you? I won't argue with you. You are indeed talented. Even if I can win against you, I'm afraid it would take some time and effort. I just want to tell you to leave this beast, the Shining Frost Machete, and your mysterious artifact. Also, submit to me and be my slave. If you do, you can save your life and continue to live very well. Can you be any more idiotic? I knew you wouldn't obey so easily. Then let me crush your arrogance and let the whole world see. Ha ha ha. How you, Li Yunchao, are a dog by my side. Eh. Kid, are you okay? I'm okay. I can't even see his cultivation level. Unbelievable, you wanted to slap his highness, the prince. If Uncle Yu hadn't intervened in time, and Li Yunchao had slapped me in the face. Oh, a lightning type martial skill. No wonder you want my lightning demon beast. You wanted to help you cultivate. You sure are knowledgeable. Now that you know, it is better to be obedient. I don't know how you defeated Zhou Yushan, 
but do you think you have a chance of winning against me? Although you restrained your aura, I guess your level should be that of a five-star martial emperor. In addition, you have cultivated extraordinary lightning martial arts, and your combat power can even reach the level of a seven-star martial emperor. If we really were to fight, we would indeed be defeated. What? Seventh star? Even a strong person of the same level might not be able to see my true level, but Li Yunxiao was spot on. How did he? Now that you know, why don't you surrender? A wise man should know when to quit. Indeed, we can't win if we fight you. But you wouldn't be so arrogant to think we wouldn't be able to escape, right? Escape? The three-star martial emperor behind you might be able to escape by relying on the power of the green lotus flames. As for you and this beast, it would be insane to think about escaping, wouldn't it? As I said at the beginning, you are idiots. In terms of strength, you are okay, but in terms of IQ, there are at least three or four factions hiding in the area, but you are the most impatient. What? Who is it? Come out, all of you. Lord Bailey, why are you here? Why am I here? I want to ask you the same thing. Li Yunxiao is a refiner in our Alchemist Association. Why are you stopping me and questioning what I am doing? Lord Yu, long time no see. You are more humorous than before. Master Bailey, this is a personal issue between His Royal Highness the Prince and Li Yunxiao. Please don't get involved. Of course I won't interfere with personal grievances. Li Yunxiao, tell me. Is this a personal issue between you two, or are you being bullied? Of course they were bullying me. It's not just bullying, His Royal Highness wants me to become his slave. Based on how Lord Bailey is acting, it seems they are intent on getting involved. He wants to take a fourth tier refiner as his slave. Lord Bailey, this is blatant contempt for a fourth tier refiner. As a fourth tier refiner, I am requesting that the Dusk Flame Alchemist Association issue a kill order. Destroy the Prince and Eugeoline, the two people who despise refiners. The kill order of the Alchemist Association only ends in your death. The only one who has survived this order is the Tian Wu Continent's number one, Tyrant Marshal Sovereign Ao Chan Kong. Master Bailey, please don't listen to his nonsense. This is purely a personal issue and has nothing to do with the dignity of refiners. Li Yunxiao give him an inch and he'll take a mile. Only eight tier refiners and above have the authority to issue the Alchemist Association's kill orders. I'm not qualified, but Yu Jioling doesn't seem to know. Personal issue? They clearly see me as a refiner and want to capture me as a slave. We don't have any grievances, so how could there be personal issues? What His Royal Highness said just now not only you and I heard it, but also Lord Bailey and some others who are still hiding and have refused to come out is it nonsense. I hope you will stand up for what is right and restore the dignity of refiners, Lord Bailey. The dignity of refiners has been completely destroyed today. He is exaggerating it more and more. Criticizing. Complaining. Spitting, babbling. Where's this kid getting all these terms from? Quite the arrogant loudmouth you are, Prince of the XIN family. I'll take into consideration that you're still young and naive. If you apologize to Li Yunxiao now, this matter shall be settled. Damn you, Li Yunxiao. It was my fault today. We'll finish what we started the next time we meet. Farewell, Master Bailey. Go drink your milk. Thank you for getting me out of that situation, Guildmaster. I still have important matters to attend to, so I'll bid you goodbye too. I'll visit the association one day to offer my thanks. This kid. I literally just saved him, and he's already planning to run off? You are a member of the Alchemist Association after all, so it was the right thing to do. It's a shame you haven't come to our branch of the Alchemist Association ever since you joined the refiner ranks. It has always been a small regret. Since we have this occasion, why not head to the branch now? It's an honor to be able to discuss the art of refining with you. I couldn't ask for more. Unfortunately, I have matters to tend to.
It's truly unfortunate. Oh? What matters can be so important that you can't make time for a trip to the branch? I still haven't given you your fourth tier refiner badge after your successful rank up. If you miss it now, I may forget it in the future. That means I won't give you your badge. It's all right if I don't get the badge. After all, it's just for show. I can just come back for it later. Stupid kid. Are you coming or not? I quite literally just saved your butt. Can't you at least thank me by coming along, just this once? Lord Bailey. Please don't do this. I'll lose more than being taken by Xian Ruyu if I go with you. Cut the crap. You'll take losses, but there will be plenty of benefits for you too. How much could I take advantage of you anyway? You know there are other people waiting for you here. If you don't come with me, you won't leave this place unscathed either. Please stay in line, Guildmaster. I'm still a child. Then you should be eager to learn. Be more inquisitive. Let's go. Come to the association with me. I'll show you some stuff. But we can't, Uncle. You're coming with me even if my throat bleeds out. A fourth-tier refiner who can one-shot a martial grandmaster, ho-ho. Interesting, interesting. Duskflame Empire Alchemist Association branch the Alchemist Association operates independent of any other powers, a rare exception. Once the attention-grabbing and infamous Li Yunxiao entered their premises, no one else dared to continue their investigations into him. Ooh, the refiners of the Dusk Flame Empire branch know how to set the mood everyone. This is Li Yunxiao from Marshall Flame City. A coincidental meeting beats mutual invitation. We met just outside the city. Lord Yunxiao had some matters that needed attending to, but insisted that he came to claim his fourth tier badge, so here we are. These refiners are all the same. Exactly. I just became a fourth tier refiner not too long ago, but couldn't collect my badge sooner due to the Zhou family's oppression. How could I miss this chance to retrieve it when I met Master Bailey by chance? Ha ha ha. Lord Yunxiao's soul power fluctuations are definitely at least as high as mine. I say we won't need a test. How about that? Thank you, Lord Yuan Hao. A badge without a test? That's fine for lower tier refiners, but at fourth tier? I don't think this has happened before, right? The art of refining isn't as flexible as martial arts. All fourth-tier refiners have gone through decades or even centuries of refining their own techniques and movements, honing their craft to its finest form, understanding the art to barely reach this level. Many people have stopped trying to reach this level. This is Lord Xinze, a fourth-tier refiner as well, and one of the current prince's uncles. Beside him are Lord Ji Shanqian and Lord Lu Haochu. Both are fourth-tier refiners too. Xinze. Ji Xiangqian. Lu Haochu. Oh, it's nice to meet you. So this is the kid, someone who knows the floating life, dusted world, and divine earth seals? Young man, I won't believe it for even a second if you say you have the strength of a fourth-tier refiner, huff. Then how do I make you believe me, old Zee? Even the Dusk Flame royalty wouldn't dare to sit with us so casually unless they had received permission beforehand. Obviously, follow the standard procedure and pass the test. If you pass, I'll shut up. Otherwise, go back to wherever you came from. I've seen Lord Yunxiao's strength in person before, he's definitely at least a third tier refiner. He was a third tier a few months ago. Even if he's a fourth tier now, he definitely won't have stabilized his strength yet. How difficult would it be for him to pass the test? Since none of you are happy, how about we make a bet? It just so happens that I didn't earn enough from the fight earlier. Since everyone here are rich fourth tier refiners, I want to earn some from you too. Ha ha. The audacity. What bet? Are you going to bet on yourself losing? The bet will be a battle of refinement skill, me against the three of you. What did you say? This, again. You have to be at least a fifth-tier refiner to be facing off against three fourth-tier refiners at the same time. Please think things through. Do not let anger cloud your mind. 
Think things through? The most important part is what we are betting, and not how. I'm not going to be interested if the three of you bet low. As a third-tier refiner, surely you will take responsibility for your words. Lord. Yun Chao, since you are acting so courageously, I will see this through to the end. Vibrating Void Jade. Purple Cloud Centipede Wings. Heaven's Flame Battle Flag. This piece is a Vibrating Void Jade, a 7th tier item. It has a massive multiplier effect on a refiner during refinement processes. It's such a rare treasure that you can almost never buy them. This Heaven's Flame Battle Flag may be extremely valuable, but it is also heavily damaged. After many years of trying to understand it, I came up with nothing. Since keeping it is just pointless, I might as well just put this up as my bet. Master GE, are you selling those purple cloud centipede wings? Haha, <laughs> these wings are really valuable to me. Not many things can grab Li Yunxiao's attention like that. That damaged flag must be something good. What are you wagering, Lord Yunxiao? Everyone's bets are pretty good, but I only want primordial stones. This Heaven's Flame Battle Flag can be used as a bet. I'll price it at 50 million middle tier primordial stones. As for the other two, please use primordial stones instead. My own bet will be 150 million stones. Are you trying to make things difficult for us? The treasures we took out are valuable items that are hard to purchase even if you have the money. You can just take them to an auction house and 50 million primordial stones won't be a problem at all. I know, asking for 50 million primordial stones may be difficult. How much are you willing to spend on these wings? Eh? Who said I'm selling them? Those pairs of wings are the finest fifth tier beast materials I have ever seen. Forget 50 million, I'd buy it even if it was 60 million. I still haven't decided to sell it. Lord Yuan has put a price on your item, so your bid is fine now. Do you already think that these wings are yours? What about your primordial stones? Surely it's not just an empty promise? I only have 60 million on me at the moment, but someone will bring another 100 million soon. So you were toying with us. You mean someone will bring you a hundred million middle tier primordial stones now? What kind of idiot would be stupid enough to be tricked into that? That would be me, Brother Z. E. The moment I arrived, I heard someone calling me an idiot. Third brother, I, you, uh, it's all right. I'm here to give young Master Yun his primordial stones. These are what I promised to pay him. Exactly one hundred million primordial stones. Please check it, young Master Yun. There's no need. I trust you, Lord Pai. But why, third brother? Don't ask, now that I have my bet, the flag and the wings can be wagered. Lord Xian, please change your bet into primordial stones. It seems that you don't understand the effects of my jade. When wearing this jade, it can massively increase and maintain the refiner's spirit power, calm their senses, and stabilize their chi. A rare and valuable treasure through and through, how about this? If Master Yunxiao wins, I'll buy the vibrating void jade for 50 million primordial stones. Does that suit your fancy, Lord Yunxiao? Of course. When there are primordial stones, I'm happy. This kid is bullying me. Chill, chill. Lord Xian Pai, you didn't come here just to give the primordial stones, right? Please give us some time. Would you like a pot of tea? Damn it. Lord Xian Pai, this is what happened. A 15-year-old 4th-tier refiner challenging three famed 4th-tier refiners, it's a match that seems even more ridiculous than the one with Zhou Yushan. Is he really that confident? Humph, a pot of tea's worth of time? What's the rush? Ha ha. I hope you'll still be able to laugh later. How should we compete? Alchemy, artificing, purification technique, condensation arrays, dismantling ingredients, or others. Take your pick 2234. 1234. This calmness, no, I shouldn't say it's calmness, it's arrogance. Pure arrogance. Did he really think he has a chance against the three of them? 
Let's simplify this. 3, 2, 3, 4. One more time. Why don't we compete by refining primordial stones? I've been extremely fond of them lately. Refining primordial stones isn't hard. It's just purification. Using arrays and soul power, alchemists remove the impurities from primordial stones and condense the purest form of primordial chi in its solid state. Any alchemists can do it, but this is also the best way to test an alchemist's skill. It tests alchemists on the dismantling of ingredients, the control over the flow of primordial chi, and the power of their soul power. For fairness sake, no one can use an array and must purely use their soul power. What do you think? When he mentioned refining primordial stones, I thought he has a powerful array that can tip the balance in his favor. But he decided to purely use his soul power. That's a true test of strength with no luck involved. Who would joke around with such a huge sum in line? Ha, huh, I commend your bravery. Since it has come to this, I hope that Master Bailey can bear witness to this competition and provide four similar quality primordial stones. Sure. For fairness sake, I will split a raw primordial stone into four equivalent pieces with similar purity and sizes. Please check them. The material that Master Bailey provided will always be fair. That's right. Four pieces? We don't need that many. Since I'm competing with all three of them, we only need two pieces of primordial stones. What? Master Yunxiao, are you telling them to refine one piece of stone? And you will refine one piece of stone? Of course. Otherwise, it won't be a one versus three, right? Li Yunxiao, stop crossing the line. There should be a limit to your arrogance. That brat is foolish. That's a 150 million bet. Why is he trying to make it harder for himself? Did he slam his head on the door? Master Yunxiao is really brave. That's how a man should be like. I believe you don't understand the difficulty of refining primordial stones, right? If it's artificing, you can never create a rank 5 item even if there's 3 copies of you. But it's different with refining primordial stones. You can compete one-on-one -on -one against a rank 5 alchemist as if all your three copies combine their soul power and understanding together. I see. I'm going to start now. Let's get it on. This is the basic artificing technique. The 12 stances of flying blossoms and snow. 60 years ago, there were only 36 basic artificing techniques. They were the basic techniques taught to new alchemists. But Master Gu Feiyang used his unparalleled talents to invent 12 hand techniques. Because of this, the Alchemist Association was split into two different factions. What is 12 stances of flying blossoms and snow? They fought and debated for 20 years before finally agreeing to increase the basic artificing techniques to 48 stances. These violent and crude movements are very different from the normal artificing techniques. So why was it called such a gentle and nice name like Flying Blossoms and Snow? I've once heard Master Yang Di mentioning this. Back then, when Master Gu Feiyang invented these 12 stances, he wasn't happy that the movements were too ugly so he tried to improvise it. And after many years he gave up and gave it a beautiful and elegant name instead. Why is Gu Feiyang such a troll? He almost sounds like Li Yunxiao. The 12 stances of flying blossoms and snow is not something a normal alchemist can master or understand. Only rank 4s and above can get a glimpse at its greatness. Even then, it is difficult for them to bring out the technique's true potential. Looking at Li Yunxiao, immersing himself inside the technique, he must at least have learned it for several dozens of years. Eh? But, he's just 15. And he was just ranked 3 several months ago. Ha! I know to use the 12 stances of flying blossoms and snow as well. He's finally going to start. Sai looking at that movement, it's certain that Master Liu had lost. Low-grade primordial stone. It has turned into a low-grade primordial stone. 
The 12 stances of flying blossoms and snow is extremely taxing to their body, but Li Yunxiao is handling it as if it is a breeze. It will become bad if we continue on like this. Middle Grade Primordial Stone His primordial stone did not suffer any damage from the refinement. Its spiritual chi was preserved in a complete state. Compared to mine which had lost much of its primordial chi, Li Yunxiao seems to have enough energy to go on forever. But Master Liu is already at his limit. We cannot lose our face at this crucial moment. I must step up now or lose completely. Master Liu, back down and let me take over. So, it's true that he wants to 1 versus 3. 8 Deviation Mantra Ha! The 8 Deviation Mantra is a unique and powerful hand technique that is perfect for refining primordial stones. Master GE has mastered it for many years and can use it as he pleases. Even I could not compare to him in the mastery and understanding of this technique. Master Yunxiao's primordial stone has also leveled up to a middle grade primordial stone. What overwhelming skills! I could not detect any loss of primordial chi from the whole process. I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it with my own eyes. But what will he do next? Once it becomes a middle grade stone, the 12 basic techniques will not be sufficient to increase its grade any further. What is this hand technique? It emits an immense throbbing energy that changes frequency at a high speed. What deep understanding! This understanding of the laws of heaven and earth can even be felt by an amateur like me. His hand technique is greater than Master GE's by many folds. All laws converge into one, martial and alchemy return to the same path. All paths form the heaven and earth. The end point of the universe. This, this, this is. The heavenly mystical reverberating mantra. It's the heavenly mystical reverberating mantra. The first time I encountered this technique, I was just like you all back then, a mere fourth tier, lord class refiner. I remember it vividly. At that time, I was diligently cultivating by my master's side at the Deity Transformation C. Before that, the refiner headquarters at the Deity Transformation C had only bestowed the title of Honored Elder to two individuals. I still recall the day when our master informed us disciples that the Alchemist Association's headquarters had gained another Honored Elder. He told us that the Elder would hold a lecture the next day, where he would teach the Heavenly Phantom Scripture Technique. We were strongly encouraged to attend. In my quest to master this technique, I sneaked into the sleeping chambers of Lord Gu Feiyang, who was a revered figure in the Alchemist Association. At that moment, Lord Gu Feiyang was in deep meditation, seated motionless. Overwhelmed with excitement, I approached him hastily and knelt down, fervently pleading for him to teach me the heavenly phantom scripture technique. What happened next? Did Gu Feiyang say anything? It wasn't until the break of dawn that I suddenly realized, as the roosters crowed outside, that Lord Gu Feiyang had already imparted something even more important to me. You managed to realize something profound through one night of silence? What Lord Gu Feiyang wanted to convey was that the path of alchemy is boundless, but our lives are finite. Even with an unwavering heart set on pursuing the path, one must stay grounded, be steadfast, and eventually, success will come like a rooster's crow at dawn. So that's it. Lord Gu Feiyang truly is an extraordinary figure. Now that I think about it, it really did happen like that. On that day after the lecture, a mischievous friend invited me to see a breathtaking sight. Little did I know that we would end up spying on the Red Lotus Martial Empress, Lu Fian, while she was bathing. I was momentarily stunned by Lu Fian's peerless figure, and I hesitated for a moment, causing me to fall behind. She then locked onto me with her universal detect. In my panic, I hurriedly retreated to my own chamber, pretending to be in deep meditation. Just as Lu Fian was about to confirm whether I was a peeping Tom and make her move, a clueless young man suddenly knelt before me. He professed a single-minded pursuit of the Tao and a desire to learn the heavenly phantom scripture technique, but I paid little attention to his words at the time. At that moment, Lu Fian was secretly observing me, and I didn't dare to move. 
Surprisingly, this young man possessed remarkable perseverance. He kneeled there all night, and Lufian, growing impatient, eventually left in the morning. And then, out of nowhere, this young man uttered, Thank you, Lord Gu. I understand. With that, he excitedly scampered away, leaving me utterly bewildered. Ha ha ha. I figured it out. So that's what happened. Turns out, this kid was actually an old acquaintance, Dan Yan's disciple. He even saved me once. At that time, Master was full of emotion and told me, in the future, the path of alchemy will surely continue and flourish through Lord Gui Feiyang. Whoa. I almost got the technique wrong. He let me follow in the footsteps of Lord Gu Feiyang and walk the path of alchemy tirelessly, always striving for the pinnacle of the art without rest. Originally, I captured Li Yunchao for the three great seals of floating life, dusted world, and divine earth, but he even knows the heavenly phantom scripture technique that I've been dreaming of. But facing three opponents alone is impossible, even with the heavenly phantom scripture technique. As long as Li Yunchao loses, I can easily purchase these extraordinary techniques with a large amount of primordial stones. Who would have thought that Li Yunxiao's technique had such a remarkable origin? These refining techniques are truly extraordinary. They can condense and stabilize primordial energy within, preventing it from dispersing outward. This is an unfair advantage. Unfair advantage? He's facing three opponents alone, and it's still considered an advantage. Oops. I misspoke. Eightfold Heart Refining Technique Persistence of Refining. High Tier Primordial Stone. It's done. Refinement. He is about to upgrade it. Upgrade. High tier primordial stone. Incredible. Can a 15 year old really possess such control? With his own strength, he upgraded a raw primordial stone to high tier. Can he keep this up? Lord GE. I'll take over from here. At this stage, we have to push forward no matter what. I understand, at this point, winning would be nothing to be proud of, but losing would be humiliating. There's no turning back now. We must use our ultimate techniques. Seascape Moonrise Technique It's the Xian family's ultimate technique, the Seascape Moonrise Technique. The next level would be highest tier primordial stone. The technique's role in this process is minimal, Powerful spirit power to is required to force it into highest tier. Can Lord Xian's spirit power elevate the primordial stone to highest tier? It's difficult. Going from high tier to highest tier is much harder than the previous two stages. If nothing unexpected happens, it should come to a stop at the threshold of highest tier, forming a pseudo highest tier primordial stone. Since they can't reach highest tier, and Yun Chao also seems close to his limit, both will end up with high tier quality, making it a draw. Even though I don't understand the art of alchemy, I can still see it. Facing three fourth tier refiners in a tag team battle, Li Yun Chao is probably running out of steam. I also hope it's a draw, but even within the high tier, primordial stones have different levels. Lord Yun Chao, it is an honorable defeat. Today's match, despite the small number of participants, will be known throughout the world. No way, Lord Yuan a few months ago in Tianchue, you also said I'd be defeated during my pill refining battle with Sun Jingzong, but I won. You must be. The greatest jinx in the entire Tianwu continent. Huh? Do you really think I've already lost? Godly evolution technique spirit possession. What is this? Ancient Golden Symbols You've actually cultivated an ancient scripture. Who on earth is Li Yunchao? I thought that having the three seals of floating life, dusted world, and divine earth combined with the heavenly phantom scripture technique was already astonishing enough. But the ancient scripture before my eyes has shattered my understanding completely. This, this, this. Bailey Gongjin, he had to be a disciple of that old ghost, Dan Yin, who specialized in ancient scriptures. But if I don't use the godly evolution technique, I will lose without a doubt. Ah! Ha! 
Both of them have reached their limits and both of the stones they are refining stopped evolving just before highest tier. Is it a draw? Both of their primordial stones are close to highest tier, but neither is actually highest tier. Though both are quasi-highest tier, Lord Yunxiao's primordial stone is of a slightly higher quality. It's evident that during the refining process, the quality of Lord Yunxiao's primordial stone was better preserved, resulting in minimal loss. Lord Xian's primordial stone, however, has suffered more significant deterioration. Lord Yunxiao should be the winner. Ha ha. He won. He won. Primordial stones. 150 million primordial stones. Ha ha ha. Hold on. The competition isn't over yet. What do you mean by declaring a winner? Oh no. What does his opponent have up his sleeves? Ugh. This purple pill, known as the eastbound purple chi, is refined from a seventh tier beast spirit. It's a precious elixir that enhances spirit power, valued at no less than 50 million middle-tier primordial stones. The bright moon rises over the sea, its light shining on the waterway. Ha! We are already in the midst of a fierce battle, and our reputation is at stake, so why not? Do you even have any shame? As for the battle, we can let it go. But to think you'd actually have to use pills. It's done. A highest tier primordial stone. It's highest tier. The primordial stones we had are gone just like that. We've truly reached the peak now. And now, Lord Yunchao. Huh? What is he doing? He, he got tired and fell asleep? Could it be that he wants to gradually recover his spirit power before continuing? Is that even possible? After this major battle, it'll take months to fully recover. This, could it be that he's too embarrassed to admit defeat and is pretending to be asleep? Inside the World God Monument, the revival pool of the Kungo Divine Tree. Whoa, it has grown so tall. I've depleted too much spirit power, and even my spirit projection is incomplete now. I must replenish it quickly. I've taken care of you for so long. It's time for you to repay me. Lend me some of your spirit power, huh? What are you trying to do? Don't you know how important spirit power is to me? You want to take it from me? You're the spirit of the Congo tree? You awakened your consciousness so quickly. I made a bet with someone, but I'm running out of fuel. Let me borrow some of your spirit power. I will repay you several times over in the future. Humph! Why would I give you my spirit power? Even if you ask for a small portion now, it's a significant loss for me. You should think of another way. I won't lend you my spirit power. Stop blabbering with me. We're all on the same boat now. I'll win an incredible amount of primordial stones, and we'll all benefit from it. It sounds easy when you say it. What if you lose? Won't my tens of thousands of years of cultivation all be in vain? Quit babbling. My spirit power is about to run out in a few breaths. If you don't support me now and I lose the competition, the supply of primordial stones to the World God Monument will be cut off and you will wither away in this monument. When that happens, your thousands of years of cultivation will truly have been in vain. All right. I'll lend you a little. Just a tiny bit, a tiny, tiny bit. Stop babbling. What? Godly evolution technique, refine. His spirit power is fully restored. How is that possible? In such a short time? Without even consuming any pills? No. Not only has he restored it, but his spirit power is even more abundant than before. This, this can't be real. Could it be that the exhaustion of his spirit power earlier was all an act? Now even our last glimmer of hope, even with three of us taking turns. Innate primordial pill, condense. Done. An innate primordial pill, a pill that can only be refined by a sixth level refiner. An innate primordial pill, is that even possible? What? I've only heard of such a legendary item. I've never seen one before. 
the innate primordial pill is complete. Wow! So, this is the innate primordial pill? You've opened my eyes. Masters, are you confident in your chances of winning? Huh? Now that the innate primordial pill is completed, Masters, are you confident in your chances of winning? The three of U.S. admit defeat. Please enlighten us, Lord Yunxiao. I'm not qualified to teach you, so let's just chat when we have time. This calmness isn't something an ordinary person could display. He seems like a natural king, accepting the adoration of the masses. Lord Yunxiao, you are an extraordinary talent not of this world. You possess a talent that even surpasses that of Lord Gu Feiyang in his prime. In the future, you will undoubtedly become a master in the world of alchemy. All right, all right, Bailey Gongjin, the Grand Master of Alchemy at the sixth tier refiner level, is the leading refiner of the Dusk Flame Empire. Even in the presence of the Heaven Gathering Sect Master, he showed a sign of respect by bowing to this young man, treating him as an equal. Other things aside, let's settle the matter of vibrating Void Jade first. Young Master Yun, I've brought you all the primordial stones, not one less. Next time there's a similar competition, remember to call me. Whether it's martial arts or the art of alchemy, I'll participate in all of them. He doesn't have the slightest semblance of the dignity of a refiner, he's just a nouveau riche. Lord Yunxiao, can you stay for a few days so we can all study alchemy together? Like your various techniques. Sure, I'll charge you by the hour. Lord Yunxiao's power is astonishing. I think the fourth tier refiner badge no longer suits him. I hereby officially declare his promotion to fifth tier refiner and award the fifth tier badge. Any objections? No objections. Strongly agree. Absolutely. He deserves that. Then thank you very much Lord Bailey, Lord Yunxiao, I have something to discuss. I'm afraid that Lord Yunxiao won't be able to stay in the association for too long. What could be more important than studying alchemy? Even if the Dust Flame Empire collapses, Lord Yunxiao must stay. These refiners are all lunatics. As soon as they hear something related to alchemy, they don't care about anything else. The allocation of slots for Mount Meru has been announced. After deducting those taken by major sex, there are a total of 2,000 free slots for the rest of the noble families to compete for. Under the agreement of the major forces, it has been decided that the three empires will jointly host a test, allowing capable disciples to maximize their chances. Although all the forces that have been allocated slots are not allowed to participate, there are still countless noble families and sects that need slots. What? As an independent force within the Dusk Flame Empire, Marshall Flame City itself has not been allocated any slots and with Lord Yunxiao's strength. Lord Yunxiao is a rare genius in alchemy. Participating in such a test is extremely dangerous. Can you handle it if something goes wrong? Let me go. It's not a problem, but I must have the right to distribute the slots I obtain myself. No. With your strength, grabbing hundreds of slots is not a problem. But we can't give them all to Marshall Flame City, right? How will we split it between factions fairly? Don't worry, Marshall Flame City won't keep a single one. I will hold an auction and sell all these slots for primordial stones. What? He he. Those useless folk in Marshall Flame City would just waste the slots if they go there. It's better to distribute them to those in need. Well, with your intervention, the Dusk Flame Empire will undoubtedly secure more slots than the other two empires. The competition will take place seven days from now at the location of Cheonghua Island. Cheonghua Island? Yes, there's a vast lake at the border of the southern region's three major empires called Clearheart Lake. Within Clearheart Lake, there are a thousand islands, and the largest one is Cheonghua Island. Exactly. Currently, several major forces have already taken control of Clearheart Lake and are making various preparations to ensure a fair competition. That's great. In that case, see you on Cheonghua Island seven days from now. Lord Yunxiao. 
To learn the Floating Life Seal, Dusted World Seal, and Divine Earth Seal, it will cost 200 million, 500 million, and 800 million middle tier primordial stones, respectively. To learn the Heavenly Phantom Scripture Technique, it will cost 1 billion middle tier primordial stones. As for the World God Monument, it's not for sale, no matter how much you offer. Inside the World God Monument, we agreed on just a tiny bit, yet he actually drained more than half of my spirit power. This damn. Primordial Stones, Primordial Stones, Primordial Stones, Primordial Stones. Sell all the association's alchemical products. I need 25 million high-tier primordial stones in the shortest time possible. High-tier. If it's still not enough, post notices everywhere. The Alchemist Association is temporarily open to outsiders. All refiners, take on commissions for me. I'll take my leave, primordial stones. Primordial stones. Primordial stones. Staying here for too long can drive you crazy. Supreme High Palace Entrance to the World God Monument It seems that not even the Soul Chi in the Supreme High Palace Mountains is sufficient. Where can I get enough Soul Chi to fill this space? I might need to directly seize the Soul Vein of a superpower. Kid, are you really selling those three great seals? The power of those seals is limitless. I've only seen them in Legends. To be selling them at such a low price, I don't know if you're clever or foolish. I have no choice. I urgently need a massive amount of primordial stones right now. The price I've set is probably the highest price I can sell them for in the short run. Even if they can gather what I've set, it's still far from the amount I need at the moment. 2.5 billion high tier stones. Is still not enough? You need so many not just for the people to cultivate in Mount Meru, right? Hey, follow me. I'll take you to a good place. Achoo. So, so cold. Is this also inside the World God Monument? Why is it so quiet? Let me ask you first. Do you know who the strongest refiner in the current world is? Huh? Naturally, it should be Lord Lutsongzi, who is the head of the Alchemist Association headquarters. Lord Lutsongzi is indeed powerful, but the reason he can be the head of the association is not because his alchemy could make everyone submit to him. It's because he has excellent interpersonal skills and never competes with others. He can balance various forces. The current strongest refiner is not at the Deity Transformation Sea. That person is in the Divine Capital. The Divine Capital of the Holy Region, the Supreme Land of Martial Prowess. When an order is given, the whole world obeys without question. But how could he know such a hidden secret? Even that person cannot refine something like the World God Monument, a godly object that defies the heavens. The Transcendental Tier Artifact, Noah's Ark, recorded in history, differs by several grades. Only in the legends of the ancient Tianwu continent can we find artifacts of the same caliber. Are you saying those myths are very likely true? This World God Monument is definitely not something an ordinary martial artist can possess. Its original master must have been an entity of the Ten Ultimate Realm. The end goal of martial arts, the Ten Ultimate Realm. The supreme path pursued by countless strong individuals throughout the ages. I am now gaining a deeper understanding of the World God Monument. Although I still can't completely master the bordering world's divine scripture, I have also guessed quite a few things. Originally, this World God Monument should have been filled with abundant Yuan Chi, creating its own soul space. But I don't know why there is no soul Chi in it now. Perhaps it has faded over the years, or perhaps there was some accident back then. In other words, this World God Monument, as it is now, is actually a dead stone. A dead stone. If a dead stone can cause such a sensation, imagine what would happen if it were activated. If my guess is correct, once enough soul chi is accumulated, this world god monument will come back to life. At that time, not only might its power be beyond our imaginations, but as long as there is enough soul chi, this space will expand infinitely, forming its own world. Wow. But all of this is too ethereal. 
What I want now is to activate it first. To activate the World God Monument, the four great domains must be opened. Four great domains? That's right. Just like how the Tianwu continent is divided into four major regions, the World God Monument also has four great domains, earth, water, fire, and wind. Each domain is supported by an ancient formation. As I cultivated the godly realm technique, I have gradually started being able to sense the locations of these dormant ancient formations. Now, the only thing lacking is a large amount of soul chi. So that's why you've been scouring for primordial stones so tirelessly. Turns out, you had such a grand goal. And this place is the domain of fire. Oh, wait, for real? It's freezing here, and I feel like my beard is about to freeze. Is this really the domain of fire? Stop blabbering. I told you, the ancient formation that controls the domain hasn't been activated yet. Now, Phoenix True Fire Godly Evolution Technique Divine Arts Fusion Whoa! Whoa! Ouch! Huh? Hard? Rock? Whoa! This is the Ancient Fire Domain Formation. The Domain of Fire has opened. Unbelievable! One more common sense defying experience. Under the nourishment of the fire domain, my green lotus flames seem to show signs of evolution. Huh? Young Master Yun. How's the progress? The formation has been activated, but it's extremely unstable, and without a continuous influx of Sui Chi, it will dry up again sooner or later. I plan to add another formation to stabilize this ancient formation. Everyone, gather here. Huh. Everyone. The soul chi inside the World God Monument is becoming increasingly sparse, and it may be difficult to meet your cultivation needs. I will temporarily build a sea of soul chi in this area to concentrate the majority of the soul chi here. Huh? I'm flying. Could it be young Master Yun's doing? At the same time, I need to maintain a large formation. A formation that requires 3,600 people. Primordial stones. So many. Such abundant soul chi. Soul chi. Whoa. But before that, enjoy it to your heart's content. Haha, ha, this is too exhilarating. I actually broke through instantly. This Yuan Chi flows in like water. I feel completely filled up. Mom, you don't have to worry about my advancement anymore. The spring of Yuan Chi tastes a bit sweet. Let the celebration begin. Previously, in Lu Haochu's hands, this thing only had research value. However, this fire attribute artifact, the Heaven's Flame Battle Flag, is the most suitable for activating the fire domain formation. Now, I'll transmit the technique for you to use the Heaven's Flame Battle Flag. Your cultivation is insufficient, so it will require the combined power of 3,600 people to use it. Don't dodge, it won't hurt. Hot's hot, hot. Ugh. I've transmitted the technique to you. Now, let's practice together. Hmm, I've accumulated enough five-star martial lord, the same sky, the same face, the same you, nothing new. Hee <laughs> hee, it's getting interesting now. Even if I'm outside, I can directly draw upon the power of the heaven's flame battle flag. I'm really looking forward to it. Releasing its power would result in an unimaginable situation. So, what should we do now? It's been about seven days. It's time to go to Cheonghua Island. Clear Heart Lake. The imminent opening of Mount Meru stirred up a competition for slots that reverberated throughout the land. All factions that did not have a martial emperor were unable to secure allocation slots and had to rely on their own strength to seize them. In the past few days, almost all the outstanding young talents from the southern region have gathered on the banks of Clear Heart Lake, waiting for the brutal competition. Brother to our phone, with so many experts, I feel a bit uneasy. Could there be experts from the other three realms mixed in? Maybe even martial grandmasters? Calm down. 
After all, even the hidden families have all come out. A few exceptional experts are not surprising. Huh? Marshall Grandmasters under 50 years old? Is that even possible? Humph, do you really think a Marshall Grandmaster under 50 is rare? During the battle at High Sun City's Dark Gold Arena, a 15-year-old kid killed the Marshall Grandmaster with a wave of his hand. That was truly earth-shattering. Huh? You really have a sense of humor. A 15-year-old kid killed the Marshall Grandmaster with a wave of his hand? You're kidding me. You better believe it. Hundreds of thousands in the city saw it with their own eyes. Ha ha, that's hilarious. All right, all right, I believe you, ha ha. Ha ha ha. Such an interesting story. Did you just say a 15-year-old boy casually defeated a martial grandmaster with a wave of his hand? W.H. Who's there? I am Luo Ching Yun from the Heaven Sent Empire. I'm very interested in the person you just mentioned. Tell me more. Um, okay, okay. 111 it is said that a young genius appeared in Haisun City. He is only 15 years old, but with a wave of his hand, he obliterated a martial grandmaster. Brother Xian Pai, do you know anything about this? Ha ha, you're joking. Such rumors are highly exaggerated. How can we believe them? At 15 years old, even if he started practicing from the womb, reaching the five elements realm by now would already make him a remarkable genius. Killing a martial grandmaster with a wave of his hand? Ha ha, you actually believe that? That's not necessarily the case. Some exceptionally talented youngsters, with the support of powerful martial techniques and treasures, might unexpectedly kill a martial grandmaster under certain circumstances. Heaven set Empire Royalty to you. What exactly happened on that day? We need you to tell us the whole story for us to understand, Brother Xian Pai. Brother Xian Pai, what exactly was the story? Heaven set Empire Royalty Huasun. It was just a conflict among the younger generation, and the elders took action after they couldn't stand it anymore. That young man merely traded blows with the Marshal Grandmaster. Oh? What was the outcome then? Among this group of young participants in the competition, there are a few exceptionally powerful individuals, and what's most worrying is, what do you think? A 15-year-old youth facing one move from a martial grandmaster. How do you think it would end? Hee hee, what you said makes sense. The competition is about to begin, but Li Yunchao still hasn't arrived. The Heaven Set Empire has produced quite a few talents in recent years. I have a vague feeling that among the younger generation outside, there may even be martial grandmasters. It truly amazes me. Oh, there are plenty of talented young folks outside. It's very likely that there are experts from the Wudan Empire. Brother, stop pretending. That disciple named Luo Qin Yun is at least a three-star martial grandmaster, right? It's not me who's pretending. It's you, brother. Your country has at least three martial kings, two one-star and one two-star. Am I wrong? Humph, what's the use of having more people? When it comes to martial grandmasters, it's a whole different league. Even if the three of them join forces, they might not be a match for Luo Qin Yun. This time, it's just about securing a spot, not fighting. Having strong martial techniques doesn't matter. Luck? You've got to be kidding. The key is to rely on luck, isn't it? Hee hee. By the way, what's the name of the young person who had a showdown with the Marshal Grandmaster? Is he among these people? His name is Li Yunchao, and he hasn't arrived yet. Maybe he saw too many strong individuals outside and got scared. You crafty old fox. A young person who dared to challenge a Marshal Grandmaster wouldn't be afraid. You Jiolin. You lunatic. I'm going to help the Dust Flame Empire seize a spot. Do you dare to stop me? Aren't you afraid that Xian Pai will come after you? Don't paint yourself as some grand hero. You're just an early bird when there's profit to be made. I'm stopping you for a clear purpose. 
Hand over that demon beast and shining frost machete, and you can leave unharmed. Are you serious? I really don't want to fight you. I hope you can cooperate. You know very well that you can't escape from my hands. Master Bailey won't show up again. You. Why you're Chief Ong, the leader of the Heaven Gathering sect. What? Lord Chief Ong. Do you think you can escape like this? Don't even think about using mental attacks. Soul Awareness Seal. I know you have many tricks and hidden cards, but none of them will work in front of me. As long as I seal my soul awareness and avoid your mental attacks, even if my physical body is exposed to you, you won't be able to harm me in the slightest. What's going on? Where is this place? Could it be that I'm under an illusion? This isn't an illusion. As for where this place is, it doesn't matter anymore. What? What's going on? An illusion? This must be an illusion. With the huge gap in strength between us, any illusion would be useless. What a rare opportunity. I found a five-star martial emperor to practice offensive formations with everyone. Ah. Everyone, come practice with me. He, he you can rest assured and be my sparring partner. Don't expect to get out of here alive. Training a formation with 3,600 people. This time, I was really lucky. I captured Eugeline when he was off guard, and I brought him directly into the World God Monument. Otherwise, there would have been no chance of winning. Finally, he's here. Hey, hey, do you think that person up there is Li Yunxiao? He's a mere martial lord, yet he has a Tiger King battleship. He's probably just a good-for-nothing from some hidden noble family. No, isn't it said that no one can drive a Skyborne battleship inside Qionghua Island? Everyone else came by boat, so why does this kid get to break the rules? Hmm? Who's this ostentatious young man? What a grand display. Could he be the 15-year-old kid who had a showdown with a martial grandmaster? He looks lively and unscathed. Didn't he get beaten up? Who dares? On the sacred land of Clearheart Lake, everyone is walking, yet you dare to be disrespectful by sitting in a battleship. Get down. Chu Yu, what do you mean by this? My guards are responsible for ensuring the safety of Clear Heart Lake. Li Yunxiao is driving the battleship recklessly. It's too dangerous. Keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on him? Isn't your guard a nine-star martial king? Don't give that young man a bad impression. You are overthinking it. This young man has faced a martial grandmaster. What's there to fear about a martial king? Right, Brother Xian Pai? Ha ha, that's right. No, I'm not worried about Li Yunxiao. I'm worried that he might get too playful and end up taking your guard's life. Six universes stargazing formation. A fifth tier hammer. Want to see who's tougher, huh? Let's settle this. What? You're not dodging? Could it be a very powerful formation? Humph. I know you are full of tricks. Don't think you can deceive me. Why run away? Since you're here, let your hammer and my battleship have a good time together. Huh? Gravity formation. It is at least a 10,000-fold gravity formation. Quick. Stop it. Stop. Weren't you telling me to get down? Now you want me to stop? Are you kidding me? My meridians are sealed. I can't exert any strength, Master Chu Yu. Save me. Damn it, Li Yunxiao. Can't you just use a normal martial technique to kill him? Using such a wasteful technique again. You're really causing me trouble. Master Chu Yu. Master, save me. Three powers shield formation. Activate. Ugh. Although the power unleashed through the Tiger King battleship is far inferior to the Green Phoenix battleship from that day, it's still genuinely terrifying. If it weren't for the three of us joining forces. Release. A nine-star Martial King, a fifth-tier Xian artifact, and a Tiger King battleship, they all turned into nothing like this. 
Thanks for wrapping it up for me, Uncle Xian. Stop pretending we're close. Who do you think you're calling uncle? Li Yunxiao. You could have just taught him a lesson. There was no need to cause such a commotion, right? Kid, you're ruthless. This isn't the Dust Flame Empire. You can't act recklessly here. He told me to get down, so I got down. Since this isn't the Dust Flame Empire, I'm being cautious in everything I do. If someone says something, I'll just obediently do it. Is there a problem? However, I've never seen such a bizarre request in my life, head. You're courting death. Brother Chu Yu, your arc light finger beam has improved a lot. I'd really like to have another friendly match. Hey, hey, when gods fight, mortals suffer. Haha, ha, aren't you too afraid of being laughed at by the younger generation? It's getting late now. None of U.S. can bear the responsibility of delaying the competition for the slots. You're absolutely right. I'm just worried that Brother Chu Yu can't hold himself back. I hope you continue to have such good luck and make it out of Cheonghua Island alive. Why do I find that statement so uncomfortable? Did you eat shit when you woke up this morning? This kid is interesting and quite daring. I wonder if his luck is just that good. The fate of the younger generation is in their own hands. If someone doesn't know their place and tries to cause trouble behind the scenes. Hee hee, there are thousands of people here, enough for me to have some fun. Hee hee, brother, you're overthinking it. There are strong individuals from the three major forces on Cheonghua Island. Who would dare to sneak around? No time to waste. Let's begin. A few days ago, one of the elders from the Zhou family, one of the four great families of the Dusk Flame Empire, secretly came to me and presented me with a tempting proposition. They are seeking to use the Heaven Sent Empire to eliminate Li Yunxiao in the competition. He also provided me with comprehensive information about Li Yunxiao. It left me astonished when I first saw it. I even suspected that the information might be incorrect, but after further investigation, it was confirmed to be true. Especially the battle in Dark Gold Arena. This kid defeated a martial grandmaster with a wave of his hand. While luck played a part, tens of thousands of people witnessed it. If all of this is true, then the only way to deal with him is. Luo Qingyun is a foreign disciple, and even I don't know his true identity. But his strength is definitely not as simple as a three-star martial grandmaster. If Luo Qingyun decides to take action, there is no doubt that Li Yunxiao would be doomed. Everyone, calm down. I won't waste any more time. There are a total of 2,000 places, a total of 10,000 participants, and a time limit of three days. There are 2,000 such crystals placed on Cheonghua Island. Each one represents a slot to enter Mount Meru. Everyone can collect as many as they can find. The rules are simple. Except for maliciously killing others, you may use any means necessary. Within the island, experts from the Vanishing Valley, the Heaven Gathering Sect, and the Thousand Crane Pavilion will monitor you closely. If someone is in life-threatening danger, they can shout, I surrender, and experts will immediately come to rescue them and take them away from Cheonghua Island. However, they will have to surrender their crystals in return, which will be placed back on the island. If any crystals remain undiscovered after three days, during the final day, these undiscovered crystals will be shaken into the sky by a formation, and they will all appear at once. At that time, it'll be every man for himself, and the capable will claim them. Now, let's open the portal. This is a short-distance teleportation gate leading directly to Cheonghua Island. As it is random teleportation, the landing point for each person will be different. If disciples from the same sect are present, they will have to find each other however they can. Now, everyone, go inside. The competition is officially underway. Please go ahead. Thanks. I've already arrived at Cheonghua Island. Let's investigate the island's situation with my universal detect. Encountering resistance. Huh? 
they've actually set up a formation that hinders universal detect. Well, if we forcefully break through the formation with the godly evolution technique, it might cause a commotion. Let's test our luck first. Luck is on my side. I've just arrived, but I already found something. This peculiar stone with inner engravings, what secrets does it hold? Wudan Empire Heavenly Tremors Sect Two-Star Marshal Grandmaster Lang Quan. A crystal. Ha ha, what luck. We just arrived at Cheonghua Island, and we brothers immediately gathered. We even encountered a crystal. Kid, be sensible and hand it over. We'll spare your life. I'll give you a chance. Go and collect more crystals first. I'll come back for you then. Ha ha, senior brother, did you hear what he said? Since he's not being sensible, let's teach him a lesson. Kid, don't declare defeat too soon, all right? Ha ha, this kid looks bewildered. Our combined footwork blends reality and illusion, making it hard to counter. Why are you chatting with him? Let's attack. I'll go first. He, senior brother, you love taking the lead too much. Didn't we agree to capture our prey and have some fun? Don't finish him off too quickly. Let me have a turn too, this is. Senior brother's clothing. Don't worry. Your senior brother is waiting for you down there. People like you, who have been cultivating in seclusion within your sect since childhood, basically have no experience in actual combat and haven't even left the sect. You are just weaklings, ah, uh, no, please don't. Improve your insight in your next life. I, I surrender. Such a ruthless move. The rules of the competition prohibit malicious killing. Are you from the Wudan Empire? Lang Quan from the Wudan Empire's Heavenly Tremor Sect. Sir, didn't you see that they were planning to kill me first? Does defending myself count as malicious killing? Defending yourself? You've got guts. Don't fall into my hands. Humph in the east, about a mile away, there's a fellow disciple. Hmm, he is approaching me. Two thousand places, three days. Humph, I need to get at least half of them. The first day quickly passed. Most people remained cautious. Except for the two killed by Lan Quan, there were no casualties. Only the first day has passed, but someone has already collected thirty-two. I wonder which sex disciple this is. This person seems to be able to detect crystals. You see, these 32 crystals are moving towards the next crystal. How is that possible? There is a formation here that blocks universal detect. Even a fourth tier refiner can't sense anything beyond a hundred meters. Moreover, we both know where the crystals came from. Even if the island didn't block universal detect, no one would be able to detect them. Could it be Li Yunxiao? That kid was personally recognized by Bailey Gongjin as a genuine fifth-tier refiner. While these crystals come from an extraordinary place, if someone can create the effect, it should be possible to detect them. At this rate, collecting over a hundred pieces won't be a problem. Nothing. Slot crystals, zero. I wandered around all day and didn't find a single one. My luck is terrible. There are only a total of 2,000 crystals. This method of searching definitely won't work. There is no time to worry about raising suspicions. Maybe they don't even care. Godly evolution technique enhanced universal detect. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey, come out. Oh, you thought you could rely on luck, huh? Then don't blame me for being ruthless. Afk. Ha ha, don't run Kia. Who? Who are you? Hand over the crystals, and I'll let you go. Crystals? I don't have any. Huh? You, are you Li Yunxiao? Huh? You know me? I never thought I would become famous. All thoughts cease. Life is short. I am someone from the Dusk Flame Empire. Everyone knows about your earth-shattering battle, where you easily defeated a martial grandmaster. Great city lord, spare me. I truly don't have any crystals on me. No crystals? 
Humph, if that's the case, why are you hiding in the rocks without moving? I'm cultivating. I practice earth element techniques, and I need to cultivate in the rocks. If you don't believe me, I can show you. Fine, since you're not cooperating, I'll have to find them myself. Kia. Young Master Yun, spare my life. We're both disciples of the Dust Flame Empire. Please, spare me. I'll give you the crystals. Humph, pathetic. Get lost. Earth escape. Strange. These crystals are indeed made of thousand steel stone, but what's the purpose of this seal on top? The structure is so tight. Could it have been ordered from the Deity Transformation Sea? If Mount Meru were to open up, even the Deity Transformation Sea might not be able to sit still. They will definitely send disciples into the southern region to trade for some benefits. Humph, I refuse to believe that breaking it open won't reveal the answer. Dismantling a slot crystal. This feeling. That's right. It's exactly the same as what I felt in the memory of the true soul phoenix. Godly evolution technique. I must retain a trace of it. This force can actually directly penetrate my consciousness. If my spirit power hadn't been strong enough, I would have gone crazy in an instant. Why does something like this exist? Hey, the guy ahead, please stop. Don't be shy, sit down and feel my battle rhythm. In the Dusk Flame Empire's domain, far and wide, it's known to fame. A maestro of rhythm, leading the musical game. Feasts and treats, strong as oak. A.K.A. Hexian, your reigning folk. I realize evil's my true core, just like the skull inked on my left arm's lore. My freestyle brews deep within, I hope one day, it'll light up Tian Wu's rim. If you are wise, the crystals you'll yield. Awo. Li Yunxiao. Oh no. Run. Run in all directions, don't go in one direction. Five auras. The middle-aged man has four crystals on him, and the others don't have any. Hmm, I can already distinguish the aura of the crystals with my universal detect. Why can't I shake him off? Didn't this island block universal detect? Could that kid be cheating? Ugh. Who's there? Isn't that EXIN from the Blazing Phoenix residence of the Dust Flame Empire? Why are you running like a lost dog? EXIN, why is your face so pale? Did we scare you? Ha ha ha, EXIN, do you happen to have some crystals on you? Ha ha ha. Li Yunxiao must be nearby. There's no escaping no matter what. City Lord Yunxiao. I know I can't escape, but since we both serve the Dusk Flame Empire, please let me keep one crystal. I'm willing to give the other three to you. Otherwise, I'll shout that I surrender and can safely leave the island, but even you won't get a single one of these four crystals. What? Who's lurking in the woods? Show yourself. He XIN, give me three crystals, and I'll let you leave safely. Otherwise, you won't keep a single one. Hey, hey, if it weren't for City Lord Yunxiao chasing me relentlessly, did you think you stupid folks could stop me? Courting death. I'll grant your wish. Senior brother, calm down, let me handle this. I'm up front, singing and dancing with grace, while you hang in the back, in a dark place. Listening to you talk is like a pig's noisy spree. Die. All right, it's a deal. Four crystals. You keep one, and the rest belong to me. City Lord Yunxiao. Ugh. Junior brother. I thought you were some kind of expert. You're just a mere five-star martial lord, yet you're so arrogant. You're nothing but a lackey who managed to scrape by with the threat of self-destructing a Tiger King battleship, and you actually believe your strength is unparalleled. All of you can just die. City Lord Yunxiao. This person is quite powerful. Go. He. Nine Star Marshal King, not bad. You're just a step away from stepping into the Six Directions realm, right? 
Brother, get up. Although the power of the five elements realm is strong, my own realm isn't too low to cause substantial harm to you. You all also have four crystals on you. Hand them all over, and you can leave. What? Who do you think you are? You got lucky and outwitted my senior brother with one move, yet you dare to boast shamelessly. Give him all the crystals. What? But senior brother. I said give him all the crystals. Are you deaf? Let's go. Senior brother. Senior brother. Thank you, city lord. Huh? Eh? When were the crystals taken? Someone must have known how to collect the crystals. The one with the most has already gathered 200, and this person is extremely powerful. Every crystal he encounters is absorbed. The others have collected at most 40. Is it Luo Ching Yun? Is it Li Yun Xiao? Come out, everyone. You've watched long enough. It's time to make a move. He, he everyone thought I wasn't talking about them. The two in front of the tree, the five behind them, the one behind the left stone, and the eleven hiding behind me. All of you come out. The one on the left, I'm talking about you. Don't look around, there's no one else on this side. Kid, how did you detect us? Universal Detect is clearly blocked on this island. Even if you know... It won't help hand your crystals over, and I'll let you go. You don't have to surrender and leave the island. You are indeed arrogant. I've heard rumors that you can easily defeat a martial grandmaster with a wave of your hand. Today, I'll see if that's true. With so many martial kings, even if you have the strength of a martial grandmaster, you'll have to submit to me. Then stop talking and... Everyone, be careful. This kid is about to attack. Incandescent radiance, the great sun wheel. Let's go all out. Everyone, don't hold back. Use 100% of your power, or we'll all die together. Hmm, there are indeed some good items here. Though they may be cowardly, most of those participating in the competition aren't too foolish, Lord Yunxiao. Thank you for showing mercy. Damn it. At my belongings, ouch, it hurts so much. It's unlikely that I can collect all the crystals on my own. When the time comes, I'll just have to snatch them from those martial grandmasters. There's still a day and a half left. Let's give them some more time. There is a huge problem. There are over 500 crystals gathered here. Someone must be using cheating methods. I suggest a thorough investigation. It's highly likely to be Luo Ching Yun. It's Li Yunxiao. These crystals were all transported from the Deity Transformation Sea, and that Lord has promised that crystals cannot be counterfeited. Who has the ability to cheat like this? Then may I ask how one person acquired more than 500 crystals? Do you know something, Brother Chu Yu? Brother Huasen, you worry too much. Only the leaders of the three major forces know the situation on the island. Both you and I can only watch from here. Brother Xian Pai, what do you think? There's the strong and the weak, there's good and bad luck. The ownership of these crystals depends on the youngster's luck. We should just watch. Look, the person with 97 crystals is about to encounter the one with 45. I have already collected 45. Taking down the island's martial grandmasters will mark the successful completion of this mission. Coincidentally, there's a guy behind those bushes, and he should have around 90 crystals. What's that? It's the rain. Unyielding tyrant physique. He, kid, you do have some skill. You notice the hidden attack in the rain right away and you used a powerful body technique to defend. If it were someone else, they wouldn't even have realized how they died after being pierced all over. The dark clouds in the sky aren't rain clouds, but rather manifestations of elemental energy generating water. This should be a water element rain formation. As expected, the Lord of Martial Flame City lives up to his reputation. 
you can even recognize the long-lost rain formation. I truly believe the rumors that you defeated a martial grandmaster with just a wave of your hand at the Dark Gold Arena now. The rain formation is one of the seven strongest elemental formations. It can condense the essence of water from heaven and earth, turning them into attacks. It is one of the few powerful formations passed down from ancient times. Years ago, I had a friend who wanted to collect the methods of all seven elemental formations and combine them into one. Unfortunately, many of them were incomplete and damaged. I wonder if there has been any progress over the years. With your cultivation as martial grandmasters and martial kings, it's impossible for you to set up such formations. The only explanation is that you have the rain formation diagram on you. Today, you not only have to hand over the crystals, but also the rain formation diagram. Such confidence. Combining the seven most powerful elemental formations into one? Do you think your old friend is the royal throne martial sovereign Tenguan? That's him. Within this rain formation, even the universal detect of the leaders of the three major forces can't reach us, so there's no one to save you in the upcoming fight of life and death. Let's agree on this. If you lose, you'll hand over the crystals and the rain formation diagram, and I can spare your life. Lord Yunchao, you are indeed quite arrogant. Since you recognize this rain formation, you should also know that within this formation, the power of those who practice water type techniques is greatly enhanced. You'll have to use a significant portion of your true chi to withstand these rain swords. With all this, are you still so confident? How would we know without trying? 50 Suddenly? Indeed, this formation significantly hinders universal detect. To think that someone could get close before I could notice. There's another one. Ugh. The rain within this formation can continuously revive them. Even if defeated, they will get back up immediately. I must find the core of the formation as soon as possible. Found it. Shit. It's impressive that you managed to locate the formation core despite your universal detect being blocked. I truly underestimated you. Senior, senior brother, did I expose a weakness? It's not your fault. You continue to guard the formation core and don't slack off. City Lord Yunchao, let me tell you a secret. Although I practice water type techniques, I actually hate getting my clothes wet. To make me look so miserable in my own rain formation, you are the only one who can do it. He, should I be happy? Your formation is not bad. Apart from water type true chi, all other martial skills are significantly weakened. Fortunately, my body techniques aren't affected by the rain formation. Otherwise, I'd be in real trouble. Good that you know. You truly haven't disappointed me. If I hadn't set up this formation, catching you wouldn't have been so easy. Do you think you can defeat me easily now? Oh? Do you have a way to save yourself? That would be great. If the game ends just like this, it would really be boring. Water type techniques, huh? What a coincidence. It just so happens that I'm skilled in them too. Water versus water. You're also specialized in water-based martial techniques? How is that even possible? All techniques are one. It is just the transformation of the five elements. Now the power of the formation is fair to everyone. Let me try this move. Water Dragon's Roar. Good. I'd like to see how exquisite your water techniques are. Ha ha ha. Superficial at best. Your water techniques are nothing special. Water Elemental Transformation. Crab Claws. Water Elemental Transformation. Giant Clam Shell. Water Elemental Transformation Sandpiper Thrust Go! Raging Serpent Lord Yunchao, your mastery of water techniques is indeed impressive. 
Unfortunately, you're only a three-star martial lord, while I, in this water elemental form, possess combat power equivalent to that of a martial grandmaster. Including me, you'll have to face two martial grandmasters, plus four martial kings lurking around. Even if you win under these circumstances, it won't matter if you can't get the rain formation diagram. All right. You truly have the demeanor of a strong warrior. I believe you can go further on the path of martial arts after today's battle. Ha <laughs> ha, how arrogant. Do you think you're a guru of martial arts? Today, I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. It just so happens that I am. Let's see how you'll handle the attacks of two martial grandmasters. It's not over yet. Raging Serpent Chaotic Dance Watch closely, Lord Yunxiao. After this strike, the game will be over. I shouldn't drag this out any longer. W.H. Watt I must admit, within this formation, you do indeed control a world of your own. Even though we both practice water techniques, you surpass me. But that doesn't mean you're invincible. Flames? That's impossible within this rain formation. Heaven's Flame Battle Formation, activate for me. This is bad. Brother. Brother. Idiots. Don't worry about me. Gather your true Q. Resist the flames. Water Curtain Wall. Use all the strength you've got. A few moments back. It has been over half an hour, and this water formation still hasn't been opened. Could it be that Li Yunxiao hasn't died yet? Rumors say that he can easily obliterate martial grandmasters with a mere wave of his hand. If he truly possesses such power, a confrontation with Lang Quan would be an intense battle. That is unlikely. He still has four junior brothers who are martial kings. Moreover, this formation is incredibly mysterious. It can even block our universal detect. Even if I were to be inside it, I would still be in great danger. I think Li Yunxiao is in dire straits. I've been keeping an eye on Lang Quan all along, and his strength is unparalleled, capable of defeating anyone in its path. Perhaps only Luo Qing Yun on the other side of the island can stand a chance. The one who collected over 600 crystals, is that Luo Qing Yun? That kid must have something up his sleeve. What's going on? This sea of flames can also block universal detect. In a sea of flames, visibility is even worse. Do you still have the strength for one more battle? 2 HHM Why are the flames retracting? A few more moments of burning, and I will be consumed by this sea of flames. By that time, the crystals and the formation diagram will all be... You must be dissatisfied, right? If you are, I'll be waiting for you inside Mount Meru. This is the rain formation diagram, along with all the crystals. We surrender. It's all yours. When we meet again at Mount Meru, I hope your martial arts will have progressed further. Li Yunxiao didn't die? Neither did Lin Quan? Who actually won? Quick! Check where the crystals are going. Over a hundred crystals are on the one leaving in a hurry, while only five are left behind. This means Li Yunxiao has actually won. How could this be? Facing five opponents single-handedly and within such a mysterious formation? What the hell actually happened? Everyone, look. The one with over 600 crystals is rapidly closing in on Li Yunxiao, who has just over a hundred crystals. I need to regain my breath quickly. The strongest competitor on this island is about to arrive. Mystical Cosmos, Primordial Chaos Cosmic Restoration Art Shining Frost Machete Star Extinguishing Sword Art They encountered each other so quickly. Whoa, well, isn't that Lang Xingguo's Shining Frost Machete? Is this the same Li Yunxiao who destroyed the Xingyang family and killed Zhou Yushan? With such powerful martial arts, he can't be an ordinary person. Brother Fangda, your Dusk Flame Empire is quite patient, huh? What an extraordinary talent you have. 
If it weren't for something as important as Mount Meru, you wouldn't have shown him to the world, right? Cheonghua Island's highest authority, elder of the Thousand Crane Pavilion in the Heaven Sent Empire Tu Lei. Extraordinary talent? That's what the Heaven Sent Empire has. Am I wrong? Li Yunxiao is indeed incredibly mysterious. But from what I can see, he does not seem to have an advantage against Luo Qin Yun, Cheonghua Island's highest authority elder of the Heaven Gathering sect in the Dusk Flame Empire Fongda. Lang Quan is the strongest successor of the Wudan Empire this time, but he was actually robbed by someone. Now, nearly a thousand crystals have gathered here. Regardless of who wins or loses, it has nothing to do with our Wudan Empire. Forget it, let's just enjoy the show, Cheonghua Island's highest authority, Wudan Empire Vanishing Valley Huang Xiaolong. Li Yunxiao, you've truly surprised me. Surprise, my ass. You almost took my life away. Is ambushing people so amusing to you? I am indeed surprised. Not only can you instantly deploy a defensive formation against my attacks, but you can also counterattack effortlessly. And that's not all. I originally thought that even if the rain formation couldn't deal with you, it could at least give you a severe injury. But unexpectedly, you only suffered minor superficial injuries. I'm really curious how you managed to do that. You can try going in if you have the chance. It's quite fun. Ha ha ha. Although the rain formation can't trap me, it would still be quite a hassle to get out. Definitely not as easily as you did. By the way, there's something I'm curious about too. How did you collect so many crystals? You can't possibly sense them with your universal detect, can you? These crystals are embedded with thousand steel stone. I have a gold swallowing rodent with me that can sense the presence of thousand steel stones. No wonder, since the ambush didn't work out, catch your breath. Your vitality is not in a stable condition right now. If you lose to me later, you might think I won unfairly. I can wait for you to regain your best condition before we fight. Thanks for your kindness. But there's no need. I am currently in my best condition. Then let's not waste words. Such domineering power. Even with the blessings of the unyielding tyrant physique, I still can feel the pressure surging through my body. Such exquisite awareness. It's as if you've accurately made the counter move before I even launched my attack. Moonwalk Horses Reentry Astral Leap Starlight Footfall Heavenly Spirit Ring Harmonious Mystidence Technique A Mental Attack? Damn! Li Yunxiao too. Mental attacks are the most powerful martial arts. Ordinary martial artists can't resist them at all. You're just a martial lord, and even if you were at the same level as me, you wouldn't be able to resist. I didn't expect you to be affected so easily. With your strength, it shouldn't have happened. Sigh, what a pity. A pity for what? How is this possible? The one who used the mental attack was me, yet somehow, it's being reversed against me. How powerful would a spirit technique need to be to achieve this? Grand Mirage Annihilation Fist Grand, Grand, Grand Mirage Annihilation Fist? The Grand Mirage Annihilation Fist Ao Chang Kong It's actually the Grand Mirage Annihilation Fist of the Tyrant Martial Sovereign, Ao Chang Kong. With a single punch, the four poles collapse. Who the heck is this kid? Has he actually met A.O. Chan Kong and seen his techniques? Even if he's only mimicking A.O. Chan Kong, I won't be able to take that hit directly. The only way to survive this is to break out of this mind space and escape. You may have the upper hand in this space, but I have my own ways. True Dragon Transformation I need to puncture the space and leave immediately. Soaring dragon body unyielding king's grasp. I'm too late. Luo Qin Yun used a mental attack on Li Yunxiao, but then got repelled by his mental strength instead. 
the mental attacks were boosted by those brass rings. How did such powerful attacks get repelled? What did Li Yunxiao do to repel such powerful mental attacks? An ancient true dragon. That brat actually knows of hidden techniques of true dragons. I currently have the mental strength of a fifth tier refiner, plus the godly evolution technique. Not even a sixth tier refiner could escape a mental prison created from that mental strength. But he managed to shatter my mental prison by turning into a true dragon. If that prison lasted a second longer, Ao Chankong's technique would have easily finished him off. The residual power from it may have damaged him quite a bit, but it wasn't enough for him to lose his strength entirely. Hmm. It's exactly the same as when he snuck up on me. I can't detect him at all. He must have a way to conceal himself in space. Piece of cake. Sigh damn it he has scarpered like a chicken already. I am the strongest after all. Shame I couldn't get those 600 crystals. Forget it the ones I have should be enough. He gave up? What's this kid on about? I should test the waters. What's this? Ha ha. The rat has shown itself. Sword technique light rush. Ah, uh, that's it. You have a ring that can manipulate space and conceal yourself within. It's a pretty valuable Xian weapon. It might even be more valuable than my Shining Frost machete. Who the heck are you? You can actually mimic Lord A.O. Chankong's Grand Mirage Annihilation Fist. You even know Lord Gu Feiyang's sword techniques. Oh? Your background doesn't seem that simple either. Not just your true dragon hidden techniques, you actually recognized both A.O. Chankong's and Gu Feiyang's techniques. Whose family are you from? A young teen is really asking me whose family I'm from. Humph. You don't need to know who I am. I may have given you the advantage, but you're dreaming if you think you can defeat me. Don't think you can beat me just because of a single cheap blow. Is that... What's going on? His strength suddenly feels weird. Is it some kind of demonic power? What did that kid swallow earlier? Was it a demonification pill? How insanely powerful is that pill then? And why does it look like the dragons of legends? But, the dragon race is just a whimsical legend, stuff of the 10th ultimate realm. So how would that be possible? This feeling, it's actually a dragon's aura. No wonder his hidden techniques were so strong. The fact that he could break out of my mental prison proves that he has dragon blood in him. Legends tell that ancient true dragons are born naturally from the heavens and earth. They are the strongest of all spirits, but lack the ability to reproduce themselves. Only through the method of mingling with other powerful races could they reproduce. That method caused the bloodline of dragons to become increasingly weak and dispersed. After eons, the dragon's bloodline seemed to be endangered, on the verge of becoming a mere tale in history. It could be a demon, a human, or any other race. In the records of the Tianwu continent, a powerful warrior of the dragon's bloodline appears from time to time. One commonality among these warriors is that every single one of them, with dragon blood in their veins, has always become one of the most powerful individuals of their time. Li Yunxiao, you won't regret making me use this form on you. That punch almost destroyed my entire body. The dragon's bloodline is definitely powerful. I finally know the reason for your strength. Your tenacious soul power and grandmaster-like body explains everything. No wonder you were able to defeat a martial grandmaster with a single strike and walk out of that rain attack earlier without any harm. Throughout all four regions of the Tianwu continent, among all the geniuses of the new generation, you might just be my ultimate opponent. Therefore, therefore, today, I'll end you. Dragon Emperor's Power Pulse Release Emanating Killing Intent Th this is the strength of a martial emperor. The pills that Luo Qingyun swallowed earlier were problematic. This match has already lost its fairness. 
I suggest the three of us join forces to capture him now. Who said they couldn't take pills? Fongda, don't try to be cunning. Even if the crystals are lost, we must find an opportunity to save Li Yunxiao's life. If a genius like this falls, it will be an unbearable loss for the Dusk Flame Empire. This battle may be the most difficult since my reincarnation. Now, the Enforcer's eyes are on us. Even if I use the Heaven's Flame Formation to block their universal detect. I'm not sure if I can even call out for Duan Yu to kill Luo Qing Yun without being discovered. Die. What? This is? Ancient golden writing. What kind of treasure is this? Could it be an ancient artifact? You little punk, you actually possess ancient artifacts and no ancient golden scripts. Today, I'll rip you open and see what else you're hiding. Luo Ching Yun is indeed extraordinary. Not only does he have the bloodline of the dragons, but he also recognizes rare things such as the rain formation, grand mirage annihilation fist, and sword techniques. And now, he even recognizes ancient golden writing and knows about ancient artifacts. Do you think that awakening the dragon's blood makes you invincible in the world? Today, I'm going to suppress the martial emperor and extract the dragon's blood. Heaven's flame formation. This is not good. Hurry and activate the barrier. I've been on guard against Luo Qing Yun, but I never expected Li Yunxiao to launch such a wide-ranging attack first. For Quadrant's shield, this sea of fire, its power is even greater than before. What kind of monster is that kid fighting? It is certain that one of these two is Li Yunxiao. I can't believe there's someone who can compete with him. Luo Qingyun's strength, which I can't even fully comprehend, should be more than enough to sweep through Qionghua Island. What's causing him to take such a long time to win against his opponent? It seems someone has trapped us here with a barrier. This time, it is truly a fight to the death. Humph, even though this intensity of flame surpasses ordinary fire, it offers no real assistance in this battle between you and me. Is that so? I hope you can still save that after I turn you into a roasted dragon. Heaven's Flame Killing Ground Manifestation of Fire It's just an ordinary elemental transformation, nothing special, huh? Such a strong fighting spirit. This isn't just a simple elemental transformation. This. This is the ninth tier Heaven's Flame formation. This, how is this possible? No matter how extraordinary his talent is. For a martial lord to deploy an emperor level formation is simply unbelievable. Unless. Ha ha ha, what's so funny? Through that last strike, I've confirmed one thing you're just a mere martial lord. How can you unleash such an extraordinary ninth tier formation? It turns out that this is an incomplete heaven's flame formation, which is why it only contains ancient battle intent and lacks actual killing moves. You want to intimidate me and attack my universal detect with this ancient battle intent. I almost fell for your trick. This kid is really something. He even recognizes Heaven's Flame Formation. He's not easily fooled. The Heaven's Flame Formation was already heavily damaged, and its formation body is still within the World God Monument. Its power is limited to this extent. Now, apart from pulling Luo Qing Yun into the World God Monument or letting Duan Yu come out, there really isn't a better way to deal with this. Damn it! So what if you have the bloodline of a true dragon? I'm the one who was reincarnated. To control this formation, along with the ancient Xian artifact and your own attacks, with your meager cultivation as a martial lord, how long do you think you can hold on? When your energy is drained, I'll slowly strip your skin from your body. Are you consoling yourself? The pill you just swallowed must have contained a trace of dragon chi, which is why it could stimulate the dragon bloodline within you. When your dragon chi runs out, be prepared to have your blood drained. Such keen eyesight. Since neither of us is suited for a prolonged battle, how about settling this with a decisive move?
If you can withstand the move I'm about to use, then all the crystals will be yours. This. This is. An innate divine ability. Innate divine ability? That's right. It is the innate divine ability passed down from the ancient true dragon bloodline. However, the power in my blood is too thin, and I can't awaken it at all. Only by relying on the dragon chi in the pill can I barely perform it. In ancient times, some supremely powerful beings were born with extraordinary divine abilities that could overturn the seas and rivers. These extraordinary divine abilities are passed down through bloodline to descendants. Only when the strength or blood concentration of the descendants reaches a certain level can it naturally awaken. After all, this is the divine ability possessed by the Ten Ultimate Realm. This innate divine ability is my greatest trump card. If you can withstand it, you win. What should I do? Should I block his attack? If I don't, I can simply deploy the World God Monument and take cover inside. But if I do that, the secret of the World God Monument will be exposed. And more importantly, in this world, is there any martial technique that I, Gu Feiyang, dare not face? All right. I'll take it on. Hey. Very good. Starlight? Could it be that move? Is that possible? Shining Frost Machete, so you're a bloodthirsty fellow too. Just make sure you don't mess it up like before. It's actually... A domain. I feel that a domain only a martial supreme can create is formed below. This. Isn't that absurd? Is that really a domain? Even if they've reached the level of martial emperors, it's impossible for a domain to appear. The domain generated by these two is not due to their cultivation reaching the eighth desolation realm. It's because the martial arts they are about to unleash have far surpassed the realms they can withstand, forming a domain of their own. Indeed. Only that move can withstand my draconic might. Watch closely. I will use every trick up my sleeve in this single strike. Unyielding Tyrant Physique. Phoenix True Fire. Godly Evolution Divine Scripture. Constellation Impaling Sword. Godly Evolution Technique. Full power. Good. I will have you taste my strongest attack too. Innate divine ability. Dragon's Nexus for Pole Sovereignty. A true dragon? So what? Beneath my sword technique, I'll cut through the four poles and sever your dragon form. Stellar Sunder, Sword of Infinite Cosmos. Phoenix Blaze Constellation Impaling Sword. What's going on? Clearheart Lake has always been calm, with stable weather. How can it suddenly churn up such huge waves for no reason? These waves seem to carry an incredibly strong elemental energy fluctuation. Could it be artificial? What? Could someone be stirring up trouble on Clearheart Lake? Is their target possibly Cheonghua Island? Don't you think these waves could be coming from Cheonghua Island? Cheonghua Island is thousands of miles from here. It would take tremendous power to create waves that could reach this far. These waves are indeed coming from the direction of Cheonghua Island. With such a powerful impact, not even martial emperor level experts might be able to do this. This. It's truly earth shattering. But where are those two? Where's Li Yunxiao? Hurry, we must save them. Look. Luo Qing Yun. Ha ha, in the end Luo Qing Yun triumphs. What? This is bad. Don't intervene in the situation on the island. You said this. This, despite being so heavily injured his life force was barely detectable, he still has the strength to control a Xian artifact. Even after bearing the brunt of such a powerful impact, he's still not dead. I don't know what tier his heavenly spirit ring is, but it can directly open the void and conceal its user inside. As for Li Yunchao, 
Ha ha, he must have already perished along with the earth, turned to ashes. Ha ha ha. My universal detect has swept through the entirety of Qionghua Island multiple times, but I have not yet sensed Li Yunxiao's presence. Ugh. Thanks to the heavenly spirit ring, I broke through the void in an instant and escaped inside, otherwise, I would probably have vanished from this world just like Li Yunxiao. Sunlight, reflection. Oh shit. How is this possible? He's not dead? Ao Chan Kong. It's the Grand Mirage Annihilation Fist again. I can't believe I've been pulled into Li Yunxiao's mental prison twice. In that moment, Luo Qingyun, who had never tasted defeat as a martial artist, felt for the first time the fear of the death. Wait, please stop. I surrender. What? He's not dead? Under that kind of power, even the earth shattered. My dragon soaring body technique couldn't bear it. I had to escape into the void to save my life. How are you still alive? Hey, did you really think that a single blow would truly rend the heavens and split the earth, shattering the very ground beneath us? What? In the moment before my constellation impaling sword clashed with your dragon's nexus, I pierced through the earth with the world god monument. When those two forces collided, I had already slipped into the deeper depths of the lake through the cracks. But that move was truly dangerous. Even though I fled into the lake, I was still severely injured. Otherwise, I could have just blocked you at the Heavenly Spirit Ring entrance. He had planned his escape route the moment he made his move. This kind of experience comes from countless actual battles. How could it possibly be found in a teenager of just a dozen years? Here are all my crystals. Take them. As I said before, I will drain your dragon blood. Kid, don't go too far. Wag. Arg. For such humiliation, I swear I will repay it a hundredfold. Hmm, that's enough. If I keep drawing, this kid might just die. That would be a shame. Leaving behind such a living blood bank, I can come back when I need to. Not bad at all. You're very powerful. Among the younger generation in the entire Tianwu continent, you should be an outstanding existence. You are qualified to enter Mount Meru. Is it over? The battle between Li Yunxiao and Luo Qingyun destroyed Qionghua Island, causing the formation that restricted Universal Detect to vanish. When the enforcers announced that the formation was damaged, rendering it impossible to find the hidden crystals on the island, chaos immediately erupted. People from various sects were crazily robbing crystals, and disciples began to fall one after another. The enforcers of the three major sects were all in a hurry and couldn't handle the situation. Meanwhile, Li Yunxiao found a place to meditate alone, pushing his cultivation to higher realms. He had over a thousand crystals all to himself, but none of the island's disciples dared to make a move. They all kept their distance. By the end of the third day, Oh, a teleportation barrier? Take this. Feel the power of my punch. Go to hell. You'd better be smart and give them to me. Have mercy. Feel my punch. Who the hell are you? Be careful with your... Ah. Li, Li. Li Yunxiao. All right, the competition is over. Everyone, stop fighting. There shall be no more bloodshed. All disciples from various sects shall enter Mount Meru using the crystals on the day the mountain opens. The opening time and location of Mount Meru has already been calculated. The opening will be five days from now. And the location. According to the joint calculation of the experts from the three sects, the entrance to Mount Meru should be at the border between the Dusk Flame Empire and Tianchue. Could it be? Around one kilometer above Marshall Flame City. Huh? I hit the jackpot unimaginable fortune. Now. Everyone, disperse. Five days later, use the crystals to enter Marshall Flame City. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. 
Three days later, Marshall Flame City will hold a crystal auction. Anyone from the Dust Flame Empire can participate. At the same time, to avoid unnecessary trouble, entry into the city needs to be restricted as much as possible. So, everyone participating in the auction must pay an entrance fee of 1 million middle tier primordial stones. If you can't afford this small amount, then don't bother coming and embarrassing yourself. That's all. What? Selling crystals? Did he mention selling those slot crystals? Is it true? Did I hear that right? If I had known this, I wouldn't have risked my life on the island for these three days. Is he stupid? He's actually putting such precious crystals out for sale? Keep your voice down. Do you want to die? He has so many crystals that he can't use them all, so it's normal to sell some. Damn it, why only allow people from the Dust Flame Empire to buy? That is so unfair. Are you an idiot? Just find someone from the Dust Flame Empire to buy it for you. It's that simple. The entrance fee is 1 million middle tier primordial stones, and various forces are bound to infiltrate. If he manages to get thousands of people into the auction, that's tens of billions in entrance fees. Even if he sells all those crystals, he won't make this much. This kid is really ruthless. I hereby welcome everyone in advance. Marshall Flame City welcomes you. In the three-day competition on Cheonghua Island, Li Yunxiao had seized half the slots. During the showdown between Li Yunxiao and Luo Qingyun, Cheonghua Island was flattened, silently witnessing this epic battle. Afterward, disciples from various countries returned home under the escort of Major Sections Li Yunxiao, however, declined the escort offered by Xian Pai and Fang De, insisting on returning to Marshall Flame City alone. Xian Pai and Fang De were both worried about the crystals on him and secretly followed him. To their surprise, they lost track of Li Yunxiao hundreds of miles later. How is this possible? He was always within the range of my universal detect. Yet, he seemed to disappear into thin air? This kid is extremely mysterious. I used to think everything was under my control. But gradually, I found that I could not see through him at all. Li Yunxiao is exceptionally talented. Even in the entire Tian Wu continent, he is probably a rare talent, but he's too ostentatious and doesn't know how to restrain himself. I'm afraid he might be eliminated before he reaches his full potential. Through. Out history, which extraordinary figure was not so arrogant and audacious? I don't think this kid is destined for an early death. I hope so. Regardless of his identity, at least he's from our Dusk Flame Empire. Befriending him now will only benefit us and harm no one. Later, the three sects will invite formation experts to set up a great formation in Marshall Flame City, suppressing everyone's cultivation to prevent disturbances. Soon, Marshall Flame City is bound to become turbulent, and all security matters shall be handled by you, Lord Exion. I'm going back to the Heaven Gathering sect now to report everything to sect master Chi Fong. Lord Fongda, you have my thanks. Farewell. A domain. A martial supreme. This man seemed to have appeared out of thin air, but he has been standing there all along and has not used any concealment techniques. Even with my powerful universal detect, I only noticed him just now. Xian Pai didn't even notice him. The emotion neglecting heavenly tone. Could it be? It seems you recognize a Marshal Supreme's domain quite well. You are just as extraordinary as the rumors. Since my disciple is useless, I have to step in myself. I'm here to retrieve my sword. My name is Lang Xingbo. Emotion severing Mountain Master Lang Xingbo. It's really him. Rest assured, I'm only here to reclaim my shining frost machete. After all, this sword symbolizes the emotion-severing sect. How can it easily fall into someone else's hands? Throughout the Eight Desolation, I am the Honored One. As someone who rules over an area and one of the three powerhouses of the Dust Flame Empire, he has to have, have extraordinary qualities. He wouldn't stoop so low as to attack a junior like me I won that sword. 
If you want it, you can buy it back. Are you suggesting that I have to fight to win it back? Is he serious? Forget it, forget it. Since Lord Lang himself has stepped in, I'll have to respect your authority. It's a pity your constitution isn't suitable for practicing our sex techniques. Otherwise, I would have considered taking you as my disciple, and I would have betrothed my daughter, Hong Ling, to you. I killed Zhou Yushan. Isn't your daughter already a widow? I can't accept the wife of a man I killed. Ha ha, you really have guts. As expected. This sword has accompanied me for nearly a hundred years, like a close friend or a family member. Why has it lost all its spirit after passing through your hands, as if it has died? I think you owe me an explanation. Lord Lang, the emotion-neglecting heavenly tone emphasizes supreme apathy, yet you've developed emotions. If you don't give me a satisfactory explanation today, no one can save you. Lord Lang, feel the emotions on this sword carefully. Although the sword soul is gone, it has no regrets. No regrets? Is that so, my old friend? You, you're transmitting the aura of eternal farewell to me. Although this sword's intent is sorrowful, it is filled with a sense of joy, not regrets. Shining, Frost Machete, it has found its best home. While the sword may be ruthless, its spirit has feelings. Thank you. Thank you too, strange martial lord. Sec Master Lang, does supreme forgetfulness really mean leaving everything behind? Congratulations on your breakthrough, Sec Master Lang. I never expected that the long-standing bottleneck would be overcome just like that. Farewell. My old friend. Thank you. As a reward, I've decided to betroth my daughter Hong Ling to you. That's quite a scary reward. Clearing the way and letting me pass would be just fine. Three days from now, I'll be hosting an auction. If you want to find a good son-in-law, you're welcome to bring your daughter and have her auction too. Ha ha, you've got a lot of guts. Ha ha ha. Fortunately, Lang Xingbo handled it with great grace. Otherwise, this would have been quite troublesome. Now, apart from the World God Monument, there are no more decent weapons available. With my spirit power, I can at most refine a peak 5th grade artifact, but such things are simply not worth my time to craft oh well, let's set aside the matter of weapons for now. The top priority is arranging the auction and the collection of fees. If things go well, the primordial stones collected this time might open up a large realm in the World God Monument. Business is crucial. High Sun City. The battle for slot crystals on Qionghua Island shook the world. Li Yunxiao immediately became the hot topic, and news spread like wildfire. The entire southern region was abuzz with rumors and gossip. I heard that Li Yunxiao isn't some random teenager, but a 500-year-old multi-centenarian cultivator instead. How else could he have one half of the crystals? You idiot, 500? Really? How could he have gotten away from the three major sex inspections? Let me tell you, Li Yunxiao has the blood of both a dragon and a phoenix. During the battle on the island, his upper body transformed into a dragon and his lower body into a phoenix, making him nigh invincible. My cousin also joined the fray, so listen to me. He told me that Li Yunxiao was a cultivator of the Sunflower Bible, a master of flying needles. He, not many can match up to him. Cultivating the Sunflower Bible stuff is worse than death. It's pointless even if he became a martial sovereign with it. My information is the most accurate here. I say Li Yunxiao isn't human at all. He is, but a descendant of two eighth-tier beasts, the Emperor's Golden Blossom Ape and the Pale Phoenix Spirit Pegasus. Speaking of Li Yunxiao, a single needle was enough to pierce through thousands of disciples from different sects. It incited so much anger that they decided to rally against Li Yunxiao and encircle him. Just when he was surrounded by thousands of martial artists, what do you think happened? Come on, continue. Lie, don't leave us hanging like that. He at that moment, 
Li Yunchao screamed at the top of his lungs, burn, my cosmos, his body glowed gold, lighting up the entire island, his hair also turning gold and straightening out. I am the super scion, not only that, on his stomach was a 4D pocket, which could retrieve any treasure from within. He took out a bamboo copter, stuck it on his head, and flew away. It utterly shocked everyone on the island. All of you should know that these disciples from various sects were very young, none of them even close to becoming martial grandmasters. How could they fight without knowing how to fly at all? That was how Li Yunchao managed to get away with over a thousand crystals. All because of that bamboo copter. Is the bamboo copter really that amazing? How can it make you fly when put on the head? Good question, sir. All of you can look over here. This here is a replica of the bamboo copter Li Yunchao used. It may not be able to grant flight, but it is an exact copy of the real deal. We commissioned the best craftsmen in Haisun City to create these beautiful treasures day and night just to fulfill everyone's collector desires. 79 silvers each. Buy five, get one free. Bah. A month's worth of artwork only gets me 79. 79 is too expensive. Exactly. How is 79 expensive? Hey, hey. Don't go, please. Come back. Have you thought about yourself instead? How you haven't gotten a pay raise after working diligently for so long? Sigh, modern times really are hard for business. They don't spend a penny even after listening to me for the entire morning. Oh, storyteller, come over. I'm interested in one. Suehua, go present the goods to him quickly. There are red ones, blue ones, green ones, big and small. We provide everything. Which would you like to have a look at, my lord? H.M., what about? This one. M, my lord. W.H., what are you doing? Please leave my daughter alone. Please let go, my lord. Let me go. High Sun City is a place of law and order. Such lecherous actions under broad daylight. Let her go. Come at me. Eh? Brother Shimon, you again? Daughter? He he he. This young lady is around 20 years old. You, on the other hand, are probably at least 300. Daughter, really? Who's the mother? If you won't give me an answer, I might just, don't you dare touch me. Go to hell. Pretty fast, but a bit too soft you seem pretty assertive too. Are you perhaps... Move, milady. Flying cloud hand. Ah. Run. Why you're... He he he, the Manduo Commerce Guild is quite a reputable entity. But here, one tells tantalizing tales, while the other sells bamboo toys. This lady should be one of the strongest members of the new generation of the Manduo Commerce Guild. Little Shuei Luoyin, correct? Not one of them. I'm definitely the strongest among them. Oh ho ho, are you the Lord of the Thousand Treasures Tower? Yes, I am Wei Hongfu of the Thousand Treasures Tower. Both of you are disguised here to prepare for Mount Meru as well, right? But why storytelling? This young girl is decent. If she manages to enter Mount Meru and train inside, it'll be a walk in the park for the Manduo Commerce Guild to secure a spot as one of the council members during the upcoming Commerce Alliance tandem. So you are one of the three lords of the Thousand Treasures Tower who oversee the southern region. I'm Yifong of the Manduo Commerce Guild, and she is Shue Luoyin, as you surmised. We were not aware of your arrival. Please forgive us what do you mean by one of the three lords? Lord Xie Yuheng is the one overseeing everything here. I'm just an envoy of his. As run down as the southern region is, I'm surprised it managed to garner the attention of three Commerce Guild powerhouses. This is getting really interesting. Three? Who else? Lord He and me. Miss Ding Linger? Lord Wei, my sincere apologies for being late once again. I hope that you'll forgive me. I never would have thought that Miss Ding Linger would also come to such a decrepit region. 
Perhaps the Tianyuan Commerce Guild has already taken over the entire southern region? Who in Narnia is this guy? I don't like his face. Can I give him a few slaps? Miss Ding, your underling stepped out of line. Let me teach him a lesson. This is he phoned from the Manduo Commerce Guild, a martial emperor. This slippery woman is Shuei Luoyin, the strongest of the new generation in the Manduo Commerce Guild. And this, City Lord Yunchao, is Lord Wei Hongfu of the Thousand Treasures Tower. Lord Wei is the Thousand Treasures Tower's finance minister for the southern region. Oh what? You Li Yunchao? Oh, it's Lord Wei. Why were you sent to such a rundown region? From what this guy said, it seems like anyone who comes to the southern region is just some lump of dirt. Well, don't listen to him blabber such nonsense. He has said nothing but spit utter garbage. Clearly, he has ulterior motives. Do you think Lord Wei won't see through that? I spit garbage? Who just said the south was a rundown region? Are you looking down on Lord Wei, or am I planning something evil? Which is it? Don't you dare spout more nonsense. Any more and I'll end you in one slap. You're looking down on Lord Wei's intellect. All right, I'll shut up. Lord Wei will settle it with you later. You. Ugh. So you're the Marshal Flame City Lord, the one who defeated Luo Qingyun on Qionghua Island? Li Yunxiao? You know Luo Qingyun? Of course I do. Did you really beat him? You're just a six-star martial lord. I could beat you with a single finger. You're bluffing. My hair turned golden, and I went super scion. I even used the bamboo copter to fly high. How was it hard to beat him? Why you had someone following us? Follow you? You were the one spreading baseless rumors and tarnishing my reputation. Now the whole city thinks I might have gold hair or a bamboo copter. I haven't thanked you for that yet. Ahem. We didn't witness the battle on Chionghua Island, so who knows how you won. What's wrong with us tacking on some stuff in there? Oh? How about this? Li Yunxiao used Motomok. It's super effective. Lord He. 1 to 19 that true? W.H. Watt is that mutt muttering about? Well, as long as you came from your mother and father, what's wrong with me tacking on some stuff in there? Are you courting death? He Fong actually dared to act up even though I'm present, so I can use this opportunity to see Li Yunxiao's abilities for myself. The rumors going around have blended together, making it difficult to distinguish between what's real and what isn't. H.M.? Lord Wei, I heard that you wanted to chat with me. I do want to chat. But how can he block me like this in such a dangerous situation? How calm must he be? Halt! I invited Miss Ding and City Lord Lee here for a quick chat today. I won't allow you to ruin the mood. If a Martial Supreme attacks, even just a flick of a finger will easily wipe a Martial Emperor from existence. Ah! I have matters to discuss with Miss Ding and City Lord Lee. If you have nothing else to contribute, you can scram. Don't ruin the mood for us. See you next time, Lord Wei. Li Yunxiao, Ding Linger, you'll pay for this. I'm the one who offended you. Why did you rope Miss Ding into this? Oh, this is his super hatred lumping technique. He doesn't dare to go against Lord Wei, so he is pushing it onto us instead. The Manduo Commerce Guild is really crafty. Li Yunxiao, I look forward to fighting you, someone who can defeat Luo Qingyun in Mount Meru. Shui Luoyin is ignorant and arrogant. When we get to Mount Meru, teach her a lesson. Don't bother holding back. Shui Luoyin has quite the reputation within the Commerce Alliance, being one of the Commerce Alliance's couplet blossoms along with Miss Ding. You should know that the number of people in the Commerce Alliance who follow her is comparable to those who follow Miss Ding O. Lord Wei. Ah. Ha ha ha, I understand. It's my fault, my fault. I spoke too much. Miss Ding Linger may have countless admirers, but she has always remained alone, as pure as ice and jade. City Lord Yunxiao, 
Please don't misinterpret my words. Um, what does this have to do with me? Exactly. What does this have to do with Yun Chao? Lord Wei, if you say anything else, I I'll leave. All right, all right, it's all my fault. Miss Linger, please sit. He actually said that. Ahem. Lord Wei, did you invite me and Miss Ding here just for tea? Ha ha ha, I'll get straight to the point then. This time, the opening of Mount Meru in the Dusk Flame Empire is a significant event. After all, at this time, with various forces mingling, major factions will infiltrate the southern region, fearing that something detrimental to the Thousand Treasures Tower might happen. Therefore, headquarters sent me here to oversee and safeguard the Thousand Treasures Tower's interests and status in the southern region during this time. Um, ahem. By the way, City Lord Yunchao, after the former Tower Master of the Thousand Treasures Tower's Dusk Flame Empire branch, Lord Su Zizhua, went to the Deity Transformation Sea, he had the fortune of advancing to a sixth tier refiner through Serendipity. He is currently continuing his cultivation in the Deity Transformation Sea and no longer holds the position of Tower Master of the Dusk Flame Empire branch. He specifically asked me to convey his gratitude for the Lesser Sun Yuan pill recipe you provided. Former Tower Master? Is Lord Su Zizhua no longer in that position? I wonder who has taken over. Are you scans personally taking on this role? Although I'm in charge of the financial affairs of the Southern Region branches, I rarely stay here, and I'm not familiar with the internal matters of the Dusk Flame Empire. After Lord Su Zizhua left, only Yin Chaoyang and Gan Deming were left to manage things here to some extent. Gan Deming's strength is at the four-star Martial Grandmaster level, which is stronger than Yin Chaoyang. Moreover, he is calm and composed, truly the ideal candidate. But, I heard that you have a good relationship with Yin Chaoyang, so this really puts me in a difficult position. That cunning old fox. This is part of the Thousand Treasures Tower's internal affairs. Yes, I do have some personal connections with Yin Chaoyang, but does that really matter? Of course it matters. When assessing a person's ability, apart from their own strength and attitude, connections are also a crucial factor. City Lord Yun Chao, if Yin Chaoyang can have you as a good friend, then he is more than qualified to be the Tower Master of the Dusk Flame Empire branch. Wei Hongfu's way of saying this is clearly an attempt to gain favor with Li Yunxiao. It seems that in the upcoming events, he will certainly ask for Li Yunxiao's help. Elder Yin is indeed powerful. Even if you consider promoting Yin Chaoyang to a higher position, say, to be in charge of the southern region, I cannot accept this favor, let alone appointing him as a mere master. He's being ambiguous with his words. This kid is so young. How can he speak so cunningly? Elder Yin has certainly helped me a lot. That's good then. It seems that Yin Chaoyang's intelligence and vision are better than Gan Deming's, which is crucial for a Tower Master. So, let's designate him as the Tower Master of the Dusk Flame Empire. Ho ho. This kid's responses are limited, just like an old fox. I can't squeeze anything out of him. Well, let's get to the point. City Lord Yunxiao, I heard you gave the Tianyuan Commerce Guild over a thousand slot crystals to auction off? So? What's wrong with that? Over a thousand slots to enter Mount Meru, hey, that's quite a substantial opportunity. Even though the participants in the auction will mainly be from the Dust Flame Empire, I'm certain there will be a significant outflow of crystals. And not only to the other two empires. Talented youths from the other three regions will also come in droves. This auction event will likely shake not only the entire southern region, but also attract the attention of the continent's superpowers. Can you handle this situation alone, Miss Ding? I have considered this issue too. But the strict laws of the holy region are in place. Would people from the other three regions dare to openly interfere? Although my Tian Yuan Commerce Guild may not be what it used to be, we are still stronger than we appear. Can a mere auction overwhelm us? Lord Wei, you seem to underestimate my guild. 
He he, Miss Ding, there's no need to be upset. I'm not underestimating your guild. It's just that the main strength of your guild does not lie in the southern region. The power in your hands is quite limited. Even if you gather it now, it's already too late. If anything goes wrong at the auction, it will not only result in huge losses for Yunxiao's Marshall Flame City, but will also be a blow that the Tianyuan Commerce Guild cannot afford. At that time, the guild's weaknesses will be exposed before all forces. This auction is undoubtedly a tremendous opportunity, a chance to showcase the strength of the Tianyuan Commerce Guild to all forces again. But if it fails, the consequences will be something I cannot bear. When Li Yunxiao presented this auction opportunity to me, I was almost overwhelmed with happiness. However, a series of problems immediately arose. I sent a message back to the headquarters of the Tianyuan Commerce Guild immediately, requesting them to send experts for support. But as Wei Hongfu said, it was already too late. The entire Martial Flame City is currently sealed off temporarily by the three major forces. Everyone is gathered in Haisun City, and it's a chaotic mess everywhere. If it weren't for what happened today, I wouldn't even have known that members of the Manduo Commerce Guild had also arrived. Perhaps disciples from rival commerce alliances will come as well. They'll be eager to see us make a fool of ourselves, even trying to sabotage us in the process. If you co-host this auction with the Thousand Treasures Tower, it will be completely different. Not only will there be no problems, but it will also send out a vague signal to the world, making everyone think that the Tianyuan Commerce Guild and our Thousand Treasures Tower have a certain understanding. For your esteemed guild, this is also a significant advantage. Collaborating with the Thousand Treasures Tower undoubtedly brings numerous benefits, but we would be destined to become mere supporting characters, perhaps even dispensable ones. Young Master Yun's martial arts are outstanding, but does he have experience in the intricacies of business and the struggles between forces? That sounds good. Let's find a few more forces to cooperate with. It's more secure this way. He doesn't. Ha ha, your words are correct, Lord Yun Chao. After all, in unity there is strength. Ha ha. However, when it comes to cooperation, we need to clarify the primary and secondary roles. This auction will be led by the Tianyuan Commerce Guild, with your Thousand Treasures Tower as a supporting partner. This point must be made clear. What? Impossible, absolutely impossible. My Thousand Treasures Tower is the leader of the Seven Great Commerce Alliances. How can we be ranked second? Rest assured. If the Thousand Treasures Tower wishes to participate in this auction, you won't be relegated to second place. Huh? What do you mean? You'll be in third place. I was worried that things might go wrong, so I asked Lord Bailey to mobilize the power of the Alchemist Association to assist the Tianyuan Commerce Guild. If the Thousand Treasures Tower has the intention to participate, I will naturally welcome it. This, while the Thousand Treasures Tower is the most powerful among the Commerce Guilds, it's not on the same level as the Alchemist Association. The Alchemist Association is in a league of its own. Why would they participate in such an auction? Lord Wei, you don't need to worry about that. You only need to consider whether the Thousand Treasures Tower is willing to be the tertiary supporter of the auction. Although I am aware that there appears to be a mysterious connection between Li Yunxiao and the Alchemist Association, I didn't expect that he could even get the branchmaster, Bailey Gongjin, to participate. Lord Wei, you're overthinking things. The Thousand Treasures Tower's reputation is unparalleled. How could it be affected by such a small matter? Moreover, the benefits of the Alchemist Association's participation are quite obvious. When Mount Meru opens, the Thousand Treasures Tower's involvement will elevate the auction to the highest level, drawing the attention of all. Additionally, the Alchemist Association will also offer a number of rare elixirs and mystical artifacts for auction. The Alchemist Association will provide precious items to auction off? Is this information accurate? The group led by Bailey Gongjin is currently worried about not having enough primordial stones to purchase my martial skills and the heavenly phantom scripture technique. This auction is a godsend for them. I am certain. 
The Thousand Treasures Tower's reputation is soaring, and we truly don't care about these trivial gains. Besides, my main task is to protect the Thousand Treasures Tower's interests during this period. It is fine to do Li Yunchao and Miss Ding Linger a favor. Especially Li Yunchao. Before I left, Lord Xie Yuhang, who oversees Southern Region Affairs, warned me about this person. He told me a thousand times not to offend him, but he didn't disclose the specific reasons. But he defeated many strong opponents on Cheonghua Island and seized more than half of the slot crystals. He can also mobilize the power of the Alchemist Association. He must come from a great background. Haha, <laughs> you are truly extraordinary, City Lord Yunchao. You can even get the Alchemist Association to cooperate. Well, this time, the Thousand Treasures Tower will play a supporting role. Lord Wei, this is a relief. I never expected that the problem we've been worrying about for so long would be resolved so satisfactorily. With the Alchemist Association and the Thousand Treasures Tower here, we can look down on the entire world, and no one would dare to cause trouble. Three days later, Marshall Flame City. What does this mean? Why wasn't this mentioned earlier? I've walked all the way to the doorstep, and you hit me with this news? What do you mean by entry fees? Is this how you conduct business? Do you take me for a tourist? Aren't you taking advantage of honest folk like us? Let's take decisive action against fee irregularities. If you have primordial stones, you can enter. If not, get lost. Damn it. You're courting death. Marshall Flame City has been cordoned off by the three major powers using formations, suppressing the cultivation bases of all those entering the city. You might as well save your effort. Paying the full amount of primordial stones is worthwhile. A million stones can't buy losses and scams. Lee's extortion plan officially begins. Inside the Marshall Flame City Lord's residence, the flow of true chi in my body is abnormally slow and intermittent. Is this the Nine Pillars Dustless Formation? Universal Detect Net Indeed, for the sake of maintaining the Nine Pillars Dustless Formation, the three major sects dared to move these things above my Marshall Flame City. The Huangzhong Pillar, the Xianlu Pillar, and the Central Pillar, the Namlu Pillar, hmm... The formation core must be among these pillars. Soul manifestation, if I can break through it, I can directly repurpose it for my own use. Due to insufficient soul chi, the Taishu Heavens Capital Array and Great Sun Golden Light Array setups could only unleash one ten thousandth of their power previously. This time, these three major sects spent a fortune to open Mount Meru and set up the Nine Pillars Dustless Formation, forcefully raising Marshall Flame City's soul chi to a certain level. If I can take down the Nine Pillars Dustless Formation, Marshall Flame City will be as secure as a fortress before the soul chi runs out this time. Bingo! The Formation Core should be inside. Let me see what secrets this Formation Core holds. What's this? So the formation core is right here. It's time to claim this invaluable treasure as my own. Huh. It even actively attacks my soul manifestation. Ethereal Mirage Reflective Lotus Water. Ha ha. Connection established. Let me see what grade of treasure this is. Who dares to interfere with the formation? You're courting death. I can't let them find out I intervened. Soul Manifestation Dragon Form Think you can escape? Not on my watch. Soul Entrapment Net It's actually a soul attack. Among these three major sects, there are indeed some talented individuals. He can also use Soul Manifestation. He can even shatter our Soul Entrapment Net. Let's go back and check the core first. How's it going? No issues found. But the strength of that person just now seems to be on par with us. He has to have done something. He can't be an ordinary person if he can manifest his spirit power. Perhaps he discovered that his cover had been blown upon his arrival and made a quick escape. Probably. 
It would be truly terrifying if he had tampered with the Great Ian Corps, but we didn't notice. Either he has powerful stealth techniques, or he possesses incredibly strong spells and scriptures. Otherwise, there is no reason we wouldn't have been able to perceive it at our level of strength. Inside the City Lord's Mansion, hmm, also possesses incredibly strong spells and scriptures. Indeed has powerful stealth techniques. Done my power is not affected by the formation at all. One million middle tier primordial stones? That's just daylight robbery. If you don't have the money, then get lost. Next. You. You all have gone too far. All of us gathered here are geniuses, and some of us are even martial arts masters. How long have you guys been waiting in Martial Flame City? Aren't they acting too recklessly? They're not taking any of us seriously. Let's stand up against them. You're right. Let's unite, everyone. Yeah. We've tolerated you for a long time, you know. Let's unite. That's right. Together, we. If you can't afford to pay that many primordial stones, you can leave. Those who cause trouble with malicious intent will meet their demise. I feel like I am having a harder time understanding his thoughts now. He is so young, yet he can be so decisive and ruthless with his methods. You guys must be feeling resentful. But this is an order jointly issued by the three major sections no one is allowed to cause trouble in Marshall Flame City during this period. There will be no mercy. I'm just following the orders of the three major sections. If you have questions, please consult them. Almost all forces from the southern region have flooded into Marshall Flame City. Even at such a large-scale event, he didn't even bother with formalities and went straight for the kill. Isn't he afraid of causing a riot? Maintaining order within the city is the right thing to do. But you, kid, you are the one who set such high fees arbitrarily. We've all had end. This is your first and final warning. Kia, what's going on? From that strike just now to this lightning-fast agility, why does he seem like it's as if? He's not bound by the formation. You can eat whatever you want. If you eat the wrong food, you will be the only one who dies. But speak carelessly, and it could spell the death of an entire family. I hope everyone uses their brains a bit when talking and acting. In Marshall Flame City, I'm the one who decides everything. Such arrogant words, even the three major sects might not dare to say that. Please carry on. The auction is about to begin. There will be no delays. How can you possibly not be bound by the formation? How did you do it? Your Highness, you stayed hidden for so long just to ask about this? Am I that close to you? Why should I tell you? He already noticed me? Let's not discuss this matter for now. I'll ask you, where did you, Jolene, go? Isn't you, Jolene, your dog? What does your lost dog have to do with me? This is Marshall Flame City, not High Sun City. I won't tolerate your arrogance here. What? I am the crown prince of the Dust Flame Empire. Under the heavens, there is no land that does not belong to me, the ruler. Except for a few extremely powerful sects like the Heaven Gathering Sect, I am the supreme and revered existence within the borders of the Dust Flame Empire. You dare tell me that you won't tolerate my arrogance? Isn't Marshall Flame City also under the jurisdiction of the Dust Flame Empire? You, you, you. How, how dare you speak to me like this? I will kill. I can't sustain my true chi. Humph. What are you laughing at? Sixth Tier Shin Weapon Jade Rule, Yao Chi Painting Staff. Great Sun Golden Light Array. Believe it or not, if I get upset, I could kill you with a flick of my hand. You, you really aren't bound by the formation. How is that possible? This is a formation jointly set up by the two formation masters from the Vanishing Valley. Even more importantly, judging by his expression, he would really dare to kill me with his own hands. Don't think just because you're the crown prince, you can act all high and mighty in front of me. Xingyang Jie and Zhou Yushan are the best examples. I don't want the next idiot to be you. 
and his eyes, I'm not even worth a second thought. Li Yunxiao, you lowly commoner, you dare to look down on me. Damn you. Damn it. Auction venue. Sorry I'm late. Young Master Yun. Lord Yunxiao. Lord Yunxiao, there seemed to be a great disturbance a thousand miles in the sky on the city walls just now. Hey, as expected, I couldn't escape the universal detect of this old guy. It's just some trivial matters. There's no need for you to worry. Lord Yunxiao, by setting such a high entry fee for the city, you may be wealthy for a while, but you're building a house of cards that will eventually collapse. Young Master Yun, everyone who has come to Marshall Flame City to participate in the auction are major powers in the Dust Flame Empire. By doing this, you may offend everyone at once. This is like killing the goose that lays golden eggs. An entry fee worth 1 million middle tier primordial stones. If no one wins any crystals, that grudge will explode all at once. Hee hee, a 1 million entry fee? That's just the cost of entering the city. If you want to participate in the auction, you need to pay another million. What? Next. Next. Good, next. Ha ha, long time no see. You piece of the trash. In the year I haven't seen you, you have came to the southern region to work as someone else's watchdog and collect tolls? What a promising job. Ha ha ha. Pay the fee and you may enter. You piece of trash, you will only ever be fit to be a watchdog for the rest of your life. What does that coin-like mark represent again? I can't recall right now. Who is that person? You're not hurt, right? He used to be my elder brother, but not anymore. After Li Yunxiao displayed his might, although many people entering the city complained, no conflicts arose. Very soon, tens of thousands paid a substantial amount of primordial stones. The once spacious Marshall Flame City became crowded, with everyone heading towards the auction venue. What made everyone so angry they vomited blood was that they still had to pay another one million middle-tier primordial stones to enter the auction house. Li Yunxiao wasn't bluffing. Just entering the auction costs two million. This is outright extortion. You'd be lucky if no one seeks revenge on you afterward. What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. This unscrupulous extortion naturally led to severe consequences, but I know that this world is about strength. I now have control over the Nine Pillars Dustless Formation, Taishu Heaven's Capital Array, and the Great Sun Golden Light Array. The entire Martial Flame City's defense is now superior to any power in the southern region. With my current strength, I can ensure that troublemakers won't make it out alive. Moreover, the Thousand Treasures Tower, the Alchemist Association, and the Tianyuan Commerce Guild are all on the same boat as me. With these three major supports, I really have nothing to fear in the entire southern region. Auction Venue The resentful crowd of extorted people. Elder He, why is the Tianyuan Commerce Guild leading this auction? Why are the Alchemist Association and the Thousand Treasures Tower following behind? It's quite strange. Hmm, strange indeed. I wonder how much the Tianyuan Commerce Guild had to sacrifice to get the Alchemist Association and the Thousand Treasures Tower to support them. Humph, so what? As long as they can't keep their council positions in the Commerce Alliance this time, the name of the Tianyuan Commerce Guild will soon be history. I wonder how much stronger she has become now, a year after our battle. This is crucial for her. She might gain tremendous amounts of power from this. Humph, is it just her entering Mount Meru? If I am not mistaken, all the disciples in and around the top ten in this commerce alliance have come. And all the major powers have infiltrated without exception as well. On this journey to Mount Meru, you must prioritize safety above all else. This auction is jointly held by the Tianyuan Commerce Guild, the Alchemist Association, and the Thousand Treasures Tower. I will be your host for today. My surname is May. This time, the main auction item is 1,083 crystals that function as entry slots for Mount Meru. 
There are also some treasures provided by the Alchemist Association and Thousand Treasures Tower for interspersed auctions. The highest bidder wins. Hooray! The esteemed May family is here too. A member of the May family. The famous trademarks. First, we will auction bundles of 10 crystals. Let the bidding begin. What a joke! Over a thousand pieces and they're only auctioning off 10 at a time? That's right. How long will it take to auction them all off? One million middle tier primordial stones. Bullshit. This is going to take forever. 200 middle tier primordial stones. 25 million. 30 million. 300,000 high tier primordial stones. 40 million. 50 million. The atmosphere is heated up. The primordial stones are flowing in. You will probably be the richest man in the southern region once the auction concludes. You have to be joking, Lord Bailey. Do you really mean it when the Thousand Treasures Tower, the head of the Commerce Alliance, is sitting next to us? Lord Wade must be chuckling to himself. Surely you jest. This auction has already far surpassed any of my expectations. It is comparable to the millennial-old families in the southern region. But as they say, don't expose your wealth. Many people are definitely more wary of you now. Strength is not the only thing you need to survive in these times anymore. Nowadays, most deaths happen because of certain stupidity. Where does this kid find all that confidence? Nevertheless, it is indeed quite rare for someone this young to possess such character and tolerance. Here comes one of my treasures. Now, we have an interspersed auction item. He he he. Provided by the Alchemist Association. A sixth tier compound Xian artifact, refined by Lord Bailey Gongjin, a sixth tier refiner. Devil's armor and spear set. Whoa. Oh my god, it's actually a compound Xian artifact. It's an entire set too. Damn it. I didn't bring enough primordial stones. I told you to sell the house, but no, you ignored me. Ha ha ha, I didn't expect such amazing stuff. The Alchemist Association is so generous. I must seize this opportunity. We provide high-value loans here. But, these things are way too insane for the southern region. If I got it, would I be? It's just your average compound artifact. How is it getting so much traction? You're right, Elder He. The south is just an undeveloped slum. No one here knows anything at all. This isn't about the compound artifact itself, but the underlying intent of auctioning it. In the entirety of the southern region, I can count the people who can refine an artifact like this on one hand. If such an item is auctioned, it would indicate that the Alchemist Association deems this auction to be very important. What concerns me is, if the Tianyuan Commerce Guild had reached some sort of agreement with the Alchemist Association and gained their full support or even formed an alliance. How would Ding Linger even do that? The Alchemist Association has always been an independent party. It has never partaken in any conflicts between powerhouses. It's common knowledge. Sai, you're still too naive. There's no such thing as an independent party. As long as it exists in Tianwu, it can never be considered independent. The Alchemist Association feels like an independent party because of their immense power, giving them leverage in anything they do without needing to interfere in any conflicts. But if there's enough incentive, he, the Tianyuan Commerce Guild, is trash. What sort of benefit would be enough of an incentive for the Alchemist Association? They've probably only made a deal with the Alchemist Association branch, since they only have a sixth tier refiner in place. Is it really that simple? That sixth tier refiner, Bailey Gongjin, is a disciple of that lord. I do hope that I'm overthinking this. After a short silence, the entire crowd started bidding furiously. Many of them wanted to bring the compound Xian artifact back as a family treasure, even if it costed them a couple of slot crystals. It was finally sold to a random small family from the Dusk Flame Empire for a substantial 40 million middle tier primordial stones. Everyone knew that there was a stronger force backing them, so no one dared to plot anything against them. 
The auction ended after a whole day. Anyone who participated in the bidding pretty much ran out of money. Still, most of them were quite glad as they had gained at least something. Those who did not get anything collectively directed their anger toward Li Yunchao. After all, if they hadn't been exploited for two million middle-tier primordial stones, they would have been able to get at least one slot crystal. In the guest room, Wei Hongfu, Ding Linger, and Bailey Gongjin were stunned silent upon hearing that they had gained approximately 10 billion middle-tier primordial stones in revenue. The only person who remained calm was Li Yunchao, who, after factoring in the city and auction entry fees, had at least dozens of billions of primordial stones. Please rest well in our small city. I'm going into seclusion for a couple of days, so don't disturb me. I will come out when Mount Meru descends. Brothers, move stealthily. We'll sneak in, get rid of Li Yunchao, and take back what was ours. What the? This is bad. Get away. Ugh. God. Ah. Do you see this? Yet another slaughter. Li Yunchao doesn't seem to want to let them escape. He's just killing everyone in his way. Humph, once Mount Meru closes, we'll see how Marshall Flame City will hold up against the world. There are only two days left until Mount Meru's descent. The sky started to periodically thunder, sounding from somewhere eons away, giving a draft of calm and novelty to everyone in the vicinity. Dozens of powerful martial artists appeared from all over the southern region to stand guard above Marshall Flame City, away from any prying eyes. Their main purpose was to monitor the disciples and families of major sects, ensuring their safety. Those who were massacred by Li Yunxiao's great son Golden Light Array were the resentful small fry that did not manage to acquire a slot crystal. Therefore, no one cared about their deaths. However, none of the martial artists above the city could sense the power released from the array. This caused mass suspicion on Li Yunxiao, as no one knew how he killed those disciples. Miss Ding, you seem very concerned and troubled by Li Yunxiao's extreme proceedings. Lord Bailey, young Master Yun is definitely trying to take shortcuts with what he's trying to do now. You can tell he desperately needs a ton of primordial stones for some secret technique. But if the cost is offending the entire southern region, what good will it be? Hey, what do you think of it? How can one figure out a falcon's thoughts? You may have already noticed, but young Master Yun's every single action, ever since his time in Tianchue, has led to life or death situations. But in the end, the enemy has always died. Young Master Yun lived, and became even stronger instead. In the past few months, Li Yunxiao's every action looked like certain death to me. From his first thousand treasures tower auction till now, it always seemed that there was no hope. He has been through all of that. From a trash body to his current cultivation of a martial lord. He even has strength comparable to a martial grandmaster. I hope my worries are for naught. Relax. Once Mount Meru closes, Lord Yunxiao's name will spread across the entire southern region. My gut tells me that Marshall Flame City will become a powerhouse rivaling the likes of the Heaven Gathering Sect, the Emotion Severing Mountain, and the Heavenly Jewel Gate, standing grand in the Dusk Flame Empire. The Tianyuan Commerce Guild's position in the Alliance may be teetering on the edge, but Miss Linger, your sharp senses and acute understanding are second to none. I believe that the countdown to the rise of Tianyuan Commerce Guild has begun. We are grateful for your words. When the Tianyuan Commerce Guild rises to power, we will welcome you with open hands. You will always be welcome. Ha ha ha. I will gladly have a friend like you. This is amazing. Lord Bailey's intentions were clear. This friendship is between us and not Tianyuan Commerce Guild. This means that I have personal connections for resources now. All of this is thanks to him. Domain of Fire I overused the Heaven's Flame Battle Array during the scurry on Qionghua Island, which affected the Domain of Fire. It is dormant once again. The martial artists here can only depend on their own strength to maintain what's left of the array, keeping its shape and order and using what's left of the thin chi around. When are you letting me out? 
When do you think? You have probably realized how absurd of an artifact the World God Monument is. If I were to release you now, trouble would always be at my doorstep. I would just become a massive target for the entirety of Tianwu at that point. I can swear on my life I won't reveal any of this to the outside world. And never in this life will I be enemies with you. Did you think I'd believe you and risk everything I have? Are you going to keep me here forever? You ain't no lass. What would I keep you for? When I've become a Nine Heavens Rome Marshal Sovereign, I'll let you out. A Marshal Sovereign, even if you do have the ability to become a Marshal Sovereign, when would you even be able to become one? Maybe I'll already be dead when you do. So, you should have prepared fully for the consequences of provoking me. But, Mount Meru's descent is fast approaching. Since anyone older than 50 cannot enter, I'll let you out for some fresh air. Aren't you afraid that I'll run? Ha ha. At least you're self-aware. Of course I am. That's why I'll be sealing your cultivation and capturing a piece of your soul. Three directions ghost I curse seal. What kind of power is this? Ugh. Arg. I've captured a part of your soul. Now I'll seal your cultivation. Three directions ghost I curse seal. You know this mark? If I didn't know, how could I grant you temporary unsealing? It's just that to break the seal completely, you need the blood of the person who cast it. This guy is in an even worse state than I was back then. He doesn't even seem to be a seven-star martial grandmaster. What? What did you do to me? The divine restriction of Mount Meru limits entry to individuals aged 50 or younger. Even within the World God Monument, I'm not sure if I can take you in. Now I will send all the people over 50 to Marshall Flame City, and you will manage them all. Huh? I asked you what you did to me. Go. What's going on? This is Marshall Flame City? Everyone, the situation is as follows. In short, the outside world is now a place where all sorts of people are mixed together and all the major forces of the entire southern region have infiltrated it. For your safety, I have reduced the Taishu Heavens Capital Array to a radius of one kilometer and it is open in both directions. Outsiders cannot enter and insiders cannot leave. This kid is clearly trying to trap everyone to prevent the secrets of the World God Monument from leaking out. Yet he can still speak so righteously. Inside World God Monument. There are still about 3,000 people left here, and they are all young. When Mount Meru opens, you will all go in with me. All the primordial stones from the auction should be enough to open the fire domain again. What is this? Liquid spiritual energy? Such rich spiritual energy. The array has regained its vitality. Wow. It's like a tangible entity now. It should be okay to sneak a little, right? Stay away, the temperature is going to rise. Phoenix True Fire Whoa! It is stronger than the flames before. The essence of fire. It's actually the essence of fire. This feeling is like simulating the creation of heaven and earth, the birth of the essence of fire, but there's still a long way to go. It seems to be evolving the rules of heaven and earth with the help of the array and the essence of fire. Could it be trying to open up a space on its own? Kid, quickly move my roots here. I want to absorb the essence of fire. Hey, stop, stop. What's with this daddy? I want to buy this attitude of yours. Do you know this array? I don't know, but I can guess. From the moment you brought me here, I realized that this independent space is not a refining artifact of this era. Rather, it is an ancient artifact that has been sealed away for countless ages. Look at this phoenix true fire and the vast amount of spiritual energy, plus this array in front of you, hmm. You want to open up the four domains of earth, water, fire, and wind, right? You know that too? It was a very popular thing in ancient times, and I haven't seen it in many years. Moreover, I've been around since the creation of heaven and earth, so what haven't I seen? I've experienced countless changes in the world. 
Do you think this is my first time being reborn from Nirvana? Let me tell you, this is the seventeenth time. As expected of a treasure of heaven and earth, existing in harmony with both the heavens and the earth. If I hadn't taken this trip to the Southern Sea, you would have been ruined by those low-level sea monsters. What are you bragging about? According to you, in ancient times, there were many powerful people who could open up this independent space. Were all the beings of that time ten ultimate realm martial deities? What do you think opening up a domain is? Refining an artifact? It's the real creation of heaven and earth, creating all things. There is no such thing as truly opening up a domain. There are many ten ultimate realm martial deities, but that's far from enough to open up a realm. What? If even the ten ultimate realm can't open up a space, then what kind of existence did this? The spiritual energy of heaven and earth back then was nothing like it is today. This kind of liquid spiritual energy was everywhere on the continent. At that time, there was a powerful person named Yuan Shir, who was also a mad and obsessed refiner. After countless years, he finally devised a way to simulate the creation of heaven and earth and create his own domain. That is what you are seeing now, opening up earth, water, fire, and wind. He used these four elements to simulate the entire environment of heaven and earth. After opening up a domain, it can evolve its own rules. It is truly the greatest achievement since ancient times. Since then, some of the most powerful experts in the Ten Ultimate Realm have also been able to follow suit, using this method to refine their own independent spaces. This independent space has endured the passage of countless years, truly an impressive existence. Perhaps during those years, it should have gained a reputation that shook the region. Moreover, this giant array can directly transform spiritual energy into the essence of fire. Coupled with your phoenix true fire as the array's core, it can fully recover. Otherwise, with your strength, wanting to reopen these four great domains is nothing short of a fool's dream. So, as long as there is enough spiritual energy, and a divine object transforms into the array's core, I can open the other three domains? Theoretically, yes. But where are you going to get so much spiritual energy? The liquid spiritual energy below looks spectacular, but can it be sustained for long? And where will you get a divine object of the same level as the Phoenix True Fire? Encountering something like that once in a lifetime is already a great blessing. H.M. I used to think that the entire Tianwu continent was in my grasp. Now I realize how small and narrow-minded I was. Since I have obtained both the Phoenix True Fire and the World God Monument, I believe there must be other divine objects waiting for me in this world. Wish you good luck. Oh, by the way, put me into this domain of fire. Let me absorb its essence so I can grow faster. Last time, you extracted my spirit power. Consider it a favor. Now pay me back. Fine. What's that? What you take, you must give back. H.M. Comfortable. I won't mind lending it to you again. Has Mount Meru opened? At this moment, above Flame Marshall City. This is the prelude to the opening of Mount Meru. The two spaces are merging, which will cause a great spatial tremor. There is no danger, so don't panic. Is LT going to start? Come on. Ha ha ha. What's going on? Mount Meru is about to open. Why hasn't young Master Yun come out yet? It seems to be a very strong restriction. Even I can't see through it. But Master Yun Chao is not a reckless person. I think he will come out soon. The magnificent scenery of Mount Meru is about to unfold. Is that Mount Meru? Why does it look so small? That's just the entrance, and it hasn't fully descended yet. Legends say that Mount Meru was an ancient dojo that belonged to a mighty warrior. The realm was then lost to a separate dimension, drifting in the void ever since. Yeah. Mount Meru seems to have a set course. It always descends every few decades to a few centuries. It is quite odd. It's starting. The entrance to Mount Meru appears to be in the sky, 
but in reality, it is unimaginably far away. Only by breaking through space and traversing the void can you reach Mount Meru. Elder Lu Kuen and Elder Zhang Gao, please. H.M. Inspect it. Yes, sir. What the? Sir, we've been hindered by a field. We can't go any further. The Nine Palaces Dustless Formation? Elders, what's going on? The Great Ean Core has been tampered with. What? Quit pulling our legs. That Great Ean Core serves as the main core of the Nine Palaces Dustless Formation. Both of you elders have been watching the formation the entire time, and now you're telling me it's been messed with? Don't joke around. Seems like that guy really did something. What? Who was it? Thing is, the Nine Palaces Dustless Formation's only purpose is just to maintain order here, to avoid and prevent any fights that may break out. What would be the point in taking control of the formation? Is it possible that someone who didn't get a slot crystal decided to cause a ruckus? Elders, what shall we do now? It's not a big deal if the formation is controlled. What matters more right now is how we should send the young disciples in. Now that everyone here, including us, is under the formation's restriction, none of us can utilize our full strength. How about we combine our strength and punch a tunnel into the void? Brother Fongda, you have a point. That's our only choice now. If we mess up anymore, none of U.S. can bear to face the consequences. Ha ha ha. I am Lu Ching Ching. I'll go ahead. You can take your time. You southern rust buckets, my true chi may be restricted. But the sword beneath my feet is a seventh tier bice bidding blade. It's strong enough to pierce through space. He can ignore the restrictions and just go through it. I haven't even made my appearance yet. Who allowed you to go in already? T this can't be because of him, right? If it really is him, we'll be in heaps of trouble. My bias binding blade can slash through entire mountains and oceans. See who can stop me, this young master. Let me pierce straight through you. You dare call yourself a young master in front of me? Triple A. Brothers, run for it. Scram back down. Ah. Is Li Yunchao the one meddling? Li Yunchao, are you the one doing this? Li Yunchao. It's a hundred percent Li Yunchao. He's insane, he really is. Now that he has done that, he has offended countless powerhouses across Tianwu. It's the Marshall Flame City Lord again? Damn it, I won't forget this. Do they think that holding up such a small formation can block off the passage into Mount Meru? Aya, a bit naive. The South really is a rundown slum. Just some random formation rendered you useless. Let me slice open a path for you then. Nine days of radiant rhyme. Heavenly wrathful blade. Yam Fanjo of the Silverwing sect and Shinao Bay of the Sky King Creed, how can I let you have all the spotlight? With my bonds to these Xian artifacts and special chakra contracts, how can I, Zheng Qiqing, lose to you? Those disciples from other regions are flamboyantly utilizing their secret techniques and resources as a show of arrogance. They're looking down on us southerners. Let's have another stomp. Bring down those arrogant fools to their deaths. Those three should hail from the eastern region. Those monkeys are getting cocky without a lion around. He, Brother Yu Ching, it seems like you are raring to go as well. Heh, forget it. We should save some dignity for these southern fighters. If we broke their formation, where would their last shred of dignity go? Ha ha, Brother Yu Ching, your sense of humor really is quite exquisite. Come on, if you're not the lion, who else would be? He, there are a few lions around here, but none of them seem to be interested in making a move. How about we wait and see what those three monkeys are doing first? It's not too late if they do get stopped these monkeys from other regions should all just die. They've broken through. Ha ha, piece of cake. H.M. What W what is going on? What are they doing? 
Why aren't they going in after breaking open the formation? Are they intending to show off? I really want to beat them down. Look. They actually started dancing. Damn it. They're just mocking and provoking us. Such arrogance from these younger generations, the three of you. If you have the strength to break through the formation's restrictions, please open up a path for us and let everyone else in. They're still dancing. Are they taunting us? Why does something feel off? We'd look past the dancing, but why are their dances getting more suspicious? No way. What are they doing? Is the eastern region really that open? Go harder. We paid money. Faster. Who would want such slow action? Eh? Aren't they mocking us? Those three individuals relied on integrating their consciousness with high-tier Xi'an artifacts to break the restrictions of the Nine Pillars Dustless Formation. Now that the Xi'an artifacts have fallen, it proves that the three people in the sky must be having a serious problem. What is Li Yunchao doing? Not to mention offending the many forces in the southern region, but now even the people from the other three regions are offended. Does he want to become the enemy of the entire Tianwu? Brother Su Ching, didn't you say you would take action if something happened to those three monkeys just now? It's up to you now. Um, those three experts are a hundred times stronger than me. If I go, I'll just be mere cannon fodder. Forget it. Everyone. To prevent you from getting impatient, I specially arranged for these three people to dance and alleviate your boredom. However, I didn't expect them to dance in such a dirty way. It's simply vulgar and corrupting, damaging one's principles and worldview. The eastern region is truly a magical land. How do you like it? Are you satisfied with what you see? As expected. Is it him? Marshal Flame City Lord. Li Yunxiao. You three worked hard. You can roll away now. Li Yunxiao, it's really you. Do you know you're causing a huge disaster like this? Elder Fong, it's okay. Calm down, I'm just playing with these juniors. A kid in his teens dares to call others juniors. Everyone below the bridge, I've been a bit tight on funds lately and want to earn some primordial stones to spend. This bridge is privately owned by me, guaranteed to be safe, and there will be no such situation as with the three people just now. If anyone wants to pass through my bridge, just pay some primordial stones. It's not much. Just five million middle-tier primordial stones per person, guaranteeing your safe entry into Mount Meru. What? Again? You're too ruthless. From entering the city until now, how much dirty money have you earned? And now you still want a fee? I bought slot crystals from you here. Why do I still have to pay? Slot crystals are none of my business. Those things are jointly issued by the three major forces in the southern region. If you want to redeem it, go find them. I'm just the small Marshal Flame City Lord. How can I be responsible for your slot crystals? Those who want to go in, line up properly. Time waits for no one, and Mount Meru might close at any time. Five million middle-tier primordial stones per person. By doing this, you have not only offended the entire southern region, but also offended the major regions of the entire Tianwu. When the time comes, even if you escape to the ends of the earth, even your bones will not be spared. Do you think these rookies represent all the forces in Tianwu? Don't make me laugh. May I dare ask, gentlemen, to which sect or faction do you belong? The War Wolf Temple of the Heaven Sent Empire, equivalent to Emotion Severing Mountain and the Heavenly Jewel Gate in your country. I'm advising you to, okay, I understand. All disciples of the War Wolf Temple of the Heaven Sent Empire must pay an entrance fee of 10 million middle tier primordial stones, and those who waste words will have their primordial stones doubled. You little brat are looking for death. Such a retarded old man even knowing that there is a formation blocking. You still dare to attack me on my territory? Ugh. Ugh. Considering your efforts in maintaining order in Marshall Flame City these days, I'll spare you. Oh God, this kid is really crazy. 
I guess the War Wolf Temple will soon mobilize its forces and completely wipe out Marshall Flame City. More than just crazy, his actions are equivalent to dragging Marshall Flame City into an irreversible disaster. Shu, keep your voice down. What does it have to do with you? Quickly pay up and start cultivating. After coming out, leave immediately and don't get involved. When immortals fight, mortals suffer. He he he, who do you think I am? Who am I? The military breaker martial sovereign. The reincarnation of Gu Fei Yang. Even if it's the Four Seas Royal Family or the Holy Region Divine Capital, FLL still make a big fuss. Who am I afraid of? In this life, I'll be even more spectacular and arrogant than Gu Fei Yang. Five million middle tier. You can go up now. Finally, someone's going in. Let's not wait any longer. It's taking too long. Let's go. Who knows what might happen if we wait any longer? Yes. I don't care anymore. Right, we've made it this far. Let's pitch in five million each and get going. What's going on? This is, damn it, ah, uh, being able to enter Mount Meru is better than anything else. You, stop. You need to pay 20 million. Why do I have to pay an extra fee? He, no reason. This is my private bridge. I can take as much as I want if you have the money. Pay up. If not, leave and don't delay the friends behind you. You are bullying me. Today, you'll face your demise. Consider it a lesson for that wicked woman Ding Linger. I will pay on her behalf. Here you come. Your martial arts look sharper than ever. Lord Yun, you are embarrassing me. Lang Quan, I don't need your help. Your condensing pill is worth more than 30 million. Save it for your own life in Mount Meru. It's the martial condensing pill. This girl is really something. Lang Quan, what are you showing off for? Anyone down there who can afford it? Bridge closes if there's none. I say, Brother Su Ching, it seems like that girl, Shui Luoyin, scared that kid away. Do you know what that girl took out just now? It's the Marshall Condensing Pill. What? Isn't a Marshall Condensing Pill created by powerful martial artists who condense their own attacks into a pill that can be given to juniors for self-defense? It's priceless. What a rich girl, throwing around attacks worth more than the fee. You just realized? Let me tell you, that girl is the strongest among the newcomers of the Manduo Commerce Guild. How can one of the seven major business alliances go broke? He, she looks quite lively. Brother Su Ching, do you have any interest? If not, just let her be mine. Ha ha, Brother Yen Yi, you are indeed a romantic lad. If you have the capability, go ahead and pick her. But be sure not to end up with a handful of thorns, ha ha. It seems like Li Yunxiao is not as tough as we thought. How about we team up and take him down? Consider it. Here you go, sir. This is my five million. Here's mine. All right, go. All right, great. Is there anyone else who wants to go in? If none, I'll close the suspension bridge. He he he, a bunch of paupers. If you don't have money, just wait for next time. Who knows, maybe a few hundred years later, you'll be able to afford it, forget it. No need to be harsh. We're all on the same continent after all. Now it's discount time. As long as you pay three million middle tier primordial stones, you can also go in. You can also hand over something valuable instead. Surely you can come up with something? W what? Yes, I have it here. Quick. Hurry and go up. Young Master Yun, the best. Young Master Yun is mighty. This damned Li Yunchao, is he trying to extort everyone completely? Okay, the last batch. Pay one million and you can go in. If you can't afford this little amount, then I have nothing to say. He scared the hell out of me. I thought I really didn't have a chance. Ha ha. Thank you, Young Master Yun. Thank you, young Master Yun. All right, all right, go. 
Big Brother, City Lord Big Brother. In order to get primordial stones, I sold everything. Please let me in. I swear, I'll repay the money I owe you. Big Brother, these are eggs from my hometown, how about you take some? A pauper who can't even come up with a million middle-tier primordial stones dares to come to Mount Meru? Get in all of you. But if you're still this poor next time, I'll kill every last one of you. Ah? Uh, what? No need to pay? Thank you, City Lord, for your mercy. City Lord's great kindness will be forever etched in our hearts. So, it turns out this kid isn't trying to bankrupt people. He wants to extort everyone at once. How many primordial stones has he earned now? Let's go in. Brother, I have no money. He he. For beauty, if you're broke, your body is enough. Entering Mount Meru in pairs. Too arrogant. This matter must be reported immediately. We need to urge the major sex to send their top disciples to Marshall Flame City and raise it to the ground. When the entrance to Mount Meru closes, we'll capture that guy, Li Yunxiao, and slice him into a thousand pieces. Don't you think that's a bit extreme? After all, didn't everyone get in? He doesn't seem to have harmed anyone, has he? He didn't harm anyone? Have you counted how many primordial stones he extorted? What he extorted today, along with his previous gains and the auction earnings, is almost equivalent to the entire foundation of one of our major sects. So what? It's his capability. Do it yourself if you have the guts. You. All right, everyone calm down. Luckily, that kid had some sense and didn't cause any major trouble. This whole thing is our fault for letting him exploit our mistake. But this joke has gone too far. This matter must be punished severely. Otherwise, what will become of the face and prestige of our southern region sex? I suggest we wait until Mount Meru closes and then capture Li Yunxiao and punish him accordingly. I agree. I second that. I'm in. I'm on board. All right. Precisely. That way, we don't need to hurt any other innocent people in Marshall Flame City. Exactly. Sigh. Looks like the passage teleports everyone randomly. I wonder where Ding Linger was sent. Somewhere on Mount Meru. H.M. So this is how Mount Meru smells like? The only age-restricted paradise in Tianwu. Although it opened in my previous life, I couldn't enter. I didn't expect that I would make up for that regret in this life. Such pure spiritual energy. It's not just denser, it seems to contain something else. It feels very similar to the energy in the World God Monument. Could it be that Mount Meru was truly created by an ancient powerhouse and later lost in the chaotic flows of space? No matter, time is extremely precious. I need to absorb as much of this spiritual energy as possible. Find the densest spot. Universal Detect Net. There's only one person running around in this entire forest? With over 10,000 people coming in, there's only one person within a thousand miles? Mount Meru is indeed larger than I imagined. That valley to the east seems to have liquefied spiritual energy deposits. Let's go there. Concentrated spiritual energy. If this place were in the Tianwu continent, it would be a spiritual mountain treasure land that all the superpowers would fight over. Gotta absorb as much as I can. Inside the World God Monument Fire Domain. Holy crap. It's raining spiritual energy. Time to put away the laundry. According to past records, Mount Meru always closes after about three months. Everyone inside will be automatically teleported out, and the entrance will vanish from Tianwu. In three months, I wonder how much the World God Monument can recover. Have we already entered Mount Meru? I want to go out. Teacher Yunshang, you have already reached the Martial King Realm. It's dangerous outside, so it's better to stay in the World God Monument. The spiritual energy in the Fire Domain is even more intense than outside. I'm not afraid with you by my side. Ah, uh, will you let me out or not? Okay, okay. What a beautiful world. 
Mount Meru is one of the four great mystic realms in Tianwu. It is dangerous and unpredictable here, even for me. We have to be careful. The World God Monument also needs to be hidden somehow. I think you should stay in one place and practice hard, waiting to be automatically teleported out. I have my own judgment, I don't need you to teach me. The way Luo Yuncheng looks in front of me is becoming more and more like a little girl. This is not a good sign, come with me. What happened? Someone is approaching. We can't stay here, we can't afford to expose the World God Monument. Here. Someone is coming. Whoa. This person came running from at least several thousand miles away. Li Yunxiao's universal detect must be really powerful. Brother and sister ahead, save me. Save my life, and I'll surely repay you generously. Our hiding place has been shielded by Li Yunxiao's universal detect. Unless his detection abilities are much stronger, there's no way we would be discovered. What kind of monsters are the people who come here? I know you are there, don't hide. Something powerful is behind me, let's work together to get rid of it. Not only will the benefits be yours, but there will also be a generous reward after you leave the mountain. All right. No need to hide great. I am saved. A martial king and a martial lord? It turned out that both of you were so low in cultivation. That kind of trash cultivation isn't even enough for a cannon fodder. You, you are Li Yunxiao. Call me Young Master Yun. Great. This time I finally met a savior. I am Josie Yuan from Plum Blossom Island in the northern region. Today I forgot to look at the almanac. I met such a monster as soon as I entered Mount Meru. If it weren't for me having some skills, I would have been eaten by that monster a long time ago. Although Brother Lee only has the cultivation of a six-star martial lord, it can be seen that his combat power is not inferior to mine as a martial grandmaster. Why don't you and I work together to take down that monster? Don't touch me. That monster can hide its form. I still haven't seen what it looks like. I've only been chased and beaten by it. You can see through even my universal detect shielding. How could you not see the form of that thing? I used this heavenly mirror to observe within a radius of a thousand miles and only found the figures of the two of you. However, it is strange, just now there was only one person. How did an extra person suddenly appear? The heavenly mirror will never go wrong. Right. You must have just come in from Marshall Flame City, right? That's the only explanation. Although Plum Blossom Island is not a major sect, it has the Heavenly Mirror, a famous ninth tier Xi'an artifact, as treasure. The thing in your hand is just a shoddy knockoff made by a seventh tier refiner you. How did you figure that out? This is not a knockoff. It's, it's called the Small Heavenly Mirror. However small, that knockoff is still considered valuable that monster is coming. Be careful. Don't go over. Josie Yuan is a martial grandmaster, and even he can't handle this. Don't worry, what's a martial grandmaster compared to me? I will be fine. I can't see the attack at all. It seems there's an object constantly shuttling through the forest, causing a powerful attack that almost cuts through the air. I think it's difficult to dodge even one of these attacks. At this moment, there are at least 10 attacks constantly shuttling around him, and the number is increasing. Are you watching a show or something? Hurry up and help. All right. Going in. Small heavenly mirror. Trying to flee? Yes, I froze them. Ha ha. Let's go. I caught one. Ho ho ho, I need to see what kind of creature would dare to attack me. It's safe to assume that Li Yunxiao has tens of billions of middle-tier primordial stones on him. That amount of money is enough to sustain my entire life. Li Yunxiao may have countless tricks up his sleeve, but even a martial emperor can't move much under the effects of the small heavenly mirror, much less a martial lord like him. As for that hot lady over there, I can just finish her off in a jiffy, godly evolution capture art. 
Cut. Who told you to improvise? Damn it. How are you still so nimble under the effects of the small heavenly mirror? The heavenly mirror is said to be able to trap everything in its space. Really though, it just utilizes the rules of the world and only locks a single part in space. That thing's fine, right? Your fake artifact is only 7th tier. There is no way it would be able to lock any space. At most, it can only borrow power from those rules and trap the enemy. Once you understand the power used in that, you can easily break free from that space. I was lucky I had not done anything yet, or my downfall would have been unimaginably painful, HM. Why are you sweating so much? You aren't planning anything against me, right? I saw your mischievous face for a bit there. Eh? What? Nah, no way. Of course not. We're both on the same side here. You rescued me, why would I repay you by backstabbing? Why would I be interested in that mysterious capturing technique and your primordial stones? He he he. Alright, those things are gone. You can go away. Huh? Lim, young Master Yun, what is that thing? Can I have a look? Sure. Five million middle tiers for a peak. Goodbye. Yun Chao, he was definitely up to something. Why did you decide to stand by? A grasshopper can't touch the sky. Li Yun Chao's battle strength is not something I can estimate or predict anymore. He really is his disciple. Yun Chao, what is that thing? It seems pretty strong. It is something good. It is a green bantam demon, a rare demon beast. This thing isn't that tough, but its speed is unimaginable. If it evolves into a seventh tier, it can break apart space. I'll gift it to you. It's a fun little guy. So cute. Your current cultivation level isn't enough to tame it yet, so let me siphon out a piece of its soul. Now it'll be a good boy and listen to you. You now have its soul etched on you. It won't dare to disobey you. Aha. It doesn't seem that angry anymore, thank you, Yun Chao. Ago. Oh? It's smaller. I thought the map the Thunderwind Commerce Guild gave would cover quite a bit of Mount Meru. You're so chilly, but it's just a tiny corner. Where am I supposed to find it? Mount Meru is way bigger than I thought. I'll have to go explore. Teacher Luo, are you gonna stay here to train? I can break through later. I want to explore as well. I might as well, since this is the only time I'll be able to come here. Sure thing. We've flown for quite a while. Only now have we managed to sense some people down below. There's also a Nkrot. What's happening? Ah, uh, it's a rock beast. A rock beast is typically a sixth tier demon beast. That one though, is larger than your average one by three to four times, and it seems fiercer too. Those people are all martial grandmasters, but they can only defend themselves. A rock beast has an extremely valuable heart, also known as magmatic heart. It's a uniquely valuable earth-based treasure. That rock beast's magmatic heart must be even more valuable, considering its size and strength. Hey, brother. Come and help us kill this rock beast. We'll split the profits. We're just a martial king and martial lord. There's no point in us going down there, what? Damn it. Martial lord, really? How did such trash enter Mount Meru? It must be those trash sects from the southern region. Taking up so many slot crystals with such strength was such a waste. You better watch that mouth. I'll kill you right here and now. You outsiders always look down on us, huh? Show us then, now. Splat. Darn it. It's gonna blow. Run. The entire forest has turned to stone. This is bad. It has swallowed enough martial grandmasters to evolve. Are there just five of us left? What shall we do? The rock beast seems to be evolving. The chi it's giving off makes me quite uncomfortable. What? Are you gonna give up? You know how valuable a magmatic heart is, right? 
Such a large rock beast would yield everyone here hundreds of millions of primordial stones if we managed to take it down. Taking it down isn't that difficult. What's holding us back is that none of us are using our full strength. If no one does, how can we even fight it? Ahem, this is quite a problem. Since we're allies now, we should be honest too. Everyone here should be the brightest of your respective sections. The strength displayed here shouldn't be your all, right? Right. If the five of us can't truly team up, the treasure before us will be gone forever. All right. Let's take its life before it can go on a rampage. Hold on. The changes in this rock beast seem suspicious. Let's not act too rashly. I suggest we investigate first. Investigate? Who's gonna do that? Everyone, look we have our investigator right up there. They've observed us for long enough. Time for them to work too. Hey, come down here. Go and see what's up with that rock beast. Time to become a guinea pig? Hey, come down here. Go have a look at that stupid rock beast. Brothers, I'm just a martial lord. Going down there would be like a guaranteed death sentence. What are you scared of? With five of us here, you won't die that easily even if you wanted to. It's not like we want you to tame it. You just need to figure out what's up with it. You don't have the means to go against it anyway. No, I won't. So please, you should go investigate it yourselves what? Do you want to die? Do you think a martial lord like yourself is fit to bargain with us? I'm the one who rejects people back in the eastern region. Never has anyone else rejected me. Ha! There are two of you. Go down and check on it immediately, or L, or what? You're. A seventh tier demon beast. Those five won't stand a chance even if they team up now. Get, get away. Everyone hold on. We need to stop it together. Have you already forgotten our words? He's right. Let's attack it together. We'll fight this beast until we die. Devil Spear. Primordial Phantom Palm. Scorching Sun Emperor's Grasp. Where's the other guy? You Southern Rat. We'll tear you into a thousand pieces. Brothers, wait up. That rock beast is way too fast. We should run together so we have a chance of facing it. Don't wait for him. If we slow down, the rock beast will catch up to us. All of us will die. Do you want to die, you get? You went even faster when I asked for you to wait for me. Who can run faster than you? I'm talking to you. Are you deaf? I told you to, four-star martial grandmaster. Three-star martial grandmaster. Target swap technique. Ah. You Li Yunxiao? See city lord Yunxiao, I, I wasn't talking about you, B but. But I was talking about her. Red-haired lady, I've tolerated you long enough. Come here. She is my teacher. Ahem. Triple A. Brother, Li Yunxiao may seem strong, but he can be taken down easily if both of us team up. Then we can take control of this battleship. That rock beast will catch up sooner or later. When the rock beast catches up, we'll throw these two out to slow it down. Then we can conserve our energy on the ship so that we can escape. City Lord Yunxiao, this git just secretly used sound transmission to send me a message. He wanted me to team up with him to take you down as fodder for the rock beast. That's low. You really are fucking low. How did some martial lord scare you this much? Martial Flame City merely used formations to flaunt their temporary strength. Now that he's inside Mount Meru, he's nothing. What are you scared of? What do you outsiders know? Young Master Yun, I'm on your side. Since you're surrendering to me, you should show some sincerity. Now go and toss him out to the rock beast. I can forgive you for your disrespect from earlier. City Lord Yunxiao, his cultivation is at least one star higher than me. I can't beat him. Relax, I'm here. What are you afraid of? 
Well, Li Yunqiao's expression, if I don't do anything now, I'm gonna be in trouble. I'm a martial grandmaster. Why would I be afraid of you? Go to hell. I'm not done with you. Li Yunqiao in front. Can't beat him. Rock Beast behind can't beat it. Everything spells death. A green wolf battleship can't flee from the Rock Beast fast enough. Li Yunqiao will surely throw me out later. Lord Yunqiao, please don't throw me out. You are lord of a city. Please keep your word and don't leave me to die. I'm a disciple of the heavenly jewel gate. I'll pay you back greatly if you save me. What's your name? I'm Wang Chang. Wang Chang? Isn't the sect master of the heavenly jewel gate called Wang Songha? That's my father. Oh? I couldn't tell. You kept everything to yourself, huh? Seems like you have a decent background. You must be pretty rich. No, no, there's hope. Lord Yunchao, what array are you setting up now? Is it to boost the battleship? No, it's a short distance spatial transportation array. It can transport us somewhere about 20 kilometers from here, away from the rock beast. You have something like that? Great. I don't have to die anymore. I'm not taking you with me. Find a way to escape yourself. Lord Yunchao, I, since we're both from the south. Fine, stop talking. Just tell me how much money you have. Let's see if you're worth taking. I'll give you everything I have. Huh? You're the main disciple of the heavenly jewel gate. This isn't enough at all. How about this? Write up an IOU. Once we get out of Mount Meru, I'll head to heavenly jewel gate to claim it. Okay, all right. Oh, one billion middle tier primordial stones? Extortion in broad daylight. Hee hee, don't look down on yourself. You are worth this much. Once we get out, I'll just hide back in the heavenly jewel gate. If he wants the money, he can go get it himself. I can't believe you would really ask the heavenly jewel gate for money. H.M. Good. Stand inside the array. That has six leaves. The seven constellations Rome cultivation essence is almost ripe. An unavoidable battle will most definitely ensue. I just hope the cultivation essence won't be damaged. I suggest that each forest should think of and put forth a peaceful solution. Otherwise, no one will come out unscathed. Northern Region H star Marshal Grandmaster CUISI. There is only one cultivation essence, and everyone here wants it. Do tell me of a peaceful solution if you can think of any. Whatever the case, I'm not giving it up. Northern Region H star Marshal Grandmaster Shui K. The seven constellations Rome cultivation essence matures by absorbing the essence of the land around it. It contains the complete understanding of the seven constellations realm. If one ingests it, they will have no difficulty in breaking through to become a martial emperor. Furthermore, it allows them to cultivate much more easily and much quicker until they become a nine-star martial emperor. This unthinkable treasure is the most sought after by genius disciples across Tianwu or in the Six Directions realm. Those who aren't martial grandmasters, leave. Stay 500 kilometers away from here, or your lives are forfeit. Agreed. If you aren't a martial grandmaster, there's no point in jesting the cultivation essence anyway. Plus, if things do escalate, you might as well be fodder. I suggest that you think things through. The Seven Constellations Rome Cultivation Essence isn't meant for trash who aren't even martial grandmasters. So what if we're only martial kings? I found the Seven Constellations Rome Cultivation Essence first. Why shouldn't I get a part of it after all that? Everyone here is a martial grandmaster, except for those hailing from the south, of course. This is your final warning. Trash from the southern region, get lost. Damn them. I'm already pissed off at those southerners. Me too. You don't know how much I did to form connections just to get over here. In the end, that stupid Li Yunchao just clawed us out of our fortune. 
you atrocious bastards. If it weren't for us Southerners, you wouldn't even have had a chance of entering Mount Meru. At first, all of you were begging on your knees just for a slot crystal. Now you're turning your backs on us. Humph, trash really stinks. C-U-I-S-I, create a barrier, while the rest protect the cultivation essence. It's time to do some sweeping. This bastard is really looking down on us by going against all of us by himself. Eight Desolation Transcendent Blast. Ah. Ack. Ugh. Hey, hey. What do you think you're doing, using hidden techniques to cover the cultivation essence? You're being selfish here. Selfish? Don't make me laugh. You had an eye on it, yet you didn't spare any effort to protect it. Do you think you're qualified to judge me? You swine. Sky splitting halberd. Ho. Someone's tenacious. He could have fled, but he chose to court death instead. Burst. Humph, the southern region really is a filthy, squalid slum. A couple of them were martial kings and grandmasters, but they were using fourth tier Xian weapons. Haha, -ha, if they had at least fifth tier Xian weapons, you wouldn't have had such an easy time dealing with them, Brother Shueke. Your luck is something else, though, Brother Ching Ching. You managed to acquire the seventh tier Bice Bidding Blade. I'm quite jealous, to be honest. Humph, oh no. HM. My barrier. Someone's attacking it. What? The pressure emanating from that Xian weapon is that of a seventh tiers. Moreover, the wielder of that weapon managed to break my barrier in one move. Their cultivation is at least equal, if not, higher than mine. That's the purple penumbra blade. He's here too. Oh, it's Brother Ching Ching, the one who got booted by Li Yunchao. It's not just Brother Ching Ching, the three professional dancers are also here. This is such a coincidence, haha. <laughs> Northern Region 9 Star Marshal Grandmaster Jean Fan. Oh, it's Jean Fan of the North Jean family and Josie Yuan of Plum Blossom Island. Now we have to face two more tough opponents. It's going to be even more troublesome to try to get the cultivation essence. Brother Jean Fan told you I was right. There really is treasure here. My heavenly mirror can see everything within a 50 kilometer radius and nothing within its view can escape my sight. Brother Zuyuan, your heavenly mirror lives up to its reputation. It's an actual seven constellations realm cultivation essence. Mount Meru really is a mystic realm. Such natural treasure is just growing here. It's a shame that there's only one cultivation essence bud, but there are so many martial artists here. He, he there are even more people nearing here as well. It seems they've sensed the seven constellations realm cultivation essence is chi. The weaklings can't do anything to us, whereas the stronger people will easily decimate us. Just create some regular barrier to stop all we can. The situation is escalating so much, it's complicated. Surely a bloodbath is going to happen. More people seeking death. There's three of them, a martial grandmaster, a martial king, and a martial lord. Haha, -ha, that's such a funny combo of people to have. Hold up, martial lord. Haha, -ha, a martial lord managed to get into Mount Meru? Which force dared to send them out? Did they have too much money or were they just out of disciples? Sending a martial lord in here is just a death sentence. Ha ha ha. This must be another disciple of some trash southern family. Ignore them. Let's discuss how we should ah. The seven constellations Rome cultivation essence. Oh, it's an actual seven constellations Rome cultivation essence. Not bad, not bad. Ingesting this will bring a lot of benefits. I'm surprised no one wanted this valuable treasure. I've struck gold here. Let's go. You bastards. Come back here. Coward. Return the seven constellations Rome cultivation essence. That green thing and that voice, it's him. Meeting again so soon. Don't let them escape. We've got to take these guys down. 
daring to steal the seven constellations Rome cultivation essence in front of everyone. Even if this Li Yunxiao guy has extraordinary abilities, he is seeking his own death by doing this. How can something so unbelievably powerful exist? Th. This. Yunxiao, the powerful auras behind us, don't worry, all we need to do is flee at full speed. Lord Yunxiao, the direction we're heading in, you don't mean, that's right. The eight martial grandmasters. There are some peak nine stars among them. I wonder if they can kill that rock beast. There they are. With a rock beast in front of us and so many martial grandmasters behind us, can we even survive? Did you forget how we managed to get away just now? Ready, Teacher Luo? Yes, I'm ready. I almost died from that last stunt, and you want to do it again? He did it on purpose. He isn't up to anything good. Damn it. How can that green wolf battleship move so fast? Huh? We're catching up now. We must tear them to shreds. The heavenly mirror is reacting. Everyone, be careful. There is a powerful demon beast ahead. With so many of us, there's no need to worry. Perfect. Let's flank the green wolf battleship using that beast. Brother Wang Chang, it's about time. Triple A. I'll count down from three to one. Wag. Three. My god. What kind of demon beast is that? It's so huge. Damn it. It can't be a martial emperor level demon beast, right? 2. For the sake of the seven constellations Rome cultivation essence, let's take the risk. That demon beast is so huge that it must be lacking in agility. Everyone, let's surround it and take it down. The green wolf battleship is about to crash into the demon beast. Let's wipe them all at once. 1. Triple A. Huh. Brothers. Spread out. Those three people got miles away in that flash of light. Come with me, everyone. The one who took the seven constellations Rome cultivation essence is the city lord of Marshall Flame City, Li Yunxiao. What? It's that bastard. Li Yunxiao, I will never forgive you. This rock beast has set its sights on Li Yunxiao too. It's way too risky to go chasing after him now. Ah. Damn it. Run for your lives. Ah. It's gonna crush us. Who said it was slow? If you wanna live, run with everything you've got. Ah. It's catching up. It's catching up. It's catching up. Shut up and run faster. Those guys have no guts. They ran away without even a fight. How's this going to end well? Fine, I'll give them a hand. This dude made me throw up my entire family's resources. Huh? I can't recognize those symbols, but how the heck is Li Yunxiao floating in midair when he's just a martial lord? Let's use these broken Xi'an artifacts together to set up a formation core. Luckily, I have a habit of collecting other people's stuff. Now, let's just wait till they catch up this. It's an invisibility formation. A damn trap. There. Li Yunxiao is ahead. Charge. This feeling. Why did those guys stop? If they don't snap out of it, the rock beast will take their lives the moment it arrives. Release. Gasp. What just happened? Li Yunxiao. Golden light treasure wheel, power of the four directions. Ah. Collapse. Ugh. Quick, dodge. What happened? It got trapped in some kind of formation. Is this also Li Yunxiao's doing? What are you staring at? If we don't act now, we'll be toast by the time the Xi'an artifacts in my formation are shattered. Li Yunxiao, even if I have to die, I will take your life first. Why are you stopping me? Put aside any grudges you have. Right now, everyone must join forces to kill this stone beast, or else none of us will survive. If you kill me, the formation will instantly break. 
Find your own way to deal with this stone beast. Li Yunxiao's formation has tremendous power, and it has already suppressed the stone beast within it. If we cooperate with this formation, there is still hope for us, with so many martial ancestors working together. Otherwise, even if we keep fleeing, we will inevitably meet our demise. Enough. Whoever lets us down at this critical moment, I'll be the first one to kill them. Attack. It's effective. Kill. The formation won't hold for much longer. Give it all you've got. Dragon Seal, Heavenly Soul. Purple Shadow, Breaking the Void. Green Cord, Wind Control. Blade Fire, Sky Incineration. Green Snake, Breaking the Waves. We did it. Look. It's actually the King of Stone Beasts. Everyone, attack that red stone. That red stone must be the heart of the stone beast. Lu Jing Cheng, Green Cord Sword. All right. Green Cord. Purple Shadow. Dual Swords Combined. Purple Shadow and Green Cord are originally one sword, known as the famous Purple Shadow Green Cord Sword from the Western region. It belonged to the Martial Emperor. After the disappearance of the sword intense sect created by the Martial Emperor, this sword was shattered in the hands of disciples fighting over it, splitting into two seventh rank swords, Purple Shadow and Green Cord. Truly an excellent sword. Oh no. It seems to be regenerating. What are you two waiting for? Give it a fatal blow now. The fusion of the Purple Shadow and Green Cord swords seems to be facing tremendous resistance. I'm afraid it won't hold much longer. Useless. It's because your cultivation is several levels lower than mine that you can't control it properly. Golden Light Wheel, Power of the Four Directions. Incredible. What? It has achieved perfect fusion. Who is controlling it? Ugh. Could it be? It's this person again. Everyone, be cautious. Yun Xiao. Stand behind me. Teacher Luo Yun Chang, you're so brave thinking about protecting your students even at a time like this. Shut up. I already feel quite powerless myself. Ah Yun Chao, are you okay? Fortunately, my invincible body can absorb and heal from injuries. I'm fine. But, don't worry, I'll go check on that stone heart. Stop struggling. I won't kill you, be my servant. You've already tried that before. This mirror can't contain me at all. Hand over the seven constellations Dao Fruit and the Stone Heart, and I'll spare your life. Everyone was fighting for their lives just now. Where did you run off to, kid? Damn it. Didn't I tell you to hand over the Stone Heart? Who told you to put it away? If you had your mirror to stabilize this space, the final explosion of the Stone Beast would have been greatly reduced. Look at the mess we're in now, with people dead and injured, and you're completely unharmed. Stop talking nonsense. I'm just more agile, that's why I suffered fewer injuries. Why are you talking so much? Quickly put down the seven constellations Dao fruit and leave. Otherwise, believe me, I'll really take your life. Just based on you? You can try to make a move. You, you, you don't have the heart of a true warrior, so how can you fight against me? If this person can't fight against you, then what about me? I really don't want to be enemies with you. You give off a dangerously strong impression. However, the seven constellations Dao fruit is worth the risk for me to try. Yun Xiao, don't worry about me. It's all my fault for burdening you. Don't give this person the seven constellations Dao fruit. Seek revenge for me. Damn it. If it falls into my hands, your life and death will no longer be in your control. Ugh. Now let her go. 
I can spare your life. I know you have a technique for mental attacks, but I was prepared for it. Between the seven constellations Dao Fruit and this woman, which one will you choose? Is he behind this again? What's going on? Wow. Yun Xiao. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. How strange. Where are they? Why is there no trace of them after they entered? There's no sign of Wang Chang and Teacher Luo. The others should have fallen down too, but why can't I sense anyone? With their abilities, is it possible for them to break through the stone wall and escape? And all this happened without me noticing. Not only people, even plants and rocks didn't fall down with me. I have been transported to another space. Surprisingly, there is a passage here. This passage is made of unknown materials and shows obvious signs of excavation. Sumeru Mountain, one of the four great immortal realms of the Tian Wu realm, the only one restricted by age for entry. For tens of thousands of years, there have been no exceptions. But this passage proves one thing. That is, there must have been someone who stayed in this Sumeru Mountain for a long time. This discovery is truly shocking. There is no trace of Luo Yunshang's aura here. It must have already entered. These are all formation symbols, and there are various tadpole-like characters mixed in. It can be confirmed that this is a passage left from ancient times. It seems that Sumeru Mountain is indeed not something that originated naturally. It is at least related to those mighty figures from ancient times. Surprisingly, there are still rules left in these writings. If there is the power of rules on one of these characters, then the entire passage. Why not give it a try? A teleportation formation? First, summon the boundary god Steel to ensure my safety. Hmm. This passage has actually severed the connection between me and the boundary god Steel. I can't even recognize this formation. Without the boundary god Steel, with my current strength, I can only be at the mercy of others in this place. Forget it, finding Teacher Luo as soon as possible is crucial. Where am I? There is nothingness all around. Since I have been deliberately transported here, it shouldn't be harmful to me. Let's proceed with a brave face. What kind of power is flowing into my Dantian? This feeling is similar to the aura emitted by the Great Diffusion Divine Technique and the Great Boundary Divine Technique. It's so powerful and domineering. Most likely, it's not something bad. I'll figure it out slowly once I get out of this cursed place. Wow, with every step I take, power flows into me. Huh? I actually broke through? With my current physical condition, it's impossible to advance without an enormous amount of vitality. But now, under this strange power, I effortlessly made a breakthrough. I broke through to the first star with just a dozen steps. Are there at least several hundred more steps? Do I have to directly advance to the martial ancestor or martial emperor? If there is such a method of promotion, wouldn't the countless martial arts practitioners in the world be envious to the point of vomiting blood? Wow, I'm already an eight-star martial lord? Happiness came suddenly. And I'm a bit overwhelmed. Entering the realm of martial king. Am I already a martial king? What is this power exactly? Why can't I utilize it above my Dantian? Well, I'll study it slowly in the future. These writings must contain crucial information. Perhaps... Just like in that passage, if I imprint the same character, let's see what happens. This situation is similar to the Great Diffusion Divine Technique and the Great Boundary Divine Technique. It seems to be an extremely powerful divine technique. This small sword is made of an unknown material. It can actually block my divine consciousness from probing. This is not an ordinary artifact. To be kept with such caution, it must be extraordinary. Oh my goodness. Voices. It's still Sumeru Mountain outside. According to legend, at the heart of Sumeru Mountain, there is a magnificent grand palace that reaches the sky, called the Sumeru Divine Palace. 
It holds boundless benefits, and if one can obtain even a fraction of them, the path of cultivation in the future will be smooth, without any obstacles. This legend has been circulating among the major sects, but few can confirm it. Before the opening of Sumeru Mountain this time, this matter spread like wildfire, and almost all forces had anticipation for that divine palace. Most of the people who can enter Sumeru Mountain carry maps drawn by martial artists from previous generations, obtained through various means. The legendary palace has actually been found. Ha ha ha. Sumeru Divine Palace. I unexpectedly stumbled upon it. Where is Li Yun Xiao? Why don't? See him. Even the mirror can't find him. Could he have died in the passage just now? That beast. If I encounter him, I must slaughter him. Yun Xiao, he definitely won't die. But if it weren't for me being such a burden, how could it have turned out like this? Anyway, now that we've found the Divine Palace and Sumeru Mountain, we're truly fortunate. The treasures inside are of unimaginable value, surpassing even the seven constellations dad fruit. This is a great stroke of luck. You're right. This girl has become a complete burden now. But I dare not kill her, nor can I let her go. I'm afraid Li Yun Chao isn't dead. Damn it. Damn it. No matter what, we can't break through. Put more effort into it. This is the Sumeru Divine Palace. Why, aren't they going in? They must be unable to break in forcefully, so these people have to cultivate in this sea of vitality. Lu Yunshang? Who are you? Where is young Master Yun? Don't come any closer, or it'll kill her. H.M. I have no personal connection with her, and yet you dare to use her as a threat against me? If I want to kill you, I will. Ah. Ugh. Even if I wasn't injured, it seems like I'm no match for this woman. Damn it. Just you wait. Are you all right? Where is young Master Yun? Young Master Yun must have encountered something else. Otherwise, among all of you, there's only one pathway where he couldn't have gotten lost. Don't worry, with his strength, he can overcome any difficulties. If something happens to him, I will never be at peace for the rest of my life. What does it have to do with me if you can't find peace for the rest of your life? Listening to you, I can't find peace of mind either. Is that Linger? I didn't expect to encounter my beloved woman in this distant southern region. After more than a year, Linger has become even more beautiful Tang Yuan, one of the members of the Four Directions Chamber of Commerce within the Commercial Alliance Council. When compared to Shui Luo Yin, you become second-rate Tang Yuan, get lost. This place is filled with powerful individuals, it's dangerous. I'll stay here to protect my linger he he he. Who asked for your protection? If you don't leave, I'll kill you. Now let's see how fierce you can be for a while. After this year's commercial alliance conference, the entire chamber of commerce will be under my control. That includes you too. Ha ha ha. Shut up. It's been a year, and linger's cultivation has greatly improved. I like it. These two are incredibly strong. They appear to be around 20 years old, yet their cultivation is at such a level. From their conversation earlier, it seems they are among the seven major members of the Commercial Alliance. The Commercial Alliance is a force that can rival superpowers. The man's strength seems to be slightly superior, but this person's techniques are so impressive. I'm so useless. With my current strength, I'm at the bottom here. I can't help with anything. That scumbag Tang Yuan is just embarrassing our commercial alliance. Money is invincible. What do you care about their fight? They're just teasing each other, deeply in love. Are you jealous? I don't care about their flirtatious behavior, but they are tarnishing the reputation of the commercial alliance. Qian Wudi, one of the members of the money chamber within the commercial alliance council, Chien Woody, what do you mean by this? When you come out, you represent not only your own chamber of commerce, but also the reputation of the commercial alliance. 
If you two scumbags continue to tarnish the Commercial Alliance's name, I will personally punish you on the spot. What a joke. Who VO you think you are? The Money Chamber is just like us, merely one of the members of the Commercial Alliance Council. Do you think you're the boss now? Oh, Tan Yuan, you're really asking for trouble with that statement. Who doesn't know that Qian Wudi has always considered himself the boss among us younger generation? Don't even mention you, even if it were Li Feiyu from the Wanbao Tower, if Qian Wudi doesn't like him, he would still intervene. If you have the guts, go find Li Feiyu. With his strength, he wouldn't bother coming to Sumeru Mountain. But you came, which just proves that there's a huge difference in your levels, haha. <laughs> Acting like the boss in front of us, if you have the guts, go find, ugh. He really wants to kill me. Chien Wood. This lunatic. Instantly, killed? Huh? If it weren't for this treasure I have, you would have really caught me. This is the item I obtained at the recent auction. Chien Woody. Do you really pair to kill me? There are hundreds of people here witnessing this. If you kill me, my four pole chamber and your money chamber will become mortal enemies, an unremitting situation. Can you bear this responsibility? How threatening me with this? Do you think bringing up the four pole chamber can save your own life? Ha ha, a threat? Even if you want to kill me, I have the ability to severely wound you. When the time comes, there will be someone within Sumeru Mountain who will take advantage and take your life. The person beside you, Shuei Luo Yin, will not miss this opportunity. She possesses the martial intent condensing pill. Tang Yuan, if you are about to vie, don't drag me into this. If you do anything disgraceful again, I will even risk getting severely injured to kill you. Qian Wudi. Humph. Ding Linger, you really have a way. You're truly a sly fox, attracting men wherever you go. There's Li Yun Xiao outside, and now even Qian Wupi inside has fallen for your charms. Do you think everyone is like you, a wretched person who clings to men when they see them? Watch out for your woman, don't let Li Yun Xiao snatch her away. If Li Yun Xiao dares to compete with me for a woman, he's truly seeking death. Ding Linger. After this year's annual meeting, I will make you taste my wrath. Don't worry, Yun Xiao will definitely help you settle this score. Tang Yuan, you better be careful. It seems like Li Yun Xiao has some skills. In Yin Wu City, he's just relying on a few formations to show off his abilities. As for within Sumeru Mountain, Humph, if he dares to stand in front of me, I'll immediately beat him to a pulp. You really think highly of him. It's truly laughable. Ready to make a move. You enjoy bullying women, and I don't care. But Li Yun Xiao has defeated me before. You beat this person to the point of eating shit. Am I not even enough for you if I eat shit in front of you? Who? Who dared to hit me? Let me see who has the audacity. Luo, Luo Qing Yun. I have heard a lot about Luo Qing Yun. Among the younger generation in the Tian Wu continent, Luo Qing Yun definitely ranks at the forefront. Did he really lose to Li Yun Xiao? Say another stupid remark like that, and I'll kill you directly without even saying a word. So it's true that Luo Qing Yun lost to Li Yun Xiao. Look quickly. The palace has changed. A door, that's a door. Haha, ha, the door to the main hall is finally going to open. Don't get too excited, let's see first. This door seems peculiar. What's so peculiar about it? This is the treasure vault of Mount Sumeru. Those who don't want to take risks can continue waiting. When did a barrier appear? Ah. Ah. Damn it. It's already within reach. Wait. Look. There's a figure inside. Li, Li Yun Xiao. Hmm? Where am I? Damn it. How did he get in? Why is it him again? Could this also be part of your plan? Can someone tell me how he managed to get inside the hall? How could Li Yun Xiao appear in there? 
Open the door quickly, or once we're out of this secret realm, you won't live to see another day. Li Yun Xiao, open the restrictions of this palace and let us in. Everyone, be quiet and listen to me. So this place is indeed the Sumeru Divine Palace marked on the map. Did I just hear someone say they want to make me eat shit? And you want Linger Mist to taste it too? I wonder which heroic brother it is. Please step forward. It's me, Tang, what do you want? Ding Linger is under my protection. If you want to snatch her away, you're asking for death. Oh, so it's this heroic brother. Everyone, I do know how to open the doors of this divine palace. But, if I open this door and this big brother comes in to beat me to eat shit, I dare not open it. Don't be afraid. As long as you open this door, we will ensure your safety. No one will dare to harm you. I naturally trust your words, but I still don't feel very secure. However, if someone helps me burst this big brother's pants, I will be delighted to open the door for everyone. And maybe feed him some shit. Who dares to touch me? I am the young master of the four polar gates. If you kill me, aren't you afraid of your sick being annihilated? Li Yun Xiao, whatever issues you have with this person are your own business, don't try to drag everyone into being your henchmen. Quickly open the doors of this divine palace and let us in. That's the main objective here. Yes, exactly. Opening the doors quickly is the main objective. Your personal grudges have nothing to do with us. Okay, everyone, let's wait outside the doors until the time at Mount Sumeru is over. I'll go inside and search for treasures myself. Don't go. Can't we just beat this person up? As long as you open the doors of the Divine Palace, anything goes. You bastard. Ah. Idiot. I have a sixth tier battle armor protecting me. What can you do to me? Everyone, don't worry, let's attack together. Hey. Done. Oh my, which big brother was so ruthless and broke his pants? It's all because of your request. Oh dear, poor thing. Alright, your request has been fulfilled. Hurry up and open the door. The passage of this divine palace should be the jade platform I walked on. Although I can open this light gate right now, there is still a restriction behind the gate that prevents us from proceeding further. It indicates that the real entrance to the divine palace. The real key to opening the door of the Divine Palace should be the row of characters I saw earlier on the Jade platform. Look! That barrier has dissipated. Don't rush to go in yet. The pressure is too strong. Li Yun Xiao. Stay calm. So this is the real door. It has finally appeared. Is there anyone knowledgeable about formations? Come here and study it. Study what? It's just a stone door, right? Just blast it open. The method to enter is still not deciphered. What a re! Should we invite an expert in formations to see if there's someone proficient in formations? Young Master Yun, are you injured? Yun Xiao, are you okay? Young Master Yun, are you injured? In the center of this grand formation, there is actually an engraving of a true dragon. And why does the aura of this true dragon feel somewhat familiar? I seem to sense a summoning from within my bloodline. Ancient true dragons are beings of the Ten Realms. How could they be refined into the formation's eye and engraved in the formation? If that's the case, then the owner of this palace must be an unimaginable existence. Well, let me give it a try. I have never seen this formation before, so I can only attempt to decipher it. It's Su Fong, unexpectedly a member of the Su family. With him here, the formation can be broken. Who is this Su Fong? Why do you have such confidence in him? You don't know about the Su family from the northern region? They are a renowned family of formations. The family head is even a disciple of Martial Emperor Tang Guang. What? A disciple of the Martial Emperor Ting Guang? That's quite impressive. Hmm, it would be even better if Ting Guang were here. 
It all depends on whether this descendant has any secret techniques at his disposal. Half an hour later, will it be broken or not? Quiet down. Can't you see Master Su is trying to figure it out? Even if he's trying to figure it out, there should be a time limit. He has been standing there for over half an hour without doing anything. You're right. We can't just stand here for one or two months and end up being teleported away. What a joke, a so-called expert family of formations, and they can't even handle a simple formation. How embarrassing. It's done. There's a reaction. Don't push forward. Is it opening? I want to go in first. Huh? Is it opening? Is it opening? Huh? Let's go. Ah. Ugh. Such a strong pressure. I can feel the power of my bloodline becoming purer with this ancient summoning. This dragon aura can actually refine the power of bloodlines. No, this isn't the most pure dragon energy. How could an ancient true dragon be engraved as a formation's eye? This must be a descendant of the true dragon lineage. The dragon energy is pure, but it cannot compare to the true dragon energy. This scene is absolutely stunning. What should we do now? Who is Qian Duo Duo to you? Qian Duo Duo? Just a useless person from my Golden Wealth Consortium. Is he worth your concern? Oh. Come on, you two, hold my hand and let's go. Huh? Yun Xiao, do you have a way to get in? What's going on? How is he able to withstand the dragon energy? I don't believe it. If he can do it, then so can I. Ugh. Ugh. Under the dragon energy, all beings submit. How did Li Yunxiao do it? Not only did he enter himself, but he also brought two people along. So, it's Brother Yixing from the Blood God Palace. He must have a way to decipher it. I presume? MMM, Li Yunxiao was able to walk in unscathed, which means there's only one possibility. It's not the true dragon energy after all, rather, it's the aura emitted by a direct descendant of the true dragon. To decipher it, either there must be something that can counteract it, or we have to forcefully rush in. Forcefully rushing in, if your purple shadow and green bond swords can truly merge into one, it should be enough to break through this dragon aura, right? Both the purple and green swords are here, and if they can merge, it will become a ninth order profound artifact. Breaking through this pseudo dragon aura would be a piece of cake. The fusion of the twin swords requires the complete unity of both individuals' minds. This trash's cultivation is several levels lower than mine, and he practices a completely different technique. How could we possibly merge with him? Do you think I want to merge with you? Who do you think you are? If both of you have the intention, it's not difficult. I have a technique called harmonious mind resonance that can allow you to achieve it quickly within a short period of time. Both of you focus on cultivating, and in just half an hour, you can achieve a simple merging of minds. Summon the purple shadow and green bond swords, and you can break through this pseudo dragon aura. What's even more infuriating is that someone managed to get in. And of all people, it had to be that damn Li Yun Xiao who got in. The Shumazen Palace, a legendary treasure, right in front of us, but inaccessible. How can anyone endure this? We must chop that bastard into pieces, peel off his skin to eliminate this burning hatred in our hearts. Are you two going to practice or not? Ah, that dragon aura disappeared. Young Master Yun, what kind of blood is this? How can it resist the dragon aura? This is the blood from Luo Qin Yun, the true dragon bloodline that I refined. I never expected it would come in handy. What kind of treasure is this? It's completely an empty hall. In the battle on Cheonghua Island, I only knew that Luo Qin Yun was defeated, but I never expected that even this person bloodline would be extracted by Li Yun Xiao. His strength is truly astonishing. Yun Xiao, look at that pillar. That evil dragon is so frightening, such a suffocating feeling. Yun Xiao? 
What's going on? It looks so alike. This, this dragon. What terrible thing did you anticipate? Yun Xiao, what's wrong with you? Let's leave this hall first before discussing anything. Seal. Human. Once you've come, don't even think about going back. Stay here with me. Stone statue. It spoke. This voice, it's really you, long time no see. Demonic dragon. You. You. It's you. How is this possible? That damned look in your eyes. Even if you turn into ashes, I still recognize you. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I never expected to encounter you here. This is a gift from the heavens, allowing you to come to me for torment. Ha ha ha. I am the guardian dragon spirit of the Sumeru Temple. It was not easy for me to escape a hundred years ago. After countless traversals through the void, I finally arrived at the Tian Wu continent. I never expected to encounter you, you damn creature. You turned me into your sword spirit. Fortunately, during the Battle of Tian Dang Mountain, your sword body collapsed, and that's when I managed to escape. In order to restore my strength, I had no choice but to return to this cursed place. I didn't expect that you didn't die during the Battle of Tian Dang Mountain, but instead possessed someone. No, it's not possession. Could it be our souls merged? You truly have dogs at luck. Boundary God Monument. Battle of Tian Dang Mountain? Possession. With my current strength, I can't possibly contend with this demonic dragon. I can only hide within the Boundary God Monument or find a way to lure the demonic dragon into the steel to have a chance of victory. The Boundary God Monument draws spiritual energy from thousands of miles away. Ha ha ha, that's good. If you were to die, who would I seek vengeance for this eternal shame? What do you think? Gu Fei Yang. No wonder Li Yun Xiao was able to rise to prominence. It turns out he is the reincarnation of Gu Fei Yang. The one who has always been by my side, gradually becoming the person I admire, turns out to be the legendary peerless martial emperor, Gu Fei Yang. Now that I know his true identity, what will happen next? Will such an extraordinary person still stay with me? The heavenly crystal sand is not an essential material. It is only used to alleviate the imprecise fusion of materials by ordinary alchemists. Then, how can we achieve a successful fusion? Treat the heavenly crystal sand as impurities and use refining techniques to remove them. Li Yun Xiao, stop fooling around. This competition ends here. What kind of place is this? Such a scheming person. Are you flirting around? But Li Yun Xiao is my student. In the Divine Transformation C, he crafted the Supreme Profound Weapon Sword and ascended to become the youngest ninth rank emperor level alchemist on the continent. He was appointed as the honorary elder of the Alchemist Guild headquarters. In the Red Moon City with one stroke of his sword, he caused one of the three major superpowers to be expelled from the continent. In the Eastern Sea, the Sea Clan's king issued a kill order against him. In the Holy Domain, he was bestowed the title of Martial Emperor. At the Snowfall Peak, effortlessly defeated the ten great Martial Emperors. Now, do you know who my beloved is? Yun Xiao. Are you alright? If Teacher Luo comes and hugs me, I think I'll be fine. I am a man, and indeed I should take the initiative. Lord Gu Fei Yang, when will I be able to see you, young Master Yun, again? Lord Gu Fei Yang, where are you? If, if it were me lying in that formation, it would be so much better. Which girl do you actually like? Do you like me? So it turns out, the one who has always been by my side is actually Lord Gu Fei Yang. Lord Gu Fei Yang. So, you are Lord Gu Fei Yang. Young Master Yun has finally found you. Oh. So you've been hiding your identity after being reborn. Hee hee, I need to think carefully about how to deal with you and find the ultimate relief. The situation is truly complicated, but the most important thing is the demonic dragon in front of us. After all, I know his strength too well. 
In the beginning, Gu Fei Yang created three sword techniques, Demon's Lair, Starfall, and Dawnlight. Each sword represents unparalleled swordsmanship. To maximize the power of these three sword techniques, Gu Fei Yang forged three swords, naming them after the corresponding techniques. Among them, the Demon's Lair sword contains the soul of a subdragon imprisoned within. It is a sword spirit crafted by Gu Fei Yang through secret techniques, becoming the strongest sword. Later, Gu Fei Yang engaged in a gambling contest in the Sea of Transformation with a powerful member of the Demon Clan, using the technique of refining. Just when it was difficult to distinguish the superior from the inferior, he suddenly had a flash of insight and merged the three precious swords into one, finally creating the Transcendent Sword, the Star Cleaving Sword, surpassing the ninth grade. Come on, Gu Fei Yang. Don't drag your feet. That's not like you. Ha ha ha. Dot org this demonic dragon, tempered under my pinnacle sword art as the martial emperor, has long reached a level of comprehension comparable to mine. Although he only has a soul form and his power is continuously declining, facing him now, I am still at a loss for what to do. I must try using the eye technique. Eye technique. Oh, your proud eye technique. Ha ha, Gu Fei Yang, is your current cultivation only at the level of the five elements realm? Has your soul power declined to such an extent? Back then, your eye technique could directly change the world, traversing through the void. Now you've become a plaything for children playing house. Ha ha ha, it's really hilarious. Haven't seen you in years, and you've become like this? I never expected you to end up like this. It's hard for me to even make a move against someone as pathetic as you are now. I can't accidentally kill you with a single blow. Ha ha ha, this is hilarious. The current gap between us is as vast as that between a grown man and a newborn baby, impossible to overcome. There's no other way. I can only use that move. Acting like a little child. You are nothing but a mere soul, flaunting yourself in front of me. I could overpower you back then, and I can still do it now. Aren't you curious? Why am I able to penetrate that formation and enter the Grand Hall? Dragon's blood? The bloodline of a dragon. Could it be that your current body actually possesses the bloodline of a dragon? My body is perfectly normal, but I have a substantial amount of dragon's bloodline in my possession. It will be extremely beneficial for you. I want to make a deal with you, on the condition that, once I regain my strength, I will help you refine a body that surpasses the ninth grade of existence. This condition is truly tempting. I have been existing as a soul for thousands of years. If I don't have a body, it won't be long before I dissipate into nothingness, but if that bastard regains his strength, how could I possibly be his match? Lying on the left side, contemplating. And what guarantee do I have that he will fulfill this promise? Are you doubting my integrity? After spending such a long time together, you should know that I always keep my word. How could I betray you? In fact, I always thought that the time we spent together was joyful. Why do you harbor such deep hatred? Who cares about joy? What are the conditions? Listen to my signal, run towards the gate together. Become my sword spirit once again. Once I regain my previous strength, I will immediately set you free and help you refine a body. What? You paired a plot against me? Die, die, die. Trying to escape? The dignity of the Dragon Clan is supreme. If you dare to provoke, you will die. As long as we delay until the Boundary God Monument arrives, at the very least, we can hide inside. With the current weakened state of the Demonic Dragon, it's impossible to break through the Boundary God Monument. Get down. Hmm? What is this? It's none of our business, let's go. Phew, who the hell is bothering me? Today I have a big job, building a 70 meter chimney. Wow, that's really impressive. Worked an overnight shift to finish it, but they refused to pay me after the inspection. Is the quality not good? 
I lost the blueprints, and they asked me to dig a well. Go to hell with them. Kill them all. Hey. Run. Hey. Isn't that Li Yunxiao? When did he come out? Don't run. He was just heavily injured. Let's all attack together. Let's divide his dragon soul among us. Luo Qing Yun. Why wait instead of running? Forget about him. Doesn't he think he's strong? A true dragon, the value of this dragon soul to me, I must. I must. Run quickly. What a joke. I can't withstand his attacks right now. So fast. In terms of speed, we are not falling behind. They're involved too, huh? What kind of monster is this time? Qing Wan battleship. Li Yun Xiao. Flying backwards in a defensive stance to mock us? Li Yun Xiao, please stop and wait for us. Let's all escape together. Saving a life is more valuable than building a seven-level pagova. Not only will we owe you a tremendous favor, but if you establish your own sect, we will wholeheartedly support you. Li Yun Xiao. If you have any needs, my gold merchant guild will provide full assistance. With the financial and manpower support of my guild, even transforming Yin Wu City into a superpower is not a problem. Lord Yun Xiao. I know you have feelings for Sister Linger. Although Sister Linger and I have had some misunderstandings, we have truly grown up together and share a sisterly bond. Besides, my appearance is not inferior to Sister Linger's. Don't you want both of us beauties from the Merchant Alliance to serve you together? Don't save that despicable person. With all of you saying that, it really puts me in a difficult position. Each of you has such impressive qualifications, but if you turn against me from the start, what am I supposed to do? I have just stepped into the realm of Marshal King. How can I be a match for all of you? Lord Yun Xiao, please rest assured. I keep my promises. Since childhood, I, Shui Luo Yin, have been an honest and trustworthy representative of the Merchant Alliance. Even if you were only a martial lord, not a martial king, huh? Wasn't he just a martial lord before entering Mount Sumeru? What's going on? Yeah. We were too shocked earlier and didn't notice when he advanced to martial king. But his true identity, there's no need to be so tense. Just because I am Li Yun Chao doesn't mean you have to act this way. Otherwise, I will feel very uncomfortable. Yes, yes sir, Lord Li Yun Chao. Lord Yun Chao, about our previous agreement, you, you, Lord Yun Chao, I will peel the fruits for you. This is troublesome. I am no longer the Gu Fei Yang of the past. I am now just Li Yun Chao, the Lord of Yin Wu City. You are all the most important people to me. There is no need for such formality. Otherwise, I really don't know what to do. Also, this matter is known only to the two of you in the entire Tian Wu continent. Remember to keep it a secret for me. Yes. Lord Yun Xiao. Remember the promises you just made and let's be witnesses to them together. If anything is missing, I will personally come to collect it. We dare not. We dare not. Good, come up here. Damn it, we're safe now, we're safe. Thank you so much, young Master Yun, for your assistance. Thank you so much, young Master Yun. Synchronization rate, 100% this is the last batch of elixirs. Eve put everything on the line this time. I'm already dead, nobody touch me. Phew. I'm exhausted. I'm so thirsty from running. Ding Ling, bring me something to drink. Shue, please enjoy it at your own pace. You dare to confront M.E.S. Go, despicable person. I knew you, this madwoman, had mental issues. Now I have the biggest trump card, whether it's against these people or the demonic dragon. At worst, I can throw out the Boundary God monument and hide inside where no one can touch me. Luo Yin, you just said that your beauty is not inferior to Linger's, and you want to serve me together? How about we go inside and enjoy ourselves? Not killing you is already the greatest favor I can give you. 
with your despicable appearance, only Ding Ling likes you, that despicable person. You. Ha ha, Xue has such high standards. Although Lord Yun Xiao, the city master, only has the cultivation of a martial king and has an ordinary appearance, he still has some potential. Ordinary appearance? Get off the car. My future husband must have extraordinary cultivation. And he must be able to make a name for himself on the rankings of the world. Miss Xue has such high standards. The ones who can make it to the rankings of the world are all old men in their hundreds of years. Does Miss Xue want to marry someone who's several hundred years old? Yin, you're not entirely correct. Among those titled martial emperors, most of them are under a hundred years old. Titled martial emperors? Miss Xue wants to marry a titled martial emperor, but, he he, it seems like appearance alone may not be enough. Ha ha ha. Do you all want to fight? Do you remember back then when the number one beauty, Chu Hong Yin, fell in love with the martial emperor Gu Fei Yang? Love is like falling flowers, intentional but without feelings like flowing water. On the continent, rumors spread easily. Just how beautiful is Chu Hong Yin? Have any of you actually seen her? In the end, the reason why Gu Fei Yang didn't want her wasn't because she wasn't beautiful enough. Hmm? The appearance of this lady surpasses you by a thousand times. If this lady is a blooming water lily, then your looks are nothing more than a speck of manure beneath the water lily. You. What are you? A mere martial king ant. Shut your mouth. At such a dangerous time, you're still arguing. The demon dragon is about to catch up. Lord Yun Xiao, can't you go any faster? We're already at the fastest speed. I suspect that this battle is inevitable. Everyone should quickly rest and restore their strength. In the upcoming life or death struggle, there might still be a slight chance of winning. To face this kind of monster, didn't you know the formation that can trap demonic beasts? Use it again quickly. That formation can only barely restrict an 8th rank demonic beast for a while. How could it possibly trap this ninth rank one? There's no need to worry too much, everyone. Although this demonic dragon is ninth rank, it only exists as a soul. The greatest reliance of demonic beasts lies in their physical bodies and innate abilities. This demonic dragon lacks both, so if we join forces, our chances of winning are still great. But we must be wary of someone preserving their strength and taking advantage of the situation. Young Master Yan's words make sense. Since we can't escape, we can only fight with all our might. We can't die like cowards. Moreover, this dragon soul is a rare treasure. If we can capture it, our journey to Mount Sumeru won't be in vain. Capture the dragon soul? That's a sight worth seeing. Chao Yixing is definitely one of the strongest among everyone. The eerie aura emanating from him makes me feel a sense of dread. What? What's going on with this monster dragon? It has transformed into sword energy? Sword technique, slaying demons. It's the slaying demon sword technique of Senior Gu Fei Yang. I can't believe that the monster dragon can unleash the power of my sword technique with its spiritual body. Everyone, be careful. This warship is in danger. Splash. Damn it, even the residual might of the sword energy is so powerful. How are we supposed to fight back? Earlier, I heard the monster dragon say that it was resting and healing inside the main hall. I didn't expect it to have already recovered to such a formidable level compared to its past strength. Don't lose heart, everyone. If we lose our fighting spirit, then it truly will be all over. Right now, it feels like we're already dead. Let's all fight with all our might. Let's seek a way to survive. Damn it. To die here, how can I accept that? I am the one who will unify the Merchant Alliance in the future. Stop pretending, Qian Wudi. It is I, Shui Luyin, who will unify the Merchant Alliance. These despicable humans. They think they can bind me with mere low-level spatial laws. Blood is where the essence of a person resides. 
Generally, cultivation techniques that involve burning blood are extremely tyrannical and malevolent. What kind of toxicity is this? It can actually corrode spiritual bodies. The monster dragon has been severely injured. Oh, my mirror. Hmm? Li Yun Xiao. What are you doing? Are we not allowed to show our incompetence? You just stand there and watch? Sorry, everyone's techniques are so powerful. I was stunned for a moment at a time like this you're still holding back. It's really infuriating. If you don't make a move now, we won't fight either. We'll all die together. Causing public outrage. Good. You are right, everyone. Let me add fuel to the fire. Damn it. Gu Fei Yang. Fortunately, the firewall has blocked the internal sound. This is a ninth rank formation? I once thought about threatening Li Yun Chao. It's just a remnant formation. Divine technique. Suppression. How much longer do you two need to prepare? All right. It's this sword again. Hmm? That strange power that was absorbed from the Dantian earlier has actually started circulating along the meridians and directly manifested as a divine technique. Does this power require the use of a divine technique to be utilized? Divine power. Ah, it's actually divine power. How could you possess divine power? Escaped? Why did the monster dragon escape as soon as Li Yun Xiao made a move? Divine power, huh? Suppressed by the heritage identity. How did this guy scare away that dragon? Indeed, it's a great sword. What? Sword, come forth. Let me borrow it for a moment. Our mental connection with the sword, which is closely related, was easily severed by him? The divine consciousness left on his sword was completely wiped out. This, this method of casually erasing others' divine consciousness and seizing their weapons. Only when the divine consciousness is powerful enough to overwhelm can one achieve such a feat, dragon essence. It's actually dragon essence. Absorb the chi of creation for me. Huh? When the monster dragon escaped, it unleashed a desperate move and actually released so much dragon essence. What a valuable treasure. So satisfying, Li Yun Xiao, I'll kill you. Oh my god. My dragon essence. Thank you for reminding me, otherwise, I wouldn't have realized that these were dragon essence. I almost wasted them. I have something else to attend to, so I'll go ahead. Li Yun Xiao, you wait for me. What's the deal with Li Yun Xiao? How strong is he? The monster dragon escaped as soon as he made a move? Have you fought against him? How powerful is he? Unfathomable at least I am no match for him. I was so disrespectful to Li Yun Xiao before, fortunately, it seems he doesn't hold it against me. What should we do? Should we pursue? Is it worth chasing after them and getting ourselves killed? Whether it's the monster dragon or Li Yun Xiao, who can you defeat? Why don't we just find a random place with spiritual energy to cultivate and forget about all this? Regretting the loss of the trio of profound artifacts. The Palace of Sumeru. Come out, Monster Dragon. We've had some acquaintance, so why don't we cooperate with each other? Ha ha ha. Only someone as ruthless as you would dare to capture me as a sword spirit. If you push me too far, I will take you down with me. If I can restore my peak strength this time, I have a great chance of breaking through to the Ten Directions Divine Realm. By then, it won't be difficult for me to create a true body for you. Being my sword spirit will only be for a short time. How come you possess divine power? I don't know. I obtained it unintentionally. Are you familiar with this power? In the place where I obtained the divine power, did you happen to see a golden sword? A golden sword. Are you talking about this one? Could it really be fate? If all of this is truly fate, I can become your sword spirit as well. But at least find a decent sword. The sword in your hand may be of the ninth rank, 
but it's far inferior to the one that slayed demons back then. This sword is actually quite good, it's just damaged. When I have enough strength, I will refine it, and it won't be a disappointment to you. Come into the bowl quickly. Sigh. Farewell, freedom. No need to show that expression of life and death. It won't be long before I return to the peak of the Martial Emperor. At that time, I will give you back your freedom. Old friend, I'm truly happy that you've returned. Dragon Soul Shadow Humph, I hope so. What are these things? And what is this divine power? This small sword is the key to opening the Palace of Sumeru. As for the divine power, it is a power that only the strong in the Ten Directions Divine Realm possess. They no longer follow the path of martial arts, but the path of the divine. Why did you change your appearance? Why aren't you wearing clothes? Why do you feel like a lady? Three questions for the soul. Well, I'm just a projection in your mind. I can be whatever I want to be. Ah. Uh, what? The divine path? Your reaction is too slow. In the hidden realms beyond the endless martial arts, it seems that a great door is slowly opening towards me. Humph above the martial path, there is the divine path. The palace of Sumeru has been destroyed. What role can this small sword play? That is just a reflection of the divine palace. You should know that I am merely a guardian of the dragon spirit. What is young Master Yun doing? Talking to himself? A reflection? You might as well use your divine consciousness to take a look below. The sea of spiritual energy is unexpectedly deep. At a depth of nearly a kilometer, my divine consciousness is blocked by a force and can no longer make any progress. That must be it. I have never entered the true palace of Sumeru, but inside, there should be great opportunities. Both of you, come into my divine monument world. The palace of Sumeru is extremely mysterious, and I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of you there. What? The divine monument can transport people, I'll explain it to you later. This sea water is transformed into liquid spiritual energy, and the spiritual energy enters through every pore. It is absorbed frantically by the body's meridians. It's truly an indescribable comfort. The pressure in this hall is so strong. Fortunately, I can activate my divine techniques to resist this force. Monster Dragon, what exactly is this Mount Sumeru? And who built the central treasure hall? How would I know? There's a small golden hole on the Langshao Palace. If you insert the small sword into it, you can enter. I'm not sure about the situation inside. It could be an opportunity or perhaps even a tomb. You've known me for more than just a day or two. On the Tian Wu continent, is there any dangerous place I haven't been to? I am not afraid. Oh. What's going on? Such a strong aura of death. You were right, this grand hall is actually a massive tomb. This deathly atmosphere makes me extremely uncomfortable. If you're going inside, be extremely cautious. Reincarnation is already a miracle, so don't die again. Humph, the Lingxiao Palace has finally been opened by someone. Gung Chiu from the Northern Profound Palace. Lu Feng from the Soul Devouring Sect. Lu Yongheng from the Sword Sect. Deng Xianju from the Red Moon City. Lin Mu from the Ten Thousand Stars Valley. Are you people from the Seven Great Superpowers? I didn't expect you to have some insight and actually recognize our backgrounds. The so-called Seven Great Superpowers are the top seven sects that dominate the Tian Wu realm. They are the Divine Night Palace, the Ten Thousand Stars Valley, the Sword Sect, the Soul Devouring Sect, the Northern Profound Palace, the Red Moon City, and the Heavenly Ridge Dragon Clan. These seven sects have stood tall in the Tian Wu realm for countless millennia, rumored to possess strength comparable to the capital of the Holy Domain. Although they are officially under the jurisdiction of the Holy Domain, they often act contrary to its will in secret, and the Holy Domain has no way to deal with them. 
there has long been information about the Lingxiao Palace within the seven great superpowers. These five individuals have been cultivating in the depths of the sea, waiting for someone with the key to come and unlock it. Since you already know our identities, you have no business here. You may leave. I was too excited when I came down, I didn't even notice a few grasshoppers hiding. The other four come out together as well. What? It's you four? Humph, among the younger generation in the Tian Wu realm, you do have some reputation. You do have the qualifications to enter this Lingxiao Palace with us. The spiritual mountains and rivers occupied by the seven sects are not as good as Mount Sumeru in terms of spiritual energy. Those top tier individuals wouldn't bother coming to Mount Sumeru. I guess only scum like you, who can't get a good position in the sect, would come to Mount Sumeru to cause trouble. How dare you mock us? Does speaking the truth mean speaking nonsense? Hey! Want to fight? If you have the guts, give it a try. We all came here for benefits, isn't it impulsive to act like this? However, if you guys are itching for a fight, I'd be happy to oblige. Why waste time talking to them? Just kill them. Oh my, immortals fighting. I, as a mortal, will suffer. You guys can have your little spar. It'll go inside and take a look first. Dream on. I'll deal with you all when we get out. Don't be afraid, they're just dead skeletons. Just break through and charge at them. Disciples of the sword sect are indeed extraordinary. The strength of this sword is such that ordinary martial ancestors wouldn't dare to block its sharpness. Humph. Let's have them lead the way. These five individuals probably faced constant disdain within their sex, so whenever they come out, they must show their presence everywhere. Ha ha ha. Lord Yun Xiao, please. This. They've all turned into fossils. Oh my god. These were all ninth grade celestial treasures. Whoever wasted them is a damnation to the heavens. What? These are all ninth grade spiritual herbs? This is such a grand gesture. If I absorb all these medicinal herbs, I could instantly advance to a new realm. Why aren't you five going up? Do you want us to pave the way for you? If you want to go, then go. Divine consciousness can't penetrate through. There's a prohibition on the bridge that shields divine consciousness. This bridge is too peculiar, and it blocks spiritual consciousness. If we walk up, who knows what we might encounter? What do you think? This person is right. Whoever wants to go, let them go. Hmm. Kid, aren't you afraid? They know there's something strange on this bridge, so no one dares to come up. In the end, when the time is up, everyone will be transported out of Mount Sumeru. It would be a pity to leave like this. I must see what's inside this Lingxiao Palace. Give me some space. Floating life seal. It seems there's no difficulty. But the more it seems that way, the more cautious one should be. Did you hear the crying of a woman? Be careful, that must be a psychic attack. This kind of psychic attack is quite unique. It can even affect my own consciousness. This place is the Tian Shui Kingdom. You useless piece of trash, get lost. Ha ha ha. Look at this worthless person who can't even open meridians. Ha ha ha. Today I've caught you, you worthless piece of trash. Is this so real? Is it really an illusion? Ha ha ha. An illusion? Ha ha ha. This kid has gone crazy, claiming it's an illusion. Ha ha, let's all attack together and turn him into an idiot. I am Li Yun Xiao. Yes, Li Yun Xiao, the young master of the Li family in the Tian Shui kingdom. Am I just Li Yun Xiao? Hey! There's something off about this kid's gaze today. It's really annoying. Bring me a sword. 
I want to gouge out his eyeballs. Boss, isn't that going too far? This kid is the grandson of the Duke. If we gouge out his eyeballs, it won't look good when reporting to the higher-ups. What are you afraid of? Even if the sky falls, I'll be there to stop it. You. The useless young master who's always bullied by us. Today, I'll be a good person and put an end to you. Ha! This is the ultimate fate of useless young master. Ha ha ha. Ah, even if it's an illusion, this piercing pain feels too real. That unbearable past, destined to be the shadow of Li Yun Zhao's lifetime. Back then, the reason for your failure wasn't because you were too weak, that Li Yun Zhao you knew might not truly be able to make it out of this illusion, this, this. What truly caused your failure was, I am not just Li Yun Zhao. I am also Fei Yang. Give me some space. Li Yun Xiao. Li Yun Xiao. Fei Yang. You clueless fool. You unlucky bastard. Ah. Ho. Are you all right? I'm fine. The illusions here directly target one soul, and there's no escaping them. I managed to pass through. There shouldn't be any more danger ahead. Besides being attacked by the Black Aura, Li Yun Xiao fell to the ground and remained motionless. What happened? After that, I stumbled and bumped into things, as if I were injured, but I managed to pass through. Hmm. If Li Yun Xiao can make it, how can I just give up like this? There's really no reason to give up. Let's go one by one. At the far end, there seems to be a palace. Is that the inner chamber of the Ling Xiao Palace? What kind of place is this? My divine consciousness can't detect any issues. Double gravity, a gravity array with only half the normal gravity? A gravity array is not a sophisticated formation, so what's the meaning of having it here? Moreover, with just double gravity, it wouldn't even stop a martial novice. But within the range of my divine consciousness, I haven't detected any formations. It's now ten times the gravity. What's going on? Your shadow, it's gravity. The gravity is stacking with each step I take, and now it's already ten times the normal gravity. Although ten times the gravity isn't much for me, at this rate, by the time I reach that inner chamber, won't I be burdened with thousands of times the gravity? Who can withstand that? With thousands of times the gravity, unless someone has the cultivation of a eight desolation realm martial supreme, capable of opening their own realm of comprehension, otherwise, even the strongest body wouldn't be able to withstand it. If my guess is correct, there must be a piece of foreign land on this earth. Hmm? One is missing. Couldn't withstand the psychic attack. Li Yun Xiao, is there anything unusual on this flat ground? You seem a bit off. Brother Luo, how is it? I see, you all come over too. At this rate of gravity stacking, we would be crushed to pieces before reaching that inner chamber. It's the breath soil. Oh. On this land, there must be a breath soil cultivator. What? The breath soil, known as the mother of all things, the nurturer of the earth? This kind of thing has almost vanished from the Tian Wu continent, but it actually appeared in this damn place. Kid, why are you so excited? He he he. So it's the breath soil, such a precious treasure of the land. I must obtain it. I still have three major realms waiting to be opened with my boundary god monument. If I can obtain the breath soil, it will serve as the core of the earth realm. That thing is known as the mother of all things, nurturing the land. Legend has it that in the original chaos of the world, there was no land. It was the gradual cultivation of the chi of the five elements within the chaos that eventually gave birth to the breath soil, forming the entire Tian Wu continent as it is today. The value of this treasure, created by the heavens and earth, is definitely not inferior to the phoenix true fire. Now the only way is to find the breath soil to break the gravity restriction here. I do have a method, but it will consume a precious treasure of mine. At a time like this, why do you still care about a treasure? 
As long as we can enter the inner chamber, what treasure won't we have? Are you so sure there is a treasure in the inner chamber? Ah, if there is no treasure, why did we come here? Hmm. If you are willing to sacrifice this treasure, it's fine, but once we enter the inner chamber, I must be the first to choose a treasure. I understand everyone's thoughts. If there's only one treasure inside, we can negotiate naturally. But if there are more than five treasures, I must choose one first. All right, but the prerequisite is that you must break the gravity here. Otherwise, don't even think about it. Agreed. Let's solve the problem first. For now, I can promise you. All right then. Oh, how can this item resolve the dilemma? Gold and silver rat? No, there are some differences. You do have some knowledge. This is a highly unique existence among the gold and silver rats. It's called the golden light rat. It is naturally endowed with the ability to seek out and devour extraordinary treasures. When it encounters a treasure, its whole body emits a brilliant golden light. The higher the grade of the treasure, the brighter the golden glow. Moreover, it is unaffected by the divine powers of the treasures and can directly devour divine energy. Why is it coming towards me? Go away. Go. Lin, do you happen to possess some extraordinary treasures? My golden light rat only emits such radiance when passing by the core disciples of the sect. Go away. Go away. The treasures are even more formidable. I have only witnessed such intense radiance a few times in my life, and it was always on the elders of the sect. What's going on? It seems that I should also raise one. Let's see whose treasure is stronger, and I'll snatch it. Even when the elders of the sect utilized the sacred artifacts of the sect and joined forces to perform the heavenly prayer technique, I've never seen such radiance before. Do you actually possess a treasure more powerful than our sect's sacred artifact? Go away. Go away. Hurry up and break through the gravitational force. Believe me, I can kill it with one strike. I'm famously penniless, and this wretched rat is clearly targeting me. It seems we don't need to go to the inner hall to search for treasures. I think if we snatch Li Yun Xiao, it should be more or less enough. It's getting bigger. It must have found it and started devouring. Huh? This? What's going on? Do you have any idea what you're doing, you rat? This, its body has grown because it has devoured the divine power of the breath of the earth. But I've never seen it constantly burrow around like this before. Could it be because the breath of the earth has spread out in large quantities, so he is slowly finding it and swallowing it? Yes, that must be it. The breath of the earth is the most viscous substance in the world. It is impossible for it to be scattered. If two pieces of the breath of the earth are together, they will surely stick together. My golden light rat. Wake up. This reaction doesn't look like it found the breath of the earth. I understand. That piece of the breath of the earth is not here. What do you mean, Lord Yun Xiao? If it's not here, then what is my golden light rat devouring? What is the deal with the gravitational field here? Li's meaning is that the breath of the earth is hidden in the void, and here is only the divine power it emits? That's one way to put it. The golden light rat is drilling around because it can't find the breath of the earth. But in my opinion, it's not in the void. The breath of the earth should be in the inner hall, and someone used a conversion array to transmit its divine power to this open space. As long as we can enter the inner hall and take the breath of the earth away, the gravity field will naturally disappear. If we can enter the inner hall, why bother with the headache of breaking this gravitational field? Ah, then I ask Yun Xiao to come up with a way to enter and take away the breath of the earth. Well said. I've been waiting for you to say that, huh? Listen to me, everyone. I also have a treasure that seems to be able to solve this puzzle. If we can unlock it, I want to choose one item from the treasures inside. What do you all think? Of course. 
If he didn't have confidence, he wouldn't have asked so casually. That's right. Hey, isn't this the heart of Little Stone? How did you capture it? Little Stone? The naming skills are on par with mine. Little Stone possesses extraordinary strength and is the king among stone beasts. Moreover, it has immense evolutionary potential. Now that you have subdued it, it will be a great asset until your strength is restored. Liyun Xiao, what did you throw out? It should be the heart of some kind of monster. The surging demonic power is incredibly strong, at least on the level of a martial emperor. A martial emperor level monster heart. Li Yun Xiao indeed has quite a number of treasures. He's summoning the earth element, but the ground here is too solid for him to summon it. In that case, let's lend him a hand. What kind of treasure is this? Its aura is even stronger than the demonic power in that monster heart. Dragon Soul Shadow of Vine Sword. This sword also emits waves of dragon aura. It is incredibly domineering. Lu Ching Cheng and John Fan put a lot of effort into combining the two swords, yet their compatibility was very low. But now, in Li Yunxiao's hands, it seems to be a perfect whole, without any sense of mismatch whatsoever. The earth here has absorbed the breath of the earth for who knows how many years, and it is no longer ordinary soil. Little Stone is lucky now. If it can completely absorb these breaths of the earth, it is not a problem to advance to the Nine Heavens realm. All right, all right. I know you like your current body. Hurry up and find the breath of the earth for me first. The gravity of the breath of the earth is actually a positive effect for it, and its body is constantly becoming more compact and more refined. Hmm, this is indeed much stronger than the previous mountain-like body. We finally made it through. As long as we collect the breath of the earth, we can pass through. It's too dangerous for Li Yun Chao to have such a powerful monster under his control. The gravitational field has disappeared. This is. Finally, we've encountered the treasures. This, this is a formation. A layout I have never seen before. I never expected that the inner hall of the Sumeru Divine Palace would be just a formation. To maintain the operation of this formation, it actually used five nine-rank profound artifacts. From the ancient aura and the fluctuations of their power, there is no doubt that these are level nine profound artifacts. To have five level nine profound artifacts appear at once is incredibly rare, even in the entire Tian Wu continent. Even the strongest of the Nine Heavens Martial Emperor may not possess them. The appearance of any level 9 profound artifact on the continent could potentially lead to a bloody conflict. And now, we have five of them right in front of us. Everyone, don't forget. I get to choose first. What a joke. There are only five artifacts in total, so don't expect to go first. If we had nine artifacts, then maybe you could go first. That's right, five artifacts divided among nine people. He, now it gets interesting. You can take these five artifacts. What? I only want that plain looking little cauldron in the middle. No way. That purple cauldron is obviously extraordinary. You can't just take it without discussion. That's right. This also counts as an artifact. With six artifacts and nine people, we need to come up with a solution. Dragon Soul, Shadow of Vine Sword. Sword Technique of Demon Slaying You Scoundrel Primordial Staff This guy has been targeting me repeatedly. I've tolerated him for a while now. This time, I'll show him clearly. That Sword Chi turning into a dragon in the sky is exactly the same as that monster dragon from before. How is that possible? Could it be that he actually subdued that monster dragon and it became his sword spirit? Now, things are better. Eight people and six treasures, it's slightly easier than before. Not to mention how he subdued the monster dragon, which is a level nine existence. 
Coupled with this level 9 shadow of Vine Sword and Feiyang Sword technique of Demon Slaying, when these combinations come together, who among the people present can match them? Now, I want this purple cauldron. Does anyone have any objections? I have no objections. In that case, I'll take this long spear. Ah. Hey. Trying to escape? Humph. Artifact spirit? It turns out this profound artifact has an artifact spirit. This person actually has the dragon bloodline? The dragon blood in your body, could it have been taken from him? There are very few people who possess dragon blood. In the future, when it comes to forging your body, we'll still have to rely on his blood. Dragon blood fusion. The fusion has already begun. There are still four left. If you want to seize the treasures, you must rely on your strength. I have no objections to Li Yun Chao taking the cauldron, and I have no objections to Luo Qing Yun taking the spear. As for the rest of you, I have objections to anyone wanting to take them. So, you're implying that the next person most qualified to take something is you? Interesting. I'm quite interested in tasting blood ignition. Humph, the three of us also refuse to submit. In terms of sex, what does your blood god palace amount to? In terms of strength, he, the three of us would like to give it a try. Do you want to take us on together? What's the matter, scared? This isn't a one-on-one -on -one duel. With one less of you, the remaining five of us can divide things more easily. To join forces with you bunch of trash? What a joke. He he he. I can see that Chao Yixing might just end up killing you all instead. In that case, you can just stand aside and watch. Li Yun Xiao. What are you doing? Huh? We've been discovered. Can't handle the game, huh? Who has the time to share with you? Whoever gets it, it belongs to them. Damn it. I'm going to snatch the next one blood dance ignition blade. Hold on tight. Go. Damn it. He he he. Ah. This is. Breath of the Earth. Huh? The value of Breath of the Earth surpasses that of a level 9 profound artifact. Huh? Huh? Burst into laughter. What just happened? You. He he thanks to Brother Qian for letting me have the mysterious artifact. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Hey Brother Qian, don't be so angry damn it. Now I have to get my hands on the life essence no matter what. Hey. Life essence. Well done. Ah. Darn it. Everyone, I apologize, but the life essence has been taken away. What? In that case, this purple cauldron belongs to me. Now, there's only the purple cauldron left. And we must obtain it no matter what. Everyone, let's join forces and break through his defenses. Blood ignition. Shadow Peat New. Crumbling mountains. Icy Fierce Palm. Kill. Hmm. Ugh. Ah. This was the last piece. Having obtained this final mysterious artifact, the objectives of this journey have basically all been achieved. Golden light treasure will power of the four directions. However, what is the purpose of this grand formation with several top tier mysterious artifacts as its core? Ancient golden script. It's the ancient golden script again. So far, it seems that everywhere related to the ancient golden script. Whoa! Li Yun Xiao, it's your turn next. I never expected that my attack would actually disperse a beast of martial emperor level. I can fight. What? Oh no! We're in big trouble. We've caused a major disaster. You alone have taken three treasures and the life essence. 
It's indeed a big disaster. Unless you return two items today, you won't be able to leave the inner chamber. Do any of you know what this is? Don't change the subject. Isn't it just a black energy? But it feels quite sinister and wicked, seems like it's not simple. There were constant flashes of inscriptions inside the cauldron just now, and I only understood part of the content. It means that the purpose of building this Sumeru Divine Palace was originally to suppress this black energy. And the nine grade mysterious artifacts and the life essence we took away are the core of the formation that suppresses the Grand Array. This black energy is above the cauldron inscriptions. It is called the Demon. It was suppressed using the entire palace. Several nine grade mysterious artifacts. And the extraordinary treasure, the life essence. This kind of setup. Could it be suppressing an expert of the Ten Realms? The Sumeru Divine Palace has existed for countless thousands of years. Even if it was suppressing an expert of the Divine Realm, it's likely they have long turned to dust. Now, all that remains is this inexplicable black energy. It's probably already dead, reduced to a mere energy. Although the experts of the Ten Realms have long disappeared from the Tian Wu continent, there are numerous records in historical books about these Divine Realm powerhouses. But who can resist the erosion of time and remain immortal for eternity? You all are thinking too simply, at this moment, there is a seal of black energy on my body, precisely extracted from the quota crystal. Back then, when I fell in the Tiandang Mountains, it was also related to this black energy. Suddenly, it feels like we are gradually uncovering a layer of extremely dangerous secrets. And today, breaking the suppression formation of the Sumeru Divine Palace might have unleashed an enormous calamity. Spiritual nature? Humph! This is clearly a pure energy body. How could it have spiritual nature? You alone have taken four treasures. Don't try to change the subject. You alone have taken four treasures, don't think you can change the subject. If you don't return three of them today, don't expect to leave alive. Huh? Indeed, you're still alive. Ah. Ugh, ugh. Ah, 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 caught. Everyone, join forces and suppress this thing again. Otherwise, we're all doomed. Golden Light Dharma Wheel. Go, get away. Could it be a possession? You took all the treasures, it's not our concern. I won't accompany you any longer. Ugh. Indeed, it's a demon. But I wonder what strength this demon possesses. If we can't suppress it, it's best to leave quickly. From its aura, it seems to be at the level of a martial king. However, it gives off an indescribable pressure. Eternal brother, we belong to the same of the seven great forces and have always had a good relationship. Please let me and brother Gum leave. He has already been possessed, so why are you still calling him eternal brother? Senior, we had a close relationship with you when you were alive in this cauldron. Please let the two of us go. Those treasures that were used to suppress you are all in the possession of these people. It has nothing to do with us. I'm not freaking saying that. Noisy, noisy. Hmm. You, you are, it's so noisy, so annoying. So fast. Why can't remember? Who? Who am I? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, where is this? Where am I? This little body, not good. Your body, very good. Your body, also good. Everyone, what should we do? While he is still not accustomed to this possessed body, why don't we join forces and kill him? If we can kill him, then why did the owner of the Sumeru Divine Palace go to such lengths to suppress him? I suggest everyone bring out their treasures and suppress him once again. Good. As long as you're willing, I have nothing I'm unwilling to give up. However, the suppression formation has already been destroyed. How do we proceed? Although I don't understand this grand formation, I do know several extremely powerful formations. 
As long as everyone works together, we should be able to seal this person once again. Good if we can't work together, it's highly likely that we will all perish today. Blood God Flag, Unfold Money Falling from the Sky, Invincible Divine Fist Heavenly Kingo Treasure Record Seven Wonders Mysterious Jade Ruler It is Um Right, it's the Mountain and River Cauldron Mountain and River Cauldron his current cultivation is only at the level of Marshall King. If we all attack together to suppress him, my grand formation will be fully deployed. True Dragon Embodiment Dragon reigns in the four directions are Ugh. My most powerful strike was actually countered and I was injured by him. What? This body, it's really not good. Immortal body? Don't stop the attack. His current state just proves that the previous attack was effective against him. Purge, Purge Demon Chi. You. You can't kill me. Nine Heaven Seal, Demon Suppression Formation. Ah. Seal him. Seal. No. Don't seal me. Ah. Mountain and River Cauldron, Suppress. Did it work? This person doesn't seem as powerful as imagined. Perhaps the countless years of suppression have caused him to lose his strength. It feels too easy. Did we really suppress him? Such a terrifying formation completed in such a short time. This guy feels even more terrifying than the great demon. From what I can tell, his speech is unclear and his thoughts are muddled. He must have been gradually corrupted during the long period of sealing. Even if we don't release him today, he will continue to be sealed and eventually dissipate completely in the world, huh? Hand over that treasure mirror. Oh. Brother Qian, as members of the Money Merchants Association, with boundless wealth, can't you just give me a mere mirror? Besides, Luo Qing Yun and Chao Yaxing each got an item, and Li Yun Chao even has four. Why don't you go bother them? But you chose to target me, the easy target. Nonsense. If it weren't for your interference, I would have already obtained that mirror. If you don't hand it over, I will hunt you down to the ends of the earth. Humph, clearly just bullying the weak and fearing the strong. Brother Qian, if you continue to persist like this, it's hard for me not to suspect that you have ulterior motives towards me. You too, stop arguing. Look. Even such a powerful seal can be corroded. Oh, that was fast. When did I break free from the seal? Finally, my full consciousness is restored. He, he. your body is truly excellent. At the level of the five elements realm, to possess such a powerful physical body, it's just perfect to become my crucible. Who are you? Do you really need to know? I am your crucible. But I must thank all of you. What era is it now? How long have I been suppressed? Can anyone answer me? Humph, playing God and ghosts. No matter how powerful you used to be, now you're just at the level of Marshall King cultivation. The rest of us can suppress you again at any time. Strange, why can't I sense where the other parts are, damn it. Sigh, forget it, let's temporarily use this crucible and think about other matters later. Take this, you crucible. Sword technique, slay the demon. Roar. To have such formidable combat power is astonishing. It seems I made no mistake in choosing you as my crucible. Disappeared again. Your comprehension of sword intent is incredibly strong. I underestimated you. The power of this sword might already rival that of the Seven Constellations realm. Considering you're only 15 years old, you can be called a prodigy. Moreover, the surging power emanating from your physical body is also incredibly strong. If you continue to cultivate, your future achievements may even surpass mine. By the way, it seems you have also tamed that little dragon upstairs. Hmm, I'm curious how you managed to do that. As a reward for your cultivation in this crucible, I will tell you my name. You can call me DJR. 
Being able to know my name is also a great honor for you, a privilege you can die without regrets. Thinking of possessing me? Do you really consider yourself a powerful being? What you desire is his physical body, which has nothing to do with us. Dijia, then I shall take my leave. Indeed, all I want is his physical body. You bunch of trash, even if you begged me to possess you, you wouldn't have the qualification. Although I have just freed myself, I am not completely liberated yet. Your strength may be pathetic, but I urgently need someone now the four of you will be used to refine the four elements puppets. Although our strength is a bit lacking, we'll make do with it. Arrogant. Just because your origins are unknown doesn't mean we fear you. Since we can't suppress you, we'll simply erase you from this world. Fireblood. Shadow Soul Strike. He, with this level of attack, you think you can erase me? Demon Explosion. Such strong corrosiveness, it can even corrode pure strength. Just a mere martial king, I don't believe you can defy the heavens. Obey me. Oh? It's the divine moon spear of the desolate god. Should be one of the profound artifacts used to suppress me? You dare to dream of subduing a ninth rank profound artifact. Hmm? No, this blood, it actually contains the essence of the ten realms. Ah. It turns out to be diluted blood oomph. Do I even need an ancient true dragon to deal with someone like you? Don't bother hiding. Take this shot from me. Li Yunchao can freely use that tripod, but unexpectedly, Luo Ching Yun suppressed the gun spirit in such a short time. No, even if it's like this, I'm afraid I still can't defeat him. Luo Ching Yun. Hmm, fine. Lotus Blossom Flow, Battle of Guns. Sword Technique Slaying Demons. Ha ha ha, interesting. Both of so, I've made up my mind about so. Black Shadow Demon. Hmm. The move Li Yunchao and Luo Qing Yun just used together completely overwhelmed us with just their ninth stage instrumental melody. But such an unrivaled technique couldn't withstand that one finger. How is this possible? To weaken to such an extent? Damn it. Everyone, let's join forces together. Otherwise, we'll all die here. He is currently borrowing some unknown power, but it won't last long. When his demonic aura weakens, it will be time to slay him. Did you say slay? Ha ha ha, well said. This black shadow demon can be considered my power, and it can also be considered otherwise. You, not only is your physical strength beyond my expectations, but your insight is also extremely sharp. You're right, my current state indeed cannot be sustained for too long, but taking care of all of you is more than enough. Money falls to the ground. Seven Marvelous Mysterious Jade Ruler. Blood God Flag. Blood Thorn Spear. Did you use blood to temporarily close the wound? Do you really intend to harm him unless it's with a ninth stage mysterious weapon? Boundary God Monument. Suppress them. Divine Energy? You still have divine energy within you? Ha ha ha, I must obtain this furnace from you. Everyone, support me for half an incense stick s time. I have a secret technique that can suppress this demon. Half an incense sticks time? All right. Ancient spirit glyph? An eight stage ancient spirit glyph. Once I activate it, I can unleash a strike at the level of martial sovereign. Damn it. I don't believe this demon can withstand my ancient spirit glyph strike. Haha, <laughs> I managed to hold on. My divine energy was just a tiny bit, and it's about to be completely depleted. Li Yunxiao. Hey, hey. This seemingly invincible Li Yunxiao, who has an endless supply of trump cards, was actually killed with a single punch. Li Yunxiao killed with a single strike? Although everyone present wished for Li Yunxiao's death, when this moment arrived, it was still difficult to accept. With Li Yunxiao dead, who will be next? Beast, monster, monster. 
to think that the person who once defeated me was killed. This shame, who should I seek revenge upon? This is bad. Did I go too far? What a pity to destroy such a rare cauldron. Forget it. Since he's dead, then you will become my cauldron. Just now, it seems that this spear also recognizes you as its master. It proves that your talent is still acceptable. True dragon bloodline, although it's extremely diluted, it's still passable. It can be used temporarily. Damn. It's useless. You are also an extraordinary genius, but unfortunately, you haven't grown up yet. Damn it, damn it. I refuse. I won't accept it. How many years have passed? In this realm of martial arts, I once again witnessed the endless fighting spirit and the successive generations of powerful individuals. What do you think you are? Go die. True dragon aura, explode. There's actually a trend of dispersing my dark magic aura. Ah. Ah. Ha ha ha. Not bad. However, that's enough for now. You are my cauldron, you can't die anymore. My dark magic aura can corrode all things in the world, and there are not many forces that can resist it. The divine power is considered one. Your true dragon aura is also considered one. But unfortunately, your powers are not pure or rather, too weak. Ah. Ha. Black dragon energy. Condense. Now I will turn you into a cauldron. You owe me a life, Luo Qing Yun. The strike of the Martial Supreme in the Eight Desolations realm? Today, it truly opened my eyes. You youngsters, on this continent, will never be nameless and unknown? To think that one can be stronger than another. Come again. Demon-like flesh. What, what is this? The strike of the Martial Supreme, a powerful individual, was unexpectedly blocked by him with ease. Is there really nothing that can withstand him anymore? I, who roam the world, am invincible. To think that I have been injured by a few insignificant youngsters? If you can inflict harm upon me, even if it means turning to ashes, it is still something to be proud of. The Art of Divine Invocation Descend this, it doesn't seem to be Su Qing's aura. I am Lu Daozi from the Tide Listening Pavilion. Who are you? How dare you cause trouble here? The Art of Divine Invocation? Your physical body is too weak, unable to accommodate too many divine thoughts. What use is it to you? The Art of Divine Invocation is achieved by implanting a skilled practitioner's seed of divine thought within oneself. Even if separated by millions of miles, one can pray through the seed for the other's divine thought to descend. Although I have never heard of the art of divine invocation, Lu Daozi is a renowned martial sovereign from the western regions and the head of the Tide Listening Pavilion. Relying on some unorthodox methods to enhance your strength. Even though I only have one divine thought descending, it is enough to easily kill you. Oh? Then why not give it a try? The Art of Divine Invocation? The Martial Sovereign is actually descending. Ha ha ha. This is a sure win. Martial Sovereign, why are you losing? Screw him. Ah. Ah. I'm dead stop pretending. Damn it. Everyone is fighting for their lives, and you're there pretending to be dead. Didn't I almost die? Look at my body, completely exhausted. If I hadn't sensed the descent of the Martial Sovereign's divine thought, I would have been afraid to come out. Good, you're not dead. That's good. I'm becoming more and more interested in your body. Young one, you're quite arrogant. Knowing that I am the esteemed Martial Sovereign, yet you still pretend as if nothing happened. So much nonsense. A mere wisp of divine thought can also act recklessly in front of me. You dare to call me young one? Be quiet. The Mishal Sovereign Divine Though Powerful. Impressive. You youngsters are just youngsters. I am the Martial Sovereign. Even a wisp of divine thought is not something you can contend with. 
those who are sensible should surrender and come to the tide listening pavilion to confess. It seems I have to use that move. Unfortunately, after using that move, all of you will be dead, and I will lose my cauldron and subordinates. Even when facing impending death, you remain so arrogant. There's no other choice. After countless years, my weakness has become severe. If I don't use that move, there's a real possibility of being suppressed by you again. The demonic aura has grown stronger. Lord Lu Daozi, I leave this demon to you. How many years have passed? Now, even. Black Demonic Shadows. SX Paths of Demon Expulsion. This is. For some reason, the state of this creature is giving me goosebumps. In my current state, it's difficult to fully execute this move. But if you can withstand it, then you win. I will wait for you to gather your energy slowly. As your light fist. Shadow dance. Oh no. Two, my disciple's physical body can't hold on any longer. We must finish this quickly. What level of oppressive feeling is this? How can that mysterious weapon contain such a fierce sensation? Judgment. Ha! Divine Fist. Is this the limit? The Martial Sovereign is indeed clever. The final strike was used to break through the inner chamber and escape. But I actually let them escape. Have I become so weak? How many years have I been sealed? Forget it, I should leave this place first. Hmm. The heavenly spirit ring was something I refined. How could you instantly use it to open the void and escape inside? In the end, he managed to escape. This is troublesome. He seemed extremely weak at the end. If you had come out directly at that time, there was a good chance you could have suppressed him. That kind of black demonic aura is something we are currently unable to withstand. Otherwise, Lu Daozi's wisp of martial sovereign's divine thought wouldn't have escaped. There are countless powerful individuals in the celestial martial realm. There will be someone to deal with him once we're outside. We don't need to worry about it. Hopefully, you already have the Divine Spear. This ring is not bad, so I'll take it as a gift. Farewell. Beast, give me back the Heavenly Spirit Ring. I'll kill you. Good stuff. This is also good stuff. It belongs to me. Ha ha ha, this one is not bad either. I'm going to make a fortune this time, ha ha. I'll use an advanced disguise technique on you, guaranteeing that Li Yunxiao won't recognize you. A horse can't get lat without eating grass at night, and a person can't get rich without windfall profits. With this abundance of resources, I will soon be able to break through to higher realms. Li Yunxiao, just wait for me. I will make sure to tear you into a thousand pieces. Now I have to slip away quickly. If Li Yunxiao catches sight of me, it'll be troublesome. Hmm? What is this? This. This is. The Death God's token. Li Yunxiao. With this token, even without my intervention, your fate is sealed. Ah. Above the Flame Marshal City. It's a success. The restrict tie-ins have been lifted. Although it's regrettable, the only way to no longer be controlled by Li Yunxiao is to shatter the treasure mirror. Li Yunxiao is in big trouble now. Ha ha ha. When that kid comes out, he's in for a treat. Hmm? Do you guys feel it? It seems like there are waves of fluctuations coming from the sky. No, Mount Sumeru and our celestial martial realm exist in completely separate dimensions. How could there be fluctuations transmitting out? 
Otherwise, what kind of massive tremors would have to occur inside? Wait. I also feel that there is an issue within Mount Sumeru. With such significant fluctuations, what could have happened inside Mount Sumeru? This. What's going on with this water? Did it flow out from Mount Sumeru? No. This isn't water. This is. Spirit Chi Liquid. Spirit Chi Liquidity it contains as much spiritual energy as a great river. If this amount of spiritual energy surges into Yin Wu City, it's going to be extraordinary. Wow. I don't know how to swim. Help. Mom. Hold your breath quickly. Everyone, don't panic. This is Spirit Chi Liquid. It's not dangerous. No danger. You can open your mouth and breathe. Look at me, old lady. My legs can move again. Decades of old ailments are suddenly cured. Ha ha ha. Don't get carried away. Quickly put on valuable things from the house. With this concentration of spiritual energy, even an ordinary person soaking in it would probably become a warrior. This is what they mean by a windfall from the sky. Today, I finally understand it. After this, I won't be surprised by anything falling from the sky in Yinwu City. Huh? Holy cow! Why is there a mountain? Take a closer look. That's not a mountain, it's a structure. Not only a structure, but it seems there are also people. They are the warriors who entered Mount Sumeru. Those warriors don't need to worry. First, let's protect the civil Ians below. All right. You go east, and I'll go west. Okay. It won't be long before Yinwu City becomes a sacred land of spiritual energy. Look, everyone. Huh? Although the cracks have closed, the spiritual energy is still leaking downwards. Since the cracks have already closed, it means that Mount Sumeru has also closed, right? You call this closed, but it looks more like collapsed. The collapse of Mount Sumeru is a major event. It's likely that even the sacred realm will send people to investigate. We should prioritize reporting the situation here to our respective sects. As for how things will develop next, let's leave it to fate. One day later, there should be a limit to the collapse as well. What's the deal with scattering these ancient relics and vegetation from Mount Sumeru in our Yinwu city? You really are a harbinger of disaster. Mount Sumeru has existed for who knows how many thousands of years, and you went in and died just like that. It should be the inner palace that held the spiritual springs eye of Mount Sumeru. After we destroyed it, the balance of the entire space was instantly broken, resulting in this situation. After countless years have passed, Mount Sumeru is already full of holes. I was just the final straw that broke Mount Sumeru. What should we do now? With such a pouring of spiritual energy, it won't be long before this place becomes like the Spirit Mountain and Great Rivers where the seven major superpowers are located. By then, not only the sects of the southern region, but also the forces of the entire Tianwu realm will likely cast their eyes over. Moreover, you have offended everyone before entering the Sumeru Mountain. Sigh. If it was only those we offended before, there might be a way to resist. But now that Yinwu City has turned into a sea of spiritual energy, it won't be easy to dismiss those who are watching. Among the entire Tianwu continent, only the seven major superpowers can possess such a sea of spiritual energy. It is precisely because of the abundant spiritual resources that the seven major powers can dominate the world. Now, Yanwe City, this insignificant place. It's afraid that it will soon catch the attention of all the forces in the world and become a fat piece of meat on the chopping block. Regardless, we will hold our ground as long as we can. Yinwu City is my territory, Li Yunxiao's domain. 
Even if the martial sovereign comes, he will have to bow down to me. If it were in the past, people would have thought he was crazy. But now, knowing the great soul and peerless elegance within this immature body, it truly arouses admiration. All those who are not from Yinwu City get lost within three breaths. Disobey and you die. Peerless elegance. Great soul. If I don't kick you out after mooching around for a day, don't you feel a bit guilty? Every strand of spiritual energy in Yinwu City is my private property. Get lost. I've been discovered. Not enough people taking advantage. Damn bastards who don't seize opportunities. How did they find me when I hit so well? You practice right in front of someone's doorstep and you think it's normal to be discovered? Isn't it said that the most dangerous place is the safest? Hurry. Let's go. Damn it. I was about to have a breakthrough. If you've gained some advantages, don't act innocent. Li Yunxiao is not someone you can negotiate with. Wait for me. I haven't even pulled up my pants yet. Mount Sumeru, one of the four great immortal realms in the Tianwu realm, immediately spread news of its collapse throughout the entire continent. During this period, Yinwu City remained surprisingly quiet, with no forces disturbing its peace. It seems that the entire southern region is brewing a massive storm. A few days later, Finally, the first group of people arrived at the doorstep. The seven martial sovereigns of the temple have descended upon Yinwu City. You really overestimate Yinwu City to think that you called all of us to come together. You all don't know, Li Yunxiao does have some tricks up his sleeve. Moreover, there seem to be several extremely powerful formations hidden within Yinwu City. Humph, no matter how powerful he is, can he defy the heavens? Such abundant spiritual energy, it's truly unique as rumored. If our temple could relocate here, in just a few years, we would undoubtedly become the leaders of the southern region. Humph, don't daydream. The entire Tianwu realm is now focused on this place. With just our temple, we wouldn't even be able to fill the gaps in their teeth. All right, enough chattering. Yinwu City is currently in the eye of the storm. If the Lord finds out about our secret outing this time, we will surely face severe punishment. Quickly kill Li Yunxiao and let's get out of here. Um, could you please not exclude me next time when discussing plans? I'm still here. At least respect me a little. Who is that person? Li Yunxiao. You're done for this time. Li Yunxiao. Daring to come to our doorstep. Devastating God's blade. Defend S-I-L-V-E for Ma Tian. Huh? What kind of format ion is this? It actually blocked my attack? This city defense formation seems to be different from our temple's mountain guarding formation. Your mountain guarding formation. Please don't compare that trash with me, okay? The great formation. Surround them. The Great Formation I.S. an exceptionally powerful mountain guarding formation. It's just that due to the lack of spiritual energy over a long period, it couldn't exert its full power. The bottleneck now is not the spiritual energy. The formation can absorb energy to its maximum extent, but my cultivation has become the bottleneck. Otherwise, with this formation, even if the martial sovereign descended, we would be able to fight against them. What kind of formidable formation is this? Controlling it must surely be extremely taxing on your mental strength, right? Hmm. If I had enough soul power, I could directly annihilate these seven people within the formation. But obviously, that's not possible right now. I'll need you to deal with one of them. Gee, your strength is becoming increasingly unfathomable, and I can't really help you much. But dealing with just one person shouldn't be a problem. And then, you can help me handle two of them. What? Martial sovereign level otherworldly beasts? There's no need for you to be so surprised. Bastard. I thought they were just a pile of refining materials, the way you stacked them there. Forget it. After all, what is there to be surprised about? Ah. Don't drag me down. Charge. All right.
The four of you, I'll take you on alone. Now, who is the true warrior? Such a powerful sword formation, everyone, be extremely careful. Kid, even if you have the assistance of a sword formation, it's too arrogant of you to think you can take on four opponents alone. Ha don't worry, the sword formation is just to prevent you from escaping. Now, it's time to test your divine power. Go! What? What is this feeling? The ancient aura emanating from this monument is completely suppressing my true energy. Something's not right. Everyone, join forces and break through. Seven killing holy force. Scarlet cap ghost dance. Thousand leaf demon finger. Raging thunder fist. Realm of fire. Full power. Two. Too strong. Damn it. Don't give up the attack. How can one king of martial arts face four emperors of martial arts? It's impossible. No. I don't believe it. I won't. It's truly astonishing, the power of divine energy. Dealing with four emperors of martial arts at the same time has been smoother than I expected. I could only access this divine power when using divine techniques and manipulating the divine boundary monument. Unfortunately, this power is not something I cultivated myself, and I have no idea how to train it. Currently, it's barely enough for a single strike, and the recovery is extremely slow. You should be satisfied with the spoils you've picked up. To cultivate the divine power, one must reach the ten realms of the gods. If you could cultivate divine power at this stage, it would be a great blow to the struggling warriors in the martial world. We're done on our end too. Very good. Afterward, I will place the divine boundary monument at the city gate and hang these individuals on it. At the city gate? Yes. To serve as a deterrent. Realm of the Earth within the Divine Boundary Monument. With your body, it will take at least hundreds or even thousands of years to digest this piece of essence. Ah. Hmm. Do you want to activate the Four Realms? With this profound artifact of yours, as long as there is enough spiritual energy, it is highly possible for it to spontaneously generate a whole new world. Now, the Divine Boundary Monument can crazily absorb the spiritual energy within the Flame Marshal City through the Nine Dragons Absorption Array. My other realm of fire has already started to take shape. Now, with the help of the Earth Essence, I can activate the second one, the Earth Realm. It is said that essence is the mother of the earth, nurturing all things. Now it seems that this is indeed possible. From now on, you will cultivate within this realm of earth. With the support of essence's aura, even if you strive to reach the ninth heaven realm in the future, it will be highly possible. Hmm? There's a greedy aura approaching. Essence. It's the aura of the essence. Quickly, take me to where the essence is. Wow. What are you doing? Put me down. Let me absorb the essence. Hmm. Is this the divine tree? What kind of adventures have you had, kid? How did you manage to obtain something like this? This was given to me by my master. Who are you? Go away. You've absorbed the essence of fire for so long, and now you have the earth essence. You've reaped all kinds of benefits. Now it's time for you to contribute. Contribution, Uda? How? Last time, you nearly killed me by extract ING most of my soul power. Don't even think about it this time. Get ready for a severe punishment. Ah. Damn you, Li Yunxiao. If I had known this would happen, I wouldn't have spared your life when I had the chance. I've existed on the Tianwu continent for over 10,000 years, and the biggest regret I have is believing your nonsense. Can't agree more. Wait, are you talking about the profound chi? What? What did he say? Profound chi? Does he have that? That thing, I'll come to take it from you. 
It's about my friend who is in a coma and needs your treatment. But what about the person who was nourished with a large amount of soul nurturing would last time? True. I initially thought that Ming wouldn't need much time to wake up. I didn't expect that such a long time would pass without any improvement, which worries me greatly. I can also sense her presence, and her soul is now very much intact. I don't know why she hasn't woken up yet. You can directly find a way to enter her mental space and investigate. What's wrong? Are you scared? The mental space is an extremely dangerous existence. Once the space collapses, if you don't escape in time, you will die inside completely. Even though this kid specializes in mental attacks, this kid wouldn't dare to casually enter someone else's conscious world. I understand. All right then, I'll go with you. When you enter her mental space, I can protect you. Master. Hmm. How did you progress so quickly? Is there any discomfort in your body? Isn't it good to progress quickly? I've been diligently practicing the body refining techniques that Master taught me, and in my spare time, I meditate to absorb spiritual energy. Is the heaven and earth poisoned body really so extraordinary? Your cultivation speed. Huh? Master, Ching Wan got into another accident. Eight star just two days ago. I'm going to enter your sister's consciousness space to see what's really going on with her. Will that help my sister wake up? If we can find the cause, there shouldn't be a problem. During this time, make sure nobody disturbs me. Okay. I won't let anyone get close to you, master. Let's begin. Entering the dangerous realm of consciousness. Ho ho, it's easy to sneak into a warrior's consciousness. Why did you come too? After following me for so many years, don't you know the dangers of the conscious realm? You're worrying too much. This level of spiritual space is nothing for me to come and go freely. With your current level as a low-level fifth-order alchemist, you might indeed feel some pressure. I'm just afraid you'll get stuck in there, so I came to protect you a bit. Ha ha ha. Let's go. Who? Even in an ordinary person's consciousness, even if they're unconscious, there would still be a chaotic flow of consciousness. But here it is as silent as death, with no consciousness present. Huh? Getting angry. What is that? Look at that. It seems to be a door. Indeed, it's a door. Let's go down and take a look. How could it be like this? This is the realm of consciousness. How can a door suddenly appear out of nowhere? Not a single movement. This is. How could this pattern exist? To be able to instantly send Li Yunxiao's fifth stage divine consciousness flying, this is something that cannot be achieved in an ordinary warrior spiritual realm. Do you recognize this pattern? How could I? How is it possible? Have you forgotten? Take a closer look at this pattern. It's the symbol of that person. It's that person. How could that person's mark appear here? Since it's the mark left by that person, with your current strength, it's impossible for you to break it. Let's first go out and think of a solution. If I could leave, I would have already done so. What? You triggered a restriction? Don't move recklessly. On this door set up by that person, there is a strand of his divine consciousness. I'm afraid when I pulled the copper ring just now, I already triggered him. If we leave now without caution, it will immediately activate his consciousness to track us. Not to mention whether we can escape, even if we manage to escape, he will definitely recognize me. What should we do now? That person must be aware that someone has tampered with this door, but his consciousness hasn't awakened yet. It proves that he doesn't know it's me, however, there must be an extremely powerful killing move hidden within his divine consciousness, and it's likely to be triggered with a single movement. 
What we need to do now is to escape while defending against that move. Just tell me what to do. If I'm not mistaken, the person must have set up his most proficient void slash here. I have already contacted the Divine Tree. While we use our full strength to withstand the void slash, let the Divine Tree use its endless soul power to directly pull us out. Here it comes above us. Sword Technique Demon Slayer Great Divine Technique It's not working. We can't hold him back. Are you ready? Any slower, and it'll be too late. I got it. Stop arguing. Jump in. The Divine Tree? Has it been discovered by someone? Who could it be? Master, what happened to my sister? It was close. Just deeply asleep. Meng Bai, in your memories. Have you ever seen such a formation? Hmm. No. In your impression, who are your parents? I also know that it won't yield any results. What does that have to do with anything? My father's name is Meng Yan. He was an outstanding soldier of the Tian Shui Kingdom and sacrificed himself for the country. I still have his honorary medal here. What about your mother? It's all my fault. According to my sister, my mother died from complications during my birth. I have never seen my mother. Please go to the Tian Shui Kingdom and thoroughly investigate the background of Ming Bai's siblings. Leave no details behind. What does this have to do with Ming's coma? Someone placed a restriction in Ming's sea of consciousness. What? Who did it? I can only speculate at this point, and I'm not certain yet. If it is indeed that person, then it's troublesome. I've known Li Yunchao for so long, and I've never heard him utter the word trouble. Don't worry, I will definitely investigate thoroughly. Please send me out now. Master, who is that person you mentioned? My sister hasn't offended anyone, so why would someone harm her? I'm not sure for now. Don't worry, that person probably doesn't have malicious intent. Otherwise, you and your siblings would have died long ago. Kid, could it really be that person? I don't see any connection between them. I hope not too. But that mark and the void slash when we escaped. In this world, besides that person, who else could it be? Under the heavens, how many individuals can be addressed as that person? Master, I really want to become stronger quickly. I want to protect my sister. All right, I will teach you a martial technique soon. My younger brother has the poisoned body of heaven and earth, and my sister has the seal of that person inside her. The origins of these two siblings are definitely not ordinary. Regardless, both of these siblings are impertinent to me. No matter who it is, I won't let anyone harm them. Master, please teach me now. Not right now. I still have to return to the City Lord's Mansion. In the council chamber of the Yinwu City Lord's Mansion. Yun, a huge disaster has come. Yun, you have provoked the Martial Emperor. What's the matter? Why are you so worked up? Yun, do you know why no sect has come to provoke you during this period? Who said there hasn't been any? Didn't the War Wolf Shrine make a move? The War Wolf Shrine killed seven martial emperors, yet you remained indifferent. It's because there's been a recent rumor circulating that you wiped out a branch of the Star Sect in Qinghai Town. The sect master of the Star Sect flew into a rage. He was planning to cross domains and annihilate Yinwu City. Did the old man personally make a move? Hmm, the information says that old man is setting up a teleportation array to cross over and personally settle the score with you. The reason being that you destroyed their star sect branch. Yun, did you really do it? That Qing Wan warship. He, there aren't many of them in the entire southern domain. 
Conveniently, the star sect in Qinghai Town happened to lose one, and I happened to have another one. Naturally, suspicion would fall on me. Moreover, that old man probably has ulterior motives. Currently, Yinwu City is the meat in the eyes of the entire Qinwu continent. He's just using this as an excuse to make his move first. The other major sects can't find an excuse to openly defy the Iron Decree of the Holy Domain. So, you're saying you didn't do it? If you didn't, there's still room to salvage the situation. I have already sent a message back to the headquarters of the Tianyuan Merchant Guild, asking them to find a way to deal with the Holy Domain and involve their envis. After all, tracing it back to its roots, it was the branch in Qinghai Town. Unfortunately, I was the one who did it. For a brief moment, Dean Langer felt a darkness before eyes. Thoughts came to a halt. So, what should we do now? Hmm. Dean Linger, I want you to go to the Tianxian Empire and find someone. Huh? That person is dressed extremely simply, always holding a wooden zither in his hands, and he looked very shabby. That person owed me a favor in the past. Just say to him, a melody of clear laughter in the eastern wind, and he will naturally fulfill your request and repay the favor from years ago. A melody of clear laughter in the eastern wind. Old man is a renowned martial emperor who has long been famous in the eastern domain. Can this person really save Yinwu City? As long as he is willing to come, there should be no problem. Anyone who can receive a favor from Fei Yang is certainly not an ordinary person. I will immediately mobilize all our forces to find him. I hope that person is truly still in the Tianxiang Empire. Given the current strength of Yinwu City, it is absolutely impossible to contend with a martial emperor, especially one who has already gained fame. Li Huaqi, if you don't come, I will be in real trouble this time. The news of the martial emperor coming to Yinwu City has spread like wildfire. It seems the entire southern domain is buzzing with excitement, and everyone is paying attention to this matter. The entire southern domain's forces have started to restrict their active eye ties. Especially the Qianna Pavilion in the Tianxiang Empire, the atmosphere within the sect is tense. In reality, they were the ones responsible for the destruction of the star sect branch in Qinghai Town. They are afraid that old man will discover their involvement, which would lead to the calamity of annihilation. In the cultivation chamber of Yinwu City, after Ding Linger left, Li Yunxiao began secluding himself, focusing on refining the several profound artifacts obtained from the Lingxiao Palace. The Mountain River Cauldron Mountain River Line It seems that this is the name of this particular cauldron. Without the inscriptions on the cauldron, it would be extremely difficult to refine it unless one possesses unparalleled strength to forcefully do so. But even in my past life, I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to forcefully refine such a profound artifact. Let's take it slow. Just as Ding Linger began the search in the Tianxiang Empire for the person holding the wooden zither in their arms. In the South Sea region adjacent to the Tianxiang Empire, something happened within the territory of the Firefish Clan. Where is our esteemed Lord Wei Eleven? If you don't speak up, we will directly annihilate your Firefish Clan. Lord Wei Eleven has transcended power. How would we know his whereabouts? You're all bad people. Wei Eleven has disappeared, and now you come to bully us. There are at least five Martial Emperor or level figures. Who are even stronger than us? Since you insist on not speaking, then we can only send your entire clan to the heavens. From that point on, there was no longer a firefish clan in the South Sea. You follow closely behind me. All the members of the firefish clan gather your strength and fight to the death to create a path for your escape. You must make sure to get out and then go to the human world, to the holy city in the Yinwu city of the Fire Crow Empire. The Lord Envoy will surely help you. The entire Firefish Clan's hopes rest on my shoulders. If I also perish, then the clan will truly be forever extinct. Break through the encirclement. Attack. 
Kill. Humph, a clan of ants, struggling in its final moments. Appearing without any warning. Although I can't sense any power from them, why do I have this feeling of being unable to make a move? Is your divine tree still intact? This person in front of me has absolutely no aura. If it weren't for what my eyes see, I wouldn't believe that there is someone standing before me. They are undoubtedly a master. Sir, please save the lives of my clan. You think I would do your bidding? Whether you speak or not, it's not up to you. Tai Fei. Hmm. Tai Fei. You bastard. What are you trying to do? Tai Fei. Say something. Soul. Soul Sir King Technique? Saint? Li Yunxiao? I didn't expect someone to possess the Phoenix True Fire. Not bad, not bad. Tai Fei. But I still need to verify the accuracy of the information. Tai Fei. Tai Fei. As a reward for providing me with clues from your clan. I will take care of the current crisis for you. We'll kill you. Your clan is safe now. Saint. Saint Envoy. Yun Chao. Leader. Leader. That person is going to find Big Brother Yun Chao. Under the deliberation of several elders, the entire Firefish clan began a mass migration. The previously restless Tian Wu realm suddenly quieted down when the old star monster planned to cross domains, as if everyone was beginning to observe something. Li Yunchao focused on refining several ninth grade profound artifacts within the Boundary God Monument, oblivious to external affairs. Somewhere in Mount Fonsuin. Imperial Dynasty Bell. Chi Fong, the master of Jutian sect? Do you know me? Master Chi's name resonates throughout the southern domain, known to all. There is still a faint impression of Chi Fong, although Chi Fong was just an inexperienced child back then, but now Chi Fong is a dominant figure. Many people know my name, but it seems that those who have seen my true appearance do not include City Lord Yun Chao. But that's not important. The profound artifact you're stepping on, is it the stone monument that suppressed the seven martial emperors of the God Temple? Pure luck. To rely on luck to suppress seven martial emperors, it's truly defying the heavens. This stone monument gives me an exceptionally mysterious feeling. At a glance, I can't even discern its grade, but I can confirm that it is at least a profound artifact of eighth grade or above. By flaunting it like this, aren't you afraid of attracting attention? This stone monument is here to deter the insignificant and make sure nobody dares to trespass. But it seems to have no effect. Master Chi has arrived. Ha ha ha. City Lord Yun Chao is indeed as arrogant as rumored, without any boundaries. In your eyes, I am nothing more than an insignificant person. If you come to challenge me, the Lord of Yin Wu City, then you are indeed insignificant. I wonder if Master Chi came here today as an insignificant person or as an esteemed guest. Today, I am neither an esteemed guest nor an insignificant person. Yin Wu City was born to harness the boundless spiritual energy of Mount Sumeru and is no longer an ordinary spiritual land. Even when compared to the seven major superpowers of the Tian Wu realm, we do not fall behind. Even if I, Chi Fong, had intentions, I don't have the strength anymore. Master Chi's intention is to make me realize my place and relinquish control of Yin Wu City? That is one aspect of it. City Lord Yun Chao is an intelligent person, and I don't need to say more about the key points. Let me ask you, did you destroy the branch of the Xingxiu sect in Qinghai Town? Did Master Chi really intend to act on behalf of the monster of Zingxalai? At first, I didn't believe it much, but I didn't expect it to be true. Even if you didn't destroy the branch of the Xingxiu sect, it's hard to say for sure at the moment. 
I hope the city lord Yunchao can accompany me on a trip. Go on a trip? Where to? To the holy domain. Ha ha ha. You want to take me to the holy domain to explain everything clearly, and then rely on the power of the holy domain to prevent the monster of Xingxiu from crossing domains and interfering in the matters of our southern domain? The city lord Yunchao indeed a clever person, but just too arrogant in actions. Now I am forced to the forefront of the storm, and many things are beyond my control. Master Qi's thinking is too simplistic. It's obvious to everyone that the monster of Xingxiu has ulterior motives. Even if I go with you to the holy domain, it will be impossible to clarify these matters in a short time. If that monster simply sends a disciple to engage with you in the holy domain, he can quickly take control of Yinwu City. By then, it will be too late to say anything. I have also considered what you said. But it's clear that I cannot protect Yinwu City in our southern domain. I am afraid that the monster of Zinxel will take advantage of this situation to meddle in the affairs of the Tianxiang Empire and the Huowu Empire. To ensure the safety of your two empires, it seems that I have to sacrifice myself, no matter what. Whether it's me or you, we are both bound by circumstances. Haha, ha, bound by circumstances? I am well aware of Master Qi's intentions. But the control over my own life has always been in my own hands. If you are here today to capture me, then there's no need for further discussion. Let's fight directly. My Master's Sword Formation I've heard that he possesses the three sword techniques. City Lord Yunchao, you are a wise person. Why engage in such a pointless act? First, one's own destiny should always be in one's own hands. Second, never underestimate any opponent. Didn't Hua Qianchu teach you these two points? Seeking death. It is not for you to casually address me by my master's name. I used to think highly of your talent. But since you don't know your place, don't blame me for not being polite. Humph. Pathetic. The things Hua Chenchu didn't teach you, I will teach you today. You have repeatedly shown disrespect by casually addressing my revered master, but today I won't tolerate your arrogance. You are very strong. Considering your age, you can be considered an extremely rare and exceptional genius of the era. If you come with me today, I can guarantee your life safety. After several decades, with your talent, you will be capable of becoming strong. But if I were to go with you today, what would become of my unyielding martial spirit? Without a heart of a strong warrior, how can I challenge the realm of the nine heavens? Chief Fong, there's no point in saying more. Very well, you are a worthy opponent. Today, I will fulfill your indomitable martial spirit. I will defeat you and bring you back severely injured. Huh? Chi Feng's move doesn't possess overwhelming power? It seems he doesn't actually want to rely on brute force to dominate the weak. He just wants to suppress me with his sword intent? Ha ha ha. I've become the one being tested. Disciple, with this battle, I will let you experience the overwhelming sword intent of your master. The Sword Technique of the Esteemed Ancestor Though the power may be far from that of the Esteemed Ancestor, the flawless display of this supreme sword intent is astonishing. It's incredible. What kind of talent is this? Don't bother using such warm-up moves anymore. I don't have time to accompany you in honing your skills. Although Li Yunchao used the power of the Grand Formation to nullify my arrow, he only POSSesses the strength of a martial king. 
Is it possible for him to battle me, crossing three major realms? Absolutely impossible. Since you have already realized it, then it's up to your will. I grant you a battle. I don't know where you learned your martial skills, but my master is the esteemed ancestor Fei Yang's top disciple. Today, I will fight you using the supreme techniques of Fei Yang. Life is like a dream. Flying geese leave traces. Mark of AZ. It's no wonder that the technique I created has such power at the martial sovereign level. Sword technique, Demon Slayer. You're damn using me as cannon fodder again. Buy me some time to delay the power of his move. I will then support you with the fire domain. Hmm. Even if I can't break through your defense, I will greatly reduce your power. Could it be? Phoenix True Fire. Imperial Dynasty Bell. In a single moment, Jin Erations turned to dust. This toll of the bell not only dispelled my mark of life, but also directly shook my soul. What kind of mysterious artifact is this? Rumors say that you obtained a ninth rank profound artifact in Mount Sumeru. Could it be this ancient bell? In every era, there will be extraordinary individuals. Not only do you possess unmatched strength and awe-inspiring martial intent, but you also possess a great fortune. Perhaps you will dominate this era and suppress all others. As for the matters here, I will no longer interfere. Take care of yourself. This Chifong is quite a remarkable figure as well. Although he lacks the domineering aura that commands respect from all directions, it remains to be seen whether he can challenge the realm of the Nine Heavens in the future. I never expected that the incident in Yinwu City would turn it into a coveted treasure for the entire Tianwu continent. Even an ordinary martial sovereign like me is not your opponent. It seems Yinwu City may not be able to hold on. Lord City Master Sir, were there any enemies just now? You don't have to worry. The entire Yinwu City is protected within my grand formation. Ordinary warriors' battles won't harm the common people. Ah, uh, I see. This. I have already written a series of recent events into a letter and reported them to the capital. The response from the king's side was just a brief reply. All decisions are made based on martial achievements, and ST there must be no defiance. I see. You just focus on your own duties for now, nothing more. Sir, nothing more? Well, perhaps I will leave this place soon. But don't worry, I will come back before long. During my absence, whoever takes control of Yinwu City, I'm sure they won't trouble you. Just do your best to handle your own responsibilities. Yes. The current situation in Yinwu City is no longer that of an ordinary city-state. Not to mention me as the deputy city master, even the royal family of the Tian Shui Kingdom is completely overwhelmed and incapable of managing it. Among the three realms of the Tianwu world, the southern domain is the weakest in terms of strength. Even martial sovereign level powerhouses are rare and many people may never encounter them in their lifetime. I've heard that there's a martial emperor who has crossed domains and come here. People can't help but flock to Yinwu City to witness the spectacle. Whether they can see the martial emperor in person or not, at least they'll have a story to tell for the rest of their lives, enough to boast about. Since the opening of Mount Sumeru last time, Yinwu City has once again become packed, but everyone is cautious. No one dares to make a scene or cause trouble, only endless gossip and idle chatter. I heard that old man will be crossing domains in a few days. By then, we'll get to witness the Martial Emperor of the Nine Heavens in action. Wow, I've never seen a Martial Emperor in my entire life. Finally, I can fulfill my long-held wish. Fulfill your wish? Old man coming here is just for show of force. Do you think a dignified martial emperor would personally take action against the city master of Yinwu City? You have a point. 
but the city master of Yinwu City is no pushover either. Don't forget, the seven martial emperors of the shrine were suppressed here. Humph, it's just rumors. Do you actually believe in such mystical things? I also heard that the reason old man came personally is that Su Fong, who was killed in Qinghai town, was his beloved comrade. Oh, that's highly possible. Hurry, tell everyone what exactly happened. Meanwhile, the spies of various major forces have already infiltrated. Many sects have even sent their sect masters personally, indicating the importance of this matter. This Li Yunchao is quite remarkable. He actually didn't escape. What is this person thinking? Does he really want to challenge old man? Haha, <laughs> young people with a little talent think highly of themselves and don't regard the whole world with importance. This time, he's in big trouble. Only complete destruction awaits him. Chi Fong, the sect master of the Jutian sect. Regardless, we can no longer interfere in the affairs of Yinwu City. After this incident, no matter who takes control of Yinwu City, it will undoubtedly transcend the influence of the Fire Crow Empire. On this occasion, you can experience the pressure of the Martial Emperor, which will greatly benefit your future cultivation. Wang Songha, the sect master of the Tianzhu sect. I'm also looking forward to seeing the Martial Emperor take action. But it's unlikely to happen, right? After all, for a teenager in his early teens, if old man personally intervenes, how can he bear such humiliation? I estimate that when an old man subordinate, even a martial sovereign powerhouse, makes a move, they will resolve the matter completely. The unfolding of events is always unpredictable. No one could have imagined that Yin Wu City would undergo such drastic changes in just a few months. No one can say for sure whether old man will intervene. Zo. Sec Master Lang Xingbo of the Duanqing Mountain. It seems that Sec Master Qi has a favorable impression of this Li Yunxiao, huh? What about Sec Master Lang? Why is there no movement from your Duanqing Mountain? Haha, <laughs> it's just a profound weapon. Since it's lost, let it be. Lang Xingbo, when did you become so magnanimous? I remember a few years ago, one of my disciples took over a hundred pieces of elemental stones from your disciple, and you killed him at the mountain gate. But this is a peak level 6th grade profound weapon, could it be that you're afraid? TSK TSK, no wonder. I heard that Li Yunxiao recently suppressed the seven martial emperors of the shrine, causing the shrine to plummet in status within the Tianxian Empire. Ha ha ha. Master, the authenticity of this matter still needs verification. How could someone like Li Yunxiao possibly suppress seven martial emperors? Forget about being a martial emperor, even if it were me, he might not be my match. I don't know if Li Yunxiao can suppress seven martial emperors, but his true combat power must be above that of a two-star martial emperor. Xian, Li Yunxiao surpasses you. Rumors always have an element of exaggeration. In this vast world, there are peerless individuals with extraordinary talents that we can't imagine. This Li Yunxiao must be very peculiar, and Yu Jiolin's disappearance must be related to him. His life token is still intact, and it's clear that not only is he not in danger, but his cultivation is also greatly increased. But how could he lose all contact completely? It's extremely strange. Perhaps Uncle Yu is in Seklushan somewhere, breaking through a bottleneck. Looking at the changes in the aura on his life token, it does seem like he's cultivating. But knowing Yu Jiolin's personality, he would never quietly hide away without a word. My speculation is that he might have been trapped by Li Yunxiao somewhere. Trapped somewhere? How could Li Yunxiao have such ability? If it weren't for Grandmaster Bailey Gongjin's intervention, Uncle Yu and I would have captured Li Yunxiao already. A six-star martial emperor? If that's all there is to it, then Li Yunxiao should be capable of trapping him. What? Sick Master Qi, why do you say this? Because I have fought against him. The number one person in the Fire Crow Empire actually had a battle with Li Yunxiao. As Qi Feng's identity, if he said it, it's nat Yuroli, not a falsehood. And the result? Of course, the Sick Master suppressed Li Yunxiao. Do you even need to ask? Uh, 
Then, how does Sek Master Chi evaluate his strength? I only made three moves, and he easily nullified all of them. We didn't engage in further combat, but he gave me an unfathomable feeling. Although I feel confident in overpowering him, there's a sense that it won't be as easy to defeat him. At least a six-star martial emperor is not his match. The number one person in the Fire Crow Empire couldn't even defeat his opponent with just three moves. This. Sek Master Chi, how many layers of strength did you use? The first move was just to pressure him with my aura, probably at the level of a one-star martial emperor. Then, in the second move, I elevated my strength to that of a five-star martial emperor. For the third move, I unleashed the power of a nine-star martial emperor, but he easily dissolved it. After that, I left. Of course, this should be related to his use of formations. Perhaps he also used the formations of the Yinwu city to suppress the seven martial emperors of the shrine, but I believe he is not solely reliant on formations. But the strength of this person is so formidable that it's nearly impossible to suppress him below the martial venerable level. Even the power of a nine-star martial emperor can be dissolved by him. So, among the people present, aside from the three sect masters, how many are capable of being a match for Li Yunchao? If he manages to escape this calamity, everyone should be extremely cautious when encountering him in the future. Never provoke him. The first time I encountered Li Yunchao was during the Xingyang family incident. Back then, even a casual martial master would have been enough to kill him. And now, in just a short period of time, he has grown to a level that cannot be suppressed by anyone below the Martial Supreme. This kind of progress is truly terrifying, ing, and extremely fearsome. She's here. Is this the power of the interdimensional transmission array? Such power. The monster is indeed not here for long. It seems there's an entire army coming. Around Li Yunchao, there are only a few auras, and the strongest among them is only at the level of a martial master. These people are definitely not capable of contending against the martial sovereign. What exactly is the trump card of that kid? Yun, are you really not planning to leave? Haha, <laughs> I never expected that my grandson would attract the personal attention of the martial sovereign. Truly makes me proud. Yun. Hey. The Martial Sovereign, huh? It's worth experiencing. Kid, how about it? Are you confident in taking down this Martial Sovereign? Not long ago, I thought that offending the entire Fire Crow Empire was the biggest trouble Yun could get into. He, the trouble he can get into knows no limits. The monster is a renowned Martial Sovereign. The Nine Heavens Realm is an incredibly powerful realm in martial arts. What should we do? You've never stumbled before, kid. Could it be that this time you're really in trouble? Based on the situation, didn't I ask Miss Ling to call for reinforcements? If they can make it in time, we'll be saved. That's what I said. But we're already at such a critical moment. There's still no news from the other end of the Kamuni Cation device. We've deployed so many people, and yet no one has found anything. How is the information I asked you to find out? As expected, as Yun predicted, Meng Yan has never been married. Meng Wu and Meng Yu should have been adopted. Just as I thought. Yun, who is the person you invited? Can they really defeat the monster? Don't worry, that person has been obsessed with music throughout their life, and they have integrated music into their cultivation. Not only do they have extraordinary strength, but their musical abilities can even communicate with spirits and gods. The only thing I'm worried about is not being able to find this person. That would be troublesome. Fei Yang's friend from the past is certainly not an ordinary person. But after all, things have changed, and the old feelings may or may not still exist. You always like to keep us in suspense. Could it be that you're just playing tricks? D, don't tell me you know some other Marshall Sovereign expert. Believe you. I just can't help but worry. Nonsense, right? We found them. 
Just received news from the Tianxian Empire that they have found this person and delivered Yun's message. Is it true? Did that person say anything? Will they arrive in time? According to the message, when they found that person, they were playing the zither in the courtyard of a dilapidated house. Upon hearing Yun's words, a melodious tune laughs with the east wind, the person seemed momentarily stunned. They then lightly played a piece on the zither before tidying it up and returning to the house. They didn't say a word. This. What is going on? Are they coming or not? They should at least give a response. Yun, will that person really come? The person I sent said that the one playing the zither was just an ordinary person and couldn't sense any aura from them. Moreover, the zither in their hands is by no means a precious mystical treasure, but the most ordinary peach wood zither. Peach wood zither, that's right. Don't worry, that guy must have gone to sleep. After playing a piece, his favorite thing to do is to take a nap. Sleeping now? How will they make it in time? There's no way around it. It's his lifestyle habit. After playing the zither, he has to sleep. Even the heavenly king himself can't stop him. And what are those? They are. Wait, that is. The Azure Battleship. Seventh rank. Golden Battleship. What? What is that? Eighth rank. Divine Battleship. With such a formation, if a war breaks out, the entire Yinwu city will be reduced to ashes. Even us bystanders on the city walls might get dragged into it. The Lord of the Star Sect, the Martial Sovereign, the Monster. Hmm. The martial sovereign, just a single glance, makes one feel like they're falling into an icy abyss. Which one of you is Li Munchao? Come up quickly and meet your death. What's the matter? No one dares to admit it? You ants from the southern region, if no one takes responsibility, I don't mind wiping you all out. What? You actually want to exterminate everyone as soon as you speak? That's too domineering, too malicious. How many innocent people are there in Yinwu City? This monster is so arrogant. The monster doesn't even regard anyone here. The monster doesn't give the slightest bit of face. But this monster is the martial sovereign. What can you do if this monster doesn't give you face? Arrogant piece of crap. Just looking at your old face makes me want to slap you. If you want to find me, get down on your knees and beg me. What's wrong? Scared and speechless? If you have something to say, spit it out. What did that brat down there just say? He said, you are an arrogant piece of crap. He saw your old face. Is this the might of the Martial Sovereign? Is this the realm of the Nine Heavens? Everyone, disperse. Hey! No way! Believe in him! In! Let me witness, let me witness! Just how powerful is this punch? Let's see how many layers of defense you can break through. First layer, the Great Sword Formation. Stab me! Second layer, Supreme Formation. Condense. Third layer. Sword technique, demon slaying slash. Fourth layer, Imperial Dynasty Bell. Strike. Hmm. Ah. Fifth layer, Realm of Fire. Sixth layer, Realm of Earth. Phoenix True Fire. Ear this crust. Elemental Fusion. Earth blaze behold its magnify sense.
No need to hold back any trump cards. If this punch cannot be blocked, there is only death. Seventh layer. Demon armor, battle armor. What kind of battle armor is that? Even with such powerful seven layers of defense, it couldn't withstand the Martial Sovereign's punch. Li Yunxiao, with his cultivation as a Martial King, has displayed such incredible techniques. It's simply astonishing. Truly worthy of the Martial Sovereign's punch, breaking through seven layers of formidable defense and even taking the opponent's life. The might of the martial sovereign in the Nine Heavens realm is not to be challenged. This kid only possesses the strength of a martial king. To think that my punch could be weakened to such an extent. Those seven techniques, each one is incredibly powerful. The only reason I lost is because the opponent's cultivation is simply too weak. If you were also in the Nine Heavens realm like me, those seven defenses... I wouldn't be able to break through any of them. Boundless magic power. 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 Is this all we can do in the southern region? Boundless magic power. Boundless magic power. Boundless magic power. Boundless magic power. Is this the extent of your strength? Even I, a mere teenage martial king, couldn't kill this bastard, and yet you have the audacity to claim boundless magical power? Can't any of you vomit and match his coordination? Humph, ha ha ha. The eighth defense. It is my ultimate tyrant body. Yun Chao. What? Ugh. Under the punch of the martial sovereign of the nine heavens, this bastard didn't die. Ah. You brat. The formidable power of the punch from the senior brother just now was so overwhelming that it crushed any resist ants within me. I even had the urge to kneel down and submit. How did he find the courage to face that strike? Can he even withstand what comes next, the unstoppable? I. I will never compare myself to him in vain again. I am truly ridiculous. A few days ago, in Li Yunxiao's battle, I thought I was showing mercy. Now it seems that if I had fought with all my might, the outcome might truly be unpredictable. Senior brother, if I were you, I'd rather just smash my head and die right now. Ha ha ha. This kid is already at the end of his strength. But how can I have the face to attack again in front of so many people? The opponent is just a teenager in his early teens with only Martial King cultivation. How on earth did he survive? No matter what happens this time, I will become a laughingstock in the future. Under my fist, even a Martial King as insignificant as an ant cannot be killed. No. Since you want to die, I don't mind giving you another punch. This old man actually has the audacity to strike again? This old monster intends to become a laughingstock and doesn't care anymore. But if I hide within the Boundary God tablet, the secrets of the cosmos within the tablet will be revealed. If they chase after me, it might be the strongest in the whole world. I can't afford any more accidents. This punch must turn the entire Yinwu city to ashes. This monster is absolutely insane. He he he. Finally, they've arrived. If they didn't come today, everything would have been exposed. Who is it? Who? Who is it? 
Who is hiding in the void? I can't believe we couldn't even find senior brother. Yunchao. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Yun, has that person arrived? Yes, but they might not have arrived yet. They sent a melody of a chain ahead, so they should be here in no time. They sent the melody of a chain ahead? Don't think you're safe just by hiding. Today, I will tear open the entire void and see how you can hide. Who are you? This person appeared, and I didn't even notice. Huh? Isn't that the simple and honest neighbor who lives next to me? Simple and honest neighbor? Are you the one who's simple? Didn't you see that they dared to confront the martial sovereign? I remember you always bossing them around. You're finished. Your whole family is finished. Who are you? This person is definitely not an ordinary person. Yun, who is he? Under the heavens, someone who can hold an ordinary wooden chain with such dignity. Apart from Li Hua Chi, no one else can do it. Li Hua Chi? Who is that? Li Hua Chi? Li Hua Chi? Li Hua. Hmm. Li Hua Chi. Li Hua. Li Hua Chi. Ah. Cough, cough. Cough. Fifth on the heavenly wind and cloud ranking, the martial sovereign Li Hua Chi. I have long heard your great name. Like many others, I grew up listening to the legends of the ten great martial sovereign. In the boundless martial world, following in the footsteps of these ten individuals, advancing relentlessly without ever stopping. At this moment, the only thing I need to do is suppress the impulse to kneel down and worship. Li Hua Chi, may I ask what brings you to this small Yanwu city? If he intends to compete with me for this Yanwu city, then today's situation will become even more difficult to resolve. I owe a debt of gratitude, and today I've come to repay it. I will guarantee the safety of this Yanwu city. I will guarantee the safety of this Yanwu city. What? What? One of the ten most powerful forces in the martial world today, the martial sovereign with the title of Heavenly Chain. This person has actually descended upon the southern region to protect Yinwu City. What is the origin of this Yinwu City? How could they invite a titled martial sovereign? I initially thought Li Huachi also came to seize Yinwu City, but unexpectedly, Li Huachi came to protect it. No wonder Yinwu City has risen like a comet in such a short time. I thought his background was the Wanbao Tower, but even if it is, it's not necessarily capable of inviting Li Hua Chi. Am I dreaming? Within a single day, I have witnessed two martial sovereign. Li Hua Chi 1550 Handsome. He has always been my idol. After defeating the senior brother, I must get his autograph. Lower your voice, senior brother can hear you. Aren't you afraid of death? What's there to fear? With Li Hua Chi here, who in the world can touch Yin Wu City? Today, it's certain that we can't avoid Li Hua Chi. Moreover, in front of all these disciples and almost all the prominent figures of the Fire Crow Empire, I absolutely cannot lose face. Li Hua Chi, don't think I'm afraid of you. During the last ranking battle of the Heavenly Wind and Cloud Ranking, I didn't participate because my surging waves and terrifying storm secret technique had just reached the fifth level. But now, I have reached the perfect mastery of the ninth level. I still have the strength to fight. Huh? Could it be that the other party is really afraid? Li Hua Chi, I respect you as one of the strong individuals on the heavenly wind and cloud ranking. As they say, heroes value heroes. Regarding today's matter, you should not intervene, leave quickly and consider it giving me face. Yun, what happened to you? Yun, I, I am fine. I'm just disgusted. I've seen shameless people before, but I've never seen someone so shameless. I never expected to broaden my horizons today. Kid, you're asking for trouble. This young man speaks the truth. I'm not saying anything because I can't even comprehend your brainless remarks. But since you've said it like that, I will use just one move. 
Whether you can withstand it or not, I won't stop you anymore. Is this for real? It's real. Li Huachi. You're really too arrogant. Even the martial sovereign Feiyang, who is known for having the strongest attack power, wouldn't dare boast in front of me like this. Sai. It's a pity the old friend is not here. Otherwise, under the sword that cleaves the stars, if you could charge within a thousand miles of his sword aura before dying. I'll take my head off and let you use it as a ball to kick. Stop wasting words. Stop talking about a dead person and take action. After one move, immediately withdraw from the Fire Crow Empire. Constellatians realign, all realms submit. The turbulent sea of stars. Destiny overturned. Surging waves and terrifying storms secret technique. Perish. Martial sovereign of heavenly chain. This move of mine is called divine melody. It is derived from an ancient divine music, transformed into a rhythm. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. What? Ugh. No, no. Let me go. Am I? Dead? In a showdown between two martial sovereigns, one would expect it to be earth-shattering, breaking through the void. How did it end so silently, with me dying in an instant? And the death was so complete, vanishing into thin air. The reason for such a simple ending is entirely due to the vast difference in strength. The ten great martial sovereigns are truly terrifying. Members of the Xingxiu sect. Those who don't leave within three breaths will die. To think that this person really vanished completely within three breaths, not even a trace of this person's battleship can be seen. The legendary idol, one of the ten great martial sovereigns, truly possesses astonishing power just as the legends describe. To annihilate senior brother with just one move, the visual impact is unimaginable. Why is he still standing there? Considering his temperament, he should have left directly. Come out. Come out? What? Could it be? Could there be someone hiding in the void? Daring to conceal their presence even in front of a martial sovereign with a title, they truly seek death. The Year Beast's Burial? It's him. Li Hua Chi, it has been more than 20 years since we last parted ways. Have you missed your old friend? Yao Jin Liang, I never expected you to be here. Yao Jin Liang. As one of the ten great martial sovereigns, the divine controlled martial sovereign Yao Jin Liang. He he. I came here to handle some matters, never expected to run into you. Hmm. Go about your business. There's a sibling pigs. Where did you hide them? Where did you hide them? Hand them over to me. So you came for the sibling pair. The person behind them. Strange. Why can't I sense their presence? Lord Yao, they haven't been found. Hmm? That person would never make a mistake. Keep searching. Yes. Hmm. Lord Yao. The sibling pair are inside the Boundary God Monument. If Kunu discovers them, Li Yunxiao will be in danger. I truly couldn't find them. Hmm. Then we have no choice but to ask that person to intervene personally. Yes. Prayer to the Divine Art You are 
You are Lord Welding, the ruler of the holy domain, Wei Ching. Wei Ching? Who exactly is this person? To make the legendary ten great martial sovereigns show such a shocked expression. Indeed, it's this person. Kid, what should we do? The sibling pair are inside the Boundary God Monument. Hopefully, he won't find them. Li Huachi, now that you know it's me, you better leave quickly. If your true self were to come here, I might spare you some face. Just a mere strand of divine consciousness. Don't accuse me of not giving you face. Today, I am determined to protect the Yin Wu city. If you dare to cause trouble, I will kill you, Kunu, and obliterate your divine consciousness. Li Huachi, you're ruthless. You dare not give face to Lord Wei Ching. Yao Jinliang, you used to be a carefree person. How come you're now serving this person so diligently? I have a cooperative relationship with this person, but it's not as unbearable as you make it out to be. Back then, I lost to you by half a move. I've long wanted to have a few more exchanges with you. How about we find a place later to spar? I'll be happy to accompany you. However, within the Yinwu city today, no one should dare to act recklessly. You're alone and outnumbered. I will hold you back. Within the Yinwu city, isn't it up to that person to do as they please? If you and I go all out and directly shatter this spatial realm, the entire Yinwu city, even this empire, will collapse from within the Tianwu realm. It will be engulfed in chaotic void currents, causing the death and injury of billions of beings. I want to see how you and that person will explain yourselves to the other four ruling officials. How will you justify it to the entire world? This is too exaggerated. It's probably too late to run now. Even with the fastest means of transportation, we won't be able to escape. Legend has it that during the battle for the title of the Ten Great Martial Sovereigns, the entire holy domain was shattered and torn apart. I always thought it was just a legendary tale, but looking at Yao Jinlian's appearance, it seems to be true after all. Li Huachi, I only want to take two people away, and I won't harm them. It doesn't conflict with your desire to protect the Yinwu city. To make Yao Jinlian come personally and now provoke Wei Qing's divine consciousness, who is this person of such importance? Since that's the case, why don't you find out first? Very well. The pattern deep inside the consciousness is exactly the same as the one Wei Qing created. Soul Manifestation If you want to take someone away from my Boundary God Monument, you'll have to break through this realm. Divine Ascend Ants Tekken K. Indeed, they're not here. However, Humph, what does such a feeble spiritual attack mean in front of me? You possess the true Qi. Are you from the Shenshao Palace? A discarded disciple of the Shenshao Palace is not worth mentioning. It's not easy to cultivate the true Qi. Although your progress is slow now, you will undoubtedly reach the Nine Heavens realm in the future. Throughout the generations, those who cultivated this technique in the Shenshao Palace all became unparalleled experts, renowned in their era. How is Lord doing now? As a discarded disciple of the Shenshao Palace, how would I know about Lord's matters? Strange. Those two individuals are actually hiding in another realm. Could it be in Mount Sumeru? No, Mount Sumeru has already collapsed, and the spiritual energy leaked out. That place is not Mount Sumeru. This is madness. That aura, he's actually summoning that divine weapon. He truly intends to break through a realm. Who exactly are those siblings that he would go to such lengths for? Wei Qing, you're actually resorting to a transcendent grade profound artifact. The spiritual energy in the southern domain is scarce. If you truly use that profound artifact, it's highly likely that you'll shatter the entire southern domain. How will you deal with the aftermath then? If you're willing to assist me, there's no need for such trouble. I don't know who entrusted you, but if I really take action, the Yin Wu city will certainly not be able to hold on. 
it's all right, you can weigh your options slowly. However, it seems that the Southern Domain can't wait for you much longer. All right, I'll help you find them. Give me the spatial imprint. Also, after this matter, I request the intervention of the Holy Domain to issue a decree that forbids any force from prying into the Yinwu city. As you wish. We're saved. Not only us, but the entire Southern Domain is safe. Who is this person, after all? To be able to make the Holy Domain issue a decree and prevent forces from all over the world from interfering? This is bad. Li Huachi's mastery of sound laws is so strong that this person can traverse through time and resonate through ancient and modern times. Master. Meng Bai, Meng Wu. Melody. I can't use the Great Yen Divine Technique. If I'm discovered, the situation may become even more unfavorable. But even if I do use it, with my current cultivation, I might not be able to withstand Li Huachi's Qin music. Boundary God Monument, Fonsuin Mountain. Huh? What happened? Did I fall asleep? Did I fall asleep while standing? I've already slept through the whole night with just one melody. TSK, just one night? Your pathetic cultivation, let me tell you, it's already been three days. What? Those important figures have already awakened and left. You two are considered lucky. Look around, there are still many people enthralled. After the incident in Yinwu City, various rumors spread like snowflakes across the entire continent. Soon, the Holy Domain issued the Iron Decree, forbidding any non-Southern Domain sect from interfering in the matters of Yinwu City. Within the Southern Domain, those who experienced that night had no courage to entertain the idea of attacking Yinwu City. And after that incident, Li Yunchao seemed to fade from everyone's sight, rarely seen or heard of. Damn it, he couldn't even kill him when the Martial Sovereign crossed domains. How could such an absurd thing happen? You didn't see it. On that day, there were hundreds of Martial SOV rains who came, causing heaven to crumble and rivers to cease flowing. This battle is enough to be recorded in the annals of Tian Wu continent's history. I personally witnessed that night. The majority of the martial sovereign powerhouses in Tian Wu continent came, even all ten of the titled martial sovereigns gathered together. They fought in a manner that plunged the world into darkness, devoid of the light of the sun and moon. Is it true? With so many martial sovereigns engaged in battle, how did it not have any widespread impact? How did you manage to escape unharmed? Who said there wasn't? Look, my arm is still bruised. Oh. Indeed, it's brother. At that time, a martial sovereign's weapon, the thunderous hammer, came crashing down towards me. I was so frightened that my soul almost left my body. But I didn't panic. I launched a counterattack against that thunderous hammer. Hey! I'm a strong warrior. My tiger subduing fist has already reached a transcendent state. Oh, 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 oh. Within a few breaths, I unleashed seven punches, each possessing the power to shatter a tiger and directly knock down the thunderous hammer. Brother, you're amazing. What happened afterward? What happened afterward? He, that martial sovereign, was furious when he saw me knock down his weapon. He trembled with anger and descended from the sky, intending to kill me. So the two of us exchanged blows on the ground for more than ten moves. But how could I be a match for a martial sovereign especially when he could fly? At a critical moment, another martial sovereign rushed over. Someone's getting killed dash. Run, quickly. So noisy. Now, I can only use this death god token. Old man, do you know someone named Bashianhu around here? I am Bashianhu. What do you want with me? Ah. Uh, you're Bashianhu? Ahem, cough. So you have the token. You want to go to the palace of the death god, right? Follow me. 
The fastest interdomain array in the entire southern domain is right here with me. You've come to the right place. Go inside. What? Bashianu, you're not joking, are you? When it was built, I didn't consider everything carefully, and I accidentally turned it into a toilet. This is the only passage to the palace of the Death God. You can decide for yourself. Hee hee, vomit, after vomiting a few times, you'll get used to it. Damn it. Li Yunchao, I hate you. Ugh, oh. Wows. Ugh, 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 ugh. Who? Who are you? He he, I am the envoy of the palace of the death god. Where is your token? Wow. Hmm, indeed, it's a genuine token. Follow me. The palace master is right here. Is the palace master of the palace of the death god here? I hold the token. Please grant me an audience. Is the palace master of the palace of the death god here? I hold the token. Please grant me an audience. Is the palace master of the palace of the death god here? Hmm. Hmm. The person before my eyes is none other than the renowned leader of the assassin organization, the palace master of the palace of the death god, Yu Wenxiang. Palace master Yu Wenxiang of the palace of the death god. What brings you here? To see me? I am Li Yi, and I have come with the Death God token, hoping that Palace Master Yuan can help me kill someone. Kill someone? Who is it? It's Li Yunchao, the Lord of Yinwu City. Is it the same person causing a stir among the small nations in the Southern Domain? Exactly. This person has committed heinous crimes and deserves to die. I don't care if this person deserves to die. But the matter concerning Yinwu City has attracted the attention of the Holy Domain, and it's quite troublesome. The Palace of the Death God is the top assassin organization in the world, and we have never shied away from any task. Of course, we can kill Li Yunchao if you want. But just relying on this Death God token is not enough. You will need to offer a certain reward. I might not have anything valuable on me that would interest you. He he he. How many elemental stones do you need? I'll gather them. I might not necessarily accept elemental stones. Ah. What? What are you going to do? Hurry up and pick it up. Yes, sir. P please, spare me. I don't want this death god token anymore. Just pretend I was never here. I beg you, I beg you, spare me. I just enjoy being reluctant. I'm going to bleed heavily, heavily, ha ha ha. Ugh. I'll give you a second chance. If you don't pick it up within three breaths, I'll directly resort to all kinds of brutal methods. The first time? Your posture is wrong, oh. ATT. Let me show you. Come, gently, slowly. Oh my, it slipped away. Continue to pick it up, dash. Figure it out yourself and pick it up, dash. Li Yunchao. It's all because of you, all because of you. I will definitely crush you to pieces, crush you to ashes. Crush you to ashes. Li Yunchao. Yun. Are you all right? Do you feel unwell? Shouldn't you take a rest? I'm fine. I just feel like I missed something very joyful. Yunchao, what joyful thing did you miss? Huh? Are you really okay? Ever since the Star Sect incident, you've been gloomy. It would be great if there's something that can make you happy. If Yun isn't feeling well, just tell Ling don't force yourself. That's enough from all of you. Are you trying to flaunt your affection in front of us? Oh, no. The Tianju Gate is the supreme holy land of the Fire Crow Empire. You four should leave immediately to avoid endless trouble. He, calm down, two big brothers. We've come to collect a debt. 
Collect a debt? Your Tianju Gichium master owes me a sum of money, and I've come to collect it. Please have a look, both of you. This is personally signed and sealed by your young master. 20 billion medium-grade elemental stones. They're really here to cause trouble. Who exactly are you people? Step aside. You really have spare time. Why not just barge in directly? Why waste time talking to these gatekeepers and lackeys? Engaging with them is a waste of time. Oh no. Impressive. Quickly inform the sect. Grandmaster. Something bad has happened. Someone is causing trouble. Panic and disorder. What kind of discipline is this? I sentenced the two of you to three months of solitary confinement in the back mountain. Who dares to provoke our Tianju gate? He, my apologies for not reporting the name and surname earlier. The city lord of Yinwu City has come to pay a visit and collect debts. Who? The city lord of Yinwu City, Li Yunchao. The day this person blocked the emperor's attack with seven defensive moves has deeply penetrated the heart of every warrior in the Fire Crow Empire. Even though Li Yunxiao's current cultivation is only at the Martial King level, even Martial Sovereigns are no match for him. So, it's City Lord Yunxiao. My apologies for not welcoming you properly. I am Su Hao of the Tianju Gate. Moreover, Li Huaqi personally vouches for the protection of Yinwu City. Their connection to the Martial Sovereign raises questions about the nature of this guarantee. If by any chance the Martial Sovereign decides to intervene, just a mere gesture from the Martial Sovereign could wipe out our entire sect. All right, all right. I'm here today just to collect debts, nothing more. Collect debts? City Lord Yunxiao, there is no conflict or connection between the Tianju Gate and you. What is the meaning of this? Elder, see for yourself. 20 billion medium-grade elemental stones? Li Yunxiao, what do you mean by this? Don't think the Tianju Gate is easy to bully. Elder, please calm down. Take a closer look for yourself. This debt note is indeed genuine. If it's truly a debt note, then it must be reported to the sect leader for proper handling. Please wait a moment, all four of you. The young one acted recklessly and wrote this large sum debt note without thinking. Tianju Gate sect leader, Wang Songha. This is his personal matter and has nothing to do with our Tianju Gate. Now, I have given him a good beating and handed him over to City Lord Yunxiao for full authority in handling the matter. Sect leader Wang, are you trying to settle a debt of 20 billion medium grade elemental stones by simply giving him a beating? Within the Sumeru Mountain, I exhausted my treasures to save your son, offending numerous experts along the way. Exhausted your treasures? Offended numerous experts? Are these things only worth a beating? If it's such a good deal, I request the sect leader to give my subordinates a beating as well. Damn it! So, City Lord Yunxiao, what do you think? Even if this money has nothing to do with our Tianju Gate, even if there's the slightest connection, our Tianju Gate cannot afford it. The debt was incurred by the young one. If you want to collect, go after him. Sect leader Wang, pretending to be poor in front of me, that won't work for you. If you truly refuse to pay, there's a source for every debt and a responsible party. In that case, I'll have to use Wang Chang's life to settle it. Please spare my life. City Lord Yunxiao, spare my life. I know what my father is planning. He's betting that Li Yunxiao wouldn't dare to truly kill me within the Tianju Gate. So, the matter of the 20 billion debt note can be brushed aside. But Li Yunxiao is not someone you can deduce based on common sense. Spare your life? Equals I saved your life within the Sumeru Mountain, and yet you captured my friend to threaten me. And now you have the audacity to ask for mercy? You cunning fox! If I truly unleashed assassins, I doubt you could escape the Tianju Gate alive. Enough. Regardless, Wang Chang is also the son of sect leader Wang. After giving it some thought, I can't take his life. Here's what we'll do. Let's give Wang Chang a dose of potent aphrodisiac and lock him up in a cage with a few sows. 
We'll push it to Shenyang City and charge admission to watch. It should at least bring in some profit. City Lord Yunchao, a warrior can be killed but not humiliated. Don't go too far. Ha ha ha, you young man, you're quite ruthless. But I like it. Stop. Sect Leader Wang, one should have integrity. You just said how the matter should be handled by me, and now you're going back on your word? City Lord Yunchao, how can we release the young one? Give us a condition. But 20 billion stones is too outrageous, our Tianju gate simply cannot afford it. We're all familiar with each other, being in the same blue sky under the Fire Crow Empire. Owing some money is not a big deal, and I also came here with something to ask for sect leader Wang's help. Here's the deal. As long as your sect lends me the cross-domain transmission array for my use, I'll deduct one billion from the debt. How about that? What? You want to zero 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 borrow our cross-domain 7000 transmission array? Only the Jutian sect and our Tianju gate have such a cross-domain transmission array in the entire Fire Crow Empire. City Lord Yunchao, you've come to the right people. But the amount of elemental stones required for each cross-domain transmission is astronomical. This time I'll provide a free transmission for the City Lord. As for that debt note, he he. Take Wang Chang and go to the Jutian sect. Find a few trees and make a cage on the spot. All right. A-O-O. Father, save me. My son. Hold on, City Lord Yun Chao. Let's have a proper conversation. The 20 billion, indeed. We can't come up with 20 billion elemental stones, but we have something of equivalent value. No, 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 its value even surpasses 20 billion elemental stones. I wonder if City Lord Yun Chao would be interested? He he. Sect leader, what you're referring to, could it be? There seems to be an issue with the valuable item mentioned by Sect Leader Wang, doesn't it? Ahem. City Lord Yun Chao, please follow me. Whether there's an issue or not, it's for the City Lord to decide. 24 Bridges, Moonlit Night 24 Bridges, Moonlit Night Where is this place? It feels strangely peculiar. This is the sacred land of Tianju Gate, also known as the Land of Heritage. Land of Heritage? I thought it would be something valuable, but it turns out to be a place for martial arts inheritance. I have as many martial arts techniques as there are in the world. The valuable item mentioned by sect leader Wang is worth nothing in my eyes. Such arrogance. You have as many martial arts techniques as there are in the world. How presumptuous. City Lord Yun Chao has immense backing behind him, so naturally he wouldn't care about some martial arts techniques. But the inheritance of Tianju Gate is different. It's not about martial arts inheritance, but rather the inheritance of divine bodies. Inheritance of divine bodies? Are you saying that those special constitutions can also be inherited? That's correct. It is said that City Lord Yun Chao is also skilled in the art of body refinement, so naturally, he should be aware of the power of those special constitutions. However, most divine bodies are innate and cannot be changed. But the divine body of our Tianju Gate can be inherited through this place. In this world, some individuals are born with extremely powerful innate talents. In the history of the Tianwu continent, they have all been called divine bodies. Ming Bai's poison body and Luo Yunchang's yang body are both considered to be types of divine bodies. Each type of divine body possesses immense and unparalleled power, capable of achieving dominance in the future. The various body refinement techniques emerged after the appearance of divine bodies. Throughout history, countless experts have continuously explored and researched these techniques, hoping to approach the qualities of divine bodies through cultivation and training. However, most attempts ended in failure, and only a very small number achieved success. Those successful techniques became supreme secrets of the major sex, not to be divulged to outsiders. Li Yunxiao's body refinement art is among the most outstanding of them. 
But even he, who once held the title of the martial sovereign, had no knowledge that the inheritance of divine bodies was possible in this world. Inheritance of divine bodies? If such a miraculous phenomenon exists, how could Tianzhu Gate not be one of the three major sects of the Fire Crow Empire? Tianzhu Gate has long been one of the seven major forces in the Tianwu realm. Of course, this kind of divine body inheritance is extremely mysterious. Since I entered Tianzhu Gate until now, only one person has received the inheritance of this place. One person? The probability of that happening is negligible. Could it be Xian Ryu? Correct. It is because he received the inheritance of the divine body that I took him as my disciple. In the history of Tianzhu Gate, there have been a total of five individuals who obtained the inheritance of divine bodies. In the end, every single one of them stepped into the realm of martial sovereign, dominating the world. Achieving the rank of martial sovereign, a dream coveted by the vast majority of martial artists, is not even a challenge for Li Yunxiao. City Lord Yunxiao, are you willing to give it a try? The price is that debt note. Regardless of the outcome, I will activate the cross-domain transmission array and send the four of you across the domains. How about that? Do you take us for fools? To exchange 20 billion elemental stones, a secure and significant amount, for something that only five people have successfully achieved in thousands of years? Hand over the elemental stones quickly. City Lord Yunxiao, are you willing to give it a try? 24 Bridges, Moonlit Nights Sect Leader Wang, you certainly know how to do business. 20 billion elemental stones is indeed a substantial amount. But for someone like City Lord Yunxiao, an exceptional figure, he would never give up any opportunity for advancement in martial arts. Even if this opportunity only has a 1 in 10,000 chance, am I right? What kind of inheritance method is it? Kid, have you gone crazy? That's 20 billion. Billion. Although I secretly hoped he would give it a try to offset the 20 billion debt, I didn't expect him to be so straightforward. This audacity is astonishing. Look at the phrase 24 bridges, moonlit night. Just below the character night. Below the character, behind the waterfall, there's a cave, right? Uh. How do you know? Hey. No precious treasure can slip away from under my watchful eyes. Young Master Yuan, go for it. Hey. City Lord Yunxiao is truly an exceptional figure. Just based on his age and this boldness, no one can compare. What nonsense. Clearly, he's a foolish pig who got tricked by you. I couldn't figure it out. What kind of formation is this? The ones embedded on the ground seem to be the East Sea Moon Pearls? The quantity is also enormous. According to legend, in the East Sea, there is a kind of dragon fish that sheds tears when it hears a song. Those tears transform into pearls, possessing magical powers. They are called East Sea Moon Pearls. I want to give it a try and see what this divine body inheritance is all about. What's this? This radiance seems to be purifying impurities in the body. Everything for the sake of becoming stronger. Three days ago, Fonsuin Mountain. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Have you gone mad? Wei Qing. Yao Jin Liang. I'll remember this grudge. Sect Leader Wang, how long does this inheritance process take? Time is unpredictable. Generally speaking, the poorer one's talent, the shorter the failure time. City Lord Yunxiao has been inside for over an hour, which is already far better than most people. I failed and came out within half an hour back then. Who knows, maybe City Lord Yunxiao could become the sixth person to inherit the divine body. Well, of course, only the biggest idiot around would even think of trying that. Even if he doesn't inherit the divine body, with his abnormality, it's only a matter of time before he steps into the realm of the martial sovereign. 
Young Master Yun is definitely capable of obtaining the divine body. He he he. Did sister sense something? Luo Yunchang has the Yang divine body. Perhaps Luo Yunchang can sense something. No, I just have this kind of intuition. He's out. Young Master Yun, how did it go? Twenty billion elemental stones flowing like water. What's there to worry about? City Lord Yun Chao, how do you feel? Don't worry even if you didn't obtain the divine body. After being purified by the formation inside, your physical body will still undergo significant improvements. City Lord Yun Chao, there's no need to be remorseful. Countless geniuses and outstanding individuals throughout the ages have failed to obtain the inheritance. Young Master Yun The so-called divine body. Is it like this? Hmm? Thank you, Sect Leader Wang, for your understanding. The dead note is void now. Now, please take us to the cross-domain transmission array. Mom, I want to go home. This. How is this possible? Genius. For thousands of years, only four people have passed, and now two have passed in consecutive years. Lord Yunxiao, you truly are the chosen one. Now, please take us to the teleportation array, Master Wang. Master Wang, there is no need to be so despondent. Young Master Yun has obtained the divine inheritance, and your Tianju sect hasn't lost anything. We owe you a great favor, and we will surely repay it in the future. He is a god. Being able to assist such extraordinary individuals, it's also my fortune. Young Master Yun, please take a look. There are no more than ten cross-domain teleportation arrays in the entire southern region. The four of you, please step into the formation. Thank you, Master Wang. I will remember this favor today. Cross-Domain Teleportation Array Activate To quickly enhance my strength in the short term, the fastest method is to activate the four domains of the Boundary Monument. To activate the Wind Domain of the Boundary Monument, we need to go to the legendary desolate ancient land in the northern region and find the primordial hurricane. I have arrived. Li Yunxiao you mean to the southern region? Is it a land of hope or a harbinger of disaster? Ah, uh, is this not the Chinga Forest? What kind of place is this, sir? Young Master Yun, is this the desolate ancient land you are supposed to go to? This place is quite barren. The desolate ancient land shouldn't be so easy to find. The teleportation array of the Tianju sect is too rudimentary, resulting in such a large deviation. Fortunately, we are still in the northern region, so we can find our own way. No need. A group of people is approaching ahead. We can ask for directions. A living radar. The three of you, why not enter the boundary monument and cultivate peacefully inside? Except for you, Jiolene, everyone else in the Boundary Monument has chosen to cultivate in the more abundant spiritual energy of Yinwu City. Since we have chosen to accompany you, of course, we will try to avoid staying inside the Boundary Monument. You're quite fortunate I won't be a third wheel then. Let me go in. Call for me when we reach the Chinga Forest. Oh? Those are dragon horses. Dragon horses? Dragon Horses is a renowned third-tier monster, not something that ordinary forces can afford to keep casually. Hmm? Team, halt! What brings you here? Excuse me, brothers, how do we get to the Chinga Forest? We don't know anything about the Chinga Forest. Please move aside and let us pass. Hmm. Indeed, the southern region is truly inferior in the entire Tianwu realm. Are you all also heading to the Chinga Forest? Uh, young master, are you all planning to go to the Chinga Forest? Young master, these people have unknown origins. We should avoid getting involved. I don't think they look like bad people, and moreover, the demon origin is exceptionally dangerous. 
If we don't help them, they could lose their lives here at any moment. The demon origin. It's actually this cursed place. As expected. The demon origin is the mandatory path to the Chinga forest. Although the demon origin is not as deadly as the major forbidden areas, it is still a dangerous place in the Tianwu continent. Indeed, if you want to reach the Chinga forest, you must pass through this perilous demon origin. However, that mercenary city, the Chinga forest, is also the most chaotic place on the Tianwu continent. It's a mix of all sorts, and various fugitives and criminals love to roam there. It's truly a city of thugs. It's no safer than this place. This is the heartland of the demon origin. How did you manage to come in? Could it be that the teleportation array brought you directly here? That's right. There was indeed a deviation in the teleportation, and we were supposed to arrive directly at the Chinga Forest. You just need to give us directions, and there's no need for you to accompany us. It's okay, we'll be safer with more people, and I'm actually heading to the Chinga Forest. Young Master, those who possess a teleportation array are definitely not ordinary people. These three individuals must have some issues. Commander, there can't be so many bad people in the world. Uh, I'm called Hylin, and what about you? Zero, I'm Li Yunchao. Thank you all for your help. Zero, this young man seems inexperienced and indeed a bit naive. Ding Ling. Yun. Commanders was Zhu Lei. The three of you better be smarter, or else with your limited strength, I can easily kill you with a single move. This is Commander Zhule on the left and Commander Hong Yu on the right. They are also good people. Commander Hong Yu. He, rest assured. Since Hailin is so kind-hearted, how could we have any ill intentions? That's not necessary. The three of you, go ahead. It seems that these guards are very concerned about the safety of this young man. Their identity must be extraordinary. Commander Zua, how can you be like this? Moreover, there are two girls. The three of you, come and sit with me in the carriage. Young master, this is absolutely not advisable. The three of you, ride the dragon horse. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I will definitely treat you well when we reach the Chinga forest. Hi Lin, you're too kind. It's been so many years since I last rode a dragon horse. I really miss it. Wow. Among these three individuals, this woman has the highest Kultai Vadion level. It seems to surpass even mine. Our young master is truly a rare virtuous person. If any of you harbor ill intentions, I swear I will take your lives. Rest assured, we won't. But I can see that your young master's complexion doesn't look good. It seems this person is suffering from a stubborn illness. What's it to you? Stay quiet. Young Master Yun is an alchemist. Perhaps he has a way to save your young master. What? This kid is an alchemist? I never would have thought that at such a young age, Yun is already an alchemist. Truly remarkable. Young Master, there's no need for you to underestimate yourself. If it weren't for your illness, your potential would surpass your peers. Even with the current illness plaguing you, there are only a few among your peers who can compare to you. Sire, what kind of achievement is this for me? It's simply better to be dead than alive. If I'm not mistaken. Hi, Lin, it's because you possess an exceptionally dominant bloodline within your body that leads to your frailty. Ha ha. You truly are an alchemist. You could see it at a glance. Young Master Yun, you have excellent insight. Even that sixth grade alchemist from before had to observe for a long time before making a definitive statement. I wonder if there's any good solution? Ah, uh, there is no cure for my illness. The alchemist from before mentioned that only a ninth grade imperial alchemist might have a chance to cure me. Although the world is vast, besides the transcendent beings like the Divine Sea, where can we find a ninth grade imperial alchemist? And even if we find one, why would they come to treat me? Young master, please rest assured. Your kindness will surely be rewarded by the heavens. Young master. 
Hylan truly is an excellent subordinate, displaying loyalty and devotion. The reward has arrived. This young man has encountered Li Yunxiao. While a ninth grade alchemist may not be available, a former ninth grade alchemist is right in front of us. May I carefully examine this person? Young Master Yun, there is no need for you to worry. I have no hope left for my illness. Since there is no hope, why not take a look anyway? Well, then please proceed. Give me your hand. Mint AI Connection. Yun, how is my young master's condition? There's a strong resonance with the Earth's rhythm. It's likely the blood of an Earth-type monster, possibly a ninth grade existence. What kind of monster could it be? The Frost Soul Dragon Rock Beast? It seems like. Could it be? The Savage Wild Earth Bull? Yuan, are you certain it's the Savage Wild Earth Bull? The alchemist from before also mentioned that the power of an Earth-type monster flows within my blood. But despite trying various methods, he couldn't determine which kind of monster it was and ultimately had no solution. Before leaving, he said that unless we can confirm the bloodline power of the specific monster, we won't be able to treat it effectively. Young master, it must be the savage wild earth bull. I'm sure of it. Every time you lose consciousness, there's a huge bull-shaped shadow that appears behind you. Indeed, that must be it. The sixth grade alchemist said that if we know the specific monster, there's a way to deal with it. That's great. There's hope to cure the young master's illness. Young Master Yun, do you have a way to cure my illness? If young Master Yun is involved, then not a rally. How is that possible? Isn't it true that once we know the source of the bloodline power, we can treat it accordingly? The alchemist was not wrong in saying that. However, if it's the savage wild earth bull, that e-method won't work. We know that the five elements of the world interact with each other, and every kind of monster has its own counter. But the savage wild earth bull is an ancient monster, and the only ones that can counter it are the ancient powerful beings of the wood element. Where in the world can you find a ninth grade peak wood type monster to counter its bloodline power? So, you mean even if we find a ninth grade imperial alchemist, there is no cure for my illness? That's not exactly true. I'm just saying that particular method won't work. Can you just say everything at once? There is a way to save my young master's illness. I knew at least three methods to help him. But each one is not easier than finding a ninth grade alchemist. You should be wearing a mysterious treasure of the wood element. Otherwise, with your body, you won't be able to suppress the power of the savage wild earth bull. Young Master Yun is truly a master. I am wearing a wooden spirit pearl. Indeed, it is a wood element treasure, but I'm afraid it can only suppress it for a limited time. However, I know something on this monster origin that can cure your illness. What? On this monster origin? Quickly tell me what it is. Even if I have to search the entire monster origin, I will find it. Don't get too excited too soon. What is the most powerful monster on this monster origin? Are you talking about the nine-winged spirit serpent? Or the soul-shattering split-horned beast? Do we have to hunt them down? Those are eighth-grade beings. Even a martial supreme wouldn't dare to face them alone. No, the most powerful one on the monster origin is not those two. It's the Five Element Devouring Spirit Rat. The Five Element Devouring Spirit Rat? Miss Ding, you don't know. The Five Element Devouring Spirit Rat is only a third grade existence. We can easily kill hundreds of them with a single move. You're right. The individual combat strength of the Five Element Devouring Spirit Rat is not strong. But I've heard my father say that. There are billions of five-element devouring spirit rats on the monster origin. If they were to gather, even the gods of the holy domain could be wiped out. That's an exaggeration. Fortunately, these five-element devouring spirit rats don't have strong intelligence and don't tend to gather in large numbers. Billions is not an exaggeration. 
Although the monster origin is vast and boundless, it has nurtured such a large number of five-element devouring spirit rats over endless years, yet the grasslands remain lush and full of spiritual energy. Do you know why? Well, even though I've spent many years in the Qingda forest, I've never thought about this question. Indeed. The five-element devouring spirit rats survived by devouring the spiritual grasses of the monster origin. Why hasn't the land become barren after countless years? That's because at the core of this monster origin, there exists a tree of life that has been present since the dawn of time. It's called the Evergreen of Eternity. To cure your young master's illness, this Evergreen of Eternity is the key. I have heard of this Evergreen of Eternity you speak of. However, despite our travels throughout the monster origin for so many years, we have never come across it. Finding the evergreen of eternity is not something that can be explained in a few words. Let's first go to the Chinga forest. It seems that you are mercenaries familiar with the area. Can you analyze the situation inside? Allow me to explain. While we walk, I will tell you. The Chinga forest has always been a place of chaos. The Tianyuan Trading Company doesn't have a branch here, so there is very little information available. In reality, the Chinga Forest is a chaotic place where many people die every day, yet many more continue to flock to it. That's because it's a violent paradise and a haven for criminals. As long as you have strength or money, you can get everything you want inside. It may seem extremely chaotic, but it still operates under its own set of rules. There are hundreds of different forces, and three individuals claim themselves to be the kings of mercenaries, none of them willing to yield to each other. Countless battles have taken place, resulting in numerous casualties. These three individuals are the leaders of the three largest mercenary forces in the Chinga Forest. Xin Feng, Hao Lian, Qin Chuanjiu. They are respectively Xin Feng, the leader of the Skeleton Mercenary Corps, Chen Chuanjiu, the leader of the Storm Mercenary Corps, and Hao Lian, the leader of the Rookie Mercenary Corps. Young Master, if the Vice Captain were to find out that you spoke like that, this person would surely punish you again. In the Chinga Forest, there is only one king of mercenaries, and that is Captain Hao Lian. You are. We are indeed from the Rookie Mercenary Corps. Our father is Vice Captain Haibei Fei. So, in a way, we are on the same side. Everyone, hold on. There's something ahead. Yun, what's wrong? It's happening just as I feared. A large group of five-element devour ING spirit rats is coming from ahead. A large group of five-element devouring spirit rats? But these demonic beasts don't usually like to gather in large numbers, right? If it's just the five element devouring spirit rats, then it should be fine. Even if there are a lot of them, they shouldn't be able to harm us. Huh? This is. No way. Everyone, form a big circle. Protect the young master inside. If anyone falls in battle, Quickly shrink the circle and make sure to maintain the integrity of the protective formation. Don't worry about me. Form a cone-shaped formation and charge through from here. I am the young master. You must listen to me. The rookies in this mercenary group are indeed quite impressive. Did you all hear that? We'll join the battle too. Thank you, ladies. If we can make it back alive this time, the rookie mercenary corps will be forever grateful. Since we have become acquainted, we should naturally work together. There's no need to keep the battle circle so large. I suggest we shrink the battle circle and divide into two groups. If someone can't hold on any longer, we'll switch them out and also keep an eye on the safety of our comrades. Whoever is in danger, lend a hand immediately. With two rotating groups, we can better support each other until this wave of rats passes. Young Yun is right. Captain Zua, shrink the battle circle. This method is indeed excellent. Shrink the battle circle. All martial kings and above experts should guard the outer perimeter, while those below martial king cultivation level protect the center. 
Pay close attention to the safety of our comrades. Form up. Let them witness the might of the rookie mercenary corps. Hold your ground. We just need to endure until the rat tide passes. Stand firm. Ah. Attack. Your new medicine is truly powerful. These five element devouring spirit rats are going crazy and their strength has increased significantly. He, it's just a small matter. The key is that Brother Situ found a way to attract so many spirit rats here. Only then could I successfully use my illusions. It's a pity we don't have enough time. Otherwise, I would have loved to bring tens of thousands more and see if Highland could survive. Brother Situ, you worry too much. Highland is doomed. Right now, they think it's just an ordinary rat tide and that everything will be fine once they withstand it. But when they realize that the rat tide never subsides and their actual target is them, their minds might collapse, leaving them nowhere to die. Ha ha ha. Who said they would have nowhere to die? The bellies of these spirit rats will be their best graves. It seems that the vice captain spent a lot of money to hire this person, and it was indeed worth it, ha ha. Taking someone's money and helping them out in times of crisis. Is it not over yet? The rat tide should have already passed, right? It seems that these spirit rats were originally targeting us. If they really came for us, wouldn't it be necessary to kill all these spiritual mice? Don't worry, let me confirm. Indeed, there's a problem. The eyes of these five element devouring mice are all crimson, indicating they have taken some kind of drug. Moreover, their pupils are completely dilated, suggesting they have also fallen under an illusion technique. The combination of drugs and illusions seems to be specifically targeted at us. How could this happen? If we don't exterminate all these spiritual mice, we won't survive. But there are tens of thousands of them, densely packed as far as the eye can see. Yun, is there any solution? Li Yunchao remained calm. He must have a way to resolve this. The spiritual awareness of these mice has already been dispersed by a powerful divine consciousness. Right now, they are only attacking us due to the illusions they received before their spiritual awareness collapsed. As long as we can hold on, they will gradually die on their own. However, looking at the abundant spiritual energy in each mouse, it may not happen so quickly. How long until they die on their own? Probably a few hours. A few hours. How can we possibly hold on for that long? Is there any other way? Yes, kill them all. At a time like this, can't you say something useful? He he, General Zua, no need to worry. I have my own method. The Boundary Monument, the Realm of Fire. Hmm. May I borrow your Azure Lotus Flame for a moment? Oh my god. You scared me half to death, you reckless brat. You have your Phoenix True Fire, why do you always exploit me? You know that I can't control that thing properly. I might accidentally burn myself to ashes. Stop talking nonsense, it's extremely urgent. Damn it. Wow. Oh. Exotic fire. Why didn't you bring out this amazing thing earlier? How would I know that these spiritual mice were targeting us? Besides, you didn't even let me join the battle. Ha ha, now we're saved. As long as I unleash the Heavenly Net Flame Fire Banner, we can burn all these mice to death. But in doing so, my true strength will be exposed. Chinga Forest is still an unknown territory for me, so it's better to stay low-key for now. It smells so good. Yun, what rank of artificer are you? To be able to control exotic fire like that. I'm not exactly sure, probably rank 5. A rank 5 Grand Artificer. Highland greet Master Yunchao. 
I have been disrespectful before, and I hope Master can forgive me. I hope Master Yunchao can forgive me. Oh, just rank 5. When did that become a grand artificer? Hai Lin, the demonic blood in your body is a double-edged sword. If guided properly, it has limitless power. I only hope it can eliminate the impact on my body. I don't expect limitless power. Every time it flares up, I lose my senses and can't distinguish friend from foe. It's so painful. What should we do? It seems like all those SPI ritual mice have retreated. Hmm. Could it be the Azure Lotus Flame? This could be troublesome. I dispersed the spiritual awareness of those mice, and now they're retreating out of pure instinctive fear. If we let them die on their own for too long, our plan will be in vain. What should we do? Don't ask me what to do. Do you still have the audacity to ask? Such a huge loophole. Wait. I still have this the blood of the enchanted purple vine. If we can sprinkle it among those people, even if they have the protection of the azure lotus flame, those mice will recklessly charge through. Now with tens of thousands of five element devouring mice over there, how can we throw it past them? Moreover, Hylin and the others are not pushovers. This matter is simple. We'll use this small scale teleportation array. Hee hee. What? It got intercepted? There are experts in that caravan. What shall we do? Won't we be exposed? No worries, as long as the scent of that blood spreads. Besides, if these mice don't respond, we'll proceed with plan B. Blood of the Enchanted Vine? Blood of the Enchanted Vine? Yun, what is that? The blood of the Enchanted Purple Vine is quite ordinary, nothing too strange about it. What's strange is that those people sent it over. What do they intend to do? Be careful. Master Yun Xiao. I see. Everyone, guard the battle formation and don't let a single one in. The people attacking us are trying to attract the mice by using the blood of the enchanted purple vine. Damn it. They seem even more desperate now. It seems there's a beast tamer over there. And they might be a skilled artificer too, not simple at all. What should we do? Yun, the guards are struggling to hold on. Quickly think of a solution. It might be difficult to completely solve the problem, but we can at least alleviate it. Let's all go and pursue them. Even if they consume all the blood, they will continue to charge at us. I will immediately spread the flames and burn them away but I can only sustain it for a few breaths. Everyone, prepare to make a breakthrough. If we concentrate our strength and break out of a range of a few miles, these mice won't follow us. Commanders, you go ahead and clear the way. Hai Lin, here I have Ling and Yun to protect me. Nothing will happen. Yes. With the three of them by my side, I should be fine. Then we'll rely on you three, Yun. If we can return alive this time, the rookie mercenary corps will be eternally grateful. Although I don't know why the three of you are heading to Chinga Forest. But as long as the rookie mercenary corps is here, no matter what the three of you want to do, Vice Commander Habiafi will lend full support. Everyone, raise your spirits. The rookie mercenary corps is the strongest mercenary corps in the Tian Wu realm. Everyone, take all kinds of elixirs and follow my command to form a wedge-shaped formation and breakthrough. Is everyone ready? I'm about to ignite it. Let me assist you once again. Artificer Enchantment, Azure Lotus Flame. Wow. Ha ha ha. Now it's even more stable. Brothers, charge with me. They've started their assault. They're asking for death. This swarm of mice will continue to follow them. Although they're only third tier, there are tens of thousands of them. I really want to see how they get torn apart and devoured. Ha ha ha. Why are those mice dying so quickly? What? Could it be that these mice can't hold on any longer when the time is up? No, something's not right. 
Look at those great warriors. They can kill more than ten third tier mice with just one move. There must be experts in the opposing caravan. What should we do? They're about to break through the swarm. Don't panic. The direction they are charging in is exactly the way back to Chinga Forest. The real show is yet to come. Did you forget? I have a second plan. I'm actually curious to see what kind of people are causing trouble on the other side. Great. We've broken through. Ha ha. We're all alive. Everyone, take this opportunity to run straight back to the city. Otherwise, if it gets dark, we'll have to wait until tomorrow. But what if we encounter enemies while we're exhausted from the mad dash? Clearly, someone is plotting against us in secret. Um, you're right. Everyone, stop and take a rest here. Young master, how do you feel? I'm fine. I've been sitting in the carriage without moving, so what could happen to me? It seems we won't be able to make it back to the city before nightfall. As long as everyone is safe and sound, it doesn't matter if we're a bit late. You guys, aren't you curious about who targeted you? He he he. It's not surprising because it could be anyone. The conflicts within Chinga Forest are much more intricate than they appear on the surface. Various killings can happen at any moment. It's not the first time we've encountered it. It's just that this time was exceptionally dangerous, but fortunately, the whole team managed to escape unharmed. In many cases of vendettas like this, you don't even know who the other party is or why they targeted you. The primary goal now is to ensure the young master returns safely to Chinga Forest, rather than discovering who the enemy is. That matter will be handled by someone once we return. However, this enemy is very strong, so it won't be easy. Therefore, we hope that the captain can lead Chinga Forest into a brand new future. It seems they have all become accustomed to it. It's really hard to imagine living in the shadow of such killings every day and not going insane. It seems you all have great trust and loyalty towards Lord Howlian. Of course. Lord Howlian will become the true king of mercenaries and usher in a new era for Chinga Forest. I really want to witness the magnificence of this lord. Um. But the lord, he. But what? Well, he's a complete pervert, always trying to get his hands on both tiful women. What? Um. Well, the truth is, the Lord does have some unsavory habits. But rest assured, both of you saved our caravan and are benefactors of the Rookie Mercenary Corps. The Lord won't do anything to you. What if you hadn't saved us? Then it would have been troublesome. Ha 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 ha. Keep your voice down. What king of mercenaries? He's clearly the king of perverts. Why didn't Feiyang just slap that scum to death back then? Re-education. Once again. You're mistaken. I've heard that the master of the captain, Lord Feiyang, is also a charismatic figure who enjoys the company of beautiful women. The unparalleled beauties he has in Count Red could encircle the entire martial world twice just by holding hands. Hold on. You. You, you, you. You seem to know a lot. Is that so, Yun Yun? Have you heard about it? Lord Feiyang is known for both talent and beauty, embodying heroism and chivalry. Throughout this person's life, this person has dedicated to changing societal norms and enriching the minds of young people, which led this person to remain unmarried till the end. As such a great role model, how can we tarnish his noble character with baseless accusations? So Master Yunxiao is also an admirer of Lord Feiyang. After studying the life of Lord Feiyang, I've come to a stunning conclusion. Speak up, brother. Say it loudly. Tell us about the glorious deeds of Lord Feiyang. Let these inexperienced folks hear it. But you must never tell the captain. Don't worry. Based on my research findings. Hey. The reason why Lord Feiyang remained unmarried his whole life. How about that? He must be fond of men. Hey, as for me, are you sure is? 
You dare to slander Lord Fei Young. Young Yun, is it really true? That would be a missed opportunity. In our trading company, we have an ancient formula passed down through generations. After refining and consuming it, not only can it adjust one's sexual orientation, but it also makes one incredibly strong. Ah ha ha ha. It seems Ling knows a lot. How about you give me a few pills next time, and we can test its effectiveness first. A veteran in love affairs. Young Yun, have some self-respect. Let's continue moving forward. What should we do next? You're supposed to be skilled, yet you keep asking what to do all day long? My arrangement is just ahead. Even if they regain their strength, they won't be able to break through. Humph, I want to see how skilled those experts in the caravan are when they're trapped within my seven transformation spirit formation. We'll camp by the edge of the forest tonight and continue our journey tomorrow morning. They indeed set up camp at the edge of the forest. Your prediction was indeed effective. Jule and Hong Yu, those two insignificant fish, may have developed limbs, but their brains are extremely limited. Just a casual thought can expose their intentions. But it doesn't matter where they are, they are within my attack range. The timing is perfectly calculated, it's about to happen. Look, there's a meteor shower. So beautiful. Yun Yun, look quickly. H and H. It's a meteor shower. Such a beautiful starry night. Hmm. What meteor? No. Those aren't meteors. It's starlight formed by the convergence of star power, and it seems to be falling towards us. What? Who can extract the power of stars? Even the Martial Sovereign can't do that, right? The Martial Sovereign can easily extract the power of stars, but this isn't a simple extraction. It seems someone is using a secret technique, and this doesn't look like a simple attack. There are experts among the opponents. What could their goal be? What should we do? Should we immediately move forward and go into the forest? It's too late. The starlight is falling too quickly, and it's within attack range for a hundred miles around. We need to figure out how to defend ourselves. Form a defensive formation, protect the young master. What exactly do they want to do? Ha ha ha. Harnessing the power of the stars, the stars shift their positions. Spirit Communicatian. This person is using star power to form an array. And judging by this formation, spirit communication technique. The spirit communication secret technique? Isn't that a technique that has long been lost? It hasn't been completely lost, but rather, it's rare for people to practice it. To perform this kind of secret technique, one must have exceptional talent as an alchemist and endure significant self-damage. The opponent must be using this technique because their own strength is insufficient and they want to extract star power through the SEC RET technique. Then, using the power of the stars to establish spirit communication, they summon extremely high-level beasts. Master Yun Chao, how high do you think the rank of this beast will be? I estimate it could be a martial sovereign. A martial sovereign level beast? Although Li Yunchao personally suppressed seven martial sovereigns in Yinwu City, that was ultimately due to the terrain and various advantages. But this time, it's a direct confrontation. Strong beast, it's actually a strong beast. Ha ha ha, it's a strong beast. The star power in this wilderness is incredibly strong. It's also my first time summoning such an existence. Young Yun, what should we do? No need to panic. Although this beast is strong, it lacks intelligence and only knows mindless killing. It's not that terrifying. Master Yun Chao is truly admirable, remaining calm and fearless even under the pressure of a martial sovereign level beast, talking and laughing as if nothing is amiss. Although this beast lacks intelligence, its strength is undeniable, and its eyes are filled with bloodlust and a heavy aura of slaughter. 
I'm afraid we won't be able to hold on for more than a few rounds. Young master, please rest assured, no matter what, I will ensure that you return alive. When the defense breaks, Hong Yu will carry young master and escape first. No, I won't run away. Young master, you are our hope. You must stay alive. There's no need for such a heartbreaking farewell. I have a profound artifact that might easily help us avoid this calamity. Go! MR.GU, where is the monster? I don't know, but it should be coming out soon. Yoon, Master Yoon, where are the monsters? This mysterious weapon of mine is called the Heavenly Spirit Ring, and it can directly open the void. The brainless monster just rushed in and is now hidden in the void. Unless it has the strength to break the void, it will stay in it for the rest of its life. Did a 7th rank martial emperor level demonic beast really just disappeared like that? If it's not enough for you, I can open the void again and let you go in and fight with it. It is not easy to lure down the power of these stars. The opponent must be an alchemist who specializes in secret techniques. Whether it is the extraction of star power or the art of channeling spirits, these are not things that ordinary alchemists would delve into. These secret alchemists don't study the art of alchemy properly. They just know to specialize in some harmful things. It will be beneficial for everyone to sit down and meditate and absorb the power of these stars as much as possible. Whoa! Great! Hurry! Listen to Mr. Yun. Practice quickly. Teacher Yunshan, what's wrong? Um, I. My strength is too low, so I won't compete with everyone for this hard-won resource. Otherwise, I'd better go back to your mysterious weapon and practice. No, your progress C is already very fast. Moreover, Nan Yang Chu Chi is the first class bloodline in the world, and there are few rivals within the same level. Mr. Gu, they seem to be using the power of the stars to practice. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. MR.GU. MR.GU? Bastard. I spent a lot of effort to attract the starlight. I can believe I'm being used as a pawn for someone else. MR.GU, where did that monster go? That mysterious weapon must have a space formation. My monster were either teleported away or pulled into the void. There must be an expert in this caravan, and they actually managed to defeat me twice in a row. It's not that you are rubbish, but you blame the other party for being strong. You boasted about Haikal when you came out. Now let's see how you end up. MR.GU, what should we do now? What should I do, your sister? After all, you are also a nine-star martial arts expert. You ask me what to do all day long. Take care of your whole family. I don't care who you are. Meeting my fifth-level secret art master Gu Yuexing is a dead end. I did it. I actually did it. I felt much stronger now the power of the stars is indeed remarkable, at least equivalent to three months of my rigorous training. Master Yunchao saved everyone's lives and helped them break throughout their cultivation levels. Hum. Master Yunchao also achieved a breakthrough? Master Yunchao is truly a peerless genius, extraordinary in both martial arts and alchemy. Such a young three-star martial king, and also a fifth-level grand master alchemist, is really talented. If we can take back the rookie mercenary group. Commander Zua, we'd better continue on our way and enter Qingda Woodland as soon as possible. The Dark Knight is not an obstacle to our journey. There are woods ahead. If the woods are added to the darkness at night, under double cover, there must be traps and ambush inside. They have already ambushed us here once, so it should be the safest. Commander Zua is right. We have just experienced a fierce battle, and it was too hard. All right. Your judgment on them was really accurate. Sure enough, 
they didn't go into the woods. Then you might as well be a little angry. Fortunately, I have a second ambush here. At first, I thought those soul-eating rats were enough, but I didn't expect that they would pass two level in a row. In this third level, I don't believe they have such good luck. Over that open space, I used the hiding talisman to set up a starlight array. 36 purified stones and a sleeping magma beast were also buried in the earth. As long as the magma beast is awakened under the influence of purified stones, this place will soon turn into a swamp lava. Now it happens to be the largest area of control. All the bastards of the rookie mercenary group will enjoy a fire and mud bath for me. Sure enough, it came. Everyone be careful. This is a problem underground. Master Yun Chao, are your premonitions wrong? This is good witch. Ah. My body sank in. It's hot. Everybody. Stay off the ground. Everybody. Stay off the ground. Hong Yu. Young master. No. The true energy actually flowed directly into the earth. It seems to have been sucked away. Ak. How so? Master. The more I want to burst out my true energy, the more powerless I get. Mr. Yun, what should I do? Hmm. Let me watch for a while. It doesn't hurt to talk while hanging, right? What are you looking at? You are the only one who has not sunk. Just pull us out one by one. Is it true that as soon as you circulate your true energy, your true energy will violently drain away from your feet as if it has been absorbed by the soil? Ha! As expected of Master Yun Chao, you can tell at a glance so how to crack it. Sure enough, it is a purifying stone. The purifying stone is a mutated earth element that has endless absorption power of the earth. It's hard to get out it. If I were to pull you away, your vitality would be sucked out immediately upon contact. I can't think of any good solution at the moment. Even you can't do anything about this? Young Master Yun, what should we do? Why is there such a strong fire element in this swamp? It seems to be burning. Ah, I'm already burning. Let alone the heat, I can't breathe. Mr. Yun, it's so hot I can't use my energy to resist it. Wow. Wow. So hot. Oh no, help us please. There is no good way, this is the only option. Young master, you. Haha, <laughs> finally everyone fell into the trap. The person who finally escaped must have gone to save his companions and ended up having fun himself. Ha <laughs> ha. MR.GU, it seems that the man just jumped down on his own, not like he was trying to save others. Jump by yourself? Master Situ is indeed very smart. Why don't you jump down and try it too? Okay, you can go over and collect the loot. Still waiting. It's not too late to go after they are completely roasted by the lava beast. Hump, are all the skeleton mercenary group like you who are afraid of death? Under influence of the purifying stone, no one can escape. You. Haha, <laughs> I haven't seen the, the expert in this caravan. But no matter how great a person is, if he meets me, Gu Yuexing, he will only die. Okay, the mission is over, let's go back and resume our mission. MR.GU, they said we have to bring Highland back. Even if he's dead, we need the body. Hum, corpse. Under this lava, do you think there will be bodies? Before I came here, MR. Why you told me that I had to go back with body no matter what, which left me wondering what to do now. If you can take out those purifying stones, I'll go down and look for them. TSK, disappointing. But by that time, there won't be bones left on these people. The melting point of the purifying stone is not high, and it is estimated that it will melt away together after a long time. Isn't he just a good-for-nothing young master? Why do you need a corpse? Just make sure he is dead. Yes, why do you want Hylene's body? Is it for the power of blood in his body? Huh, who knows? Ah, uh, does the Lord you just talked about want to refine the power of blood? Who are you? 
Why aren't you dead? Why haven't you been drained of your vitality? Why can you still move in the lava? Who am I? Why am I not dead? Why is the vitality not drained? Why can it move in the lava? I just wanted to ask you one question, but you asked me four questions. Do you think I'm a loser? MR.YU has been exposed. He must die. Are you the one who defeated me twice in a row? What level of alchemist are you? Two levels? So does this count as level one? Boy, which sect are you from and who do you study under? I'm very interested in you. Ah, your talent is really good fifth level alchemist. He just concentrates on studying some boring secret methods, otherwise his achievements will definitely be more than this. Judging from your look, you are less than 30 years old? That's really good. Boy, how dare you mock me? Don't think that just because you have some talent, you will be the best in the world. Eh? It's so hard to speak the truth these days. I will teach you how to respect your seniors. The five mantras, mirror flowers. Mental attack? What? Such strong soul power fluctuations. What level are you at? Impossible. You are so young. How could you be so powerful? I do not believe. The ancient third eye? Ha ha, not bad. You are indeed knowledgeable. It is the divine eye of the ancient Tianmu clan which I obtained. Let me see how you still fight with me. Uh huh. That's. You actually know this trick of mine's. Yes, this move is exactly what Gu Feiyang used to do, Shu Yuake. Lunar Eclipse. No matter how your soul power is. In front of my top mental technique. There is only chance of being crushed. How sad. The proud mental attack technique that the vanquisher martial sovereign Gu Feiyang was most proud of is Lunar Eclipse. What? How could it be used so poorly by an inferior junior like you? How dare you claim my eye skills? Really? How sad. What? The sound waves around him. Can actually shock my pupils. That, that is? What is that mysterious weapon? If you can counter my mental technique, is it a ninth level mysterious weapon? Shut up. Don't tell me your mental technique. Dynasty Bell, one dynasty and one century. What happened? Humph. It's so dangerous. It's the time I experienced the terrifying power of my own mental technique. It's hard to describe the feeling. Fortunately, there is Dynasty Bell contend with. It's just that every time Dynasty Bell strikes, it almost sucks all my energy away. These two strokes have completely reached the limit. Looks like it's my turn. The rookie mercenary group does not have a number one figure like you. Who are you? I don't have time to chat with you. Are we still on demon planes? Catch them all and take them to the World God Monument. I have a lot of questions to ask. Hmm. Okay. What? Where are they from? Huh, you. Ten breaths is enough. Wait. Wait. I recognize you. Aren't you Duan Yu? You know me? Weren't you killed by Haoli and Xiao Wang? You're not dead yet? Have you broken through the Martial Emperor? I was originally the Martial Emperor. Sorry. Sorry. But. These people are all from Rookie Mercenary Group. You should kill them. Home. It's in the past. Just like the wind in my hometown. Damn it, he tricked me. Lowering the standard of the Tian Wu world. At first, these lava would absorb everyone's true energy, but why is there no effect now? Forget about it, regardless of the reason, at least our lives are preserved. Is everyone here? Is anyone missing? Brother Yunxiao is missing. Brother Yunxiao. Oh, everyone's here. 
Brother Yun Chao. Brother Yun Chao. You're really okay. That's fantastic. Thank goodness. I found out that I could use my vitality to push back the lava, and I felt relieved. It seems like this place is blocking our divine senses, but luckily we found each other in time. It appears that Yun Chao is responsible for blocking our divine senses and no longer absorbing our true energy. To ensure that our battles outside go unnoticed by others. Now that everyone is here, that's great. Let's all go up together. Everyone, stay alert. There might be other dangers waiting for us outside. We must be extremely cautious. Remain vigilant and don't let your guard down under any circumstances. Master Yun Chao, what should we do now? Our attacks have been ineffective multiple times and we can't see anyone anymore. I believe they must have already evaluated. Evaluate? That's impossible. There must be even fiercer attacks waiting for us below. Let's hurry back to the Chinga Forest under the cover of night. All right, all right. I'll cover the rear you all go. Go quickly. You've worked hard. Roar. Hmm, so it turns out this lava beast was heating the soil below. Let's reclaim the Boundary God Monument and refine it into medicine. Not to mention the purifying stone, even the earth element's power is completely ineffective under the suppression of the earth's aura. Once we find the desolate ancient land and obtain the Primer Dao Storm, we will have another trump card. We've finally returned to Chinga Forest. Brother Yun Chao is truly formidable. They have indeed retreated in the face of difficulties. After we enter the city, Brother Yun Chao, you must come to my house as a guest. Indeed. If it weren't for Master Yun Chao on this journey, we would have long been reduced to mere bones. After we enter the city, the deputy commander will personally express gratitude to Master. It's no trouble at all. Brother Yun Chao, Sister Ling, Sister Yun Chang. Don't be deceived by the innocent and kind appearance of these people. Each and every one of them is a great demon. Look at that old lady selling eggs over there. Don't assume that she is kind-hearted. She's probably the most venomous one on this whole street. The number of warriors who have died at her hands is not less than a thousand. What? That old lady with white hair, frail and thin. This little boy couldn't possibly be a bad person. He, where did this little girl come from? Fifty tender and fresh. Let this old man taste the freshness. He was marked by the seal of eternal youth since childhood, so he won't grow up in this lifetime. He will forever remain at the age of seven or eight. But in reality, he is already over ninety years old. Ha ha ha. The seal of eternal youth? Does this sealing technique have any side effects? I understand your thoughts. If such a seal were applied, Sister Ling could forever remain in her twenties. However, this sealing technique has severe side effects. Not only does it render the recipient unable to bear children, but it also greatly restricts their martial talent. This child, whom everyone calls Zhang Bulo, originally had extraordinary talent. At the age of eight, he had already reached the realm of a three powers realm's great martial master. Both of them are exceptional. After being sealed by their enemies, over 90 years have passed, and now they have only reached the pinnacle of martial king. An eight-year-old great martial master? With such astonishing talent, if not for the seal, it would have been as easy as flipping a hand to advance to the realm of nine heavens martial sovereign. He, don't be fooled by my small stature. The important parts are not small at all. Would you like to experience it? Captain Ju. Ah. All right. Get lost. Say another word and I'll kill you. Oh no. The rookie mercenary corps is killing people. Humph. They're killing people. 
The rookie mercenary corps is openly killing people on the street. Ladies, don't worry. There is a shortage of women in this city, so everyone here acts like wolves. But with the protection of the rookie mercenary corps, no one in the city dares to touch you. Oh my, oh my, who is being so audacious? How dare they fight in the street? So it's you lay from the rookie mercenary corps. You have quite the audacity. Daring to fight members of my storm mercenary corps in the street. You are clearly trying to provoke a battle between the two major corps. If you don't give me a proper explanation today, all of you will stay here and let Hao Lian come and take you away. It's all right. Continue speaking after gouging out his eyes. What's next? Hey, I said it already. Only 20,000 low-grade ELE mental stones. No more. Ah, uh, where were we just now? No, I've never bought it at this price. Let's go. Let's go. Humph, humph, ph, humph. So annoying. Already said that day one and my second aunt had too much to drink. I think you deliberately came here to cause trouble. Forget it, we can't find a tier 3, but a tier 2 should be sufficient. Can't you even find a tier 2 alchemist? Chinga Forest is indeed interesting, truly unique. Who do you think you are? When I'm talking to Captain Zhu Lei, why are you interfering? Do you have any value at all? Not even a single strand. Commander, he dared to insult Big Brother Yun Chao. Kill him. Ah. What are you talking about? To be so anxious and can't even speak their native language. Lately, the rookie corps has been extremely low key in their actions. How did they suddenly become so aggressive? What are you doing? What are all of you doing? You want to fight? TH is East City is the territory of our Storm Mercenary Corps. Whether you believe it or not, with a single cloud piercing arrow, I can summon a thousand troops to face you. Humph. VM, this is your own doing. You can't blame us. Master Highland has given the order to kill you. If you want to blame someone, blame yourself for showing disrespect to Master Yun Chao. Zhu Lei. Aren't you afraid of starting a major battle between the two corps? Countless lives will be lost, and Haolian will certainly hold you accountable. If a lowly grunt like you dies, I don't believe Chen Chuanjiu would come to kill the rookie mercenary corps for your sake. Your death today will be in vain. Ah. Emergency escape device. You dare to be so arrogant in the East City. You really don't want to live. Who exactly is that kid? To have the rookie corps members defend him so fiercely. Kill our way through, let no one stand in our path. Everyone, charge with all your might. Make way, make way, make way. I can't control this thing properly. These people, they turn a blind eye to such chaos. That this is simply not a normal world. He he he. The East City is the main stronghold of our Storm Mercenary Corps. Just wait for the experts from our Corps to come and capture you alive. Oh? Well, it's none of your concern either. Don't bother me. Hey. He Dexing. Zhu Lei, you're so arrogant. Daring to underestimate our Storm Mercenary Corps. Since you dare to kill people in the East City, leave none of them alive. Lord Edexing. Lord, these rookie mercenaries. Useless. They're tarnishing the reputation of our Storm Mercenary Corps in public. Wow. He Dexing is just a martial grand master. But it's enough to suppress both Zhu Lei and Hong Yu. Hmm? No wonder they're fighting to the death. Where did Haolian find two stunning beauties? TSK TSK, you subordinates are truly loyal and responsible. Have you tasted it yourselves? Since you know it's for the captain, get out of my way. Zhu Lei, watch your mouth. Stop blinking at me. Whoever makes such jokes, even if it's you, will die. Shu. Shu. Ho ho, could it be that you tasted it first? This is outrageous. 
I thought Zhu Lei was the strongest among them. I didn't expect this girl to be so young and also a martial grandma's tur. Both her techniques and aura surpass mine. It seems I have to show my best skills as well. Stop, everyone, let's talk. We all have connections in the Chinga Forest. There's no need to fight so fiercely, even if there's a minor conflict. We should settle it peacefully. Humph. I'm not fighting for my life, I'm after yours. Flowing light arrow. Ah, ah, ah. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I won't play with you anymore. Ah. Uh. No. If you speak without restraint and say nonsense, your fate will be the same as this bastard. Everyone, stop looking and move forward quickly. Yes, we'll be back in our controlled area in a moment. There, we have Brother Huo Jin guarding. It will be safe once we reach there. Safe? Not necessarily. Yun Chao, what do you mean by this? You kill the members of our Storm Mercenary Corps and you think you can leave? Everyone, detain them all. The Rookie Corps seems to have obtained some good goods this time. Not only are they stunning in appearance, but their strength is enough to eliminate Hidexing. Oh no! It's Yi Xian, the vice captain of the third team of the Storm Mercenary Corps, a true martial emperor. Now you rookie corps still have the leisure to search for beauties. I heard that Haolian's attempt to break through to martial emperor failed and Haolian perished. Could it be that it was just a rumor? Ha ha ha. You all can go down and accompany him. Poisonous formation, five rotting gates. Oh no. I was too careless. This poison gas, I can't block it with my chi. Young master. Ah. It's so painful. From my internal organs to every inch of my skin, it's... Moonlit night on the 24 bridges. Hmm. That old man Wang Songho wasn't lying to me. This moonlit divine body can indeed dispel negative conditions from the body. It was worth risking it to withstand this move. What? What's going on? My potent poison, once it touches even a bit, instantly infiltrates every part of the body. Moonlit divine body, absorption. Moonlit divine body. Purifica Tian. Below Marshal Supreme, no one can rely on themselves to expel the poison. How did you manage to do it? Answer me quickly. Huh? That sensation is fading away. The poison in my body. It's gone. Divine body phenomenon. Master Yun Chao actually possesses a divine body. Poor child. It seems it's no longer possible to protect everyone without revealing our true strength. Then let's fight without holding back. Even if you have a divine body, so what? You can't cross two major realms to kill me. Not good. It's a mental attack. Go in. Yi Xian. If you dare to harm even a single hair on young Master Hylin, I will kill your entire family. Yi Xian. You huh? It's Lord Hu Jian. He came to rescue us. Huh? What did Brother Yun Chao just do? Is everyone okay? Wasn't that Yi Xian's poisonous formation just now? Lord Hu Jian. Was it you who drove away Yi Xian? Ah, uh, was it me? I didn't expect to escape so quickly. Besides, this is the territory of the Storm Mercenary Corps in the east of the city. Why would I run? Perhaps Yi Xian sensed your presence from afar and chose to flee directly. Is that so? Brother Yun Chao, you're so cool. Young Master Yun. Are you okay, Young Master Yun? Hmm? Zhu Lei, where did you find such exquisite goods? The captain must have generous rewards for sure. This attack is so powerful. It almost broke my defense. Ah. 
Who are you? Hua Jian must not be rude. These two sisters are big brother Yun Xiao's confidants. Confidant? This only has the cultivation level of the three-star martial king. Ha ha, brother, these two are your girlfriends? The first time I saw your two girlfriends, I was determined to be your friend. Sheesh dash. Spicy enough, I like it. What did you say? H and H. I am a two-star martial emperor. How could I want to avoid his gaze? Ah. 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 You, who are you? This horrible moment out of insanity. And next time, young Emperor Haolian won't be able to save you. Hi, Lin. I hope you will take my words with you. I don't want to cause such unpleasantness. Don't be angry, Mr. Yun. Hua Jian, this is Li Yunxiao, a fifth-level master alchemist. A fifth-level master alchemist? Come over and apologize to Master Yunxiao. Oh, I see, I see. No need to apologize, just be careful in the future. It's better to leave here quickly, otherwise someone from from the Storm Mercenary Group will come again. Exactly. Everyone, hurry up and leave. It will be safe if you leave the east side of the city. That old man you just disappeared, was it done by Master Yun Xiao? Turns out I'm not the only one who suspects this. Huff. Think it yourself. So cool. Soon, a large number of people from the rookie mercenary group arrived, and they didn't encounter any more obstacles along the way, and directly entered the northern part of the city. Hua Jian also secretly sent a message down that no one should make fun of Ding Ling'er and Luo Yunchang. Here we are, this is the base of our rookie mercenary group. Finally back home. Welcome Master Yunchao and the two ladies to the rookie mercenary group. Quickly prepare the cleanest and best guest room for Brother Yun Xiao and the two sisters. Okay, one room or several. Got it. Brother Yun Xiao and sisters have had a hard journey. Take a rest first. Thank you for your help, Hai Lin. Rookie Mercenary Group. He he. The young emperor's martial arts training has not slackened, and he has already begun to break through to martial sovereign. It's just that your talent for naming is so far from my experience. His spiritual sense checked the situation of the entire rookie mercenary group base. There are indeed several powerful auras hidden in it, and I dare not explore it deeply, fearing that it is the powerful Marshal Supreme. In the World God Monument. Huh? This injury was indeed caused by you, Jolene, right? Who are you? What kind of place is this? I'm from the Heavy Storm group, and our leader is. It seems you haven't been beaten enough yet. It's all yours, Little Rock. I'll come back when the beating is enough. Huh? Eh? Who, who, who? Who are you? What is this place? Why is everyone asking the same question? You don't need to know any of these things, because you won't be able to get out in a short time. But the aura of this palsy is no worse than that of the outside world. You too can practice well here. Where did you get this ancient thread eye? Don't even think about hiding me in the eyes. Ha <laughs> ha, I really thought I was a green onion. Every time it is used, the damage to the body is almost permanent. This kind of damage accumulates more and more, and in the end it will definitely kill you. Humph. So what? I'm a genius, and I will naturally find a solution in the future. I hope you don't die before you find a way. I know an alchemist who likes to do these tricks the most. He transplanted some organs from cats and dogs into his own body, took the strengths of various monsters, and merged them into one body, but ultimately failed. You're not one of that man's disciples, Arnak. You. Who are you? I see. So he's still alive. He's still doing all this boring stuff. I think he fused you with the ancient thread eye. I'm afraid he just used you as a test subject. It's none of your business. I don't care much about the personal bridges between your mercenary groups. 
I want to ask two things. One, why did you want to capture Hylin? Is that Mr. Yu you're talking about trying to refine the power of the bloodline? Second, how do you get into the ancient land? Are you going to the ancient land? You don't have to ask questions, just answer them. I don't know how to get to the ancient land. As for Mr. Yu wanting Hylin's body, I don't know why. So tell me, who is M or that why you? You're gonna kill me. I'm gonna die if I tell you anyway. Ho. Oh, what if I could save your life? Ha ha, who do you think you are? Do you think you're invincible if you have the young emperor's help? Let me tell you, Mr. Yoon is a distinguished guest of my skeleton mercenary group. Even if our leader, who is at the peak of Marshal Supreme, sees him, he must be respectful. Probably got it. The only one who could make a peak Marshal Supreme powerhouse respectful, besides Marshal Sovereigns, is the high-level alchemists. I guess that so-called Mr. Yu should be at least the seventh level. This guy is so smart that he can deduce all kinds of information from just a few words. No, I can't say a word anymore. By the way you're reacting, I'm sure of it. That Mr. Yu is an 8-level alchemist, if he were a ninth level being, there would be no need for him to personally descend to the Light Song Woodland. Are you not some kind of old man who took over this body? Me. The technique of taking over the body only exists in theory, and even if it succeeds, it won't last long. And it's extremely damaging to the soul, so you can't do it a second time. This, you also know this? Okay. I don't have anything to ask you for the time being. I'll figure out how to get to the ancient land myself. You guys just stay here in peace. Maybe a year or two, maybe a lifetime. Lifetime. I've only heard that the entrance to the ancient land is in the Light Song Woodland. Is there any other hidden secrets? Master Yun Chao, our vice leader would like to invite you. I'd like to ask Commander Zhuo to lead the way. Master Yun Chao. Um, do you want to join our rookie mercenary group? Why did you ask so? The vice captain will definitely ask this question later. Master Yunchao, please think about it carefully now. I'm not at liberty to say more than that. I don't think I can say much more than that. Ju Fu, who was about to say something, said, What kind of medicine is being served in the vice captain's sick read? Hmm. The vice captain of the Xiaohuang's group. This person is definitely a Marshal Supreme, no doubt about it. Are you the fifth rank alchemist Li Yunxiao? Are you the vice commander Hai Beifei of the rookie mercenary group? I've never seen such a reckless young man. He, young one, you've got guts. Hylin mentioned that we owe a lot to you on this journey. Without you, they might have all been wiped out. Master Yunchao possesses such outstanding strength at such a young age. I wonder what force you're affiliated with. It's just a small town in the southern region. Southern region? In the southern region, there are no major sects, but recently. The opening of Mount Sumeru has caused quite a stir. There are rumors circulating about two titled martial sovereigns descending. It is unclear whether this information is true or false. I'm not interested in this kind of gossip, but it is true that the two titled martial sovereigns have descended. Who would have thought that even in the southern region, talents like Master Yunchao could emerge? Even if you look at the many powerful sects on the continent, it's not much more than that. This kid doesn't look old, but why does he talk like he's got nothing to lose? I must say, young Master Highland definitely has some serious talent. Unfortunately, this child was born with a weak constitution, and Master Xiao understands that his blood is. Do you have something to say, or are you just beating around the bush waiting for me to take the initiative? Ho! Oh. Drinking tea brings so much joy, you little Pascal. Your acting skills are just so poor. Master Yun Chao, in the past, a skilled individual once examined Hylin and left behind a method for treatment. May. Vice Captain, sir. The tea has been finished. Ah, flower, flowers. There's no more tea for the guests. Bring up the fine tea that little Sanzi bought yesterday. 
Master High. Coming right up. Your team's tea is quite unique too, he he. Poor Lin, my dear. There was a master who left a cure, but all these years, we couldn't meet that chance. Oh dear, I just remembered something very important tot I need to take care of. Excuse me for now, Vice Captain High, I must take my leave. This is the rookie mercenary base, what else could Master Yunxiao have to do? Talk some more? I have no interest in drinking the expensive tea from your group. Xiao Wan, bring out my prized snow jasmine tea. How's it going, Mr. Yunxiao? This is a top quality snow tea that I treasure so much that I can't bear to drink it myself. Indeed, it is good tea, but... Did Mr. High really call me for tea? Then High won't beat around the bush. Master Yunxiao, would you be willing to join our rookie mercenary group? Why do you want me to join? After all that rambling, we have finally come to the main point. Though Light Song Forest may not be a big deal in the realm of martial arts, it's still a force to be reckoned with. If Master Yunxiao is willing to join our team, I can promise you the position of squad leader. In our rookie mercenary group, apart from Captain Haolian and myself, there are only seven squad leaders below. And Master Yunxiao, you could be the eighth. It's a great honor to be offered the position of team leader. Granting me such a favor, what are the terms? There are some scattered alchemists within the rookie mercenary corps, but they are difficult to manage. Captain Howlian had always had the idea of setting up a special team of alchemists, which would become the eighth team. Although Master Yunxiao is young, as a fifth-rank alchemist, he is sufficient to convince the public. But even more importantly, Master Yunxiao has the power to save my child. Oh? Can I save Brother Hylin? That's right. Because Master Yunxiao has a divine body. The method left behind by that master was to extract the power of the divine body to suppress my son's bloodline. However, if this happens, the person with the divine body will lose all his martial arts cultivation and become an ordinary person. For years, I have been searching for someone with a divine body, but to no avail. The Tian Wu realm may be vast, but those with divine bodies are truly rare. Do you realize that extracting the power of the divine body will only lead to my cultivation being destroyed? And yet you come to me to discuss this matter? After all these years, you are the only chance I've ever got. The power of Hylene's bloodline is getting stronger and stronger. I'm afraid you won't be able to control it for much longer. Master Yun Xiao, I also know that you saved my son's life, so I also promise you such a favor. You mean, if I hadn't saved Halen and the others, you would have directly captured me and extracted my divine body? Master Yun Xiao, you can think about it. Even though the god body is ruined, it won't have much effect on the alchemy path. When the time comes, I will do my best to help Master Yun Xiao raise alchemy level, and even if you enter the sea of transformation in the future, it's not without hope. What if I don't agree? Hylin is naturally kind-hearted, and he regards you as his elder brother and friend. We had a little fight about it, but I had it silenced. If you don't agree, he will definitely continue to resist me. Master Yunxiao, don't push me. I'd like to know what happens when you force the Vice Captain Beifei. A mere martial king, and yet he gives off an aura that shocks me. This feeling of being on top of the world has never existed even in Haolian Xiao Wang, who is at the peak of Marshal Supreme. Such a talented young man, with a special physique, his future achievements will be unlimited. Then I'll have to put Master Yun Xiao under control and forcefully extract it. Oh, I would love to see it in person. Come on. Overconfidence is arrogance. Martial Supreme Domain The Land of the Travelers, a Forest for the Trees It's arrogant and ignorant to think that a mere demonic flame can compete with the domain of a Martial Supreme. High subdued His Excellency without even leaving his seat dash. What? Please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. What? What kind of fire is this? 
It's just a mere demon fire. He's so young to be a fifth-ranked alchemist, but he's also a three-star martial king, has a divine body, and possesses this unheard of flame. There's a good chance this kid has a sky-high background. No wonder he is so arrogant, even disregarding a martial supreme. It must be because in his background, even the martial supremes are considered insignificant. Moreover, this is the most sensitive time for the rookie mercenaries, and all kinds of situations can happen at any time, so we can't take any risks. Captain Hai, that's all you got for me? I don't know what Master Yunxiao is doing here in Light Song Woodland. The matter of the ancient land is likely to rely on the rookie mercenary group. Besides, leader of this group is the disciple of mine. It is not good to make too much trouble with them. I'm off to the wild and ancient lands. The ancient lands? What's the problem? The ancient land is desert and uninhabited, and the living conditions are extremely harsh. And with the ancient wind, the danger is extraordinary. Even the mighty Nine Heavens Martial Emperor would tread cautiously. I wonder what Master Yun Xiao is going to do inside. Is it for training? That's right. I'm all about the training. Another reason is that I want to check on my apprentice. The purpose of coming to the Light Song Woodland was to collect the legendary ancient wind and open the wind realm in the Realm God Monument. Now it seems to be a solid plan. Indeed, many strong individuals are fond of going to that place for training. But with Master Yunxiao's cultivation, he is still a little. No need for Captain Hai to worry about that. Oh, by the way, may I ask if Captain Haolian is available? Why are you asking about Mr. House condition? What's wrong? Is there a problem? There's a lot of rumors that Haolian has failed in his attempt to reach the Marshal Sovereign and has already died. A lot of people have been trying to get information out of me, but they're all small fry. Captain Haolian is doing very well now, and the progress in challenging the Marshal Sovereign is going smoothly. He'll be able to come out of seclusion soon. As for where he's in seclusion, you need to forget it. The challenge of the Martial Sovereign is the biggest challenge in the Martial Arts path, and it takes the right place, the right time, and the right circumstances to have a chance of success. Hai Beifei will never know if the progress is smooth. That's just an excuse. But it also shows that he's not sure what's going on in his mind, and that's why he's so sensitive and doesn't want to be asked about it. Did something really happen to that kid, Xiao Wang? Did something really happen to that kid, Xiao Wang? Hai Bifel may not know the details, and if he continues to inquire, he may be regarded as a spy. Please also ask Captain Hai to tell you how to get to the ancient place. He he. Although we all know that the entrance to the ancient land is in Light Song Woodland. But those who really know how to get there are no more than ten people in the entire Light Song Woodland. And I am one of them. Moreover, even if you know about it, without the help of the rookie mercenary group, it's impossible for Master Yunxiao to get in. So the Master Yunxiao can consider the conditions I mentioned earlier. I'm going to the ancient land for training. If the power of my divine body is taken away, and my cultivation is ruined, what am I going to do? Brother Hyline's situation is not impossible to solve. I know at least three ways to do this besides extracting the power of a divine body. What are the three ways? Two of these are unlikely to be successful. The most reliable thing for the Vice Captain High is to use the Eternal Evergreen Tree to extract the wood essence, which is enough to suppress the reckless Kuan Cao bloodline in Hai Ling's body. If we find a way to raise Hai Ling's strength to the Martial Emperor realm, then the bloodline power of the reckless Kuan Cao will not only be no longer a burden, but will become an incomparably powerful force. The Evergreen Tree Does Master Yun Chao know where this Evergreen Tree is? Isn't it on the Demon Plane? Captain Hai should know better than me? It is indeed on the Demon Plane. But the Evergreen Tree existed when Heaven and Earth were first created. It is said that it has developed spirituality and can move at will. Those who have seen this tree before are all in different places and far away from each other. It is very difficult to find it. This is Captain Hai's business. Whether he can be found or not has nothing to do with me. Wrong, 
whether you can find the evergreen tree is closely related to Master Yunxiao. If you can't find it, you're going to make me lose my cultivation again? Master Yunxiao misunderstood. It is the eternal evergreen tree. It is the only way to the ancient land. What? How is it possible that the ancient land is entered from there? Where does Master Yunxiao think that ancient land is? To be precise, that place is not in the Tianwu world. Instead, it's in the outer planets. Only the evergreen tree, which has existed since the beginning of time, is the only gateway to the outer planets. If that's the case, it is true that you can't just enter if you want to. So is there any news about evergreen tree recently? The demon plane is very vast, and the evergreen tree can move on its own, so it's not easy to find. It usually takes several years, or even more than 10 years, for any news to come out. However, since our goals are the same this time, then I will definitely use all my strength and issue a reward to find the evergreen tree. Then I would like to thank Vice Captain Hai. If you can let me enter the ancient land, the problem of Hyling's problem will be taken care of by me. I will immediately order and issue a reward. Master Yunxiao, even if they search with all their might, I'm afraid they won't be able to find it for a while. In the meantime, you will be the captain of the STH team of the rookie mercenaries. There were hundreds of mercenary groups of all kinds and sizes in the Light Song Woodlands, but basically they all followed the same system. That is, teams were formed under the captain and vice captain and were headed by the team leaders. The rookie mercenary group, on the other hand, was organized into eight teams according to the eight disciplines of nine cloud cranes for sea dragons. Li Yunxiao is going to take over the eighth team, the alchemist team. Ha! In that case, shouldn't I be the leader of the first team? Lammy, I can't change my name to Li Hai Xiao, can I? I want to be leader of the first team. We never asked for a name change. Moreover, the eighth team is full of alchemists, and young Master Yunxiao, as a fifth-ranked alchemist, will surely be a popular person. That's not necessarily true. These alchemists are so arrogant that they can't be controlled. Master Bingjie is afraid he'll have a headache all day and won't be able to sleep. Bingjie is the temporary captain of the eighth team. Master Yunxiao, you will see him later. It seemed to sense an aura of extreme yang coming from beneath the earth in this place. But, my dear disciple, when I see you, I'll have to teach you the skill of picking a name. Teacher Yunchan, do you have any special feelings? It turns out that young Master Yun also felt it. I just felt an extremely hot breath stirring my body, and my blood was a little restless. That's good. This place is a place of extreme yang. No wonder the alchemists would gather here. Master Yunxiao felt even this? Place of extreme yang. Brother Yunxiao is really a master. This place was personally selected by Captain Haolian. It is said that there is a fire dragon lying beneath the ground, which can provide a constant supply of yang energy, which can be used for refining Xian weapons and alchemy with half the result with half the effort. The so-called fire dragon is hibernating in the underground veins, and this place is perfect. Master Yunxiao had better be mentally prepared. The alchemists in our group all have a bit. Don't worry, I know what an alchemist is like. What's going on? You can't hide from alchemists. I've added star iron and thousand years of ice and snow to that fifth grade water sword, why can't it? Why? Why is this? Master Lu, star cold iron, thousands of years of ice and snow. Why is there no record anywhere? Almighty God of Alchemy, please send down a divine revelation to solve my problems. Although the star cold iron is highly hydrophilic, but it is a golden treasure, containing but not revealing. If you add the star cold iron to the Xian weapon's advancement without stripping it of its gold attribute, you are bound to disrupt the balance of the other attributes. It is natural that the final advancement fails. M. Ah. You only need to use gold absorbing stone to polish the star cold iron carefully in the pre tempering stage, and the gold element will be stripped off by itself when the tempering starts. Ah. 
So, yes, yes, God, divine revelation has arrived. The God of alchemy responded to me. That's it. Uh, this is the alchemists. Master Yunxiao, will Master Lu be all right? It's okay, all the alchemists are like this. Master Lo is also at the fifth rank, and you are also at the fifth rank. How did you answer the difficult questions that troubled him so easily? Huff. It's getting cooler. There are specialties in the alchemy that... I just happened to read about it in a book. What a coincidence. Master Yunxiao is amazing. Master Lo is the only fifth-rank alchemist here. Originally, Captain Haolian wanted Master Lo to serve as the leader of the eighth team, but Master Lu refused. Ha ha. People like these are immersed in the alchemy all day long. How would they have the leisure time to care about such trivial matters? Master Lu, Master Lu, I've brought all the ancient books. Ben Jia, temporary captain of the eighth team. Huh? Where is Master Lu? Master. Ben, you. So it's you. Where has Master Lu gone? He asked me to find all the alchemy books in Lightsong Forest. I haven't slept for several days. Is it that hard to keep up with all these people? Not only is it hard work, it is simply painful. Whoever takes this job again is an bastard. Master Hylin, when will you find a fool to replace me? By the way, who is this? This is the new team leader Master Yunxiao, a fifth-ranked art alchemist who has been sent to take over your position and is officially the captain of the eighth team. Han. It was a joke with Master Yunxiao just now. It's so comfortable to be a team leader. You're in charge all day long, you eat and drink well. Avoiding intentionally 16. And there are beautiful women coming to my door, he he. Is there such a good thing? Certainly. Almost half of the businesses in the western part of the city are under the authority of the 8th team. How rich is that? I'll take that. The chicks who come to me in tears can circle the light song woods twice. Then I'll consider whether to take over. What else are you thinking about? Brother, although you are young and talented, you should pay more attention to exercise and take more supplements, otherwise you will not be able to bear it. From now on, the young girls here will be waiting for you to calm them down. I've got to go. Gone. Good luck, Master Yuan. Surprisingly, he was a nine-star martial emperor. It seems like that boy Xiao Wang has really cultivated a good force. Master Yun Chao, if you don't like it here, I'll go back and talk to my father and get you out of here. It's okay. I find it fine. Hum. There are teen girls who can go around lights on for us twice and come to the door crying and shouting. Otherwise, do you think young Master Yun will stay in this place where birds don't shit? It's not that. After all, I'm an alchemist too, so I'm more used to staying with the others. Master Yunxiao, we are all men, we can understand. Master Yunxiao, let's go take a look at the situation here first. Right, right, let's take a look at the situation here first. I will have people deliver a large amount of supplements later. Master Yunxiao must take care of himself. Yes. Up ahead is where the alchemists refine weapons and pills. Why are you so slow? Take this to Master N.I.E. Pig. Master Lang wants seven fragrant leaves, not seven lotus leaves. I'm gonna fucking kick your ass. Damn you, you can't even find a piece of shadowless ice. Don't come back if you can't find it before nightfall. Master Wei wants the demon pills of the fire beast, not the pig's head. If you don't get it right, I'll take you all in and use you as materials for the masters. Haha, <laughs> it should be Master Zhou Xiang's voice. Looks like he's having a great time, doesn't he? Master Hylin, please transfer me. I'll build you a monument of immortality and bow to you every day. Master Hylin, please talk to the vice captain to transfer me. This is the vice leader of the 8th team, Zhou Xiang. He's a nice guy. 
In Hylane's eyes, everyone is nice. There's no need to fight and kill here, and it's so nice to live a happy little life every day. Why don't they let me come if I want to? But hey, it turns out to be he's a five-star martial emperor. I am the newly appointed leader of the 8th squad. From now on, this place is under my command. Counting you in. Instead of being transferred away, why would I let a child command me? Is this the ultimate test from the captain himself? Could it be that the kid is the secret love child of the captain? Advancement. Promotion. From now on I will be the princess. Advisor. Lunar Eclipse. This is truly the ultimate test. MHM. Are you a high rank alchemist? As long as I keep my eyes shut, your illusions can't harm me. From now on I'm your boss. I can't handle a group of alchemists anymore. And now they've sent in an alchemist team leader who specializes in mental attacks, so I'm afraid. Master Hylin, my dear old mother will rely on you to take care of her from now on. It seems even a martial emperor can't handle this inhuman place. Don't worry, from now on, Big Brother Yunchao will have your back. Big Brother Yunchao is a really good person. Zhou Xiang, take us in for a peek. No, 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 you go in yourself. Is it really that scary in there? How about we make a bet? If you can go in and stay there for half an hour, I'll give you my full respect and call you my boss. If not, you'll have to find a way to transfer me out of the 8th squad. What do you say? Deal, everyone just wait outside. Haha, <laughs> finally I can get out of this place. Yay! Praise the gods. I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed this time, so think about how you're going to call the boss. I'm not going to lose, not in a place like that, with those alchemists. No one can ever hold out for more than half an hour. How about we make a bet then? If you lose, you have to be my girlfriend. If you lose, slap yourself ten times and crawl like a dog around the room three times. Deal. Thank the heavens. Looks like my luck has finally turned around. Not only did I get out of this hellhole, but I also landed such a gorgeous chick. The world is just too darn good. Humph. Get lost. How dare you interrupt my crafting. Ha ha. That kid's done for. By the sound of that voice, it must be Master Fong Rue. He's refining the Jedi pill, and with five masters working together, it's the most critical time, so even the heavens can't save the kid. Eh. Damn it. We've been hard at work for half a month, and we've spent a lot of money on refining it, but you've ruined it all. You will not escape punishment even in death. Oh my god, Master Fong Rui's collection of countless heavenly materials and earthly treasures was actually destroyed by this kid at a critical moment. This has been brewing for half a year before the masters started refining it. That is Master Fong Rui's top secret recipe, which is said to be able to refine Jedi pills regardless of rank. Ha <laughs> ha, does that kid understand? Let's just wait and see how this kid dies. Garbage. Wah. Wow. What's so complicated about Jedi pills? And a list of over a hundred ingredients? I am so impressed. They failed to refine it themselves, and now they're blaming it on someone else. Are they this shameless? Refining the Jedi pill only requires seven main ingredients, plus 36 supporting materials. Stay away from us. Get out of the way. I have a bad feeling about this. Save yourself spilling blood now. Take another look at the roots in your alchemy furnace. Have you added the final touch of living root grass? It's a mess. I'll be damned if it doesn't fail. And the worst part is, when it fails, it's on me. You'll pay me for the Jedi pill. You'll pay for my time. Huh? What did he just say? How did he know that the last step was to add the living root grass? If you don't have enough knowledge, don't force it. It's a waste of ingredients and time. In addition to the 7 plus 36 material mix, if there were any other way, it would have formed a recipe that would have been passed down. 
That smell is. Jedi pill. The fifth rank alchemists is theoretically capable of refining all fifth rank pills. However, due to a large number of fools with limited intelligence, coupled with a tendency to engage in some cleverness, which is why the level of the same rank is also a world of difference. How is this possible? What rank are you as an alchemist? There's a fire dragon in the ground here. The yang energy is so strong. Combined with the fifth rank alchemist, it's more than enough to make the Jedi pill. Huh? Fifth rank? Follow me, and I'll show you the magnificent world of alchemy. He's so young, is he really an alchemist? It's obvious we can't detect any soul power fluctuations. It's not that I can't feel it, but it's too strong. I can feel his soul power fluctuation is not below that of Master Fong Rui's. Not under Master Fong Rui? Are you sure you're not mistaken? What makes a fifth rank pill a fifth rank pill? Is because a fifth ranked alchemist can make it. If you need the sixth rank to make it, then it's not a fifth rank pill. As long as you are serious about utilizing your fifth rank soul power and technique to its fullest extent without wasting a single ounce of excess power, it will be enough to support you in making any fifth rank pill. Oh, I see. That's it. This, it's really a fifth rank soul power. The soul power that fluctuates on this kid's body gives a very comfortable feeling, as if he is integrated with the whole environment. Every movement, every bit of his soul power follows some kind of inexplicable pattern. What I saw was not just a fifth rank alchemist practicing alchemy. Instead, it was that supreme arc that unfolded in front of our eyes, and a door that we looked up to was slowly opening toward us. The bottleneck that's been stuck for decades seems to be breaking apart. My mind is constantly lit up with flashes of inspiration, solving various problems on my own, leading to sudden clarity and enlightenment. Whoa! Wow, that was absolutely marvelous! This is the way of alchemy. God. The God of alchemy underscore hukuku. Jedi pill. Under that beautiful refining just now, it simply brought out the highest realm of an alchemist. As if the God of alchemy had come down to receive the world's worship. Three. This is God. Humph, you must have gone crazy if you didn't came out for this long. Itchich. All right, all right, no need to be so polite. The God of Alchemy. The God of Alchemy. Pay attention. The world-famous painting in front of you is called Xiao Xiang. At this moment, he's in a daze. What the hell is going on here? Let's go back a little bit to a minute ago. He's not out yet? How can this be? Half an hour has passed. He must be cheating and hiding inside. If you're a man, you'll fulfill your promise. Ten slaps and a dog crawl three times. I have to make sure he's not cheating first. Go in and take a look and you'll find out. Fine, I'll go in. I would like to see. God of alchemy. God of alchemy. Please teach me the greatest technique, Lord God of alchemy. The God of alchemy. Lord God of Alchemy, please teach us the supreme way of alchemy. The God of Alchemy. The God of Alchemy. I'm not the God of Alchemy. Everybody stand up and talk. You are all in your dozens or hundreds of years, and my little heart can't bear it. I have only scratched the surface of the alchemy. If you have any problems, I can help you solve them. By the way, don't call me God of Alchemy, just call me Young Master Yun. Young Master Yan, please take your seat. Sit down, all of you. Don't just stand there. Your technique. Young Master Yun Chao, I'd like to ask you a question. We've all seen your refining just now. Almost every single bit of soul power and energy has not been wasted. How can we achieve this almost perfect refining? 
With any kind of refining, there is an unreasonable loss of soul power, even for me. But this loss can be controlled. Cautious and calm. Innocent and calm. I don't believe it. Are these the same harsh-tempered, ill-mannered, hard-to-please alchemists? Why do they all look like little apprentices? As soon as I entered the building, I felt a restless energy spreading in my body, and the true energy circulated in my meridians. This land of fire dragon has such a great influence on my nine young divine body. That's all for now. Digest it. Master Highland and Captain Zhou Xiang are here. How dare you interrupt young Master Yun's teachings? You all deserve to die. Is this how you rookie mercenaries treat alchemists? The bottleneck that has troubled me for more than ten years is suddenly opened. You, how dare you destroy such a sacred thing? It's so annoying. I seem to see the door of the alchemy to me, but you interrupted it. The rookie mercenary group indeed respect us alchemists. My contract with you guys is just about to expire. I won't stay. Yeah. My contract is also about to expire. Being forced to concoct pills and refine tools for your rookie mercenary group all day, even interrupting our classes. Good idea, let's go. When the contract expires, we'll follow young Master Yun. We've been wanting to leave this damn place for a while. You've got to be kidding me. If all of these alchemists leave, the strength of the entire rookie mercenary group will drop by at least half. Wherever young Master Yun goes, I'll go. Me too. Me too. Masters, masters, don't be impulsive. Impulsivity is the devil. Devil? How dare you interrupt young Master Yun's lesson? You're the real devils. Get lost. Brother Yun Chao. You guys are leaving the rookie mercenary group. Where do you want to go? By the way, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Li Yunchao. I am now officially taking over the position of leader of the rookie mercenary group's eighth team, the Alchemist team. Young Master Yunchao is the leader of the eighth team? I heard you're all very arrogant and bossy, so it's hard to manage. Vice Leader Zhou Xiang was crying and shouting to leave. We are all approachable, affable, and gentle in everything we do. We treat people with respect and courtesy, and we don't put on the attitude of an alchemist. No, no, no such thing. You see we have a good relationship with Vice Leader Zhou. Be honest. Come on, isn't that right? All the masters are modest gentlemen, well-mannered, gentle and kind, understanding and understanding, and their words are as gentle as jade. Woo 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 underscore. Yeah. We're all polite and gentle people. From now on, no one will dare to disobey young Master Yun Xiao's orders. That's right. Yes. Master Yun Xiao specializes in mental attacks. Are we seeing hallucinations? However, it seems that the contracts of all the masters are about to expire. I'm really not sure whether the rookie mercenary group will renew its contract with you. Contract? Let's ask Master Highland. Master Highland, please let me renew my contract with the rookie mercenary group. The contract must be renewed for at least 50 years. For me, 50 years is not enough. I'll renew it for a hundred years. A hundred years? You're over one hundred years old. I'm signing a life contract to stay in the rookie mercenaries for the rest of my life. Right, right, right. If Master Yun Chao is here, we're here. But it must be written in the contract that young Master Yun Chao must be in the rookie mercenaries, and if young Master Yun Chao leaves, I'll leave too. If young Master Yun Chao leaves, we will leave. Yes, yes. If young Master Yun Chao is here, we're here. My father begged these alchemy masters to stay. Now everyone is crying and shouting to actively ask to sign a lifetime contract. Moreover, even if they sign a lifetime contract, the one who binds them is not the rookie mercenary group, but Brother Yun Chao. If Brother Yun Chao leaves, quick, quick. 
Commander Zhu, go and get all the master's contracts, and then call my father. Yes, sir. Who's making all this racket in the eighth team? What are you all doing? There are tears on all of your faces. Could it be that someone bullied you? I hear someone's got a lifetime contract. You guys aren't stupid, are you? Master Lu. This is the new leader of the 8th team, and we are all determined to follow the leader. If the leader stays, we stay. If the leader leaves, we leave. Oh? What a bunch of spineless bastards. What kind of a man would make you sell your freedom and sign a life contract? I'd like to see who this new team leader is. God of Alchemy. God of Alchemy. Finally, I get to see you again. Please accept this humble knee, Master. From now on, I, Lushuan, will follow you. Please don't abandon me, Master. Stay away from me, I'm not interested in men. If you want to follow me, ask the rookie mercenary group first if they agree. Master Mylin, bring me my contract quickly, I want to sign a lifelong contract. As soon as Master Yunchao leaves, I will leave. Okay, they've all gone. Mr. Yun, you'll be my boss from now on. I'll eat shit if you tell me to. I am the Martial Emperor. The Martial Emperor is strong. The Martial Emperor is nothing. And every one of those proud alchemists got down on their knees, didn't they? Mental illness symptoms. At least I can follow Li Yunchao without signing a contract. What kind of pride and happiness is this? Vice Leader, what are you doing? This is a very strange way to show your loyalty. I've learned a lot. You should, you should. I'm a very ignorant man. I deserve to be beaten. Humph. I'd better not crawl like a dog. Contract, contract. Hi, Vice Captain Hi, contract. Contract. You're panicking. Are you acting like a martial artist? This is the headquarters of the rookie mercenaries. Even if the heavens fall, I'll take care of it. Contracts. Contracts for all the alchemy masters. All the masters want to cancel. Cancel the original contract. Sign. Sign. What do you mean cancel? Is Li Yunchao causing trouble? Are all the alchemists going to cancel their contracts together? Yes. Yes. Cough. Cough, cough. Vice Captain. No, it's not. Cough, cough. I can't breathe. Oh, shit. Listen to me, Vice Captain. The alchemists are not going to cancel their contracts. There. They are going to change the contract to lifelong. Vice Captain. Zero, zero, P.S. Li Yunchao. You're a dead man. Li Yunchao. You're dead. What? Get out of the way. Ah. Uh, lowly fool of ANS Nowick. Ninth tier armor? Vice Captain High is mistaken. It's just an ordinary battle armor. However, if Vice Captain High hadn't changed the direction of the attack in time, I would have died here even with the ninth tier armor. Sigh. Masters, why did you do that? Hi, Beifei. We have worked hard for the rookie mercenary group for so many years, and you actually want to kill young Master Yunchao. You have the nerve to ask why? If you want to kill young Master Yunchao, you must first cross our corpses. We're here because Young Master is here. If Young Master isn't there, we're not there. What? They are not protecting me. Rather, it is the limitless alchemy path to which their hearts aspire. The treasure 15 beyond our reach. They don't know me well, but they see in me that unattainable goal. Dad, what are you doing? This. Didn't Li Yunchao offend all the masters? Offend? The person who offended us is you, Captain Hai. I quit. Please find someone else. I quit. It's so irritating. Me too. I worked so hard for several years, 
but you actually want to harm your master Yun Chao. Protest. Farewell. Resist. Mobbing. We've had enough. Give us back our hard-earned money. Here's the thing, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Oh, shit. I can't believe that even a strong martial supreme is so pathetic in front of young Master Yun. Suddenly I feel that my ten slaps were worth it. That's it. Ah. Master Yun Chao, please forgive me. I didn't understand the situation. Please accept my apologies. Young Master Yun Chao, I'm tired of this damn place. I can go anywhere else. With young Master Yun Chao leading us, even the seven major forces that dominate the world will definitely accept us. If it weren't for young Emperor Haolian, you wouldn't be standing here safely now. What kind of person is this kid? He dares to say such big words. Does Master Yun Chao know Captain Haolian? You will know later. Everyone, I'm going to be staying in the Light Song Woodlands for a while, and young Emperor Haolian is very close to me. I hope you will continue to stay in the rookie mercenary group and assist me. Is young master Yun Chao going to leave later? We hope to follow the young master around. We wish to follow the young master. We wish to follow the young master. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon, and I understand how you all feel. In the meantime, I'll be able to answer any questions you may have about the alchemy. Do you still want to leave in the end? Yannick Master, I have questions now. Excuse me, young master. Get out of the way. I asked it first. And me. 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 Please find some information about the evergreen tree as soon as possible, and I don't want what happened today to happen again. Sure, sure. It looks like this kid really knows the captain, and he seems to have a good relationship with him. Is it the captain's illegitimate son? Young Master Yun Chao. Young Master Yun Chao. Eavesdropping on a painting. Could it be that Vice Captain Hai also guessed it? Captain Hai, don't. Don't take action. Against Master Yun Chao. It's all your fault for not making it clear. Ah. Uh, Brother Yun Chao, the situation in the western part of the city is extremely complicated. It's still early. Why don't you let Vice Leader Zhou Xiang accompany you for a stroll? It's fine. Since I've taken this position, I'll do a good job. I wasn't interested in it originally. Young Master Yun. The Yang energy here is very pure and seems to be extremely beneficial to my body. I plan to practice in seclusion for a period of time. Okay. This is indeed a place of incomparable true yang. But I think there's something strange here, so you should stay here for the time being. It's great for your nine yang divine body. Hurry up, Yun Chang. Young Master Yun. Alone. With me. Strategies for A.N. Two-person life. This piece of the west side of the city is bigger than the other three cities. It is also because of the three major mercenary core of constraints on each other, giving the rest of the miscellaneous forces to survive the space, which presents the scene of a hundred flowers blossomed. But what blossomed here were the evil deeds. With no rules or restrictions, this is the place with the highest daily death rate in the Light Song Forest. Light Song Forest, West City Street. But a large number of people still happy to pour in, because there are no rules and restrictions is also the biggest joy here. Espada, Ghetto? While 8th Team's primary mission is to provide security for the refining of the many alchemists. To others, it seems like a squad specializing in logistics. But in fact, the overall combat power of the 8 Teams is also one of the best, and that is because the 8th Team is too important. If it wasn't for the Fire Dragon's energy, the 8th team's territory wouldn't have been located in the west of the city. If you need alchemy materials, there are special channels in the group to supply them. But using local materials in the west of the city is also a very important way. So there is also the Chamber of Commerce here, the top 10 business alliance ranked among the top 4 of the Thousand Treasures store, the Money Sect, for Extreme Sect, as well as Empyrean Pavilion, have a branch in this place. 
The gap between the ten largest business alliances is huge. Girl. How much? Compared to these four giants, our Tianyuan Merchants Guild is not on the same level at all. Hey. Girl. Don't go. How much? We have a lot of people. Follow us. Ha 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 ha. That's what's going on here. They are all men who live on the edge of a knife, are brutal and violent, and are addicted to alcohol and women. Mrs. Ding will be fine once she gets used to it slowly. Adaptation, you say? I think it's better to let them get used to me. What the? And the one thing I don't feel good about is killing. A A A A A A H H H H. Three. This gorgeous young woman who looks so lovely and pure is so ruthless. What kind of status? A family with a fortune? Someone at the top? The proud daughter of the Tianyuan Merchant Guild is usually surrounded by all kinds of light and receives all kinds of respect and admiration. When have she ever been stared at by a pack of hungry wolves like this? The two flowers of the Merchant Guild cannot be played with. Damn. Shit. 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 I guess she's been holding on to her anger for a long time. This is big trouble. Big trouble? Doesn't a lot of people die here every day, and doesn't a big fist mean you can do whatever you want? That's true, but it's only for the small groups. The three mercenary groups are still committed to their own rules. After all, they are the overlords of Light Song Forest, and there must be rules under their fists in order to convince people. Now that Miss Ding has killed someone, I'm afraid that the other two mercenary groups will take the opportunity to cause trouble. You're absolutely right. There are rules under the fists, and the rookie mercenary group's influence in the western part of the city is controlled by our eighth team. From now on, my words are the rules. What do you mean by my words are the rules? What are my rules, you ask me? I'll take care of what the young emperor doesn't dare to take care of. I'll kill those whom the young emperor doesn't dare to kill. I'll take care of what the young emperor can control, and I'll take care of what the young emperor cannot control. Hmm? Those are my rules. Is that clear enough for you? This. It's the aura of a man who's been at the top for a long time. This is no mental attack but a genuine outburst of madness straight from the heart. But this word sounds familiar to me. Damn, you're addicted to learning, aren't you? Let's put it this way. Anyone Miss Linger wants to kill should die. This is my rule. With his words, it's worth it even if I'm wronged in this light song forest. You think you're the reincarnated metaphysical manga hero of the Nine Heaven Martial Sovereign. I finally get it. Every single alchemist is wildly arrogant and untamed, without exception. No way around it. With a man like that as leader, the whole eighth team, even the whole regiment, will be in trouble. Who are you summoning? Our shadow unit members from eighth team. They specialize in intelligence gathering and various covert operations. If we leave it up to them, there shouldn't be any trouble. Here. Come. Sure enough, trouble has come. You shouldn't be summoning hidden agents in public. Rookie mercenary group, Zhou Xiang, at your service. I brought this for you. Mama said it, so it must be done. Storm mercenary group, Zhao Yu. People in the east of the city kill people on the streets. People in the west of the city kill people in the streets. Let's go. Let's go. Swords have no eyes. Move quickly. Storm Mercenary Group Six Star Martial Emperor Zhao Yu. You rookie mercenary group are acting more and more unscrupulously. Totally ignoring the rest of us forces. Cross Mercenary Group. There is also the Trident Mercenary Group. Vice Leader Zhou, even though we're just a small group, we're not willing to be humiliated. What mistake did Hu Lao make just now? He was killed by that bitch in such a cowardly manner. 
The cross mercenaries are a small type group, usually we don't care about them at all. But now that Zhao Yu is backing him, we have no choice but to answer. How can I explain it now? He made the mistake of being a jerk. Who are you? Is this how you rookie mercenaries bully people? You rookie mercenaries really think you're the king of Light Song Woodland. Could it be that Haolian Xiao Wang has already broken through to Marshal Sovereign? See, can you decimate all of us other forces? This Li Yunxiao is indeed exactly the same as those arrogant and pedantic alchemists. Team leader, can I have a word with them? By saying that, you've offended all the forces. Why am I so unlucky to be assigned such a leader? This is a place that talks with fists. What reasoning do you want to tell them? Do you have the ability to convince people with reason and make them go back? Well, that's true. Even if I speak great words, in the end, it's all about who's the stronger one. But, we have offended so many people at once. Surrender and I'll give you a chance to live. Come to the mercenaries convention in the West and let the people have a public trial. A mercenary convention? The mercenary convention is the highest meeting in the west of the city. It is usually initiated by one of the three major mercenary groups and calls all the mercenary groups to attend together. Usually it is held for the purpose of carving up various interests in the west of the city. Share the profits. Beneficial reasoning. I also think it is necessary to hold such a meeting. After all, I've just taken over as leader of the 8th team. I have to tell everyone. What? You, a martial king, is the leader of the 8th team of the rookie mercenaries? Martial king? Team leader? HM. I recognize you. You're the mysterious boy who came to the city with Highland and killed the leaders of our storm mercenaries. Which one of you saw me kill anyone on the way into town? This woman next to you is doing evil things, but where is the other one? Also, was Yi Xian also killed by you? We have already thoroughly studied your entry into the city. Without special reasons, how could the rookie mercenary group let you, a three-star martial king, serve as the team leader? There must be something weird about you three newcomers. What a load of crap. No matter what I answer, you're going to take act. Young man, villains die because they talk too much. Okay, I will grant your wish. It seems that the two leaders of the 8th team are here. So I'll take them both. Young Master Yun, you and Miss Ding, leave quickly. I'll stop him. Zhou Xiang, stop resisting needlessly. Now that I have taken action, none of you can escape. Heavenly Wind Technique Circular Pathway Scripture Humph, resisting my Heavenly Wind Technique by force, you're really looking for death. My Xian Weapon Humph, the wind surrounding me can sweep away all the Xian weapons. Even a martial artist with a higher level of cultivation than mine wouldn't dare to take it. Ignorant people have no fear. You're all looking for death. Can sweep away all Xian weapons? It's you who are ignorant. Rhythms of the earth. Grant me dominion over the rivers and mountains. My wind surroundings were directly shattered. What kind of force is this? A gravity artifact? It doesn't matter what it is. What matters is that you're going down. It's so heavy. I can't fly. What kind of Xian weapon is this? Eighth rank? Ninth rank? Too strong. I must get this supreme treasure. Uh. Huh. Stay calm. This must be a mental attack. It's a mental attack. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Heavenly wind break it all. Huff. 
You're just an illusionist, yet you still want to take me down. No one. Martial Emperor Demonic Beasts? Demon Slaying? Ugh. Wind Surround? The Martial King Martial Emperor versus Zhao Yu, who is a Martial Emperor, actually defeated by a Martial King. I won't kill you. Go back and tell the rest of the Storm Mercenary Group what happened here. Take Zhao Yu back and hold a convention of mercenaries in the west of the city in three days to spread the news to everyone in Light Song Woodland. All mercenary groups must participate. This tone as if all the forces in the west of the city are like his subordinates. In addition, the bodies of the shadow team members should be properly disposed of. Yes, sir. In a short time, the news that Zhao Yu of the Storm Rain Mercenary Group had been captured and that the new 8th team leader of the Rookie Mercenary Group was going to hold a mercenary conference. Both of these news quickly spread throughout the entire Light Song woodlands like snowflakes. Although fighting and killing is a common occurrence, this time everyone smelled something unusual. Young Master Yun, it's all my fault for causing such a big trouble. Anyway, we're already here, so I'm going to help my disciple to organize the Light Song Woodland. He's been around for so long, but he can't even unify the forces of the trash, so it's true that he's my dumbest disciple. You don't even know when I taught him Vidra Fist. He is so dumb. The other day I took him to. Until late at night. I was like, oh man, I've got to get out of here. Ahem. Would you ask Zhou Xiang to deliver these two items to the Skeleton mercenaries in person to a man named Mr. Yu? Ah, uh, okay. This Light Song Woodland is getting more and more interesting, but Xiao Wang, where the hell are you now? I'm sure that Beifei doesn't know, but I still have a way to find you out. It's Yunshan. The divine body has been visualized. Has Yunshan's Nine Yang's body been stimulated? Her Nine Yang's divine body with the Heavenly Night Palace's Nine Yang's divine power is one of the world's best cultivation methods, and I don't dare to speculate and judge without permission. It's so strong, it's not just a fire dragon vein down here. Go out and say it. You mean? The so-called dragon veins are just generated by gathering the Yang Qi between the world. If the Yang Qi is heavy, a fire dragon will be born. But in the final analysis, it is still a place to gather Qi. After a long period of accumulation and evolution, these Qi will produce all kinds of strange changes. There is a probability that it can continue to sublimate and evolve to form that one in a million dragon's chi. Are you saying that this vein of earth contains a dragon's chi? I don't know much about it. After all, the dragon's breath is one in a million, capable of giving birth to the existence of ancient dragons, but it is true that the positive yang chi of this place is extremely thick. This little girl's divine body has a terrifying aura, if it can be fully developed, I'm afraid that it can also be compared to the existence of a martial sovereign. If there is a dragon's chi, can you sense it? It should be possible if I'm close, but after all, I'm just a soul, and I only have dragon essence, so I can't absorb dragon chi. Even if you find the dragon's chi, how will you absorb it? If you can really find it, be sure to collect it. Skeleton mercenaries in the south of the city. Hey, hey, hey. Why am I tied up like this? Hey, am talking to you, Wu Lei. After all, we are old acquaintances. I'm just here to deliver something from my team leader. You don't need to treat me like this. How come you were just talking about everything fine, but when I mentioned Mr. Yu, you suddenly tied me up? Who is this person? Why have I never heard of him? Also, you're a guy who's got a little bit of a fetish. I must ask the higher-ups for instructions on whether to let you go or not. I will hand over these two things, and you can just wait here. When two armies are at war, treat your envoys well. It's nice to have friends from away, 
isn't it? A friend is a friend, a foe is a foe. Hey, at least put me back down first. Skeleton Mercenary Group Headquarters This Mr. Yu, who obviously couldn't feel any pressure of Yuan Chi or martial intent, is even more frightening than the captain. Captain of the Skeleton Mercenary Group 9 Star Marshal Supreme Shin Fong. Mr. Yu, what's wrong? Mr. Yu, now that's trouble. As expected, Gu Yuexing fell into the hands of the rookie mercenary group. It's just Gu Yuexing, even if he's dead, it doesn't matter, sir. If it had died, there would have been no trouble, at most we would have lost an ancient eye. The trouble is that he is still alive. I brought him here. Do you know who his master is? Master? Aren't you his master? His master's a real pain in the ass that I wouldn't want to mess with. Madman Jia, have you heard of him? What? That pervert? Isn't he already dead? If he's his disciple, why did you bring him to me? Now that something's happened, what if that pervert comes looking for us? I never heard of this crazy Jia before. I wonder who's the one that even the captain and Mr. Yu are afraid of. I've been eyeing his ancient eye for a while now. The drop of blood just now was indeed the blood essence in the ancient third eye, and it tasted delicious. The ancient third eye is a precious treasure. If you rob it, will Madman Jia let you go? I know you're not afraid of him, but you don't want a big problem chasing you around every day. You're wrong. Gu Yuexing is just a test subject for that pervert. I know that man's temperament very well. The ancient Tianmu clan is a group tribe. He must have found a tomb of ancient Tianmu and acquired a certain number of them. That's why he would be willing to take one out and put it on his own apprentice as a test. He would never get into trouble with me over a test subject. In this case, what do you mean when you say trouble is coming? The person who sent the message already knew Gui Yuexing's identity. He said that if we don't cooperate with him, he will send Gui Yuexing to the Sea of Transfiguration. If this is the case, that crazy guy Jia will definitely go crazy and fight us desperately. Cooperate with them? What are they going to do? The letter said that they had to do something in the west of the city, so we should be honest and not cause any trouble to them. Ah, sir. Not long ago, news came from the west of the city, saying that the rookie mercenary group had newly appointed a very young 8th team captain, whose strength was mysterious and unpredictable. He had just captured Zhao Yu from the Storm Mercenary Group and said that a mercenary conference would be held in three days. Could it be related to this matter? A new team leader who has mysterious techniques. Hum. Could this be the man who captured Gu Yuexing? Three days later? Go find out this person's identity and information immediately and don't let go of any clues. Also, since they already know there is a Mr. Yu, then let Zhou Xiang go back. Yes, sir. Mr. Yu, what are they doing? Since the disappearance of Haolian, the rookies have been keeping a low profile. Not only the west side of the city, but also the north side of the city has lost a lot of land and business, and there is no way to get it back. Why is it suddenly so high profile now? Could it be? Could it be that Haolian has broken through to Marshall Sovereign and returned? Don't panic, even if Haolian Xiao Wang really breaks through to the Marshall Sovereign, there is nothing to be afraid of. The fact that the people we sent out to spy haven't returned with any news at all also means that he hasn't yet succeeded in advancing. You think the Nine Heavens realm is this easy to break? My guess is that the new team leader is trying to do something to solidify his position. I hope so. Sir, when are you going to get that thing done? I thought the capturing of Highland would be a sure thing, but now it seems unlikely. I'm going to the Demon Plains to look for the Soul Breaking Taper. Soul Breaking Taper? That is a demonic beast close to the Nine Heavens Martial Sovereign Realm. So what about the Nine Heavens Martial Sovereign Realm? Have you forgotten who I am? Thank you, sir, for helping me. I won't forget your great kindness. No need to thank me. I just have some friendship with your father. It's right to help you. Besides, it's also for myself. 
What a strong wave of positive Yom Q. This is the Mr. Yu, what are you seeing? A divine body vision. The vision of the Nine Yang's divine body. Nine Yang's divine body? Sir, are you sure? There is no way it could be wrong. Back then, she killed three successive kings of our clan leaving us trapped beneath the five mist mountains, unable to emerge for nearly a thousand years. It was the 19th generation master of the Heavenly Night Palace, Gu Qingqing, who possessed the Nine Yang's divine body. There are detailed descriptions of this body type amongst my clan. I can't believe that after a thousand years, this divine body has appeared again. Does that mean our clan will never be able to rise again? Could it be the new team leader of the rookies? For males, it's unfortunate, as they are unable to cultivate the nine young true technique of the heavenly night palace. But if it's a woman, it must be killed. We can't mess with crazy jet side yet, so let the rookie mercenaries mess around in the west side of the city. You handle the matter of the soul-breaking taper and leave the nine young divine body to me. Storm Mercenary Corps Headquarters No news has come from Yao Yuan. I believe the rookie mercenary group's actions in the west of the city are just a feigned doubt strategy to make us lose our composure. If Hao Lian really broke through to the martial sovereign, they wouldn't need to do all this. They would simply come and attack directly. At the headquarters of the Storm Mercenary Corps, several strong individuals are holding an emergency meeting. Can we consider the events in the west of the city as a signal? Before this incident, no matter how much we advanced, the rookie mercenary group was only defensively passive, constantly narrowing their own range of activity. But ever since Highland's Chamber of Commerce returned to the city the other day, they suddenly became arrogant. Yi Xian's whereabouts are unknown, and Zhao Yu has been captured. Now they are even planning a grand heroes meeting, seemingly having gained immense confidence all of a sudden. If it's a feigned doubt strategy, it's not a problem, we will see through it soon enough. I'm afraid that they have truly found a way to counter our trump cards even without Hao Lian. Humph, if that were the case, they wouldn't have been so timid all along. Unless Hai Lin brought something back this time. But as far as I know, it's already fortunate enough that they were able to return to Chinga Forest. They have been ambushed multiple times by those skeleton people. Shen Feng and his people have tried to establish alliances with them several times, joining forces to deal with the rookie mercenary group, and yet they still give us attitude. Once we destroy the rookie group, it will be their turn next. We must not underestimate Shen Feng. I believe he poses a greater danger than Hao Lian. Furthermore, the history of the Skeleton Mercenary Corps is quite mysterious. We've been investigating for so many years and still haven't found anything substantial. I think we need to slightly change our plan, shifting from proactive provocation to observation. Zhang Feng, you're being too cautious. The captain has already taken three senior elders to track down Hao Lian. The probability of his return is extremely low. In my opinion, this is the perfect opportunity to annihilate the rookie mercenary group and annex their territory. Then, when the captain returns, we can confront the skeleton mercenary corps and unify Chinga Forest. Wu Wei, you are too young. If it were that simple, Chinga Forest wouldn't have been in such chaos for so many years. Be cautious and don't act recklessly. I agree with Zhang Feng's opinion. Moreover, there were rules established in the west of the city initially, where no force could send powerful individuals above martial supreme rank. In terms of core strength, the rookie mercenary group has the advantage. Since you've all decided to be cowards, then what's the point of this meeting? I'll go alone. Rookie Mercenary Corps' Underground Fire Dragon Vein Lair This formation was set up by Captain Hao Lian, who spent a fortune to invite a master of formations. The fire dragon vein is also sealed below with this formation. It will be difficult for the captain to go down there. Member of the 8th Squad, Li Yu The 8th Squad leaders of the rookie mercenary group, some are at the pinnacle of martial sovereign. I really don't understand how such a young boy suddenly became a squad leader. Could it be? Let me tell you. You just need to know the relationship between him and the captain in your heart. 
Anyway, we must obey this squad leader completely. After the formation was set up, Captain Hao Lien personally went down to experience its power but returned empty-handed. Hmm. Searching for the dragon, parting the gold, the entangling mountains, each layer of entanglement is a crucial point. We tried to teach him the formation, but he refused. Now we have to spend a fortune just to set up a simple returning formation. It's truly embarrassing. Ah. Uh, uh. Captain. Where are you right now? Got it. Ah. Uh, this is the place. What happened? There must be something valuable down here. Are you here to plunder our tomb? Break this formation first. Formation? Break it? Is that what he said? Young people these days. They think they can be arrogant just because they're the captain's illegitimate child? You have no idea how many days and nights it took to set up this formation back then. Returning Formation The returning formation has disappeared. Captain, you can't do this. This grand formation is the foundation of the 8th Squad. The reason we are stationed in the west of the city is because of this formation. If it is broken, it will affect the alchemy and cultivation of every master alchemist. The consequences are unimaginable. I'm just temporarily undoing it, not destroying it. I'll restore it for you once we're done using it. Using it's not difficult to restore. What about the formation? It's completely destroyed. It's over, it's over. Temporarily undoing. Then help us restore. There's actually another layer sealing off my divine consciousness down below. How interesting. Blue screen. Kid. You're not respecting me, damn it. Purple Shadow Green Cable Sword Construction Mode I realize that I've wasted the first half of my life on swordsmanship. I've roamed the Tianwu continent, considering my swordsmanship unrivaled in the world, however. I never realized you had such marvelous abilities. I'll kill you. Stop. You beast. You can't feel pain again. Doesn't the dignity of a dragon descendant hurt? What's the difference between a dragon without dignity and a salted fish? Who is the captain talking to? Ah. Reboot successful. The essence of this sword and its demonic power pierce through the soul. Absolutely top-notch. Is he using it as a drill? Hmm. Dragon without dignity. One. Wow. There's really a tomb. It's so hot. It's not an ancient tomb. With such scorching yang energy, I suspect there used to be a fire dragon stone vein below. Fire dragon stone vein? That's right, but the yang energy here is still so abundant. It hasn't been completely depleted and abandoned. From the looks of it, the dazzling returning formation doesn't seem to be absorbing yang energy, but rather blocking the surge of this yang energy. Although it's the most young energy in the world, there's still something strange about it. Hmm, and there's also a blockage of divine consciousness below. It seems we can only find out by going down. Ah, Captain. You stay outside the door and don't let anyone in. Huh? Huh? All right. The young energy is so intense. How did it suddenly become so rich? I actually made another breakthrough. Master once said that the cultivation progress of the Yang True Qi is extremely slow, but it is one of the most powerful techniques in the world, rarely matched by peers. I must progress quickly so as not to hold back Lord Yunxiao. One day, I will become a formidable presence like Master, able to accompany Lord Yunxiao. Hey, weren't you called by the captain? Why did you come here to drink with us? Oh, don't mention it. We underestimated that guy. He's a genuine master of formations. And that kid has a precious item in hands. Just the aura emanating from it makes my heart tremble in fear. I suspect that thing is likely the ninth order profound artifact. What? 
The new captain has a Ninth Order Profound Artifact? That's impossible. How can such a young kid possess such a valuable treasure? So, that kid is using the Ninth Order Profound Artifact as a drill, constantly drilling into that formation, trying to find an entrance. Using a Ninth Order Profound Artifact as a drill? That place was originally a mining vein. It was sealed off after hearing that many people died there. It is said that Captain Haolien went down there before, but then this person went silent and sought out a formation master to set up a grand formation to extract the Yang energy. Hey, do you think that kid will end up destroying the grand formation? Well, even if it gets destroyed, what can we do? I personally think the new captain is quite capable. But that kid is indeed very mysterious and gives off a strange vibe. I advise you all to just stay honest, even Vice Captain Zhou Xiang highly admires him. Such intense Yang energy. No wonder someone with a Yang body would choose to cultivate in a place like this. It's indeed a case of getting twice the result with half the effort. But no matter who you are, if you possess the Yang body, you must die. The underground mining vein. Li Yunchao circled around several times and took countless forks in the road. It's troublesome when divine consciousness doesn't work. Hmm? There's actually the sound of water? In such a large underground cave, if there's water flowing through, it can form a separate environment on its own. The Yang energy is emanating from up ahead. I'm curious to see what exactly it is. This person must have been a master in their lifetime. If they didn't possess some kind of divine body, then they must have cultivated an extremely powerful body refining technique. That's the only way to preserve one's bones in such a damp environment. This place is truly extraordinary. I initially thought it was just a fire dragon mine, but now it seems it's not as simple as imagined. I reckon they must have dug into this place while mining and encountered numerous incidents, eventually leading to its abandonment. As for Captain Haolien setting up the Grand Formation, it's not to absorb Yang energy but to suppress this place. This. This is. A sacrificial formation of the Demonic Clan? In ancient times. The demonic clan was a dominant race on the Tianwu continent, even stronger than humans. Thousands of years ago, the demonic clan was driven into the Wuxia Mountain by the master of the Xinxiao Palace, Gu Qing. This person also set up the reverse Five Elements Grand Sealing Formation. After that, it became rare to see powerful demonic beings on the Tianwu continent. Only a few remnants of the demonic clan remained scattered in various corners of the continent, rarely revealing their true forms. This eerie scene resembles the legendary grand formation used by the demonic clan for rituals. I have only come across it in some ancient texts, but there are similarities. I understand now. This formation of the demonic clan was originally meant to absorb the power of the universe and condense dragon energy, and it seems to have been quite effective. But later, something unexpected happened. The tremendous power that had accumulated over countless years gradually dissipated and started leaking, causing the overwhelming presence of Yang energy. However, I sense a trace of life within the transparent sphere at the center of the formation. Even if they haven't died, I doubt they can be resurrected. As time passes, the creatures inside that sphere will eventually exhaust their Yang energy and die. I have a strong feeling that this could be the work of a human strongman who, upon discovering this place, forcefully disrupted the operation of the terrain, causing the originally gathered formation to disperse in reverse. It's truly a pity. There must be a formidable descendant of the demonic clan within that sphere. If they were nourished by dragon energy, it's highly possible for them to achieve the legendary realm. If that's the case, it won't be a good thing for humans. Who knows, at some point, it might be the humans trapped beneath the Wuxia Mountain. The day when humans will be trapped beneath Wuxia Mountain is not far off. Finally, the sacrificial grand formation has been found. Demonic Seal The Boundless Universe, The Cycle of Reincarnation Heaven and Earth Seal D. 
Demon Heaven Battle Armor Counter Someone approached from behind, and I didn't even notice. Not only did they not die, they even used my sacred seal to launch a counterattack. Who are you? My opponent was only at the Martial King realm, but the powerful martial intent they unleashed showed no fear of me, a martial emperor. Even at the same martial emperor realm, it would be impossible for someone to withstand my sacred seal, yet now there is not even a scratch on their body. Could it be that you are the one with the Yang Divine Body? You also know about the Yang Divine Body? It seems you are not an ordinary person. Tell me your name. The one with the Yang Body is a man, so there's no need to worry too much. Why does someone who's about to die know so much? Well, you can always keep learning even as you grow old, right? Can't you satisfy my curiosity a little? No, I can't. Essence of Carnage to be able to freely condense the essence of carnage, how many people have you killed to possess such intense killing intent? You know essence of carnage as well. It seems you truly are not an ordinary person. To show my gratitude for bringing me here, I shall grant you a swift death. The finger of the gov of slaughter. The winds and clouds are under my control. Dragon Soul a ninth grade profound artifact combined with a dragon soul artifact spirit? Diamond Fist. One punch shatters countless laws. The Moonlit Night on the 24 Bridges. You. You are not the Yang Divine Body. Now, Demonic Dragon. What? It's really a member of the Demonic Clan. No wonder they wanted to trap humans beneath Wuxia Mountain. With just two moves, they couldn't even deal with him. Your Divine Body is formidable, as it can purify my killing intent. But what I'm looking for is the young divine body. Can you tell me where that person is? I can spare your life. You are very young, and it would be a great pity for you to die here. With your talent, you will undoubtedly become a dominant figure in the future. The heaven and earth seal have caused the downfall of countless peerless overlords. Yet now, you can't even withstand two moves from a martial emperor and are left in a sorry state. If you stop pretending, Perhaps we can still be friends. As a martial king, being able to see my true form is the greatest gift I can give you. Since you're so uncooperative, I have no choice but to take you down and interrogate you personally. He also possesses a ninth grade profound artifact. Can't you stop showing off your superiority? I can't understand why a monster like you would feel superior. This guy is not an ordinary martial emperor by any means. The ripples emitted from his sword can be felt, and at least half of his power has been unleashed. Even a martial supreme wouldn't dare to directly face this sword. You talk too much, kid. Hey, hey, hey. I've been waiting for this move. Heavenly Spirit Ring. Another ninth grade profound artifact added to my collection. He he, I told you already, don't show off your superiority in front of me. Humans are truly shameless. Childish. That light sword is my life-bound profound artifact, intertwined with my life. Even if separated by endless time and space, it is still under my control. Hmm. This guy's control over the ninth rank profound artifact is far beyond my expectations. It's too troublesome. What? The aura and pressure emitted by that profound artifact surpasses my tail light sword. And it actually suppresses the tail light sword to such a significant extent. Ripple flash step. 
Open. Spiritual Domain. Only an 8th rank honored level alchemist can use the power of the spirit to unfold their own domain barrier. He wants to exile the Boundary God Monument into the void. No wonder I've been feeling so strange all along. Your true strength isn't that of a martial emperor. It's that of an 8th rank alchemist. This guy surpasses me in martial arts. Surpasses me in the path of alchemy. This person's control over the ninth rank profound artifact is stronger than mine. For the first time since my rebirth, every domain of mine is being suppressed tightly by the opponent. In my past life, I was renowned as the number one in spiritual attacks. When did someone dare to act so arrogantly in this domain against me? Eve Technique for Piedin. You're also an alchemist? No wonder you possess so many precious artifacts. Ripple Flash Step Break Divine Body, Body Refining Zero Technique, Ninth Rank Profound Artifact, Combined with your cultivation in martial arts and alchemy. At your age, how could you possess such monstrous talent? It's a pity that you will die here today. Slice. You talk as if you have already killed me. Humph. As you wish. Diamond Fist. The suppression of the tail light sword has loosened. The impact this kid has brought is incredibly strong. If we don't kill this person, we may never have peace again. Boundary God Monument. This is. Where is that kid? Boundary God Monument, Mount Fonsuin. For the first time since my rebirth, I had to escape into the Boundary God Monument during a confrontation. Fortunately, the unparalleled Tyrant Body's extraordinary trait not only absorbed the opponent's power during the collapse, but also repaired my physical body. Ha ha ha. Doesn't this feeling feel great? Cultivation, soul power, profound artifacts, physical body, every aspect was forcefully suppressed by the opponent. As an unparalleled martial emperor, have you never experienced such a thing before? If it weren't for the Boundary God Monument as a means of escape, you might have truly perished this time. Every corner has been searched, but there is no trace of this kid's presence. Could he have escaped into this monument? Well, since he has such a clever hiding method, I'll take this profound artifact for now. It won't be a loss. However, this monument is definitely not weaker than the tail light sword. It won't be so easy to claim it. White Flame Ghost Kill, 6 Extreme Battle Halberd. What? Where did you come from? What about that young man just now? This guy is even more fierce than Li Yunchao described. Even our most powerful move can be easily countered by this person. If he comes at us now, we are definitely doomed. He, he are you asking a question you already know the answer to? Is it just that you can't believe it yourself? I've been miserable because of that kid. What's the point of calling me out against such a formidable opponent? See this. Is it really a divine profound artifact? Ah. Although I don't know what will happen when sucked inside, a divine profound artifact is not something I can speculate about. It's definitely more dangerous than auspicious. How many formidable beings are there within this monument? If powerful experts and beasts keep coming out like this, even as a martial emperor, I won't be able to handle it. Since it's a divine profound artifact, I must obtain it. Weaving the Tao, all things return. Ancient Sealing Spirit Technique. Seal.
Damn it. It never ends. Powerful condensation. Dragon Soul Wind Flame. Earth's Rothen gravity multiplied thousand. And there's gravity multiplied by ten thousand. It's outrageous. Heavenly Technique. Divine Sword. Hmm. It's not working. This attack definitely won't be enough to deal with that guy outside. Ah. I will never be fooled by you again. If I encounter such a terrifying opponent in the future, don't ever call me. You shut up. Physical body crumbling, soul power depleted, I'm almost completely ruined. Now, even the small stones outside won't be able to hold on for much longer. I never would have imagined that I would suffer such a huge loss from a martial king. If I continue to deplete myself like this, I won't be able to activate this sacrificial formation. I have no idea how many trump cards he still has. For now, I'll set aside this profound artifact. The remaining strength I have is needed for something more important. It's actually the legendary Heavenly Crystal Elemental Barrier. Who among our clan's powerful individuals has set up this grand formation, and what is their intention? To break the formation, there is only one way, the blood of a demonic clan member who shares the same origin as the one who set up the formation. That is. Could it be? It's actually our clan's legendary demon E. E was a great demon from thousands of years ago. How could E be here, and moreover, become sacrificial offerings? And another legendary demon Lee. I can hardly bear to look any further. If E and Lee, demons of such caliber, are sealed within these four amber rods, then in the central blood amber, could it be? The positive yang energy seems to have dissipated for many years. I wonder if the demon inside is dead or alive. It seems like there's a problem with the formation. The eight wilderness ring here should be nurturing the dragon's aura. Why is it flowing in reverse? It must be the damn humans who did this. They couldn't break through the heavenly crystal elemental barrier, so they came up with this method to let the gathered power turn into a loss. How many years have passed, and yet the energy is still flowing endlessly? Oh my goodness! What kind of terrifying existence could have been inside? What should I do? Who is there? Who is speaking? In a half-dead state, I'm catching my breath. Dot, isn't it this monument? After so many years? Finally, I get to see someone from our clan. I don't have much strength left. Listen carefully. The demons are resurrecting. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. That's great. Well done. The power of the few of us has been almost completely exhausted, and our cultivation has fallen to a miserable state. Now, if you still have some strength left, please lead us away from here. Yes. Lord Lee. Inside the Boundary God Monument. Hmm. I've exhausted my soul power. I have no idea what's happening outside. Play it back. Ah. What? The demonic clan members within the sacrificial formation are still alive. This formation has been operating for who knows how many years. 
How is it possible that there are survivors? If that's true, how powerful could that person be? With the emergence of a major demon from the demonic clan, it seems that there will be big trouble over at Mount Wuxia. You don't have to worry too much. It's a miracle that those so-called great demons are still alive. Even if they manage to survive, their power would be completely depleted. For them to regain their demonic powers, it would take an extraordinary stroke of luck. Otherwise, it's highly unlikely in this lifetime. Moreover, among the human race, there are many powerful people. Even if they can regain their strength, what are a few great demons? Compared to the ten great martial sovereigns, what are those great demons? Hmm. I hope. It's true. The power that was continuously surging into my body has disappeared. However, my entire meridian system is now filled with an extremely domineering power, distinct from the chi I cultivated before. This power was generated by the Yang body in that state just now. Could this be the Yang true chi? This power is undeniably tremendous, seemingly unmatched within the same realm. With this Yang true chi, I won't be afraid of being held back by the young master anymore. Rookie Mercenary Core Station First Rookie Art Refining Exchange Symposi Um, ah, since most people have arrived, I'll keep it brief. What should I say? After careful consideration, I've decided on the following two sentences. And these two sentences, I believe, are even better than the previous two. So, I'll start with them today. Hmm. For a long time, everyone has excessively relied on the external force of the Yang Qi for refining, making it difficult to make effective progress in strength. After considering it all night, I exhausted my thoughts to break the formation and block the fire dragon earth vein. Although it will temporarily affect the quality of everyone's refined products, only by honing ourselves in this way can we make significant progress. After destroying the demonic clan formation, there is no trace of Yang Chi left. I guess I'll have to temporarily chat with these cultivators. But even I don't believe this excuse. Can it really fool them? I see. So that's why my soul power hasn't grown much. It's because of this. It went too smoothly, didn't it? You are truly wise. Ever since Master Yunxiao gave me some guidance a few times, I feel like I've reached the threshold of the sixth level. Thank you, Master Yunxiao. Everyone, listen to Master Yunxiao's teachings and guidance. We won't go wrong. Indeed, the progress I've made in these past two days surpasses what I achieved in two years. So, everyone, keep up the hard work. I have some matters to attend to, so I'll go ahead. Inside the Boundary God Monument. So, that mysterious expert of yours is you. You, a demonic clan cultivator and Highland's body. Hmm. This guy's body is exceptionally powerful and different from ordinary beings. Even the demonic beasts known for their defense couldn't possess such a strong physique. It must be related to his bloodline refining technique. The intention to seize Hai Lin undoubtedly stems from the blood within his body. This is getting interesting. Yu has taken away the bodies of those few great demons. If he refines their blood and uses it on himself, it will be even more troublesome to deal with him next time. Moreover, this person has also discovered the secret of the Boundary God Monument. I wonder if he will spread it to others. Hmm? Captain, the leader of the Crimson Mercenary Corps requests to see you. The Crimson Mercenary Corps? Such a pink name? Please let them in. Captain, you're so slow what have you been doing alone in the room? You left me waiting outside for so long, my feet are sore. Let me rest on your bed for a while, Captain. You wouldn't refuse me, would you? A girl who comes crying and begging, willingly coming to your doorstep, can circle around you twice in the Chinga Forest. Since taking up this damn captain position, there hasn't been a moment of peace from fighting and killing. Finally, some juicy meat is being served on a platter. Hello, juicy meat. What brings you here? Juicy meat? Disgusting. Do you see any juicy meat on me? Take a good look at yourself. Where do you see any juicy meat? 
Sorry, I misspoke. You are. I am the leader of the Crimson Mercenary Corps. My name is Hong Yi. Hello, Captain Hong. Cough, cough. Captain Hong, there should be some distance between men and women. Please remove your feet from my leg. Hmm? What is Captain Yun Chao saying? Well, then I'll take matters into my own hands. Ha ha. Captain Yun Chao is so young, yet so lustful. He even wants to touch sister's body? Sister? Isn't it auntie? You little brat, sour grapes when you can't have them. Well, you might not necessarily not have them. But remember, I am the forbidden fruit of your captain. It depends on whether you have the courage to taste it or not. So how can one taste it? I seem to be quite interested. I heard that Captain Yun Chao is going to hold a mercenary conference in the west of the city tomorrow. That's right. I wonder if Captain Hong will attend. Naturally, besides your three major mercenary corps, there aren't many influential forces in the west of the city. My Crimson Mercenary Corps is one of those few forces, so naturally, we will participate in the mercenary conference. But I'm curious, what is Captain Yun Xiao's purpose in hosting this conference? Captain Hong will find out tomorrow. Well, Captain Yun Xiao doesn't want to taste sister anymore? Auntie Hong, if you keep going like this, I won't be able to handle it. Captain Yun Chao is hosting the mercenary conference tomorrow. Does this mean there will be a reshuffle of power in the west of the city? Say no to battery patients. It seems her cultivation level isn't high, but she can become a leader of a mercenary corps. It's not just because of her chest. She's smarter than most men. Why are you calling me auntie? I'm only 19 this year. 19 a few years ago, still not that old, so call me sister. How shameless of you. Captain Hong, just tell me what's going on. I need your help. To eliminate the four extreme sect from the Chinga Forest. The four extreme sect? The four extreme sect are one of the seven major commercial alliance members with immense power. She's just a small mercenary corps. There's no possibility of contention between the two. Why would there be friction? Captain Yun Chao, please agree to my request. Moreover, no one else knows Captain Yun Chao's identity, but I am well aware of it. You have a grudge with the four extreme sect, don't you? Lord Yun Chao, the city lord of Yinwu City. Everyone, I do know how to open the gates of this divine palace. However, if I were to open these gates, and this big brother comes in and beats me to a pulp, I wouldn't dare to open it. No need to worry, let's all act together. Oh dear, who hit so hard that their crotch got smashed? The grudge with the four extreme sect cannot be avoided, although I've never been afraid. Why aren't you saying anything now, Lord Yun Chao? But it's quite annoying to have the other party hiding their identity in broad daylight. Oh my, look at you, all fierce and menacing. Could it be that Lord Yun Chao wants to make a move against Sister? Although I know that Captain Yun Chao is the renowned city lord of Yinwu City. But I really don't know who the forces behind Lord Yun Chao are. To actually be able to invite Li Hua Chi to support him. TSK TSK, in the Tianwu realm, there are probably very few who dare to make a move against the city lord. Those who are too smart for their own good end up looking disgusting. Especially when this person is already in their 70s or 80s. Based on my relationship with Captain Howlian, how dare you speak to me like this? Captain Howlian will definitely kill you. Howlian, you really have no taste. Do you think in Howlian's heart, a capable subordinate is more important or an old and declining ante? I'll kill you. Ah, uh, Auntie Hong missed it. Huh. 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 Wow. Auntie Hong doesn't need to target vital spots with every move. Looks like she's really gone crazy. Demon Heaven Battle Armor. Pink Bone Erosion. The Methods of Empyrean Pavilion. So you're from Empyrean Pavilion. 
No wonder there is such a big conflict with the four extreme sect. He deliberately provoked me, using just this move to expose my secrets. Tell me, what price are you willing to pay to deal with the four extreme sect? Price? The four extreme sect are your mortal enemies. If you don't kill them, they will eventually kill you. Even if you have Li Huachi protecting you, you may not escape the pursuit of the four extreme sect. This is for your own good, and you're talking to me about the price. You start acting foolish when you get anxious, Auntie Hong. No need to see me off. What exactly do you want? It's not about what I want, but what you really want. I'll give you one more chance to speak. If I'm not satisfied with what you say, I won't see you off. Hong Yi for the first time doubts her own social skills and charm. All right. We've received the latest information that Tang Jia, the young master of the Four Extreme Sect, is currently in the Chinga Forest. Orders have been given from above to capture Tang Jia alive. Even if this person knows it's the work of Empyrean Pavilion, we cannot leave any evidence or handle. And at this time, Captain Yunxiao is hosting the Mercenary Conference. Deduce that it's definitely for restructuring the power dynamics in the western part of the city. It's a perfect opportunity to deal with the four extreme sect and capture Tang Jia alive. As for the reward, as long as it's not too excessive, I believe Empyrean Pavilion will not be stingy. Hmm. Sister Hong, by asking me to do this, it seems like you're not only not solving my troubles, but also bringing about huge troubles. Tang Yuan is just a legitimate branch member, so there's still room for reconciliation if something happens. But Tang Jie is the young sect master. If this person is killed by you, then I'll truly never rest until the four extreme sect are. Also, if I'm capturing one of the young sect masters from the seven great trading alliances, I won't accept insufficient rewards. This business, TSK TSK, Sister Hong, Su Liani really lacks vision for not promoting you to the position of Deputy Pavilion Master of Empyrean Pavilion. So, what kind of reward do you want? Sister Hong, don't worry, I don't have the same tendencies as Haolian. Your faction strength in the trading alliances is at least in the top four. Have you ever heard of the nine scourges of the Heavenly Realm's Yellow Spring Water? The water known as the essence of 10,000 waters, the extraordinary treasure of the heavens and earth, the yellow spring water of the nine scourges of the heavenly realms? That's right. The reward is indeed the yellow spring water of the nine scourges of the heavenly realms. I've only heard of this thing, so I can't be sure if Empyrean Pavilion has it. I must report this matter to the higher-ups, and if it's possible, I'll inform Captain Yunchao. Okay but it's best to provide me with a response quickly. Dealing with the four extreme sect is not a simple matter, even if it's just a small branch in the Chinga forest. It smells so good. Earlier, the leader of a mercenary group came to discuss serious matters. Serious matters? What a fragrant serious matter. I just saw a seductive enchantress leaving, looking satisfied with herself. Captain Yunchao seems quite formidable. The more you explain, the more troublesome it becomes. Humph, I'm leaving first. Captain Yunchao, take care of yourself, and there are girls waiting in line to go around the Chinga Forest twice just for you. Ling, you should know quite a bit about the matters of the trading alliances, right? I want to inquire about the grievances between Empyrean Pavilion and the Four Extremes sect. Is that enchantress from the trading alliances? Absolutely not. The strength of the four extreme sect is far stronger than what appears on the surface. By getting rid of Tang Yuan, you have already invited trouble upon yourself. If you were to capture Tang Jie, even if you regain your title as the Martial Emperor, they will spare no effort to hunt you down. The strength of these four chambers, which are members of the Council of the Seven Great Trading Alliances, has far surpassed our lower tier factions. People all know that the trading alliances are powerful, and they believe that the Council of the Seven Great Trotters Alliances, along with hundreds of large and small chambers beneath them, can contend with the seven major superpowers. 
However, I can say with certainty that among the members of the Council of the Seven Great Trading Alliances, the Thousand Treasure Store, Money Sect, For Extreme Sect, and Empyrean Pavilion, any one of them is comparable in strength to the seven major superpowers. They consider themselves the core four alliances and have long excluded our other three factions from their hearts. It's just that they disguise themselves as trading alliances, but in reality, they are no different from the seven major superpowers. Whether it's the seven major superpowers or these four behemoth chambers of the trading alliances, even if you were the esteemed Feiyang in your previous life, you wouldn't dare to provoke them recklessly. Ah. In any case, they are very strong. So, what is the grievance between Empyrean Pavilion and the four extreme sect? To the point of relentless pursuit and killing the young sect master? Because of the ship key. Ship key? The legendary key that can find and unlock Noah's Ark? Isn't that just a legend? Does the trading alliances really possess the ship key? Yes, the ship key has always been in the hands of the trading alliances. It is jointly managed by their core four alliances, with each faction holding it for a year in rotation. Is something missing? Otherwise, with the possession of the ship key and the power of the trading alliances, they would have already found Noah's Ark. That's right. Because there are two ship keys in total, divided into Yin and Yang. The one in the hands of the trading alliances is the Yang key, so no matter how much research and decryption is done, its secrets cannot be unlocked. However, not long ago, I heard news that the Yin key has also appeared on the continent. I understand. So, it becomes especially important to determine who will hold the Yang Key this year. With the strength of the Core Four Alliances, it is highly possible for them to find the other key. If one of the factions obtains Noah's Ark, not only will they become the leader of the trading alliances, but even the seven major superpowers will be overshadowed. Yun's words are absolutely correct. This year, the Yang Key should have belonged to the Four Extreme Sect, and it would be the turn of Empyrean Pavilion next year. I believe Empyrean Pavilion will spare no cost to seize the ship key. For the trading alliances, this will definitely not be a good thing. Noah's Ark Noah's Ark, the only recorded supreme artifact in the history of the Tianwu continent. But based on various pieces of information, it seems that it still can't compare to my world god monument. If someone were to know that I possess such a precious treasure, I would probably be hunted down by a group of martial emperors every day. Yun, where did you obtain that artifact? Could it be Noah's Ark? Even if I told you, you wouldn't believe it. I found it in the warehouse of the Li family in Tian Shui country. What incredible luck. Being too clever can lead to mistakes. I shouldn't have exposed Hong Yi's identity just now. If I don't cooperate with them now, Empyrean Pavilion will never let me off. They've provoked me. Empyrean Pavilion and the Four Extreme Sect will join forces to eliminate me. Martial Emperor's Aura Stop being stubborn. With your current strength, let alone Empyrean Pavilion and the Four Extreme Sect, you wouldn't even be able to eliminate their branch in the Chinga Forest. You should think about how to handle this situation. I've made up my mind. I'll go along with Empyrean Pavilion's intentions and deal with the Four Extremes sect. You. You'll bring disaster upon yourself by doing that. I've already brought down Tang Yuan. They were never going to let me go in the first place. Moreover, I'm very interested in seeing what the Noah's Ark looks like. Yun, do you know what you're doing? With your previous strength, it wouldn't be a problem. But now, if the Noah's Ark appears, it will not only shake the trading alliances, but the entire world. When that happens, your cultivation level will be dragged into it, and you will become cannon fodder. The Noah's Ark is known as a supreme artifact, and the method of its refinement has always been the ultimate pursuit of all alchemists. We need to find a way to obtain it, dismantle it, and thoroughly understand its refining. The alchemist's mind is messed up. Truly cunning. What was that term for a pervert again? Zhao Yu from the Storm Mercenary Corps. 
After the representatives of the Storm Mercenary Corps arrive, it's likely that there will be a fierce battle. Hey, hey. Giddy out of the way when they arrive. They're here, they re here. Rookie Mercenary Corps. Skeleton Mercenary Corps. Crimson Mercenary Corps. Brother Wule. Don't just stand there like a fool. Come up and play quickly. Call back again. Who wants to play with you? Hmm? Isn't this Brother Zhao Yu? We have known each other for many years, and although our feelings are deep, there is no need for such a grand welcome. Brother Wule. Brother Zhao Yu is now the welcoming handsome man of our rookie mercenary group. The captain said that kneeling to welcome is a form of etiquette, a sign of respect towards guests. It's only proper. Oh? So that's how it is. The new captain of your esteemed group is truly an interesting person. I need to leave for a while. Tomorrow's mercenary convention, we'll stay put and let the rookie mercenary group make a fuss. Whatever happens, we won't interfere. This order is too peculiar. Clearly, the rookie mercenary group intends to redefine the situation in the western part of the city. If we don't step up at this time, the benefits we obtain may be extremely limited. Make way, make way. I'm an old person, and if I collide with someone, I won't be able to take responsibility. Chao Luo, the branch manager of the Thousand Treasure Store's Chinga Forest Division. When inviting someone for a meeting, shouldn't they at least be Carl Reed in a sedan chair? Yet here I am, coming on my own. Chao Luo, why are you here too? Isn't this a mercenary group meeting? What's an old cunning merchant like you doing here? Humph. Ask that little brat next to you. Uh. He he. The rookie mercenary group has been camped outside our thousand treasure store all day. They said if I didn't come, they wouldn't leave. How can we conduct business like this? Oh my. Humph. I thought only our money sect would receive this kind of treatment. Jingnan, the branch manager of Money Sex Chinga Forest Division. I heard the rookie mercenary group got a new captain, and they've become so arrogant, disregard ING all manners. Brother Jingnan, when criticizing others for lacking manners, shouldn't you first get off the table? It's understandable for Chao Luo to come, after all, this person is just an old geezer. But you, a grown man, how could you be threatened by someone? At that time, no one was more powerful than you. How did you become so weak as soon as you got off the bed? Hong Yi, shut your filthy mouth. Believe me, I can tear you apart right now. If you have the guts, go find a man to fight one-on-one. -on -one. You only know how to bully a woman like me. Bullying back then, still bullying now, what kind of skill is that? You. Ha ha ha. President Jingnan, E is actually compliment ING your prowess. Ha ha ha. I still care about my phage. Sam Xiong, the branch manager of the Four Extremes Sex Chinga Forest Division. President Jingnan, when can we brothers have a heart to heart exchange of experiences? Ha ha ha. Sam Xiong? You're here too? He he. Four Extreme Sect, Money Sect, Thousand Treasure Store. Is this a mercenary convention or your business alliance meeting? It seems everyone has some grievances. Is it because the welcoming handsome man I arranged didn't treat you all well and didn't suit your tastes? So young? The meaning behind this guy's words is quite clear. He specifically mentioned the welcoming handsome man to let people know that if they don't accept it, they should kneel and welcome. Is it because of this guy that the orders came from above? The reason why there is no order in the western part of the city is because the three major mercenary groups mutually restrain each other, which gives everyone a great space for survival. If one group becomes dominant, it would be something that no mercenary group would want to see. Now, the members of the other two mercenary groups, one is avoiding eye contact, and the other is kneeling in front to welcome. Wei Tian from the Panda Mercenary Group Fu Jian from the Hunter Mercenary Group. Neo Shan from the Dragon Pig Mercenary Group. 
long awaited. This young lady. I felt familiar as soon as she walked into the venue. Could it be the famous Ding Ling? Chen Li, the branch manager of the Emperian Pavilion's Chinga Forest Division. Ling is a good friend of Captain Yun Xiao and came to the Chinga Forest purely for leisure. I am Ding Ling, a junior. Greetings to the esteemed seniors. He, so it's. Purely for leisure, huh? He, he. Although the Chamber of Commerce has fallen, the reputation still remains, regardless of one's identity or status. Ding Ling is stronger than us by more than just a little bit. What exactly? With the business alliance meetings approaching, why does Ling have the leisure to roam around instead of going into seclusion for cultivation? What does that have to do with you? You, a branch manager, are nothing more than a lowly individual. Why do you care about the activities of high-level personnel in the business alliance? I was just speaking casually. Why is he so aggressive towards me? Could it be that you're not content with being a lowly individual and want to infiltrate the high ranks? Is Tang Ding Tian supporting you from behind, or do you want to subvert the core power of the four extreme sect on your own? You. Don't talk nonsense. Be careful of the consequences of your words. Consequences of my words? I'd love to see how a lowly individual like you can bring consequences upon me. Before the meeting, it's also good to lower oneself, isn't it? What on earth is going on in this kid's mind? We haven't even dealt with official matters, and this person is already offend ING one of the four great chambers of commerce? The four extreme sect spans across the entire Tianwu continent, which sect dares to disrespect us? The rookie mercenary group may be dominant in the Qingda forest, but they're nothing in the Tianwu realm. Just a worthless group's captain, and this person inexplicably wants to deal with me? How did I become the target? Can a lunatic be a captain? Why? Could it be that someone is targeting the four extreme sect? Could it be? Then don't blame me for what's about to happen. Captain Yunchao, calm down. I was reckless just now. Don't let my slip of the tongue delay this mercenary convention. Damn it. Did this person just let it slide? Song Xiong. Apologized? This person is not usually like this, right? It seems Song Xiong must have started to suspect and have concerns. In that case, Tang Jie's likelihood of being in the Chinga forest is high. That's why he's restraining himself from getting angry. Since this person is determined to deal with you, even if it's a ninja turtle, I'll still shatter your shell. This table is quite crowded. Could you please move a bit so as not to obstruct my view? A few children sitting on chairs. This is outrageous. There must be some information that we haven't been able to grasp, which forces both the skeleton mercenary group and the four extremes sect to yield. Zhou Xiang, make sure to register the names of the mercenary groups that have arrived today. Those who didn't come don't need to show up in the western part of the city anymore. Shocking words, hitting the mark once again. The reason I gathered everyone here is that the western part of the city is too chaotic. I've just taken over as the captain of the 8th team, and I'm not satisfied with what I see here. So, I called everyone together to discuss and reassign the distribution of interests and establish some rules together. This is the plan I've drafted. Take a look before making any comments. You little brat, you dare to suggest a redistribution? Who do you think you are? Our interests were fought for with our brother's blood and sweat. With just a suggestion of redistribution, how can we justify it to our brothers? Not bad. If they want to move us, Hao Lian must personally come and talk to us. This reorganization is proposed by the Rookie Mercenary Corps, so they and the Mercenary Corps attached to them will definitely benefit greatly. Captain Yun Chao, you really have talent. The first rule is, the Rookie Mercenary Corps manages the west of the city and handles all Mercenary Corps and major affairs. Your Rookie Mercenary Corps is really going to be the Emperor of Chinga Forest. 
Does you from your family know how impulsive you are? You? Does the Skeleton Corps have someone named you? Of the only two forces that can compete with the Rookie Mercenary Corps, they are now silent, kneeling. What's going on? Why hasn't the Storm Mercenary Corps sent anyone to cause trouble? There's a hidden situation. Captain Yunxiao is indeed promising at a young age. 2. The west of the city has been chaotic for so many years. Suddenly setting rules at this time, I'm afraid many of our brothers will have a hard time adapting. May I ask if Commander Haolian and Commander Hai are aware of today's events? If this is just his personal antics, it's fine. If it's the intention of the rookie corps, perhaps a real revolution is about to come. He, just like that person kneeling to welcome us, at first, none of us were used to it. But now, aren't we all adapted? As for whose idea this gathering is, we are all minor characters. Do we need to know so much? What? You're saying I, Wei Tian of the Panda Mercenary Corps, am a minor character. Oh, don't misunderstand. I'm not targeting you specifically. I'm saying that everyone present here are all minor characters. Rampant. Unparalleled rampant. Ha ha. The rookie mercenary corps is truly remarkable. I'm busy. I don't have time to play with you. Stop right there. Stop right there. Captain. Your rookie mercenary corps is becoming the enemy of the entire Chinga forest. Isn't it good for Chinga forest to be unified? We don't have to constantly scheme and calculate. At least with unified rules in the city, we don't have to worry about losing our lives at any moment. If Commander Haolian successfully breaks through to Marshal Sovereign and comes to talk to everyone with these words, I, Wei Tian, will be the first to stand up and agree. But this kid is just a Marshal King. I don't accept it. Haha, ha, I thought it was some grand mercenary gathering. Turns out it's a little brat causing a ruckus here. No way. Even the Panda Corps, such minor characters, are here? Wu Wei from the Storm Corps. It's Wu Wei. Wu Wile. Wu Wei, the person in charge of the Storm Mercenary Corps in the west of the city. Damn it, why didn't they invite our Storm Mercenary Corps to this lively event today? Hey, hey, isn't this too ungrateful? Who said we didn't invite your Storm Corps? Didn't you see our handsome greeter? Handsome greeter? Are you talking about this? I've known you since childhood. I'll beat you up. Ah. Idiot. Embarrassing fool. Ah. Well done, kid. I'll kill you. Captain, be careful. You step back. In this situation, I must personally take action and deliver a single strike to kill the enemy in order to intimidate everyone present. What does he want to do? Going alone? I'm only bravely facing Zhao Yu head on. A martial king challenging a martial grandmaster? A martial king slaying a martial grandmaster with a single sword strike? Unfortunately, the handsome greeter is gone. I went all out for this sword strike. The backlash of the profound weapon is truly killing a thousand enemies while injuring oneself. You step in as a substitute. Has your skull mercenary corps surrendered? Pathetic. How can we tolerate this? Damn it. Why did they let the rookie corps be so arrogant? You're willing to stand with them and face death? Today, our rookie mercenary corps will unify the west of the city, and I'll use your head as a sacrifice to our banner. Rampant. On that day, the three major mercenary corps jointly agreed that martial supremes are not allowed to intervene in the conflicts in the west of the city. And under martial supreme, who can suppress me? What a joke. Take action. You arrogant youngster, relying on a mere profound weapon. Today, I will teach you a lesson. 
What kind of profound weapon is this? Damn it. Damn it. Those old ghosts in the Elder Council are all waiting for news from the Demon Clan. If only I had brought more people. How ruthless. This is the rhythm of a full-scale war. Just you wait. Wait for the all-out retaliation from my Storm Mercenary Corps. I don't know about your so-called all-out retaliation, but at least you won't be able to witness it. Ah, uh, did you think you could leave me behind? Just because you ambushed me once with a profound weapon, you are confident that you can. Hmm? A Martial Emperor level monster? A bunch of beasts. The beast of bone crushing. How do we even fight something like this? It's practically invincible. Wait, wait. You can't kill me. Stop right there. Haha, <laughs> is that you, Lord Lang? Lord Lang? Lord Lang, save me. Marshal Supreme? What? The three major mercenary corps had an agreement long ago to prevent the conflicts in the west of the city from escalating to an irreparable extent. Marshal Supremes are not allowed to take action in the west of the city. Lord Lang? Lord Lang? Where are you? The Bird Corps is acting so arrogantly today. Is a full-scale war among the three major mercenary corps really going to break out? The entire Chinga forest will turn into a sea of fire and ruins. Ha <laughs> ha, you insignificant ants, trying to kill me? In your next life. I have noted down each and every one of you. I will break through soon. The next time we meet, you will face the wrath of the Marshal Supreme. Huh? Then don't wait any longer. Why not unleash your anger now? Ah, oh, oh, oh. Just as we were talking about this person. Is this person really going to show up? Since this person has made a move, why bother hiding and evading? Moo Woo? Captain of the Rookie Mercenary Corps, 3rd Squad, Moo Woo. Moo Woo. I didn't expect him to break through to Marshal Supreme. Captain Moo Woo. It is said that this guy rarely concerns himself with the affairs of the team, spending most of his time in seclusion and cultivation. Even he showed up? Moo Woo, I'm just here to take Wu Wei away. Do you really want to provoke a mercenary war? Huh? Wasn't it you who made the first move? I just want to keep Wu Wei here, that's all. If fighting is the result of this, then let's fight. What? You entered the Martial Supreme Realm ten years before me. Today, you will serve as the stepping stone for me to enter the Martial Sovereign Realm. As long as I defeat you, I have the confidence to break through that barrier and advance to the Martial Sovereign Realm. Come out of your domain quickly. Face me in battle. I was overthinking. He never considered the consequences at all. This madman wants a fight. It turns out he's doing it to promote himself. Moo Woo, if you go crazy, I'm not insane. I won't accompany you any longer. Lord. You must take me with you. Don't leave me with this lunatic. Hmm. You, as a Marshal Supreme, taking action on the western side of the city, aren't you afraid of causing a mercenary war? Ha ha ha. Mercenary war? I had long asked Captain Hao Lien to lead the brothers and unify the Chinga forest, but he wouldn't listen. What? That's how you insignificant fish came about, he he. A mercenary war. Hurry up and come. This person is truly insane. WWH. Please go back and report. Tell them that the Marshal Supreme of the Rookie Mercenary Corps killed someone in the western part of the city and asked them to send a few skilled individuals to kill me. Sir, you will face sanctions for killing someone in the western part of the city. Yes. So please go back and report now, I'll wait here. If no expert arrives within the time it takes for an incense stick to burn, I will go and attack your skeleton mercenary corps. You're insane. I'll take my leave now. 
I will report the situation here as soon as possible. Young man. You've done well. I have high hopes for you. Then I'll continue. The meeting isn't over yet, so please excuse me. You focus on your tasks. I'll wait here for a moment. If that person doesn't bring skilled individuals, then I'll have to go to the Skeleton Mercenary Corps. Mu Wu's cultivation has reached the Martial Supreme Realm. It's difficult to break through diligent cultivation alone. It's necessary to seek opportunities. And the most likely opportunity comes from life and death battles. Why are all the members of this rookie mercenary corps so deranged? No, they're not. Let's continue the meeting below. I thought about it just now. The reason why Chinga Forest is in such chaos is also related to the numerous forces involved. So, while everyone is here today, that maniac who killed people can be considered gone. Let's quickly end this farce. Let's optimize some unnecessary mercenary corps. Optimize them. Ah, this person is the most deranged lunatic. Even more heavyweight. Soon, the people present were shocked by what happened earlier, and in the blink of an eye, most of the mercenary corps were disbanded. They were directly incorporated into the mercenary corps that usually affiliated with the rookie corps. Okay, keep smiling. Congratulations on being directly admitted to the rookie middle school. And how big is the market? What are the barriers to entry? Where is the value to? Therefore, our top priority is to identify market pain points and form a foothold. Establish the underlying logic of the mercenary industry. Align the granularity of various mercenary corps. Explore new modes of cooperation between mercenaries and business guilds to form a united front. Empower Chinga Forest. I didn't expect Li Yunchao to have such lightning-fast methods, completely changing the landscape of the western part of the city in the blink of an eye. Dealing with someone who makes decisive moves like that gives us even more confidence in dealing with the four extreme sect. But if we ourselves get caught up in it, we might end up being swallowed whole without a trace. Wake up from the trouble of sleeping. Next comes the focus. Not good. With the mercenary corps sorted out, it's time for the four major business alliances to make some changes as well. Familiar recipe. That's something I don't quite understand. Captain Yunchao 15 a mercenary, so naturally he has authority over mercenary affairs. But our four major business alliances have never clashed with your mercenary forces. We simply cooperate with everyone to improve Chinga Forest and provide various conveniences for all of you in order to earn modest profits. Modest profits? The Thousand Treasure Store total revenue in Chinga Forest last year was 230 million medium grade yuan stones. Net income was 120 million medium grade yuan stones. The money sec net income was 160 million medium grade yuan stones. The four extreme sect earned 90 million medium grade yuan stones. The Empyrean Pavilion earned 70 million medium grade yuan stones. TSK TSK, such meager profits. Ah, so the profits of the business guilds are 50 high. I work my ass off every day, risking my life to complete various tasks, and the money I earn is barely enough for my own cultivation. These cunning merchants sit at home all day and make profits to the point where it's infuriating. Captain Yunchao dared to investigate our business guild's confidential information without authorization. Don't act innocent in front of me. Which one of your four guilds doesn't collect various confidential information from all our mercenary corps? Activate true mode again. You dare to bite back? Do you want to die? Ah, uh, this. I still haven't figured out what's going on with Sam Xiong's behavior today. These crazy rookies from the mercenary corps might actually be able to kill me and desecrate our banner? Ah. Ah. These data are just incomplete information collected by the rookie mercenary corps. Many costs haven't been accounted for, and the actual revenue is not that high. Moreover, these are all internal matters of our business guild. What gives Captain Yunchao the right to intervene? 
Every country has its own laws, every family has its own rules. When doing business on someone else's turf, you should respect the rules of that place, right? Indeed, that's the principle. Have we violated anyone's rules in Chinga Forest? Have you forgotten the rules we just established? Read it out loud for me. What does the first rule say? The rookie mercenary corps is in charge of all affairs in the western part of the city. It's all affairs, got it? If anyone doesn't want to stay in Chinga Forest, they can pack up and leave. I won't force anyone to stay. So, Captain Yunchao, how does he think our business guild should change? It's unsettling for us brothers to see you making so much profit in a year. We've all risked our lives for this money. Of course, it wouldn't be fair to make you spit it out. Here's what I'll do. I will ask my good friend Ding Ling to serve as the governing body of the business guild. From now on, all four of your guilds must operate legally and in compliance under the guidance of the business guild. What do you all think? What? Captain Yunchao wants to promote the business guild, and we have no objections. But to make all four of us obey her orders, that's a bit of a joke. That's right. Although Ding Ling is talented and has a great reputation in the business guild, it's still too young for her to oversee affairs in Chinga Forest. It's still too young for her to oversee affairs in Chinga Forest. Young? No, no, you've got it wrong. It's not Ling overseeing it, but she will send someone to oversee it. The four of you lackeys aren't worthy of being overseen by Ling. You. Are you trying to start a war with our business guild? Oh, so you finally decided to speak up? I also think it's not a good idea. Business guild? Can you four represent the entire business guild? TSK TSK, just a branch manager boasting about representing the whole guild. Let them see how these arrogant regional managers of the core four guilds represent the entire guild. Ling? Gift from the guild. Ah. Ah. The issue of several branch managers claiming to represent the entire business guild. I will definitely inform these four guild leaders and over a hundred members of the entire guild. This. Resorting to personal attacks and exaggerating the situation. In terms of status, Ding Ling does indeed have more qualifications than us to represent the business guild. Hmm. Although Tsang Xiong's words are somewhat exaggerated, Captain Yunxiao's actions are clearly antagonizing our four guilds. I believe this cannot be Captain Hao Lian's intention. Is it Captain Hao Lian's intention or not? Do you know or do I know better? Or would you like to take on the position of this captain? Why don't you become the protagonist too? Please. This. You crazy lunatic rogue. If you don't want it, then continue. These are the management regulations of the Chinga Forest Business Guild. Please sign to show your cooperation. All activities and operations of the four guilds must be approved by the Business Guild. Why don't you take the lead? Today, if this matter cannot be resolved, he he, you know what I mean. Using the four extreme sect incident to blackmail me. But the priority according to the orders from above is to capture Tang Jie at all costs and exchange this person for the ship's key. What worries me the most is that if I don't cooperate, this kid won't be of any help. If this person intentionally obstructs things, it will be a big trouble. Chinga Forest is just a small branch. It doesn't matter much to the Empyrean Pavilion. The Noah's Ark is the real priority. Shen Li, you. He, the Empyrean Pavilion knows what's best. Chiao, it's your turn now. I will never sign, so forget about it. If you have the guts, kill me now. Chiao, bring it on. Chiao indeed has integrity. But I wonder if your 19-year-old concubine and the two infant sons you're hiding in the Wang San house know about your integrity? And poor Wang San, thinking he found a beautiful wife and had two sons. He went on missions with peace of mind, not knowing that the child's biological father is so full of integrity. Oh, right. 
During that mission of Wang San, he sacrificed himself along with a martial emperor to save his subordinates. Is that true or false? Afterwards, why is there one less martial emperor expert among Chao's subordinates? Hey, did you hear what they said up there? The wife and two sons that Wang San raised belonged to this old man. So that's how kind-hearted Wang San met his end. Damn, this is too explosive. Those two children are still young. Master Chao 15 Impressive Don't think that your four major business guilds are the only ones collecting information in Qingda Forest. Do you take our mercenary groups for fools? Let me tell you, not only the rookie mercenary groups, but even the likes of Storm and Skeleton Rotten groups have thoroughly investigated all your details. What you had for dinner yesterday, what style you prefer at night, the color of your underwear, it's all recorded. This is Chinga Forest, not your business guild headquarters. This is the city of mercenaries. That's right. That's right. Well said. Long live the mercenaries. Long live the captain of the 8th squad. Rookie squad. Rookie squad. Rookie squad. Rookie squad. Rookie. Rookie squad. Hello. Ciao. He he, the old man is also obedient. Is this the boss of the money sect? It's your turn. Your life is yours, but your interests belong to the sect. You have to weigh them carefully. I heard that Brother Jingnan recently returned from the Golden Sands. I sign. I sign. I sign. If you don't sign, you'll probably be heading for a dead end. All right. Captain, I didn't get anything in the Golden Sands. Right? Now the four extreme sect in Chinga Forest is not under my control either. If I bring back this signed thing, the young master will probably be the first to strike me with a palm. Good. Everyone is cooperating well. Applause, everyone. I believe that the entire Chinga Forest, under the jurisdiction of the rookie mercenary squad, will definitely become better and better. Hmm. Ah. Uh, Captain Yunxiao, seems like you missed one of the business guilds? Missed? No, there's none. The four extreme sect consists of strong and steadfast men, unwavering in their might. Besides, don't like forcing people, so. You don't like forcing people? For now, the four extreme sect will temporarily withdraw from Chinga Forest, and all business will be taken over by the business guild. Once the city stabilizes, the business guild will consider approving the procedures for the Four Extremes Association to re-enter. Major shock. Is it starting now? Li Yunxiao's decision for capital punishment is resolute, without any hesitation. Admirable indeed. What did I do to offend this lunatic? This is a mortal feud with the Four Extremes sect. How does he have the power to contend with such a formidable force? Although our headquarters is not in Qingda Forest, we can easily wipe out your rookie mercenary squad by sending some experts. Damn it. Let's go all out. Kid, young people shouldn't be too hot-headed. Is it considered being young if you're not hot-headed? I kindly asked you to leave, and you still argue with me? In that case, there's no need to leave. Everyone, the Four Extremes Association is truly despicable. Now, let's go together and wipe them out. The Rookie Mercenary Squad is looking forward to your performance. The distribution of various benefits will be reflected in this operation. Good. Do you feel ashamed of the reputation of our alliance because of this disgraceful member? Why don't we go together and seize the opportunity to clean house? Captain Yunxiao is joking. This is their own matter for the Four Extremes sect. Five, although we belong to the same alliance, we each mind our own affairs. We have no right to intervene in their matters. Captain Yunxiao, you're busy, and we're feeling a bit unwell, so we'll go back for now. We're all involved in the western part of the city. Why should the mercenary squad risk their lives while you merchants hide? You used to boast, but now you're playing dead? The three of you should come with me. Huh? It's clear now. 
Li Yunxiao is specifically targeting the Four Extremes Association, and he's dragging everyone down with him. Brother, do you want to join in the fun together? Not interested. The scum of the skeleton mercenary squad hasn't arrived yet, so I'll go have fun with their group. Wait a moment, the Four Extremes sect has been operating in the western part of the city for so many years. Who knows how much strength they have? Brother and I will go together, and I guarantee we'll find something more interesting than going to the skeleton mercenary squad. Oh? In that case, I'll accompany you on this trip. I'm indeed curious to see if the legendary core for Alliance is as strong as they say. All right. With a Gwyn in hand, follow me. Oh. With Agen in hand, follow. Upholding justice. For extra to 72 sect, Sal Strongho. With a gun in hand, follow. Destroy the four extreme sect, seize the stronghold. Hey. Solely control the western city, eliminate dissidents, support loyalists, divide the profits of the business guild, forcefully inject into the business guild, and take a large share of the cake. Now, expanding the warship and rallying everyone to confront the four extreme sect, one after another, these series of tactics were accomplished while everyone thought he was a madman. Truly fearless and audacious. With a gun in hand, follow me. Destroy the four extreme sect, seize the stronghold. With a gun in hand, follow. Destroy the four extreme see it, seize the stronghold. Let you act recklessly. When we reach the business guild, we'll see how the young master deals with you. Destroy the four extreme sect, seize the stronghold. Destroy the four extreme sect, seize the stronghold. Master Chiao, the four extremes association is still part of your business guild. Now, I'm helping you clean house, so you should deliver the opening words. This. Clean house? It's clearly your intention to target the four extreme sect and eliminate them. How did it become helping us now? Captain Yunxiao, I. I'm not feeling well. My voice is too weak. It's better to let Jingnan read it. He's younger and has a loud voice. Chiao, stop pretending to be ignorant. Not feeling well, yet you have two illegitimate children? And you're hiding a mistress? That. That was something from my younger days. Not feeling well? This powerful golden pill, once consumed, will make you as strong as a tiger, guaranteeing your stamina for three weeks. Hurry up and take it. You'll make a fortune this time. I'm fine. My body is fine. Announce. Announce to all the brothers and sisters of Chinga Forest. Read it out loudly. As a member of the business guild, it is my responsibility and duty to expose the crimes of the four extreme sect to the world. As the head of the Thousand Treasure Store, I, Chiao, solemnly swear. During their operation in the Chingda Forest, the Four Extreme Sect has extensively abducted people to serve their young master, Tang Jie. Regardless of age, gender, appearance, or race, no exceptions. They have also purchased a large quantity of obscene items such as fat soap and whips, which were transported back to their headquarters. What's even more despicable is that it is said this person suffers from. Who is it? Who is so malicious? Master Chiao, a man of integrity, shining like the sun and moon, loyal and honorable like maple in the frost and snow in the cold. Unexpectedly, he has fallen victim to such a cruel hand. The Thousand Treasure Store and your four extreme sect are irreconcilable. It was clearly you. How did you end up siding with the Thousand Treasure Store against the four extreme sect? You brat from the four extreme sect. If you dare to do it, you should dare to bear the consequences. Master Chiao, a righteous and extraordinary hero, has ended up like this. As members of the Business Alliance, the Empyrean Pavilion feels deeply ashamed of your actions. We must avenge Master Chiao. Understood. I, from the Money Sect, will never coexist with your four extreme sect. 
Master Chiao, your noble character will be remembered for eternity, but your death was so tragic. Avenge Master at Rayer. Avenge Master. Master Chiao's loyalty and tritiousness have been betrayed throughout the ages. We cannot bocast with the Four Extremes secret. The Four Extremes sect is cruel and despised by both humans and gods. Blood debts must be repaid. We cannot coexist with the Four Extremes secretary I will avenge Master Chiao. We cannot coexist with the Four Extremes secti. This banner was obviously prepared early on. This kid is too terrifying. I will avenge Master Chiao. We cannot coexist with the Four Extremes secti. Avenge Master Chiao. Young Master, that person is indeed the head of the Thousand Treasure Store. This trouble has escalated. Song Xiong went to participate in that mercenary convention and hasn't returned yet. Could something unexpected have happened? Why are all these people gathering outside? The young master of the Four Extreme Sect, Tang Jie. Do I even need to say it? Obviously, they're targeting the Four Extreme Sect, me specifically. It must be that foolish Song Xiong who stirred up some big trouble, leading them to come knocking on our door. I don't think Tsang Xiong is the kind of person who lacks discretion in actions. Moreover, these people outside daring to target our four extreme sect, they must be formidable. What can be formidable in front of our four extreme sect? They're just a bunch of riffraff. Go out and kill them all. Kill them all? There are still people from the money sect and the Empyrean Pavilion outside. The money sect and the Empyrean Pavilion. They're nothing more than lackeys. Killing them is no big deal. If they really make a move, I'm afraid your identity as the young master will be exposed. Not only will it put you in danger, but it will also affect the task we're working on. It's obvious that they're targeting me. What? That's impossible. The young master's trip this time is highly confidential. How could anyone know about it? Humph, their actions outside are most likely a test to see if I'm really here. If it weren't for my true self being here, if others heard those insults directed at me, they would at most argue with them, but they wouldn't recklessly attack. Furthermore, their intention is to make me kill that scum and provoke a conflict with the Thousand Treasure Store. A clever move, hitting two birds with one stone. These people who have come are truly formidable. With such a targeted approach towards me, who exactly are you? Young master, what should we do now? If they're targeting you specifically, it's a serious problem. If it weren't for the fact that the thing is extremely important, I wouldn't waste my cultivation time in this godforsaken place. Since we can no longer hide our tracks within this branch of the four extreme sect, why not break out? Let's find another hidden place and wait for that thing to appear. There won't be any martial supreme level experts within the western part of the city. With our strength, it's easy for us to rush to the south of the city. Let's also contact Shen Feng of the Skeleton Mercenary Corps. He has some connections with our four extreme sect. That's a good idea. There's no need to argue with these people outside. Let's fight our way out. Look! The killer has come out. The man within that green light, he looks exactly like the image of Tang Jieth sent by the headquarters of the Empyrean Pavilion. Don't let the killer escape. Avenge Elder Chiao. All martial supreme level experts, intervene and stop them. How come there are so many powerful experts? Get out of my way, all of you. Dazzling light burst forth. Hmm. This is just a small branch of the Four Extremes sect. How could there be martial supreme level experts here? Could it be that the captain's unusually aggressive behavior this time has another purpose? You all retreat immediately, I won't pursue it. What a coincidence, it happens to be a martial supreme. Following me was the right choice, wasn't it? Indeed, it's correct. Moreover, their strength seems to be strong. They're asking for trouble. Thousand Blade Steel Entanglement Spawn Curtain Blood Slaughter Marshal Supreme Which mercenary group do you belong to? How dare you openly defy the regulations of the three major mercenary groups? 
Why is everyone so talkative? How can people like them cultivate to the eight desolations realm? What nonsense regulations? The fist is the only regulation that matters. Marshal Supreme Young Master, you quickly head towards the south of the city. I'll hold them off for a while. No one can stop me. All right. Take care of yourself. The mastermind behind the murder of Elder Chiao has escaped. Everyone, chase after them. Young Master. Old man, even though your cultivation is stronger than mine, if you don't take it seriously, I will tear you apart. I will make you regret what you've done today. Ha ha ha, this is the feeling. I love this feeling. Damn it. As the young master of the four extreme sect, when have I ever been in such a sorry state? This Marshal Supreme behind me, once I kill this person, there will be no need to run anymore. What? This person shattered my profound weapon with a single slash. What kind of sword is that? Dare to chase after me? Void slicing severance. Quickly retract your profound weapon. His treasure sword is extraordinary. It can shatter your grand bell. What? The profound weapon possesses immense power. Are you all right? The four extreme sect is indeed wealthy. To hand over the renowned profound weapon, the Vermilion Phoenix Blade. Are you guys extorting treasures from heaven, or are you just incredibly rich? Possessing the renowned profound weapon, you can't be an ordinary person. Kid, you can't be from a mercenary group. Where do you come from? Who is the force behind you? What are your intentions? Captain. Captain, we're here. He he he. Don't be nervous, we won't harm you. As long as you obediently listen. The journey of martial arts requires how many elemental stones to complete? Can I expect a group of martial supremes to capture the people of the four extremes sect together? The journey of martial arts I yearn for your cooperation to make it complete. Can you raise your hand for me to open the doors of Noah people of the four extremes sect? Disgusting. You bunch of rubbish. Do you even deserve to say you won't harm me? I will remember what happened today. The next time I see all of you, I look forward to seeing you kneeling before me, weeping bitterly. I'm sure this person is a prominent figure within the four extreme sect. It's better not to be remembered by him. So why did we follow this person? No need to hide anymore. Tang has already memorized all of your appearances. Tang? The Tang family is the largest family within the four extreme sect. Indeed, this person is an important figure within the four extreme sect. There's no need to guess, everyone. The person who will definitely exterminate all of you next time is none other than young Master Tang Jia, the heir of the four extreme sect. What? Mercenary careers, 10 years. Minus 10 years to 10 years minus 10 years we have offended the young master of the four extreme sect. You bunch of rubbish, now that you know my identity, I'll give you a chance to live. Kneel down, all of you. Then we'll see how I feel, whether I'll spare your lives or not. The arrogance of these offspring from superpowers to be so ignorant and fearless. They're just asking for trouble. I didn't even need to instigate anything. A warrior can be killed, but not humiliated. This is too much. Without the mindset of a strong warrior, can you make any progress in the martial arts world? If you want me to kneel, then come and shatter my knees with your sword. As you wish. Void slicing severance. Oh no. Sword spirit? Captain, my lord. Super Grand Wheel. Void slicing severance. It can be determined that the Vermilion Phoenix Blade has indeed been refined by Tang Jie. 
Although he cannot unleash half the power of the renowned profound weapon like you, he is still far superior to me. The purple shadow azure tether sword is somewhat more responsive. Moreover, forcibly infusing the demonic dragon sword spirit into it creates a huge disparity compared to the sword spirit naturally formed within the vermilion phoenix blade. The imperial dynasty bell can only be struck with force to unleash its own sonic power. Even if I exert all my strength, I can only make it ring twice. The boundary god monument is the existence of a transcendent grade profound weapon. Unless I have learned the great boundary god technique and possess the power of divine brilliance, it can only be thrown to smash someone. I am not lacking in profound weapons right now. What I lack is complete control over these profound weapons. Kid, what was that move you used just now? Where did you learn it from? Anyone who possesses this renowned profound weapon is definitely not some small fry. Do you want to learn? Then let's see if you can handle a few more moves from me. Is this also a renowned profound weapon? Surprised, aren't you? You ignorant fool, thinking that having a renowned profound weapon can withstand my vermilion phoenix blade? Renowned profound weapon. I have plenty of those things. The opponent's comprehension of sword intent seems remarkably high. Every seemingly random sword strike makes it impossible for me to evade. My vermilion phoenix blade. What's wrong? Feeling sorry for it? Aren't you the young master of the four extreme sect? What's a mere renowned profound weapon to you? You wastrel. I usually use this thing to chop trees and dig holes. I can't believe it's actually true. I swear to the heavens, he's the one who drilled this hole like this. A.H. Beast. Ha ha ha, not continuing, young Master Tang. Weren't you enjoying the chopping? What's a renowned profound weapon? Once I regain my strength, I can refine as many as I want. Oh, void slicing severance. Oh no. You zero have quick reflexes. However, it's already too late. Once my void slicing severance takes form, it won't stop until it devours every living creature except for me. Ah. 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 Captain, save me. With my void slicing severance, even a renowned profound weapon will be engulfed. Ha ha ha. So noisy. A renowned profound weapon, huh? I happen to have another profound weapon that suits you perfectly. Bring it on. The vermilion phoenix blade and my life are intertwined, our spirits connected, the aura emanating from the weapon spirit at this moment. It's an endless terror. Could this be another renowned profound weapon? It's my first time seeing so many renowned profound weapons all at once. Is today a display of renowned profound weapons? You. You. What kind of profound weapon is this? Have you seen enough? If you've seen enough, then attack quickly. I'm truly exhausted. Come and protect me. The enemies have reached me. Ah. I forgot, this is a matter of life and death. Kill him. Oh no. The vermilion phoenix blade has suffered severe damage and fallen into slumber. Ah. Celestial armor. Don't think that without profound weapons, you can harm me. Heavenly fist. Sniper crossbow. Demon piercing light kill. Palm strike. Thunderous fist. Armor breaking divine fist. The chi consumption. Is too fast. Don't let him escape. Chase after him. Where did he hide? Give him the final blow. Everyone, stop. Leave the rest to me. We can't really kill Tang Jie. We still need him to obtain the ship key, and killing the young master of the four extreme sect is a major event that will attract a horde of martial emperors chasing after us. I told you to behave and listen, disobedient children are prone to get Ting beaten.
You. Although I hate to admit it, you seems to be even stronger than when we first met a few days ago. I'm taking this person with me. Who do you think you are, saying you'll take him away just like that? If you want to take him, you have to ask all of us first. I'm taking him with me, and none of you can stop me. For now, I don't want to be enemies with you. Hmm. His physical body still surpassing my strongest tyrant body. Not to mention his ninth rank profound artifact, even if a Martial Supreme were here, they might not be able to stop him. Do you think you're a Martial Supreme or something? Today, I'll make you, the four extreme sex young master, kneel down just like the rest. Where is this person? Fujian has disappeared? Hmm. What? Ah. Imam. Ah. Save me. Ah. Wow. Captain. Captain. Humph, everyone is trying to imitate Gu Fei Yang's eye techniques. Just because they obtained an ancient heavenly eye, Gu Yuxing thinks they can compare to Gu Fei Yang. Let me advise you, Gu Fei Yang's eye techniques are based on an exceptional understanding of the art of techniques. This person can utilize soul power to an extraordinary extent, allowing for the free unleashing of abilities and manipulation of the heavens, changing time and space. But all you know is how to imitate the attack methods. If you're lucky, you might succeed a few times. If luck is not on your side, you won't need the opponent to strike. You will be consumed by that uncontrollable power, causing it to backfire on yourself. I didn't expect him to understand my eye techniques so well. Who exactly is he? I have encountered powerful demon clans before. In the past, I competed against the strongest demon refiner in the Sea of Transformation. That's how I refined the sword that slashes the stars. But I have no impression of you at all. I've taken the person with me. If you understood what I said earlier, then focus on cultivating well. I will come to find you again. It seemed like a futile effort. Could it be that you has other reasons for taking Tang Jia? Captain... What about Fujian and the other mercenaries? Those few individuals were directly swept into the chaotic void by the power of the mind. It's likely that they are in grave danger. The chaotic void. That's practically a death sentence. To immediately involve several martial emperors in the chaotic void, the power of their minds must be incredibly strong. Who exactly is that person? Captain, it seems like you know him? He is you from the Skeleton Mercenary Corps, an 8th rank honor able level alchemist. What? It's actually him. An 8th rank honorable level alchemist. Captain Yun Chao, are you sure you're not mistaken? An 8th rank honorable level alchemist is an immensely powerful existence that can only be encountered by some super forces or in the Sea of Transformation. How could this person appear out of nowhere in the Chinga Forest, and moreover, as a member of the Skeleton Mercenary Corps? An alchemist at the 8th rank is enough to recruit Martial Emperor level to serve under them. If the Skeleton Mercenary Corps has such an individual, they should have long been able to dominate the Chinga Forest. The Skeleton Mercenary Corps has always been relatively low profile in their actions. I rarely get involved in the conflicts between the Storm Mercenary Corps and the Rookie Mercenary Corps. I never expected their hidden strength to be so profound. Stop arguing and let's go back to the Mercenary Corps headquarters. But, Captain, this matter ends here for now. All of you go back. The upcoming events are beyond your involvement. Huh? Go back? What about the people who just went in? Are we not going to capture Tang Dai anymore? Forget it, we can finally step out of this mess. Let's just go back. Could it be that something happened to Mowu? No, Mowu has made a breakthrough. With each breakthrough of a Martial Supreme, there will be an immense pressure from the heavens and earth. Everyone, get closer. Experience the eight wilds martial intent up close. 
it will greatly benefit your cultivation. The rules of heaven and earth are refining his domain power and physical body. If you don't cultivate now, then when? That's right. If not now, then when? We're catching this wave. It's the Lunar New Year, haha. <laughs> hurry, hurry. Find a good seat. Hey, don't push me. What a refreshing feeling. Among those super forces, whenever a powerful individual makes a breakthrough, they gather their outstanding disciples to witness it and gain insights. It is rumored that those who can fully comprehend all the rules of heaven and earth can wield the power of a realm and step into the immortal realm that lasts for eternity. However, this is just a legend. After all, in the records of the continent's history, there were some extraordinary individuals suspected of reaching the immortal realm, but no one could confirm it. Inside Li Yunxiao's Dantian Although this ghost cauldron is not a supreme existence, it far surpasses ordinary ninth-rank profound artifacts. No wonder it was used to store the Earth's essence. Ha ha ha. Congratulations, Muwu, on advancing to the Martial Supreme. WWH. You all sure know how to take advantage. Who allowed you to cultivate here? Oh. It was him who gave permission. Damn, you guys are something. Muwu, my brother, calm down. Considering they are first-time offenders, just take some elemental stones from them. Huh? No, it's... Because of Captain Yunxiao Sake, we'll let you go this time. Huh? Damn it, it was clearly you who asked us to come and cultivate. You two captains joined forces to squeeze money out of us poor folks, huh? You can enjoy yourselves. Then I'll collect the payment on behalf of Captain Mowu. Everyone, don't be afraid. Each person needs to pay 10 million midi umgrade elemental stones. 10? 10, 10 million? Talk about fleecing us. Is it a thousand pieces instead? I saved your lives, and you give me a thousand pieces to dismiss me? When you want to move us. You should be serious. Accompanying a ruler is like accompanying a tiger, after all. That's why it's difficult to be a good person in this world. If Mowu had killed you just now, there wouldn't be any issues. Not only did you manage to stay alive now, but you also got to benefit from practicing the rules of heaven and earth. Yet, you still want to haggle over a mere 10 million medium-grade elemental stones. Zhou Xian, take note. Anyone who hasn't delivered their elemental stones before nightfall, hand their names over to Mowu for handling. I don't even remember the last time I got into a fight. Are you injured, young Master Yun? Captain Yun Chao, where is Tang Jie? I'm going to use this excuse to avoid getting up today. A skilled member of the Skeleton Mercenary Corps suddenly appeared and rescued Tang Jie. Rescued Tang Jie? How is that possibly? With so many of you, could it be that the opponent is a Martial Supreme? Miss Ling, I'm fine. It's good that you're not injured. Whether they were rescued or not, what's it to you? You seem quite anxious, don't you? Ah. Uh, oh. It's just that I see everyone making such a fuss. And in the end, the rabbit managed to escape in. It was all in vain. Such a pity. Hmm. T. Cho Brother Anxio. You're so naughty. Why did Li Yunchao target the Four Extreme Sect, and why was Tang Jie, as the young master of the Four Extreme Sect, found in the Chinga Forest. It seems that Hong Yi might know this secret. Master Chao was loyal and righteous, but suffered a tragic accident. I can only help you up to this point, considering that the strength of the Skeleton Mercenary Corps surpasses our rookie mercenary group. The rest is up to you to handle. Hmm. Huh? Are you crazy? Captain Yun Chao has a strong sense of justice and deep affection for our business alliance. 
Li Yunxiao implied that Tang Jie is affiliated with the Four Extremes sect, so we can't openly capture Tang Jie. However, Tang Jie is currently in the Skeleton Mercenary Corps, and our Empyrean Pavilion can directly target the Skeleton Mercenary Corps. Captain Yunxiao is still young, and I hope he can become a distinguished guest of our Empyrean Pavilion. If there is a chance, we will definitely pay a visit. Since your Empyrean Pavilion has such an important order, it's not feasible to directly take action against the Four Extreme Sect in the Chinga Forest. However, if it's only targeting the Skeleton Mercenary Corps, there are no concerns. Now that the western part of the city has just been unified, your merchant associate should operate well under Miss Ling guidance. Of course, of course. You, you bad person, forget ting old friends once you have new ones. Captain, you truly understand the way. I'll take my leave now, let's make plans for the next meeting. TSK, she's crazy. Don't pay attention to her. Miss Ding, this is an iron washboard. Give it to him for tonight. The events in the western part of the city spread through the entire Chinga forest like a whirlwind. Streets and alleys were discussing this matter. You guys haven't seen it. The captains of the three mercenary corps killed each other in secret, and in the end, they all perished together. Nonsense. Let me tell you all, people from the four major merchant alliances also got involved in this matter. It's a monumental battle between mercenaries and merchant alliances. Even Master Chow died on the spot. Master Chow died? But he took on a fourth concubine earlier this year. What will happen to her? Don't worry, when Master Chow died, the captain of the Iron Tree Mercenary Corps went to the Thousand Treasure Store to take care of his concubines. If you don't know, then don't spread rumors. The battle between mercenaries and merchant alliances is just the surface phenom non. Do you know what ignited this war? Do you know who the most crucial figure in this war is? Who is it? I've heard a bit. I heard that Li Yunxiao, the newly appointed captain of the rookie mercenary corps 8th team, played a crucial role. It's not just important, this war was caused because of him. Ah, uh, that's impressive. Quickly, tell us what happened. He, he, let me tell you. Let's go over there where there are fewer people. Li Yunxiao had a secret relationship with Sam Xiong, the person in charge of the Four Extremes sect. And Haolian took a liking to Li Yunxiao and captured him, forcing him to become his forbidden pawn within his own group. In a helpless situation, Sam Xiong had no choice but to make a deal with Master Chiao in exchange for support. And Jingnan has always been close to Master Chiao, while Shen Li loves Jingnan's sister. With the four major merchant alliances united in enmity, Captain Haolian naturally couldn't stand against them. At that time, he formed an alliance under the city with Shen Feng and Chen Chuanjiu to jointly resist the enemy. An alliance under the city? What kind of alliance is that? It means the three of them negotiated and agreed that after repelling the merchant alliances, Li Yunxiao would belong to all three of them, taking turns to enjoy this person for a month each. Ah, uh, is Li Yunxiao that attractive? Are there so many powerful men who like him? Of course. Friendship drives one to extreme measures. Everyone knows that Captain Haolian is quite fond of women. Since Li Yunxiao arrived, all 3,000 beauties in the harem have lost their luster. Damn it! How, come him so handsome, but no one is interested in me? Yell thought I wasn't but either. I can't take it anymore. Just hearing about it makes one unable to resist Li Yunxiao. Ah, if I could encounter a Martial Supreme, I'd be willing to. Hmm? Big brother, where are you going? Hmm. 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 Just answer what I ask. Don't do anything unnecessary. Understand? So, is Li Yunxiao really that charming? Am I beautiful too? Ah. Uh, well, it's undeniable that Li Yunxiao is handsome, but you're also quite beautiful. Really? Okay, since you're being so sweet with your words, I'll go easy on you today. Hmm? Easy on me? Ah. 
Hmm. My goodness. This person moves so fast. Is this person already on the list of Marshall Asterisk Asterisk Supremes? Hmm. Li Yunchao, you belong to me. Ayo. Rookie Mercenary Corps, 8th Team Headquarters. Ah. Damn it. Is it really the Yang Chu Chi? Will history repeat itself? The Yang Chu Chi grows stronger within me, and I even have a feeling of being unable to control it. But why? Why can't I harm this person in the slightest? Do you feel like you can't control your own power? Don't intentionally suppress your true chi. Let all your strength burst out. Let me see just how strong you really are. Ah. Isn't that too straightforward? Is this the extent of it? It seems I was overly concerned. Ah. The successor of Gu Qingqing. A disciple of the Xinxiao Palace. Is this the extent of it? Ah. Ah. A little. Rezum bling it slightly. Lord Lee said that if he perceives you as a threat, he will eliminate you directly. However, I suddenly have my own thoughts. As the Yang Divine Body, you were originally on a path to death. But I want you to become stronger. Hmm. Reach the pinnacle and then trample you underfoot, completely eradicating the Shenshao Palace from this realm. Wipe away the shame of my demonic clan for thousands of years. Hmm. Don't you even think about hurting her. It's you again. Uh. Yun Chao. Don't come any closer. It's that artifact again. The ethereal robe. Hmm. This profound artifact actually possesses an infinite weight, as if it has condensed the weight of the earth and mountains. Even with my physical strength, I can't send it flying. Kid, you're a bit stronger than last time. Release her. Not yet. Ripple Dash. What? Wow. Ah. It's the move that swept away several martial emperors in an instant. Captain. Yunchao. Yunchao. Be careful behind you. Your mental power is strong. But it's foolish to think you can rescue others within my Ripple Dash domain, isn't it? Stop pretending in front of me and watch me break through your Ripple Dash. This is a ninth grade profound artifact. It seems your background is quite significant. However, your cultivation is limited. Even if you have numerous ninth grade profound artifacts, what can you do? Then let's give it a try. Yun, take him down. Hmm, it seems it's about time. I can only help you up to this point. How far you can reach depends on your own destiny. The young divine body, I look forward to the moment of your strength, becoming a stepping stone for the rise of our demonic clan. Today, it ends here. This person's threat to our demonic clan might even surpass that of the young divine body. Humph, the rookie mercenary corps thinks they can come and go as they please? Marshal Supreme? Oh no. Die. What's happening? Even Captain Mowu was deceived. Well, it's not exactly deception. This is a demonic clan artifact. Perhaps it was the release of those powerful demons that saved him. Such a strong mental power. This person might be able to challenge the ninth grade imperial level demonic alchemist in the future. I didn't even realize it was an illusion. Captain, how is Miss Luo doing? I can't say for sure. The item you made her swallow earlier seems to have triggered her young divine body. 
Now her whole body is like a dantian, with powerful energy circulating within. Yun. If I'm not mistaken, this should be the true Yang true Qi. It's truly domineering and powerful. Previously, Luo Yunshan was only using the Yang true method to circulate the Qi. But what is surging within her now is the Yang true Qi that has accumulated over the years and finally taken shape. Hmm. The immense power of this aura makes me feel a palpitation. Will Yun be all right? I don't know. I have to take her to the Boundary God Monument. If something goes wrong here, I won't be able to suppress it at all. Humph. Captain Mowu? Binjia, Zhou Xiang, you can leave now. It's safe here. But, all right. What is the identity of that you from your group? This is my final question to you. If you can't answer, you'll die. You encountered you? Are the injuries on your body caused by him? No way? How did you manage to survive? Ha ha ha, did I hit the mark? Did you hide and escape for your life? Is you outside? Kid, release us quickly. The two of us will plead for you in front of you. Maybe we can save your life. What place is this? Are you pretending not to understand? Ah, do you think I would let you go? And do you really think you have enough weight to have a say in front of you? Could it be true? How, how is this possible? Yes, indeed. This is the interior of Noah's Ark. Reveal everything you know. There's no way you'll be able to leave. Don't worry about people from the outside seeking revenge. The cultivation resources here are no worse than the outside world. Hmm. You can also break the rules of this place and directly shatter the void to escape. However, if I'm not satisfied, at any moment, it could be the end of your lives. Ah. Start talking now. If there are any contradiction what the two of you say to each other, I will drag you into the spiritual realm and cut you into pieces. Every cut will last 10,000 years. What? Summoning us at will, using spatial manipulation with a flick of your finger. Now I am absolutely certain. This is indeed the legendary Noah's Ark. The unparalleled artifact that can accommodate life and form its own realm. As for you specific situation, I don't know either. All I know is that this person is a friend of my master. You mean the renowned mad alchemist? Didn't he die many years ago? So, you really do know my master? Yes, it is the mad alchemist whom everyone believed to be dead. Because his research field was too cruel, he was repeatedly banned by the Divine Transformation Sect. But how could my master listen to those boring commands? In the end, he fell victim to the slaughter ordered by the Divine Transformation Sect. Fortunately, he was lucky enough to salvage his life. He has been quietly continuing his research all these years. Indeed, the mad alchemist is a peculiar genius. I have encountered him a few times in the past. He is arrogant and unrestrained, not focusing his efforts on self-cultivation, but instead indulging in various unconventional methods. It's surprising that he hasn't shown any remorse until now. However, the Divine Transformation Sect is indeed somewhat narrow-minded. W.H. What did you say? You've met my master? How is that possible? My master escaped from the Divine Transformation Sect over 30 years ago. You're just in your 20s. Don't spout nonsense. These things have nothing to do with you. Let's talk about you now. Who is he? How does he know your master? And why is he in the Skeleton Mercenary Corps? This person's mystery surpasses my comprehension. At less than 20 years old, possessing such cultivation and even owning Noah's Ark. In the entire Tianwu continent, there probably isn't a second person like that. You is. The High Priest of the Demon Clan. Ha ha ha. You slipped up. Didn't you? So, how does your comrade explain it? That you is actually a half-demon youth who was sealed on a tree fifty years ago for stealing the four-soul jade by the legendary witch. 
You're trying too hard to make a crossover, aren't you? If you want to deceive me, at least come up with a reason that aligns with the setting of the Tian Wu world. You're clever, I'll give you that. Continue to explain wasn't the high priest of the demon clan suppressed in the Wuxia Mountains by Gu Qingqing thousands of years ago? Truthfulness brings strictness, resistance brings even stricter measures. I'm not entirely sure about all of this. I only heard from my master that you came to him voluntarily. They spent half a year discussing and conducting numerous experiments, seemingly gaining significant results. Your master specializes in collecting organs, while you specializes in collecting blood. These two eccentric individuals seem to be a perfect match. So, are you also one of the experimental subjects from the past half year? What do you know? I willingly became an experimental subject. I can cultivate the eye technique of Gu Feiyang and have the potential to become a great alchemist. Is that so? Casting pearls before swine. This. This. How could you also know Gu Feiyang's eye technique? Who exactly are you? I should be the only one in the world who knows this eye technique. Without the ancient divine eyes. How could you possibly unleash it? The ancient divine eyes are indeed intriguing. Perhaps I can find a clue within it and make further progress. Once I reach the ninth stage, it seems necessary to seek out that madman for research. Without the ancient divine eyes, even with the direct transmission of Guffiang, it would be impossible. Impossible. I don't believe it. This is fake. He 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 he. Deceptive. It's all deceptive. Ha ha ha. He he he. I also obtained partial information from Sidhu Hung, but even when pieced together, it remains quite vague. You suddenly appeared in the Skeleton Mercenary Corps a few years ago, and Shen Feng seems to trust this person greatly, showing immense respect. The other members of the Skeleton Corps are unaware of his background, but they sense a powerful and awe-inspiring aura from him. Combined with Shen Feng's instructions, no one dares to defy his orders. Furthermore, only a few captain-level individuals within the Mercenary Corps are aware of his existence. It is a significant secret of the Mercenary Corps. Hatred towards the Yang Divine Body, the High Priest, and the Skeleton Mercenary Corps. Could it be that there is a problem in the Wuxia Mountains, allowing the Demon Clan to emerge? Divine Body Anomalies This process closely resembles the signs of a Divine Body gradually awakening. But why did you spare Yun Shang? What exactly did this person inject into Yun Shang? The surging aura within Yun Shang's body is becoming stronger. I can only assist you up to this point. How far you can go depends on your own destiny. The Yang Divine Body, eagerly awaiting your moment of greatness, and then becoming the stepping stone for the rise of our demon clan. Could it be that you is truly helping Yun Shang? How is that possible? Just a few days ago, this person was urgently trying to kill the Yang Divine Body, and now this person wants to cultivate Yun Shang. What is going on? Could it be related to those few powerful demons in the underground cavern? Who knows how long those powerful demons have been in the cavern? With such a signify can't matter, why didn't the young emperor report it to the Lanchua Holy Domain? If something really happened in the Wuxia Mountains, then the ancient martial empire responsible for guarding the mountains. My third disciple, the son-in-law of the ancient martial empire. Are you Yun? Being in the presence of Yun Shang's divine body anomalies, I unexpectedly feel an incomparable sense of relief, and the power within me continues to increase. By the way, Mingbai's heavenly poison body is also a kind of divine body. It can directly transform into energy and be absorbed by the cultivation qi technique. Could it be that, similar to Mingbai, they were consumed by the divine body? How infuriating! The Mingwu siblings are like this, and so is Luo Yunchan. The people around me are powerless to protect them, helplessly watching them fall into danger without being able to do anything. Even with the unparalleled artifact like the Boundary God Monument, it seems that I cannot protect the ones I want to protect. It's all because of my own weak strength. 
If something happens to Yun Shan, I will completely erase your demon clan from the Tian Wu realm. Although not as powerful as you, this is also the legendary Ramayana. That's right. This Yang Tru Chi is just like Mumbai's body poison, the condensed killing intent of Ramayana, and the black demon Chi of Emperor Jia. They are all far stronger than ordinary elemental Chi, like mutated elements. Since my divine body can purify Ramayana's power, then it should also be able to purify these mutated powers. The Moonlit Night on the 24 Bridges It's indeed effective. My divine body is inherited from later generations and was originally much inferior to the innate divine bodies of Luo Yunshan and Ming Bai. Who created the inheritance of this divine body? There has never been such a stunning figure recorded in the history of the continent. But the anomalies of this divine body can purify all mutated powers. It's simply the nemesis of all divine bodies. The emergence of body refinement techniques on the continent also coincided with the era when various innate divine bodies displayed immense power. Those postnatal martial artists, in order to reach the same realm, constantly explore various body techniques and cultivation methods. Through various physical training, they hope to achieve effects similar to divine bodies. Some of the outstanding ones have indeed achieved it, even surpassing the divine bodies and creating new paths in martial arts. The invincible body refinement technique encompasses these body techniques in its perfection. Reaching the pinnacle realm of the indestructible golden body is enough to shatter the void with a fist, crush the earth with a foot, and fully integrate the rules of the heavens and earth, suppressing any divine body. The inheritance of this divine body should also be a product of that era. However, because there were very few people who could obtain the inheritance, it became submerged in history. The moonlit night on the 24 bridges only serves the purpose of purifying mutated powers, but it is far inferior to the indestructible golden body. The indestructible golden body incorporates the rules of the heavens and earth, suppressing all forces. But obtaining a divine body through a 2 billion medium grade elemental stones is already a huge advantage. 12. What more do you want? The sensation of the divine body is a completely new experience for me. The fusion of these two powers seems to be affecting changes in my body. The strength keeps increasing, and I believe it has the same effect on Yun Shang. As long as Yun Shang is safe, that's all that matters. Ah. Yun. It seems like we have both entered a miraculous state. Our bodies have a strange sensation. It feels as if there is a tremendous power surging and flowing within us. I have stepped into the martial grandmaster realm. What on earth did that person give me to consume? It seems to be some kind of blood, which allowed me to make such a significant breakthrough in cultivation. What is his intention? I remember at that moment, my body unleashed power uncontrollably. It must have been Yun who helped stabilize my state. For the first time, I gazed at him so closely. In the entire world, it felt like there were only the two of us, sitting facing each other like this. Lord Gu Fei Yang. I wish to forever sit quietly like this. To forever be a dependent little bird by his side, and let time stand still in this moment. Ah. Ah. Are you okay? Hmm. Now, it seems that my divine body and your young divine body have undergone some peculiar changes. Haven't you noticed the extremely strange power around us at this moment? It's all because of you. This should be the result of the fusion of the powers of the two divine bodies, coincidentally occurring under fortunate circumstances. I'm not sure how long it can be sustained. Take this opportunity to release your mind and absorb this fusion. This moment is equivalent to a whole day under normal circumstances. Hmm. Ah. No, it's not like that. 
Huh? Why yes, I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? The opportunity has already passed. I don't blame you, Dash. Are you okay? Yun Xiao. Lord Yun Xiao. Lord Yun Xiao, Yun Shan hopes to forever serve by your side. Ah. I, I just absorbed a bit of your Yang True Chi. Why are you not going to take advantage of me, are you? It's always me taking advantage of others. It's not like that. Hey, I don't know how much time has passed. Is there anything unusual inside you now? I'm fine, and this power within me seems very strong. That's natural. The Yang True technique is one of the top divine arts in the world. Back then, Gu Qingqing used this technique to single-handedly suppress the demonic clan beneath Mount Wu Xia. You should also strive hard. Your future achievements won't be inferior to this person. I don't care about becoming strong like this person. As long as one keep walking on this path, I can be with the person in front of me forever. Yun Shang, are you okay? Sister, you. Have you stepped into the martial grandmaster realm? Hmm dash. These two. Congratulations, sister. Woman S Intuition. Sister, you were born with a divine body. You will undoubtedly become a pinnacle existence on this continent. Huh? Ling, don't tease me. I'm still far behind compared to you. Ling, what's wrong? I'm just a simple merchant girl. Your divine bodies complement each other. No, this won't do. I will work even harder to keep up with Lord Yun Zhao's pace. It's nothing, really. By the way, you have been practicing for seven days now. Captain Bingia came looking for you several times during this period, but I blocked this person each time. It is said that Captain Mu Wu never returned after going to pursue you last time. What? Even though this battle maniac can single-handedly challenge the skeleton mercenary corps and come back unscathed, could it be? How is Shen Li doing? I also asked Zhou Xiang to pay attention, and he said that during this period, there must be a martial supreme from the Empyrean Pavilion. And there are also some mysterious individuals entering the city. Based on my analysis, they are likely experts from the Four Extremes sect. Tang Jia's capture is known to everyone. It would be strange if the Four Extremes sect isn't furious. Especially since it involves the ship key. I want to see how strong this skeleton mercenary corps and you really are, whether they can withstand the attacks from the Empyrean Pavilion and the Four Extremes sect. Yun Xiao, if the ship key is really with Tang Jie, why didn't he stay at headquarters and instead come to the Chinga Forest? That's exactly the question I want to figure out. You all stay at the 8th team base and don't leave. I have to go to the Skeleton Mercenary Corps. Worries. Not willing to show weakness and worries. I have the Boundary God Monument. If things get tough, I can just hide inside it. They definitely don't have the power to break through a realm. The southern part of the city belongs to the Skeleton Mercenary Corps. Although the Chinga Forest is a gathering place for madmen and thugs, it is under the jurisdiction of different forces and has significant differences. In this southern part of the city, besides humans, Yun Xiao unexpectedly saw some peculiar races. Oh. Look again. If you keep looking, I'll drink you up. Oh. How much is this pearl? Pearl? Do you really think it's a pearl? Are you stupid, or do you think I'm stupid? Then may I ask what kind of bead is this? Hmm. I don't know what kind of bead it is either, but it definitely isn't a pearl. If you can tell me the origin and effects of this bead, I can sell it to you at a lower price. I don't know what kind of bead it is either. It just gives me a very strange feeling. How much elemental stone do you want to sell this bead for? If I really told you, and you still sold it to me, then I'd be surprised. In any case, this bead is definitely not an ordinary object. So, you want to impress a woman, huh? Take 10 million medium-grade elemental stones, for the sake of love. I love you, you money grubber. Why don't you go rob someone? Keep it for yourself then. 
Hey, hey, don't go. The price is negotiable. Seems like the asking price is indeed unreasonable. If you genuinely like it, name your price, and if I find it suitable, I'll sell it. Do you think you can trick me with these little tricks? Ah. Hi, actually. Oh, don't really want this thing either. Even if you don't want it much, it still needs a price. How much are you offering? The passerby from the previous tavern. Help. Help. Help me. Help. Help me. I offer. This amount. Three million? You're cutting it too harshly. Fine, since you seem genuinely interested, let's make it five million, and we can be friends. Screw your friendship. The mere folk are simple and honest people. When did we have a conniving merchant like you? Have you learned bad habits on land? Help. Help me. I'm just minding my own business among the mere folk. So, how much are you saying? Oh, my precious baby, how did you escape? No. Just kill me. Kill me. I won't rely on you even if I die. My precious baby, is there something that displeased you? You actually managed to escape. Truly a martial arts master. Come back with me quickly. Ah, uh, no, no. No, please don't. Let me go, please, I beg you to let me go. I said 30,000. I don't want a single extra coin. No, no, no. Stay away. Come on. 30,000? You might as well just kill me then. Even a pearl of this size is worth more than 30,000. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Ah. Such delicate little hands, it's such a waste to use them for throwing punches. Ah. 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 30,000 is already the highest price I can offer. Sell it or leave. This is my stall, so get lost. Well then, I'll pass. Oh dear, such a beautiful pearl. How much does it cost? Three. Three million medium-grade elemental stones. Oh my. Seeing your eight arms and your innocent appearance, it's obvious that you have a clever and agile mind. Oh, what a pity. If only you had eight little feet, it would be so nice. Three million is three million. I'll buy it. HMH. Please give me the pearl. Three million, I'll buy it too. Inserting a mysterious and gender fluid big shot sideways. Hurry up and give me the money. Once I receive the money, I'll be done with it. Haven't you heard of first come, first served? There, the pearl 15 with him. If you have the ability, take it yourself. Little brother, don't rush. Although this East Sea Moon Pearl is precious, it's said that a hero receives a treasured sword and a beauty receives rouge. Brother, I bought it to give it to you, little brother. Listen, this East Sea Moon Pearl is meant to be given to you. What? This is the East Sea Moon Pearl. It's the treasure of our mare folk? As the saying goes, the moon shines with tears in the boundless sea, and the sun warms the jade in the blue field. It's referring to the two purest treasures in the world, the East Sea Moon Pearl and the Blue Field Warm Heart Jade. The East Sea Moon Pearl is the crystallization of tears shed by the Holy Maiden of the East Sea Mare Folk. It is said to be the purest substance in the world, capable of purifying all negative energies. It is rumored that someone once offered 30 billion but couldn't buy the genuine article. Shut up. I almost had 300 million in my hands just now. This is frustrating. Little brother, take it. Brother feels a strong connection with you, so consider it a gift upon our first meeting. You, you just put the pearl on the ground, take a step back for 100 meters, and I'll take it myself. Or let me take it for you. You too, trying to deceive our merfolk's most precious treasure. Today, both of you shall die here. Don't be afraid, little brother. I'll protect your... 
A Martial Emperor Octopus Monster He was easily killed just like that. Dare to disturb our first meeting with my little brother, how infuriating. Luckily, I reacted in time, or else this pearl would have been tainted by the blood of this ugly octopus monster. Little brother, come and take it quickly. Oh no, oh no, I just offered three million yuan in exchange for the pearl. Now not only is the pearl at stake, but my rear end might also be in danger. Emergency clenching for safety. Put it on the ground. Don't worry, dear. Big brother really wants to have a drink and chat with you. Don't you already have a little brother, and I'm also very busy. Put down the pearl, I'll take it and leave. So, little brother is feeling jealous, huh? I don't even know this person. Just because someone looks pretty, they cling to them annoyingly. Well, I don't want the pearl anymore. Huh? We can fight, and at most, it's just death. But when facing this gender-fluid individual, if we lose, the consequences are unimaginable. Little brother, you're quite stubborn, and I like it. Don't appear in such strange places. Humph, since you want to come, I'll take you to have some fun. Hee hee hee. I know where you're going. That place indeed has a few troublesome fellows. Are you associated with them? Those people should be from the Empyrean Pavilion? Are you a member of the Empyrean Pavilion? He knows that it's the Empyrean Pavilion's territory. Lately, Chinga Forest doesn't seem to be very peaceful. There have been a series of skilled individuals appearing one after another. Good to know. When my companion arrives, we will surely tear you apart. Oh, such a heartless little brother. I only wanted to give you an East Sea Moon Pearl. Do you know how many people have fought over this thing and failed to obtain it? Name your price, and I'll take that East Sea Moon Pearl. Since you know I'm from Empyrean Pavilion, you should know that I can afford any price. I don't care if you like men, but if you have any intention of fighting me, I'll turn you into a real woman. If only you were actually a woman, then you wouldn't ignore me. Completely defenseless. Don't think I'm trying to scare you. Have you heard of a mad alchemist named Jia? He specialized in manipulating human organs, and many years ago, he discovered a secret method to turn men into women and women into men. Now, he's hiding in a secret location within our Empyrean Pavilion. Ah, uh, if you provoke me, I'll turn you into a real woman. Isn't Jia the madman dead? He's still alive? Can you really turn me into a genuine woman? You're not tricking me, are you? What do you mean? A woman, a woman. I want to become a woman. I want to become a real woman. If it's Jia, then it must be possible. Right? Please help me, I beg you, please help me. No, 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 stay away. Over the years, I've captured numerous alchemists and had them research methods to turn men into real women. We conducted thousands of experiments, but none of them succeeded. Eventually, I lost hope and simply turned all those alchemists into women. Really panicking now. But if it's the legendary mad alchemist, there must be a way. As long as you help me, I'll agree to any conditions you have. I see. Hmm, there must be a way indeed. Stay away from me. Take one step closer, and you'll never become a real woman in this lifetime. Why are there so many lunatics in this world? Back when I was Martial Emperor, I should have wiped them all out. But, how can I be sure that you're not deceiving me? Is Jia really not dead, and can you really convince him? If you deceive me and shatter my wish, I will make sure you suffer a fate worse than death. Of course, I won't deceive you. I'll tell you that Madman Jia is my master. My name is Gu Yuexing, and I'm also an alchemist. Li Yunchao recounted various details about Jia to Yuanao. Exactly, exactly. 
These are indeed his habits. In order to find him, I also studied a lot of information and intelligence. You are absolutely right. It seems you truly are his disciple. You must help me. Who exactly are you? Also, why should I help you? What can you offer me in return? Hmm, after all, my biggest lifelong wish relies on you. My name is Yuan Ao. If you can help me, not only will I give you this East Sea Moon Pearl, but I can also fulfill any task within my capabilities for you. And, and, and once I become a real woman, you'll be the first to enjoy. Hold on. Don't faint in front of this she male, or the consequences will be unimaginable. You went out? In the Death Palace, there's someone named Yu Wenxiang. That's my own dear brother. Every time there's a good man, he's always the first to enjoy him. He only gives me what's left afterward. I hate him so much. Indeed, a lunatic from the Death Palace. The Death Palace is the foremost assassin organization on the continent, known to strike fear in people's hearts. What's even more alarming is that the assassins in this organization are a group of crazy warriors who have a... Therefore, for a warrior targeted by the Death Palace, a swift and painless assassination might be the most desirable outcome. So, what brings you to the Chinga Forest? Well, could it be that someone is paying for a murder? Who is the target? There's a handsome man who came with a death token, asking us to carry out an assassination. Normally, when a death token appears, it requires the leader of the palace to personally carry out the mission. However, my brother, that wicked man, was completely enchanted by the handsome man and spends his days and nights indulging in pleasure within the palace. That's why I was sent out. Oh, I truly sympathize with that handsome man. So, that person is in the Chinga Forest, right? You haven't found them yet? Well, that person's name is... What was it again? Oh, right. That person's name is Li Yunchao. Although I don't know who the other party is or why they want to kill me. Thinking that person is now being enjoyed day and night by Yu Xiang makes me feel they have already received the worst retribution. What's wrong? Do you know Li Yunchao? I heard about it in the Southern City Tea House these past few days. That Li Yunchao is said to be a stunningly beautiful man, but I'm not sure if it's true. If I catch him, I'd like to enjoy him before killing him. I feel like I'm about to suffocate. Hold on. Don't pass out. Although Li Yunchao is a peerless beauty, he is also my life and death friend. Don't get any ideas about him, or I'll fight to the death to stop my master from changing your gender. Calm down, calm down. I was just talking. Since you said that, even if Li Yunchao is as beautiful as you, I won't have any thoughts about him. Also, give me the East Sea Bright Moon Pearl. Throw it to me. Don't pass it over. Humph. Wash it clean. Cough, cough. How long have you been in the southern city, and have you noticed anything unusual? I've been there for seven days. The biggest change is that many masters have been infiltrating recently. Some of them are so mysterious that even I can't figure them out. It feels like a storm is brewing. Originally, my task was to kill Li Yunchao. Because the number of masters kept increasing, I didn't act directly and decided to investigate first. Besides your Empyrean Pavilion, there are people from the Four Extremes Gate. And it seems there are a few mysterious forces that I haven't figured out yet. Besides Empyrean Pavilion and the Four Extremes Gate, there are other forces? The remaining forces are probably relatively obscure, so I didn't recognize them immediately. Their strength isn't very strong, at least not stronger than your Empyrean Pavilion. Impressive, a true expert from the Death God Palace. If you help me with a few things, not only will I let my master change your gender, but I'll also give you a handsome man to enjoy. A handsome man? How does he compare to you? Stop. You are not allowed to joke about me anymore and don't have any thoughts about me. I'm trying so hard to make funny dot faces, but it still hasn't lowered my looks, has it? 
Just kidding, one won't dare in the future. Now, while I am humble to you, once I become a real woman, I will let you have the honor of being my first man after the transformation. Now go investigate something for me. The skeleton mercenary group captured a man named Tang Jie and a leader from the rookie mercenary group named Mu Wu. Find out where these two are being held. Why do you want me to do this when there are so many experts in your Empyrean Pavilion recently? You've seen through our Empyrean Pavilion's identity, don't you think the skeleton mercenary group wouldn't know too? Now it's best for you to go, and Tang Jie is quite good looking. Tang Jie? A member of the Four Extreme Sect? Yes, the eldest son of the Four Extreme Sect. Not bad, not bad. I've never played with a man of such status before. Once I find out, I'll come to the end to find you. No. Our Empyrean Pavilion's identity is exposed now, so I'm staying outside alone for a while. Come to the end to find me once you have news. The situation in the southern city is more complicated than expected. Stay at an inn. It seems Tang Jie's appearance has drawn the attention of many forces besides Empyrean Pavilion. The most important thing now is to understand the situation, otherwise, rushing in blindly will make you cannon fodder. Especially encountering you when AO, it's like a pie falling from the sky. With his strength, he's considered a top expert in the southern city. And although the Death God Palace members are crazy and perverted, they are assassins, and their strength far surpasses those of the same rank, especially skilled in covert actions. I don't have to worry about anything now, just wait quietly for news. All three of them are martial emperors. Three of you barging in without knocking, have you no manners? Hmm? You're not scared seeing us despite your low cultivation. Who are you? Zero so, none of you know me. Why are you looking for me? Who are you? Stop with the nonsense, answer what we ask, or you'll suffer. Fine, ask whatever you want. Who are you? And who was that expert you were separated from? What is your purpose in coming to the Light Song Forest? That person is an assassin and is here to kill me. As for me, I'm a team leader of the Rookie Mercenary Group. Nonsense. A team leader in the rookie mercenary group would at least be at the peak of Martial Emperor. You, a mere peak Martial King, aren't even qualified to be a commander. You think we're easy to fool? You need to suffer before you'll tell the truth. You don't believe the truth, so what do you want? Who are you, anyway? Can you reveal your identities? Let's be honest with each other. This person is strange. He seems unaffected by our martial emperor's pressure. Enough lies. Knowing about us means you must die to keep the secret. Cough, cough, cough. Cough, cough. This place is Dash. I understand. This is the inside of Noah's Ark. Are you Tang Jie of the Four Extreme Sect? You don't have the in key, how could you obtain Noah's Ark? And without that item, how could you refine it? It seems you know something, letting you in wasn't a waste. Tell me who you are. You already got Noah's Ark, what's the point in talking, kill or torture as you wish? I won't kill you. The man who separated from me, you must have been watching him for a while. Do you know his peculiar interests or hobbies? You, you can't do this to us, you devil. You have three seconds to think, or I'll let him interrogate you. He's not as bad-tempered as I am, he's very gentle with men. We are. We are from the Holy Fire Temple. Holy Fire Temple? You can casually send three martial emperors, you can't be a weak sect, right? Are you a hidden sect? Exactly. We are descendants of the peerless martial sovereign Yi Nantian. Yi Nantian? So, your purpose for coming out this time is Dash. Precisely for Noah's Ark, but we didn't expect you to already have it. How is that possible? With only the Yom Ki, you couldn't possibly find Noah's Ark. Even if you had incredible luck and found it by accident, without that item, how could you refine it? 
I didn't expect the legendary Noah's Ark to appear. Yi Nantian was the martial sovereign who refined this supreme Xian artifact back then. So Tang Jia came to the Light Song Forest for the Yin Qi. So, the Yin Qi is with your holy fire temple's people. Is there anything else needed to refine Noah's Ark? A dash. No. Can't. It seems someone isn't being honest. I'll have my companion serve you in a moment. The Yan, the Yin Qi, is with our holy fire temple's young master. To refine Noah's Ark, you need a divine technique. This technique was left by martial sovereign Yi Nantian. I see. The World God Monument also has corresponding Grand World Divine Techniques. Since Noah's Ark is called a Supreme Xian Artifact, needing a corresponding Divine Technique to refine it makes sense. I'll come back when I remember something else. He won't call that devil, right? I. I don't have the courage to commit suicide now. Untie me first. Noah's Ark and the descendants of Yi Nantian have appeared, and it seems the monster race is also stirring. Di Jia in the Sumeru Mountains is mysterious, and there's also something in the Tiandang Mountains. Why does it feel like the Tianwu world is about to be in chaos? Whether it's chaotic or not isn't your concern. Speaking of Noah's Ark, I remembered something else. Do you remember the invitation from Lu Qingyu? The refining of the Supreme Xian Artifact? Yes, back then, Lu Jinjiu had the ambition to refine a supreme Xian artifact like Yi Nantian. And your astonishing performance in the Sea of Transformation made him want to recruit you. Humph, who knew the sword slashing the stars you refined in Sea of Transformation was just a fake supreme Xian weapon. You actually merged three ninth rank Xian weapons using the flood of mystical gold and then used my power to keep them from collapsing, fooling the powerful beings from the Sea of Transformation and the monster race. I had no choice then, you know that. But I did gain some insight into refining a supreme rank Xian artifact. If I could get Noah's Ark and dismantle it, I'd surely gain a lot. Stop dreaming. Now, besides the descendants of martial sovereign Yi Nantian, there's the four extreme sect, the Empyrean Pavilion. The Skeleton Mercenary Group and the Mysterious M are dot YU involved. And these are just the forces we know. With your current strength? Humph, you might even lose the World God Monument. Even at my peak, I wouldn't be confident in this situation. And now, I'm just a remnant soul with less than 10% of my power. Little Pebble is progressing fast. But stepping into the Eight Desolations realm isn't easy. As for Little Xian, its talent is far inferior to Little Pebbles, and reaching Martial Supreme would be its limit. The rookie mercenary group is pretty good. But if Xiao Wang were here, he'd be a great help in taking Noah's Ark. Xiao Wang is progressing quickly and is about to break through to the Martial Sovereign. I suspect Hai Beifei knows where he is, but is deliberately hiding it from you. Not just High Beeful, I think the Storm Mercenary Group and the Skeleton Mercenary Group also know, and they're definitely causing trouble for him. Otherwise, why didn't they make a move when I made such a big commotion in the Western City? They must have sent many experts to encircle Xiao Wang. You know this and you're not worried? These are Xiao Huang's issues, and he needs to handle them himself. If he can't deal with these small fries, even if he breaks through to the Martial Sovereign, he won't reach the pinnacle. This situation is a major test and an opportunity for Iwi. In the path of martial arts, there are no shortcuts. Every obstacle you overcome is not only a hurdle, but also a stepping stone to your progress. So, what's your plan now? Go to the Holy Fire Temple's base, or wait here for news from U1AO? You're right, my current strength is indeed weak. In this contest, I might be the underdog. But I have an idea to temporarily boost my strength. What? You again? I have no more information for you. Kill me if you don't believe me. You? What are you going to do? Nothing. Just borrowing your ancient heavenly eye for a while. What?
You don't want to be like that pervert, implanting this thing into your own body, do you? Implanting it isn't necessary, just borrowing it for use. That mad Gia really has some skills. These ancient divine eyes are already dead, yet he implanted highly parasitic Brahma spiders into them. And then used the Brahma spiders to control the divine eyes, implanting them into the human body. However, the Brahma spiders must constantly consume human blood essence. This Gui Weshing is a good talent. It's a pity he became that mad Jia's disciple. I understand. You want to refine this thing into a Xian weapon. It's truly unbelievable. Your idea is even crazier than that mad Gia's. Indeed. An alchemist should act like one. There's nothing in this world that cannot be refined. Your soul power is only at the fifth rank, but in this world god monument, you can invoke the rules of heaven and earth. Unrestrictedly using Phoenix True Fire, are you able to refine higher level Xian weapons? At most, I can refine up to the 6th rank, and limit it by my own strength, even if I can produce a ninth rank, so what? Moreover, you know that when refining a weapon above the 7th rank, it will attract the Heavenly Rules Tribulation Lightning. In my World God Monument, there is no Lightning Tribulation, even if the level reaches the 7th rank, it cannot compare to a 7th rank weapon that has undergone Tribulation. Hmm. Just like how a martial sovereign with the same cultivation level, one who has been secluded in cultivation, is definitely far weaker than one who has been battling outside for years. Condense. Sure enough, it's a sixth rank item. And this spiritual power is so strong, it seems to be even stronger than yours. TSK TSK, now we won't be so helpless against Mr. Yu. Unfortunately, I have too few materials. This is the best I can do. This ancient divine eye clan is truly remarkable. This eyeball has gone through countless ages and still possesses such powerful strength. But it's still far from enough to deal with Mr. Yu. How does it look? How should I put it? At least it's not as disgusting as when it was on Gu Yu Weshing's head. Gradually disappearing. You shouldn't be so ungrateful, Mr. Yu is an 8th rank alchemist and possesses various secret techniques and arts. Next one. You only refined one eye, and you want to suppress the opponent, how will they manage? Back then, after clashing dozens of times with Tang Jie's vermilion bird blade, the spirit of the purple shadow celestial sword became extremely unstable. As if it could collapse at any moment. This purple shadow celestial sword is indeed a fine Xian weapon. But it doesn't suit my star sword intent. It's better to refine a sixth rank Xian weapon myself. A feeling of having no sword to return to. What a waste. You have materials that can be refined into ninth rank Xian weapons, and you want to downgrade them to make a sixth rank one. Sudden drop in value. Back then, after forcibly refining swords slashes the stars in the sea of transformation, I've always had a vague idea in my mind. And after obtaining the grand evolution divine art, the possibility of realizing this idea became even greater. What I want to do now is to disassemble the Noah's Ark. I believe I can refine a truly supreme rank Xian weapon. As for these two swords... Whether in terms of material or refining intent, they do not match my star sword intent. What's the use of keeping them? Little Pebble You madman. You wouldn't be thinking of refining Little Pebble, would you? These two auras are extremely domineering and powerful. Little Pebble would die. I'm just refining his body, not his soul. The body of a stone beast is originally composed of condensed stone materials. As long as the stone heart is unharmed, it won't die. I just need to integrate the purple and green chi into his body material, then even a ninth rank Xian weapon would have a hard time harming him. Plus, his body can absorb the power of the earth and continuously self-recover, making him my ultimate trump card against Mr. Yo. The purple and green chi are ninth rank items. The level difference is too great. They can't be fused. 
If the fusion fails, we would need to find another body, and the rhythm of the Earth body we obtained earlier would be wasted. Moreover, if it's not controlled well, it could harm his heart, which would be fatal. If it can't be integrated into the body, it would be useless against Mr. Yo. What's the point of having a pet to impress girls? If he wants to be my support and rise to the peak with me, what's this bit of tempering? Which peerless expert hasn't walked this path? Demon Dragon, have you regressed from guarding the gate all these years? Ah, uh, yes, yes. You alchemists are all crazy. Open. You damned. In my world god monument, I don't believe I can't open you. Let's see how long you can last. Phoenix True Fire, burn for me. Just this isn't enough. Not done yet. Water-like economy is waves. Barely acceptable. Spiritual chi liquefaction. Throwing him in like this to refine, he will really die. Stop talking nonsense. If I truly wanted to refine him to death, why would I go through the trouble of making this purple cauldron? Next, Rhythm of the Earth. Releasing the Rhythm of the Earth from its domain is indeed formidable. Even the surrounding space is distorted. With this Rhythm of the Earth protecting his stone heart, no matter how he is refined, he won't die. As for what level he can reach, it depends on his fortune. This. Could it be that this cauldron is also a top-grade profound artifact? I don't know, but there aren't many top-grade profound artifacts like this in the world. The annals of the continent only mention Noah's Ark. However, this phenomenon truly surpasses an ordinary ninth-order purple cauldron. You haven't used such a priceless treasure before, right? Is the little stone in danger? Is little stone considered a hometown friend to you? Why do you care so much? Well, not many have been able to accompany me through all these years, so. I don't know, we'll leave it to fate. Fortunately, it's not me inside. This mysterious giant cauldron really gives me a feeling of helplessness. You're not going to start refining inside it, are you? Can't you be more low-key? Any refining technique in the world, no matter how diverse, originates from these fundamental techniques. Twelve forms of falling flowers and snow. These 48 fundamental refining techniques already encompass all the knowledge that can be comprehended by all the artificers in the martial world. Perhaps the realm of artificing is much greater than just these 48 basic techniques. But these techniques already represent all the rules comprehended by the strong in this realm after countless years of accumulation. Moreover, the radiance emitted by the mountain and river cauldron seems to be more than just light. Within its constant changes, it seems to contain some kind of rule. In this world, only those beyond the Ninth Order can bear the existence of such rules. The legendary top grade profound artifact. Could it be that I've stumbled upon another top-grade profound artifact? According to the annals of the continent, there should only be one of these things, and now it's become a bargain item? The Reaper of Top-Grade Profound Artifacts Now I'm starting to understand, to refine a top-grade profound artifact, one must master the corresponding divine techniques. This bare cauldron, where can I find those divine techniques? It's very possible they have long been lost within the depths of Mount Sumeru. Without the divine techniques, it can only be treated as an ordinary purple cauldron, or even less useful than a regular large cauldron that can be controlled at will. Although it's in the Boundary God Monument, the consumption this time is beyond what I can bear casually, the cost is far greater than I imagined. 
If it's outside the Boundary God Monument, there is no point in trying to activate this thing. It's absolutely impossible without the divine techniques. Sigh. Sigh. Stepping into the sixth pill. Marshal Grandma Step. Finally. Is the little stone still alive? Do I look like someone who is familiar with using this cauldron? Did it turn into coal residue? What about my earth essence soil? It can't have been refined away, right? This. Why did it become so cute? Can this. This appearance be used for fighting? Does it still have any combat capability? At this point, I don't expect it to be able to fight anymore. I just hope my earth essence soil hasn't been refined away. Ah. It has shrunk significantly. Some of it has truly been refined away. How is that possible? Earth essence soil is the supreme treasure that has existed between heaven and earth since the creation of the world. How could it be refined away? Could it be that the little stone absorbed it? It's possible. Little stone. Use your strongest attack on me. Let me see if you have truly become stronger. Huh. Hurry up. Attack me. With your strongest move. Remember, I said the strongest. Strike. End. Stop with the fireworks. You're not even pretending anymore, right? Hoping for me to die? Ah. At the pinnacle of martial emperors, this power is definitely far beyond the pinnacle of martial emperors. But the aura on the stone beast is still that of a martial emperor. What's going on? I also feel that this punch definitely surpasses martial emperor, but why does his aura still resemble that of a martial emperor? And why is there no domain power that should be present for a martial supreme? Your whole body is like a gourd, but this punch is like an invincible Vidra. I'll give you a name. Let's call you Gord Little Vidra. Huh. Gord Little Vidra. You should find a few more stone beasts and teach them fusion. That's right. Huh. Ordinary demonic beasts have extremely low intelligence. Let me see if I can teach it the simplest but most practical technique, the Diamond Fist. Since people of the Demon Clan can learn martial skills, why can't demonic beasts? Although there is a huge gap in intelligence, teaching them the simplest technique might work. Gord Little Vidra is particularly good at swinging its fist and hitting people, which coincides with the essence of the Diamond Fist. Strange Knowledge Acquired Teaching martial skills to demonic beasts, you might be the first in history. Not necessarily. Some powerful demonic beasts, as their strength continuously improves, their spiritual intelligence gradually opens up as well. Look at the demonic beast. Its intelligence is not inferior to ordinary humans, and it has definitely mastered highly advanced martial skills. Moreover, according to legend, if a demonic beast can reach the divine realm, there is a high possibility of transforming into a human and becoming an invincible existence within the same level. Demonic beasts reaching the divine realm? Humph, don't dream. After the martial emperor, the most important thing is the comprehension of the rules of heaven and earth. With the intelligence of demonic beasts, it's basically impossible for them to enter the divine realm. Moreover, in the history of the continent, there is no recorded instance of a human entering the divine realm, let alone a demonic beast. But remember, where there's a will, there's a way. Indeed, there have been many extraordinary individuals in the history of the continent, but the tides of time can change everything. Huh, look, now the purple shadow green vine sword is gone, and I have no place to stay dash. Did you give it to me? Hmm? Why are you staring at me? Your gaze is strange. You can tell? You've been with me for so many years, after all. What are you planning to do? 
After refining Gord Little Vudra, it's only natural to start refining you. You treacherous person. You actually want to refine me. Unfaithful Man.88 Do you remember that in the Western region, there is a great sect with a very unique martial art technique? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I can't be pacified. Huh? Are you talking about the Soul Clan Soul Fusion technique? Correct. I've been aware of this technique for a long time. It can greatly enhance a cultivator's combat power. Although its drawbacks are also very obvious, the Soul Clan has become one of the seven major forces on the continent by relying on this technique. And you are the perfect material for cultivating this Soul Fusion technique. The perverse aspect of the Soul Fusion technique is that it integrates the soul of a demonic beast into one's own soul. Thus gaining part of the beast's power and being able to use the beast's skills in battle. This not only greatly enhances strength, but also allows both parties to share soul power. However, the downside of this technique is very obvious. Once the beast's soul is integrated, it is difficult to separate it. Forcibly separating it can result in soul injuries at best and death at worst. In the Soul Clan, the common method to separate the beast's soul is to manifest it and have a strong expert shatter it directly. Although this also causes serious internal injuries, at least the cultivator can keep their life. However, after losing the beast's soul, the soul is greatly damaged, making it difficult to integrate a second time. Do you realize that doing this might affect your soul power cultivation and greatly hinder your recovery to a ninth rank alchemist? If it were before, I certainly wouldn't practice it. But now, the deeper I understand the great evolution divine technique, the more I comprehend the mysteries of soul cultivation. Even if I practice the soul fusion technique, it won't cause substantial harm to me. And don't forget, I also have a come with divine tree. You, being a soul body with the form of a demonic beast, cannot cultivate human soul refining techniques and can only rely on the passage of time to slowly recover your soul. You might not even fully recover before perishing. But if you integrate into my soul, you can directly rely on my top tier great evolution divine technique to regain strength and you know this as well. So why are you hesitating like a woman? Shut up. It's so annoying. I, a descendant of a true dragon, becoming your beast soul, is very humiliating. Well prepared. Humph. Forget it, forget it. I've been your sword spirit for so long, what's the harm in becoming your beast soul? Besides, I will benefit the most from this. If you don't mind, why should I? What do I need to do? Just start, I'll cooperate. You don't need to cooperate that much. I said before, I will help you reshape your body and return your freedom. From now on, you will grow stronger within my soul. Humph, just think about how to separate us later. Are you ready? Come, Dragon Beast Fusion. For the sake of eventually regaining my physical body. I'll risk it. Dragon Beast Fusions enter the deepest part of my soup. Huh? So, this is what it feels like? Soul Fusion Technique. Quite interesting. Hmm. Ugh. Hmm. Humph. Not bad. The fusion is initially complete. That punch you just threw had at least the power of a martial emperor. The key to the soul battle technique lies in the soul fusion technique, which seems to have many levels, and we have just completed the initial stage. I can enjoy the nourishment of your soul power, and you can use my strength. Hmm. Now, even barehanded, with just my one-star martial grandmaster cultivation, I am confident to fight a martial emperor. You've been non-stop refining since the ancient heavenly eye, although in the world god monument, the continuous consumption is unbearable. Spend more time stabilizing your realm now. Hmm. 
Hmm? What's that? In nothing. In nothing. You're not being honest. A sensor? It can transmit across space. So exquisite. Wow. It seems Yi Nantian indeed has some skills. Worthy of being a grandmaster in refining supreme Xi'an artifacts. Hmm? There are people. We've been disturbed. What's going on? They are clearly here, so why is no one around? Could the sensor be faulty? Or maybe the three of them have hidden in the void. Most of them are martial emperor. There's absolutely no one hiding within a thousand meters of this void. But the aura of these two old men is extremely oppressive. Undoubtedly martial supremes. Excuse me, have you seen three men with unfathomable cultivation? Unfathomable cultivation? These people must also be from the Holy Fire Temple. I didn't expect the rabbit to come knocking on the door. No, but those two martial supremes seem extremely powerful, not something I can deal with. Two supreme lords, what do we do now? This young man is suspicious. Seeing us come in, he didn't show any panic, and he remained calm and composed, his eyes tranquil as water. Also, how could someone of his age have martial grandmaster cultivation? It seems I have to vacate the room. How long have I been here, and already people keep coming to disturb me? What do you mean? Could it be that you've seen those three men? Are you lying to me? I'm not lying. I did see three men. But their cultivation was only one star martial emperor, nothing unfathomable. Ah. I thought you couldn't see their cultivation, so I said unfathomable. Where are those three now? They are guests at my home. Young master, this kid is obviously problematic. Why waste words with him? Young master? Eve Technique Lunar Eclipse Ah! Ugh! Mental Attack! What? Now! Young Master! Young Master! Let's have a fair chat! Redefining Equality! What do you want? What do I want? Shouldn't I be asking this question to you all? You first intrude into my room for no reason, and then question me for no reason. This big brother still wants to bully me for no reason, and now you ask me what I want to do? Can I curse? You dare to offend the young master. You have committed a mortal sin, unforgivable. Release the young master quickly. Hey! How can he let go now? Since I have committed a mortal sin, a sin that cannot be forgiven then I might as well find someone to take the blame. Killing this young master before dying, that way, even in death, there is meaning, there is value, there is someone to take the blame. These people are simply adorable. Although the mortal sin is inevitable, as long as you release the young master, I can still grant you a whole corpse. Young man, don't act impulsively. As long as you release the young master, we will not harm you, we will let you leave safely. Let me leave safely. This is my room. Then we will leave. Anyway, you release the young master first. Ah. How can someone who violates the young master go unpunished? And be allowed to leave in peace? The affairs of the Holy Fire Temple are mostly handled by Tao Guan. Let's listen to his arrangements for now. Each of you has a higher cultivation level than me. If I release someone, won't you all kill me in a minute? I'm not that foolish. I, Tao Guan, swear to the heavens, as long as you release the young master, I will not hold you accountable for anything. I may not hold you accountable, but others might. Ha ha, playing this game with me. It seems you all are simple and straightforward people, without any ulterior motives. Let's all sit down and have a good talk, perhaps both sides will benefit. Brothers, please have a seat. What exactly do you want to do? He he. I heard the in key is on you guys. Oh, don't be nervous, don't be nervous. Hmm. Everyone, please sit down, let's have an open discussion. 
The situation in the southern city is chaotic right now. Who knows how many forces have heard the news and come running without verifying it. Tang Jia has now fallen into the hands of the skeleton mercenary group. Here they are the overlords. Whether you want to rescue Tang Jia or exchange for the Yan Qi, it's all impossible. Unless. Unless you cooperate with me. Humph. You're just a martial grandmaster. Daring to ask us to cooperate with you. Quickly release the young master, then explain how you know about the existence of the Yin Qi. Wait for the young master to make a decision. Stop it. I heard that the Yin Qi was crafted by Yi Nantian. Hmm. As a loyal fan of Yi Nantian, I really want to see the treasure he left behind. Let me admire it. You can kill me, but you won't get anything out of me. Courageous, I like it. If you want courage, don't expect any mercy. Young man, stop. Since you also know about the Yin Qi's existence, we won't hide it from you. The Yin Qi, such a treasure, is the key to finding and unlocking Noah's Ark. Asking about the Yin Qi right from the start, how can everyone accept that? When discussing cooperation, it should be on a basis of fairness and equality. You release the young master first, then we can have a proper discussion. Hmm. Just afraid of having teammates like pigs. Stop the nonsense. I ask a question, you answer. Make the same mistake again, and you die. This young man really means what he says. Where is the Yin Qi? And where is Noah's Ark? The Yin Qi is indeed with us, but as for Noah's Ark, that is not certain yet. But the young master can sense it. If you kill the young master, I'm afraid no one else in the world will know the whereabouts of Noah's Ark. Did you come to Chinga Forest to meet Tang Jia? Why not choose a safer place? Why come to this chaotic area? Because. Because I sensed it. Noah's Ark is on the demon origin. Indeed. The demon origin is so vast that without the strength to traverse the void like a martial emperor, even a martial grandmaster would need to fly for more than ten days to reach its end. Can you pinpoint the exact location? Also, besides you, who else knows about your sensing ability? What about the specific location? At the moment, we only know it's in the northern part of the demon origin. This sensing is gradually strengthening. Perhaps Noah's Ark has been silent for too long. The descendants who want to summon the ancestors to retrieve it. Don't be conceited. With just your strength, do you really think you can get Noah's Ark? Currently, it's just luck that the information hasn't leaked out much. Otherwise, the entire demon origin would be filled with martial emperors, so crowded that you wouldn't even be able to get in. What do you think Noah's Ark is? The only super-quality mysterious object recorded in the history of the continent. If the information leaks, the entire continent will be shaken. When the time comes for the Holy Sanctuary to intervene, even fear won't stop them. And wouldn't the Holy Sanctuary also covet such a peerless treasure? Humph, even if they are martial emperors. Without the ship key, no one can open Noah's Ark. Oh right, thanks for reminding me. Where is the Yin Key? Show it to me for a closer look. The ship key is a precious heirloom passed down from the ancestors. Only the direct descendants of the Yi family can use it. You despicable person, I would rather die than give it to you. If you don't hand over the Yin Key, then I'll let you go. Huh? Weren't you trying to steal it? Why don't you want it now? I've never heard of such a request. Young man, which faction do you belong to? What are your intentions? As long as your goal is not Noah's Ark, we can indeed consider cooperating. I am very interested in Noah's Ark. But I do not wish to possess that Noah's Ark. Let me tell you, when Noah's Ark appears, it will surely shock the entire continent. At that time, whoever owns it will be at odds with the whole world. Although I am confident, I am not foolish enough to fight against all the martial artists in the world alone. I hadn't thought about this issue. I just want to obtain Noah's Ark in order to restore the glory of the Holy Fire Temple and rise again on the continent. Don't worry, everyone. After we obtain Noah's Ark, 
we will immediately return to the Holy Fire Temple, then activate the ancestral protective formation left behind to defend against external enemies. The young master is wise. These people are truly becoming increasingly lacking in intelligence. Don't even mention the ancestral protective formation, even if you have the ability to bring down the power of a realm, the laws of heaven and earth will be shattered to pieces by you. You see, everyone has the same goal, but it doesn't conflict. After obtaining Noah's Ark, let me research it for a few days first, and then I'll give it to you. How about that? This. That's excellent. I wonder, young man, which faction do you belong to, and how confident are you in this operation? In Chinga Forest, the only ones who can contend with the skeleton mercenary group are the other two factions. I am the captain of the rookie mercenary group. I am responsible for getting Tang Ji out, while you are responsible for finding Noah's Ark. Really? This is very difficult. In this Chinga Forest, if my rookie mercenary group can't do it, even if a martial emperor comes, they definitely won't be able to do it. Good. If you can really get Tang Ji out, we will cooperate with you. The problem that has been troubling them for many days is finally proposed to be solved by Li Yunxiao. The people from the Holy Fire Temple seem to have already forgotten Li Yunxiao's behavior of holding Yi Fan hostage just now, and instead they are becoming happy. It seems that Tang Jia and Noah's Ark are already within reach. After getting to know each other, they exchange names. Yi Fan, the great grandson of the young master of the Holy Fire Temple, Yi Nantian. Tao Guan, the steward of the Holy Fire Temple. Feng Zhu, Elder of the Holy Fire Temple. Qi Guang, Elder of the Holy Fire Temple. And the Lackeys of the Holy Fire Temple. The cooperation is now unfolding like this. Hey! By the way, have you seen those three martial emperor experts we encountered earlier? They tried to make a move against me before, but I managed to capture them and bring them back to the rookie mercenary group headquarters. For this operation, quality is more important than quantity. Those three martial emperors won't be of much help, so let them stay at the headquarters for a while. It's for the best, I suppose. We can't just throw them into the Boundary God Monument. And we can't let them out either. The might of a martial supreme. It's in the direction of the Skeleton Mercenary Group headquarters. I sense an extremely powerful domain force. There must be two martial supremes in a life and death struggle. Could it be that someone broke into the skeleton mercenary group? Is it also for Tang Jia? What should we do? Will someone beat us to it? It's not about capturing Tang Jia. If someone knows the value of Tang Jia, then the value of Yi Fan will definitely be uncovered. Each of you has a Yang Qi and a Yin Qi. Do you think it's easier to save Tang Jie or to capture Yi Fan? Don't think your movements are well hidden. I can say with certainty that every move of yours is closely monitored by the three major mercenary groups. The reason everything is calm now is because no one knows the value of Yi Fan yet. Therefore, the value of Tang Jie lies solely in his status as the young master of the Four Extreme Sect. I understand. So if someone really goes to rescue Tang Jie, it must be someone from the Four Extreme Sect. Exactly, if the Four Extreme Sect rescues Tang Jie, it won't be bad for us either. You originally arranged for him to come and negotiate a deal, so things just return to square one. But I have to tell you, the person who just acted wasn't from the Four Extreme Sect. If the Four Extreme Sect is rescuing someone, it would definitely be a Thunderstrike, fully prepared. Such a big battle should come in waves. After the shock just now, there was complete silence. So the one who acted just now must be a solitary martial supreme. It's almost certain that it must be that freak, Yuan. It seems that the defense of the skeleton mercenary group is even stronger than imagined. No wonder Mo Wu never returned. Although Yuan is a freak, what the Death Palace is best at is infiltration and assassination. With his martial supreme body, if he intends to infiltrate a base, even the seven major superpowers might not be able to detect it. But he exposed himself in the skeleton mercenary group and triggered a battle, and... 
Uncaptured. Who exactly went in alone? When will you gather the experts of the rookie mercenary group to take action? Look, many experts are going over there again. Among this group, there are at least two martial supremes. Not good. It seems that Ewan's actions have caused a chain reaction, with many forces rushing in, each afraid of missing out. Even if many people don't know the real situation and don't know what they are doing, they are following the crowd and going in. Should we also take action? No rush. Let the bullets fly for a while. Let them fly. Young master, Tang Jie is now a target of everyone, and this person doesn't have the ability to rescue him. Tao Guan? So many strong individuals went in, and there has been no sign of fighting, which means they haven't found Tang Jie. If we go, we might not fare better than them. It's better to wait here quietly for a while. I see, Tao Guan, you are indeed the brain of our holy fire temple. Come on. You truly live up. To the your reputation, Tao Guan. You dot truly live up. To the your reputation. If it weren't for the fact that the key is on Yi Fan, I wouldn't want to travel with these idiots. With your level of strength, even if you capture Tang Jie, can't you protect him? These guys look eager to try. Forget it, it's about time, let's go. It seems like the situation has changed. With such a large skeleton mercenary group, there should have been some commotion. I've said long ago that we should go in. Phone Zhu, don't be reckless. I can sense many experts moving around in this headquarters, looking for something. Indeed, dozens of martial emperors are moving within this base, but Tang Jie is not among them. They all seem to be approaching us. They want to confirm whether we are friend or foe. The legacy of Yi Nanchen's lineage is indeed extraordinary. We must not underestimate these people. Young Master, the top experts of the Skeleton Mercenary Group have all disappeared. There are also some external experts, precisely those we've been monitoring these days. Hmm? Strange faces? Aren't they from Light Song Forest? Huh? Could that young man in the middle be... The newly appointed leader of the 8th team of the rookie mercenaries? Could Tang Jia have been transferred already? It seems Tang Jia is quite loyal. He didn't reveal your secret. Otherwise, the skeleton mercenary group would have already found you, and there wouldn't be any need to look for them. You still have the mood to joke at a time like this. The entire mercenary group has disappeared like ghosts. Where are we going to find Tang Jia now? Huh? Are they? Are the people from the rookie mercenaries here too? Everyone, we all came here because of the rumor, but now, apart from a few weaklings, the skeleton mercenary group has no one left. Why don't we work together and maybe we can discover something? I have the time-fixing plate that might be of use. I am Zhou Chen. Who might you all be? Time-fixing plate? There is hope. Zhou Chen of the Sword Training Sect? I didn't expect to have some reputation outside. Just now, you said there was hope. What do you mean? Ha ha, Zhou Chen, look, you scared them. Old Zhou, it seems your reputation isn't that great after all. Old Kong, is it that your Thunder Fire Palace has too many disciples? So you specifically came all the way from the Western region to be cannon fodder? Ha ha ha. Now, all seven permanent council members of the Business Alliance have sent people. If the rumor is true, we are all cannon fodder. All seven members of the Business Alliance have come? The ship key has always been in the hands of the Business Alliance. If you know about it, why wouldn't the insiders know? However, this matter is somewhat mysterious, and not many people believe it. The previous few rumors all turned out to be a farce. My Thunder Fire Palace is just here to watch the show. With that said, everyone, if you need my time-fixing plate's help, just say the word. One of our companions was captured by the Skeleton Mercenary Group. When we found him, his blood was completely drained. My companion possessed the bloodline power of the ancient Demon Fox tribe. The Skeleton Mercenary Group probably captured him for this reason. 
We have researched his blood internally before, and I still have some with me. If Master Zo has the time-fixing plate, it should be able to locate the person who drained his blood. The higher-ups of the skeleton mercenary group are most likely involved in this. In that case, we might indeed be able to find them. Bring the blood here. I'll give it a try. This time-fixing plate is indeed a very peculiar Xi'an artifact, and the method of its creation has long been lost. As long as an item with a distinct personal aura is placed on it, it can refine this aura and point towards the presence of similar auras around. It's the best tool for tracking and searching. Got it. Brother Zochen, where is it pointing? How far? To the east, at least over a hundred miles, I can't estimate more precisely. East, a hundred miles. Ah, the demon plains. Just now, the aura of those two martial supremes was here. How could they move a hundred miles in an instant? Could the skeleton mercenary group have so many martial supreme experts? Very likely. The previous battle fluctuations were probably a diversion. They might have already quietly moved out. Young master, should we? Let's not be hasty. Damn. Such a big mercenary group, using such petty tricks, do they have no shame? Brother Zochen, please lead the way. Even if it's to the ends of the earth, we must pursue. Let's go. I didn't expect things to get this big. This will significantly increase the difficulty of obtaining Noah's Ark. No matter what, we must obtain Noah's Ark. After thousands of years, Noah's Ark has finally called out. It belongs to our Holy Fire Temple. Indeed. Holy Fire Temple has been silent for thousands of years. Finally, the moment has come. We cannot fail. Even if we die, we must obtain Noah's Ark for the young master. Everyone, don't be anxious. Let them go first. Let's reassess. Hey! Hey! How can we not be anxious? Those people are already ahead of us. If it weren't for you delaying us, I would have rescued Tang Jia already. Young Master Yun, what should we do now? We should catch up. But, we shouldn't follow them blindly. We should take a shortcut. It must be that door. Leader, when they welcomed me, I saw it clearly. That door is guarded by martial emperors. Their leader Shenfeng and Mr. Yu must be at the end of that path. Good, thank you. Zhou Chen has the time-fixing plate, so he can track them. If we don't catch up with them, we will completely lose them. What are you afraid of? The skeleton mercenary group's goal is also Noah's Ark. But who in this world truly knows the exact location of Noah's Ark? Of course, it's Yi Fan. Let's head to the correct location. If they go the right way, we'll naturally meet them. What if they go the wrong way? Then we won't meet them? What does it matter where they go? I am the key to unlocking Noah's Ark. Indeed. Everyone, follow me. Yi Fan is gradually understanding. I see. The young master is indeed wise. The rise of the Holy Fire Temple is hopeful. Young Master Yun, this is Dash. The powerful fluctuation just now must have been caused by a Marshal Supreme. Under the surveillance of so many forces, it's impossible for them to disappear without a trace. As for Zhou Chen's analysis of the diversion tactic, it's impossible. Then there are only two possibilities. Either there is a secret passage in this headquarters, or they used a teleportation array to leave. Oh, oh. And the secret passage couldn't possibly reach a hundred miles so quickly. Then dash. Then there is only one possibility. It's really a teleportation array. And the spiritual energy here clearly indicates it was used not long ago. The space marker from the recent teleportation is still here. Hand over your primordial stones. I'll set it up. All done. What is this? The alchemy techniques outside are really advanced. All right, everyone step over here. I'm already positioning it. Get ready. 
Ho, ho. So, this is the Demon Plains? Have the Skeleton Mercenary Group been here? What do you sense? Indeed, the aura is stronger here. I didn't expect the ancestral treasure to be hidden in this boundless Demon Plains. The ancestor was a peerless talent, leading an era. As descendants, our strength is weak, and we can't even find the things left by our ancestors. I am deeply ashamed of our ancestor. Noah's Ark disappeared after Lord Yi Nantian vanished. How can you blame yourself? Besides, now that Noah's Ark has reappeared, we are all striving to help the young master obtain the treasure and revive the glory of the Holy Fire Temple. The final destination of Yi Nantian back then was Dash. I don't know. The world says the ancestor entered the Ten Directions Divine Realm, eternal through the ages. But in fact, we descendants have searched through a lot of information, and it doesn't seem to be the case. In some of the ancestors' notes, there are records about the situation of breaking through to the Divine Realm, which I can't quite understand, but it seems something is missing. The situation of breaking through to the Divine Realm? If there are indeed records about breaking through to the Divine Realm, those notes are absolutely priceless. Even more important than Noah's Ark. Yi Fan, may I have a look at those notes? The notes contain many of the ancestors' insights, and originally it would be fine to lend them to young Master Yun for a look. But I didn't bring them with me. Another day, young Master Yun can visit our Holy Fire Temple and read them freely. The notes left by Lord Yi Nantian are incredibly valuable and cannot be shown to outsiders lightly. But if young Master Yun helps us obtain Noah's Ark, then of course, you can read them without a doubt. Of course, our goals do not conflict. You obtain Noah's Ark, I just want to study its structure. You are just a low-rank alchemist, and you want to study Noah's Ark? Can you even understand it? Feng Zhu, I understand you are used to being arrogant in the Holy Fire Temple. But now that you are outside, with your abilities, you better keep a low profile. Elder Feng, don't act rashly. Kid, you are courting death. Don't think that without you, we can't find Noah's Ark. You are worthless in front of me. Do you think the power of the domain is absolute suppression against cultivators below the Marshal Supreme? Retract your ridiculous domain. While we are still a team. He really retracted the domain? No, he's not looking at me. My divine sense doesn't detect anything behind me. But these simple country people don't seem like they are trying to deceive me into turning around. Huh? Such a massive demonic beast, yet it doesn't emit a single trace of aura. If not for seeing it with my own eyes, I would have no idea there was something in the sky. No, this is the legendary demonic beast, Woo. Wu? What do you know? Hurry up and tell me. Wu is a true spirit of heaven and earth. Ah, a true spirit? Are you sure this thing is a true spirit? A true spirit from the Ten Directions Divine Realm? Wu is indeed one of the true spirits, but whether it's in the Divine Realm is unknown. Among the many ancient true spirits, this is the most mysterious. No one has ever seen it take action, and this true spirit seems to have no intelligence. True spirits refer to those powerful beings born from the harmony of heaven and earth in ancient times. Like the phoenix, true dragon, and other divine beings of the Ten Directions realm. Over countless years, true spirits have only existed in legends. People even constantly speculate and doubt whether those ancient true spirits ever really existed in this Tian Wu world. But the continuous appearance of true spirit relics provides strong evidence. Every time it appears, it just floats in the space and then slowly disappears. See this disappearance is not entering the void but swallowing itself. Swallowing itself? Isn't that suicide? At first, everyone thought so too, but later found out it's not. 
A powerful individual once tried to tame Wu as its beast, used all means, and finally injured Wu. As a result, that Wu slowly swallowed itself. After a long time, an injured Wu appeared. Later, someone specialized in studying it. After all, the ancient true spirits had completely disappeared. To glimpse the secrets of the divine realm, Wu has become the ultimate choice. The inside of Wu's body is actually a very peculiar space, different from the usual void we speak of. After swallowing itself, Wu's entire body enters that space, and no one knows how many ages will pass before it comes out again. So how many of these Wu beasts are there? How many? Since ancient times, maybe only this one. Just one. So it has gone through endless ages? Is this the injured one you mentioned earlier? It should be. But over so many years, very few people have seen Wu, and even if they did, they didn't recognize it. Rest assured, this Wu will not harm anyone. It will disappear after swallowing itself. When it will reappear, who knows? Maybe never in this lifetime. Drifting in space for countless years, even if it could be immortal, what's the point? I once thought I stood at the pinnacle of Nine Heavens Martial Sovereign, looking down on the entire Tianwu world. Only after this reincarnation did I realize that I was just a drop in the ocean, a frog at the bottom of the well, a laughingstock. It's gone. What exactly is it? Such a gigantic thing, unheard of. It seems that Demon Plains is even more terrifying than we imagined. No wonder it's one of the few dangerous, forbidden areas. Elder Fong, young Master Yun, is our Holy Fire Temple's partner, sharing common goals, mutual benefit. And so far, his help in finding Noah's Ark has been immense. I hope everyone refrains from any conflicts. Finding Noah's Ark is the key. Young Master, this child who always obeys me without question. Now he can clearly state and point out my mistakes. The child I raised has finally grown up. Young Master is right. Earlier it was my fault. I hope Brother Yun doesn't take offense. Elder Fong, you're too kind. Yi Fan was brought up by Elder Fong and me, and we taught him all kinds of martial arts. Now that the child has grown, we must establish his prestige in our minds. The master of the Holy Fire Temple is not us, but Yi Fan. Yi Fan's will is the highest command. I hope everyone can work together. This mission is the most important. Don't get distracted by other things. With Yi Fan's perception, everyone started to fly rapidly north of the Demon Plains. It's actually a Martial Supreme. The Domain's aura. Even a Martial Supreme has fallen. It was clearly killed by a single punch. And the punch came from behind. Died from a single move? Judging by the wound, it should be a human punch. Who could kill a Martial Supreme with a single punch? If it was a fight between equals, even if a sneak attack succeeded, it wouldn't result in a one-punch kill. This means the attacker not only ambushed, but was also far stronger than the deceased. Could it be a martial sovereign? Is there really a martial sovereign in the demon plains? Martial sovereign. The chi in this wound. I think I know who killed this person. Who? This punch is a very ordinary Vidra punch, but its level is no less than nine heavens martial sovereign. To display Vidra Punch with such dominating power, incredible dash. Vidra Punch. 10,000 times a day. But Master, I also want to inherit your supreme swordsmanship like senior brother Hua Chinchu. Hey, young emperor. Martial techniques in the world change endlessly, but they all follow the same principles. Understanding martial intent is the key. Do you understand? But... Practicing Vidra Punch 10,000 times a day was what I forced the young emperor to do back then. Only our rookie mercenary group's Captain Howley and the young emperor can do that. This Marshal Supreme's death should have occurred after I arrived at Lightsong Forest. 
So at least two things can be confirmed. One is that Haolian young emperor is not in trouble, and the second is that many people indeed want him dead. How? Esteemed group captain Haolian? Didn't Lord Haolian go into seclusion to break through to Marshal Sovereign? Could it be that the place of seclusion dash? It should be on these demon plains. Breaking through to Marshal Sovereign isn't achieved by just going into seclusion. He's on these demon planes to seek his own opportunity. What's happening? Is Wu back again? It's a cross-region teleportation array. People from the other three domains have arrived. These demon planes' murky waters are getting even murkier. Scarlet Sky attack wave from the Golden Sun warship. Everyone dodge. Ah. Young master, are you okay? I'm fine. Is everyone all right? Young master Yun? Where's young master Yun? Spectral strike. Protect the young master. Imperial bell. Ah. It's young master Yun. Ninth rank Xian weapon. My imperial bell, what are you staring at? It's going to blind your dog eyes. Two elders. Go assist young master Yun. Yes. High mountain flowing water. Sweep through thousand of troops. Ah. Ugh. He managed to suppress the two of us single-handedly. Humph. Even with my peak three-star cultivation, I still can't overpower the two ordinary martial supremes. Activate the warship, deal with those small fry, and leave these two old fools to me. We can't hold back any longer, otherwise the young master will be in danger. Use the holy technique. You old fools, what are you pretending for? Are you saying you were holding back? Hmm? Heaven. Heavenly rules. How is that possible? How can a martial supreme invoke the power of heavenly rules? This so-called holy technique is actually a martial skill that invokes heavenly rules. The inheritance of a supreme martial sovereign indeed has some merit. Thousand Threads Weaving Domain Martial Supremes Engaging in Combat So what if it can invoke heavenly rules? A martial supreme is still a martial supreme. I am two stars higher than you, no matter what you invoke, you can't make up for the difference in these two heavenly levels. Die. Blast them away from me. Take down these two old fools first. This is bad. Ha ha ha. Ugh. What? What is that? What's happening? Hold your ground. Amag. Jid 124R. Don't rush to lament. The real show is yet to come. The World God Monument. Attack mode. Stop it. Aya. Who exactly is this young Master Yun? What is he doing? He seems incredibly powerful. What is that monument pressing down on the warship? This is a priceless 8th rank warship with over 30 alchemists inside. If it's lost just like this, the sect leader will tear me apart alive. Golden Sun Warship. Attack that monument for me. Don't worry about the spectral warship below. That monument can suppress the spectral warship. It could very well be a ninth rank entity. If we can obtain it, it will compensate for the loss of the spectral warship and the death of many alchemists. Kid, if you have the guts, duel me. Don't touch my warship.
Only one warship left. Rise. Don't let any of them escape. Run. Run quickly. Don't come any closer. Damn it, I'll fight. Thousand Threads Weaving Domain. Ha ha ha. I'll let you go this time. Humph. Time to collect the spoils. He 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 he. Let me see. The materials are quite good. Now let's check that one out. Ha ha ha, the spectral warship is full of 8th rank materials. Hmm? Come out for now. Young master. We cough cough. Please don't kill us. Which sect are you from, and what are you doing in the demon plains? Ah. We were hired by the Featherfrost sect, but we're not from Featherfrost sect. As for what we're doing in the demon plains, we don't know either. We're just following Xian Bing's orders, commanding the spectral warship. So it's Feather Frost Sect, I've heard of them. The sect leader's name is something like Shuang Fei, right? As far as I remember, they are also a Nine Heavens Martial Sovereign. Correct. Sect leader Yan Shuang Fei is indeed a Nine Heavens Martial Sovereign. Apart from the Soul Devouring Clan and the Ten Thousand Star Valley, Featherfrost Sect is also a first class sect in the entire Western region. We are just hired help. Please don't drag us into your grudges. Want to live? Did you think we wanted to die when you mobilized the Spectral Warship against us? Since you are hired by Featherfrost Sect and took their benefits, you naturally have to die for them now. Young Master Yun. These people are your captives. It's up to you to decide their fate. You can go. You. You really are letting us go? The demon planes have always been dangerous, now even more so. Whether you can get out alive depends on your luck. Thank you. Thank you, young master. Thank you, young master. Let's move on. Things are getting more interesting. It seems the news about Noah's Ark has spread everywhere. Originally, it was top secret, not sure where the leak occurred. There are no secrets in the world. Rumors about Noah's Ark are not new. In fact, the major sects are no longer particularly interested in such rumors. Fortunately, only small fry are coming, otherwise we wouldn't stand a chance. There are many agitated auras spreading in the air ahead. Look ahead dash. This dash. Third rank five element spirit devouring rats, stone flower fox. Third rank cold snow owls. Fourth rank blood sun bugs. Fifth rank shadow mink. There seem to be even sixth rank ones. What's happening up ahead? Even a 6th rank fire rainbow leopard is fleeing, which is equivalent to a human martial grandmaster. It seems even higher ranked ones will appear. It said there are 8th rank demon beasts in the demon plains. Could they be up ahead? Look. What's that? It's a soul shattering taper, but it's really strange. Young Master Yun Chao, what's so strange? That soul-shattering taper seems to be dead. Dead? How can there still be such a strong aura if it's dead? It must have just died recently, so the aura hasn't dissipated yet. How could an 8th rank soul-shattering taper die just like that, besides the 9 heavens martial sovereign? Who else could kill an 8th rank beast? Could a martial sovereign have descended into the demon plains? Stop guessing. There's no point in worrying over nothing. There's only the aura and deathly intent of the soul-shattering taper left here. The rest must have left. Let's go check it out. Look over here. This is. There's only one wound on the whole body. And the wound isn't even big, definitely not fatal. But it seems like it experienced prolonged pain. Could it have been killed by sound waves? Impossible. The sound waves needed to kill a soul-shattering taper would be detectable even from hundreds of miles away. And why would the culprit make such a cut? If I'm not mistaken, the blood in this soul-shattering taper's body has been completely drained. All the blood drained. 
Could it be the Skeleton Mercenary Group? It must be the Skeleton Mercenary Group. But I don't know how they did it without leaving any signs of a struggle. Even an ordinary martial sovereign couldn't do this. If a top expert from the monster race came out of the Star Moon illusion, they could definitely do it. Could it be? A peak martial sovereign? A peak martial sovereign? The skeleton mercenary group has Tang Jia. They likely know about the emergence of the Holy Fire Temple and are searching for the Noah's Ark. This would make a peak martial sovereign willing to act. If that's the case, even the World God Monument won't be enough. Forget it, let's not speculate. The ten great martial sovereigns and the seven major forces. Across the four seas, the Star Moon Illusion, and some forbidden areas, there are rulers with peak strength. No matter who descends into the demon planes, we will not forget our original intentions and continue forward. Isn't that right? Indeed. Our Holy Fire Temple has been silent for many years, generations of ancestors searching for Noah's Ark, passing away with regret. From my father, grandfather, and great-grandfather, down to my generation, we finally sensed its presence. No matter what stands in the way, I must move forward without hesitation. Compared to finding Noah's Ark, sacrifice is a trivial matter. May we follow the young master and restore the glory of our Holy Fire Temple. If that's the case, then we will risk our lives and fight once. The glory left by our ancestors must be reignited in my hands. Long live the young master. Long live the young master. One world, one young master. Long live the young master. Long live the young master. Don't celebrate just yet. Come over and help. Me gather the valuable parts from this soul-shattering taper. All right, let's go help young master Yun Chao. That's another one down. Only two more to go, and this five elements beast controlling ring will be successfully forged. With three of the five elements rat kings disappearing, the central rat king must have noticed. The last two will be increasingly difficult. Heh, what difficulty? Even if it's that rat king isn't it our ultimate goal? If only it were that simple. Who knows how many five elements spirit devouring rats are in the demon plains? If we get caught in them, even we would have trouble escaping unscathed. It wasn't a coincidence that we discovered Tang Jia in the Light Song Forest. We took advantage of the situation to spread the false news about the emergence of Noah's Ark, luring those fools into the demon plains and distracting the Rat King. Haha, -ha, it seems many people believe such rumors. But the rumor's impact is limited, not many strong experts have entered the demon plains. However, those from the monster race are indeed strange. We should keep an eye on them. The monster race? Those who killed the soul-shattering taper. They are indeed strange. Focus on them. As for those lowly members of the soul-devouring sect, we can guide other forces to eliminate them. The appearance of the seven major members of the Merchant Alliance this time is also peculiar. As for Haoli and Xiao Wang, the fewer nine heaven sovereign, the better. Too many would make the Tian Wu realm feel a bit crowded. Shall we take action and kill him directly? No need. The probability of him breaking through to the nine heaven sovereign realm is extremely low. Besides, he has a senior brother in the holy region and a junior brother in the sea of transformation. Although our Thousand Star Valley isn't afraid, we don't need to make enemies unnecessarily. If he does manage to achieve rules and gather sovereign chi, we can act then. Humph, if Gu Feiyang were still alive, our Thousand Star Valley might have some apprehension. But now that he's dead, leaving behind a bunch of trash disciples, what's the harm in killing them? Don't forget our ultimate goal is to forge the Five Elements Beast Controlling Ring and subdue the Rat King. Eliminating the lackeys of the soul-devouring sect and preventing Hao Lian Xiao Wang from advancing to martial sovereign is just incidental. If it affects the main mission, no one can bear that responsibility. Feather Frost Sex Xian Bing 
I thought this mission would be easy, especially since we specifically dispatched the Spectral Warship and Golden Sun Warship from the sect, so we could be majestic and formidable. Who knew that as soon as we arrived at the Demon Plains, we'd be damaged by a bunch of inexplicable people? And in such an unsightly manner. Unless we complete the mission perfectly, we'll be dead when we return. Master Xian Bing, there's a Tiger Warship traveling in the same direction as us. Hmm? Damn it, it's probably some trash mercenary group using the Tiger Warship. Destroy it. Yes. Ripple Dash, Spatial Shift. What? Soul Power Twisting Space? Is it a high rank alchemist? Another case of kicking an iron plate? If it really is a grand alchemist, why would they still use this garbage like the Tiger Warship? Could it be a group of freaks who enjoy pretending to be weak? Who are you? You don't even know who we are and just attack? You, people nowadays are so impetuous. Master Shine, it was just an accident. This nobody must have popped out of nowhere, probably a madman. You speak so rudely. I am Shin Bing from Feather Frost Sect. Who exactly are you? Feather Frost Sect? What are you doing in the Demon Plains? What? Scared? None of these people are Marshal Supreme, but they clearly don't respect me. You, why waste time? Leave this three-star Marshal Supreme alive and interrogate. Kill the rest. Understood. Run. The warship is about to crash. Get out of the warship. Don't worry about those below Marshal King. Hurry. Quickly. Aagig. That was a 7th rank Golden Sun warship. Even if I used all my strength, I couldn't have destroyed it. What kind of people are there in the Demon Plains? Why is everyone more monstrous than the last? How dare they underestimate us? Ten Threads Version Earth New Heaven Trap What the dash? This sword has exceeded my understanding. Martial Supremes gather their domain power, which is an insight into the rules of heaven and earth, and is unrivaled under the eight desolate realm. But how could this martial emperor shatter my domain with a single strike? This. How is this possible? Everyone, let's join forces to wipe out these scum. Grand Priest, there are quite a few of them. I'll also join in and help. Master E, your body is still very weak. It's better not to move around. Ha 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 dash. Ha ha ha. Thousand Threads Domain, Defense Net. How can a mere martial emperor break my domain with one strike? Damn it! Thousand Threads Domain, a Yang's entangling silk fist. Die. Ah. What's going on? Ah. Ha ha. After consuming the blood of the soul-shattering taper, Yu's body has indeed become much stronger. This secret technique is truly remarkable. No wonder he is the grand priest of our monster race. Ha ha. I feel much better now. Take that martial supreme human to others, then let's keep going. Yes. Here's an extra companion for you. I am a distinguished guest of your skeleton mercenary group. The Yang Ki is still in my hands, so you'd better treat me with some respect. Stay away from me. Oh dear. I'm covered in blood. It's disgusting. Oh well, I'll just make do. After all, I'm your captive now. 
Don't kill him, or I'll kill you. Oh, don't worry, I'll be very gentle. Master E, those are people from the Feather Frost sect. The ones who died were all alchemists and martial emperors. Looking at the wounds, most of the martial emperors were killed in one strike and then brutally torn apart. Although this is just a minor rumor, it has attracted many forces. E. Ding from the Mondo Chamber of Commerce. The people we saw earlier didn't seem very strong, but they had a strange feeling. And easily wiped out the experts from the Featherfrost sect. Ding me, do you have any impression of these people? Replying to Master Yi Jing, I don't remember anyone like them in the entire northern region. They can easily kill a martial supreme with one punch and are definitely on my watch list, but I have no information about them. Could they have come from another region? That's unlikely, just for such minor rumors. Master Yi Ching, one of those nine people earlier had a similar fluctuation of primordial qi to Tang Jie. Really? Are you sure? Yes, the primordial chi fluctuation on him matches the description in our report. Hmm. Master Yi Ching, what should we do now? If it really is Tang Jie, it's troublesome. Those people give me a very dangerous feeling, and I really don't want to be their enemy. The Demon Plains is vast and boundless. Even the three major mercenary groups that roam inside all the time might not know the way. Finding Tang Jia would be like finding a needle in a haystack. Pursue Hey, Master Shang, should we stop and deal with the pursuers? Let's wait and see for now. We are not what we used to be, not everyone can provoke us casually. It's better to be a bit more restrained. Why? Wow, kill me. Kill me. Don't move around, darling, you'll easily leave behind hidden troubles like this. Ah, ah, ah. Wow. Ah, ah. Ah. The humans nowadays. Play such tricks. I'll kill them after asking a few questions. Kill that pervert? No, the one screaming. The pervert's physique is interesting. Although it's not a divine body, it's a fusion of human and monster bloodlines. His ancestors must include the progenitor of our monster race. Progenitor? A human-monster hybrid? Humans are born from humans. Ah. And monsters are born from monsters. What's going on with the human demon? Ah. Sorry, I haven't heard that in a long time. It feels strange. Forget it. Bring them over, I will personally interrogate them. Yes. Ah, I hate it. How can you just casually kill people? I was having so much fun. Such a killjoy, such a killjoy, such a killjoy. Shut up. You pervert. All right, handsome guy, we'll do as you say. Unbelievable. So it's because of the Noah's Ark. No wonder a large number of forces have started to infiltrate this demon territory. Has the information been leaked? Impossible. This matter is extremely confidential. It's also for the safety of the information that I came alone to the Chinga Forest and ended up being captured by you. My four extreme sect has always had a good relationship with the Skeleton Mercenary Corps, and yet you treat me like this. The Skeleton Mercenary Corps is a thing of the past. The Skeleton Mercenary Corps has indeed undergone significant changes. Shen Feng, who used to control everything, has disappeared, and the remaining have actually turned into these demon people. Regardless of the Skeleton Mercenary Corps or any other faction in this world, there are no eternal conflicts, only eternal interests. Oh my! So heartless! It hurts so much! As the young master of the Four Extreme Sect, how about forming a friendship with you all? What do you think? Although the Demon Clan is powerful, my Four Extreme Sect is not far behind. To resort to violence against someone truly makes me love you more. Hey, behave yourselves. Even with your cultivation sealed, you dare to act so recklessly. Sealed. Indeed, back then. 
No wonder I couldn't manifest the power of the Marshal Grandmaster domain. But this sensation, it's different from the captain's three harmony ghost I seal, seems to be a demon clan secret technique. You mentioned this sect to me, honestly, they are not qualified to cooperate with me. You little. You primitive being from tens of thousands of years ago. Do you know what era it is now? The energy of the Merchant Alliance surpasses your imagination. We could wipe out you mountain monkeys in a heartbeat. He he he. Could it be that the Demon Clan's strength is so great that they don't even care about the Merchant Alliance? Arrogant ignorance. Why is this hairless monkey laughing foolishly? Whether I am arrogant and ignorant, humanity will soon find out. Let's go, find that ancient evergreen tree, and then go retrieve that super quality mysterious artifact, the Noah's Ark. I'm also very interested in seeing the super quality mysterious artifacts crafted by you humans. The people on this chariot are all top notch. Such brutal methods, truly leaving no one intact. Though these guys are despicable, the ones killing them are even more twisted. The body of that martial grandmaster is not here. It seems they escaped. Are these murderous maniacs the opponents we have to face? Yoon, have you found anything? Hmm. This golden sun warship. It was split open by a single sword. What? The seventh rank golden sun warship split open by a single sword. Who has such strength? Familiar demon aura. It's really him. You, the demon from the Skeleton Mercenary Corps. And not just one trace of demon aura, extremely powerful, it seems we are about to catch up. Yoon, do you think we have a chance of winning? What's this? Weren't we all willing to sacrifice ourselves one by one? Why are you afraid now? Isn't ancestral glory worth anything anymore? At worst, it's just death, nothing to fear. Huh? They're back again. It looks like there's the emblem of Empyrean Pavilion on it. This is Empyrean Pavilion's warship. Indeed, the members of the Merchant Alliance have all come in. The famous Li Yunchao. You were originally the Lord of Yinwu City. How did you end up as a rookie mercenary group member? What brings you to this demon territory now? Qing Luo from Empyrean Pavilion. A master from Empyrean Pavilion? Miss Shen is here too, no wonder this person knows me so well. Yun, didn't expect to meet so soon. I didn't know you were here either. Ha ha ha, we are all on the same side. With Shen Li's strength, she is of no use in this situation. She must be familiar with the terrain, which is why Empyrean Pavilion sent her along. Young hero Yun Chao, did you leak the information about the Noah's Ark? Apart from the four extreme sect, only we at Empyrean Pavilion know. Since Shen Li found you, now everyone knows. The rookie mercenary group has some tricks up their sleeves. Even a martial grandmaster captain has three warlords protecting him. Uh. Those individuals clearly are not from the rookie mercenary group. Sir, those individuals seem to be. The beauties of Empyrean Pavilion. Rice can be eaten messily, eating the wrong thing can kill a person. Words, however, cannot be spoken carelessly. Speaking wrongly can wipe out an entire family. On your way here, did you see anyone from other factions? Where did the people from the Skeleton Mercenary Corps go? Why should I tell you? I was just worrying about not being able to defeat those Skeleton Mercenary Corps folks when a group of experts arrived, so it's only right to make good use of them. You little rascal, you just want to gain some benefits. The Noah's Ark is not something you can peek at. But Empyrean Pavilion might offer some other benefits. We're looking for benefits. How about we have a good talk together? You have the Netherworld Warship, while we have to rely on our own two legs to run around in this demon territory. Empyrean Pavilion has always been hospitable. If you don't mind, please come up for a chat. Get on the car. The situation in the demon territory is becoming more complicated. Unexpectedly, we encountered these decently strong mercenaries. 
It seems as long as you offer them some sweet benefits, they can be used as cannon fodder. At this moment, we can't lose face in front of our superiors. But Li Yunxiao is definitely not a naive youth. I must find an opportunity to remind. Lord Yunxiao, come and take a seat. Have you ever seen such a lavish display of martial intent as decoration before? Wow. Shen Li, you and Lord Yunxiao are old friends as well. Hurry and get some spirit fruits to treat everyone. No need for spirit fruits, your sect is too polite. Uh. Qing Luo. I can just eat these martial intent fruits. Delicious. Refreshing. Huh? Aren't these fruits for display? They're quite tasty. Emperian Pavilion is so extravagant. Do you even need us to leave any for you? Phew, a breakthrough. Brothers, they truly live up to being from Empyrean Pavilion, even using martial intent fruits to entertain guests. They're really broadening our country bumpkin horizons. You've eaten so many martial intent fruits from others, don't drag us down with you. Many thanks for the fruit hospitality, it actually saved me a lot of secluded cultivation time and helped me advance directly. Thanks. Congratulations, congratulations, Lord Yunxiao. Hold dream to must hold dream. Qing Luo, this kid is clearly doing it on purpose. Don't let his appearance deceive you. This person is actually very cunning, ruthless, and meticulously calculating. Also, these people are not. Aunt Shen. But after eating a few of your martial intent fruits, you deliberately want to pick a fight. Is this your personal opinion or Qing Luo's? Ah. Humph. If you can't bear to part with it, then don't bring it out to feed people. So it was just for show, no need for apologies. Consider these fruits as bought by me. He used top-grade elemental stones to humiliate me. I'll take all ten of these high-grade elemental stones back. Ching Luo, this kid is really... Aunt Shen, I understand now. I understand what you want to say. In the Chinga Forest, you made a deal with our rookie mercenary group. You signed a profit agreement with us. I'll check if it's still on you, and it's a good opportunity for Qing Luo to have a look as well. What agreement? Is it with you? What are you looking for on me, Yun? I don't even know what you're talking about. The agreement signed in the west of the city fundamentally betrayed the interests of Empyrean Pavilion, but at that time, the situation forced us all to sign, including the four major chambers of commerce. But now that Li Yunxiao has brought it up alone, if he embellishes the story further, Qing Luo might just kill me on the spot. By the way, Aunt Shen, what did you just say about me being real? What madness? Really? Really? I really haven't seen much of the world. I ate over 20 martial intent fruits, that's it, no need for any money. If you eat spirit fruits, you have to pay. What money for martial intent fruits instead of spirit fruits? If I didn't eat any spirit fruits, why should I pay? Spirit fruits are spirit fruits. Whether it's right or not. I don't know. You're afraid of what if you're right? Flawed. The Lord Yunxiao has made an astonishing appearance in Yinwu City, which can be said to have shocked the world. Even the heavenly Zither Martial Sovereign, Li Huaqi, has come out to support you. I wonder what the relationship is between Lord Yunxiao and Lord Li Huaqi. What? He actually knows Li Huaqi? And has the support of the top ten Martial Sovereigns? It turns out she's been thinking about this matter. Ha 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 ha. Li Huaqi Dash is my cousin. Cousin? Lord Yunxiao is not yet twenty, and Lord Li Huaqi has been famous for several decades. This. Does my cousin need to report every relative he has to you? Our Merchant Alliance's intelligence is the best in the world, and we've never heard of Li Huaqi having a cousin. Li Huaqi is eccentric and rarely interacts with others. Could it be that? You are a relative of his deceased lover, Shue Chensi. What? The deceased lover? Shue Chensi is dead? How did she die? You, you don't even know? 
Shui Chenzi was the saintess of the Fuyao Holy Palace, and the goddess Li Huaqi admired for a long time. Li Huaqi had feelings for her, but unfortunately Shui Chenzi pursued the ultimate path of martial arts. For this reason, Li Huaqi once lived in seclusion outside the Thousand Leaf Island, playing the zither and reading ancient books every day. Playing a melody for ten years, still unable to move Shui Chenzi. Shui Chenzi also earned the title of the most cold-hearted beauty in the world. It said that Li Huaqi attended the Heaven and Earth Wind and Cloud Rankings event because of Shui Chenzi wanting to obtain the title of the world's number one and win the beauty. But things did not go as planned. In the battle for the Holy Region Rankings, even with Li Huaqi's peak nine heavens cultivation, he only achieved fifth place. After the ranking battle, feeling too embarrassed to return to Thousand Leaf Island, he disappeared from the continent. The Saintess of Fuyao Holy Palace The woman Li Huaqi loved. Who in the world could have killed her? Shui Chenzi's death is known to the world and is not a secret to ordinary martial artists. How could he not know? But at that time in Yinwu City, Li Huaqi did indeed vow to protect him. Shui Chenzi has been dead for almost 10 years. 10 years. At that time, it was impossible to care about such things. No wonder he retreated to the southern region Tianxian Kingdom. I remember Shui Chenzi seemed to be from Tianxian Kingdom. The sadness on his face doesn't seem to be fake. It seems this kid really has some relationship with Li Huaqi. But it's strange that Shui Chenzi's death. This is also a big deal in the martial world. Since Shui Chenzi's death, Li Huaqi's first appearance in 10 years was in Yinwu City. When I mentioned him, it was mainly because our Empyrean Pavilion has a matter that we want to ask Lord Li Huaqi for help with. As for the reward, as long as Lord Li Huaqi makes a request, we can afford it. Reward. Indeed, I was wondering about that. As expected, you have something to ask for. Reward? When we were dealing with the Four Extremes sect in Light Song Forest, the agreed reward was the Nine Evil Underworld Water, right? This matter was also mentioned by Shen Li, but what we agreed upon was to capture Tang Jia alive. The Lord Yunxiao seems not to have accomplished this. To help you, I have completely severed ties with the Four Extremes sect, and now I have to avoid their pursuit to the ends of the earth. Even if I didn't achieve anything, at least I suffered, right? Even a bottle of the nine evil underworld water would be good. Lord Yunxiao is joking. That nine evil underworld water is transformed from the source of all waters, every drop is priceless. And severing ties with the four extreme sect is even more exaggerated. In Mount Sumeru, you severed ties when you took down Tang Yuan. The reward for my cousin's work is a bottle of nine evil underworld water. If there isn't, then we can't discuss it further. Clearly priced. Calm down, calm down. Getting the job done is important. Lord Yunxiao, please don't joke. This matter is very important, both for our Empyrean Pavilion and for Lord Li Huaqi. It's very beneficial. Please pass this on. Here's 10 million mid-grade primordial stones as a reward for conveying the message. If the matter can be completed, there will definitely be additional rewards. Oh, squeezing it to the limit? All right, I will definitely convey this to my cousin. Miss Ching Luo, is there anything else? Let's discuss the current urgent matters. Where did the skeleton mercenary group go? This primordial stone is definitely a waste of money. We can provide the location and ensure it can be found. Please review the guide price. This business acumen is faster than our merchant alliance. This is all we can give no more grass or leaves. Cut it in half? It's not enough to even fill a gap in my teeth. Forget it, this is fine. Even mosquito legs are meat. Now let's get down to business. Having wasted so much time, if Tang Jie is not tracked down, you won't get a single blade of grass. I have informed Miss Ching Luo of the location, but now Tang Jie is a target for everyone. Even if the Demon Plains is vast, it will be turned over. Apart from Empyrean Pavilion, I think other forces from the Merchant Alliance should have joined in, right? It might not be a bad thing for us to be slower. 
Look at the Feather Frost's ex people, they were too arrogant, resulting in the destruction of their ship and death of their people. I suggest Miss Ching Luo keep this warship hidden in the void and proceed slowly. Who knows how many more spies are behind the mantis? The key is to be the last one laughing. Of course, I'm just making a friendly suggestion. Now, the demon planes is too dangerous. Everyone should stay on this warship for now. Our Empyrean pavilion can ensure your safety. Shen Li, take them to the guest rooms. Lord Yun Chao, can I have that contract back? Give it back to you? Miss Shen, didn't you just try to harm me? Am I out of my mind to return it to you? I swear I won't say another word. Of course, things that should not be said cannot be said, but there will be plenty of things that Miss Shen should say. No, no. If that happens, I really won't have a place to be buried. Don't worry, as long as you don't court death, you won't die. In front of this elegant young man, I seem like a child. Since the first meeting in the west of the city, I've been led by the nose by him. Now, only the second meeting, and I've become his puppet. Heavenly Zither Marshal Sovereign Li Huachi. Is he really your cousin? Actually, in terms of seniority, he's my junior cousin, but revealing my true identity would be T.O.O. shocking. So, it's better to be modest and refer to him as my cousin instead. This is already so frightening. Someone is eavesdropping on us. Follow my lead. Okay, okay. Empyrean Pavilion is really too much. What's the matter? They dare to imprison us. When my cousin arrives, they'll pay for it. Will your cousin Li Huachi really come to the Demon Plains? Of course, my cousin always dotes on me. Otherwise, how could he come to Yinwu City when I asked? Humph, how stingy is Ching Luo with me? As long as I pass on the message, my cousin will immediately cross the void. When that happens, I'll let my cousin loot everything on this warship and make her bankrupt. Yes. And this spectral warship, it's also worth a fortune. We'll loot it together. Then my rookie mercenary group will also have an 8th rank warship. The group captain will definitely make you the vice captain. As vice captain, 12L definitely marry more wives. Don't mention it. The older sisters in Empyrean Pavilion are not bad. Hmm, <laughs> Miss Ching Luo and Shen Li also have their charms. Ha 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 ha. I understand you. Ha 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 ha. These damned people dare to offend me verbally. Should we kill them? They are obviously deliberately provoking Ching Luo, making her focus all her emotions on the later unpleasant words, thus neglecting the authenticity of the earlier information. Treat what they said as if you don't know. I suggest that we provide as many materials as possible that Li Yunxiao needs. Although the Noah's Ark is our top priority, that matter is also not small. If Li Huachi is willing to come across the domain for Li Yunxiao, it shows that Li Yunxiao is extremely important to Li Huachi. With him speaking, things will definitely be more effective. Do as you suggested. Temporarily appease these small fries. Compared to the inscrutable nature of the Noah's Ark, that matter seems even more important. As long as it's accomplished, no matter the cost, it's worth it. Send all the materials Li Yunxiao needs right away. Yes. Miss Ching Luo. Preparing to enter the void. 3. 2. Is the Noah's Ark really inscrutable? Haven't the seven major merchant alliances already mobilized? Even if the seven major merchant alliances are mobilized, if it weren't for the inscrutable nature, do you think the sect would send someone like me? If there were a certain guarantee, at least the sect master would come, and perhaps even those reclusive elders would come out. 1. The Yang Qi is with Tang Jia, and the Yin Qi has also appeared? Entering the Void The problem is with the Yin Qi. No one knows who has it. It is said to be kept by the descendant of the peerless martial sovereign Yi Nantian, but who knows where the descendant is? Even if we have both keys, we don't know how to find or unlock the Noah's Ark. 
Now everyone believes that Tang Jie is the only one who can find the Yin Qi through the Yan Qi, so we need to follow Tang Jie closely. If we really find a clue to the Noah's Ark, it's beyond our level to deal with. Understood. We are just the advanced scouts. After all, there have been many rumors about the Noah's Ark before, and they all ended up being false. So all major forces are skeptical. The people around Li Yunchao, I have been managing in Light Song Forest for many years, and I have never seen them before. Could they be the descendants of Yi Nantian? Understood. We just need to stay out of the whirlpool as much as possible. Don't get completely trapped. You go down. Li Yunchao is too terrifying. When everyone was still like headless flies, he actually had the most crucial thing in his hands. And he's masquerading as an underdog in our Empyrean pavilion, waiting to strike. Originally, we thought he was just a bit part player at the edge of the whirlpool. But suddenly it became clear that the real core of the whirlpool isn't Tang Jie, but this person. Miss, Miss Qin Luo. Ahead. In the void. It seems there's a person walking in the void. And there are large amounts of chi arcs around. How is that possible? In the void, even the spectral warship must be extremely careful to avoid being struck by powerful chi. Could it be a martial sovereign? Who on earth is this? Stop the warship. What happened? Lord Yunchao, don't get too close to him. We don't know who this person is. Prepare the warship for attack. Little Wu? Little Wu? Do you know that person? Disappeared. Everyone, stay alert. It seems this void isn't safe either. Yes. That youth in the unfamiliar attire seemed to know me, but I can't recall someone like that. But he was definitely looking at me just now. Little Ching? Little Ching? It seems like Little Ching's aura. Is he calling me? Do you know that person just now? Are you talking about the eternal evergreen tree? Yes. Was it really him just now? When the world first began, both he and I were spirit trees born together, but separated by the vastness of the world, one in the north and one in the south. In those endless years without other beings, it was just the two of us, though we couldn't meet, we could sense each other's presence. After other creatures began to appear, many tried to seize us divine trees, and gradually we lost contact. I never expected to sense his presence here. Oh. Hmm? You can sense the aura of the eternal evergreen tree? You knew I was looking for this tree all along and pretended not to? And you're only telling me now? I only just sensed it. Separated by the vast world between north and south, you could sense him, but here in Chinga Forest, this short distance, you claim you just sensed him? You think I'm an idiot? I had some sense earlier. But I wasn't sure if it was him. After all, I've undergone nirvana and rebirth many times, and he has long since evolved into human form, cultivating to a very high level. As expected. I was just asking casually, but you really were hiding it from me. I'll show you some colors. Whoa. Oh. Stop, stop. Satisfying. Thanks to Leader Li Yunchao for the Soul Power Carnival. I'll forgive you this time, but if it happens again, I'll drain you dry. Damn it, Triple X, damn it, Triple X. How long will it take for me to grow up at this rate? No wonder you're the Kumu Divine Tree, the best soul nurturing wood in the world. Just absorbing a bit just now is worth decades of my hard work. This kid is still about four or five years old. You can absorb him for a month or two, just don't overdo it. I estimate you could advance directly to the seventh rank. Your suggestion is quite tempting. Forget it, let's nurture him a bit before absorbing. How's your recovery going? Originally, I only had two tenths of my soul body left, and after cultivating for some time, it hadn't even recovered to three tenths. 
but after you absorbed just now, it increased by about 20%. Demonic Dragon, don't be too greedy. This soul power wasn't easy for him to accumulate either. If it weren't for the Earth's breath soil here, he wouldn't have grown this fast. Indeed. It's a pity that the Earth's breath soil was already scarce, and that little diamond absorbed a significant portion, shrinking it even further. If we had known, we should have used it entirely to nurture this tree. True, too much of the Earth's breath soil was consumed, and the power of this realm is becoming unstable. Once we're done here, we'll head to the Blood God Palace. I remember Chow Yaxing mentioned their sect has some. Remember to share the coordinates of the eternal evergreen tree at all times, or else this guy will have to take care of you. The world is vast, with countless capable people. We've been in seclusion for so long, we're truly like frogs in a well. You can't tell the age of that youth, but just now, in that prison of thunder and lightning, even I felt my heart pounding. If placed in it, even with holy techniques, there is no way to survive. Forget that youth, even young Master Yun Chao is among the top young talents. We, as Martial Supremes, can't compare. Young Master Yun Chao? You really don't recognize that youth just now? He seemed to be looking directly at you. With all of us standing in a row, who else would he look at if not me? Stop struggling. Being handsome is something you're born with. Bah! With your pig-like face, who would look at you? If that youth really knows Li Yunchao, then Li Yunchao is truly terrifying. Don't be upset, some things are innate. You think being in the void means others can't see me? It's useless, no matter how low-key I try to be, wherever I go, I stand out like a firefly in the dark, shining bright, shining dazzlingly. Young Master Yunchao, back to the point, do you really not recognize that youth? The Tian Wu continent is vast, full of strange people and events. That youth could well be a few hundred or thousand years old, an old man for all we know, as long as he doesn't interfere with us, there is no need to worry too much. Soon, Shen Li delivered some materials from the list to Li Yunxiao, and everyone started meditating and cultivating right in the room. Don't be shy, let's cultivate together. What a spendthrift! Primordial Qi, absorb. Such a vast amount of primordial Q1, even a martial supreme would explode if they absorbed it. How is this kid completely fine? Stop gawking. There won't be much left to absorb soon. You absorbed so much primordial chi, shouldn't you have advanced by now? Is your martial intent not comprehended enough? Are you stuck? My situation is a bit special. Back then, every technique from the Holy Fire Temple had the rules of heaven and earth integrated into it. A martial sovereign can refine these rules, and their techniques carry the might of the world. But a martial supreme can only perceive the world, they can't possibly execute techniques with the power of heaven. How did Yi Nantian manage it? My big cousin taught me a lot of powerful techniques, how about we spar and exchange ideas to improve together? The cultivation methods and techniques taught by Li Huachi are certainly extraordinary. Let's skip the sparring and just discuss together. Their legacies come from the unparalleled martial sovereigns Yi Nantian and Gu Feiyang, two peak experts. Both have profound insights in their respective fields and have almost reached the ultimate in martial arts, just one step away from the Ten Directions realm. Through high-level discussions, indeed, they all benefited greatly. Especially the people from the Holy Fire Temple, they were shocked to find that Li Yunxiao's explanations and understanding of many issues far exceeded their expectations. Many insights left by Yi Nantian, techniques that had puzzled them for ages, Li Yunxiao could unravel just by hearing about them, explaining them in the simplest terms, making them clearer than ever. While the Holy Fire Temple members gained a lot, they also started to feel a sense of despondency. We always considered ourselves the successors of the unparalleled martial sovereign, believing our cultivation methods and martial techniques were unmatched and cherished them like a treasured broom. 
Who would have thought, as soon as we came out of seclusion, even the Marshal Grandmaster level cousin of the heavenly Zither Marshal Sovereign was superior to us? What power and wealth? What rules and regulations? It all turns to Smoke A. And this time, the one who gained the most was undoubtedly Li Yunchao. He could integrate each move and technique, allowing martial artists below the martial sovereign level to also wield this rule-based power. Although it's somewhat tricky and clumsy, it's a huge breakthrough. I've figured out the method of that holy technique. It's actually a fundamental technique created by Yi Nantian that conforms to the rules of heaven and earth. By aligning with the force of nature, it invokes the might of heaven and earth. My three sword technique and great wind and cloud palm were originally created by condensing the rules of heaven and earth and my martial intent into them. But those low level martial techniques rely solely on the technique itself and the martial artist's understanding, so their power is limited. Yi Nantian was able to integrate rules into every technique. His understanding of martial arts has gone even further than mine once did. Beckoning Flower Finger Holy Technique It's a holy technique. We all underwent countless trials and tribulations and arduous cultivation to barely grasp it. And this young man merely listened to a discussion and immediately performed it. This can no longer be described as genius or monster. I've performed this beckoning flower finger countless times. But that feeling just now, I only get it when performing sword techniques and the great wind and cloud palm, it's the flow of rule power. Don't look at me like that, it was just luck. Is there such luck? What's going on? This void seems even more unsettled than the demon planes. Aunt Ching Luo, who are they this time? See for yourself. Master Ching Luo, this warship is Dash. That's right, it's the Mando Chamber of Commerce's warship. This time, the one leading the Mando Chamber of Commerce should be Yi Ching. Their overall strength is not weaker than ours. Who could have done this? An entire warship was directly sent into the void. Not even a martial sovereign could achieve that, right? Lady Ching Luo, the warship ahead is about to collide with us. Please give the order. Should we destroy it or enter the void and cross into the demon planes? The Mando Chamber of Commerce's warship was destroyed not far from here, within the demon planes. If we infiltrate the demon planes now, we might encounter those enemies. Destroy it with a spectral strike. Yes. It seems like the ones who massacred the people of the Featherfrost sect are involved. All using such cruel methods. Do you know who did this? I can't be certain. But the way these corpses died is extremely similar to the people of the Featherfrost sect. You've seen those corpses too, Lady Ching Luo. If my guess is correct, it should be the Skeleton Mercenary Group. The Mando Chamber of Commerce might have been pursuing that Tang Jia, so they were wiped out by the Skeleton Mercenary Group. The Skeleton Mercenary Group, how could they have such power? The Feather Frost sect isn't an easy faction to provoke, and the Mando Chamber of Commerce is even less so. Even if they had the strength, would they dare? What if the force behind the Skeleton Mercenary Group is the Star Moon Illusion Realm? The Star Moon Illusion Realm, the dwelling place of the monster race? The monster race rarely interacts with humans, so how could they be involved with the Skeleton Mercenary Group? Are you sure about this? Of course. Don't forget, I'm the captain of the Rookie Mercenary Group, and who would know the information in the Light Song Forest better than me? Is that so? It... It really is. Such important information, why haven't you reported it before? This is just a lead I've recently uncovered, and I wasn't entirely sure. It seemed too absurd, so I wanted to clarify it before reporting. But now, after hearing Lord Yunxiao's words, I'm confident I can confirm it. Li Yunxiao, you better not get me killed. Oh no. It's a void turbulence. 
I sense Little Ching's aura, not far from here, very strong, and seems to be in a battle. The Eternal Evergreen Tree? It seems someone has found him and has already made a move. The pulling force is too strong, Lady Ching Luo, we need to enter the Demon Plains. Our main purpose for coming to the Demon Plains is to use the Eternal Evergreen Tree to travel to the Outer Astral Wind and collect the Primordial Wind. What? Fine. Enter the Demon Plains. A little time earlier. Ha ha ha. Fu's appearance has a bit of the great monster's aura. Unfortunately, the four of us have severely exhausted our strength. We can barely fight with the power of our Xian weapons, otherwise, how could we be a match for these martial supremes? At worst, we'll perish together. Hey. Still as fast as ever, Fu. Since we're idle right now, why don't we finally settle that score from 10,000 years ago? Let's see who is truly the fastest in the monster race. Unfortunately, E, I now only fight for Lord Shang's grand cause. The score between us is still 3 to 2 in my favor. Ha! Huh? It's 3 to 2 in my favor, isn't it? Head dash. Come out and stop hiding after watching the show. How many years has it been? Do you still recognize me? You look familiar. It feels like we've met somewhere before, but I can't remember. I can't sense even a trace of this young man's cultivation. Not even his age is discernible, it's as if he's shrouded in mist. What's going on? What is this? A Shoda. Do you still remember the little monster who played on you every day? Little Ching, Little Ching, I climbed up again. Little Ching, look at me. Are you? Shang? That kid from the Huado tribe? I remember that was tens of thousands of years ago. Back then, the Huado tribe was the strongest among the monster race, but it has been millennia since anyone has seen a member of the Huado tribe. How have you lived for tens of thousands of years? It's a long story. This time I came to the Demon Plains specifically to find you. To find me? The monster race has a treasure, always kept by my Hordo tribe. Called the Armillary Sphere, have you heard of it? What does your treasure have to do with me? It seems you already know my intention. The Armillary Sphere is in my possession but it has withered over the tens of thousands of years to sustain my life, and it's close to death. In this world, perhaps the only thing that can revive it is you, the eternal evergreen tree. What? This mysterious green-clad youth is actually the legendary eternal evergreen tree of the demon plains. No wonder no one has ever found it. It turns out he transformed and can move freely. How adorable. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Sean, you could say I watched you grow up. Although I don't know how you survived for tens of thousands of years, I can see you are very weak. But if you want to take my true form, you're far from capable. I am indeed very weak right now, so I hope you, little Ching, will help me. You've already taken human form and can exist independently of your true form. Why cling to that shell? Moreover, even within my armillary sphere, your shell can still survive just as well. If I enter your armillary sphere, I'll become nothing more than your puppet. While I'm not strongly tied to my true form now, it allows me to cultivate rapidly. Without it, the entire demon plains would wither, and I would lose my sanctuary. There is no such thing as an eternal evergreen. Even you cannot escape the five decays of heaven and man. Why not offer your true form to me and become my loyal subordinate? Together, we could pursue glory. Wouldn't that be a better choice? Follow you? Your cultivation is only at the martial grandmaster level. And these subordinates of yours, they only rely on powerful weapons. Their own cultivation is utterly pathetic. Before me, you have no right to act so recklessly. 
Little Ching, why make things so tense? Weren't we friends? All those years, I practiced beside you every day, sharing my thoughts with you. And after tens of thousands of years, you are the only one left. We could have been friends, but if you want to take my true form, you are an enemy. Shang, if you change your mind now and leave the demon plains, I might spare your lives for the sake of old times. Thank you. But I still want to try. Stubborn fool. Ripple dash, spatial shift. Sorry, little Ching. He transformed into lightning. Ugh, 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 dash. Ah, dash. Yo, hurry up. Is everyone all right? Yo, ugh. You, you've done well. Go heal yourself on the warship. Lord Shang. I'm fine. Lord Shang. Go heal yourself, that's an order. Shift the artillery sphere, change the stars. The armory sphere. Didn't you say it was dead already? Its spirit is indeed on the verge of being extinguished. If it weren't absolutely necessary, I wouldn't have used it. Little Ching, you're the only one who can save it. Follow me. Follow you? What a joke. I am an ancient being born with the heavens and earth. As long as I keep moving forward, one day I will comprehend all the rules and step into the Ten Directions Divine Realm. And you? You're just one of the countless powerful beings throughout the eons, as numerous as the stars. Sooner or later, you'll be dead. What gives you the right to make me follow you? Because I will step into that ten directions realm before you. Because I will step into that ten directions realm before you. The armillary sphere's power diminishes with each use. Now that I've acted, I have to keep you here. Or the opportunity will become even more elusive. Humph, if you had the cultivation of the Nine Heavens Peak and could evolve the universal stars and the myriad of purple subtlety arts to their limits, even a divine realm expert might not be able to break through. But as it stands, you should first look at your own cultivation. Moreover, I can sense that this armillary sphere is already at its last gasp. Heavens rule thunder. Since you're so eager to die, it'll let you and this treasured artifact of the demon clan be buried together in the sky above the demon plains. What? Want to subdue me, but don't dare to make a move? Are you really planning to subdue me with just words? Very well. Taking you down and then finding your true body all the effort will be worth it. Ha dash. If this Xian weapon could exert a tenth of its power, I would have no chance of winning. But luckily, Shang's strength is only at the Martial Grandmaster level, and the Armillary Sphere's aura is weak there should be a chance to break through. Purple Lightning? Little Ching, you're actually going to condense Purple Lightning? Do you want to perish? I was originally formed from the Qi of Ewood between Heaven and Earth. Purple lightning is just a part of my evolution. But as for your pitiful cultivation and that armillary sphere on its last legs, can you withstand my void heaven annihilation divine thunder? Shang. Primordial void. Void heaven annihilation divine thunder. Void heaven annihilation divine thunder, descend for me. 
that spear. It carries the annihilating power of purple lightning. Gee, what are you doing? Gee, what are you doing? Lord Shang, with your current strength and the state of the armillary sphere, you cannot withstand this void heaven annihilation divine thunder. Gee, whatever you're planning, stand back now. Get behind me. Gee, get out immediately. This is an order. Lord Shang, everyone, I'll go ahead first. Gee, come back to me. May I become a star in the sky from now on? To protect my monster clan for eternity. G. No, G. G. Come back. Lord G. Oh no. G. Martial Way Simulation, Dao transforms all things. Dao creates one. One creates two. Two creates three. Three creates things 11v. Thunder turns into a dragon. Now, not only will I take your true form, Little Ching, I will also refine you back into Tai with Chi. Little Ching, do you have any trump cards left? If not, obediently enter my armillary sphere. I got no strength left to gather purple thunder. Ugh. This is Empyrean Pavilion? Lord Shang, Lord Shang, are you okay? You, who are these people? Empyrean Pavilion, a human merchant guild. They're probably here to snatch Tang Jia too. Wait a minute. That is. Lord Shang, that's him. Miss Ching Luo, these are the monster race members from the skeleton mercenary group. Tang Jia is up there too. Is this the young man you mentioned, whose strength is unparalleled and who possesses an Xian artifact not inferior to the armillary sphere? It doesn't matter. Let's eliminate him first, then subdue little Ching. Today, no one will walk out of this starry domain of the armillary sphere alive. An artifact capable of causing such a heavenly phenomenon is no ordinary artifact. The binding power is lifted. That is, it actually revealed ancient golden script upon impact. Lord Shang. This, this is, a sacred object passed down through the monster race since ancient times. Incredible. Impossible. It's because thousands of years have passed, right? Seriously. Damn you. That last strike drained all my divine chi. Not good. The eternal evergreen has escaped. I'll go after it. They're severely weakened now. Attack. Capture Tang Jie. Understood. Kill them.
What? Two elders, come with me to battle. Yes. Yes. Everyone, be careful. The power of a ninth rank Xian weapon is unstoppable. Good opportunity. Thousand Blades Torrent. Courting death. Spring Heart Spirit Movement Kill. Trying to ambush me? What is this chk sik I'm not clean anymore. Fuck check CKHK. Scared into bird language. Brother, you're awesome. Luckily, I acted in time otherwise. You would have been minced meat. One nose left his. Damn it. How dare you mock me. Not only is the armillary sphere damaged, but everyone is also severely injured. Without the armillary sphere. As just a martial grandmaster monster, I have no hope of capturing the eternal evergreen tree anymore. This young lord saved you, yet you didn't even say thank you before running away. Little Wu, why is your friend so rude? It's all because this fexking bastard. Huh? It's all because of you. Die. Who do you think you are? In this heavenly martial realm, there has never been anyone who could decide my life or death, and there never will be. The aura of an ancient true dragon. Soul fusion technique. Ugh. Lord Shang. The winds and clouds rise att my command heaven and earth are under my control. Holy technique. So, it was ta coincidence that you used the holy technique earlier. Dragon soul o great wind and cloud palm. Lord Shang. It's always you. What? You've actually reverted to your ancestral form? Yo, I've been defeated by you twice this time. I'm here to reclaim my honor. Don't say I'm bullying you while you're injured. Moon step. So fast. Dragon soul moon step. Crescent moon slash. Retreat. Follow Lee's orders. Why? Go back first to protect Lord Shang. That great monster, Shang, couldn't be dead yet. Although you shattered his arm, utterly killing him is absolutely impossible in the current situation. Yo! I'm okay. Don't think you can escape. Ouch. Brother Mu you're so heartless. Watching me get captured without saving me. Don't look at me with that kind of gaze. Stop right there. Leave Tang Jia behind. Humph. It seems we can't keep this group of monsters here this time. Being with the monster race is actually safer. If I fall into the hands of the Empyrean Pavilion, that would be real trouble. Little darling, save me. Stop. Where's the monster race's warship? Where's Tang Jia? They escaped. Let's head back to the warship first. No wonder he's the cousin of the titled Marshal Sovereign. His strength far exceeded my expectations. Everyone, what should we do now? These members of the monster race are not particularly strong, but that ninth rank Xian weapon is indeed hard to contend with. Now that they've escaped, it'll be even harder to capture Tang Jia next time. Causing such a commotion, we must have already become everyone's target. We can continue pursuing Tang Jia, but try to avoid further conflict and act low-key. Indeed, that's exactly what we should do. Or should we continue sneaking through the void? Qing Luo's strength is impressive, but her leadership skills are not as good as Shen Li's. 
No need. Now, almost all the cultivators in the demon planes already know of our existence. If we stay in the void, we might lose track of those from the monster race. Besides, not many people would dare to provoke us. The battle just now, with its earth-shaking power, deeply shook the hearts of all the cultivators in the demon planes. They've all started converging toward the place where it all happened. Old Freak Kong, that earth-shaking power. Even a martial sovereign might not possess it. If we go there now, wouldn't it be too dangerous? The power of a martial sovereign is not something you or I can fathom. Don't you think that the stronger the people who come, the more it proves that the appearance of Noah's Ark is likely? But we still need to survive to get it. The current situation has already exceeded my expectations. Enjoy yourselves, I'm heading back. Are you saying you're quitting? What, am I not allowed? Makes sense. Who would have thought this time it's all about the legendary Noah's Ark? Is such a divine object something we can even hope to touch? Luck is a fickle thing. It's simple, really. Each person has their own ambitions. Those who want to leave can leave, and those who want to stay can stay. Those who want to continue, stand by Zhou Chen. Those who want to go back, follow Kam Wu. That makes sense. Yeah, free to come and go. Since I've come this far, there's no way I'm going back without figuring things out. Even if I have to lay down my life in the demon planes, at least I'll die for the Noah's Ark, and it'll be a worthy death. Zochen takes his leave. I wish you success in finding the Noah's Ark and ruling the heavenly martial realm. Don't forget me when the time comes, haha. <laughs> ah. Everyone, since we're here, let's contribute a little. That Noah's Ark really might appear. So dash. Soul Devouring Banner. Who are you? Killing people, what is your intention? He he. All of you are quite strong, there is no need to be so hesitant. We were actually hoping to ask you for a little favor. Our strength is low, we really can't be of any help to this lord. We were just about to retreat from the demon planes we hope the lord understands. Zhou Chen, do you know these five people? Okan Wu from the Thunderfire Palace? If I'd known that the lords had also descended upon the demon planes, I, this worthless one, wouldn't have come here to embarrass myself. I might as well leave with Kang Wu right now. Zhou Chen isn't someone to be trifled with who are these five people that make him so servile. Since you're here, contribute to the emergence of the Noah's Ark. Originally, we wouldn't have needed you, but that earth-shaking power just now was too terrifying. My fellow brothers and I discussed it, and it's better to have you help us. What use could we, these lowly ones, possibly have? The lords overestimate us. If it really can't be helped, let my few friends stay to help you, and let me leave alone. Hey, old Zo. Shoo. Shut up. That's the soul-devouring banner. Soul. Soul-devouring. Banner. Don't worry, even a pair of underpants has its uses. Besides, making use of waste is what we're best at. One of the seven major forces, the soul-devouring sect. The most mysterious and terrifying sect. As famous as the Thousand Stars Valley in the western region, the soul-devouring sect. The soul-devouring sect which extracts the souls of the living, whether they are monsters or humans, has taken countless souls. Such a vicious and evil sect has long caused public outrage. The Holy Region has indeed launched many strikes against the soul-devouring sect over the past tens of thousands of years. Especially the large-scale campaign thousands of years ago that nearly wiped out the entire soul-devouring sect. But later, a formidable leader from the soul-devouring sect emerged, leading the remaining forces in a counterattack, bringing chaos and bloodshed to the entire continent. Since that incident, the soul-devouring sect has become more low-key and has had very little contact with other sects. Even when they extract souls, they do so moderately to avoid causing too much anger across the continent. Lord, we have no grievances with each other. Peace is most valuable. Ah. Ah, humph, 
Don't worry, everyone will have their turn. Ah. Ah. Contribute to the capture of the Noah's Ark for us. Ah. 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 Even if I perish, I will never dot let you succeed. He killed him. Ha ha. You want to extract my soul. Keep dreaming. Ha ha ha. TCH. The strongest one has wasted. All right, next batch. Everyone, detonate your life-bound Xian weapons together. We fight. We fight to the death. It's better to die than to become a soul slave. Kill one and we're even. Oh no, the barrier is about to collapse. Useless. Even without the barrier, the four of you as martial supremes should be able to suppress them. You're all elite disciples of the sect. Don't lose your nerve just because they are getting aggressive. Keep the defensive chi up. My process of soul extraction must not be disturbed. Yes, sir. What? So many martial emperors sacrificed. And we didn't take a single one with us? The souls of the martial supremes are now in my hands. Next patch. With your meager cultivations, being sacrificed to refine my soul-devouring banner is an honor. All of you should brag about it in your next life. Ha ha. Congratulations, senior brother, for absorbing so many cultivators, including two martial supremes. This soul-devouring banner is probably close to reaching the ninth rank. No need to flatter me. There are still many strong people here in the Demon Plains. Feel free to extract some souls to refine your own soul-devouring banners. By the way, senior brother, there's a place nearby called Lightsong Forest. It's filled with the most wicked and evil criminals, people who wouldn't hesitate to kill. When we're done with our sex mission, how about we take a trip there? Oh? Uh, there is a place like that? All right. As one of the seven major forces, our soul-devouring sect has a duty to punish evil and uphold justice. What you say is absolutely correct, senior brother. With this soul-devouring banner, we might not yet be able to counter the earth-shaking power from earlier, but it gives us a little more assurance. Let's hurry over. The marks we placed on those people seem to have found something. Five element soul-devouring rats? Disgusting creatures. Senior brother, look. Why are there more and more of them? Don't bother with these pests. What? These rats can fly? What's going on? Run. At that moment, not only the five members of the soul-devouring sect, but all the forces in the demon plains were attacked by the five element soul-devouring rats. Wherever there were humans, the rats would appear and attack. What's happening? These rats seem to have gone mad. Lady Ching Luo, do we still have enough primordial stones on the warship? If we can't hold the barrier. Go find Li Yunxiao, he might have a way. No need. With such a big event happening, how could I leave you ladies to face it alone? L. Lord Li Yunxiao. How is Mu Wu's seal holding up? That seal is very strange. I can't quite figure it out. Looks like we'll need to find the monster named Li. When you fought with her earlier, the seal had almost completely loosened. 
but now it's gradually restoring. Lord Yunxiao, do you know what's going on with these spirit-devouring rats? They look like we killed their whole family. Their eyes are filled with hatred and madness, as if they want to tear us apart. Well then, let's charge through. Who knows how many of these rats there are, and the worst part is we don't know the reason for their frenzy. If it's just this patch of sky, we'll be safe once we break through. Shen Li, unleash the spectral strike and carve a path. Yes. Lady Qing Luo. It's bad news. The remaining primordial stones can only maintain the barrier for half an hour. What? Such an important mission, and we didn't bring enough primordial stones? That's unforgivable. All right, go ahead. Lady Qing Luo, the warship had more than enough primordial stones, but the journey through the void consumed a great deal. And the attacks from these spirit rats are penetrating everywhere, severely weakening the barrier. If everyone contributes their primordial stones, it should be enough. What's he doing? Thousand Steel Blade Twist Iron Curtain Blood Slaughter Huff! I have about the time of a cup of tea left before I lose my strength. While I still have power, I'll open a path to reduce the strain on the barrier. Good. If we keep sending experts to clear the rats, the barrier will hold for much longer. Hey, rookies. Do you expect us women to handle such a disgusting task? What? Lady Ching Luo is right. Such filthy tasks should be done by us men. Manifestation 1009 Young Master Yunxiao, what's going on? Your Xian weapon seems to have met its match. It's been suppressed. With that previous strike, almost all the spiritual qi was drained out. Is this all the power this realm has? Did you just run into a martial sovereign? It was a super rank Xian weapon. The Noah's Ark? It's real. And you fought against it? As expected. Wait, are you serious? You always trigger events in the heavenly martial realm that weren't there before. The spiritual chi is so thin, it feels like when we were at the dead monument. Looks like we'll have to return to Yinwu City. Or, we could visit the nearby Biming Dark Palace in the northern region and borrow their spirit spring eye. To nourish the world god monument. The Biming Dark Palace is one of the seven major forces. Young Master Yunxiao, we should head back to Yinwa City. The Divine Soul Expansion Technique. In the Tiandang Mountains. Inside the World God Monument, the Divine Mantra of the Greater World. The Mysterious Passage of Mount Sumeru. And that Super Rank Xian Artifact of the Monster Race Leader. Not so far, I've only seen those ancient characters in these five places. You go borrow it yourself, I'm out of here. Stealing from the seven major forces? You've got to be out of your mind. Whether it's these places or the Xi'an artifacts, they are all overwhelmingly complex and hard to understand. But each ancient character contains immeasurable power of supreme rules with immeasurable might. Although I can truly use fewer than 10 golden ancient characters, I have memorized 366 of them in my mind. If I could understand their full meaning, then dash at a certain place in the demon plains. Huff. Who could have hurt you like this? Little Ching. The Rat Empress. I need your help. The Empress of the Five Elements Soul Devouring Rats. Help you get revenge? Among the martial artists who have come to the Demon Plains this time, those from the monster race are a great threat to me. Moreover, their target is my true form, the Eternal Evergreen Tree, and I'm sure you know the seriousness of that. I do know. Without the nourishment of your true form, this Demon Plains could never have become a paradise for my children. Not only your enemies, but it seems enemies specifically targeting my tribe have also infiltrated. Now among the five elements Rat Kings, only the Water Rat King remains. The others have mysteriously disappeared. Haha. <laughs> Some people are really blind. 
There are people who dare to provoke the five elements soul-devouring rats who have existed in this demon plains for countless years. Rat Empress, you've been quiet for so long that people think you're a sick rat, haha. <laughs> How is the seal breaking going? Not good. Even though I sacrificed countless of my children, I still haven't found the key to breaking it. I truly wonder what kind of otherworldly figure laid down this seal back then. TSK, I've encountered those in the Ten Directions Divine Realm before, but in zero these thousands of years, that person remains peerless. What he sealed under my true form is undoubtedly at least a pseudo-divine artifact. Could the large influx of martial artists into the demon plains this time be related to that pseudo-divine artifact? Maybe it's because of the constant attempts we've made to break the seal over the past few thousand years, causing the power within to leak and be noticed by others? Rat Empress, do you really think our strength can shake that seal? The leakage of this power must have been deliberately arranged by that person. It's through this power's influence that you gained your intelligence, and I was able to take human form. I fear that the events of today were already planned by that person thousands of years ago. What? Divine objects have their destined owners. We've gained so much benefit over the years for free, and that's already worth it. Don't covet what is beyond our strength otherwise, even you and I might end up disappearing or perishing. I know you're not willing to accept that. But neither am I, but after all these years of trying and failing, do you really think this thing is meant for you and me? Also, how is Halion doing? I've led him toward the illusory water mirror realm. If he gains enough insight, he should be able to break through to the Nine Heavens Sovereign Realm. You must ensure he breaks through to the Nine Heavens Realm. When he condenses the rules in the water mirror realm and gathers Sovereign Chi, it will benefit both you and me greatly. What's that kid doing? Should we make a move now? Ouyang Chi, Vice Captain of the Storm Mercenary Group, 8 Star Marshal Supreme. Zheng Yunfeng, Vice Captain of the Storm Mercenary Group, 8 Star Marshal Supreme. This kid is now filled with the power of rules. Every move he makes is in harmony with the way of heaven. If we act rashly now, we might end up like Wang Jing, easily killed by him. Chen Chuan Jio, Captain of the Storm Mercenary Group, Nine Star Marshal Supreme. I won't die as easily as he did. Are we just going to let him be? Is he really slowly refining the rules, eventually becoming a Marshal Sovereign? Do you think becoming a Marshal Sovereign is as easy as eating? Just one bite after another? A Marshal Sovereign's strength allows them to use the rules of heaven and earth as they wish. Every move they make is governed by the laws of this world. Aside from immense accumulation, the most crucial thing is insight. It's because my understanding of the rules isn't as deep as his that I may be stuck at this realm forever. So in this light song forest, no one can enter the nine heavens realm. Is he really comprehending heaven and earth, or is he just acting foolish? Who knows? But this brat's level of insight is definitely higher than mine. Who knows what he's up to? Although I haven't personally reached that realm of understanding, just now, Halion truly fused with the rules of heaven and earth. That demon snake may have seen him, but it didn't treat him as a martial artist. Instead, it saw him as part of nature. Where the Tao exists, one becomes all things. It's the law of heaven and earth it's meant to be that way. That's why it didn't sense anything wrong and just moved past him. Now's the time. Universal Rotation, Yin Yang Emperor Fist. Jade Frost Miasma. Phantom Jade Slash Is he dead? There's no sign of life at all. He might really be dead. After all, the three of us struck him together. 
Even a real martial sovereign couldn't survive that. Hmm? That's... The Soul Guard battle armor. It was a gift from his master. A battle armor refined by vanquisher martial sovereign Gu Feiyang. To save those two wretched beasts, he actually discarded the Soul Guard battle armor. Foolish, haha. Too bad it's already ruined from our combined attack. What a waste. Wait dash. Haolian actually managed to escape from here. We must kill him this time, or it will be dangerous. Still have to crawl through this hole. Huh? Vice Captain Ouyang, don't be nervous. When you're asleep, you'll never have anything to fear. Vice Captain Ouyang, don't be nervous. Once you fall asleep, you'll never have anything to fear. Ugh. Ugh. Damn it. Such a stupid way to die. Everyone. Everyone. Haolian. Haolian is here. Here, here, he's here. Why you? You could be considered a man of honor. Today, my head has really been messed up. To save the two of you, I even lost the soul guard armor my master left me. That was the only thing my master left behind as a memento. If I had known, I wouldn't have bothered comprehending these ridiculous rules of the heavens and earth. Who needs to become a martial sovereign anyway? Chin Chuanjiu. When I become a martial sovereign, the first thing I'll do is sacrifice you to the heavens. Stop. Haolian. Let's see where you run this time. Humph. This. What's going on? You beasts, all of you die. Haolian. If you're brave enough, stop running. I can't sense his location anymore. Damn it. How is that kid able to summon spirit rats? How did he do that? We fought for so many years, and I never knew? He must be over there. That area seems strange. The spiritual chi along the way is getting thicker as we follow him. And in that direction, the spiritual chi is even more intense. It should be where that kid is headed. Let's go. Has something happened to the Rat King? What's going on with these spirit rats? Haolian is being chased. Should I save him or not? Never mind, heaven hasn't told me to save him, I shouldn't go against fate. Better see how the other guilds are doing. Especially the Empyrean Pavilion, we need to build better relations with them to solve the singlehood problem of us older guys. Ha. Hmm. All right. Just drinking a few bottles of blood and his arm grows back. What a terrifying technique. So bitter. Lord Lee, how long can you keep that war drum going? Don't worry. I'm not forcibly using sound waves to repel them. I've just captured the frequency of the sound waves that these rats fear the most, so it doesn't take much chi. What worries me is that in our current state, we won't be able to retrieve the eternal evergreen tree at all. What should we do next? We've been together for a while now. From my observation, you all don't seem to be part of the Star Moon Illusion realm. What are you trying to say? What I'm saying is, since you all aren't from the Star Moon Illusion realm, it seems you're homeless in this situation. Why not join my four extreme sect? With my status and position, I definitely won't let your talents go to waste. Follow you and your guild to do business? You all might not understand the situation in the Merchant Alliance. The strength of the Merchant Alliance is no less than those of the major forces, and my four extreme sect is the best of the Alliance. If I had your help, uniting the Merchant Alliance one day, surpassing the seven major forces, and becoming as powerful as the Holy Region or the Sea of Transformation is entirely possible. So, the four extreme sect has such grand ambitions. What's wrong with ambition? Which power in the Merchant Alliance doesn't want to be on top? You all have the strength, and if you're willing to assist me, this Tianwu realm will be ours in the future. 
I don't want the Tian Wu realm. I just want you, cutie. Stay away from me. Keep messing around and 12L kill you. So, what now? Let's find a place to rest, and once everyone's recovered, we'll figure things out. My strength isn't enough yet. Should I do it now? The blood of a Nine Heavens Realm Marshal Sovereign? You, could it be that what you drank just now was also? No, the blood of a Nine Heavens Marshal Sovereign is only in this one bottle, and it's the essence of the blood. It took the blood of an entire Nine Heavens Realm powerhouse to refine just this small bottle. Blood essence must be extracted from live blood. Which means that the blood in Yu's hands was extracted from a living martial sovereign. This blood. It's my master's blood. In that case, let's save it for now. Your body isn't ready to handle the impact of such blood. It might backfire. Wait for the perfect moment to use it, so you don't waste your master's hopes. Actually, you could try tasting his blood. Lord Shang, you're awake. His body contains the essence of our monster race's mother source. Drinking his blood might bring unexpected results. Are you kidding me? I'm not ready for this kind of play. Aren't you afraid my blood will poison you? Huh? Just now, you teamed up with the enemy to fight against us. We haven't settled that score yet. Huh? Ah. Don't kill him, we can keep him alive and slowly drain his blood later. You, is that the Shu and Kong needle? Indeed. It draws out their essence along with their blood, but the quality will never match what it was before. If this person no longer has any use, we can just turn it into a pill. Even with just the strength of a martial emperor, the pills refined from them would still be valuable. It's about time. What do you think? Hmm. You, you're smart. You understand how to harness the strong bodies of our monster race to absorb the essence of blood, refining your cultivation and physical strength. However, over time, blood poisons accumulate in the body. But this person carries the aura of the primordial mother. It could help you purify yourself, cleanse your marrow, and reshape your body. Damn it. You people are crazy. Just how powerful will you become? I'm truly looking forward to it. The primordial mother, known as the progenitor of all monster race? It seems the sound waves from the war drums were too much for them to handle. Even the spirit rats didn't dare pursue us. What terrifying mastery of sound waves. To be able to control the frequency so precisely. These monster people are truly terrifying. You, are you ready? It's done. Hmm. Fu, do you notice anything different? No. I can't tell what changed. Lord Sean, what should we do next? The armillary sphere is damaged. Does anyone in this world still know how to repair a super rank artifact? Hmm. About 20 years ago, there was a peerless martial sovereign named Gu Feiyang. He forged an unparalleled sword, rumored to be of Super Rank Xian weapon. But not many recognized it, and I also found it hard to believe. To think someone could still refine such a thing. Where is Gu Feiyang now? He's dead. Then why bring him up if he's dead? Did he leave behind any disciples? Gu Feiyang reached the pinnacle in both martial arts and alchemy, but in terms of disciples, he only had one in the alchemy. Currently, that disciple is only at the seventh rank, even weaker than me. The armillary sphere, that mysterious stone monument, and Noah's Ark. How could three super rank artifacts appear in the same era? Could it be that the heavens are about to undergo a great change, and we are merely pawns of fate, born at the right time? So, we can't rely on any of them. Yes. It seems so. What? Throughout history, the only recorded super rank artifact is Noah's Ark. And the Yang Key is in my possession. 
but from what he says, two more have appeared. If the monster race has a treasure passed down through the ages that humans don't know about, that would make sense. But that Li Yunxiao. Not only does he carry multiple 9th rank Xian weapons, he even possesses a super rank artifact? How is that possible? For years, people have dreamed of obtaining such a peerless treasure, and now three of them are here, right in this demon plains. This news is too shocking. If it spreads, the entire Tianwu realm will descend into chaos. We must keep this secret. We can only secretly find someone to kill Li Yunxiao and claim it for ourselves. And the armillary sphere of the monster race. That must be mine as well. With the Yang Qi in my possession, once Noah's Ark is unlocked, I will have control of three super rank artifacts. I'll lead the Empyrean Pavilion, unify the Tian Wu realm. Neither the seven major forces, the Holy Region, the Divine Capital, Sea of Transformation, nor even the Four Seas will stand against me. He 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 he. Huh? What? Why are you all staring at me? There's nothing strange on my face, right? Ruling the world with three super rank artifacts in hand would feel pretty good, wouldn't it? Am I right? Ah. Uh, how? How did you know what I was thinking? No. 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 Om. Om. I wasn't thinking that at all. Hey, don't be so nervous. I like ambitious young men. Obtaining just one super rank artifact would already be a miracle. Who would dare dream of three? We've made up our minds. We're planning to join the four extreme sect and assist you. Why you're not joking, are you? Why would we? Our strength has been severely depleted. We need your help. It's mutually beneficial. We'll help you realize your ambitions, and you provide us with the materials we need to restore our strength. How about that? Ah, uh, I see now. You've taken a liking to the resources of the four extreme sect and want a strong backer to recover your power, right? No problem. As long as you pledge allegiance to me and obey my commands. If it exists in this world, whatever you need, I'll get it for you. Then, first, I'll need some Tai Q1. A 10 revolution soul refining pill. The heavenly soul nirvana sword grass. And for me, some upper purity violet god pills and jade purity earth restoring water for beauty treatments, of course. Noah's Ark. The rest. I'll let you know when I think of it. You sure know how to joke. We're not joking. If you can't provide these, we'll have to ask you to submit to our wool for now. Huh? I'll place a little restriction on you. It won't hurt, I promise. Every other day, if I don't release the technique, you'll experience some interesting sensations. But trust me, it really won't hurt. You'll feel it soon. You. You dash. Since this is a mutually beneficial partnership, we should be honest with each other. What are you trying to pull? Don't get upset, little brother. You'll understand soon enough. Ah, itchy, itchy. What did you do to me, you monster witch? Don't worry. The itching will subside shortly. Ah, it really doesn't itch anymore. But, why is it so cold now? So cold, cold. Cold. No, hot. It's so hot. Hot, hot, hot. Did you just put the seven calamity seal on him? As expected from the grand priest. That's right, this is the seven calamity seal. Even among the monster race, those who know this technique are extremely rare. It inflicts the pain of seven deaths and seven lives. He's only felt three so far. Half an hour later. Little brother, all done. You're fine now. Get up. The seven calamities seal only affects your senses. It won't harm your cultivation. Stop pretending to be dead. Now that you've endured the torment, you're one of us. Monster woman. Monster woman. 
The seven calamities seal must be reinforced daily, or you'll cycle through those sensations endlessly until you die. You've experienced it now. Since you're one of us, let's get started. First, help us acquire the eternal evergreen tree. I'm just a peak martial emperor. How could I possibly help you get the tree? What? All those strange sensations. Felt earlier. They're completely gone? If I'm not mistaken, your four extremes sect must have also entered this demon plains. As the young master of the four extremes sect, you surely have a way to contact them, right? Then you can lead them to us. Our chances of obtaining the divine tree are quite high. This way, they'll completely control me, and the entire four extreme sect will fall into their hands. You don't seem very enthusiastic. It's like you don't consider us friends. The Empyrean Pavilion's warships will catch up soon, but right now, they're being delayed by those spirit rats. If we're not friends, we'll just hand you over to the Empyrean Pavilion. All right, we're friends. The signal's already been sent. The nearest four extreme sect members should receive it. Good. I like obedient friends. Lord Shang, shall we stop here and wait for them? With my current power, I can wipe them all out and take that super rank artifact. You, I don't want to take any more risks. My poor decision earlier cost GE's life and damaged the armillary sphere. We've lost too much strength. Until we're fully recovered, we must act cautiously. As for the Empyrean Pavilion. Hey, this is just an internal struggle within their alliance. Why should we interfere? Isn't that right, friend? Lord Shang, once I help you, I hope you'll remove my seal and grant me freedom. Of course, of course. Lee, look at you, scaring our friend like that. Don't worry, young Master Tang. Once we acquire the Eternal Evergreen Tree, I'll personally release your seal. Let's move out. First, we'll slaughter those monsters and capture Tang Jia to obtain the Yan Ki. As long as we get the Yan Ki, at least we'll have taken the initiative and secured an invincible position. Let's gather our forces and charge forward. No. Lady Ching Luo, haven't you noticed that the speed of their warships has significantly slowed down compared to before? Are you saying they've run out of strength and might be overwhelmed by the rat tide at any moment so we can just sit back and wait? No. I mean they seem to be acting fearless. Look at the distance growing between the spirit rats and the war drums. It's very likely that those great monsters have recovered their strength and are waiting to fight us. We should maintain a certain distance. Plus, Tang Jie is at the center of the storm the sooner we approach, the more dangerous it gets. It's the Four Extreme Sect. Could it be that the Four Extreme Sect has a way to track Tang Jia? First, stop the warship. Stop the warship in midair. Young Master Yun, didn't you say that those great monsters have regained their strength? Now that the people from the Four Extreme Sect are saving Tang Jia, there's bound to be a fierce battle. Wouldn't it be a great opportunity for us to take advantage? If the four extreme sect had a way to track Tang Jie, they would have caught up with him already. They must have been summoned by Tang Jie. And with Tang Jie under the control of the great monsters, they must have reached some kind of agreement. That's why the warship slowed down, to wait for the four extreme sect people. Look, is that Tang Jie's summoned reinforcement? What's wrong? Dan Yangza? Why are you here? Where's Zin Feiyu? Why didn't he come? Young master, what's with this outfit of yours? The hobbies of wealthy heirs are truly incomprehensible to this old man. The ninth young master had other matters to attend to, so he sent Zin Feiyu instead. I was sent to the monster plains to rescue the young master. Ridiculous. Zin Feiyu is my man. How could Tang Xian command him? You old dog, how dare you deceive me? Do you realize this is a crime punishable by death? This time I've come under the ninth young master's orders to rescue you. 
Ying Feiyu has already sworn loyalty to the ninth young master. You can ask him when you return. Young master, what about the Yang Qi? Before I left, the ninth young master repeatedly reminded me that the Yang Qi is of utmost importance and it must not be lost. Why don't you let me take a look at it first so I can report back to the ninth young master? You old dog. Are you saying that without the Yang Qi, I'm no longer your master? Of course not. Although I report directly to the ninth young master, you are also a young master. Very well. Dan Yangzi, kill all those people from the Empyrean Pavilion. They dared to disrespect me earlier. He he he. Young master, I can only guarantee your safety. As for your dignity, you'll have to reclaim that yourself and become a real man. You old dog, are you lecturing me? I'm a seven-star Marshal Supreme. Wherever I go, I am revered by all. And you dare to call me an old dog? Ugh. Young master, do you know what I want to do the most right now? I want to rip out your tongue first. See? This is the benefit of being friends with us. Just a mere martial grandmaster, seeking death. Look at the mess this mere martial grandmaster has caused. A mere monster dares to. What? What is this? Ah. It's so itchy. So itchy. What's happening? Some underhanded techniques I learned back in the day, just for fun. Never thought they'd be of great use now. Itchy. So itchy. Well done. These are different times. Everything has changed. Otherwise, why would we need such deceit? Young Master Tang, this man is a seven-star martial supreme. He might still be of use to us. Ha ha ha, Dan Yangza, I told you that you're just an old dog. What? You still don't accept it? Who exactly are these people? It itches. So itchy. It's killing me. With me, the eldest son of the Tang family and the rightful heir to the Four Extremes sect here, how dare you represent the Four Extremes sect? It seems my ninth brother has quite the ambition. When I return, I'll have to teach him the proper way to be a younger brother. A lofty seven-star Marshal Supreme, and yet he's falling apart with every blow? Now even his dignity is shattered on the ground. So itchy. Itchy. Old dog, do you surrender now? I surrender, young master. Please spare me or kill me. I won't dare oppose you again. Humph, killing you would be too easy. I'll keep you around, you old dog, as you still have your uses. Now, tell me, is it true that Yan Feiyu has pledged his loyalty to Tang Xian? It's true, the ninth young master. He doesn't deserve to be called young master. Call him by name. Yes, yes. Tang Xian promised to find Ying Feiyu the heavenly soul Nirvana sword grass, which is why he swore his loyalty. Humph, the heavenly soul Nirvana sword grass? Do you think I'm a fool? That's a peak ninth rank spiritual herb, containing unparalleled sword intent. Even the four extremes sect can't easily acquire it. Where would Tang Xian get such power? Ying Feiyu isn't a fool. Why would he believe it? Because Tang Xian has gained the support of the Yu family and seems to have signed some secret agreement with them. What? He? He's colluded with the Yu family? Do you have any evidence? I'm just a seven-star Marshal Supreme. I have no right to be involved in those secret agreements. How would I have any evidence? Even if you tell the sect master, he won't believe you. Instead, he'll think you're stirring up trouble. The Yu family is the second most powerful family in the four extremes sect after the Tang family. For centuries, the sect master has always been chosen from either the Tang or Yu family. The Yu family has been in decline for hundreds of years, unable to produce any outstanding successors. It was thought they were gradually falling into ruin. But to think Tang Xian would dare collude with them, truly audacious. We'll resolve this one thing at a time. Don't forget, you have friends like us. 
Let's deal with the disputes on the demon planes first. Indeed, Lord Shang is right. If these monster race individuals can be used by us, even if we can't yet contend with the Yu family, we won't be far behind. Those who pledge their loyalty to me now will receive the highest honors. Those who don't, I'll kill their entire family, exterminate nine generations. We swear loyalty to the eldest young master. We swear loyalty to the eldest young master. Tang Xian, that traitor is ingrate. Tang Xian, I curse your ancestors for 18 generations. They're from the same family, are you crazy? Eh? Then. Just kill Tang Xian. Lord Shang, the Empyrean Pavilion's warship is still relentlessly pursuing us. Should we fight or flee? Say something. All right. Since everyone wants to fight, then let's fight. Everyone, get ready to fire at the Empyrean Pavilion's warship. Yes, sir. So it turns out that the Four Extreme Sect is going to make a move against us. Lord Li Yunchao, they are indeed planning to attack us. What should we do? The downside of this spectral warship is its sluggishness it can only stay here, passively taking hits. In that case, it's turning into a battle of attrition. Although the World God Monument looks lifeless, it can still be controlled freely at close range. Moreover, with the immense gravity from the rhythm of the Earth's soil inside, we should have enough confidence to crush their spectral warship directly. Why don't we go on the offensive and charge at them? As long as we get close enough, I'm confident I can destroy their warship. Let's go with your plan. Everyone, listen up. Use all the primordial stones, don't worry about the chi consumption. Once we win, we'll seize their reserves. Yes. Understood. That great monster leader named Shang is severely wounded, and his Xian artifact is damaged. The remaining four great monsters... Li has been using her war drums to isolate the five element soul devouring spirit rats, but it's drained her, and she's no longer a threat. As for the other two, along with you dash. We'll take care of that yo. Ching Luo seems to think you, who lost an arm to me earlier, is the easiest to deal with, assuming he's just a lackey. Let the matter of you be handled by the experts of the Empyrean Pavilion. I'll handle one of the other two great monsters myself. The other one. We'll be left to. We'll take care of the other one. Young master. Our strength can only hold off one great monster we can't handle more than that. I understand. Lady Ching Luo, if I manage to sink their warship, do you think you can handle the remaining experts from Four Extreme Sect? I don't have any intel on which experts from Four Extreme Sect are here. But since I've already picked you, the easiest target, and I have so many experts here. We'll give it our best shot. With the current strength of Empyrean Pavilion, the best outcome we can hope for is mutual destruction. I just didn't expect Yi Fan to have the confidence to take on a great monster. It seems the Holy Fire Temple's inheritance from Yi Nantian comes with a few trump cards, after all. Full speed ahead. Maximize all attack and defense arrays. This is a fight to the death. You trash from Empyrean Pavilion. Weren't you all trying to capture this young master? This young master is right here today, and I want to see what you can do. Today, I will sit right here, not moving an inch or lifting a finger. With just a laugh. I'll watch you all turn to ashes. If I move even a step today, I'll eat this spectral warship right in front of you. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Hmm? All right. Let's see if you are a man of your word. What? It's that super rank artifact that crushed the armillary sphere. Although the chi isn't as overwhelming as before, it still contains immense gravity. Not good. Run. We need to leave. 
It really is a super rank artifact. This immense gravity, containing the rhythm of the Earth's soil, is unstoppable. The bragging I just did. It's better to be humiliated than killed. Damn it. Everyone below Martial Emperor level is dead. The World God Monument is deteriorating rapidly. Attack. Launch a full-scale assault on the experts from 4 Extreme Sect. Foo. Got it. Every use of the 9 rank Xian weapon consumes a huge amount of qi, so I have to make sure every strike hits. Ha! Stop him. He's going to destroy the warship. It's too late. Embracing Shadow's ultimate hunt. I must admit, it's better to stand and take a hit than fall. He first used a technique to bind the warship, ensuring a direct hit. With this strike dash, the warship is immobilized. Block the attack, quickly. Your warship is doomed. I'll handle this. Young master. Young master. I'll stop him. And sovereign rank marshal will pill? Yo, go support Fu. If you encounter danger, bring him back immediately. Understood. A martial will pill can only refine beings of a lower realm unless a divine realm expert intervenes. Otherwise, how could there be a sovereign rank martial will pill in this world? This pseudo sovereign rank martial will pill, at its essence, is still sovereign rank. It's just been forcibly infused with immense nine heavens sovereign chi. This treasure, passed down for thousands of years, will finally be consumed in my hands. But, it's all worth it to retrieve the Noah's Ark. Yi Nantian must have advanced far beyond the level of my previous life. At least I could never refine a martial will pill of this level. No matter what trump cards the enemy holds, I must strike with everything I've got. Shadow Strike Thousand Blade Slash Alright. Since you're so determined to die. I'll pierce through you and your warship in one strike. Lord Fu. Young Master. Lord Fu. Are you alright? Ugh. Young Master. Young Master. Young Master. Let us help you back to the warship to rest. Such immense power. Enough to severely injure Fu, a sovereign rank marshal will pill. How could something so terrifying actually exist? That last blow. If that kid hadn't intervened, there's no way the warship would have survived. Lady Ching Luo, it's your turn now. Don't let you escape. A low-level martial emperor who will take him down. Lady Ching Luo, leave him to me. Yu's cultivation seems slightly below mine, and he's carrying someone. I'm 90% confident he can take him down. Lady Ching Luo, it might be better if you and a few Martial Supremes together. It would be a safer approach. If we take on a Martial Emperor, who will handle the elites of the Four Extreme Sect? Monster, you're not getting away. Great Pineapple Palm. Die old hag. Ah. What? What just happened? He didn't even use a hint of chi with that punch, but the sheer force of his physical strength instantly annihilated an eight-star martial emperor. What is going on? How did he become so strong in such a short time? Two elders, who will act? Lady Ching Luo, if we lose another martial supreme, we're finished. Two Martial Supreme Elders attack together. Humph. Young Master, those two old women are powerful. Mr. Yu might be in serious danger. Should I take care of them? Lord Shang? Hee hee. 
No need to worry. Monster boy, cease your resistance. Surrender and return with us to face your punishment. Martial Supreme Domain Time weaves through like a shuttle. You, you can go ahead. Don't worry about me. It's nothing, just a bunch of small fry. Ha! Seeking death. Monster boy, die. Where did he go? An illusion? An illusion capable of instantly entrapping two martial supremes. How is this possible? Could he be a high rank alchemist? Stop. Shimmering clouds, vanishing mist. Ripple dash. What? Even I couldn't see through you's illusion. It's clearly much more refined than before. He hasn't just strengthened his body. His entire power has elevated. Skybreaker sword technique dash. Shattered sky strike. Damn it! This monster dash. Is he really only a martial emperor? How could a martial emperor possess such overwhelming strength? The stronger these monsters become, the greater my backing shall be. Lord Shang, can you truly refine a primordial vein and achieve the primordial body? You absorbed the primordial mother's aura from that twisted bloodline, so he has a decent chance of refining a primordial vein. If he can absorb a few more, he's guaranteed to succeed. That freak seems to have siblings who knows if they carry the primordial mother's aura as well. It's uncertain, but his chances are much higher than anyone else's. Once we recover to the peak of the Nine Heavens realm, we should visit the Death God Palace. Yu's talent is extraordinary, but it's unfortunate that he was born in this declining era for monsters. Otherwise, he would have become a truly great high priest. But with you, Li, by his side, he should be able to reach even greater heights. Recover to the peak of the Nine Heavens realm? Could these monsters have once been the pinnacle of existence? That's comparable to the top ten titled martial sovereigns and the leaders of the seven major forces of the human race. Damn it, Dash. Ugh. Lord Li Yunchao. Please get your two martial supremes to attack. I can't hold out any longer. Hmm? Weren't you the one who insisted on taking on you yourself? Even if you cry, you must defeat the opponent you agreed to fight. Change of plans. I want to leave this you to you. Young Master Yun, if something happens to Lady Ching Luo and the others, we're too weak to survive on our own. Hmm. Naturally. I can't just watch as Lady Ching Luo falls into danger. The rhythm of the earth's soil can settle the four seas, suppress mountains and rivers, and hinder the flow of the sword sea. Disperse for me. You finally arrived. I'll leave this matter to you help me save those two elders as well. It's you again. This feeling is getting stronger and stronger. If Li Yunchao isn't dead, he will become a huge threat. Soul entanglement. What strong soul power. It's already at the peak of the 8th rank. But, it's useless against me. Ancient Divine Eye You took Gu Yueshing's Ancient Divine Eye. I Technique Barrier. Golden Ancient Characters Even with the Ancient Divine Eye, what can you do to me? The Purple Wave rushes forward. Divine Eve Arts Stellar Shift I never thought I could overpower you. I was just distracting you to free these two old ladies. Sixth rank soul power, using the ancient divine eye to shift space. You're truly an extraordinary genius. Even Gu Feiyang back then wasn't as talented as you. Go back to warship. You're all just getting in the way. Why, not convinced? Convinced, I do indeed concede. So this time, I must kill you. Someone like you is too dangerous to let live. Purple Waves Rush 
My 8th rank soul power has locked the space. Let's see how you teleport now. I can't escape anymore. Your super rank artifact may suppress my sword C, but can you withstand my skybreaker sword technique? The power of this sword Chi is so strong that even martial supremes wouldn't dare take it head on. The enemy is too strong. We must retreat. W. Watt? Young Master Yun saved you, and now you're abandoning him? You naive brat, what do you know? We're preserving our strength for the next fight. If we all die, who will avenge him? You run if you want, but I'm not leaving. Kid, you're still too young. In this world, life is the most important thing. Young master, if you lose your life, all your ambitions and dreams will turn to dust. Let me ask you. If today I abandon my friends and flee, losing the heart of a warrior and giving rise to inner demons, how will I achieve the supreme martial way in the future? What talk of ambitions and dreams would there be? Ha ha, I am very pleased. Without the heart of a strong person, no matter how high your cultivation, you are no more than an ant, destined never to achieve the great Tao. What do children know about the great Tao? Young Master Yun. That's Dash. Demon Chi. Is that a battle armor refined with Demon Chi? Could it be there are still demons in this world? A demonic beast. What kind of beast is this? Could it be a new species? I sense a kind of artifact chi from it. Could it not be a beast, but a Xian artifact? You. You're the, the stone beast. Where did you get that makeover? I don't care how you change. You're just a mere seventh rank beast. How dare you act arrogant in front of me? Skybreaker sword technique, eleventh sword. Yeah. The Skybreaker Sword technique consists of 13 moves. And the 11th is the most powerful single target attack, second only to the 13th. It's also the strongest move you can currently unleash. That little diamond, made of 9th rank materials, was shattered by Yu's sword. That previous strike wasn't just the power of a 9th rank Xian artifact, but also contained that supreme sword intent. It really makes one feel eager for a battle. It seems that after the arm was reassembled, it was only mechanically pieced together and hasn't fully fused. The little diamond should have long surpassed the seventh rank, yet for some reason, it remained stuck at the seventh rank. Could it be that after becoming half beast, half artifact, its cultivation can no longer increase? What? What is that? To think that young Master Yun is this powerful. What is that stone block, a beast or a Xian artifact? This is... The rules of heaven? What's happening? It's clearly just a 7th rank beast, so why is it invoking the rules of heaven? Yeah. How can it use lightning with the power of the rules? Ripple Dash, Teleportation I get it now, this is what's going on. After becoming the Little Diamond, the Stone Beast has become a half-beast, half-artifact entity. If a Xian artifact wants to advance to the 8th rank, it must undergo a Lightning Tribulation. But inside the World God Monument, there is no Lightning, so although Little Diamond's aura long ago reached the 8th rank, it hasn't undergone the tempering of the lightning tribulation and thus can't comprehend the heavens or condense a domain. Now that little diamond has come outside the world god monument and is trying to break through to the 8th rank artifact. It directly invoked the heavenly lightning. It's not little diamond using the power of the rules, but the lightning tribulation tempering little diamond. So that's how it is. This lightning is the key for this stone beast's advancement, and it's dragging me along to endure the lightning tribulation with it. I'm not sure if the stone beast can withstand it, but I certainly have no confidence. As the heavenly might approached, you, on the contrary, began to calm down.
I can sense the surging power within that bottle of blood from that far away. Lightning Got's Diamond Fist Skybreaker Sword Technique 13th Illens This sword intent Eve Technique Phase Shift The backlash inside my body is starting to get violent. But at this moment, I must kill him first. Ugh. He. Are you so determined to kill me that you're ignoring the backlash in your body? You're indeed strong, but if you want to kill me, you're still not enough. And as for me, why wouldn't I want to finish you off as well? Inside the World God Monument. Little Wu. Transfer all your soul power to me. Are you crazy? Even if I give you everything, you still won't be able to handle him. Just do as I say. Sigh. I'm really sorry this time. I'll make it up to you later. Make it up to me, my ass. You damn fool. Beat the war drums. It's fight time. You coward. Double hammerhead. Monkey brow with crossed eyes. You dirty little jerk. You little brat. Damn fool. Mountain hick. You're just a troublemaker. Huh, you know so many dialects. Enough with the cursing, little Wu. If I die, this world god monument will lose its master, and you'll be left drifting in the void for endless years. In your long life, is it really worth being so petty over a few years of hardship with me? Skybreaker Sword Technique Life or Death, all decided in one move. Mountains and Rivers Call Drawn Support and Suppress the Mountains and Poirs Again with The Golden Ancient Characters Eleventh Snore I don't care how many sword moves you have, I refuse to believe you can cut through this Mountains and Rivers Cauldron. Six, this cauldron's power is boundless. It's far from being an ordinary ninth rank Xian weapon. Otherwise, there is no way it could swallow the sword light of my tail light sword. Are you standing there like a fool waiting to die? Just a little more. Just a little more and I could have completely obliterated you. Young Master Yun. Young Master Yun. You. You. Lord Shang. Cough. Cough. If Li Yunxiao isn't eliminated, it will be a catastrophe. For now, let's not worry about that and focus on healing, you. You has gathered the primordial veins. If that purple cauldron that appeared earlier really is a super rank weapon, then this kid carries two super rank weapons. This is definitely a heaven defying omen of disaster. It seems that when Li Yunxiao injured me, I truly can't say it wasn't justified. Now the only ones left on our side who can fight are Yi and Dan Yangza. If we lose them too, forget about searching for Noah's Ark in the Demon Plains. Surviving anyone's attacks in one piece will already be a big question. Lord Shang, should we fight or retreat? Shoo! There's an 8th rank demonic beast above, flying toward us. How is young Master Yun? He's probably suffering from soul damage. As long as his body is fine, he'll recover with some rest. Lady Qing Luo. It seems like something's happening in the sky. One of the two eighth-rank demonic beasts of the Demon Plains, the nine-winged spirit Snakebird. Lady Ching Luo, it seems like there's someone on the back of that beast. 
How could someone be riding on the back of an eighth-ranked demonic beast? Could it be a beast master? A beast master. Could it be? Captain of the Skeleton Mercenary Group, Shen Fong. Oh no. Mr. Yo, are you injured? Heavens are truly on my side. I never thought you'd be able to tame the nine-winged spirit snake bird on your own. Shen Fong. Lend me a hand. Of course, I also have some matters where I'll need your assistance, sir. Leave this matter to me. Inside, there's... Cough, cough. Someone named Li Yunchao. Cough, cough, cough. He must be killed. He cannot be allowed to live. Yo. Stay calm. As you wish. He's coming. We are from the Empyrean Pavilion. If you dare to kill us, there will be no place for you in the Tianwu continent. Yun. Young Master Yun? What do we do now? Hey. Young Master Yun. Get out of the way. Don't worry. This time, fortune smiles upon me again. Li Yunxiao. Stop pretending to be 50 Ku. Damn it. If it weren't for sensing my presence, would you still be this calm right now? Humph. The money sect? The young master of the money sect Qian Wudi. Li Yunxiao. I really want to smash that disgusting face of yours. Qian Wudi. Huh? So, you're finally showing up. He completely transformed into a different person. Young Lord of the Money Sect, don't listen to that kid's nonsense. The help you gave earlier, we will never forget. If Lord Zhang Hanja can drive away the enemy, there will be a great reward. This Li Yunchao dares to disrespect me. Li Yunchao. If I'm not mistaken, your soul power is exhausted right now. I'll help you fend off the enemy and give you a ninth rank heavenly soul grass in exchange for something you have. What do you say? Ninth rank spiritual herb, heavenly soul grass. This rare treasure that nourishes the soul, even for a nine heavens martial sovereign, is extremely scarce. Its value is beyond estimation. Oh, so that's what Qian Wudi is after. He, I understand now. That item isn't as valuable as the heavenly soul grass. But now, with the upcoming merchant alliance meetings, that item's value has skyrocketed. No matter what it is, just agree. Talking to smart people is such a relief. I came to the demon planes for two reasons. One, for the mysterious Noah's Ark, and two, to find you. Since you've already guessed what I want, there's no need to say it out loud, no need to let others hear. Just tell me, will you trade or not? Young master, if this kid has what you're after, I'll go and fetch it. Humph, just fetch it. Who do you think you are? Do you believe I won't toss it to Tang Jia right now? If he gets his hands on it, I'm sure he'll be thrilled. No. Answer me quickly. Why are you grinning? Do you agree or not? Give me a straightforward answer. Qian Wudi has already entered the Martial Emperor realm. If he consumes the seven constellation fruit and comprehends all the seven constellations realm's martial principles, he'll soon reach the peak of Martial Emperor. You need to agree. And with the money sex resources, it's highly possible he'll break through to Martial Supreme in no time. Especially with the Merchant Alliance meetings approaching, this seven constellation fruit has become incredibly important. If you don't trade, we're leaving now. No, 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 don't go. He agrees. I agree, but I want three heavenly soul grasses and ten billion mid-grade primordial stones. What? Li Yunxiao, don't anger the money sect. If they abandon us, we're doomed. Damn it. What kind of item could possibly command such an outrageous price? Li Yunxiao, don't go too far. Young Master Wudi is righteous and noble, saving us all. And you, what do you have that allows you to haggle like this? Your behavior is shameful. Shut that woman up. Hmm. 
Ah. Ah, Abba Baba. -ba -ba. A portion has already been paid, but the rest is too much. What you have, in normal times, wouldn't even be worth one heavenly soul grass. Besides, there aren't more than ten heavenly soul grasses in all of Tianwu continent. As for the primordial stones, I can give you one billion mid-grade ones. Humph. Times have changed. That item may not compare to the heavenly soul grass in normal times, but now. I believe if it were auctioned in Song Yeying City right now, it would easily double my offer. Li Yunchao, I'll meet your price. Give me the item. Even though I don't know what it is, it must be something that can drastically influence the Merchant Alliance meetings. Otherwise, Qian Wudi wouldn't be willing to suffer such a loss while remaining calm. Tang Jie, this has nothing to do with you. Very well, let's start the auction. Highest bidder wins. Li Yunchao, there's no choice. Market economy free trade. Don't forget, I just saved your life. Li Yunxiao, hand over the item and I'll spare your life today. Something feels increasingly wrong. Every time Li Yunxiao falls into a desperate situation, he always manages to turn the tide and the situation keeps shifting in his favor. Killing Li Yunxiao is more important than anything else. Shen Feng, kill Li Yunxiao now. All right. Zhang Hanja, save him. Ugh. Yes. Stop. This boy's life is under the protection of the money sect. Old fool, you have no sense. I don't care about the Merchant Alliance either. Li Yunchao, what are you hesitating about? There's only one heavenly soul grass. Even if I wanted to give you three, I couldn't. As for the ten billion mid-grade primordial stones, I can give you that but it will take time to gather them all. Breaking news. Since there's not enough heavenly soul grass, the price is now 20 billion mid-grade primordial stones. Breaking news. The latest price, one heavenly soul grass and 20 billion mid-grade primordial stones. I've never seen someone so shameless. Add 2 billion more. 12 billion mid-grade primordial stones. Not a penny more. If you don't trade, forget these four extreme sect losers, I'll kill you myself. Fine, but after the trade, you must ensure my safety. In truth, after surviving life and death together, we are already close battle comrades. If you wanted that item, you could have just asked, no need for a trade, it's too formal. Catch. So casually throwing it over. Confirmed, it's the essence of the seven constellation fruit. Why is it that after obtaining the seven constellation fruit from him, I don't feel any joy? There are one heavenly soul grass and one billion mid-grade primordial stones inside this. The rest of the stones will come later. I didn't bring that many with me. Hmm. Although the quality is slightly lacking, it's undoubtedly a ninth rank heavenly soul grass. Brother Qian, thank you. Please guard me. Since I promised to ensure your safety, there's no issue. And that face of yours, I want to stamp it with the bottom of my shoe. Could it be that this kid is planning to consume the spirit herb now? If the herb exerts even half of its medicinal power, this kid will probably die on the spot, right? With this kid's cultivation level, consuming it directly will surely cause his body to explode. Humph. Well, it saves me the trouble. Are you really going to eat it? This could be disastrous. You'll definitely explode, kid. Everyone makes a good point. Then let's go on an explosive journey. We failed to kill Li Yunxiao again. I want him to perish. What exactly did Li Yunxiao give to Qian Wudi? Why didn't he give it to me? Brother Tang, with the two Merchant Alliances conference just around the corner. You still have the leisure to wander around these demon plains. I truly admire your composure. I wonder how Tang Xian is doing. Will he be able to make a grand display on behalf of the four extreme sect? Tang Xian? Was it deliberate? Damn it. Li Yunxiao of 00. 
That worthless Tang Exian, how dare he represent the four extreme sect? There's no reason to stay here any longer. Young Master Tang, let's go. Humph. H.M.? Finally. Young Master Y. What a pity about that ninth rank spiritual herb. His body looks like it's about to explode. Young Master, perhaps we should leave some people here while we continue pursuing the four extreme sect. Young Master Yun. What's wrong? Chase the four extreme sect for what? Do you honestly believe in the Noah's Ark? If even a sliver of that rumor were true, this battlefield would be far beyond the likes of us. Ah, uh, I see. I need to go into seclusion and consume that fruit as well. All of you, disperse and guard within a five-mile radius. Kill anyone who dares approach without mercy. Spread out. Stay on high alert. Ah. Nung Master Yun. Humph. He won't explode. The backlash from a ninth-rank spiritual herb's medicinal power is excruciatingly painful. That's normal. However, his body and meridians are too limited to fully harness the power, so it's mostly just pain. He'll pull through. So that's up to young Master Yun to endure on his own. Everyone, take this time to recover. Who knows what trials await us ahead. After what happened earlier, Yi Fan's steadfastness in danger and righteous spirit have solidified him as a leader in the eyes of the Holy Fire Temple. So it really is heavenly soul grass. A supreme earthly treasure, something that nourishes the soul. You're a lucky one to have such fortune fall into your lap. Ha ha ha, bear with it. Try to release as much of the herb's power as possible. It will benefit both of us. I'm the one enduring the pain, and you're the one reaping the rewards. Is there anything more profitable than that? Complete recovery. Now that you and I are linked by our souls. If one suffers, the other suffers. If one prospers, the other prospers. Besides, only by enduring great hardship can one rise above the rest. You should at least absorb 20 or 30 percent of this herb's power to live up to your name, Gu Feiyang. Ayo. Tyrant body temper ing art. Humph. Crying over this little bit of pain from the medicinal power? How weak. Hey, are you trying to extract all of the herb's power? With your tyrant body tempering art might barely withstand it, but what about your cultivation level? You're only at the martial grandmaster level. You're playing with fire. This is a secret technique using the Dantian as a furnace to refine the medicinal power, maximizing its effect. But it's incredibly dangerous. If you lose control, your Dantian will shatter, and you will explode. Hey, hey. I was just joking earlier. Don't take it seriously. Why gamble like this? At most, you'll gain one star if you succeed. But if you fail, you'll be annihilated. And if you die, you'll drag me down with you. Stop talking and refine it with me. I'm a ninth rank alchemist. How can I waste such a precious heavenly soul grass? Today, I'll use my body as a furnace and fully utilize this herb. You madman. Fine. I'll go all in two. Mere soul grass. Watch me absorb you. Young Master Yun. Young Master, don't touch him. Li Yunxiao's body is indeed much stronger than an ordinary martial grandmaster's. That must be why so much of the medicinal power has been activated. Judging by his pain, at least 10% of the herb's power has been released. 10% of a ninth rank spiritual herb's power? Even for me, a martial emperor, enduring that much medicinal power would be incredibly difficult. Yet, with only a martial grandmaster's body, he can withstand 10% of the power from a ninth rank herb and still live. He's a genius indeed. You're something else. You've already refined half of the herb's power. Ha ha ha, this feels incredible. I've fully recovered. 
You're not really going to squeeze out all of the herb's power, are you? In our current state, we can't absorb that much. You're giving me too much credit. Even a peak ninth rank alchemist wouldn't dare say they can fully harness the herb's effects. And since I'm refining it with my body, 70% would be my limit. 70% is already extraordinary. I'll use the soul fusion technique again and try to push your soul power to the peak of the sixth rank. The peak of the sixth rank? I'm still a bit short of that. How is young Master Yun? One heavenly soul herb allowing me to break into the sixth rank is more than enough. Everyone, thank you for waiting. Humph, swallowing a ninth rank spiritual herb, and yet you didn't advance by even a single star. What a waste. Looks like you didn't even absorb 10% of the herb's power. The primordial chi from a ninth rank herb is so potent that even absorbing 5% should have been enough for someone of your level to advance by one star. Oh, he's out too. How are you feeling? Though his cultivation is still at the one-star martial grandmaster level, his aura has changed significantly. Did you fully comprehend the seven constellations martial principles? So, young master exchanged the seven constellations fruit with Li Yunxiao. At such a crucial moment, no wonder this kid made such outrageous demands, and young master accepted them. You're taking my low-tier marshal will fruit while you hold on to such a treasure. That's none of your concern. But I'm looking forward to seeing you in Yang City. If I'm not mistaken, you are planning to represent the Tianyun Merchant Guild? He he. Very well. When the time comes, I'll prove my words today by planting my foot on your face. Fine, how about we make another bet? Let's wager 10 billion mid-grade primordial stones. If you die by my hand, who do I collect the stones from? Don't forget, you still owe me 11 billion. If I lose, consider your debt cleared. This brat has no shame. Young master, with your strength, why not? Back at Shumi Mountains, Li Yunk's IAO was only at the Martial King level, yet he could contend with Martial Emperors. Now that he's a one-star Martial Grandmaster, his true strength is unknown. All right. I'll take your bet, 10 billion mid-grade primordial stones it is. Straightforward D. It's a deal. He's fallen into the forward slash forward slash trap. He really is out to fleece the merchant alliance. Has already become the fat meat in Li Yunxiao's eyes. Why are you smirking again? You've already became my prey. Brother Woody, I'm looking forward to it. I've heard that the two most powerful techniques of the money sect are the sunlight scroll and the moon breaking scroll. Your uncle, Qian Kong Lai, used those two scrolls to make a name for himself on the heaven and earth rankings, reaching the 22nd position, admired by all under heaven. Only Lord Kong Lai was able to master both the sunlight and moon breaking scrolls. Back then, it was said that the moon-breaking scroll was with Lord Conway at the time, but I heard someone stole it. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Who's so despicable to steal someone else's martial scroll? But the one who stole it? Uncle never mentioned. Perhaps he intends to retrieve it himself. That won't be easy. To steal from Lord Conway, the thief would have to rank at least in the top 20 on the heaven and earth rankings. We're getting off topic. In any case, Brother Woody, be sure to attend. Young Master Yun It must be that Yi Fan's senses have sharpened. What's in that direction? These rats come and go in a strange manner. There must be a reason behind it. Is anyone interested in taking a look? Hmm. I won't be going. I just remembered that I have very important matters to attend to within the guild, so I must take my leave. If the mountain doesn't move, the water will flow. We'll meet again someday. Have you made up your mind? Are really not coming with us? I've made up my mind. I believe it's best for us to part ways here. We appreciate your kindness, young Master Yun. In that case, could Lady Ching Luo lend me this spectral warship for a while? Li Yunxiao, do you think this warship is like cabbage? Just borrowing it. What if it gets damaged? K 
Can you afford to compensate for it? Brother Woody, I'd like to borrow their warship. Can you help me out? The warship belongs to them. What can I do? I just remembered that I also have very important matters to handle within the sect, so I must take my leave. If the mountain doesn't move, the water will flow. We'll meet again someday. Take care. He, since we have shared hardships together for so long, I'll lend you a smaller one. Then we shall meet again. Everyone take care. I hope to see you again in Yang City. Ha uh, ha, we will definitely come Yang City. You'd better take care of yourself. It's better with fewer people. Huff Dash Young Master Yun, isn't it better that they leave? We can act independently. Just now, when I absorbed the heavenly soul grass, my soul power surged to its peak. I felt that there were actually experts hiding in the warship. I also tried to keep them here. I can only hope that those hidden individuals don't harbor too much malice. Otherwise, Qin Luo and the others might be in danger. So it turns out, Yi Fan, you sense the aura of Noah's Ark, right? Yes. I feel a kind of summoning, Noah's Ark is calling me, and this feeling is very strong. Young Master Yun, Noah's Ark must be ahead. The feeling of the Yin Qi is getting stronger, and since Tang Jia has the Yang Qi, he must have sensed it too. Tang Jia will definitely be waiting at the place where Noah's Ark appears for those with the Yin Qi to show up. With them clearing the way ahead, it will be much easier for us. Let's go. At this time, the Empyrean Pavilion Spectral Warship did not return to their merchant guild. So greedy. To suddenly replenish so much, how far is it to the ninth rank? Senior brother, the soul slave seems to be about to advance to the ninth rank. Among the disciples below Martial Emperor in the soul devouring sect, very few have their soul slaves advanced to the ninth rank. The reason is that there are great restrictions on the absorption of souls. This is also to prevent the sect from becoming the target of everyone on the continent. I certainly didn't expect to acquire such huge benefits from this journey. Hmm? The evolution has stopped. It seems to be just a little short, not enough. Senior brother, don't worry, there are still many strong ones on these demon planes. If we catch two more martial emperors and throw them in, it will definitely be enough for the advancement. Hmm. Indeed. You're right, junior brother. With two more martial emperors, it will surely be no problem. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah. What dash? Senior brother, what are you doing? Two junior brothers, don't be afraid, it's already enough. This soul slave is about to successfully evolve, I really can't wait any longer. Two junior brothers, the things on these two and their soul slaves will belong to you. I believe you two won't remember too clearly about what just happened. These two junior brothers were exceptionally talented, their future was limitless. Who would have thought that on their first mission, they would die at the hands of the enemy? These two junior brothers can be considered to have died for a cause. We should turn our griff into strength and successfully complete the mission under senior brother's leadership. He 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 he, that's the spirit. Very well said. Hmm. Ha ha ha, it finally evolved. Ha ha ha. Not bad. Once the soul slave reaches the ninth rank, it will develop its own intelligence. I really like your fierce appearance as a soul devourer. However, a soul slave is still a soul slave. Since it is a slave, it must know its place. Humph, now you understand? Congratulations to senior brother for refining a ninth rank soul slave. Once we return to the sect, you can be promoted to the position of elder. From now on, you two will focus on following me, and I will never mistreat you. This soul slave has just advanced to the ninth rank and is still quite weak. It also needs a lot of supplements for nourishment. This demon planes is simply paradise. 
Ha ha. I originally thought that once his soul slave reached the ninth rank, it would be our turn to enjoy, but it turns out he still says it's weak and needs to be nourished. It seems we are destined to only scrape up some leftovers. Senior brother, are we now going to chase the money sect or those few stragglers who got off the spectral warship? Chase the stragglers. That kid has too many treasures on him. Especially that purple cauldron, which has surpassed my understanding of ninth rank artifacts. It is at least a peak ninth rank artifact. What? Peak ninth rank. I've heard that in our sect, only the sect leader possesses such legendary item. Aside from that purple cauldron, you all saw it. There are also many treasures. All of those will belong to you too. As long as you follow me with loyalty, I will definitely not mistreat you too. Thank you, senior brother. Let's go. Once we seize the treasures, we will absorb all the people from the four extreme sect. When we return to the sect, I will also have a place among the elders. And your soul slaves can also be refined to peak 8th rank, serving me even better. Yes. It seems that aside from the Merchant Alliance, many forces from the northern region have also been stirred into action. But most have met a disastrous end. What exactly is ahead? The level of spiritual chi here is enough for a considerable force to covet and establish a sect. This place is neither reality nor illusion. The spiritual energy seems both present and absent, as if it is a place of illusion and reality combined. Such places often have extremely powerful formations and restrictions. Everyone stay alert. Inside the World God Monument. Haha, ha, stop messing around. You can't fool me about how many benefits you've gotten from this World God Monument. If it weren't for my Phoenix True Fire and Rhythm of the Earth Soil, you wouldn't have been able to transform for thousands of years. We are all in the same boat. If one suffers, we all suffer. If one thrives, we all thrive. Quickly tell me, is this place of illusion and reality combined created by the eternal evergreen tree? It should be. There's its aura all around. Could it be that its main body is about to perish? No way. A presence this vast. Even if it were to fade, it would take thousands of years for that to happen. And yet, telling others to stay cautious while quietly starting to cultivate what a sly one. Even beings like Little Wu and Little Ching, divine trees that have stood on this world since the dawn of creation. Ultimately, even they couldn't evade the fate of decline. Through the eons, who can truly remain eternal? How many brilliant, peerless talents have pursued the pinnacle of martial arts? The path to divinity and how many have ultimately become gods? Wake up! What just happened? For a moment there, I felt a sudden wave of confusion. You've just created a heart demon. A heart demon? How could a heart demon manifest actual demon chi? Could it be related to that demon heaven battle armor? After all, a Xi'an artifact refined from demon chi IVE never even heard of such a thing. And that armor is one of the five Xi'an treasures used to suppress DGA. The way DGA appeared. Just like the demons of legend. This demon OI 15 week, far less intense than what was seen on DGA or the demon Chi I witnessed in my previous life within the Tiandang Mountains. The aura on this armor seems more like a form of power, but that other kind of demonic Chi it can corrode everything, dragging people into eternal damnation. Do not underestimate that heart demon. The signs that just appeared are extremely alarming. Use the demon heaven armor as little as possible. I carry the East Sea Moon Pearl, and on top of that, I have the Divine Bright Moon Body. In theory, I should be able to purify all negative chi, immune to heart demons. Yet demon chi still emerged. That shows just how terrifying this demon truly is. Has anyone noticed? It feels like we've been going in circles this whole time. How could that be? Why do you say so? The closer we've gotten, the stronger my connection with Noah's Ark has become. But recently, that sense of closeness has remained unchanged. 
Even though we keep moving forward, the distance hasn't lessened at all. We've been observing for so long, but there are still no clues. We are indeed moving in circles. This is bad. How did you figure that out? Did you find a reference point? Along the way, the spiritual chi has been growing denser. But since Yi Fan's reminder, I've realized the concentration of spiritual chi has remained perfectly uniform. That only happens at the core of a spiritual vein, but it's clear we are not there. This isn't something an ordinary person could arrange. Not even the seven major forces could easily create such an illusionary array. This array seems to have gained a life of its own. A life of its own? What do you mean by that? Everything in the world has a spirit, arrays included once they reach a certain level, they can develop a consciousness. But that's not the case here. This grand array likely is the true form of the eternal evergreen tree. How is that even possible? Why wouldn't it be? And I just remembered years ago, Throne Marshal Sovereign Tung Guang once boasted proudly. He claimed to have set up seven magnificent and wondrous arrays on the Tianwu continent. One of them was called the Illusory Water Mirror Realm. How do you know that? So, this array was laid down by Marshal Sovereign Tung Guang? Then how do we break it? Don't panic. His arrays may not be as powerful as you think. His arrays aren't powerful? Don't tell me you're better than him. Tung Guang studied arrays out of pure interest. He wasn't interested in destructive power, but in what was clever and fascinating. This illusory water mirror realm is one of the more interesting ones. I hope you're right. We know nothing about arrays, so we're counting on you entirely. Hmm. I can't make anything out from this array. I can't break it. Young Master Yun, what do we do now? Don't panic. Calm down and cultivate in peace. Now, we only need to wait. Wait? You think the array will break on its own if we wait? Of course not, but don't forget Dash. We're not the only ones here. We're waiting for them to break it. Although Tang Guang's arrays are renowned for their layers each interconnected, yet independent Dash. As soon as a flaw appears in the overall structure, I'll be able to find the weak point and shatter it. Are you so sure the others can break it? If no one can, are we just going to be trapped here forever? Relax if the array can't be broken, then we'll stay here and cultivate. The spiritual chi here is rather plentiful. Once we all reach the peak of martial sovereign, a single move will shatter any array. Hearing that from you. I finally feel a little more at ease. Haolian Xiao Wang. Hiding like a coward, what kind of man are you? Come out. Come out, Haolian Xiao Wang. Where is he? He was just here a moment ago. How did his aura suddenly vanish? Hmm? There's something under the water. That's Dash. Marian Xiao Wang. Wait, is that Chen Chuanjiao? Could this be the rumored illusion realm in the Demon Plains, the one that no one ever escapes? Who's there? Since you lured me here, was your plan to trap me within this array? Rat Empress, your ploy was too obvious he saw through it long ago. So what if he saw through it? He still came, didn't he? Hmm. That's the resolve of an unwavering Dao heart. He's teetering on the edge of the Eight Desolations realm. If he doesn't push forward due to fear, he'll never break through. The river flows without turning. The rhythm of spring. Since they've guided me this far, they likely don't intend harm. Otherwise, they could have just activated the array and let Chen Chuanjiu catch up to me that would have been troublesome enough. Haolian Xiao Wang, the rules of this place are aiding you hurry and break through. Little Ching, quickly open the Four Seasons barrier and let Flash in. Hurry up. Chase Yuyo, how long are we going to keep fighting like this? It's starting to make me uneasy. Even if you're uneasy, we have to keep going. What other choice do we have? 
If the eternal evergreen tree doesn't open a passage, there's no way we can break this illusory water mirror realm. Humph, with our combined strength, I refuse to believe we can't shatter it. If we forcibly destroy it and that martial sovereign gets upset, can we bear the consequences? Damn it, this is giving me a headache. So many of our kin have fallen now the last lightning rat king is within our grasp. Can the rat empress really sit back and do nothing without opening the passage? If worse comes to worst, let's stop pressing her and just capture this lightning rat king. We can use him to refine the five elements beast taming ring. Little Ching, open the barrier already. Rat Empress, those two are nine heavens martial sovereigns. If they wanted to catch flesh, they could have done so long ago. Why would they be so cautious? The true target must be either you or me. If we open the four seasons barrier and let them in, we'll both be in grave danger. I don't care. The last of the five element rat kings is Flash. We have to save him no matter what. Are you going to open the barrier or not? Rat Empress, you've lived for millennia. How can you still be so reckless? Those two didn't capture Flash because their goal is to force us into opening the barrier. If we let them bypass the Four Seasons barrier, Flash won't just be captured, they'll enslave you too. And when that happens, your billions of offspring across these demon plains will become nothing more than weapons in someone else's hands. So, what do you propose we do? Just stand by and watch them slaughter my children? The only choice is to sacrifice flesh. Order your children to cease their attacks no need for needless deaths. When Halion breaks through to Martial Sovereign, I'll absorb the rule power and the Nine Heavens Sovereign Chi from his breakthrough, allowing me to advance even further. By that time, within this illusory water mirror realm, we'll have the strength to take them on together. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Fine. What's going on? Have they actually given up? It's highly likely. The Rat Empress isn't foolish. Look at the Lightning Rat King, even it seems to have given up resisting. If that's the case, let's refine this last one now. That'll save us the trouble of having to act one by one. As expected, beasts will always be beasts. At last, we have captured all the five element Rat Kings. Chase Yu Yao, I'm going to start refining the five elements beast taming ring. Watch my back. Who's there? Yikes, yikes. Whoa. Nine Heaven Sovereign Chi. A martial sovereign. Who's there? State your name. I'm just here to spectate. No need to get hostile peace brings wealth. I am Yu Yangjo. May I ask for the esteemed names of you two and where you serve? Yu Yangjo from the Thousand Treasures Store? What are you doing here? Could it be you're after Noah's Ark? Ha ha ha, don't joke, gentlemen. Noah's Ark, here? That's impossible. Who knows which scoundrel spread such a false rumor? TSK TSK, what a grand setup. In my lifetime, I haven't even witnessed the refining of an 8th rank Xian weapon. I just came to have a look around, but I never expected to witness two masters in the middle of refining a ninth rank Xian weapon. Today, I've truly been dazzled. With such a magnificent feat and your attire so distinctive, the two of you must be from Myriad Stars Valley? I am Chase Yu Yao from Myriad Stars Valley, and this is my companion, Feng Yi. We're just handling a small matter here, so we hope you'll give us some face. I've long heard of your names, famed like thunder across the land. Especially Brother Feng Yi here, known as the greatest beast tamer below the Martial Sovereign. Seeing you today, it's no exaggeration. Even refining a ninth rank Xian weapon is effortless tisk TSK, how can us poor folks even survive? Brother Yu, you jest. That reputation is surely an exaggeration on your part. Besides, the Thousand Treasures Store is the number one merchant guild in the world. If you call yourselves poor, then the rest of us are truly doomed. Brother you, it's not convenient today. Another time, please come to Myriad Stars Valley, and we'll drink and talk at leisure. 
For now, if you've got business, please attend to it. Oh, I'm just here to wander. You go on with your work, don't mind men. This isn't good. Feng Yi's refining that beast taming ring, and it can't withstand the slightest disturbance. It's really inconvenient to keep talking here. No worries, why don't we move somewhere else to chat? Brother Yu, enough joking. Please, for the sake of our brotherhood, leave immediately. I would love to, but this weird place is impossible to navigate. No matter which way I go, I keep getting lost. Hmm? Could this be a forbidden area set by your myriad stars valley? Hey, this is an illusion real hybrid array, set up long ago by the throne marshal sovereign Tung Guang. It's called the Illusory Water Mirror Realm. Brother you, just find a spot to stay. This array will break on its own soon enough. Oh? Said by Lord Ting Guang? That's truly remarkable. But why say it'll break on its own? Are you planning to break it? I'm really curious why would it dissipate on its own. Brother Che, please explain in detail. Yo Yang Jo, do you really want us to turn hostile? Why would you say that? I'm sincerely asking for advice. Please, Brother Che, don't be stingy with your knowledge. Once I understand, I'll leave immediately and won't linger. Ah. Curse your whole family. Linger, fucking bastard. Since you don't want to leave, then don't. Stay here for me. Brother Fong Yi, why did you start attacking for no reason? You're all ganging up on me. Ugh. He 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 he. Ha ha ha, you two are something else. Since I'm not welcome, I'll go entertain myself. This place is getting more and more intriguing. Then. We can't let this man live. He'll surely bring us immense trouble. You saw his strength earlier. It might even surpass ours. How can we kill him? Right now, we should focus on completing your five elements beast taming ring. Once that's done, we'll have a better chance of taking him down. If you Yanjo could get in here, there's a good chance other experts could, too. Let's find another place. This illusion realm is vast. We should be able to find an empty spot. Hmph. Once I refine the five elements beast taming ring, I'll break this illusion and capture the rat empress. Young Master Yun, have you found any flaws? I can sense Noah's Ark right in front of us, but no matter what, I can't lock onto its location. There's a bit of progress. At least now we know the layout of the array. It's one barrier inside another, each layer peeling away. I'm sure that even if the landscape vanishes, more illusions will appear. I've heard of this kind of array. It's like a series of boxes, one nested within the other, each deeper and stronger. If it's this kind of barrier, breaking through three layers would already be impressive. So, if we break this one and then another, we should be able to reach the center? I was talking about ordinary array masters, but Master Ten Guang, hailed as the number one array master among the martial sovereigns, could have made it far more complex. He could have layered five, seven, maybe even more. Young Master Yun, you seem to know Master Ten Guang quite well. How many layers do you think he could set? 81,000 layers wouldn't be a problem. This kind of nested array can be extended indefinitely once the key is mastered. But Tung Guang wouldn't have gone to such extremes. If I'm right, there are four environments interwoven here, cycling endlessly, without beginning or end. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Even in the divine realm, there is no such thing as something without limit, right? What does that mean? Are we really stuck here? Look around. Everything's bursting with life, greenery everywhere. This must be the rule of Earth's spring. If I'm not mistaken, this is a cycle of four great barriers based on the power of the four seasons, constantly repeating itself. Spring to autumn, summer to winter endless. That fits his aesthetic sense perfectly. So, what do we do? There are only two ways. One is to forcefully break the array, which we can forget about. We don't even know if there are other experts trapped here. To escape, we have to shatter the rules of spring, summer, autumn, and winter. 
The second way is to comprehend the power of the four seasons. If we can master Earth's rules, we can transcend the array and walk out directly. But, unless someone has already deeply understood the world's rules, it would be almost impossible for a cultivator below martial sovereign to manage. Like this dash. This is the rule of Earth's spring. Whoa dash. What just happened? You've already mastered the power of spring? But didn't you say only martial sovereigns? I had mastered it in the past. Mastered it in the past? That casual grasp of the rule just now so effortless, at. It's no different from how I control the array. There's only one explanation, Dash. He's already comprehended the Four Seasons rules long ago. This guy is too dangerous. After all that talk, have you found a way out? Not yet. But as for breaking the array, I might have a solution. What solution? What's your plan? You've got quite the talent, young man. What solution? I'm dying to know. He 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 he. Soul devouring sect. Hmm? You actually recognize our soul devouring sect? Tell me how to break this array and I might spare your life. The techniques of the soul devouring sect are sinister to the extreme. My soul fusion technique was learned from them. As soon as these three appeared, they suppressed everyone's aura. Their strength is obvious. Spare my life? You must be joking. Isn't your soul-devouring sect most famous for harvesting souls? When have you ever shown mercy? Ho! Oh, it seems you know quite a bit about our soul-devouring sect. If you know what's good for you, submit to me. I can be merciful just this once. You're acting so arrogant out here. Does Huang Fu know? Our sect leader. Eve technique forbidden talisman. Mental attack. An ordinary mental attack is nothing to fear. Ugh. Arg. These two useless fools. They can't die yet. Binding power of spring. The vitality of spring here is clashing with our death aura. You insignificant insect, dare to strike. Retreat. No one is escaping. Senior brother, what happened? Did they escape? Isn't it obvious? It's because of you two fools. If I didn't have to save you guys, they'd never have escaped my grasp. However, I've already left a mark on that warship. I can conveniently follow them and break through this array. When the time comes, we'll capture them to extract their souls and seize their treasures. This place is Dash. The Summer Barrier. As expected, all four seasons are connected. If we don't break it, we'll be trapped in an endless loop, never escaping this illusion. What a headache. So what do we do? Didn't you say you have a way to break the array? Yi Fan, how do you feel now? Hey Dash. It's unclear, a bit hard to grasp. Then we don't need to rush. This whole place is formed by the power of the rules. If we carefully meditate here, the benefits to our cultivation will be immense. Cultivate? How can you think about cultivating at a time like this? Opportunities like this are rare. You might not encounter an illusion like this again in your lifetime. Young Master Yun, cultivation can wait, but we can't just sit here doing nothing, right? We should at least have a goal, like waiting for the Young Master's signal to grow stronger. Yi Fan isn't the only one sensing it. Tang Jiat should also be inside this Four Seasons barrier. With the help of those great monsters, they should be able to locate Noah's Ark. When they do, we'll rob them. Until then, everyone should recover and prepare. Rob great monsters. Let's toast with this cup of despair. Li Yunxiao's cultivation method is absorbing the power of the summer rule. He's only at the martial grandmaster level, completely unqualified to tap into such a supreme rule. 
but how is his body infused with rule energy? Earlier, he consumed that ninth rank heavenly soul hers, and now the intense rule power of the summer barrier is washing over him dash. Four star martial grandmaster. A breakthrough was inevitable. Since you're here, come down. How can you freely manipulate the powers of spring and summer? Young man, is that how you speak to the person who saved your life? Young man? Humph, do you mean to say saving me was out of goodwill? And has little Wu also fallen under your control? Are you saying saving you was for nothing? Do I need to explain myself to you? You wouldn't have entered this illusory water mirror realm without ill intent. You're likely after my true form. Even if I am, what of it? Then die. Summer's rule blazing sun. You think you're the only one capable? Summer's rule blazing sun. Protect the young master. Ugh. Arg. So you can fully control Summer's rule too. Disperse. I don't know how you're managing this, but now I definitely can't let you live. Since the Four Seasons rule doesn't affect you, let's see how you handle my heavenly rule thunder. Facing a battle of rule powers like this, I feel utterly outmatched. That thunder is so powerful. If we can't withstand it, we'll be reduced to ashes. You think holding a thunderball makes you invincible. If you push me too far, I'll make sure you're doomed forever. Phoenix True Flame No wonder Little Wu follows you. Wait, it's not just Phoenix True Flame Dash. There's also Earth Essence. You have a good eye, even though my cultivation is far below yours. But with your injuries, how much have you recovered? With these two treasures, I'm more than capable of annihilating your body and soul. The two treasures Li Yunchao possesses are legendary, and now they both appear on one person. No wonder he's always so confident. Who knows what other treasures he's hiding? Come on, let's see what you've got. What should I do? He hasn't even brought out the Xi'an artifact he used to crush the armillary sphere's axis. The world god monument is drained, and these two treasures are just for show without the strength to use them. I've seen countless geniuses throughout the ages. The aura this boy gives off he's just like those peerless warriors, rebellious and standing above all. Are you really not after my true form? Your true form isn't bad, but how does it compare to the phoenix true flame and earth essence? Aside from Noah's Ark, do you think there is anything here worth my interest? I hope you're telling the truth. Otherwise, I'll be the first to kill you. You're really overestimating yourself. But there is one thing I do need your help with. What is it? I need to go to the desolate ancient lands. If the opportunity arises, I'll help you as repayment for saving my life. Humph, at least you acknowledge I saved your life. By the way... Is Noah's Ark really here? Where exactly? No comment. No comment. It seems Noah's Ark really is here. Otherwise, Little Ching wouldn't need to hide it and could have just denied it outright. Plus, Little Ching knows about its existence but hasn't been able to retrieve it. We'll just wait and see. Kid, are those two heavenly treasures of yours real? This information... You deduced all that just from a single no comment. Now I finally understand what the monster race is after they must be targeting the eternal evergreen tree's true form. As for its purpose, it's likely to repair that damaged Xi'an artifact. But if Noah's Ark appears, they definitely won't let it slip away. Little Ching has been unable to retrieve Noah's Ark for so many years, which shows how crucial the key is. So we don't need to rush. Let them fight first. Don't be shy, there's plenty of primordial stones. I can't use them all by myself. Good things should be shared. Wow. This kid's success is clearly not by chance. Such a generous expenditure, his magnanimity is impressive. Primordial chi technique absorb it all. Being near Li Yunxiao, I can't absorb even a bit of chi. Praise too soon. Time rewind slightly to the moment when the eternal evergreen tree and Li Yunxiao stood in confrontation. Three steps left, then seven steps to the right. 
the sun beneath, the sunset above. Three quarters past the hour of the rooster, Kuen Mountain facing Jin Wu, Ji, Gung, Xian. Don't lose focus. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Kuen position. Finally, I've cracked it. The throne sovereign is truly unmatched. Phew. I'm exhausted. Thousand treasures store martial sovereign, Yu Yangjo. Throne sovereign. I'm going to break your array. Now, to adjust the array core. Ascending. Huh? The heavenly cool rain. What? This is a false array core trap? He's catching up. Throne Sovereign, curse your ancestors for 18 generations. I refuse. I just came here to play a minor role, and now I'm about to die. Explode. Nine Heaven Sovereign Chi, activate. Boom, boom, boom. Clear a path for me. I don't want to die. This is my last card. Whoosh. These past few days on the demon planes have really opened my eyes. After witnessing Li Yunxiao's immense power, now another one appears, triggering a false array core, summoning the heavenly rule reign, and still managing to escape. Where did he flee to? Even if he opened a teleportation portal, he couldn't escape the Four Seasons barrier. He must be hiding within one of the seasons. That flash of daylight it seemed like winter. In another illusionary realm. Lee, what's going on with this space? Hey Lee, you don't fly. Huh? This Four Seasons array cycles endlessly, without an exit, the one who set it up must be incredibly powerful. If we take one wrong step, we'll only get farther from the array core, and in the end, we'll be trapped here forever. And that's the optimistic scenario. If we force our way out and trigger the false array cores laid by the Creator, with our strength, it will be certain death. From now on, everyone stay back and don't move. I will try to break the array. Lord Shang, are we really leaving this to her? What if she accidentally triggers a false array core? No need to worry, she's Li from the Jiuli clan. Among all the monster clans, know throughout the entire world when it comes to secret arts and strange techniques, who can surpass the Jiuli clan? As for array mastery, we couldn't claim to have reached the peak in our time, but we were certainly among the top. However, the one who created this array is far beyond me, which is why I can't find any flaws in his formation. Li, how confident are you? Xiang, I won't lie to you. I'm 80% sure this is the real array core, but the odds of breaking it? Only 50-50. And the chance of breaking it safely? Less than 10%. This is a death trap for anyone below martial sovereign level. But whether it's arrays, rules, or martial arts, they all have weaknesses. If something exists, it can be destroyed. Go ahead, Lee. I believe in you. Understood. Sean, do you hear that? Such strong tremors who's fighting. No one's fighting. Someone's triggered a rule. Everyone be careful. Now is the best time to break the array. Activate. Stop. Little Ching. Where are you? Damn it. You've caused a disaster. Huh? Ah. Lee. Are you okay? Is the array broken? It feels like it's broken, but... Watch out! 
Shime Dash, Lee Dash, Lord Shang, Young Master, leave them. If we delay any longer, we'll all be caught in it. Lord Shang. What's happening with this change? Is this mountain peak the true form hidden by the barrier? No, this mountain peak isn't the true form. This array was set by the throne marshal sovereign. Before he created this array, this thing didn't exist in the demon planes at all. Also, this mountain peak looks familiar to me. It resembles a certain legendary treasure. A treasure? What exactly are you referring to? The immortal mountain. This is the Throne Marshal Sovereign's Peak 9th Rank Xian Weapon Dash. The Four Seasons Immortal Mountain. Why would the Immortal Mountain be here? Could it be that the Throne sacrificed this treasure just to set up the array? The Immortal Mountain. It truly is the Four Seasons Immortal Mountain. Then what's going on with this mountain peak? The Throne Marshal Sovereign Ten Guang really placed this treasure here. Let's go check it out. Dan Yangza, are you certain this is the Throne Marshal Sovereign's Immortal Mountain? Its appearance matches exactly with the description the Sect Master gave. Also, it said that the Throne's insights into the Heaven and Earth Array came from this Immortal Mountain. Heaven and Earth Array If we can unravel the Heaven and Earth Array, we could directly inherit the Throne's legacy and gain his 800 chapters on arrays. Then, among the younger generation in the Tianwu continent, who could possibly rival me? Let's go in and take a look first. The Autumn Barrier Young Master Yun, what's going on here? This is bad. We might all end up buried here. What? What exactly is going on? Why is this so serious? This mountain peak is actually a peak 9th rank Xian weapon in disguise. A peak 9th rank weapon has reached the ultimate pinnacle of the 9th rank, the absolute peak, any further, and it would become a divine rank Xian weapon. This peak 9th rank Xian weapon is called the Immortal Mountain, and it was the personal weapon of the Throne Marshal Sovereign, its origins lost to history. R. During the famous battle at the Holy Region, Teng Guang threw this mountain out, crushing his opponent instantly. That was truly satisfying to watch. At that time, I was that so envious. He's talking as if he saw it himself. Cough, cough. Young Master Yun, let's get back on track and focus on the situation in front of us. Ah, uh, right. Got sidetracked, sorry. Tung Guang's talent was monstrous, but he was utterly devoted to arrays. He would sacrifice anything for his path in arrays. And it was that dedication that made him the undisputed number one array master in the world. This Four Seasons array uses the Immortal Mountain as the array core, with the true form of the Eternal Evergreen Tree as the array body. What an extravagant setup! To create this array, he even abandoned his peak 9th rank Xian weapon. Any array can be broken by force if the array core is found and enough power is applied. Tung Guang must have realized this and couldn't bear to let his Four Seasons Array be destroyed by brute force. That's why he left the peak 9th rank Xian weapon, the Immortal Mountain, here to suppress it. I ask, who in this world can break a peak 9th rank Xian weapon? A perfect array like this was Tung Guang's ultimate pursuit. Does that mean we're trapped in this array forever? There are still some possible ways, like obtaining the Immortal Mountain and breaking the array core. However, the Immortal Mountain was Tung Guang's personal weapon, refined by him long ago, so it's unclear whether he erased his consciousness from it when setting up this array. If not, as soon as you try to take it, Tung Guang will know, and if he crosses realms to come here, we're all dead. Are there any other methods? The Eternal Evergreen Tree This barrier was created by its true form. While I can use the power of the four seasons within it, only it has complete control over the array. Our hope of breaking the array lies with it. We're doomed after all. He was the one who trapped us here in the first place. Why would he willingly break its own array? Little Ching. 
Now that the illusion has been broken, revealing the real array, why not use the power of the immortal mountain to blast them all to dust? The Illusory Water Mirror Realm, Combining Illusion and Reality This immortal mountain is the heart of the array. And the throne ten Guang's Four Seasons Barrier, created with my true form, is nothing more than embellishment. If I could control the immortal mountain, do you think I'd have left them alive till now? Plus, I remember what the throne marshal sovereign said clearly dash. If the illusory water mirror realm is broken, revealing the true form of the four seasons array, then the power of the immortal mountain will gradually awaken on its own. By then, the changing four seasons will crush every living being within the barrier. Every living being within the barrier? Including you and me? Yes, neither of us will escape this disaster. But there's still a slim chance for us. The timing of the Immortal Mountain's power awakening is uncertain, but I can try to control the cycle of the four seasons to buy time. The key now is for Haolian Xiaowang to break through so I can absorb the Nine Heavens Sovereign Qi and the rule condensing force he generates upon breaking through. If my power advances further, I can break through to that place and hide there. You mean beneath your true form dash? Yes. Even the throne didn't realize that beneath my true form lies a sealed space. If the immortal mountain's power is strong enough to break into that space, there's a chance we can unseal it and obtain the Noah's Ark. All right. This is our only option now. I've already guided Holly and Xiao Wang to the core of your true form, where the power of the rules is strongest. I'll go keep an eye on him. Haoli and Xiao Wang, don't let me down. I'll gather the power of the four seasons to aid you. If that still isn't enough for you to break through, then your talent is truly lacking. Ah, young master Yun. Hmm, the soul-devouring sect. When did they dash? The last time, I was careless in the spring barrier. Here in the autumn barrier. Even the slightest fluctuation is noticeable. Young Master Yun. Oh? Kid, who exactly are you? You've got some skill. You don't need to know who I am. Drop your little schemes. I'm offering you a chance to cooperate. A chance to cooperate? Young Master Yun. Young Master Yun. Are you out of your mind? Feel it, and you'll understand. The sorrow of autumn, neither wind nor rain, neither sunshine nor shadow. Autumn sword appears. The rules of autumn. Only a nine heavens martial sovereign can condense rules. How is he able to condense rules? Technique, star clombs annihilation. Ugh. It seems his condensed rule power isn't very strong. Senior brother. I, I. Ah. Hmm? Aren't you going to capture his soul? His soul won't be destroyed. Are the soul devourers actually going to let a soul go to waste? Fine now. Do you think it's worth cooperating? How exactly would we cooperate? Li Yunxiao quickly explained the current situation, including the details of the barrier, the four extremes gates power, and the possible ways to break through. So, cooperation is simple. We join forces to deal with the enemies outside of our group, seize the immortal mountain, and escape the barrier. I didn't expect this mountain to be such a precious treasure. Are you saying we're likely trapped here forever? Those monster race members aren't a threat, but among those who just entered the immortal mountain. There seem to be two martial sovereigns from Myriad Stars Valley, and either one of them alone could kill us all. The only option now is for you to teach me the secret method to condense the rules of heaven and earth with my power as a nine-star martial supreme, plus this ninth rank soul slave and those heaven and earth rules. We might have a chance to seize the immortal mountain. The biggest challenge now is advancing to martial sovereign. Li Yunxiao's secret method for condensing the rules is more valuable to me than the immortal mountain itself. As long as we can escape this array, Everything else can be discussed. If we're going to be trapped here forever, what does it matter if you advance to Martial Sovereign? 
As for those two powerful figures from Myriad Stars Valley, we'll avoid them if possible. The Immortal Mountain is vast, so encountering them isn't that likely. This cunning brat. Fine, I'll work with you. But if we manage to escape, you must teach me that secret method. All right, all right, definitely. I'm curious to see what this peak 9th rank Xian weapon truly is. Is this the rule of spring? Life returns, the earth awakens, flowers bloom in full splendor. I can now condense the power of the rules to a basic level. But why hasn't the Nine Heavens Sovereign Chi appeared yet? The power within me doesn't feel any different from before. The power within me right now is exactly the same as before. The power of the rule. You. You've advanced to Marshal Sovereign? Oh my. You all finally dare to show up openly. Stay calm. He's only grasped a tiny bit of the power of the rule. He's still far from reaching Marshal Sovereign. Heavenly Bronze Sword, shatter for me. Howlian, you lesser sovereign, today I will kill you. With the body of a Vidra, commanding winds and clouds. Invincible, unstoppable fist intent dash. Master, is this how it's done? He's infused the power of the world's rules, the strength of the four seasons, into his fist wind? Why? Captain, save me. This is... Nine Heaven Sovereign Chi? When the Sovereign Chi becomes more intense, I'll make my move to seize it. The power of the Immortal Mountain has activated ahead of time. Is it because of their battle? Life has limits, but the martial path is endless. People like us are destined to become martial sovereigns and rule the world. Limited or not, it's all nonsense. Rule the world? This Tian Wu continent is full of martial sovereigns, but throughout history, who has ever dared to claim they rule the world? In the last few millennia, only Yi Nan Tian dared to bear such a title, but didn't he just end up as dust? Just now, that was. He showed signs of condensing Sovereign Chi. His talent is remarkable. Damn it. Why didn't I seize the chance just now? Ha ha, kid, don't be discouraged. Just go with the flow. What's wrong with him? There's still a chance. You glimpsed a thread of opportunity, and your chances of breaking through in the future have greatly increased. What do you know? Hick. This kid actually noticed the change in me? And just now, during our conversation, I suddenly had an insight. What's the origin of this strange kid? This mountain is massive. How am I supposed to collect the Xian artifact and open the barrier? Let's see what the others are doing. After all, breaking into this immortal mountain depends on fortune. No need to rush. Young Master Yun, this immortal mountain is so vast that entering it feels like being an ant. How can we find the others? That's where we rely on the two experts from the Soul Devouring Sect. What do you mean? The Soul Devouring Sect has its own methods of searching. Even if those people are dead, they have ways to summon their souls. He's talking about the secret soul-searching technique of our Soul Devouring Sect. Senior brother, this technique is extremely confidential, even within the sect. How does he know about it? All right, since you know about this technique, I'll be straightforward. But let me say it again, if we leave here safely. You must teach me the secret method for condensing rules. Yes, yes, rest assured. Soul slaves come in four grades, yellow, Xian, earth, and heaven. Advancing each level requires countless vengeful souls. This method of refining a Xian artifact is far too defiant of the natural order. It'll bring divine retribution one day. 
Who asked you? The secret of soul slaves is known only to the elders of the sect. How did you learn it? He he, I even know that the one Huangfu has is a heaven grade soul slave. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Humph, have you ever seen it? Anyone who's seen the sect master's soul slave has become part of it. Ho. Oh. No, talking to this kid is getting to me. Hmm? What? Can out talk me, so you're thinking of silencing me? Zhang Xiaotian, what does that mean? The soul slaves already searched the area. Within a thousand li radius, there are a dozen powerful souls moving around. But out of everyone dash. The strongest soul is still you. Oh. So? Are you planning to make a move on me? Believe me, I can condemn you to eternal torment, never to reincarnate. Humph, you're just a sixth-rank alchemist. I have no interest. They found a dozen souls, not too far. But it seems none are those from the monster race you mentioned. Two strong souls are slightly farther away. One is extremely fierce, like a high-level demonic beast, and the other is much calmer. That should be Shinfong, the captain of the skeleton mercenaries, and that nine-winged spirit snake bird. The remaining dozen souls belong to the four extremes gate. What about the two martial sovereigns and the monster race members? Martial sovereigns are surrounded by the power of the rules. My soul slaves aren't high enough level to probe them. Also, some restricted areas within the Immortal Mountain can't be explored. I suspect those monsters might be inside those restricted areas. The key is likely within those restricted zones, and the monster race must have entered first. With the Four Extremes Gate losing their protection, we should capture Tang Jia first. Tang Jia? The eldest son of the Tang family of the Four Extremes Gate? Why capture him? No need to ask, he'll be very useful. Lead the way, dear. Who's there? Young Master Tang, long time no see. That one with the banner, he must be from the soul-devouring sect. Where did Li Yunxiao find such help? Li Yunxiao, though we've had some grudges, we don't really have a deep enmity. Why not set aside hostilities and face this challenge together? A nice proposal, but how can I trust someone like Young Master Tang, who breaks promises, as an ally? You still haven't fulfilled your promise to devour that warship. Why so much talk? You take Tang Jia, the rest are mine. Don't run, pledge your loyalty to the young master. Everyone, attack. This is the perfect time to show my loyalty. In the soul devouring sect, most elders possess only one Xian weapon, their meticulously crafted soul devouring banner. Every soul-devouring banner is refined from the very first rank. Only by starting from the lowest rank can it fully connect with the soul, merging completely with the wielder. As the soul-devouring banner advances, its power gradually reveals itself. The primary soul slave within the soul-devouring banner has a unique advantage over ordinary Xian weapons. It's long been bound to its owner's soul, allowing it to unleash its full potential. This advantage enables disciples of the soul-devouring sect to be far stronger than others at the same level. Across the Tianwu continent, few dare to challenge disciples of similar strength from the soul-devouring sect for this very reason. Ha ha ha, so the soul-devouring sect is nothing special. Ha ha ha. I thought it was some heaven-defying beast, but it only looks a bit terrifying. Its strength. Well, it's just average. Ha ha ha. What are the so-called seven major forces? In front of us, the four extremes gate. They can only bow down. Ha ha ha. Once we seize Noah's Ark, we'll march straight to the soul-devouring sex headquarters. Let us take a seat among the seven major forces for a change. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Young Master Yun, it seems Zhang Xiaotian's soul slave is barely holding on. 
When the human soul stirs with the seven emotions and six desires, its power reaches its peak. Right now, these people from the four extremes gate are filled with boundless courage, one of the seven emotions. The soul-devouring sect refers to this process of stimulating an opponent's soul power as filling. Filling? Some unscrupulous merchants inject a lot of water into the meat when slaughtering pigs and sheep. To increase the weight and sell it at a higher price. It's the same for these twisted people of the soul-devouring sect. Before absorbing someone's soul, they first stir up that person's emotions and desires. So that the power they obtain becomes even stronger. Ha ha ha, your soul slave is finished. Now it's your turn. Don't resist. Considering your difficult rise to Marshal Supreme, we'll only take the valuable treasures on you. He he he. Ha ha ha, such momentum. The filling is nearly complete. It's time to kill them. This is the soul devouring sect. Beast. Stop at once. Aya. Aya. Fear. Is also an exceptionally delicious emotion. Ah. Young. Young master. Young master, save me. Ah. Don't come near me. Hey. Don't kill him. Young Master Tang. Master Shin, Master Shin. Master Shin, save me, please. Young Master Tang, it's okay now. With me here, no one will harm you. Thank you, Master Shin. No one can harm him? Do you think you're the Martial Sovereign or something? Master Shin, kill them now. Now is the best chance, otherwise, we'll suffer for it later. Cough, cough. Shinfong of the Skeleton Mercenary Group, our conflict with the Four Extremes Gate has nothing to do with you must you interfere? If it weren't for the dangerous situation here and not wanting to exhaust our strength on you, you too, along with that beast, would have perished here. Since we all wish to leave this place, why not declare a temporary truce? And work together to find a way to break the boundary? Ha ha, what's wrong, Li Yunxiao? Are you afraid? Ignore him, Master Shen. Kill them. It's not impossible to kill them. But it would take a toll on our energy. In this mysterious environment, keeping as much strength as possible is the best chance for escape. I don't like being manipulated. But you're right. This place is too dangerous, and I don't want to waste strength on you here. We'll settle everything once we leave this boundary. Master Shen. Master Shen, since you've been in this immortal mountain for some time, have you discovered anything? Damn it. Damn it. I just circled around here. Although the place is full of life, I didn't see any animals. Also, Mr. Yu and the others seem to have vanished without a trace. There are also several strange areas, likely some form of restriction. I didn't venture in, but I suspect Mr. Yu and his group may have gone in. Those powerful monsters aren't reckless. If they've entered the restrictions, then breaking those restrictions might be the only way out. How about we go inside and investigate? Agreed, I'll take you to the nearest restriction. We're doomed that kid is definitely tricking us. Here it is. It doesn't seem particularly special. Strange, does it absorb consciousness? What? PR. What is this? What is this place? Young Master Yun, what's happening here? Look at the lines around us. Don't they resemble something? Resemble what? Ah. A chessboard. This space seems to be a giant war chessboard. So the same applies above. What an enormous three-dimensional war chess space. What does Throne Sovereign mean by setting up a chessboard in his own Xian weapon? There doesn't seem to be anything special. We can move freely. Lord Shang. Mr. Yo. Haha, <laughs> wonderful. 
Lord Sean, it's time to settle scores with these people. In this strange space, I can't sense any seasonal rules, so it's impossible to condense rules for me. Plus, the World God Monument's spiritual chi is depleted, and Little Diamond is severely injured. Li Yunchao, isn't it funny how fate works? I didn't expect we'd meet again so soon. I suddenly feel quite happy. I wonder if you feel the same. He he he. My mood. Isn't as good. As they say, nothing brings people together like a good fight. Better a friend than an enemy, harmony is precious, and it's best to resolve grievances rather than prolong them. This space is very strange. How about we work together to escape first? Nonsense. Lord Shang, this kid is despicable. It's best to get rid of him early to avoid future troubles. And that man in white with the dark face beside him is a master of the soul-devouring sect. Be extremely cautious with him. Indeed, Lord Shang, the others may not matter. But Li Yunchao must be eliminated. He will become a grave threat to our monster race. You heard them, Li Yunchao. Damn it! Do I really need to change my habit of making enemies everywhere? These are the monster race members you mentioned? A few mere martial grandmasters, not even worth letting my soul slaves devour. Shinfong, take care of the bastard from Soul Devouring Sect. Rest assured, Li Yunchao is mine. I'll be the one to cut him down with my own hands. Li Yunchao, that one with the demonic beast won't be easy. Lend me a hand. Leave those martial grandmaster level monster race weaklings to your comrades. Leaving great monsters to us? I am the eldest son of the Tang family of the Four Extremes Gate. You dare to oppose me at every turn? Today, I'll give you a lesson you'll never forget. Young Master Yun, this. Hmm. This space is suppressing our chi. Haha, <laughs> you thought you were impressive just now. Now that everyone's chi is suppressed, what are you still acting high and mighty for? Seems physical strength isn't affected. Don't think you're the only one with a strong body. After awakening my ancestral bloodline, my physical strength has surpassed yours yet again. This time, let's see what tricks you still dash. Um, let's see what tricks I have left, right? Try this. Holy technique. So, holy techniques still work here. If holy techniques are still usable, then everyone, let's join forces and take down these monsters. I'm finally useful. These seemingly ordinary people can actually condense rules? Huh, so much trash all gathered here? Except for that Yuyangjo, it seems everyone is here. What's going on with this space? It feels like some restriction is suppressing all our chi. The martial sovereigns from Myriad Stars Valley. Myriad Stars Valley and our soul-devouring sect are the biggest rivals in the western region. I can't let them target me. Indeed, there's suppression, but the power of rules still remains, it can still be condensed. The power of rules is part of the natural order of this world. As long as it exists in heaven and earth, no array or restriction can truly suppress it. Do you know where this is? A chess piece? This chessboard is Dash. The divine chessboard. It must be laid out by the throne sovereign. Hmm? Young Master Yun, look at the painting over there. It seems to show us. It does. 
How come I've never heard him mention this chessboard before? Could it be a new creation? Lord Shang, we appear on this side as well. It seems even the rules can no longer be condensed here. It said that anyone who can solve this chessboard will be accepted as a disciple of the throne sovereign, gaining access to the 800 array techniques. Our four extremes gate has long gathered chess masters from all regions. Studied this for ages and only recently begun to uncover a bit of its secrets. Who would have thought we'd encounter an array actually built on this chessboard? Lee, have you discovered anything? Hmm? Where? Am I? What? Happened? Hmm? Ah. What is this? What's happening? This is Dash. We've become chess pieces. The core of the array. Out of the 20 of us here. The 10 strongest must be chosen to serve as the representatives. Everyone, don't move. This array. If even one of us makes a wrong move, we could be instantly erased by the array. 